A pleasant graduation trip turned into a disaster in the blink of an eye. The ship is experiencing stormy weather. Passengers, please evaluate from the deck as soon as possible. Classmates, run quickly to the cabin. This storm is coming too fast, isn't it? Lost on a deserted island to obtain a survival system. Host successfully receives novice gift package. Ha ha. Ha ha. Is it my illusion? It feels like there's a lot of strange knowledge in my head. Poisonous snakes and fierce beasts come one after another. Snakes can be killed or damaged even if they hit 7 inches. How should the protagonist survive on this deserted island with a dagger at the beginning? When I was infatuated with Mr. Day at first, I impulsively bought the same model and have been carrying it with me ever since. I never expected it to come in handy today. Handsome guy. It seems that I didn't die in the sea thanks to this life buoy. If there are no traces of human life on the island and nothing unexpected happens, it should be a deserted island. Generally speaking, it takes at least one day from rescue to completion after a maritime disaster occurs. After counting the number of people and determining the missing individuals, a search and rescue team will be dispatched to search for them. Beauty. Hey. Working hand in hand, advancing and retreating together. Fire is on fire. Oh, oh, our school's grass, Gao Chenyu, is going to confess his love to the school flower, Yi Lin. Lin Lin, can you date me? Promise him. Promise him. Gao Chenyu is not only handsome, but also a talented student. I heard that he has already received a high salary offer from the three giants of Bat. Our goddess Yellen is not bad either. She is beautiful, sweet, and talented, and has been recognized by world-class global organizations. The school grass paired with the school flower, these two are simply the epitome and shredded meat of the contemporary Titanic. Can you speak? If this is really the Titanic, then we all have to explain it on this big sea. I'm going home now. We'll meet again next time. Um... Dice program is always interesting. No matter how many times you watch it, you won't get tired of it. Hey. The ship is experiencing stormy weather. Passengers, please evaluate from the deck as soon as possible. Classmates, run quickly to the cabin. This storm is coming too fast, isn't it? Who just said the Titanic was here? It's too late to return to the cabin at the current position. Ching Tian, where are you going? Go back to the cabin quickly. Just a little bit missing. Wilderness System Startup Is it possible to open the new bee gift pack after completing the system implantation? Host Coma gift package temporarily stored. Oh, wow. Here is. Did I survive? It seems that I didn't die in the sea thanks to this life buoy. If there are no traces of human life on the island and nothing unexpected happens, it should be a deserted island. Generally speaking, it takes at least one day from rescue to completion after a maritime disaster occurs. After counting the number of people and determining the missing individuals, a search and rescue team will be dispatched to search for them. If there are no accidents, the search and rescue team can find this place within five days. That means in the worst case scenario, I would have to endure on this deserted island for at least six days before I could possibly wait for the search and rescue team. However, fortunately, there are many coconut trees on this island that rely on fallen coconuts, and I should be able to persist for more than a week. When I was infatuated with Mr. Day at first, I impulsively bought the same model and have been carrying it with me ever since. I never expected it to come in handy today. This coconut is too old, and the coconut juice is less than expected. In this case, at least five are needed to ensure the normal daily needs of the human body. When it comes to being unconscious, there seems to be a faint sound of some system. Host Awakening May I ask if you have opened the novice gift package? Pooh. 
Cough, cough, is this a 3D projection? Novice gift pack. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the complete list of common plants and common animals. What kind of joke is this? The beginner's gift package is just two books. Who has time to read books on this deserted island? If a novice system in a certain online game is like this, it will be completely cold as soon as it goes online. Gift package items start to be distributed. Host successfully receives novice gift package. Ha ha. Ha ha. Is it my illusion? It feels like there's a lot of strange knowledge in my head. Coconut plants in the palm family. Coconut genus, tall, woody, 1530 meters tall. The stem is thick and has circular leaf scars. The base is thickened and often has clusters of small roots. The petiole is thick and the inflorescence is axillary. The fruit is oval or nearly spherical. The fruit cavity contains endosperm. The book that Ali sent to the original system can be directly implanted into my mind. It's really a divine assist. Is there anyone else on this island? That is. School flower Yi Lin. Small and medium-sized snakes belonging to the family Colubridae and the genus Colubridae have oval-shaped heads, blunt snouts, and distinct neck areas. They are thick, round, and live in mountainous areas such as ponds, marshes, paddy fields, and streams. They are also found in sludge. Help me. Help me. Snakes can be killed or damaged even if they hit seven inches. You, you are. Put on your clothes first. Hey. Ah, uh, close your eyes and don't look. I originally wanted to go into the woods and take off my clothes to dry. I didn't expect this kind of thing to be really devastating. This person is quite upright. He even saved me just now. But don't I have any attraction at all? I'm just walking too decisively without even looking at it, right? Thank you so much just now. My name is Yi Lin and I am a student. Ching Tian is also a student. Are you also a shipwreck victim? Great, I finally met my companion. Oh, wow. It's too sour and refreshing, but I'm so thirsty. She drinks more than me. Women are really made of water. Do you have anything on you that allows you to communicate with the outside world, such as a phone or radio? When I was washed ashore, everything on my body was gone. Sure enough, just like me. But it's okay. Thousands of people have died in this cruise ship accident, and the outside world will definitely send rescue teams for such a big event. As long as the two of us wait here, there is hope for rescue. It's rare for a girl to remain optimistic in such a situation. However, there is also a bit of optimism that goes too far. Search and rescue is not something that can be done in a day or two. Whether it can hold on until the arrival of the rescue team is still a question. At this point, it's better not to pour cold water on her. Well, maybe the rescue team has already set off. But before that, just in case, we'd better prepare in advance for the overnight bonfire here to drive away insects and snakes. Yes, that's right. You must prepare a bonfire. It's quite positive about one's own safety. But how can we start a fire now? Is it like drilling wood to start a fire on TV? Drilling wood to start a fire requires certain skills, and beginners like us may not be able to succeed even if it takes a whole day. What can we do? We'll search along the beach later to see if we can find useful items like lighters on the beach. There should be supplies washed up here like us on the cruise ship. Yes, that's right. In an hour. This beach is too clean, isn't it? I've been walking for almost an hour and haven't found anything. Yellen is right. This beach is also too clean. The route of our graduation trip is not far inland, even if it is a deserted island, there should be other external things washed ashore. But at first glance, the sand on this beach has been removed, leaving only wood and no trace of human activity, just like this island is isolated from the world. Oh, hey. 
Can we really only drill wood to start a fire? I thought it was something good, but it turned out to be a plastic bottle. Why don't we throw it away? Wait. It's just a plastic bottle. What's so exciting about it? You'll find out later. Great. With this, we can start a fire. According to incomplete statistics, there are an average of over 300,000 forest fires worldwide each year, with the vast majority being natural fires caused by human activities, accounting for only 1%. It is worth mentioning that in man-made fires, apart from fires caused by improper management of open flames, the cause of fire accounts for the largest proportion. It is the accidental fire caused by littering plastic bottles. The reason is that plastic bottles with water will become a magnifying glass at a certain angle, focusing the transmitted light together and igniting dead branches and leaves, causing a fire. Fire is on fire. How long do you think it will take for the rescue team to find us? Will we starve here? Is it because I was hit hard while searching for supplies today instead of today's optimism? The most important thing in survival is to maintain a positive attitude. If one's willpower is low, then it's really over. I need to adjust Yi Lin's mentality. You also said today that the search and rescue team will take three days to find this place. Even if there is a discrepancy in this time, it will definitely not exceed a week. As for the issue of food, there is no need to worry. There are numerous coconut trees on this beach that can produce a large amount of coconuts. Even if we only drink coconut juice, we can survive for a week. Are you sure? Definitely and definitely. Even if it's a scam, we need to calm Yellen's mentality before making a decision. What are you doing with it? Have a guess. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're planning to grill it to eat. Congratulations, you answered correctly. Are you happy? There's meat to eat. Even if Yi Lin were to starve to death here and drown in the sea, I wouldn't eat a bite of your snake meat. It's already very good to have food on this deserted island, yet I still find it repulsive. I don't believe you can hold back when you say it so absolutely. This snake meat is crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It's simply delicious. Delicious, delicious, so delicious. Humph. What's wrong? What's wrong? I just ate it. Do you have any objections? No, no, please. Is it fragrant? Really fragrant. Fortunately, I obtained a system that can identify this red chain while you snake. Otherwise, I'm afraid I would have gone hungry tonight. Speaking of which, the system shut down for no reason today and I don't know how to turn it on. Host ignites bonfire to earn 100 points. Are you okay? It's nothing. A little bug fell into the clothes. Is this system only visible to me? I was scared to death. I thought I was in danger. Although we are currently trapped on this island, we don't know when we will be rescued. I don't know what kind of person Yi Lin is even after spending just one day with her due to her unpredictable nature. If I were to tell Yellen about my system, it might be leaked out. At that time, I'm afraid it might be taken for slicing and research. It's better not to let Yellen know about the system as a precautionary measure. Since Yellen can't see the system, I don't have to cover it up so much. Task Host ignites bonfire to earn 100 points. The host will earn point rewards by working hard to obtain items that survive on the deserted island. The points earned can be exchanged for corresponding items in the system mall. It's not difficult to understand that it's similar to online gaming systems, but I don't know what my 100 points can be exchanged for in the mall. This system is perceived by the brain. No wonder it appears and disappears with my thoughts. Knowledge books. Complete collection of wild plants. Complete collection of wild traps. Complete guide to outdoor cooking. 4,000. Skill talent. Bland thousand mile eagle eye. Slightly inferior silver wolf. 15,000. 
Mysterious product. There is no explanation for these products, but the names suggest their purpose. 10,000. What is it? Complete guide to outdoor love actions. 10,000. Although it's mosaic, I don't know why I always feel like this book is so powerful. No, I have the ability to put a book on it, but I don't have the courage to remove the mosaic or even show the cover. This is absolutely garbage. The things in the mall are too expensive. Even the lowest priced items cost 2,000 points, and with 100 points, you can't buy anything. And there is no place to collect tasks in the task section, so I don't know what to do to earn points. It seems that we can only explore slowly. Although we can fully survive until the rescue team arrives with coconut, we can only provide carbohydrates and cannot provide protein for the human body. So, in order to meet the needs of the human body, I suggest that we split up and collect stranded fish and shrimp along the coastline during the ebb tide tomorrow. This heart is too big to be guarded against. I fell asleep like this. Forget it, let's talk about it tomorrow. What's going on? Why did it suddenly get cold? Not good. Yellen, wake up. Wake up. The reason why my body is so cold is because I am too tired and my sensitivity to the outside world is greatly reduced, so I didn't wake up in time. Um. Fortunately, Yi Lin did not go into shock due to the low temperature. Ah. Uh, what do you want? Don't misunderstand me, I'm just. I thought you had an upright character, but I didn't expect you to be this kind of person. Didn't you feel it? Don't mess around, even though there are only the two of us here. If you don't want to die from the cold, I advise you to come over and warm yourself up. Cold. Oh, wow. The temperature difference between day and night on this deserted island is simply too large and goes against scientific principles. The damn thing is that the cruise ship is taking a route close to the equator with a warm climate, and neither Yellen nor I have much clothes on. Yi Lin. What's wrong? The current temperature is too low, and we may be at risk of freezing to death. I suggest we embrace each other for warmth so that we can get through this night. Don't even think about it. Even with an overnight campfire, my hands and feet are still cold and almost numb. Do we really have to hug Ching Tian to survive this night? But I have never had such intimate contact with a boy before. If it weren't for Ching Tian, there wouldn't even be a bonfire now. Go ahead and risk it. You close your eyes and don't look. Why are you taking off your clothes? In TV, the male and female protagonists have to take off their clothes to resist the severe cold, don't they? No need, really no need, unless there are too many clothes on the body that block the heat transfer, that's why we need to take off the clothes. Our clothes are thin and unnecessary. Oh. Then I'll hug you. Um, heart too. Ah. It's so warm. Oh, wow. Ching Tian, take a look. It's dawn. Beautiful. The tide has receded. Hurry up and don't let stranded shrimp and crabs jump back into the sea. 1. Ching Tian, come and save me. Smash with a stone. So many sea goods have settled for breakfast today. Hey, why did you throw away the crab shell? There's still a lot of meat on it. I didn't eat enough snake meat last night, and now my stomach is already empty. It's like throwing away such a good crab shell is a waste of time. You can eat it if you want, but you can eat less crab later. Why did I capture half of this? Eating too much crab due to its cold nature can cause gastrointestinal discomfort. Especially the crab shell is often contaminated with crab stomach, which can cause unnecessary burden on the human body. We can't stay overnight on the beach tonight. We need to enter the forest and build a campsite to resist the cold wind. 
It smells so good. I just need some seasoning. Forrest. Yes. You also experienced the temperature last night. If you continue to stay here tonight, even if you don't freeze to death, you will have to freeze to half a piece. But why must it be the forest building a campsite on the beach? There are many trees in the forest, abundant resources, and enough materials to build a campsite. Besides, we may also find a lot of food to eat inside. Okay, listen to you. Then we'll leave after we finish eating. We need to prepare sufficient fresh water before we leave. In addition, it is necessary to leave a distress signal to avoid missing the search and rescue team. Is this coconut tree too tall? Is it too dangerous? Why don't you come? I don't want to climb either, sister, but you're always concerned about water intake. The few three melons and two jujubes that fell on the spot are not enough for the needs of the two of us. What are you up to? This is the tree climbing method I learned on TV, called double foot locking rope. The principle of this method is to use the restraining effect of the rope to make both feet tightly adhere to the tree trunk and increase friction. At the same time, the rope between the feet can also get stuck on the tree trunk to prevent slipping off. This coconut tree is even harder to climb than imagined. The smooth trunk makes it difficult to exert force on your hands, and you can easily finish playing with it if you're not careful. Huh, there's no danger. Finally, I climbed up. Yellen, please move aside. Ah, good. So many coconuts should be enough. Great, this fresh coconut is different. It contains more than three times the amount of coconut juice as an old coconut. Why are you still holding those coconuts? Don't you think they're too heavy? Throw them away quickly. How precious it is to throw away freshwater resources, and it's something you finally managed to pick. How can you just throw it away? That's right to say, but you have to know that drinking too much coconut juice can easily cause vomiting and diarrhea. Are you sure you want to risk snakes, insects, mice, and ants in this wilderness and experience frequent diarrhea? Forehead When I used to watch Dai's program, I thought survival in the wilderness was very interesting, and I wished I could experience it myself. Now I just want to go back to my room, lie in bed, and have a good sleep. I always feel like there are countless fear sides staring at us in the invisible dark corners. Ching Tian, give me water. Here you are. Don't drink with your mouth open. Oh. What are you looking for? Why do you ask that? You occasionally glance at the low shrubs along the way. Even a fool can understand what you are looking for. Do you remember the snake you encountered yesterday? Of course I remember that. The name of that snake is Red Chain Huayu Snake. It usually lives in freshwater and occasionally goes ashore to hunt. Are you saying there are freshwater resources nearby? Congratulations, you answered correctly. Unfortunately, there is no prize. But this forest is so big, how do you know where the freshwater is? Don't tell me you're just trying your luck. It's impossible to rely on luck in this lifetime. Without the passive skills of Lord Da, we can barely survive on this deserted island by relying on knowledge. Isn't there a way? Road. If you look closely, you will find that the shrubs, branches, and leaves there are all broken, and the direction of the breakage is consistent. If you guessed correctly, this is a beast path. Ah, uh, I understand now. Animals, like humans, need to replenish their water regularly. This animal path is likely left behind by animals when they go to the water source. No wonder he is a talented student who knows everything at once. How do I feel that you're not praising me? How could that be? You're overthinking it. How do you know so much about the wilderness? You are an outdoor enthusiast. Do you think I look like that? Isn't it? You can see me as an outdoor enthusiast who has never practiced before. This forest is bigger than I imagined. If I don't find a water source before noon, I have to start a fire on site to avoid missing the best time to start a fire. What's up? Ching Tian, did you hear any sound? 
Is this sound? This way. Hey. Sure enough. Ching Tianchui, we have found a water source. Fortunately, we found the water source before noon and didn't miss the best time to start the fire. Wait, raw water is not allowed. I know there are bacteria in raw water and I can't drink it. I know see, I just wanted to remind you, why are you so excited? Isn't it more convenient to build a campsite by the river? Why did we come to this forest? If it's too close to the water source, it's easy to encounter wild beasts drinking water. If it rains, the stream may even overflow on both sides. This is it. There are few tall trees and shrubs around here, and the terrain is relatively flat and close to the water source. Although it may not be the best location, given the current situation, this is indeed the most suitable place. I will be responsible for starting the fire and finding suitable wood for setting up the campsite. You can go nearby and see if you can find any large plants. If you don't have any leaves, you can also collect some branches and leaves of shrubs. Good. Due to the high humidity in the forest, most of the wood still has some moisture. In the future, we need to air dry some wood and store it to avoid finding dry wood. Judging from the brightness of this light spot, it should be around 2 o'clock noon now. With only one afternoon left, it seems that we can only build the simplest sloping campsite. I remember passing by the newly formed forest when I arrived, but the trunk of the tree was just the size of an arm and could be used to build a campsite. What are you just using to cut down trees? The dagger is too small and not suitable for cutting down. By the way, I remember D. U. once had a program where he used pebbles to collide with each other to obtain sharp stones, which were then tied to wooden sticks to make a simple stone axe. This one is good. But now the time is tight, I don't have any extra time to make a stone axe. Just using stones to smash it is too forced. It took about half an hour just to smash a tree. But fortunately, such a thick one only needs one, and then we can chop some two-finger-sized ones. I only chopped down nine trees in the afternoon, so I have to leave quickly. I need to return to the campsite before dark. This bundle weighs about 60 to 70 pounds, right? I used to go to my dad's sugarcane field all summer to help carry it for an entire afternoon. I didn't expect it to come in handy now. Ching Tian, you're back. Chang Chang, look what I found. Where did you find so many banana leaves? I found a banana plantation several hundred meters down the river. But the banana tree is too tall, so I can only collect banana leaves from the lower layers. It doesn't matter anymore. There are enough banana leaves for us to build a campsite. When do we start? Now? There is not much time to collect materials, so we can only build a simple slope campsite to cope with tonight's extreme cold. The peeled bark is quite sturdy when used as a rope. The structure of the slope campsite is very simple, generally divided into two parts, windbreak walls and wooden stakes. Is this banana leaf also tied with bark? There's no need for such trouble. Just use a dagger to diagonally cut a hole at the tail of the leaf and then it can be stuck on the wooden frame. First, cut the thickest wooden stake into two pieces and sharpen them into wooden stakes. Drive the wooden stakes on the ground. Finally, press the windbreak wall onto the wooden stake to form a sloping surface. This is our campsite. Why is there only one side? Don't underestimate this campsite. Although it only has one side, it can bounce back the heat from the campfire onto us. Host builds garbage campsite to earn 1,000 points. How about this? In this way, we can feel warmth all over our bodies. Okay, I didn't expect Ching Tian to be mocked by a system. Plastic bottles release toxic substances at high temperatures. Can't you drink this water? If you're not afraid of dehydration, then don't drink it. Hey, hey, leave me some. Huh, don't touch your mouth. TSK, TSK. Now that we have a campsite, there's no need to worry about freezing to death on this deserted island. 
The next thing to consider is the issue of food. Currently, there are two known sources of food, coconut and seafood. However, whether it's coconuts or seafood, they are all on the beach. It's at least an hour's drive from here to the beach. The low tide in the morning won't catch up. As for coconut, all coconut can provide is carbohydrates, and there is not much coconut meat that can fill the stomach. Tomorrow, let's go to the banana field mentioned by Yellen and take a look. Maybe we can discover some bananas. Um. What are you doing? No, it's not. Look at the mosquitoes. Wild mosquitoes. It's bad. Mosquitoes like this in the old forest of the forest are very poisonous. It's common to get bitten and swollen for a few days. Being bitten by so many wild mosquitoes may cause allergic fever. I must do something. Ching Tian, please help me. Oh, wow. Great, it's all brought over here. I can't smoke you guys. After smoking, mosquitoes are unlikely to return in the short term. What happened to you just now? As soon as you made that sound, all the mosquitoes flew towards you. I don't know the principles taught by the elderly in our village. With the windbreak, you can now feel the heat in both front and back of your body. Although it's still a bit cold, the impact is not significant anymore. The trees around it block most of the cold wind and building a campsite in the forest is indeed the right choice. Unlike on the beach, where there are many wild beasts in the forest, I think it would be better for us to take turns guarding tonight. You can fall asleep even while sitting. I stayed up all night last night and have been busy all day today. I'm afraid I'm already exhausted early on. It seems like I'll have to keep watch tonight. The long night is also idle. Why not weave some hemp rope? It will definitely be needed in the future. First, scatter the bark of the tree. Oh, wow. You're up so early, aren't you? Hey, where did these ropes come from? You made them up. It's your turn to stay up late, otherwise I'll take care of you. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I was really tired last night. You can sleep tonight. I'll keep watch. Forget it. Let's take turns. I can sleep even while sitting, but I don't trust you to stay up all night. Where is the banana plantation located? Yesterday, I was busy searching for water sources and setting up tents. I haven't explored this area, and I don't know if there are any other useful resources nearby. The banana plantation is not far from here. Walk a few hundred meters down the river to reach it. Raspberry, also known as raspberry, is an upright shrub with prickly branches. When young, it is soft-haired and has a single leaf with an oval to ovate lanceolate shape. It is mostly found in sunny mountain slopes and valleys. The flowering period is from March to June, and the fruiting period is from June to June. It has astringent and lean kidneys, helps with yang, improves vision, sobers up and quenches thirst. Yellen, look at this. What is this? Is it delicious? How do you know this fruit can be eaten? If you can't eat, how could you be so excited? This fruit is called a raspberry, whether it tastes good or not. Just give it a try and you'll know. Good. It's so sour. Oh, that's right. It is normal for mountain plums to ripen and become sour in April. The evergreen, large, perennial herbaceous plants of the banana family and the banana genus have stems up to 34 meters high and leaves up to 3 meters long and about 40 centimeters wide, forming a long oval shape with thick main veins. The fruit has a similar appearance to bananas but is relatively short and edible. Luckily, it seems that breakfast has settled down. Will the banana skin still green taste bitter when eaten? I don't know if it tastes good or not. But what we can be certain of is that we currently have nothing else to eat. That's right. How should we climb up the banana tree that's hanging so high? I also want to climb like this. It would be more convenient, but this banana tree can't resist my weight. What are you doing? Let's go. Get down here. 
What the fuck? Fortunately, the banana leaves are relatively soft. Ching Tian, are you okay? Are you hungry? Give me a banana. Go away and try poisoning me again. Oh, I was planning to show off my gentlemanly demeanor and prioritize ladies, but you have such a bad impression of me. So hard. Is it too raw? Maybe we can put it aside for a while before eating. It's not a matter of whether it's raw or not. It's simply not edible. You can take a look for yourself. The bananas we usually eat are cultivated varieties, and the seeds inside the banana flesh have already degenerated. But even after maturity, the wild banana seeds that have not been cultivated still exist and cannot be eaten. You can't eat it. What's delicious about banana? If you want to eat it, eat meat. Meat. That's right, the meat growing on banana trees. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You can tell by yourself. Here's the meat from the banana tree. Is this insect delicious? Is this reaction not right? Is it so calm? This is called banana beetle, which hides in rolled banana leaves and contains six times the protein of beef. If it's wrapped in breadcrumbs and fried until golden brown, even the child next door can cry with desire. In the forest campsite. Is Ching Tian okay now? Wait a little longer. Now it's okay. Delicious, delicious, like eating crab paste. Compared to pan fried or deep fried, it tastes better. This banana beetle tastes even better than snake meat. If you're hungry, everything tastes good. But I'm surprised that you didn't resist the banana beetle. There are fried insects and similar snacks on the street nowadays. Encouraged by my best friend, I tried to eat them. Yellen, can you help me bring over the bark rope? Good. Ching Tian, have you gone crazy and made the plastic bottle look like this? How to make a fishing trap without turning the plastic bottle into this shape? Fishing trap. Regarding fishing traps. When I came back just now, I saw many river fish in the stream. With this trap, I should be able to catch some small ones. Just use this plastic bottle. Just use this plastic bottle. The entrance of the fishing trap is trumpet-shaped, and when the fish enter, they easily swim into the bottle from big to small. When it comes out, it is easy to get stuck from childhood to adulthood and difficult to swim out. Simply put, the principle behind it is easy to enter but difficult to exit. Forehead Host creates garbage fishing traps to earn 200 points. Ha ha. What should we do if we need to drink water normally? Using coconut shells. Using coconut shells to hold water may burn out, right? Who said I was going to burn it? As long as you put the heated stone into a coconut shell filled with water and repeat this several times, the water will boil. Yeah, there's also indirect heat transfer. Then we need to go to the beach. Well, before we go, we need to set up the fishing traps first. The small hole at the tail is designed to allow flowing water to fill the entire bottle. Stones can increase the weight of fishing traps and stabilize them. The unfinished banana beetle is used as bait to lure swimming fish. Can't fishing traps be placed in streams near the campsite? Why did you come here? It's cool here and the water grass is lush. Many swimming fish hide here, so it's natural to place fishing traps here. Did you smell anything? Taste. From what you're saying, it seems like there's some kind of smell. And it seems like I've smelled it somewhere before. Hey, wait for me. The smell has become quite strong here. Ching Tian, look over there. Mint. Mint soil called Indian grass is a plant in the family Lamiaceae, which belongs to the same genus as other dry hole plants. It mostly grows in mountains, wetlands, and rivers, with roots and stems running underground. The whole plant is green, fragrant, and fragrant. The small purple leaves contain peppermint oil, menthol, and menthol, which are easily dispersed in the air. It is easy to breed within a certain range. A pot of mint has a small mosquito repellent effect. This mint has mosquito repellent effects. 
Let's dig some back and plant them around the campsite so we don't have to worry about being harassed by mosquitoes anymore. Mosquito repellent. Then dig more quickly. These should be enough. Now go back to the campsite and plant mint. Um. I didn't expect to find mint today. It's really lucky. With these mint plants, there shouldn't be any mosquitoes tonight, right? Hurry up and rest. Afternoon, we'll go to the beach to pick up the coconuts from before. Good. Host makes stone axe to earn 200 points. Got another reward. If we count this time, it's already the second time we've earned points today. Can I earn points by creating items for survival? That's right, it must be like this. So it seems that it's also difficult to obtain the products in the mall, isn't it? Is it necessary to be so happy that I just made a stone axe? Who did this thing of killing a thousand knives? The coconut that was finally picked before. Could it be other people stranded on a deserted island? Probably not. From the broken surface of the coconut shell, it appears that this was not artificially opened. Could it be wild beasts like lions and tigers? No, it's not that those two big shots both eat meat. And have you ever heard of a wild beast that eats coconuts? Although there are no wild beasts that eat coconuts, there are indeed creatures that eat coconuts. You mean coconut crab. You rewrite. If nothing unexpected happens here, this should be the trace left by the coconut crab when it moved. Doesn't that mean we can find the coconut crab by following this trace? The trace disappeared here, but why haven't we seen the figure of the coconut crab? Look up, take a look. Coconut crab is a type of hermit crab that lives in tropical forests near the seaside. It can grow up to one meter in length and is not only the largest terrestrial crab, but also the largest terrestrial arthropod. It has a large body, a hard shell, and two strong and powerful claws that can tear open the coconut shell. It is a skilled tree climber. Oh, I got it. This coconut crab is so big, only about seven or eight pounds, right? Be gone. This coconut crab is edible. How can we catch it if it doesn't come down? Ching Tian, look at nine. It's coming down. Not urgent. Hurry up, the coconut crab is up again. Don't worry, I can't escape. You can't just let it go like this after eating my coconut. What an evil expression. Although I knew coconut crabs could open coconuts, I never expected them to be as effortless as peeling banana peels. Spicy is really NB. Not bad, not bad, just opened it. Look what I'm doing, keep opening it. But it's strange to say that coconut crabs are afraid of strong light and usually only come out for activities at night. This deserted island is a bit strange. You're driving it so fast again, awesome. OM is awesome, you're in college, I'm your grandma. Come on, come pick me up. I originally wanted to find free coolies, no wonder he didn't attack the coconut crab just now. Did you see that? This is the outcome of stealing my coconut. Bad personality. Ching Tian, please walk slowly. I can't keep up with you anymore. The sun is about to set in two minutes. Hold on a little longer. No, this coconut is too heavy. I can't walk anymore. Then let's rest in place for a few minutes first. This point should be about to ebb, but unfortunately it will get dark soon. Otherwise, we would still be able to stay and go out to sea. Speaking of which, today is already the third day. It's been so long and we haven't seen any trace of the search and rescue team. Isn't that giving up on us? Yi Lin. No, no, no. The search and rescue team will never give up on us. Yes, that's right. As you said before, the search and rescue team will definitely find us within a week after the accident. All right, it's getting late. Let's hurry up and leave. Three days have already passed within a week. Ching Tian, look at these three small fish inside. 
It seems that the fish resources in this stream are quite abundant, and more fish were caught than expected. It's just that this bottle is too small, otherwise we would definitely catch more fish. You go back to the campsite to rest first, and then go back after I finish dealing with this fish. The banana beetle used as bait has already been completely eaten by three grass carp. This fish's internal organs can be used as a new bait. This is the advantage of a trap. You don't have to keep watch all the time, you just need to collect the prey at regular intervals, and as long as the trap itself is not damaged, it can be continuously recycled. Host completes fishing master task and earns 500 points. This completes the task. Doesn't that mean I already have 2,000 points enough to redeem items in the mall? In the campsite. What are you building with stones? Stove. The coconut crab is quite large, so I'll make a bigger one. Fortunately, we have this coconut crab. Otherwise, those three small fish wouldn't be enough to fill our stomachs. As far as the fishing ability of the fishing trap is concerned, it cannot meet our daily needs, so our primary survival task now is still to search for food. This crab meat tastes delicious, sweet, and has a hint of coconut fragrance. This coconut crab has more meat than expected, even this leg is full of meat. I'm full. I'm full. I slept until midnight and remember to wake me up to change shifts. Leave it to me. There shouldn't be any wild beasts appearing, right? Alas. Go away, go away. It's me, it's me. It's you. You scared me to death. I haven't called you yet. Why did you wake up on your own? You go to sleep, then I'll keep watch. You have rested well. How about I stay up late at night too? Anyway, I slept all night yesterday. Please spare me. I don't want you to be in a daze and then use an axe to blow my head open. Okay. I can check what good things my 2000 points can be exchanged for in the system later. There are no spaces or thank you for your patronage on the lottery wheel, which means that as long as you turn the wheel, you will definitely win a prize. Although the water has become somewhat turbid due to the ash residue on the stones. But as long as the water is boiled, there is no need to worry about bacteria or anything like that. I have to say, mint is a good thing. It's much clearer now. Here we are. I was startled. It turns out I was talking in my sleep. I know you will definitely come. You will definitely come. I thought Yellen was very strong and optimistic, but it seems that I misjudged her. The optimism shown by Yellen is just a fragile shell that is supported by extreme sadness and strong joy. It seems that the shipwreck has greatly exceeded Yi Lin's psychological tolerance. In order to protect herself, Yi Lin has resorted to self-hypnosis. It's been so long and we haven't seen any trace of the search and rescue team. Isn't that giving up on us? Subconsciously, Yi Lin kept telling herself that a search and rescue team would definitely come within a week of the accident, and it was this belief that supported her and made her hopeful and hardworking to live. If the search and rescue team still hasn't found this place in seven days, Yi Lin's faith may collapse and she may lose the idea of survival. I still don't think too much about the current situation. Let's find a way to solve the food problem. Let's first see what my points can be exchanged for. Well, the books in front of me that can be exchanged with 2,000 points are Muri. Complete Guide to Field First Aid. 2,000. Complete List of Wild Animals Uic. 2,000. Complete Collection of Field Crafts. 2,000. Judging from their names, all three books are very helpful for wilderness survival, but my points are only enough to redeem one of them. Damn it, only kids make choices. I want everything. Now there is a severe shortage of production tools on the deserted island, and from the name of this book, it seems that the production process of various tools should be chosen first. Product distribution begins. Come on. As expected, the content in this book is quite awesome see, pottery making, reverse bow making, paper making. If all the items inside can be made, not only living here for a month, 
but also for a year or a half, there won't be any problems. Well, what is this? Lottery roulette can randomly obtain high-value goods or skills. Each lottery consumes 1,000 points, and the higher the lucky value, the higher the probability of winning rare prizes. The host will receive a free lottery opportunity for the first time by redeeming points for goods. You must be so lucky today for the free lottery opportunity, right? First, I caught coconut crabs, then caught grass carp to complete the task, and now I have a chance to win a lottery worth 1,000 points. There are so many good things, I can't believe it. As soon as I send it to the soul. Swift Cheetah Talent Allies I've seen these talents in the mall before, and even the ones that cost at least tens of thousands of points are considered to have won the first prize. Is the host experiencing it immediately? Experience what kind of experience? Experience card. Use. Temporary storage. Dawn. I knew even if a pie fell from the sky, it wouldn't hit Chin Tian's head. This system is extremely stingy and stingy, competing with the lucky draw pool of King XX. Forget it, forget it. No matter what it is, it will always be the most fragrant thing. Good morning, Chin Tian. Chin Tian, Chin Tian, where have you been? You're awake. Chin Tian. Please let me know before you leave next time, okay? I didn't wake you up because you slept too soundly, and you're still afraid that I might leave you behind. Okay, okay, I'll pay attention next time. I'll leave later. Don't go to the stream until I come back. Why? Oh, remember to bury it, don't leave any odor, and don't pollute the water source. What's buried? I'm going to take a shower. So it's just a shower. If you want to go, go ahead. It's like I'm craving your body. However, girls are naturally fond of cleanliness. Since being stranded on a deserted island, everyone has never cleaned their bodies, and their bodies have become extremely dirty. It's just that they have been busy these past few days, and the situation doesn't allow them to speak up, which is why they have been enduring until now. Speaking of which, I haven't taken a shower in several days. Should I also take a shower? Never mind, since today's food hasn't arrived yet, I won't be too picky. I'll take a look nearby and see if there are any resources left. Remember to let me know after you finish washing. Got it. Wooden hoof layer hole fungus, also known as wooden hoof horseshoe shaped sessile perennial, grows on wooden trunks or stakes and has the effect of reducing accumulation and removing blood stasis. It cannot be eaten and can be smoldering for several hours, so it can be used as a fire starter to ignite. It seems that I was lucky today and just came out. Not long after, I saw this thing. This wood hoof fungus reminds me to search for fungi such as mushrooms to satisfy my hunger. And there's a system where I don't have to worry about eating poisonous mushrooms. The resources near the campsite are unexpectedly abundant, and on the way here, I encountered many fruits. Unfortunately, those fruits are all beyond the scope of the book Complete Collection of Common Plants and it is impossible to determine whether they can be eaten. Rabbit The speed of wild rabbits can reach 70 km per hour and it is impossible to catch up with them. But the chance of hitting it with a stone axe is also not high. Since it is so, then take advantage of the rabbit being attracted by the stone axe to catch its attention. Don't think about it. Flee. Oh, is this really Bugs Bunny? It's been a while since Yi Lin came out. She should have finished taking a shower by now. It's time to go back and discuss our respective tasks for today. Which direction is the campsite in? Fortunately, the morning dew wet the ground and left footprints, otherwise it would have been difficult to find a way back. Yellen hasn't returned yet. This woman's shower time is a bit too long, isn't it? It's yelling. What's wrong? Are you okay? Help. Snakes, snakes. Ah. Calm down, this is not a snake, it's an eel. 
Ricefield eel. Yellow eels, also known as eels, have a slender and snake-like body that can reach up to one meter in length. They have a round front and a flat back, a pointed tail, and a smooth mucosal surface to protect their body. They have no scales, a yellow-brown color, and few spines. Their meat is thick and delicious, and they often live in rice fields, small rivers, small streams, ponds, canals, lakes, and other places. It is non-toxic to eels, but its ability to drill holes is quite impressive. Drilling Holes You, you go away from me. Well, wait here for Yilin to avoid any further trouble. I was worried about today's food just now, but now it's good and there's a place to go. But this eel is a bit too big, isn't it? At first glance, it's about 1.5 meters tall. Could it be due to the good natural environment of the deserted island? Can't they all be seen? It's so embarrassing. You finished washing. Um, is he waiting for me here because he's worried that I might be in danger again? Why are you staring at me all the time? Forehead. Look at you, you're pretty. I'll go back to the campsite first. Yellen, what's wrong with you? Didn't you hear the gorgeous praise words from so many pursuers at school long ago? How can I feel joy now because of such a simple and direct sentence? I never thought I would say such a thing. Although eels are not social animals, they do not live alone in a single body of water. Watch me catch all the remaining eels. Eels will dig holes in the moist soil near the water as nests. If you look carefully, you should be able to find eel holes. Got it. The nest of eels usually has two openings to climb up and down. The entrance below is close to the water source. The one above is for ventilation and breathing. Now I'm blocking the hole below, which is like cutting off the eel's way out. However, when catching eels, you must not directly reach out and dig. It should be noted that there are not only eels, but also other creatures such as river crabs that live in caves by the river. This includes water snakes. Especially for water snakes, although they live in caves, they do not dig holes themselves. The caves they inhabit are all snatched up because they are similar in size and particularly like to seize the caves of eels. I remember in high school, when I was digging for eels in my hometown, I once pulled out a water snake. Luckily, it was a non-toxic double-spotted golden snake. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to jump around until now. The grass on the grave is probably already one meter high. If summer is better, summer is the mating season of Monopterus albus. After conception, Monopterus albus will spit out a lot of foam in the water so that the fertilized eggs can float on the water and develop. According to this, in summer, we only need to observe whether there is white foam at the entrance to know whether there is eel SPO in the cave. But now it's spring and we can only use grass ropes to test whether this cave is filled with eels, water snakes, or some other strange things. The method of judgment is very simple. Only eels are interested in aquatic plants. If it's a water snake, it should jump out and bite people directly. Humph, even a water snake would be caught and roasted to eat. Bite the hook. It's a yellow eel. Come out here. You caught two eels again. Doesn't that mean our food problem has been solved? You're overthinking it. I've searched through that water area and only found two more eels. If nothing unexpected happens, there won't be any eels left in that water area anymore. These three eels have such a large appetite that they must be several times larger than ordinary eels. It is already the limit to breed three eels in this small water area. Is it all baked now? We can't finish it, can we? What are you thinking? I'm going to use smoking to dehydrate and sterilize eel meat to make smoked meat for easy storage. Making smoked meat at home usually requires months of pickling, drying, and complex smoking techniques to ensure that the meat will not rot for a long time. But this eel only needs to be stored for two or three more days, so smoking it for three or four hours should be enough. Is there anything I can do? You've been busy all along, but I feel a little embarrassed sitting on the side. 
After I teach you how to weave hemp rope, you will be responsible for weaving all the bark in the campsite into hemp rope. Starting tomorrow, we will build another windbreak wall. Um, I'll go by the creek, Yi Lin. Can you heat up the stone stove and prepare for dinner? Good. Fishing traps are harvested in the morning and evening, with two or three fish caught each time, resulting in five or six fish caught in a day. But this can only meet one person's daily food needs. If we eat eel meat for the next two days and catch fish in the trap, we can keep them for two days. After that, there should be more than ten small fish. In that case, Yi Lin and I won't have to worry about food for the next three days. Spring is a rainy season, and the current campsite doesn't have any rainproof function at all. Once it rains, Yellen and I will have to turn into drenched chickens. We need to take advantage of the three days when there is sufficient food to improve the campsite. Are you all set? Don't wait for me to add some raspberries. Now it's okay. The extreme flavors of smoked hala and sour raspberry intertwine on the tongue, creating a rich and soft taste. The unique texture of eel meat firmly locks in raspberry juice, and every bite brings out juice that stimulates the taste buds, making them sour and sweet. Oh my god, this is so delicious, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> a deserted island on the tip of the tongue. There's too much dew in this forest. My clothes got wet after only half an hour of coming out. Fortunately, I left a mark before leaving. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known how to find this place. A few days ago, in order to improve the campsite, I didn't go out to search for resources. The eel meat in the campsite has already been eaten up, leaving only a few small fish. I hope to catch a wild rabbit today. Two days ago. Why did you dismantle the windbreak wall? The current windbreak is too small. I plan to rebuild a larger windbreak. Yellen, bring it over after you tie up the wind wall over there. W is good. With this wooden shed, it should be warmer at night, right? Compared with the original campsite, the new campsite is much larger and has added rain protection function. Not only is the enclosed space formed by the two windbreak walls improved, but it also enhances the sense of security during living. I remember the wild rabbit ran away this way back then. Searching in this direction should lead to finding the rabbit's nest. The wood hoof layer whole fungus brought out can still burn for about two hours. I need to hurry up. It said that rabbits don't eat grass by the edge of their nests, but how many people know that there is grass by the edge of their nests and why run all over the mountains? This forest has lush vegetation, and wild rabbits don't have to go too far from their nests to forage. That is to say, wherever wild rabbits appear in this forest, there must be rabbit holes nearby. But even so, it's not that easy to find the cave. After searching all morning, I finally found it. As the saying goes, there must be other exits to this den of cunning rabbits in the three caves. If you want to smoke the rabbit out of the cave, you have to seal the other openings first. I found a total of five holes, and now I'll block three for you. The remaining two holes, as long as I smoke into one of them, the rabbit can only come out from the last hole. Although this wood hoof fungus is convenient, it's a pity that it consumes too quickly and soon burns almost completely. It seems that in the future, when searching for resources, we need to find more backup options. Now all I need to do is wait by the tree for the rabbit. I don't even want to run through the door. This rabbit is too small, isn't it? It's just a complete brat C. What the fuck? There is another bigger one. Wild rabbits usually live alone, right? Sure enough, 111. I have a baby. Half an hour later. Unfortunately, one escaped that couldn't keep your whole family neat. Today is a good day. Anything you want can come true. Wow, rabbit. You caught all these rabbits. It's really good to weave so many hemp ropes in just one day. Then I'll go to the river and deal with the rabbits first. Little bunny is so cute. How can you eat bunny? 
I almost forgot that women always have no resistance to cute animals. If you want to eat, you also need to grow and fatten up before eating so that there is more meat. What? This doesn't unfold properly. But the idea of raising the bunnies is similar to mine, otherwise I wouldn't have brought these rabbits back alive. This is also something we can't do, after all, we have to survive. So tonight, let's eat the big ones first and take good care of the small ones. The meat of wild rabbits is very fishy, so before slaughtering, it is necessary to drain the blood and then cut off all the glands in the tail. In this way, it can to some extent become fishy and not be difficult to swallow when eaten. The fur of a wild rabbit is harder than that of a domestic rabbit and not as comfortable to touch. Keep it, maybe it will be useful in the future. Rabbit meat smells so bad. Then you can eat grilled fish. Give me the rabbit meat. This rabbit meat really has a strong fishy smell. I thought it would improve after processing, but I didn't expect the fishy smell to still hit my head. What makes you so happy? Saying it makes me happy too. You forgot that tomorrow is the last day of the seventh day. She had been thinking about the rescue team all along. You're leaving here tomorrow. Aren't you happy? Happy, happy. It seems that we need to be prepared tonight. I'm full. I'm full. Ching Tian, what are you doing? I want to try drilling wood to start a fire. Isn't there a fire here? It's always right to learn more skills to prepare for unexpected situations. There are a total of five methods for drilling wood to make fire in the field craft encyclopedia. Double person ignition. Bow wood fire. Iroquois style fire making. Classical drilling wood for fire. Pushing wood to start fire. Among these five methods, the success rate of the Iroquois style fire is the highest, followed by the bow wood style. In comparison, the Iroquois style is too complicated. So using a bow wood style would be better. It's smoking. Fire, fire, come on, come on. What kind of prayer is this? Ching Tian, you succeeded. The next morning. We're all leaving now. If you don't release the wild rabbit back into nature, do you think that wooden cage can hold them? It's only because we're in them that we dare not act recklessly. I can only deceive her like this for now. That's good. It seems that Yellen feels that the rescue team will definitely arrive within seven days, completely silent in her own world and becoming somewhat stunned. In an hour. The search and rescue team hasn't arrived yet. It seems we have to wait for a while. I've been waiting for so long, and it's not that short of time. That's right, then just sit here and wait slowly. It looks like we'll have to spend the night on this beach again. We need to prepare wood for the night and coconuts to satisfy our hunger. The drill wood ignition technique prepared last night is now in good use. The Ching Tian search and rescue team is coming so slowly. It's almost evening now. How could that be? Did I make a mistake? Tomorrow is only the seventh day. The search and rescue team forgot about us. Or have you already given up on us? Yi Lin. Are we going to die here? Yellen, please calm down. Ching Tian, you told me you wouldn't know, right? It won't happen like this. What are you doing? You hurt me. Cry, let's have a big and satisfying cry. The search and rescue team will never come again. It's okay, it's okay. If the search and rescue team doesn't come, they won't come. Isn't there still me here? Early morning. Why did you hit me last night? I. Thank you so much for last night. Since you know the purpose of my slap, what does that slap mean? It's only natural for you to slap me and I'll slap you back. By the way, what did you just say? I didn't hear clearly. Say it again. Uh, I remember it should have receded at this time before. Why hasn't there been any movement now? The ebb tide of the sea is not fixed. 
generally speaking, the ebb tide of the next day will be 48 minutes later than the previous day. Ah, it has been six days since the first day we arrived on this deserted island, which means we have to wait for about 48 hours before the tide recedes. Wait a little longer, we'll go back after catching up with the tide. If we waited for 48 hours in the early morning during the ebb tide before, wouldn't we have to wait until noon? It's been a week now. When can the search and rescue team find this place? Speaking of which, I seem to have seen it from some books. Can we talk about this matter calmly now? If Yilin's dam last night had a storage capacity exceeding the dangerous water level and was on the verge of bursting, then... After two years of missing persons and accidents, they can be legally declared dead. Now that the dam has opened for flood discharge, there is no need to worry about the risk of dam breach and collapse. Thinking too much. Generally speaking, if the search and rescue team cannot find us within a month, our search and rescue efforts will be weakened or even abandoned. That slap last night was indeed correct. Can you say some auspicious words? But if you can't find it, then you can't find it, right? We can just spend more time building a boat and go out ourselves. Look at me, it's receding tide. Hurry up and pick up some seafood. Who's watching you? In the campsite. Fortunately, they came back early. Otherwise, this cage of rabbits would have really escaped. This little rabbit is so powerful. If it were a big rabbit, it would have already escaped long ago. Yellen, take a look at these rabbits. Don't let them run away. I'll start a fire. Good. Let's make the seafood after it's cooked. You eat first, I'll wait. By the way, remember to collect the leftover seashells and don't throw them away. What's the use? I may not need it temporarily, but I might need it in the future. The seafood I brought back today is probably only enough to last for two days. Fortunately, in the following days, the ebb tide will be concentrated between noon and afternoon, which is an opportunity to collect a large amount of food. It's good to say that neither of us is allergic to seafood. But relying solely on rushing to the sea to collect food is ultimately just an emergency solution, so during this period, I must find other sources of food. Ching Tian's dark circles under his eyes are so severe. That's enough to eat now. If you're tired, go to sleep first. Remember to call me at midnight. Good. Because Ching Tian didn't sleep all night last night, did he? It's dawn. You're awake. Why didn't you ask me to change shifts last night? It's boring to see you sleeping too hard, so I want you to have a good night's rest. Just rest well today and don't have to do anything else. Uh-huh. The ebb tide today is around 1 o'clock noon. Before that, go find other resources. Finding resources is indeed not an easy task. After searching for nearly two hours, I only found some unfamiliar wild fruits see. From the position of the sun, this point should be around 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how far this place is from the beach. Let's head towards the direction of the beach now to avoid missing the time of low tide. That is, how could there be such a thing on this deserted island? This vast bamboo forest. Bamboo in the wilderness is known as the golden oil of architecture. With the complete collection of bamboo crafts, most of the things in it will no longer be just empty talk. This bamboo is even harder to chop than a tree. Every time the axe falls, the bamboo will shake up, releasing nearly 30% of the force on the stone axe and bouncing back a portion of the force. There should be bamboo shoots growing in such a large bamboo forest. But there's still food such as bamboo shoots in the campsite now, so there's no need to worry. It took me two hours to cut down bamboo from the campsite and a lot of time to get here. It's now close to noon. Unfortunately, if we had found this place earlier, we could have chopped more bamboo back. We've been delayed here for so long, so hurry up. Ching Tian, you're back. 3. This grilled fish was prepared by you. 
I'm afraid you'll come back late, so I prepared in advance. Hurry up and come eat the fish. It's almost getting cold. Wait, let me unload the bamboo first. What kind of charcoal is this? What's wrong with this fish? Why aren't you eating it? Isn't this too hot? I'll wait until it cools down before eating. Let's not dampen her enthusiasm. Maybe this fish just looks unappetizing. Maybe it tastes good. How does it taste? Is it delicious? Oh, this taste is simply too stimulating. Really? Then I'll give it a try too. Holding back and persevering is victory. It's all burnt. The fish tastes bitter and unpleasant. I almost suffocated myself. I'm sorry I wasted such precious food. Waste is nothing but a bit burnt. Just pay attention next time. This fish can always be eaten. We can't waste it. If you can't eat it, eat scallops. Give me the fish. No, I also want to eat. Give up. Don't force yourself. Ching Tian, what are you doing? Fishing ground cage. You also said that plastic bottles are too small to catch many fish. So now I plan to make a big one. Is there anything I can help with? Here's a task for you. Use a dagger to cut out two pieces of bamboo, then connect one end of the bamboo and tie it with a rope to use as a water bottle. Leave small things like this to me in the future. To survive on this deserted island, two people need to work together. Be careful not to cut your hand. I will. Yellen's changes are really significant. If Yi Lin acted passively before that night, then now she is taking the initiative to do things, and the future is promising. Simply put, there are three steps to making a fishing trap. Use a bamboo tube as a cage to split it into a flowering shape. Be careful not to split the bamboo nodes at the bottom. Break the bamboo strips on the bamboo tube at intervals and weave the cage body in a staggered manner from top to bottom. After weaving the cage body, insert the excess bamboo strips into the cage mouth in a funnel shape to achieve the effect of easy entry but difficult exit. Host makes fishing cage to earn 500 points. Although it was done a bit awkwardly, the first time I made a ground cage, I was able to make it look like this, which is already quite good. Ching Tian, can you take a look and see if this works? These two ears are used for threading ropes. I didn't expect you to even consider them. You did a great job. It's just that the hole hasn't been drilled yet. Just leave this to me. By the way, what are the plans for tomorrow? I plan to go to the bamboo forest again and collect more bamboo to come back. I'll go too. How much can I help? Otherwise, I don't know what I can do if I stay alone at the campsite. Coincidentally, I was just about to tell you about this matter. Previously, in order to take care of Yellen's unstable emotions, I didn't assign her too many tasks. But now that Yilin has overcome the hurdle in her heart, I don't have to worry about anything anymore. Naturally, we need to make good use of her labor force. Why has it become so evil? I suddenly regretted saying that sentence. This bamboo forest is too big to see the end at a glance. Yeah, I was also surprised when I first came here. Let's take a break here after walking for over two hours. The light here is transparent. If we build a campsite here, we shouldn't have to worry about wild beasts coming out, right? Now our food is still a problem. Just think about relocating the campsite. As discussed last night, the task of searching for bamboo shoots has been entrusted to you. Also, it will take some time for us to return to the campsite, so regardless of whether we can find bamboo shoots or not, you must return here before the afternoon to meet up. Don't worry, even if you don't say anything, I won't dare to go too far. And this bamboo forest is so big, there must be many bamboo shoots growing there. I'm sure I can find them. Where are the bamboo shoots? Eureka! Large bamboo shoots are too heavy and have many burrs, so it's better to choose smaller bamboo shoots. So many bamboo shoots should be enough to last for a while, right? Humph, humph. What's that noise? Wild boar. Stay calm at this moment. 
we must never startle these wild boars. We need to quickly tell Ching Tian about this matter. This bamboo forest must not stay any longer. Ching Tian, I'm back so soon. You said you encountered a wild boar. Are you sure you read it correctly? I can see that the wood is clear and steady. There are probably seven or eight over there, and they are currently moving in this direction. Let's hurry up and leave this place. Although wild boars are not carnivorous, they are highly aggressive and should leave this bamboo forest as soon as possible. Damn it, I never thought there would be wild boars blocking their way back here. When I arrived in the morning, I didn't see a wild boar, but now suddenly so many have just escaped from the cloud stack cave. Wild boars and pigs have an average body length of 152 meters. They are omnivorous and have rough skin and thick flesh. Their mane is as warm as a sweater, and they inhabit bamboo forests, hills, mountains, and other places with strong environmental adaptability. Wild boars usually move in groups of about 4 to 10 individuals. They usually go out to forage in the morning and evening, and at noon, they enter dense forests to avoid sunlight. Wild boars are fierce by nature and have few opponents, but they are the food of tigers. Tigers will track wild boar herds and attack them one by one, but there are also rare cases where wild boars kill tigers in self-defense. Shoo, shoo. Quietly leave here, don't make any noise. Discovered running. The speed of the wild boar herd is too fast. If it continues like this, it will be caught up in less than two minutes. We need to think of a solution quickly. I'm so tired, I can't run anymore. What should we do? Are we going to die here? Even if he dies, he must not implicate Ching Tian. I can't run anymore. You go quickly. I'm just a burden. Don't worry about me. TMD, is this a TV drama? I can survive if I leave first. Who is the TMD rule that only allows individuals to live? Chin Tian, hurry up. Shut up. Since you can't run, why don't you risk it and give it a try? The old hunter in the village once said that lone wolves and herds of pigs are not to be feared. Although wolves are scary, they are in groups. If a wolf is alone, it will feel scared and unable to exert its original strength because its companions are not around. Wild boars, on the contrary, are particularly timid when they gather in groups, and no one wants to be the first bird to be injured and suffer losses. Instead, they are scared and leave. It has become a threat and is working. Just one final step away. I don't have the courage to come over. Get the hell out of here, Dad. No, my legs are weak. Ching Tian, how are you? Are you okay? Did you get hurt somewhere? It's okay. Is everything okay? Although the wild boar herd may leave, they won't be able to come back. Now is not the time for idle chatter. Once I retrieve the stone axe, I will immediately return to the campsite. Fortunately, the axe was not damaged. Why is this fanged wild boar still here? I understand that it was due to intense exercise that caused the previous wound to bleed heavily, which forced me to stop. When the wild boar is left alone, it will be in a frightened state and easily go berserk. Once it feels threatened, it will risk its life. I'll go to your uncle's place. What is the date of the lunar calendar? It's probably not suitable to go out today. Why is luck so bad? We need to lure the fanged wild boar away to create an opportunity for Yellen to escape. Chin Tian. You go back to the campsite by the same route first, quickly. How could this happen? Very successful in bringing the wild boar here. Next. It's time to showcase the true technology. Goodbye to you. The validity period for successful use of the Swift Cheetah Experience Card is one day. I didn't expect this talent to consume so much physical energy. 
I can't keep running like this anymore. I'm afraid I'll exhaust myself and die. Although the validity period of the experience card is one day, I can only support up to three minutes with my current physical strength. But with my talent, I should have thrown away the test wild boar by a few hundred meters. That test wild boar must have lost track of me, right? Is this movement the wild boar with fangs? What are you joking about? It's impossible to run now when your stamina is exhausted. We need to hide it quickly to avoid being discovered. The wild boar hiding here probably won't notice, right? Could it be that the fanged wild boar found this place through its scent? Oh no, I was discovered. Did this beast really get hurt after chasing me for over 2,000 meters? I thought this wild boar wouldn't be able to run without leaving, but now it seems like it wasn't specifically squatting there for me. Yo! Fortunately, only the public can't climb the tree. Take a break for a while and wait until you recover your strength before figuring out a way to get rid of this fanged wild boar. What happened? The old hunter in Wokeo village once said that powerful wild boars can knock down trees. I thought it was an exaggeration. It doesn't seem exaggerated at all now. In this situation, the tree will be toppled within half an hour. But after such a long rest, I have regained most of my strength. At the moment when the tree collapsed, I could use my talent to escape from here. Stop it. It seems that the large amount of bleeding from the wound on his body has made the fanged wild boar lose strength. This fanged wild boar weighs about 200 pounds. If we can kill it and make it into bacon, we can eat it for at least a month. Judging from its frivolous steps, it should have weakened to the extreme. Perhaps I can take this opportunity to kill this wild boar. It's a pity to give up halfway after digging halfway, isn't it? Come over here. However, the dying counterattack of a beast is the most terrifying and absolutely cannot be forced. Hold back and wait for the test wild boar to charge towards the nearest point. Right now. It's so close, almost finished. Not dead yet. Take your life while you're sick. Early death, early rebirth. Four ouch. Sure enough, my skin is rough and my flesh is thick. I tried my best to stab the dagger, but I couldn't penetrate it to the end. I don't believe it anymore. I can't subdue you. White three. Don't struggle, you'll still be in pain faster. PM. Finally killed. Host kills wild boar to earn 2,000 points. I don't know if Yellen has safely returned to the campsite. Forget it, worrying is useless. The most important thing now is to leave here quickly so that the nearby beasts won't come looking for the smell of blood. It's impossible to bring back the fanged wild boar in one go, but we have to divide it and bring it back to the campsite bit by bit. But it's too late now, it's too late. Let's hide first to avoid being robbed by other beasts. Alas, wild beasts have always had sensitive noses. Even if they hide it tightly, they may still be found if they smell the smell of blood. But that's all I can do now. I hope to be lucky not to be discovered. Hurry up, I have to hurry even faster. Why did you wrap the ashes up? If I encounter wild boars again, I will throw this ash package onto their faces to bewitch their eyes and take the opportunity to escape. Are you planning to return to the bamboo forest again? I have to go back and find Ching Tian. Then you don't have this chance. You should at least collect the fish in the cage when you come back so early. Ching Tian. Are you okay? Did you get hurt somewhere? Do you think I look injured? Great, really great. I was worried that you wouldn't be able to come back. Am I not doing well? Why are you showering so wet all over? This is a long story to talk about. After I lured away the fanged wild boar. What? I'll tell you later. You're not a naive junior or senior high school student. Are you still shy? Take off your clothes and hang them by the campfire to dry. 
Don't catch a cold at night when the temperature is low. That sounds so good. Why don't you turn your head around? Yi Lin. What's up? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what are you doing? You're going to have needle holes. Ha uh, ha, uh, what do you mean? I haven't taken off my pants yet. It's a pity that there are so many bamboo shoots to eat in the bamboo forest, but they have been taken by wild boars. Fortunately, the fish caught in the fishing cage every day are enough for our daily food needs. After that, let's not go to the bamboo forest anymore. After luring away the wild boar, I used a trick to kill it. The body is hidden at the edge of the bamboo forest. I still need to go there tomorrow, and I should be able to bring back a lot of pork. You killed the wild boar. Isn't coming back alive the best proof? So you still have to go to that bamboo forest. Why do you have to go? It's too dangerous. Speaking of which, my ability to kill the wild boar was purely a stroke of luck. Based on the current situation, I really don't need to take another risk, but... How should I put it, Yi Lin? Let me tell you a story. In a small village by the seaside, there is a family of three whose father is a fisherman who drowned in the sea during a voyage. So in order to prevent tragedy from happening again, the mother restricted her son from getting close to the sea. But the child didn't listen and often secretly went out to sea with the adults in the village behind their mother's back. A few years later, a tsunami caused seawater to flood the entire village, and both mother and son fell into the water. Just as the mother was feeling hopeless, the child cut through the waves and rescued her. The child realized that avoiding blindly was not a solution, so he learned to swim early on. You also know this story. I remember this seems to be reading comprehension from a middle school or high school English paper. So you plan to take the initiative like that child instead of passively waiting for death. If we want to survive on this deserted island, we will definitely encounter various difficulties. If we choose to escape every time, we cannot survive. So how do you plan to face the wild boars in the bamboo forest? Bamboo bow. Make bamboo bows from bamboo to deal with those wild boars. There are more threats than wild boars on this deserted island. With a bamboo bow, I can not only deal with wild boars, but also ensure my own safety in various emergencies. The next morning. I haven't gone to collect this from the cage yet, so I handed it over to you. Also, don't burn the fish anymore. Don't worry, it won't happen. The time limit for talent is only one day. I used the experience card yesterday noon, which means the talent will disappear after noon today. I need to bring the wild boar meat back to the camp before my talent disappears, so that if I'm unlucky enough to encounter wild boars or other beasts again, I can still use my talent to escape. Indeed, it was discovered by other wild beasts. Fortunately, I didn't eat much and the four thighs with the most meat are still there. The fur of wild boars is a good thing, although it's a bit hard, it can be taken back to make blankets or used as a cushion for sleeping. This old wound is one inch long and deep, with visible white bones. I don't know what beast caused it. I hope it won't happen if I can leave such a wound on a wild boar with rough skin and thick flesh. These four legs must weigh several tens of pounds. Save some food and be able to eat for at least a month. The tendons used to make bowstrings must not be forgotten. I have limited strength alone and cannot bring back the entire wild boar. If it weren't for the fear of encountering a herd of pigs again and really wanting to bring Yellen, then we could bring back more food. Take advantage of the fact that talent is still accelerating right now. It should be sharp enough, right? Are you planning to use rabbit bones to make bone needles? Ah, are you trying to scare me to death and inherit my ant flower? Sorry, sorry see. Ach, huh. These four big pig hooves were all cut from wild boars. Enough for us to eat for last week, right? Unfaithful man. If you save some food, you can eat for half a month without any problem. It's not a joke that something weighing tens of pounds has been walking for such a long time, and my shoulders are sore. What is this white meat? It looks so greasy. That's pork fat. You don't know. I don't know. 
You just need to know that this is used to make lard. We don't have a pot for cooking lard, do we? If not, just do it yourself. Do you want to play with mud? You can watch me demonstrate how to make clay pottery on the side first. Before making clay pottery, use an appropriate amount of clay to make a base. As I expected, the clay in the campsite is very delicate and suitable for making pottery. My first attempt was to make a bowl and practice my hands. There are a total of six methods for making pottery in the field craft encyclopedia. Hand molding method. Mud strip plate forming method. Mud board forming method. Embryo forming method. Mud casting forming method. Impression molding method. Rub the clay into evenly sized strips according to the thickness and size required for the item being made. Among these methods, the last three require the use of molds and machines to directly eliminate them. Then wrap the mud strips around the base one by one and coil them around. Among the remaining three methods, the mud strip plate forming method is relatively simple and does not require much molding skills. It is perfect for beginners like Yi Lin and me. Finally, simply stack the mud strips into the desired shape. The thing you're pinching seems to be. No, it's not that you're overthinking it. The clay is very soft, so be sure to pay attention when shaping it, otherwise it will be made into strange things like before. Oh, oh. I have already taught you the method. You can try it yourself. Um, zero. I don't believe it. I can't even make a small bowl. It seems perfect. Isn't this thing that difficult? Yellen, how are you doing? It's okay if you fail. It's always like this at the beginning. Just try a few more times. I made a few, but I'm not very satisfied with them. Actually, you don't need to demand such high energy consumption. I won't make the pottery bowl for now. Can you try making a pottery pot for cooking? I'll take care of the kiln. This is probably because everyone has their own strengths. After that, let's leave this kind of manual work to Yilin. How big is it? Just the same size as usual for household use. It's too big and not easy to burn. I'll go air dry these first. Before firing, it is necessary to ensure that the clay pottery is dry, otherwise cracks may occur during the firing process. Although clay pottery can be directly fired in a bonfire, pottery fired in a clay kiln has better quality. First, burn the grate to make it hard, and then shape the kiln body on top of it. Then slowly pile up the soil into a straight barrel shape. Has time passed so quickly? It's already afternoon. We can only continue tomorrow. The daily catch of fish in the fishing ground cage is enough to meet daily needs, and there is even surplus. In addition, there are also dozens of pounds of pork jerky stored. I feel so rich. If nothing unexpected happens, Yi Lin and I won't have to worry about food for a long time. Next, we need to find ways to improve our living conditions. Is there anything good? You're smiling so brightly. Did I laugh? Have. That's probably because we're still alive, right? Being alive is a great thing, isn't it? There aren't many girls who can sew these days, and they can sew so well. That means we can still sew a seam now. We don't have any clothes to change. If we keep going like this, our clothes will eventually be worn out and my needlework will be useless no matter how good it is. You can't just meet naked, can you? Don't worry, everything will be fine after changing clothes. That's right, with the system in place, I can definitely establish civilization step by step on this deserted island and leave here. Is using charcoal to brush teeth really effective? Bite the scattered branches as a toothbrush. Charcoal is toothpaste. Charcoal has adsorption properties, and grinding it into powder can to some extent clean teeth. But this is not toothpaste after all. It's better to use it every two days. How did you feel? Um, there are some teeth grinding, but it's still far from reaching the level of damaging the teeth. How long will this burn? 
Rough pottery like ours usually takes about five hours to be fired. It's been so long, won't it have to wait until the afternoon? I forgot to tell you that if the firing is successful, the ceramic must be cooled for one night before it can be used. If what does it mean? Firing pottery is not as simple as throwing it into the fire. The temperature and time during firing depend on the situation. If not controlled properly, situations such as cracking and deformation of pottery may occur. So you can make more clay pottery as a backup. Is it just me? When firing the kiln, I have to maintain the temperature inside the kiln, so I have to watch from here. And I believe this matter must be a piece of cake for you. Just leave the task of making clay pottery to me. Noon. Three became one, and I felt lonely all morning. The success rate of finished products is too low now, and we need to find a solution to solve it. What is this powder? In pottery, there is a material called clinker, which is the powder ground from fired pottery. Adding it to clay can increase its viscosity and reduce the shrinkage of clay pottery during firing, making the fired pottery harder. Midnight. It's time to change shifts. Wait for me to finish making this jar. Although two were broken, at least half of them remained compared to the first kiln. It seems that adding clinker still has some effect. If I can gradually find the right firing time and control the temperature during the firing process, the success rate should be able to increase a bit. According to this loss rate, the finished pottery after firing this batch of clay pottery is sufficient for daily use. The second day. Don't let it rain in this weather. Will adding water when cooking lard not explode? Adding water can increase the oil output and avoid burning the oil. As for the issue of water splashing when encountering hot oil. Actually, when cooking lard, not much water is added. By the time the oil starts to come out, the water has almost evaporated, so there's no need to worry about frying the pan. To make oil, we have to wait for a while. Before we can make oil, we have to grind the shells into powder C. What is the purpose of grinding shells into powder? For making soap. Oh, soap. Fat, fat soap. Is there anything wrong with that? What is the reaction between alkali and oil? What's wrong with the saponification reaction? Oh, I see. The main component of shell powder is calcium carbonate CACO3. After calcination, calcium oxide chow can be obtained. What are you doing? When calcium carbonate is calcined, there will be carbon dioxide produced. Inhaling too much can make people dizzy. I don't think this amount will be a problem at all. Calcium oxide reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide Cal2. The main component of plant ash is potassium carbonate, which can react with calcium hydroxide to form potassium hydroxide co-solution. Be careful not to scoop the wood ash water too deep, only the upper clear part is needed. Large Potassium hydroxide solution is alkaline and undergoes saponification reaction with oil. Mixing it with lard can produce soap. Of course, potassium carbonate solution itself belongs to alkaline solution and can also be directly mixed with lard to make soap. But the alkalinity of potassium carbonate is weaker than that of potassium hydroxide. In comparison, soap made with potassium hydroxide has stronger cleaning power. If you get sick on this deserted island without any treatment, you will be sentenced to death. It goes without saying how important soap is as it can eliminate bacteria and reduce the chances of getting sick. The lard should have been boiled to this extent by now. Good steel is used on the blade. There is not much lard to be made, so naturally it needs to be made the best. What's the small trouble worth? What is this floating thing? It smells good and can be eaten. This is lard residue that can be eaten, but I advise you not to try it. It's so oily, so greasy, so disgusting. Actually, for those who can accept lard residue, this can also be considered a delicacy. But most people, haha. How long does it take for this soap to solidify? I'll probably get tomorrow morning, so don't think about it today. Go to the banana field this afternoon to collect some banana leaves. Be prepared before it rains. If you want to purchase talent, you still need at least 5,000 points. 
I don't know how many points will be rewarded after completing this bamboo bow. The dark clouds are so thick that it seems like this rain will come very hard. Fortunately, the wooden shed was built in advance, otherwise we wouldn't have known where to take shelter from the rain. I earned 1,000 points for making pottery and 2,000 points for making soap, plus the remaining points from before. Now I have a total of 6,000 points. What are you thinking? I was wondering if you were bitten on the butt by a snake after washing for so long and not coming back. You. Is soap still usable? It's quite good, with a lot of bubbles. It's just for washing hair, but the hair feels a bit dry. But having soap on this deserted island is already very good. Here's this for you. This is what you did. Thank you. Just don't mind doing it casually. I'll leave the wild boar skin to you to handle. Use a dagger to clean the oil film and minced meat on it to prevent it from rotting and emitting a foul odor. Oh. Generally speaking, the bamboo material used for making bamboo bows is preferably bamboo that has been dried in the shade for two years. This type of bamboo has less moisture and is not easily deformed. Where can we find the dried bamboo on this deserted island? We can only use fire to reduce the moisture in the bamboo. Bow is divided into hard bow and soft bow. The bow tire of a hard bow is harder and requires more force to pull open. The bow tire of a soft bow is softer and requires less force to use. Relatively speaking, although soft bows use less force, their power is low and their range is short, while hard bows are the opposite. If you want to cause damage to wild boars, a soft bow is not enough, you must have a hard bow. In addition, bows are also divided into single bow and laminated bow, and the difference between the two can be roughly understood from their names. The arch tire of a single bow is a one-piece laminated bow, while the arch tire of a laminated bow is made of multiple bow pieces. The bamboo material we have now is not very resilient, and if we were to make a single bow, its power would be insufficient. It would be better to make a laminated bow instead. After the prototype of the bow piece is completed, it needs to be shaped. In the process of making bows and arrows, this step is called bow taming, and there will be a dedicated bow taming platform to shape the bow tire. However, this is the only way to make do for now. I didn't expect it to take a day to make two bow pieces, but at this pace, I'm afraid it won't be ready until tomorrow. Chin Tian thundered. Quickly put the wild boar legs and tendons in a jar and seal them tightly to prevent them from getting wet and moldy, and the soap is no exception. Finally moved in. I don't know how long this rain will last. Judging from the rain, it shouldn't stop in the short term. Maybe it will continue until tomorrow. Chin Tian, are you a hidden academic genius? How do you say that? Can you use what you have learned to make soap? What is a top student? I'm just a mediocre student hovering around the passing line. I just like to read some miscellaneous books. Personal knowledge cannot be measured by scores, right? Measuring people by grades is undoubtedly one-sided. Your parents value grades very much. Parents all over the world are the same. What's that noise? Does this voice mean? Yellen, wake up quickly and stop sleeping. Did you have breakfast? Chin Tian, what are you doing? Don't ask, I'll explain to you later. The most important thing now is to help me push down the wooden stake as soon as possible. What exactly happened to Chin Tian? The main tree is uncertain, but what can be confirmed is that we are in danger. Hold it steady and don't fall off. Chin Tian. P. I was scared to death. I thought it was some fierce beast. Coming. Wild boar whimpering. Sure enough, I heard it right. That's the movement of wild boar herds running. However, the number of wild boars in this herd is quite large, with over 20 of them. Those two wild boars are staying here and not leaving. Don't be afraid they won't come up. Fortunately, the smell was washed away on a rainy day, 
otherwise it would have been discovered by these two wild boars. Ching Tian, look. Are they dead? It doesn't look like they should still be breathing. I don't know if it's just like the fanged wild boar before. If it's really dying, I can use a dagger to deal with these two wild boars, but I can't take any risks for now. Speaking of which, I don't know what kind of wounds these two wild boars have encountered on their bodies, but they are so ferocious as if they were hit by a huge whip. My body temperature has been taken away by the rain, and both Yellen and I have dropped to the extreme. If we continue like this, we will definitely freeze to death. I don't know when these two wild boars will leave. I can't just sit there and wait for them to die. I have to find a way. I'll throw my shoes out later. If these two wild boars are attracted, we'll take the opportunity to leave here. I hope it's useful, otherwise I'll have to put it all together. I ran away now. The two wild boars have left. Well, I left. Looking at the panic of those two wild boars running away, it's clear that they were scared by the commotion I made. It seems that those wild boars were frightened before, which led to the riot. I'm ready to jump down. I'll catch you. Then I'll jump. Wow, wow, wow. What the fuck? It hurts so much, Ching Tian. Are you okay? Host completes dangerous rainy night mission and earns 3,000 points. 3,000 points. I beg your pardon? Did I say something? Did you hear it wrong? Fortunately, you lowered the wooden shed in advance to avoid a frontal impact, otherwise you would have been shattered by those wild boars. Even so, there are still many skeletons that have broken and need to be replaced at some point, but as far as the current situation is concerned, it's still acceptable. Fortunately, you little cuties are fine. If you run away, you won't be able to eat. Don't talk about such terrifying things with a bright face, okay? It's a pity that the soap that was just made has become like this after only a few uses. Fortunately, it didn't get soaked in the rain and shattered a bit. As long as it melts and reshapes, it can be used. The wood stored in the campsite has been soaked by rainwater. I hope the sun can dry them quickly. Please hand over your underwear. Don't do it. Washing clothes together can save some soap. Not just underwear. It seems that because of yesterday's rainstorm, the streams have risen. It was indeed the right choice not to set up a campsite by the stream back then. The storage pond previously built with stones has been flooded. Fortunately, the fishing cage is still in KK. Let's use this as a substitute before drying all the clothes that have been washed. Yellen is right. If this continues, one day we will become completely naked. We need to find nettle plants as soon as possible. Night. That group of wild boars won't come back tonight, will they? It doesn't matter if the wild boar herd is running, we can completely avoid it in advance. The clothes haven't dried yet. You can go to sleep tonight. I'll watch until late at night. Remember to call me in the middle of the night. After experiencing what happened last night, Yi Lin should have lost her sense of security about this campsite, right? Not to mention Yi Lin, even I feel that those wild boars could rush out of the dark corner at any moment. My nerves are constantly tense and I can't relax. After making pottery, I thought it could continue to develop smoothly like this. Now it seems that I was too naive and underestimated this nature. I need to quickly prepare a recurve bow to avoid having to run away in a panic when encountering similar situations again. Wrap the rope around two bow pieces and rotate them so that the tie strips of the two bow pieces are attached together. Then tie the two bow pieces together with hemp rope. Add another bow piece to increase the firmness of the bow. The previous rabbit skin can be used on the bow handle to increase friction. The power of a bow comes from the bow tire rather than the bowstring, so the bowstring must not have elasticity. Hemp rope can be used as a bowstring, but ordinary hemp rope lacks toughness and is prone to breakage. The toughness of pig leg muscles can make up for this disadvantage. 
After several days of drying, the pork leg muscles have lost their original elasticity. After breaking it up and tearing it into lines, it can be used as a thread bone and woven with hemp rope to make bowstring. Very good, the string is not broken and the bow arm is not deformed. This bow tire is considered to be done well. The rest are arrows. The best material for making arrows is a type of wood called rakaku. Let's not demand too much now and use ordinary wood instead. The method of using fire to dry the excess moisture in the tree branches that have been soaked by rainwater is to minimize the weight of the arrows and allow them to fly further. There are two ways to make arrows. The first method is to burn the arrow body in a bonfire, partially carbonize it, and then sharpen it. The second method is to polish the stone piece into the shape of an arrow, then insert it into the arrow body and tie it with hemp rope. However, polishing arrows is too laborious. I plan to make three arrows first and see how powerful they are. If they are similar in power to charcoal arrows, then charcoal arrows will be the main choice in the future. As for the arrow feathers, replace them with leaves first. Call. Host makes bamboo bow and earns 2,000 points. With 2,000 points, I have a total of 11,000 points to purchase talents. Well, currently there are two talents that can be exchanged. It's time for children to make choices again. The swift cheetah has experienced once that it has a talent for increasing speed, which is equivalent to a life-saving skill, but it consumes too much physical energy and cannot be used for a long time. If you encounter a beast like a fanged wild boar that never dies and can still pursue its scent, even if it runs fast, it will only be a futile struggle and will eventually be caught up. Powerful as a cow, as the name suggests, it means gaining immense power. If I acquire this talent and encounter a wild boar again, I am completely capable of facing the enemy. But this can only be chosen one by one. If you encounter a herd of wild boars, it will be difficult to defeat them with two fists, and the pig heads will have a dead end. Alas, now that I have a bamboo bow, I can make up for my lack of strength, so let's choose the swift cheetah first. Host successfully purchased talent. Host physical transformation begins. Oh, wow. Is it my illusion? I feel like my body has become much more resilient and my whole body is filled with a sense of comfort, as if I had slept in for a long time, and the exhaustion in my body is swept away. The second day. Let's just throw away those soil chunks and find a place to stack the pottery shards first. Good. The wild boar uprising left the campsite in a state of chaos. After a night of rest, Chin and Tian finally had the strength to clean up the campsite. There aren't many things to clean up at the campsite, just broken debris and collapsed wooden frames. The two of them quickly cleared them up. Under the chaotic hooves of the pigs, most of the pottery in the camp had turned into fragments, forcing Chin Tian and his companions to re-fire it. When I had the experience of making pottery again, both Yi Lin's craftsmanship and Chin Tian's control over the kiln were improved. It took two days for Chin and Tian to produce more than ten pottery pieces, which is enough to meet daily needs. On the third day after the rainy night, Chin Tian finally had time to tinker with his bamboo bow. Chin Tian's ability to make bamboo bows is entirely due to the system. Prior to that, he had never played archery before. So it is inevitable to have some accuracy on the target. Off target again. However, after a day of practice, Qin Tian's accuracy improved significantly. It's not great, but it's not a big problem to shoot a large animal like a wild boar. The next morning. Is it because the dense branches and leaves in the forest block out the sunlight? It's been three days since the rainy night and the forest is still so muddy. That's a tadpole. How could there be tadpoles on this tree? but it's developing quite smoothly and has already given birth to two legs. It looks like it will soon grow into a frog. In terms of quantity, the tadpoles should have hatched there instead of falling there due to external factors. The vastness of the world is truly remarkable. It's the first time I've seen a tadpole survive in a tree. Bamboo Forest Last time I encountered a wild boar inside the bamboo forest. 
As long as I don't go too deep on the periphery, I shouldn't have encountered a wild boar. It's also a loss that a large number of bamboo shoots have just rained and burst out of the soil, otherwise it wouldn't be easy to find bamboo shoots on the outskirts. Oh, oh one. Could this sound be a wild chicken? Oh, as expected. Although I haven't seen this kind of pheasant before, its color is quite beautiful. I have chicken soup to drink tonight. Active targets are indeed much more difficult than fixed targets. However, these mountain chickens are really clueless. They didn't get scared at all and gave me a second chance. This time, nothing can be said in vain. Maybe I should get closer. This distance should be about the same. Oh. Host shoots wild chicken to earn 200 points. Nice finally won. Crowing of a cock. I wasted too many arrows before. Forget it. Three wild chickens are enough to eat a few meals. Oh. What a silly roe deer in the world of wild chickens. This reflex arc is a bit too long. Are you ready? I have to open the lid now. What a rich aroma. This chicken soup. This chicken soup is really delicious. The richness of chicken lingers in the mouth for a long time without dissipating, and the fertile land is nourished by bamboo shoots that break through the soil to release fresh breath that directly hits the brain. This feeling is like running happily with wild chickens in the bamboo forest after rain. Wild chickens are not fat and there is basically not much meat. According to theory, the stewed chicken oil should not be too much and the chicken flavor should not be too strong. However, the strong acidity and freshness of the bamboo shoots after the rain, like a flavor enhancer, infinitely amplifies the taste of the chicken while its wild acidity becomes soft and fresh. This combination is truly unexpected. If there was a little salt, it would be even better. If there is salt, the chicken soup would taste better, wouldn't it? Probably. If this level of taste can make you so intoxicated, adding some salt may make you lose your composure directly. Oh, I forgot. How could there be salt on this deserted island? If only there were salt, it would not only make the food more delicious, but also provide essential trace elements for the human body. I won't believe you. As a college student, if you can't think of using seawater to make salt, just say it openly. Stop talking, we're going to the beach tomorrow to make salt. It has been two weeks since we arrived on this deserted island, and during this time, Yi Lin and I have never consumed any salt or received any replenishment of sodium elements. Continuing like this may lead to limb weakness, and in severe cases, even fluid imbalance and overall swelling. It is indeed time to solve this problem. Okay, that's settled. The feathers of this wild chicken can be used to make arrow feathers. It will take a lot of time for this big pot of seawater to dry up. I think we can search for supplies and something like that. You can go by yourself. If there's nothing else, you can also stroll around nearby. And what about you? I plan to make a sundial. With a sundial, we can know the time and better plan our daily activities. The sundial is great, so I'll help too. Wait, we don't have professional tools on hand to get accurate angles, right? Who said there's no hemp rope? How to make hemp rope? First, make a pile of mud and use a dagger to roughly cut out a square mud board. Then use the diagonal to determine the center of the clay plate. Then draw a circle on the clay tablet to obtain the dial. When it comes to placing sundials according to their faces, there are three types, equatorial, horizontal, and vertical. The difference between these three lies in the angle of the dial. I think you should be able to tell the difference from their names. Flat type. Vertical type. Equatorial. The equatorial style should be inclined, with two types at the back. One is a heat plate placed flat on the ground, and the other is vertically hung on the wall. Enemy. Among these three types, only the equatorial sundial has an equal angle between each time interval on the dial. 
divide the rope in half, then fold it together and divide it evenly into three parts so that the square can be divided into six equal parts. Without a protractor, we can only do this one. The sundial dial is different from the clock dial we usually see, as the time on it ranges from 0 to 24. Therefore, we need to divide the sundial dial into 24 parts. In addition, there is time on both sides of the dial, and the time markings on the back are opposite to those on the front. The reason why the sun moves back and forth between the Tropic of Cancer. Summer sun. Spring and autumn sun. Winter sun. Arctic. Equatorial sundial. In summer, the shadow of the sundial with a positive declination is on the upper plate, while in winter, the shadow of the sundial with a negative declination is on the lower plate, which is why there are two sides. And what about the pedestal? I remember that the base angle of this sundial must be adjusted according to the latitude of the sundial's location to ensure accurate time, but now we don't even know the location of the deserted island. Do you want to make a sextant? What are you thinking? The sextant needs to measure the angle between the sun and the horizon at a certain moment to obtain latitude and longitude, but if I know the time, why do I need the sextant? However, this statement is not entirely accurate. There is still a time when we can know. You're talking about noon. That's right. At noon, the shortest shadow of an object can be removed. Based on this, we just need to adjust the dial so that the shadow falls on the 12, and then we can reverse the angle of the sundial base. Yellen, keep an eye on me here and check how the seawater is cooking. You go ahead, I'll call you when the shadow has almost shrunk below the bamboo. Although it's still a bit wet, if you keep boiling it, the salt will probably turn into burnt salt. Just expose it to the sun for a few minutes and it should be enough. A pot of seawater can contain about 200 grams of coarse salt, which can be eaten for about half a month. The entrance is bitter and contains fine sand impurities, which need to be further refined before consumption. At that time, there will be even less salt left. There's still some time left until this afternoon to burn two more cans. In this way, at least 600 grams of salt can be obtained before leaving the beach. Even if the remaining salt is refined, how can it be eaten for more than a month? Ching Tian, come quickly. Is it done yet? It's a bit shaky. I'll add another bamboo. Salt, also known as coarse salt, is generally not recommended for consumption because it contains insoluble impurities such as sediment, as well as soluble impurities that could potentially harm the human body. Ching Tian and Yi Lin knew this, so after the Sundial Foundation dried, they immediately returned to the camp to refine the sea salt to an edible level. It's more accurate to say that the salt has been washed once than refined. Simply put, it means dissolving salt in clean water, filtering it, and then reheating it until it dries up to obtain relatively clean salt. In the refining process, filtration is the most critical step. In order to remove insoluble impurities from salt to the greatest extent possible, Ching Tian and his team prepared a filter. Cobblestone. River sand. Fine sand. Charcoal. Cloth. Using a bamboo tube as the outer shell, a dagger is used to pierce several small holes at the bottom, and then the fabric, charcoal, fine sand, sand, and pebbles are sequentially placed into the bamboo tube. This simple filter is done. If it were filled with activated carbon, that would be great. You should know that the adsorption force of activated carbon is much stronger than that of charcoal, which can filter impurities in salt water more cleanly. It's just that this filtering method is too slow. After a few hours, Ching Tian and his team only received a meager amount of salt water that overflowed the bottom of the pot. TSK, TSK. At 6 p.m. This chicken soup is really delicious, isn't it? There is a saying in Chinese cuisine that success or failure depends on the skill of fire, with one salt, two sauces, and three color combinations. Among them, salt ranks first, which shows how much influence salt has on a dish. It's not an exaggeration to say that adding some salt to chicken soup can make the taste incredibly delicious. But your reaction is too exaggerated, isn't it? 
Speaking of which, how long have we been on this deserted island? If we count today, it's already 22 days. It's been almost a month now. Ching Tian, I remember you said before that you wanted to build a ship. What kind of ship are you planning to build? The worst way to cross the sea is to have a fishing boat. But before that, we need to improve our current quality of life. As far as the strength of Yi Lin and I are concerned, the time required to build a fishing boat must be measured in years. We have to live comfortably on this deserted island to have extra energy to do other things. Let's first replace this wooden shed with a more sturdy one. For example, bamboo houses or wooden houses. The next time we encounter a wild beast, we also have a place to hide, so we don't have to panic and escape. Well, we also need to move the campsite somewhere. Yellen's words really hit my heartstrings. Since the rainy night, this wooden shed has been so difficult to rest in peace. It's time to take some measures to deal with it. Why relocate the campsite? Although the current area is relatively spacious, the surrounding trees are dense and prone to encountering wild animals. At first, we were pressed for time and had no choice but to camp here, but now that we have solved the problem of food and drink, we have plenty of time. It's time to switch to a better living environment. Four days later. Although we need to relocate the campsite, the location is really difficult to find. We have been searching continuously for four days, but we haven't even found an alternative location. The light here seems to be getting stronger. Is it approaching the edge of the forest? I don't know what I'll see when I leave the woods. It's quite exciting. This. It's a grassland in the forest. This grassland is separated from the surrounding forests and has a wide view, making it the best place to build a campsite. There is also a cave. I don't know if there are any wild beasts in this cave. If there are, we have to find a way to deal with them. Can't see the situation in the cave clearly? Let's use arrows to explore first. Only the sound of arrows hitting the stones could be heard, and there was no other movement. It seems that this cave is probably empty. This cave is so spacious that if it doesn't drip water, it can be used for living. Zero, zero. This is the bone of an animal. This is not a hole without an owner. And judging from the bones scattered all over the ground, the owner of this cave is definitely a ferocious beast. Swift Cheetah Activated This This is the national treasure giant panda. But how do I feel? This panda looks strange. Don't be so excited. Let's start with a big bamboo. I don't know if it will eat or not. Oh, it seems like I'm very interested. What situation do I rely on? No, this guy's head is black and white, while the giant panda's head is white, only the eyes are black. But is it a subspecies that looks so similar to pandas? Just now, I'm not an opponent. Let's widen the distance first and then talk about it. I am not far from this panda, but it did not notice me, which proves that its sense of smell is not sensitive, at least it cannot find me by following the scent like that fanged wild boar. It's really crazy to attack pandas. I'm afraid I'm not the first person in the past decade, but if you want to get that cave, you have to kill this panda. I'm sorry. WTF. Isn't this skin so thick? The charcoal arrows didn't leave any wounds, which is really outrageous. Judging from the two chases, this panda's speed is not very fast. With its talent, I don't have to worry about being caught up by it. This time we used stone arrows. I don't believe you're so hard-headed. That's enough. What's broken? This head is probably not made of 24K dog head alloy. This claw is too terrifying. If caught on camera, it would probably be cut off at the waist. I've almost exhausted my stamina. Let's go back first and think of other ways. At night. Isn't a panda a national treasure? Why don't we just forget it? We can find another place where we can't even deal with bows and arrows. It's too dangerous. 
It's not necessarily a national treasure, but the difference between the long and modern pandas is still significant. Don't worry, I won't do anything that I'm not sure about. Besides, if I can't beat or run, that's C. You have come up with a solution. This belt buckle is made of iron. I plan to melt it and use it as an arrow. But this can only make a maximum of two arrows, right? Tie a hemp rope around the tail of the arrow so that the arrow fired can be pulled back. Repeating two arrows like this should be enough. The melting point of iron is around 1500, while the temperature generated during charcoal combustion fluctuates but is generally maintained at around 700. It is impossible to melt iron. So Ching Tian needs to make a bellows by continuously sending oxygen from the air into the clay kiln so that the temperature inside the kiln can exceed 700 and reach 1500, thereby melting the iron buckle. Traditional bellows are usually of the pull-out type. For example, they are like a syringe for injection, and air can be sent into the furnace by pulling between them. As far as the existing materials are concerned, making a pull-out bellows is the easiest. Just connect the bamboo tube, open an air inlet and outlet, and finally make a pull rod. But the pull-out bellows are very difficult. It's okay in a short period of time, but if you have to pull for a long time, the required force is very huge. Considering this, Ching Tian ultimately chose to make a blower-type air box. The blower-type air box consists of a shell and a rotor, with a simple structure and is also more labor-saving compared to the pull-out-type air box. The most important thing is that the fan blades are straight blades, so no matter which direction they rotate, there is always wind generated, which can constantly deliver oxygen to the kiln. This is something that cannot be achieved by a pull-out bellows. When Ching Tian was making the blower, Yi Lin didn't idle and used a dagger to carve arrow molds on the clay plate. It took Ching Tian and Yi Lin all morning to prepare everything. If this continues, you'll have to run naked. I don't mind if you're not afraid to suffer losses. You. How much longer will it be? About half an hour more. I can't hold on any longer. Don't stop. Persistence is victory. I can't do it anymore. This is too tiring. I need to rest well for a while. The template made by Yellen is really exquisite. Although I only used a dagger, I could carve such a symmetrical mark. Perhaps I can use Yilin's hand to create something else exquisite. The rest is just polishing. Host can earn 500 points by making iron arrows. How about an arrow? Is it okay? Thanks to your craftsmanship, the arrows are very beautiful. Thank you for your hard work. Let me cook dinner tonight. Good. Whether we can capture that vacant land depends entirely on this arrow. Very sharp. This sharpness should be sufficient. Unfortunately, there isn't enough iron. Otherwise, with dozens of arrows and talent, we could have solved that panda in one day. Previously, the integration of sundials and sea salt, combined with the most recent one, totaled 4,700 points. Enough to buy a new book. What we need most now is this complete collection of wild animals. System prompt. Um. The complete collection of taming animals and wild animals is a combination product that can be purchased together for only 4,500 points. May I ask if the host is sure to purchase the complete collection of wild animals separately? If there are such good things, then let's make a purchase. Product successfully issued. The Complete Guide to Wild Animals is a supplement to the Complete Guide to Common Animals. Let's first take a look at what new skills are available in the Animal Training Guide. The complete collection of taming beasts and the ultimate techniques to deal with various wild animals make you a new generation of wild king. This slogan is too mediocre. Kangaroo Edition EART because kangaroos are good at boxing. The first thing to do when encountering kangaroos is to remain vigilant. When approaching a certain distance, the kangaroo will definitely use its tail to support its body and kick it with its feet. At this time, the kangaroo's lower body defense is vacant, and it takes this opportunity to use a sliding shovel. 
When the sliding shovel reaches under the kangaroo, use both hands to kill the kangaroo for thousands of years. That's it. Hippopotamus edition at Hippopotamus has a huge body size and astonishing biting force, making it impossible to confront head-on. So when encountering a hippopotamus, the first thing to do is to quickly circle around the pillar with the king of Ching and reach behind the hippopotamus. While the hippopotamus hasn't reacted yet, immediately slide the shovel. Slide under the hippopotamus and immediately launch a fierce attack on the egg. Drink. Big wood, big wood, big wood. At this moment, the hippopotamus is suffering from pain and feeling weak all over. Seize this opportunity to push the hippopotamus down and continue attacking the egg hippopotamus. The Gorilla Chapter 11 Dell Chimpanzees are considered a very powerful animal in nature, with an incredibly strong body and terrifying attack power, but they are the easiest animals to deal with. First, boldly mock the gorilla. At this point, the gorilla will jump up in anger and pounce on you. Seize this opportunity and quickly slide the shovel to the location where the AK-47 fell. Then he picked up the AK-47 and wildly shot the gorilla soldiers. Don't let me catch the author of this book, otherwise I'll let him taste the slippery shovel-kicking eggs. Oh, forget it. Just treat it as that point and feed it to the dog. Sure enough, it's cheap, but there's no good product. If something goes wrong, there must be a demon going to his cat's discounted bundle. Good morning. You're awake. The broth is almost ready. Ching Tian is that panda fierce. If you want to go and see if it's not possible, why don't you give up this idea? Hey, do they also want to see it? If I could run alone and bring Yellen with me when facing that panda, I would really be doomed. However, Delicious Ching Tian, how do I feel that your cooking skills are getting better and better? From the initial unfamiliarity, fear, and unease to the current calm and peaceful state, Yi Lin has become increasingly familiar with the life here. There are only two iron arrows, and even if they are connected to ropes, they must be used with caution. Success or failure depends on this. Let's test it with a charcoal arrow first. Be not in. M.O. has gone out to search for food. I don't know if there is any information about this product in the complete list of wild animals purchased last night. The first panda to appear in the late Miocene, 8 million years ago, lived on the edge of moist forests. It is a type of panda that evolved from a bear-like creature and was primarily carnivorous. Sure enough, but... Eight million years ago in the Miocene, this is prehistoric life. Although the first panda was a carnivorous animal in the early stages of its appearance, in the later stages, due to significant environmental changes, its food supply decreased significantly. So, in the beginning of the final period, pandas began to feed on bamboo and evolved into a herbivorous branch, the babu panda, after a long period of time. Therefore, if you want to tame the first panda, you can start by changing its food and replacing it with bamboo and bamboo shoots to change its ferocity and then train it. If the PS process goes smoothly, you can successfully tame it within one or two months. Information in the Complete Guide to Animal Training Within two months of taming this system, there were many pitfalls, but there have never been any mistakes in terms of knowledge. Taming a prehistoric creature as a helper is quite tempting and worth a try. I need to find a way to make the panda lose its mobility. Slippery shovel to beat eggs. Forget it, forget it, let's just have a physical paralysis. I hope this arrow can revive the panda's limbs and prevent it from going out to hunt so that I can take action on its food. 224 Once hit, immediately retrieve it. It's not good to completely provoke him. Swift Cheetah Talent Activated The 36 Stratagems for Moving Forward First, establish a safe distance. Come again. The tactical effectiveness lies in the fact that this talent consumes too much physical energy. That's all for today. Six wounds have already been shot on it. 
As long as it continues to wear away in the next few days, even if it is a prehistoric creature, there will be a day it cannot withstand. Let's consume slowly, little panda. The next day after that. On the third day. The fourth day. It's strange that pandas should come back to rest at this time on weekdays. Why haven't they been seen today? Did he die from excessive blood loss? I don't think so. This blood is still fresh. Swift cheetah launch. I actually learned how to ambush. Try this. At the beginning, pandas actually learned to be smart in battles. We lost an iron arrow, so let's leave first. Now there's only one spare iron arrow left. If it gets damaged by that giant panda again, there's really nothing I can do. We need to think of other foolproof solutions. This is. The blue poison dart frog is a species of frog with a sapphire colored body and deadly toxins in its skin. It is a member of the poison dart frog family and feeds on ants, crickets, and spiders, which can store the toxins in its skin. This toxin can prevent muscle movement and cause severe muscle and respiratory paralysis, which can lead to death. Unlike most frogs, blue poison dart frogs usually lay eggs and pineapple plants on fallen trees. Hee hee, it's truly a path that never ends. Laying eggs and pineapple plants. Could it be that the tadpoles we saw in plants before were unformed poison dart frogs? Drink. There is a record in the Encyclopedia of Wilderness Crafts of a type of poison arrow made by Native Americans, which can shoot large animals and the poison on it is obtained from the poison dart frog. Now there's no need to worry about dealing with that panda. I wonder if there are any other poisonous dart frogs nearby. No, the rain is getting heavier. Yi Lin is still at the campsite. Let's talk about Jlo when we go back. Campsite. Yellen, I'm back. Ching Tian, it's great that you're back. Yi Lin. It seems that the previous experience still left a shadow on Yellen. Sorry for making you feel anxious. Who said I was scared? I was just worried about you. This frog is so beautiful, isn't it poisonous? This is a type of blue poison dart frog, which is naturally toxic. The brighter the color, the stronger the toxicity. I know this, just like poisonous mushrooms. Why did you bring it back? Do you want to? That's right, I want to try if I can use this to tame that giant panda. Early morning. Is this method feasible? Although taming pandas is the best option. Give it a try. As long as I successfully refine and tame that panda, I am very confident. Hey, bubbles are popping up. This is the moisture on the body surface, not venom. Wait a little longer. It turned black and emitted a strange smell. This is the venom that seeps out from the skin of the poison dart frog. This amount should be enough. Although they are prehistoric creatures, they have already suffered many injuries. If there is too much venom, it can still be fatal. I've done it for you as you said. Thank you. What's the use of these grass balls? They're wet inside and dry outside. Are you going to use them to smash them? Hee hee, I have my own clever use. There are no obvious puddles or footprints on the ground, so it should still be inside. Okay, this thing is specially prepared for you. Let's go. Although the previous plan of physical paralysis failed, I came prepared this time. Just wait and see. I already lost a lot of blood and just inhaled some carbon dioxide. Swift cheetah talent activated. Now let's do some vigorous exercise. After running for so long, the sound of shouting is no longer as energetic as before. It's time. Try the poison arrows I specially prepared for you. Indeed, the sharpness of the stone arrowhead is still slightly inferior. But this happens to be troublesome if too much toxin is ingested and directly poisoned to death. The sleeping trough is ineffective. BL 
In theory, it should have difficulty breathing and muscles are difficult to control now. Could it be due to a lack of control over the amount of toxin or the blunt nature of the stone arrow preventing the toxin from entering the body? Tiencho would have known from the beginning that he used iron arrows. That's enough. It seems that the counterattack just now was already at the end of its strength. It must have sensed the uniqueness of the poison arrow, which is why it fought back so fiercely and fiercely. Anyway, let's observe for a while before discussing Jlo. In an hour. Two hours later. Three hours later. It took three hours to barely regain its mobility. Fortunately, this amount of toxin is just enough to make it lose its mobility without endangering its life. The next morning. Can this really be done? Do you want to prepare more? That's enough. If nothing unexpected happens, we should be able to handle it today. Fish mixed with bamboo shoots should not be a problem. At the cave. Oh, this guy fell asleep directly at the entrance of the cave. I guess he was already exhausted from crawling back yesterday. How much more to climb? At least climb into the hole. What's going on with this big but leaking out of the hole? It seems that the modern panda's naivety is definitely not the result of evolution, but has been like this since their ancestors, purely due to genetic reasons. Okay, put the sliced bamboo shoots into the belly of the fish. Get up and eat. Roar, roar. It seems that the effect of the toxin is still there, otherwise it would have rushed over long ago. Roar. It's delicious. Although this panda may not seem very intelligent, it has strong combat power and should become a great help for survival on this deserted island after being tamed. Hey, there's something else. Oh. Because I couldn't move and was hungry all day, I sure ate whatever tasted delicious. What name should we give to this product? Reunion member Juan Juan. Naming a pet is not a small matter, although pets may not understand the meaning of that name. However, if they shout it out too many times, they will react to that name and even know that it is their own name. What a fool! He even forgot about his own poisoning. Hampy. Hampy, that's right. It's called Hampy. From the current progress, it will take at least two months to completely tame Hampy. Hampy. Oh, that's the name I gave to that panda. But in two more weeks. When there are too many slots in this name, I don't know where to start roast. After Hampy becomes less aggressive, I should be able to achieve 1717. What's wrong? Why aren't you eating? I don't have much appetite. Your period is coming. Damn it, your relatives are here. No. That means we're coming soon. Can you please shut up? Sorry, sorry I was too direct. Yi Lin is indeed a bit irritable now, partly because she is about to enter her menstrual cycle, and partly because she is troubled by not knowing how to cope with her menstrual cycle. Although I haven't had a girlfriend yet, I still know about this kind of thing. It's a bit awkward that there is nothing on the deserted island. How much more time is left? I don't know, see, I don't know. A woman's menstrual cycle usually lasts for 28 days. Normally, it should have arrived a few days ago, but I haven't felt it until now. I think it may be due to irregular sleep patterns during this period or other reasons that my menstrual cycle has been delayed. As for how many days it has been delayed, I don't know. Let's start making paper tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be able to make it in time. Paper really but it definitely can't compare to the paper we usually use. It's okay if it can be used. The earliest paper in the world appeared in the Western Han Dynasty, but the paper of that period was rough and of poor quality, and could not be used for writing. It was not until Kylo Wen of the Eastern Han Dynasty improved papermaking technology that practical paper was produced. The process of papermaking during that period was very lengthy. But that doesn't mean there need to be many processes going through here. It's purely because obtaining pulp and papermaking takes a long time. At that time, before starting to make paper, 
Paper makers would soak the plants used as raw materials in water and let them rot and decompose under the action of microorganisms for a considerable period of time. Then lift it up and pound it to turn it into pulp. So I want to use modern technology to make pulp. The next morning. Oh, wow. What's in that jar? It smells so bad. Liquid excreted by humans. You still have this hobby. Get lost. This is a material used for making paper, okay? I've never heard of anyone using urine to make paper. You tie these bamboo strips into a square frame. I'll pinch the tube RT. That's about it now. Are these enough? Um, most modern papermaking technologies use sodium hydroxide solution, NAO, which can separate lignin and gum from plants to obtain pulp mainly composed of cellulose. The pulp fibers obtained by this method have strong tensile strength when used to produce paper, so there is no need to worry about them penetrating the back of the paper. The main component of urine is urea. After waiting for a period of time, ammonia, NH3, can be obtained by boiling with a flame. The main components of shell powder are calcium carbonate, CACO, which is heated to obtain calcium oxide, CHOW, and carbon dioxide, CO2. On this deserted island, we can also come up with a way to prepare sodium hydroxide solvent, which is too powerful. Don't daydream, quickly add water. Oh, oh. Carbon dioxide and ammonia react fully to obtain ammonium bicarbonate solution NH4HCO3. There is a stimulating odor, and the chemical reaction should have started. Unfortunately, if it were a glass test tube, the changes inside could be accurately seen. The reaction between saline NaCl and ammonium bicarbonate solution produces white sodium bicarbonate precipitate NACO3 and ammonium chloride solution NH4Cl. The temporarily unused ammonium chloride solution can be poured into a ceramic bottle and sealed, which may come in handy in the future. The precipitated sodium bicarbonate will be further heated to obtain sodium carbonate. Pour the heated sodium carbonate into lime water and stir. The composition of lime is that calcium oxide dissolves in water to form a solution of calcium hydroxide. After mixing with sodium carbonate solution, the calcium ions in the calcium hydroxide solution combine with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate precipitate. The remaining sodium ions and hydroxide ions combine to form sodium hydroxide solution. It's not easy. If there's electricity, we can directly electrolyze salt water to obtain sodium hydroxide solution. Next time, you can tie the dagger to bamboo like this and insert it into salt water to wait for lightning to strike the field. If I want to chop you, I won't chop you. After a brief rest, Qin Tian and Yi Lin collected weeds near the campsite for boiling paper. After immersing weeds in sodium hydroxide solution and boiling for several hours, the lignin and carbohydrates inside are dissolved in the solution, leaving only white cellulose. Then rinse with river water to remove other impurities, leaving only white sediment. Add clean water and stir evenly to obtain pulp. The woven basket they made was too big to fit into the jar. Helpless, the two of them had to pour the pulp into the pot and then scoop it out, which inevitably caused a lot of trouble. When hanging the mortar, you don't need to hang it too thick or thin. Good. It's already past 3.30 in the afternoon, but the weather is still very hot and the pulp is very thin. The paper in the frame quickly takes shape, although it's still a bit wet, it can be picked up without the frame. If nothing unexpected happens, we should be able to get the first batch of paper by evening. Post earns 1,000 points for making paper. There is no bleach, so the paper is slightly yellowed and rough, much thicker than the paper used in daily life. However, the toughness of the paper is undeniable, and no matter how it is kneaded, the paper will not break. At most, there will be some powder loss. Now that we have so much paper, we can talk to the branches for nothing. You don't have to suffer anymore. Don't say such things while eating, okay? Sorry, this is just a feeling. You're too skilled to use this method to make paper on this deserted island. But don't say anything about reading books or anything like that. Then I don't know what to say. Three days later. 
I've been making paper in the campsite for the past three days, and I don't know how Hampy is doing. These little days seem to be very comfortable. This face changes really quickly. It's okay to give you food, but you have to finish it all, okay? I haven't eaten for three days, so I think I'm starving to the extreme. These 28 20th fish shoots should be acceptable, right? Hampy, continue. According to this progress, it may take less than two months to change Hampy's diet. Hampy, I'm leaving first. Let's stop here for today. We still need to go by the stream. Two hours later. In my impression, wild ginger should exist in damp places like riverbanks, and I don't know if it can be found. Speaking of which, it's been a long time since we planned to tame Hampy and searched for resources. Wild ginger, also known as Nanhuangjingshan ginger, belongs to the family Liliaceae and genus Polygonatum. It is a perennial herb with a height of 4,080 centimeters. The rhizome is often nodular and swollen. Eureka! Generally, some shrubs and jungles that grow in the wild have a longer growth cycle and usually take three years to harvest. Picking them has the effects of anti-fatigue, strengthening the kidneys, and supplementing deficiency, and is one of the most common Chinese herbs in daily life. Wowoo! You usually come to relatives in such pain. Our class girls are not as serious as you. It didn't hurt that much before. How did you relieve it before? Warm up the baby with a hot water bottle or something, and then drink some brown sugar, eggs or something. I'm sorry, I don't have anything you said. I only have ginger tea and a hot water bottle. Can I just make do with it? Where did ginger come from? On the way back, I picked it up as soon as I saw it. Isn't it strange that it's easy? It's so warm. Generally speaking, wild animals are highly alert and will not accept food indiscriminately, but pandas still eat fish shoots when they are extremely hungry. Firstly, the movement ability of the panda was restricted, making it unable to search for food. It was starved for a period of time before being fed with fish shoots with mixed flesh. Ching Tian used this method to change the diet of the first panda, which can be said to be extremely tough, but quite effective. Feed once every three days per week, with a gradual decrease in the proportion of fish meat in each stage of the fish shoot. After nearly a month of effort, the panda has now accepted a 1 to 9 fish shoot ratio. Hampy, the fish shoots you're eating now are all given to you by your dad. You can't hurt your dad, do you know? The first panda also eliminated its hostility towards Ching Tian and gradually accepted his existence, so that Ching Tian could rub against the back of the first panda and say vulgar words without being beaten to death. One and a half months later. It's time for lunch, Hampy. This is a bamboo shoot that my dad went to the bamboo forest to pick early this morning. It's very fresh and delicious. Hurry up and try it. Yes. How about it? Dad didn't lie to you, did he? In less than two months, an animal that made a living by eating meat is now eating bamboo shoots, which really feels unreal. Perhaps the first panda was originally an omnivore, but there was a deviation in archaeological research that led to the erroneous conclusion that the first panda was a carnivore. Maybe in prehistoric times, pandas had already eaten food such as bamboo shoots, but now I have turned bamboo shoots into the main food of pandas. But even if Hampy accepts bamboo shoots, it cannot be completely concluded that it has changed its diet. The host successfully changed the diet of the first panda and tamed it, earning the slave animal seal reward. So Hampy really changed his diet. Since the system has already given him a reward, he shouldn't be wrong. Speaking of which, this is the first time the system has given rewards other than points, and I don't know what purpose this beast is printed with. Forget it, let's collect it first and then talk about Jlo. The user of the slave animal seal can establish a connection with the tamed pet by inserting the slave animal seal into the pet's body. With this connection, the user can perceive the pet's physical condition and engage in simple communication. 
The most important thing is that once a connection is established, the pet will never harm the user. It won't harm the user. This feature is great. Print it for me. That's it. Injured. Hunger. It's really amazing to be able to perceive Hampi's physical condition, isn't it? From today on, your name will be Hampi and I will be your master, okay? Humph. After spending so much time, Ching Tian finally managed to tame Hampi and felt great. That evening, when he returned to the camp, Ching Tian told Yellen about Hampi's taming. Then can I go take a look? Of course, if you want, we can go tomorrow. As a result, Yi Lin immediately made a request to see Han Pai, to which Ching Tian readily agreed. In fact, even if Yi Lin doesn't mention Ching Tian, he still has the idea of taking Yi Lin to see Hampi. This is also to make Hampi familiar with Yi Lin so that they can get along better in the future. After seeing Hampi, I'll just throw the bamboo shoots over, right? Well, but you need to remember to call out Hampi's name in advance before feeding him, so he will understand that you are delivering food to him. Beasts are ultimately beasts. They still maintain vigilance towards unfamiliar creatures. At the moment they see Yellen, Hampi's gaze is fixed on her. It won't suddenly pounce, will it? Don't worry, with me by your side, Hampi won't hurt you. But after receiving Ching Tian's guarantee, Yi Lin still bravely walked out from behind Ching Tian and fed Han Pai to Hiko according to Ching Tian's instructions. Hampi The strategy of using food to build closer relationships is extremely effective. In just one week, Hampi accepted Yellen's existence. Ching Tianhan's fur is so soft and comfortable to lie on here. As stated in the complete guide to animal taming, after Hampi's diet changed, his personality also underwent significant changes. If before that, Hampi was an active attacking type, now he is a passive attacking type as long as he doesn't deliberately provoke Hampi. Hampi is like a giant panda now, simple, cute, and can be easily needed. It is worth mentioning that Ching Tian tried to make Han Pai taste bamboo during Yi Lin's feeding, but Han Pai suddenly accepted it. This is undoubtedly a delightful thing for Ching Tian, as bamboo is much easier to find than bamboo shoots. Are you ready on your end? It's almost there. There's still a little left. Tie the fish mouth and tail with hemp rope to bend them into a bow state, which is archery. Enemy. It takes half a day to travel from the campsite to the grassland. After this treatment, even if the fish is out of the water, they can survive for more than 10 hours. I have explored the grassland, which is half an hour away from the stream, and the corresponding river section is relatively shallow. I am not sure if there are any fish there. After we migrate to the cave, we can use pottery jars to keep the fish. This way, even if we can't catch the fish in the ground cage, we don't have to worry about food in the short term. Hurry up and get to work. For bamboo baskets seem to only hold a portion of the pottery. What about the rest? Can you come back and get it? If you can't take it, don't go there and burn it again. Do I also need to bring the slate used for cooking? Well, bring it along. It's hard to find such a flat slate. Now that I'm leaving, I suddenly have a feeling of reluctance. After all, this is our first resting place on the deserted island. Be gone. Um, Bilvo. Host receives a new campsite reward of 3,000 points. Ching Tian, look, it's the Milky Way. It turns out that the photo is not P, and the Milky Way can really be seen with the naked eye. This kind of beautiful scenery can only be seen on a deserted island, right? This may not be visible at night in my hometown. Really? More real than real gold. But that was when I was a child, and you know the air quality now. It's good to see a few stars. Take your time, I'm going to sleep first. Now there's no need to take turns guarding the night, as long as Hampi is here, there's no need to worry about wild beasts approaching. We can sleep together completely. Sleep together. Is there anything wrong with that? Do you want to be my girlfriend? Who said I want to be your girlfriend? 
There's nothing you think too much about. Teen Tian, what do you want to do? Don't do this. I'm not ready yet. Do you know that sleeping together is a privilege only for couples? I just made a slip of the tongue. All right, I won't tease you anymore. By the way, don't forget to put away the remaining smoked fish later. Inaudibility. On the second day they moved to the grassland, Ching Tian and Yi Lin dug up soil in front of their own doorstep. As far as the existing pottery of the two of them is concerned, it is not enough to meet their daily needs, so they still need to fire a batch of pottery. The task of making clay pottery is up to you. Don't worry. In addition to firing pottery, Ching Tian and his companions planned to decorate the campsite well in the coming time. The river section where the cave is located is wide but relatively shallow. Although there are fish, the largest one is only the size of a thumb, which is not enough to fill the gaps between teeth. And the ground cage has nowhere to be placed. Maybe I should go upstream and see if the water there should be deeper. For example, using bamboo to build a kitchen for storing pottery, food, and other items can free up the area of the cave as much as possible, which will undoubtedly make the living more comfortable. This place is good, with a water depth exceeding the knee and a river width of several meters. There are many aquatic plants, and it is obvious that it is a place where big fish can be bred. Although it will take a lot of time, it is all worth it for the sake of comfort in the future. Therefore, Chin and Tian have been busy since this day. On the third day, the biting force of the bear is indeed not enough. At this speed, it only takes one day to collect enough bamboo to build a kitchen. Eat after finishing the work. On the fourth day, thinking of a wheel. After baking bamboo, it becomes soft and plastic in a short period of time, which can be used to bend bamboo into the desired curvature. Be careful not to fall off. Don't worry, this height won't kill anyone. I think we can stick a layer of mud on the exterior wall and further reinforce it. Then on rainy days, the mud wall was wetted by the drifting rainwater and turned into mud, seeping into the kitchen. Well, then forget it. One week later. Where should Ching Tian put this thing? Let's put it aside for now. By the way, give me that catheter. After a week of hard work, I finally set up the kitchen. There are quite a variety of fish in this river section, even including pond lice. Host makes bamboo ladder to earn 500 points. Host makes bamboo bed to earn 500 points. Successful host exchange for a complete collection of wild plants. But it's all worth it, isn't it? Let's go. Today, I'll take you to familiarize yourself with the surrounding environment. Ching Tian, come here quickly. The water and ice here are so cool and comfortable. When we were first stranded on a deserted island, what to eat and where to sleep were all problems. But now we no longer have to worry about it, and we can even play in the water happily like this. It's really not easy. Ah, what's making my feet hurt so much? Ice Jade, what are you thinking? This is quartz, okay. Quartz, I remember, seems to be one of the materials used to make glass. For quartz glass. Actually, the ice jade you mentioned is also quartz with high purity. As for the one you found, we collectively refer to it as a small stone. Which direction should we go next? Upstream water depth leads to abundant trees on both sides, while downstream river channels are open with more trees on both sides. Go upstream where you are more likely to find useful resources. This tree is estimated to be a hundred years old. The deciduous tree can reach a height of 15-20 meters and the crown can reach 15 meters. The thorny and sturdy soapberry tree is an economic branch and its hard wood is a top quality tree for making furniture. The fruit of soapberry tree is rich in pancreatic soap so it can be used as a substitute for soap in decoction. It can also be used for washing clothes. Its thorns can treat urination, intestinal obstruction, wind and blood, etc. It has multiple uses. I remember soberry can be used to wash clothes. Well, in fact, 
Adding soberry water with coconut oil and ginger water can also make soberry shampoo for washing hair. Does soberry shampoo make hair dry? There may be enough soberry pods on this tree to get a lot of soberry rice. In my impression, my hair was very smooth after washing. I have been using large soap to wash my hair all this time. Although I wash it clean, my hair becomes dry and messy after each wash, which is not good for hair quality. If there is shampoo, it will be fine. I want shampoo. I don't want to. I don't want Ching Tian to be in any danger, not to mention that this soberry tree is so tall and has such sharp soberry thorns. I was originally planning to make you shampoo, but if you say that, then forget about it. Although the soberry tree is tall, the bottom trunk of the crown is only about 3 meters away from the ground. With talent, it should be able to climb up directly. Chin Tian On this deserted island, I have large soap to wash my hair, which is already very good. I really don't need you to come down quickly. No, you're overthinking. I just came up because I wanted soberry rice. Yellen, remember to collect the soberry pods in a bamboo basket. Being presumptuous is simply embarrassing. I have to continue climbing up if the soberry pods are higher up. Fortunately, the branches of the soberry tree are thick and tangled, making it easier to climb compared to the smooth coconut tree. If you are a little careful, there should be no problem. If you tie the hemp rope, even if you slip, you won't have to worry about falling directly down. It's been too long since I last climbed the tree, and my skills have become rusty. If we put it in the past, that is. Although I can only see a few branches and leaves, that's definitely not wrong. Ching Tian, look at so many soberry pods. Maybe we can take out a portion to make shampoo. What do you think? Oh, really? Cough, it's up to you to decide. Well, then it's better not to do it. It's quite a troublesome thing. Han Pijio is ready to leave. I think it's better not to make arbitrary changes to avoid forming a hesitant personality. Why haven't I heard of this statement before? Should I decide whether to wait until I return from the sugarcane field to carefully consider it? Sugarcane field. What a vast sugarcane field. I didn't read it wrong. But what's a bit strange is that there's actually a circle of land left around this sugarcane field, giving people the feeling as if it was artificially planted here. Have you never seen sugarcane of this color before? Can it be eaten? Be careful not to touch. Wow, it hurts so much. It seems like the reminder was too late. Ching Tian, the sugarcane leaves are very sharp. Be careful not to cut them. I know. The leaves of this sugarcane are comparable to sharp blades. Only you, Miss Yi, dare to grab sugarcane leaves empty-handed. The sugarcane is so red that it turns purple, and the surface is too smooth. The white frost has already fallen off almost, and the weight is very light. This sugarcane skin is so hard. This type of sugarcane is more suitable for squeezing sugar. If you want to eat it, you still have to eat black sugarcane or yellow skinned sugarcane. The taste is strange, sweet, and slightly sour, not delicious. The sugarcane in April is already out of season. If the sugarcane juice in the current season is much sweeter, you need to bring sugarcane back. Yes, I plan to have some brown sugar. Zhao Jiao rice commonly known as snow lotus seeds, is a fruit of soberry pods that contains 8 essential amino acids and 9 non-essential amino acids and has high nutritional value. However, extracting soberry rice from soap pods is not an easy task. It is necessary to dry the soberry pods, peel off the kernels inside, and remove the black coating to obtain the white soberry rice inside. This is not very friendly to fingers. 8. This honey locust kanji is so delicious. It's soft and smooth. Unfortunately, most of the soberry seeds were peeled off, and there were only one or two pounds of soberry rice left in the basket. You don't have to worry too much about this. 
The fruiting period of soapberry trees is between May and December. After a period of time, soapberry trees should bear new fruits. When is it considered good to soak soapberry pods? Generally speaking, it takes two or three days to soak, but this soapberry has been hanging on the tree for a long time. If nothing unexpected happens, it can be soaked tomorrow. So if you want to use shampoo tomorrow, you need to prepare the ingredients. Then I'll go to the beach tomorrow to collect coconuts. Maybe I should cut the sugarcane smaller. After being busy for almost a morning, I finally managed to squeeze all these sugarcane. But before boiling the brown sugar, it needs to be filtered once. Chin Tian, I'm back. Cough, cough. Chin Tian, look what I found. Mushroom. Hurry up and praise me. I spent a long time picking on my way back. Amazing. Super Maryland. White Poison Umbrella, also known as Deadly Goose Paste Fungus, has an oval-shaped cap that expands into an umbrella shape when young. Its toxins are mainly toxic umbrella peptides and toxic peptides, which can cause organ dysfunction and death in the human body, with a mortality rate of over 95%. Is this going to kill me? This mushroom is so bright red, you can tell it's poisonous at first glance. You can't eat it. Also, this mushroom is called Poisonous Umbrella Mushroom. Poison Fly Umbrella, also known as Poison Fly Goose Paste Fungus, is a fungus of the Basidiomycota phylum that contains neurotoxic properties. Its surface is bright red or orange red. Half Oval Spotted Mushroom, also known as Hallucinogenic Mushroom, is named after its toxic fruiting body, which can cause hallucinations in humans after ingestion. This is called a semi-oval spotted mushroom. Don't think it looks like a large enoki mushroom, but it's a hallucinogenic mushroom. Chicken Oil Fungus Fungus Kingdom Chicken Oil Fungus Order Horn-shaped apricot yellow to egg yellow, rich in carotene, vitamin C, sweet and cold taste. This yellow mushroom is called chicken oil mushroom and can be eaten. If you see it again later, you can pick more. That's all there is left. After Yi Lin has rested, go and help me pick some mint. Come back and have Yi De Ching tender. Is that also a necessary item for making shampoo? Not for making toothpaste. Brushing teeth with mint leaves. Coconut oil so berry water ginger shampoo. Coconut oil, peppermint oil, baking soda toothpaste. Do you understand? Oh, oh. First boil the sugar cane juice into a sticky shape and then wait for it to cool. Is the soap cone inverted yet? We still need a little O. Ginger. The ginger oil in ginger can effectively prevent hair loss, stimulate new hair growth, inhibit scalp itching, and strengthen hair roots. I'll heat up the soap berry water. You can dig out some coconut meat and crush it. Large. It takes about an hour and a half to boil coconut milk into coconut oil. During this time, I can do other things. Isn't this the pot lid I made yesterday? Using bamboo weaving to frame mint under boiling water, distillation can be used to allow the steam to bring out the vegetable oil in the mint, condense it in a tube, and flow it into a reagent bottle. It smells so cool. If this is collected, it can be used as wind oil essence, but the effect may not be as strong. What is the ratio of soap berry juice to coconut oil? Open it 5 or 5 and mix it evenly. After the coconut oil solidifies tomorrow, it can be used. Host made shampoo rewards 800 points. Host made toothpaste rewards 500 points. Tomorrow. Otherwise, it's almost dark now. Do you still want to take a shower by the river? Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. Shampoo West Show soft hair hee hee hee. I was scared to death. I thought it was some kind of sound. It's raining. Did you wake up? It's raining so hard. Really? Speaking of which, it rained heavily that night as well. Ching Tian, look at Hampi, there seems to be something wrong. Roar, 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 roar. Hampi, what's wrong with you? 
Is there something uncomfortable? How do you feel that Hampi is unusually restless? Let me see what you're thinking. Is it another wild boar? Ching Tian, do you think those wild boars will really reappear? I'm not sure, but I have a premonition. If it really appears, you should stay inside obediently and nothing will happen. Coming. Hampi, don't be impulsive. Hampi. Roar. You're such a silly person. Rushing into the wild boar herd like this is just getting beaten up. Fortunately, Hampi caught the attention of the wild boar and it hasn't attacked me yet. Eleven one hundred twenty two. TSK, TSK. I don't know if the poison arrow has any effect after being placed for a period of time. It's working. I used most of the poison arrows I made before to tame Hampi, and now there are only four left. I have to make sure every arrow hits the target. ZDR Humph, hmm. Damn it, it was discovered. If that's the case, why don't we just pull them away? This way, we can also alleviate the pressure on Hampi's side. It should be about time to get rid of them here. If you can catch up, just give it a try. Fortunately, the rain diluted my scent. Otherwise, these wild boars would have surely found me by searching for my scent. If nothing unexpected happens, these wild boars should not come back. I don't know how Hampi is doing. We need to go back and help quickly. Hampi, stop chasing. Hampi, don't get too excited. It's me. Don't worry, it's okay now. No wonder it's an iron-eating beast. Even if you switch to a vegetarian diet, it's not easy to deal with. Can't all the wounds on Hampi get infected? It's going to be okay. After all, Hampi, this isn't just one or two times. How did you know? Do you remember Hampi's unusual behavior last night? If I'm not mistaken, Hampi had a premonition that the wild boar would come, which is why he had that reaction. Premonition. What I mean is that this is a habit that Hampi has developed over a long period of time. For example, when it rains, wild boars will riot for a long time. That's why every rainy day, Hampi becomes restless and uneasy. By the way, the last wild boar riot was also on a rainy day. But I remember when you tamed Hampi before, it seemed like it was raining too, but why didn't the wild boars riot? And I really can't figure out any connection between rain and wild boar riots. This is just my guess. I can't even tell what's going on. These four wild boars probably need to be dealt with until evening. I'll deal with the wild boar tomorrow. I want to go to the bamboo forest and find some bamboo shoots. Are you going to reward Hampi? Showing bravery naturally deserves a reward. And we should also supplement some vitamins. Eating meat all the time won't work either. There are really few bamboo shoots on the periphery, and it took so long to find only a few. In terms of Hampi's food intake, this bamboo shoot is probably not enough to be eaten in one meal. Perhaps I should delve deeper. Is it my illusion? I always feel that the bamboo forest is unusually quiet today, and I can't even hear any bird calls. This. There shouldn't be anything like a roller on this deserted island, right? Curiosity killed the cat. Following the routine of the TV series, if we go to investigate, we will definitely encounter some danger. I have to leave here quickly. What kind of movement? How? How is that possible? The Titan Python, 
currently known as the largest snake, appeared as an enlarged product of modern pythons in the Paleocene and became extinct as early as 58 million years ago. Titan pythons can reach an average length of 12 meters and weigh over 1 ton. They prefer to live in moist places such as swamps and rivers. This is playing with me. The existence of pandas on a deserted island is already outrageous enough, and now there is a titan python. Will we be able to see dinosaurs tomorrow? The speed of the titan python is very fast and its endurance is amazing. It is almost impossible to escape the pursuit of the titan python, but there are also ways to deal with it. The first step is, if you really encounter a titan python, remember not to run away. Instead, you should charge towards the titan python. Step 2. When the titan python sees you rushing towards us, it will definitely open its mouth wide to counterattack. Seize the opportunity and jump into the titan python's mouth. The third step is to enter the body of the titan python because pythons usually swallow raw food, so there is no need to worry about being bitten to death. Step 4. Take out the small knife you carry with you and crazily attack the internal organs of the titan python to kill it. UTM. Are you kidding me? The snake's pheromones can rely on the scent left by prey in the air to find the direction of their escape and even accurately calculate their current location. No, running like this is not a solution. Steep Hill Fortunately, the view of a slope snake cannot see me temporarily. Unfortunately, the poison arrows were used up last night, but I don't think even Hampy can handle them. The poison arrows are useless in the face of such a huge body. Do you want to try the methods in the complete guide to animal training? In theory, if we really want to implement it, there is a chance of success. Dog shit. Without saying anything else, the success rate of accurately jumping into the Titan Python's mouth is already below one in a thousand. If we really want to do it, it's no different from dying. Not good, it smelled my scent. I can only fight. Based on the size of a Titan Python, the heart of a snake should be about three meters away from the Titan Python. Die for me. Damn it, I got hit and still bounce around like this. Could it be that the dagger was too short and did not harm the heart? Stop it. Even if the Titan Python can smell the scent here, it probably won't be able to find me. Take a break first and think of other ways. An hour later. It's unrealistic to kill this Titan Python with only one dagger and we can only find a way to escape. The Titan Python followed my scent for so long, but couldn't find me. In the end, it turned around and left, probably giving up on me as a prey. In theory, as long as I don't make too much noise when I leave, I should be able to sneak away secretly. But this is ultimately theory, not reality. Therefore, I must be prepared to be discovered by the Titan Python. What does it taste like? Dunghill. By the way, wild boars will excrete in the center of their territory. But there's not a wild boar around here, so I think it must have sensed the scent of the Titan Python and fled early. Why did it suddenly accelerate? That is, wild boar. Surprisingly, the existence of this wild boar was detected hundreds of meters away, and the ability of this titan python to search for prey is too terrifying. I was able to take the opportunity to leave while the attention of the titan python was drawn to the wild boar. This wound. I see. The cracked wounds on the wild boar's body before were left by the titan python, which is also the reason for the wild boar uprising. Damn it, the battle ended faster than I expected. A kilometer away, this should be beyond the range that Titan Pythons can detect. But after nightfall, there may be other dangers. In my current state, if I encounter any other wild beasts, it will be like fish on a chopping board, ready to be slaughtered by the beasts. I need to find a place to hide. I hope there is something in the system that can change the current situation. 
However, the points I currently have are far from enough to purchase any talent. I hope there is something good in the lottery roulette wheel, even a trial card, that could help me. The prizes in the prize pool have changed. This 1,000-mile BMW should be a talent for increasing endurance. An empty prize pool means that points may go to waste. But if I can draw a 1,000-mile BMW, I should be able to quickly follow the cheetah and leave this bamboo forest. Take a gamble. Congratulations on obtaining the Slave Beast Seal. Lucky value 05. Start. My TM. What is the purpose of printing a Slave Beast on me at this time? The host successfully received the Slave Beast Seal. The wild boar is ready to return to its nest. I hope it won't be discovered, otherwise I'll really be finished playing. Have I ever opened my mouth wide? It shouldn't have been discovered, right? Damn it, we can only repeat the same trick. Opal. Essay. No, it doesn't work. WDNMD. Is it due to frequent use of talent? My knees are so hot. If this continues, I'm afraid I'll have to give up my legs before my stamina is exhausted. If I remember correctly, it should be in this direction. Here we are. Damn it, Liam Fifin. Oh, wow. Wild boars are almost blind at night and rely entirely on their sense of smell to move. Now that I'm in the manure pile, my scent is masked and as long as I don't make a sound, I shouldn't be detected. Fortunately, the wild boar did not notice it. But I didn't expect the wild boar to sleep here. It seems like I can only stay for now. Is it due to the heat emitted by microorganisms decomposing feces that makes this pile so hot? The carbon dioxide produced by respiration should also accumulate in the manure pile, hindering the dissipation of heat. This feels like wearing a big blanket in the middle of summer. If I keep going like this, I'll be dehydrated, right? It seems like my hands and feet are numb and numb. Sober. I need to activate my brain so that I can stay alert. If we go into a coma like this, it's really over. It seems that these wild boars won't leave here before dawn, which means I have to stay in this manure pile all night. Fortunately, my scent is completely obscured by this pile of feces, so there's no need to worry about being discovered by these wild boars. And this is the territory of wild boars, so you don't have to worry about being attacked by other wild beasts. In a sense, it can be said to be a relatively safe place. After resting for so long, my physical strength should be sufficient to use my talent and leave here. The only thing to worry about now is the Titan Python. Snakes have diurnal and nocturnal movements, as well as morning and dusk movements. Based on the time I encountered the Titan Python, I can determine whether it is diurnal or nocturnal. So in order to reduce the chance of encountering the Titan Python, it's best for me to escape from here during the period when the sun is still rising before dawn. Chin Tian Have you already experienced auditory hallucinations? You actually heard Yellen's voice. This is impossible, isn't it? In this dark night, you can't even tell the direction, let alone find this place. Being able to come to the bamboo forest is already very lucky, so how could you possibly find this place? Yi Lin. Qin Tian, where are you? That's a herd of wild boars. And Qin Tian. Qin Tian. I'm not dreaming, am I? That fragile yelling actually. Chin Tian, are you okay? Thanks to you, it's not a big deal. But I'm so dirty now, so I shouldn't lean over. It's broken. After being motionless for a long time, my body has become numb and unable to exert any force. Look out. Sorry, I didn't have dinner last night and felt a bit dizzy from hunger. It's very dangerous after nightfall. Hurry up and leave here. 
Hampy, although I know you're injured all over now, please hold on a little longer and let you rest properly when you go back. Hold me tight. Be careful not to fall down. Oh, oh. The torn fabric should be prepared to be used as gauze, right? It seems necessary for me to get to know you again. After running and stopping for nearly two hours, Ching Tian and Yi Lin finally left the bamboo forest and safely arrived at the river near the campsite. Before leaving the bamboo forest, their nerves were constantly tense, afraid of encountering any danger again. I also need to wash it. Don't come over here. After escaping danger, the two of them relaxed their nerves and the exhaustion in their bodies surged out like a tide. At this moment, they no longer wanted to move. Uh-huh. It wasn't until the sky was completely bright that Ching Tian and Yi Lin sat up from the water and began to clean the stains on their bodies with strong energy. After returning to the campsite, Yi Lin couldn't hold on anymore and lay down on the bed directly. Don't fall asleep. Take off your clothes first and then sleep. Don't catch a cold. Um, big no. Ching Tian arrived at the kitchen. Although he was too tired to move, his empty stomach kept urging him to take in something. And Yi Lin wants to change clothes, so he can't stay there. This. What's going on? Did wild beasts enter the campsite? I was curious about how Yi Lin's torch came about before, but it turned out to be made of lard. But it's hard to imagine what kind of expression Yi Lin had when she used a knife to cut open the wild boar's belly and took out the pork fat. Upon careful consideration, I am quite curious. For Wu. My knees have turned into this ghostly shape. This is estimated to take some time to recuperate. It seems that the swift cheetah cannot be used continuously in the future to prevent the entire knee from being disabled. Host completes Shiko escape mission and earns 7,000 points. This task is a bit too deadly. Yi Lin, I heated the rice porridge. Would you like some? This delicate appearance. Last night, that brave and confident you were probably not the illusion I saw. To be honest, you have the courage to come to me, which I never expected. Also very thoughtful in preparing gauze and torches. I underestimated you, Yellen. Night. You said you followed that trace to find me. What's wrong? Is there a problem with your intentions? That trace was left by the movement of the Titan Python. The Titan Python. Will it be dangerous for us to stay here? This shouldn't happen. If the Titan Python were to appear, it would have appeared a long time ago. It's impossible to wait until now. What about Hampi's food in the future? I only saw those traces after diving deep into the bamboo forest. If it's only active at the edge of the bamboo forest, there shouldn't be any problem. That's good. By the way, Yellen. Thank you. Um. Ching Tian woke up at noon today. Although he slept for almost half a day, his body was still a bit tired. After a night, his knees became even more swollen and red. But he doesn't have extra time to rest. They need to hurry up and turn the bodies of those four wild boars into bacon to prevent them from spoiling and becoming smelly if left for too long. But the workload of dealing with all four wild boars is not small. It seems to be cut too ugly. It's just meat, isn't it important whether it's ugly or not? Even with Yi Lin's help, Ching Tian had to work hard for half a day before he could handle a wild boar properly. Wild boars come from places that are difficult to eat but useful. Ching Tian didn't waste anything, such as organs that couldn't be smoked and preserved, so he ate them first. As for the bones, Ching Tian set up a big pot on the grass and put the washed bones in it to cook, intending to boil them into gelatin. How long does it take to smoke so much meat? About two days and two nights. Ching Tian had been busy for three days in a row before finally dealing with those four wild boars. Is it okay to just leave the pork like this? 
There's no way to put so many shells in the kitchen. Chin Tian, come quickly. What's up? Smoked meat was stolen. It was stolen. Could it be some wild beast that took it away? Probably not. The bacon rack is very large and difficult to transport. If it is dragged away by wild beasts, there should be traces of the rack left on the ground, but there is no trace on the grass. And Hampy didn't react at all. Wild animals like Hampy, although asleep, still maintain extreme vigilance. If any animal approaches, Hampy should be the first to notice. It seems that I will be keeping watch tonight. That's the same as before. I'm responsible for the first half of the night. That's okay. I'm going to sleep all day today and stay up all night. There shouldn't be any problem. I'll ask you to take care of the bacon. I slept comfortably this night. You're awake. How long have I been sleeping? It's already dark, probably around 10 o'clock. I actually slept for so long. Give a refreshing boost to freshly brewed mint tea. Thank you. For wild boars, based on the lowest one, have at least 600 pounds of meat that can be eaten for half a year. In addition, if the animal skin and tendons are handled properly, they may be used to make clothes. But before that, we need to figure out how the bacon disappeared. I hope, as I guessed today, it's not the work of an animal. If it really was stolen by an animal, then it would be dangerous. Animals that can quietly approach the campsite and steal bacon without leaving any traces. I'm afraid Yellen and I won't be able to wake up after falling asleep one day. It's already daylight today, so the thief won't come, will he? But just thinking about it, if I were a thief, I wouldn't have committed a crime in the same place in a short period of time. It seems that I have to keep watching until I know how bacon disappeared. That is. Golden Eagle The Golden Eagle belongs to the Eagle family and the true Eagle genus of raptors, with a body length of about 1 meter and a wingspan of up to 2 meters. The Golden Eagle is one of the top 10 predators in the world, skilled in soaring and gliding. It often hovers in a straight line or circle in high altitude while looking for prey on the ground. After discovering its target, the Golden Eagle often descends from the sky at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour and punctures its claws into the skull of its prey, causing it to immediately lose its life. Due to its strong ability to capture prey, Kazakhs often use it for wild hunting and guarding sheep herds after taming it. There are two ways to tame it. The first is to cultivate and establish feelings for the Golden Eagle from a young age and gradually teach it during its growth period. The second type of endurance, in layman's terms, is to prevent the golden eagle from sleeping and keep it tired until its fierce wildness is worn away. It must be said that the golden eagle is a solitary and tall animal. When enduring, people must always maintain a clear state of mind in order to gain the recognition of the golden eagle. Did Yanggua and Xiaolongnu end up living in seclusion on this deserted island? Oh, Brother Hua Diao has become a master. The thief is a golden eagle. Well, it's a big golden eagle. No wonder they can quietly take away the bacon. But as of today, the meat has been smoked and you don't have to worry as long as you put it in the pottery jar. This meat can be collected, but the shelf is not yet ready. Why? I plan to create a trap to capture the golden eagle and tame it. Before that, the shelf needs to be kept as it is to prevent the golden eagle from being vigilant. The trap structure is similar to this. Can we really catch the golden eagle? If a certain fire worshipper used this trap to catch a deer and use it to catch golden eagles, there shouldn't be any problem. But whether it's useful or not will only be known after trying it out. It should be because the bite was too tight and there was no unhooking. Chin Tian. Hampy, come here. Hampy won't get hurt, will he? Don't worry, my rough skin and thick flesh won't get hurt. Yes, yes, yes. Just press your paws there. Roar. It seems that more adjustments are needed. 
Get up so early, don't feel sleepy in broad daylight. Unable. But are you sure that Golden Eagle will come again? It has tasted the sweetness for two consecutive days and will definitely come. Coming. Chin Tian caught it, caught it. Why are you still standing there? Calm down, now is not the time for us to go out. The Golden Eagle not only has sharp claws, but its beak also has powerful killing power. If we rush over now, we may have bad luck and even our eyes will be pecked blind. Let it play around there until it's exhausted. It's time for us to step out. This is the Golden Eagle. It's so big, it's already over my waist. Are you sure it's not that your legs are short? It's almost at your waist, okay. I didn't say how tall I am either. But you're right. This Golden Eagle is indeed too big, far exceeding the average level. Speaking of which, the eels we encountered before were also significantly larger than the average, and Hampi and Titan Python were also one circle larger than what was introduced in the system. One example may be an exception, two examples may be accidental, but three examples are worth pondering. Why does the name of a golden eagle contain golden letters, but its feathers are brown in color? That sand eagle has never heard of it. Its head is full of sand. Sand carving. Yeah, sand sculpture. Wait, you don't want to name it Sand Eagle, do you? Isn't the name Sha Diao good? From today on, you will be called Sha Diao. Hee hee, it seems like you also really like this name. How do you plan to tame the Sand Eagle using the method of taming the silly skin? Well, this one. It is indeed necessary to tame before using the slave beast seal. The golden eagle has not been tamed yet, and the slave beast seal cannot be used. Yi Lin, do you know about boiling eagles? Are you planning to torture eagles like a shy iron fist? That would be fatal, right? It's not me, it's us. When boiling eagles, one can still switch people. The purpose of boiling eagles is to sharpen their wildness. As long as they can achieve this, it doesn't matter how many people can do it. If you have to endure it alone, it takes a little longer, about a month, because it's impossible to stare at it all the time without sleeping. But if someone else helps, it can give the golden eagle no chance to catch its breath. It should take about a week to tame the golden eagle. As long as we take turns boiling golden eagles, that's all we need. So I'll leave the day shift to you. I'll go to bed first. If I'm not awake at night, remember to call me. Okay. At noon on the first day. I've been watching here all along. Don't try to escape. The second day and night. Host made toothbrush earns 200 points. Doing this kind of thing at night is really a strain. How's it going? It's pretty good, isn't it? See how long you can hold on. On the third morning. Ching Tian should need the sleeves sewn with pigskin. On the evening of the fourth day. Gelatin has been boiled for so long that it should be almost done. Give me a good look at it. Roar. Early morning of the fifth day. Are you tired from all these days? Surrender early and be liberated early would be great. This can be considered a surrender. No matter, try using the slave beast seal. Host taming golden eagle earns 5,000 points. Tired out. Hunger zero. It really became. The sand sculpture was tamed much faster than expected, PLO. Probably because the eagle is worried about its child. How do you know it has children, the child of the sand sculpture? This is my guess, right? Well, yes, guess. The breeding season for golden eagles is usually in spring and summer. 
If nothing unexpected happens, Sand Eagles should also have their own children. Great. If we could bring back the children of the sand sculpture to raise, then we would have two golden sculptures. I think so too, so I plan to take a day off today and let Sandyal take us to his lair tomorrow. Huh, it's okay, I managed to fool around. Upon closer inspection, I suddenly noticed that the sand sculpture looks quite handsome. Hey, why can't you touch me? Didn't we tame each other together? Probably because the golden eagle ultimately submitted to me. He, you have the mark of a slave beast. You can also do it. Humph, look at me. Yi Lin. Humph, hmm. Such a heroic golden eagle walks like a big hen. Calling you a sand eagle is not wrong at all. The second day. After a whole day of rest yesterday, Ching Tian and Yi Lin regained their spirits and immediately prepared for the journey. Through the slave beast Ying Ching Tian, it was learned that the child of the sand eagle unfortunately fell from the nest. Although he did not die, he fell into a gap between the mountain walls. During this period, the golden eagle has tried to rescue, but due to its large size, it cannot penetrate the cracks and can only stand by every day. Although the sand eagle had already left enough food for the chicks before, they didn't have to worry about starving to death. But the chicks' wings were not fully grown and it was difficult for them to withstand the low temperature at night. If it rains again on the deserted island during this period, the chicks will undoubtedly die, so Ching Tian and his team need to rush there as soon as possible. However, after walking for a whole day, Ching Tian and the others were still in the forest. Evening Spraying quicklime obtained by calcining shell powder around can to some extent repel insects and ants. Although the effect is not as good as Realgar, it is still better than nothing at all. Dinner is cooked and ready to eat. Well, I can already smell the scent of meat. This forest is too big. We've been walking all day and still haven't left. It's indeed a bit too big. The average speed of human walking is around 4,000 meters per hour, and walking at this speed for 10 hours a day can cover at least 40 kilometers. Although Yellen and I were walking in the woods with our belongings, it was relatively slower, but even so, we walked at least 20 kilometers today. It can be said that this forest is really huge. What about the island that serves as a carrier for such a large forest? The search and rescue team couldn't find such a large island, or perhaps there are still such large and undeveloped deserted islands in the world. What are you thinking without saying a word? I was wondering if we might encounter any wild beasts. Don't scare me, okay? Ha ha, just kidding. What's wrong with Ching Tianhan Pai? I should have sensed some danger. Ching Tianai Wild Wolf. Ching Tian and the others have come closer. Don't panic. There are silly people who dare not attack recklessly. Zero, Hampy, don't be impulsive. Wolves are team animals, not like those silly wild boars who only know how to rampage. Yellen, come inside. If positioned according to the king, the rough-skinned and thick-skinned Hampy is equivalent to a tank, while Yi Lin and I are equivalent to shooters and assistants, and the wolf pack is equivalent to warriors. If Hampi, as a tank, leaves alone, Yi Lin and I will be attacked and killed by wolves at any time. Unfortunately, the Sand Eagle became blind at night, otherwise there would be no need to fear these wolves so much. Yellen, go light the torch. I was so nervous that I forgot the most important thing. Beasts are afraid of fire. The wolf pack dare not approach recklessly, partly because they fear Hampi, and partly because they fear this bonfire. I'm going to go. Throw. Hampi, give it to me. KV. Fortunately, I was scared away, but according to the cunning nature of wolves, they may be nearby. Stop, stop, hurry up and collect your magical powers. Huh, finally out of the forest. It feels like I've traveled through time. Coincidentally, so am I. 
What's wrong with the sand sculpture? Its nest is nearby, so I can't wait to go back and see my child, can I? Hold it steady. This mountain is too steep to climb. Next, you can rest here and let Hampy accompany you and me up alone. Caution. It's really risky. If you react slower, you'll fall down with it. Huh, it's finally here. This is probably the so-called lingjuting, right? That is. Volcano. There are trees growing at the foot of the volcano, which should be a dormant volcano. It has not erupted for many years, so there is no need to worry in the short term. Volcanic terrain is rich in mineral resources, and there is a chance to go and take a look. The ecology of this deserted island is truly rich, with forests, bamboo forests, rivers, plains, hills, and volcanoes. It is truly magical that so many ecosystems converge on such a deserted island. Sorry, I almost forgot the purpose of coming here. The position where the chick is located is very steep. Unless there are professional tools, Ching Tian cannot climb down to rescue the chick. But even with professional tools, Ching Tian wouldn't take this risk because he has a better way. Thanks to the simple communication between the slave beast Ying Ching Tianning and the sand eagle, he only needs to ask the sand eagle to tell the young bird to bite the rope loop, and then he can pull the chick up from the gap. Got up. Truly the king of raptors, even children are so big. Okay, it's time to go back. As the saying goes, it's easy to climb up the mountain and difficult to see where to go down the mountain. It's really troublesome. Hold on, hold on, we'll be here soon. Huh, I finally came down. I don't want to come back again. Where are Yellen and the others? So Yelin and the others went looking for resources. Find V. Coincidentally, I'm also a bit tired. Can I take a break before Yellen comes back? Ching Tian, you're back. The weather is so bad that it seems to be rainstorm. It's really God's face that changes at will. Hurry up. It's dangerous if rainstorm causes mudslides. Ching, 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 Tian, look at it quickly. Fly an airplane. It seems like there was an accident. Hurry up. There was an accident, but there was no explosion. The people on the plane should be okay, Ching, Tian. Ching Tian, what should we do? Yellen, calm down. Anyway, let's go take a look first. The appearance of a plane on this deserted island means something that is self-evident, and it's no wonder why Yellen lost her composure. Even my heart was pounding. There's no way out. We can't blindly pursue it anymore. Stop for a moment and come up with a solution before setting off. Um, see. The stone is our location, the fork is the plane crash site, and the dot represents the campsite. The current food is sufficient to sustain the return to the campsite and there is still surplus, but if we take a turn to investigate the location where the plane crashed, it will be difficult to say whether the remaining food is enough to support the return to the campsite. Well, even if we reach the crash site, it doesn't mean we can immediately find the plane. If we delay a little longer, there won't be enough food. Let's go back to the campsite first and then make plans. Not necessarily. Two people may not work, but what if that's the case? Are you saying we'll travel together for a while and then you'll go alone to find the plane? That's right. If it's just me going, the extra food should be enough. But can you go back to the campsite alone in the latter half of the journey? Certainly. That's so cute, Ching Tian. You said I should keep this young bird, right? It's not just about raising you. You need to make it understand your instructions. He, he what should I call you, little one? How about calling Xiao Xia Diao? Sand carving your head. Xiao Bai, please call yourself Xiao Bai. We novices don't use those strange names. Happy Sand Carving is an excellent name. 
Ah, you don't understand my fashion. The next morning. Ching Tian, this one. Where does pine resin come from? This is something I picked from a pine tree on the mountain yesterday, but I didn't have time to tell you in a hurry. It should be used to make torches. Well, that would be a great help. Anyway, be careful along the way. After setting out alone, Ching Tian uses his talent every hour. Keep going north until noon before slowing down. Although the weather was sudden yesterday, it didn't rain in the end. So why is the land here so damp? It's abnormal. Sand sculpture, go ahead and explore the way. Fortunately, the beast seal can synchronize the perspective of the sand carving, so you won't have to worry about encountering anything strange. I can't see a lot of water clearly. Is there a lake or river ahead? I can only go and see for myself. Forest swamp. Let's go around. Although it's a bit far, the safety factor is the highest. There are also ones here. This way too. For women still have to go around three yuan. No, it can't go around like this, it's endless. And there are so many mosquitoes and insects in the swamp that it's hard to imagine that scratching them casually after being bitten could lead to infection. You must leave the swamp before dark and never stay here overnight. The water in the depression has been stagnant for a long time, which has led to the growth of a large number of bacteria. If feet soak in water for too long, they are easily infected by fungi. But places that cannot be bypassed can only be briefly submerged in water. Is it so hot after the fog clears? It's strange that yesterday, despite the dense clouds, not a single drop of rain fell. What the fuck? Nice sand sculpture. The venomous fangs of the bamboo leaf green viper family and the bamboo leaf green snake genus have a large snake head, thin neck, and a blue body. They are often hung or wrapped around tree branches and feed on animals such as frogs, lizards, birds, and small mammals. They are aggressive and toxic. The bamboo leaf green and rattan are almost the same. There is no way to distinguish them. Run away, run away. Finally landed. It's time for me to use my talent. If the road ahead can maintain this condition, we should be able to reach the plane crash site before the sun sets. Swamp and Swamp Calm down. Swamp mud and quicksand in the desert belong to the same nature. Once trapped, the more I struggle, the faster I sink. Unless I have enough confidence to escape, I absolutely cannot move around. This posture can greatly slow down the rate of body sinking, so we must seize the time. Shad Yao, please help me find some branches to grow as long as possible. At the current pace, I should still have nearly two hours left. There's still a chance. This is it. More is needed. Swamp mud is a sheer thinning fluid that belongs to non-Newtonian fluids. This fluid tastes soft, not hard. So as long as enough pressure is applied to a certain area of mud, the mud will instantly become as hard as the ground. Just like this. I'm so tired. It took me an hour to finally get myself out. This quagmire is completely indistinguishable from the side. No, the swamp is too dangerous. We can't move forward recklessly without a solution. By the way, I remember there was a plot in The Return of the Condor Heroes where Yang Quagmire was involved. First, dismantle the fence and select the eight thickest branches from it. Use a short knife to unify its length and tie it in groups of four under your feet. Very good. It didn't sink. This is similar to using skis to increase the force area and distribute my own weight, which allows me to slide at high speed on the mud. This way, the quagmire behind is no longer a problem. The plane crash site is right ahead. I don't know if the pilot is okay. Where am I? This is. I remember now one encoded the storm during my flight then the plane lost control and got involved in the turbulence. 
I remember that I encountered a storm during the flight, and the plane lost control and got caught up in the turbulence. God bless me I pulled the plane up a little bit before it crashed. God bless, luckily I forcibly pulled the plane up a little before it crashed. Ah, uh, it doesn't work at all, luckily I am not hurt. Ah, uh, it's really not possible. It's fortunate that no one was injured. Here is a bog similar to my last adventure in South America. This is a swamp, similar to what I encountered during my adventure in South America. Not sure any people living here. I don't know if anyone is here. Is anybody there? Is anyone around here? How could there be anyone in this kind of wilderness? The sun is about to set, so it's safer to stay in the plane tonight. Who is there? Is anybody there? Can anyone hear me? If the pilot was injured during the crash, the situation must be very critical now that so much time has passed. We need to find the crash site as soon as possible. Near the large white bird. Where are you? Take me there quickly. Eureka. Hello, is anyone there? Can you hear me? Is anything going to happen? There are no bloodstains in the cockpit. The pilot should have just temporarily left. However, although this plane looks very new, its style has a sense of age and there seems to be no radio that can communicate with the outside world. Ah. Uh, human voice. It's the driver. Hurry up, there's a crocodile. A species of swamp crocodile in the family Crocodility, with an adult body length of 45 meters and a weight of up to one ton. It usually crawls on its abdomen or can walk on its feet. Large individuals can reach speeds of up to 16 kilometers per hour. By moving its body and tail in the water, it can swim at a speed of up to 32 kilometers per hour, but it cannot maintain this speed for a long time. In addition to swamps, swamp crocodiles also inhabit wetlands such as rivers and ponds and enjoy activities in shallow water areas less than 5 meters deep. What the fuck? There is only one dead end between land and crocodiles. Quickly grab my hand. Oh, wow. Good heavens. Sorry. What happened? See. We are surrounded. Why are these crocodiles so agitated that they directly crashed into the plane? It's not good to continue like this. Sure enough, the stone bow and arrow are not sharp enough, the crocodile scales are thick, and it doesn't even cause any damage. Try aiming your eyes. It's really difficult to hit the eyes with small targets and they're swaying around. Not only did it not cause harm, but it made them even more ferocious. If we keep crashing like this, this plane will shatter in less than a quarter of an hour. Damn it, we can only rely on the system. I haven't bought anything during this period and have already accumulated 12,700 points. Although it was already enough to redeem talents, I didn't use it because each talent is a life-saving card. It's only in times of real crisis that I know which one is most useful. Just like the situation before us, which is related to archery, this horse and horse are blessed. Burn these crocodiles to death. Alcohol. Don't touch that important water. I beg your pardon? Give me the fire, please. Next. My poor English is really difficult to communicate with people. If I use up the alcohol that cannot be obtained on the deserted island like this, it will be really heartbreaking. Leave the crocodile to me to handle. Host successfully redeemed talent. Host talent inheritance begins. Host received talent completed. That's it. Last time I got the cheetah talent, I could clearly feel the changes in my body. But now I don't feel like cheating my dad at all. Look out. It's better to seek help from others than from myself. Let me do it myself. Apply turpentine onto the arrow and ignite it with a lighter into a rocket. Even if the stone arrow itself lacks power and the flame is added, it will be different. Is this the effect of the horse and horse blessing? It's like a shooting game. 
After aiming the crosshair, the weight column should indicate the current force used and the required force. The wind speed column represents the required stable angle. If all conditions are met, can easily hit the target. The fourth one is 10. Take it. The fifth one. The sixth one. The seventh one. Finally got kicked away. Wow hero. My name is Ching Tian. What's your name? Jessica, Jessica Hathaway, T1. Where are we? Is there anyone else besides us? Sorry, my English is not very good. Can you speak slower? Can you understand Japanese? Can you speak Korean? Could it be Xia Countryman, but all the Xia Countrymen I've met have long braids. Do you have a mobile phone? What is a mobile phone? Do you want to talk about a phone? There's no phone line here. What's the use of having a phone? This kind of communication is really exhausting. Can. This way of opening cans is really rare now. It looks quite simple. Wait, what's going on with this date? Is there anything wrong with that? M. Who can teach me how to ask in English if this can still be eaten? Don't worry, this is beef. Is it okay? The taste is quite normal. The canned food is not printed with the production date. After a whole day of driving, I was really tired as soon as I ate my fill. Jessica experienced a plane crash and was chased by crocodiles all the way, so she must have been exhausted. It's not easy for ordinary beasts to come in this plane. Let's make do in this cockpit tonight. Have a good rest. Is it already dawn? What about Jessica? Good morning. There are even iron pots and bowls in this backpack. Is this Doryman's small pocket? Drinking meat soup in the morning is more nutritious than drinking hot water. Pork soup. That sounds good. Ching Tian and Jessica fully recovered after drinking the meat soup. Although Jessica had many questions to ask, Ching Tian could only understand a few scattered words and didn't understand what she was trying to express. Instead, Ching Tian drew a map and used gestures to convey the information about this deserted island and their campsite to Jessica. Ching Tian thought that Yi Lin would definitely be able to communicate with Jessica and invited her to the campsite. Jessica, on the other hand, felt that having more people was safer and immediately accepted with joy. Unfortunately, there are no tools available. Otherwise, I would really want to remove something useful from this plane. T, we should go now. What golden eagle? Danger. Don't worry. Pet. That's right, let's go. It's noon now. Why is there suddenly such a heavy fog floating in this swamp? Now even the sand sculpture can't see the situation ahead and can only cautiously explore forward. Wait. Sit back. I don't know if this white mist will dissipate. Jessica, Jessica. What happened? No, I suddenly can't exert any force either. Could it be due to this white mist? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Damn it, we have to come up with a solution. Wait, although Jessica hasn't woken up yet, her symptoms seem to be slightly milder than before, and my hands are not as weak anymore. Is it? I can only try using Jessica's lighter. Fortunately, there is a talent for horses and horses that can accurately strike distant rocks. The sleeping trough is indeed... The reason why Jessica and I became like this is the biogas in this thick fog. Compared to air, biogas is lighter, so Jessica and I didn't experience any worsening symptoms after lying down. But this is not a solution. We have to wake Jessica up quickly and escape immediately. I'm sorry for tampering with your belongings without permission, Jessica. But now we can only check if there is anything in your bag that can save lives. Metal cutlery, sleeping bags, portable tents, pencils, and various other items are available, but now we have what we need. I can hardly understand the English of the medicine after finishing it. Wait, what is this box? Battery. Great, Jessica is saved now. 
Firstly, it is necessary to use a bamboo tube to pack most of the water-based medical syringes and tourniquets. Take out the entire pencil lead and metal spoon. Connect the pencil lead to the positive pole of the battery, cover it with a syringe, and attach a tourniquet. Connect the metal spoon to the negative electrode so that it can form a circuit in water. Put the pin core and metal spoon in a bamboo tube. Turn on the battery power to 2. After being electrified, water undergoes oxidation reduction reactions. The positive electrode produces oxygen, and the negative electrode produces hydrogen gas that is about twice as much as oxygen. This phenomenon is known as water electrolysis and is currently the simplest method of oxygen production. Very good. Bubbling indicates successful electrolysis of water. Finally, use a tourniquet to deliver the electrolyzed oxygen. Next, we can only wait. Oh, wow. What's up? Are you okay now? Why did I suddenly faint? There's methane all around here. Understood. Let's escape quickly. A single oxygen tube can only be used alternately by two people. When Jessica woke up, there was not much electricity left in the battery, so she had to rush out of the swamp in one breath before completely running out of power. Hold on, there's one last thing left. The air is really clean and fresh. I think so, too. After Ching Tian and Jessica escaped from the swamp, it was already getting late and they had not fully recovered from the biogas poisoning. The two decided to find a suitable spot in the forest to rest early and return to the campsite tomorrow. At this moment, over at the campsite. Damn it, it's you thieves again. Two more of Xiao Bai's fish have been stolen. We need to quickly make the bamboo cover tonight. Jiu Jiu. You snack guy is hungry again. Eat it, little white. You need to eat enough and grow up quickly. It's been three days and Ching Tian hasn't come back yet. Is everything okay? Otherwise, I'll go find him tomorrow with Hampi. Jiu 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 Jiu. What's wrong, Xiao Bai? Sha Diao Ching Tian has returned. Yi Lin. Ching. Woman. Yellen, I've been back for three days. Did you miss me? Not really. Let's get down to business first. This is the pilot of that plane, Jessica. It's obvious that Jessica is a foreigner, and with my English proficiency of almost level four, it's really difficult to communicate, so I don't know if she's from the search and rescue team. I'll leave the communication to you, the top student. Hello, my name is Yi Lin. Hello, my full name is Jessica Hathaway. Just call me Jessica. Jessica, why didn't you speak Chinese earlier? You didn't ask me. You always talk to me in English. I don't know what countryman you are. Blame me, why am I having such a hard time communicating all the way? At night. After learning that Jessica could speak Chinese, Ching Tian and Yi Lin chatted with her for a long time that night. Ching Tian Chu talked about their experience of being stranded on a deserted island and their various encounters after coming to the island. At the same time, Ching Tian also learned from Jessica that Jessica is an American paleontologist who specializes in studying ancient organisms around the world. For this reason, she often travels around the world and has learned multiple languages to facilitate communication. Not long ago, Jessica heard that someone had discovered a nosed walking beastly creature on the High Eye Islands in the South Pacific. Excited, she immediately flew a plane to conduct an on-site investigation, but unexpectedly encountered a storm on the way and the plane crashed uncontrollably onto a deserted island. So Jessica is not a member of the rescue team. But at least we can infer the approximate location of the deserted island by combining Jessica's route with the cruise ship's position. Yes, sooner or later we can also make our own boat and go out. Is it my illusion? How do I feel, Jessica? You're not worried about being stranded on this deserted island, but rather happy. Is it that obvious? Maybe you're too excited. It's so exciting that the extinct giant panda, which was originally thought to be extinct, still exists in this world. 
Maybe there will be other special creatures on the deserted island. It's like heaven just thinking about it. Looking at Jessica's glowing eyes, it seems like she really wants to peel off the silly skin and study it carefully. Are paleontologists all this scary? Jessica, you're not worried at all about not being able to leave this deserted island. Didn't you say you were going to build a ship and leave? Although it may take a long time, you will always leave. The news that pandas still exist on this deserted island after we leave will undoubtedly become one of the greatest discoveries of the 20th century. It's the 21st century. Then we have to wait for more than 70 years, Yellen. That's already the 22nd century. The Republic of China used a different calendar system on its own. We are currently using the international calendar, and it is the Xia Dynasty, not the Republic of China. Change of regime again. You can eat without permission, but you can't speak without permission. Sorry, what I just said may have made you unhappy or even angry, but please believe that I really didn't mean any harm. If there was anything offensive in my words, I apologize to both of you here. If possible, please point out the mistakes in my words. Perhaps, Jessica, you are so devoted to paleontology that you are not very interested in history, but I still hope you can remember what I am saying next. Our Xia kingdom has been established for almost a hundred years. Uh, is this some kind of Chinese joke? If you say it seriously, I really thought I had been unconscious for more than 20 years. I remember very clearly that it's 1927, not 1949. 1927. Jessica doesn't seem to be lying, and her airplane style is also very similar to that of the 20th century. The one printed on the can that hasn't expired is also 1927-1928. Is it really true? Jessica, I would like to solemnly ask you a question. I hope you can sincerely answer what year is this year in the Gregorian calendar. I am very certain that this year must be 1927 ad. It's my turn to ask you what year is this year in the Gregorian calendar. Year 2020. Did you and Yellen both come back from the future in 2020? No, I don't think so. I remember, Jessica, you said that before the plane crashed, there was a storm. Can you explain in detail the situation at that time? At that time, I took off from Los Angeles and was flying all the way towards the High High Islands when suddenly I encountered a storm. It seemed like it was still sunny the next second, but I was caught up in the turbulence and completely unprepared. And when the storm hit, the dashboard also malfunctioned. By the time I realized it, the plane had already crashed towards the deserted island. The storm is the same as what we encountered before we came here. Really, you guys are the same. You guys said. Could that storm be something like a passage through time and space, like the Bermuda Triangle, where we were all drawn into? The speculation about the passage of time and space is no different from a heavy topic for Ching Tian and his team today. If the guess is true, what era are they currently in and where is this deserted island located? How can they go back and what methods can they use to go back? Is it really possible to go back? If it's not true, how can we explain why the Panda Titan Python comes from three different eras? All right, everyone, don't overthink things anymore. In our current situation, we can't even leave the island. What's the use of thinking about these things? It's more important to think about how to prevent wild beasts and improve our quality of life. Hey, Ching Tian, do you think Hampi was also brought to this island by a storm? Well, theoretically speaking, it's not impossible, and in that case, the Titan Python in the bamboo forest may have also been brought here by the storm. Titan Python, you said Titan Python. It is nestled deep in the bamboo forest on this deserted island, making us completely afraid to approach it. No, based on the current understanding of Titan Pythons in the paleontological community, such a large ectothermic animal should at least survive in temperatures ranging from 30 to 34 degrees Celsius and should not appear in refreshing bamboo forests. In addition, Titan pythons lived in the tropical realm of the Paleocene, and studies have shown that the tropical realm of that era was an environment similar to a sauna. 
Based on Mr. Darwin's theory of evolution, it can be inferred that in order to adapt to that humid and hot environment, the skin must belong to the category of moisturizing skin. If it is in a dry environment, it will definitely crack and bleed. Is this because environmental changes have led to the evolution of the Titan Python, or is it because previous research on Titan Python was wrong? This is really curious. If it's raining, can the Titan Python move in the bamboo forest in rainstorm? Now it's summer, and the daytime temperature can reach more than 30 degrees. What do you mean? Well, combined with the fact that every rainstorm will lead to wild boar riots, I made a bold guess. Can you explain to me what you're talking about? Well, actually, we've had two rainstorm before. So it turns out that if the temperature is met and there is sufficient rainfall, the Titan Python can indeed move around in the bamboo forest. But its range of activity should not be very large and may only be limited to the bamboo forest. So the wild boars will riot in rainstorm night, and it can be completely solved. But where is the Titan Python usually? Is it a cave dwelling? Even if it is a cave dwelling, the temperature requirement should not be met. Anyway, at least if the crisis of the Titan Python is resolved, as long as we don't bring it to our doorstep ourselves, it's fine. Well, I was worried before about what to do if the Titan Python came over. You just rushed back from outside and should rest in bed tonight. I'll be in charge of the night watch. Don't be so troublesome. Are you guys in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship? No, it's not. Do you have this intention? Why did you suddenly ask this? If not, then there's no problem. Tonight, Ching Tian and I will sleep on one bed. Yi Lin, you can sleep on one bed. This way, two beds are enough. You two sleep together. Yeah, of course, Ching Tian has to accept this. Your heroic posture while guarding the plane that day, your unwavering support in the swamp, and your talent in making oxygen concentrators deeply fascinated me. I found that I have already fallen in love with you. Ching Tian, can you be my boyfriend? This, this. Jessica, don't act impulsively. We've only known each other for less than a week now, and we don't know each other very well, so let's first maintain a pure friendship between men and women. Humph. <laughs> okay, then slowly get to know my hero in the future. I remember there was a sleeping bag in my backpack. I'll sleep in a sleeping bag tonight. It's getting late. Everyone, hurry up and go to bed, haha. <laughs> Yellen, I'll go to sleep first. Big P. Jessica, how could you take off all your clothes? Because it's dirty and sleeping like this is more comfortable. It's really open. Wait. What are you looking at? Have you seen it? You're a pervert, a thief, shameless. Wrong, wrong. Miss Yi, spare your life. The next morning. Good morning, Ching Tian. Early on. Ching Tian, are you awake? Yellen, are you there too? By the way, I have cooked meat soup for you. This is yours. Where did Ching Tian make you unhappy? No, 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 there are still many in the kitchen. I was just joking with him. Oh, I got it. You also like Ching Tian, right? What? I don't have it. It seems that your country has a polygamous system, right? Well, when I was a child, I went to Shagwa and heard about it from an old man. Let's work together. It's the big room you met Ching Tian first, and I can give it to you. Jessica, why don't you drink the meat soup first? I have something else to do and I'll leave first. You're shy, Yi Lin. She's really cute, but isn't she teasing too much? Yellen, what's wrong with you? I want to make a big room. What the hell? It's nothing. You heard it wrong. Did Jessica say something else? Ah, this Jessica is really difficult to handle. After last night's rest, Ching Tian and the three of them reunited to formally discuss their plans. 
After discussion, Ching Tian and his team officially divided the future plan into two stages. The first stage is to stand firmly on this deserted island and explore the entire island thoroughly. At present, Ching Tian's two talents, coupled with Han Pai and Sha Diao, are no longer afraid of wild boars. But Ching Tian still decided to cut down trees to make thorns and surround the entire grassland just in case. In addition, Ching Tian plans to capture wild boar cubs for captive breeding to ensure food stability. It should be noted that in a few months, it will enter winter and the situation will be unpredictable. As for the effort to explore the entire deserted island, it is certainly to search for resources, specifically mineral resources such as iron and copper mines. Iron ore is crucial, as it relates to the availability of iron nails for shipbuilding. Of course, mortise and tenon structures can also be used as substitutes, but this would require much more time for shipbuilding. The second stage is certainly shipbuilding, which is also the ultimate goal, but Ching Tian and his team currently do not have many ideas. After all, any ideas that have not been implemented in the first stage are meaningless. But one thing is certain, that this stage will definitely take several years to complete. By the way, for the sake of my future life, I still have a lot of things in this bag. Let's take a look and see if there's anything that can be used. This is clothing. Well, they were all just bought by me before I left. If you need them, feel free to wear them. Is it really possible? This one should be quite suitable for you. Give it a try. Thank you, Sister Jessica. I suddenly feel a little envious when I have new clothes to wear. But Jessica also brought a lot of excellent iron tools. With these tools, it will be much more convenient to go to the bamboo forest tomorrow. The next morning. This bamboo grows so well that it grows tall and thick in just a few days. Let's go, Hampi. Come and eat again. How is the situation in the sand-carved bamboo forest? I haven't seen any trace of the Titan Python. Jessica's speculation is indeed correct. In that case, there will be no threat from going to the manure pile. Finally arrived. Still as unpleasant as ever, I can't believe I jumped in before. But this kind of place where feces accumulate for a long time also means that there may be. Sure enough. This purple-red soil is called nitrate soil, which generally exists near the old walls, cliffs, caves, and the ground that is not easily washed away by rainwater in the courtyard where feces are piled up. Nitrate soil contains nitrate, which is generated by the decomposition of organic matter in the soil under the action of nitrite bacteria and nitrate bacteria. However, most of it is already combined with potassium, sodium, and magnesium ions in the soil in the form of salts. As long as potassium nitrate is extracted from nitrate soil, black powder can be prepared, which adds another defense measure for us. The wild boar should probably come back to forage for food. Just get some bamboo for Hampi and go back. Ching Tian is back. Did you encounter any danger on the way? Look at the bathtub we've made. It seems that there is a lot of nitrate soil in the bamboo forest as you speculated. Well, the harvest is good, but if you're so sure, I'll definitely be able to find the nitrate soil and prepare the nitrate shower tank. Leave the rest to me, Yellen. Take Jessica to familiarize herself with the surrounding environment. Jessica, let me take you to the nearby creek for a walk. The next day at noon. Is the bathtub already burned? It's burned. Next, let's start extracting potassium nitrate. Extracting potassium nitrate involves three steps. The first step is to mix plant ash with nitrate soil in a ratio of 18%. The potassium ions in the plant ash replace the sodium ions in the nitrate soil to produce potassium nitrate. The second step is to wrap the nitrate soil in bamboo poles and bamboo mats, then pour hot water on top to dissolve potassium nitrate and separate insoluble calcium and magnesium salts. Just to fully wet the nitrate soil, we had to spend a lot of time pouring hot water over it bit by bit with a bowl. Finally done. My hands are sore. Thank you for your hard work. 
That's all for today. Once potassium nitrate is extracted tomorrow, we can make black powder. Black powder, isn't that enough? That's right, make a bomb. At night, although everyone was skeptical about the passage of time and space. But Jessica seemed to have already regarded Ching Tian and Yi Lin as travelers from the future, curiously listening to various things. My god, Siagua has already landed on the moon. Is this really the same place as the Siagua with long braids that I went to? In 1911, the provisional government implemented the policy of cutting braids and changing clothes. When did Sister Jessica go to Sia Kingdom? About seven or eight years old, I don't remember exactly when my father took me to Sia Country. Jessica, how old are you now? Just calculate backwards and you'll know. I forgot, it seems like asking a woman's age is taboo. It's like this, I remember the teacher expanded on it in history class. Although the braid cutting movement was implemented at that time, some powerful aristocrats and courtiers of the previous dynasty refused, so it is not surprising that some people still retained long braids. Ah, uh, I remember when you said that. My father and I did stay overnight at the home of some former minister. Because I was too young at that time and my father didn't let me go out, I couldn't appreciate the cultural scenery of Xia country. Staying overnight at the Xia family of the former minister, Sister Jessica, what were you doing in Xia country back then? My father planned to start a company in Xia country, so he went to investigate the market. However, the environment was not suitable at the time, so he stayed for a few days before leaving. Hee hee, I didn't expect you to be a wealthy second generation. One born with a silver spoon in one's mouth. Hi, it's meaningless to talk about this now. On this deserted island, everyone is just survivors. Take a break and get ready to sleep. We'll try to make the bomb tomorrow. The second day. There are many soil impurities in the nitrate water obtained by pouring. Before boiling the nitrate, Ching Tian and his three friends filtered it through a cloth and then put it in a jar. The process of boiling nitrate is similar to making salt from seawater, but slightly different. During the process of boiling nitrate, it is necessary to constantly stir the nitrate water to prevent it from sticking to the bottom and splashing. As the nitrate evaporates and the viscous bottom of the tank begins to form precipitated solids, this is a mixture of sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Compared to potassium nitrate, their solubility is lower and they precipitate early at this temperature. Filter again before the water temperature drops to remove sodium chloride and potassium chloride from the nitrate solution. When the water temperature cools to a warm temperature, the solubility of potassium nitrate sharply decreases and a large amount of precipitation occurs due to changes in water temperature. At this point, the final filtration will yield potassium nitrate. The process of extracting potassium nitrate is not laborious, but waiting for the nitrate water to cool down is extremely time-consuming. It was not until 3 in the afternoon that all the nitrate water was treated. A large tank of nitrate water has been busy for half a day, but only this little potassium nitrate has been extracted. After all, the low content of nitrate soil is unavoidable. The filtered residual nitrate water has a common name called brine, which is the brine that can be used to order tofu. Unfortunately, there are no soybeans to make tofu now, so it can only be used to water trees or something. After being busy for a long time, the three of them had empty stomachs, so they simply ate something. The materials for preparing potassium nitrate, sulfur, charcoal, and black powder are all ready. Potassium nitrate powder Charcoal powder. Sulfur powder. The configuration ratio of black powder is potassium nitrate 75 sulfur 10 charcoal 15, which is equivalent to 2523. As long as the three powders are evenly mixed in a bamboo tube according to this ratio, theoretically, the mixing is successful, and then it is experimental testing. Is Ching Tian ready? Always ready. Yes, it was successful. We really made black powder. But don't get too excited too soon. Don't forget our ultimate goal. It's also meaningless if we can't turn black powder into a weapon. What are we waiting for? Let's start making bombs quickly. 
There are many ways to make a bomb. The simplest bomb that can be made under current conditions actually requires surprisingly simple materials, just a piece of dried bamboo, some dry soil, and a fuse wire. The relatively complex ignition line is actually just about rolling slightly damp paper with gunpowder and drying it. After preparing the materials, divide the bamboo joints into three layers and sequentially fill the dried soil with black powder in order. Each layer should be compacted with maximum force and finally covered with slightly larger bamboo joints. This way, a homemade bomb is considered ready. Lead the line of fire. Dry soil. Black powder. Dry soil. Ching Tian, how do I see your particularly skilled appearance? It shouldn't be the first time, right? Well, I fried fish and cesspools before. Septic tank explosion. Cough, cough, don't pay attention to details. Ah, Tian. Blow it up. Dry. What the fuck? What the hell? Who threw it? It's you little rascals again. Don't make us grab your butt and open flowers for you. Ha 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 ha. It reminds me of the unbearable memories from my childhood. What are you laughing at? It's okay. It's okay. I just couldn't help but laugh. All right, you guys take Hampi and them to the cave. I'll try the bomb. Don't come over. I lit the fire. Ding hosts bomb making reward of 5,000 points. Successful explosion test. However, the power of the bomb seems to be a bit lacking. Could it be that too little black powder was used? The amount of black powder can indeed affect the power of a bomb, but the most important thing is the black powder itself. Are you saying that the purity of potassium nitrate is not sufficient? This can also be considered a reason, but black powder itself has its limits. Compared to the high explosive materials such as black sorkin, TNT, and October, black powder is relatively mild and can produce much less energy when ignited. Therefore, the power of this homemade bomb is limited in terms of raw materials. In addition, besides gunpowder, the bomb itself as a container is also a major factor affecting the explosive power. If we replace the bamboo tube with an iron container, it can increase some of the killing power. However, considering our existing materials, we don't need to think too much about it. In short, although this bamboo tube bomb cannot kill any large ferocious beasts, it is still more than enough to scare them away. At night, Ching Tian and his team made three more homemade bombs. This time, in order to increase their destructive power, Ching Tian doubled the amount of black gunpowder. However, Jessica's sulfur was limited, so only three were made. In the following days, Ching Tian and his team planned to build defensive fortifications at the campsite. Initially, they intended to burn bricks and build walls. As a result, they found that even if they built several earthen kills with the current conditions, there were very few bricks that could be burned in a day, and they had to give up in the end. In the end, Ching Tian and his team had no choice but to use wood and bamboo as railings and try their best to prepare defense works before the rainy season when wild boars frequently rebelled. The scorching heat of mid-June has already begun to show signs. In early summer, it's so hot that during the dog days of summer, it's probably scorching hot. Let's take a sip of water first. Yellen's prepared cold white tea really quenches thirst. If I could have a glass of ice water, it would be even more refreshing. By the way, how did I forget about this? I have specially transported several batches of nitrate soil back during this period to prepare a lot of nitric acid. Potassium nitrate dissolves in water and absorbs a large amount of heat. Ancient people used this method to make ice. The temperature is still a bit insufficient. Fortunately, potassium nitrate can only re-precipitate after physical changes when dissolved in water, otherwise we wouldn't dare to squander it like this. Under these conditions, being able to produce this ice should be the limit. The raspberry fruits in summer are big and sweet, but unfortunately they are a bit far from the cave. If it weren't for Jessica's help and more manpower, we wouldn't have been able to get this good thing. 
filter out the ice water, and leave behind the smoothies. Finally, pour the raspberry juice on top. It's perfect. Let's cover it up and keep it warm. Yi Lin and the others should be back soon. Ching Tian Ching Tian. Ching Tian, what is this? Where did you find the grapes? On the way back, I found it with Sister Jessica. Yellen was clamoring to give you a surprise, and she was so excited along the way. There's no need to say such things. This is a great achievement that deserves commendation. Commendation. Tap 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 Ice and sand. How about this prize? It's not very delicious. The feeling of the smoothie gradually melting on the tip of the tongue. The sour and sweet taste of this raspberry stimulates the taste buds. It's like surfing on the sea. How was it done? Is this what you call magic? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Potassium nitrate, dissolved in water, can absorb a large amount of heat. I see. I didn't expect potassium nitrate to be used like this. You're so smart. Yellen, what do you think of the taste of smoothies? I think we can add some grape juice or something. This foodie didn't hear me at all. In order to make ice cubes better, Ching Tian asked Yi Lin to knead several pottery jars similar to Russian nesting dolls. By using ceramic jars and wild boar skins for maximum insulation, the refrigeration effect can be greatly improved and the efficiency of ice making can be enhanced. Wild boar skin isolation and insulation. Potassium nitrate water refrigeration. Refrigerator making. On the other hand, Jessica is not idle either. She is smashing the grapes she brought back during the day and preparing to make wine. The process of making wine is quite simple. Just wash and smash the grapes, mix them with sugar in a ratio of 100 to 3, and seal them. As the saying goes, the key difference between making wine and vinegar is the sealing of the two jars. The two jars, which are intentionally not completely sealed, are prepared to use acetic acid bacteria in the air to make grape vinegar. The grapes brought back by Ching Tian have all been processed. What are you doing? I'm making a fan blade electric fan. You need to make an electric fan. Don't misunderstand. I just said I wanted to make the fan blades for an electric fan, but I didn't say I wanted to make an electric fan. Why are you making fan blades? Of course, it's making fans. Hand cranked. Not automatic or pneumatic. I plan to use a straight bamboo as a bearing, insert fan blades at one end, and fix the bamboo pieces at the other end to make a power fan for transmitting power. Then, the steam generated during water boiling drives the power fan to blow air. This idea is good, just like a steam engine. I think we can also add a condenser tube. The condenser tube can be included. Time flies in the blink of an eye. It's July, the height of summer. Before this, Ching Tian and his team had put in a lot of effort to make a steam boiler and add condenser tubes. The steam evaporated in this way can not only drive the fan, but also condense into water through the condenser and return to the boiler for reuse. Cross Blade Steam Drives Blades Water Droplets After Steam Condensation Pressure Relief Port One-way valve allows water to enter but not steam to exit. Gushing steam. During this period, they also made ice cream tello with raspberry juice. Ice is ready. Oh, wow. You know, you're in a hurry. These past few days have made you taste a few and become addicted. Ice cream with a fan and these two physical cooling tools make the whole summer feel less unbearable. By the way, where are Xiaobai and Sandiao? The body temperature of birds is much higher than that of humans, and now this temperature is quite normal for them. Just prepare some ice water later. It's going to rain rainstorm before the fence is completed. What should we do if wild boars riot again? 
Don't worry, our equipment is different now from before. Large. And now I have more horses, blessings, talent, sand eagles, and have joined the camp. Bombs, such as killing wild boars, are no longer a problem. Coming. I really want to see what the wild boar riot looks like. I'll follow along too. I didn't expect the rain to be so heavy this time. Fortunately, the outer feathers of eagles are impermeable and have oily substances on the surface. As long as they are not exposed to water for a long time, the wings will not become completely wet and unable to fly. We can't just let them come in like this after building this campsite for so long. Very good. The wild boars were divided into two teams. Shad Yao Hampi, you are responsible for the wild boar on the left. Although Han Pai and Shad Yao blocked some of it, the number of people coming towards me is too large. If this continues, they will rush in. Evade the bomb. Qin Tian, Jessica, be careful. Are you joking? This campsite is just for free, so if you want to leave, you have to leave some interest. Okay, there's no need to chase anymore. This time we've already won the game. The growth cycle of wild boars is long, unlike domestic pigs which can grow over 100 pounds in just one or two years. If too many wild boars are killed, it may affect the population of wild boars and cause a decline in their numbers. Well, we can't just fish out of the river. Sustainable development is the absolute principle. With this batch of spoils, they will no longer have to worry about food for the next six months. As a highly anticipated weapon, the first appearance of the earth bomb had an immediate effect, greatly boosting everyone's confidence. After sufficient food reserves, Ching Tian and his team worked overtime to build the fence before the rainy season arrived. During the half-month period, it rained a few times again. Ching Tian San finally finished the fence of the whole camp before the second rainstorm day and night and didn't have to worry about the wild boar riots anymore. Then the entire deserted island also entered a continuous rainy season. It's been raining lately and I can't go out. Let's take a look and see if the wine we made before is ready, right? I am particularly looking forward to the thought of brewing it myself. I don't know if it tastes good or not. Why is this moldy? Did I make a mistake while brewing? Haha, ha, these white foam are carbon dioxide bubbles generated during fermentation, which is just a normal phenomenon. This is what my wine looks like. Once those impurities are filtered out, everything will be fine. Who really wants the specially made natural wine from the farm? Cough, cough, this thing is too sour, isn't it? I've tried red wine before, but it's not so sour. This is how freshly brewed wine works. If left for a while, the sourness will disappear. You. Great vinegar is almost done. Have you finished drinking? Girls, if it's hard to swallow, just put it aside. We have work to do. What's the matter? Distilled alcohol. The boiling point of alcohol is only 78 C lower than that of water. During the heating process of wine, it evaporates into a gas, which is separated from the wine and then enters a bamboo tube for cooling and liquefaction before flowing into another jar. How long does it take to distill? I can't eat hot tofu in a hurry until probably tonight, but barring any unforeseen circumstances, this amount should be enough for us to use for a long time. Does Ching Tian really like tofu? I'm not, I don't. Ching Tian, I brought you baking soda and brown sugar. What are you going to do? You'll find out later. Melt grape vinegar, baking soda, and brown sugar in water according to the ratio of 133,220 and then freeze them in a refrigerator. Try it out. 
This is Gianlibo. I made my own Gianlibo, but it's only close to it. I'm not sure if it's the formula for Gianlibo, send me. What is Gianlibo? The taste of this drink reminds me of cola. Well, you can consider it as Siagua's cola. About another month later, Ching Tian and his team thoroughly improved the campsite, built a grocery store, pottery burning room, and shower room, and arranged the living and functional areas in an orderly manner. Host completes task upgrade camp 99 rewards 2000.6. The whole summer has quietly come to an end without realizing it. Xiao Bai went over. With the arrival of autumn, Xiao Bai has grown handsome black feathers and can follow Yellen's simple commands to fly. Yellen, thank you for changing my clothes. They are very comfortable. How about it? Is there anything that doesn't fit well? I'll make changes for you when I come back today. No need, it's pretty good. That's great. I've spent so much time and it's finally not in vain. Especially this pigskin backpack is not only sturdy and durable, but also able to fit all the tools such as hemp ropes and axes that are usually carried in. It's just too convenient. Is this the focus? Starting from today, Ching Tian and his team will begin the second half of the first phase. According to the plan, Ching Tian is preparing to explore the plane area where the plane crash was found with Han Pai and Sha Diao, while Jessica and Yi Lin are responsible for lighting up the unknown areas around the campsite. Last time, I happened to encounter Jessica's plane crash and didn't have enough food, so I couldn't explore it properly. This time, I have Hampi as my mount and can use his talent to alternate routes. With 10 days of rations, I will definitely be able to travel to every corner of the plane. Although we arrived at the plane before dark, we were attacked by grassland wolves near here last time. Tonight, let's go camping in a more distant place. In case of any unforeseen circumstances, I'll still carry a bomb with me. After entering autumn on a deserted island, the cold wind howls at night. Fortunately, I have Jessica's camping tent and sleeping bag, so I don't have to worry about insulation at all. The next day, Ching Tian entered the plane and his first target was the volcano he had seen on the mountaintop before. The plane can be divided into two circles, inner and outer, by continuous mountains. The outer circle is mostly grassland, barren soil, and surrounded by mountains. The inner circle is covered with waist-high shrubs, and the volcano is located at the center of this inner circle. There are too many shrubs under this volcano, aren't there? If it weren't for the jeans I'm wearing, I would have been hooked by the branches and leaves, exposing my legs. What's wrong, Hampy? He's tired. Hampy has a sensitive sense of smell, so he probably smelled something. Unpleasant odor. This faint odor is sulfur. Hampy, wait here for me to go up and take a look. Sulfur mine. The composition of gases in volcanic eruptions is complex, and in most cases, water vapor accounts for the vast majority. The remaining gases are carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and sulfur dioxide. When sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide meet, they react to produce sulfur, which eventually accumulates near the volcano to form sulfur mines. Of course, not all volcanic craters have sulfur, but what else? As long as this volcano in front of us has sulfur, it's fine. God still takes care of me. With this sulfur, I can make more bombs. However, volcanoes are not limited to sulfur. In the late or intermittent stages of volcanic activity, volcanic jets and hydrothermal processes are very strong. These jets and hydrothermal processes usually contain a large amount of heavy metal compounds. Under certain geological and chemical conditions, the gas-liquid mixture containing heavy metals interacts with the surrounding rock in a complex manner, eventually accumulating and precipitating to form the so-called volcanic gas-liquid mineral deposits. Due to the large coverage of gases and liquids ejected by volcanoes and the multitude of mineral media and surrounding rocks that react with them, the types of minerals generated are also complex and diverse. It's not an exaggeration to say that a volcano is a huge treasure. Is this because Galena is not good enough? 
Our knowledge reserves are not enough. This flower still needs flowers. Complete collection of 10 P-field minerals. A common mineral is a sulfide that appears as lead gray streaks, gray-black with metallic luster. It is formed in metamorphic rocks and volcanic sulfide deposits and almost always coexists with sphalerite. It is easily weathered on the surface to form lead alum and galena. Sure enough, this is the material for making colorless glass. In the following two days, Ching Tian simply set up camp halfway up the mountain and searched for minerals at the volcano every day. As a result, he also discovered many types of minerals such as pyrite and chalcopyrite, but the quantity was not large. After searching through the volcano, he only found seven or eight pieces. Ching Tian also tried to excavate minerals underground, but the ground of the volcanic crater was extremely hard. He didn't dig a few times before the stone pickaxe broke, and people also had back pain and soreness. Without an iron pickaxe, it's difficult to dig for iron ore. Without iron ore, it's impossible to make an iron pickaxe. This is a vicious cycle. I can only remember this place first and then come over with Yellen and the others to try my luck. Yellen and the others have sent letters. With the flying ability of the Sand Eagle, I can walk the distance in a day. The Sand Eagle only needs more than an hour to use it as a carrier pigeon. It's a good idea, but Yellen came up with it. This is great. Pay attention to safety. It has to be said that someone's concern is truly a pleasant thing. Don't worry about iron ore anymore. Let's decorate with sulfur blocks and pyrite or tomorrow and go back. Let's see if we can bring some of this back. Sure enough, this sulfuric acid lake is too concentrated for bamboo tubes to move. Run away, run away. In the following time, Ching Tian will wander around to explore the resources of the plain. Compared to the forest, the ecological chain on this plain is monotonous and there is not much harvest. There are resources available, but they can also be found in the forest near the campsite. There's no need to come all the way here. On the morning of the eighth day, Ching Tian decided to return to the camp with sulfur and minerals. However, because the starting point is no longer at the volcano, Ching Tian has re-planned the return route. However, what Ching Tian did not expect was, Uh, it's this swamp again. Last time, Jessica and I almost died inside. This time, even if we were killed, we had to take a detour and drive away. However, several bipedal animals nearby. Last time when Jessica and I escaped from the swamp, the white mist was so thick that we couldn't see the trees clearly. The visibility was only less than three meters. Although it was also shrouded in white mist, it didn't reach the level that affected our line of sight. When I first entered the swamp, the concentration of white mist was similar to what it is now. At that time, I didn't feel any discomfort. Later, when the white mist became more intense, Jessica and I both suffered from biogas poisoning. The white mist in swamps will change over time, and the concentration of biogas is directly proportional to the concentration of white mist. In short, as long as you go in when the white mist is thin, there won't be anything wrong. There are plenty of resources in the swamp, don't you think about making some leather shoes and bags with crocodile skin? Isn't it fragrant? Sand Sculpture, go ahead and check the situation of the swamp. Well, the view is very clear, and it's almost as I expected. The next step is to identify the patterns and cycles of the white mist changes so that we can safely search for treasure here in the future. What? Are there other people in this swamp? Hampy, you stay here. Sand Sculpture, take me over and have a look. Hampy is too bulky and inconvenient to enter the swamp, but I have a talent to be by my side. If there is anything wrong, I can use my talent and immediately step back. After activating my talent, my maximum speed can reach 110 kmh, which translates to approximately 5,000 meters that I can run in 3 minutes. I can't go beyond this distance until I understand the changing pattern of the white mist. In case the fog suddenly thickens, I can still activate my talent and escape. This should be almost the limit. 
How far is the sand sculpture? It's close, it's close. It should be around here. Go another 500 meters, at most. If you still can't see anyone, I'll immediately turn around and return. TSK, TSK. Drink it. What is this situation? Judging from the attacking actions of several people heading straight to the key, this is not a drill, but a life and death battle. No matter what, we cannot turn a blind eye to death. Mix potassium nitrate baking soda and brown sugar in a ratio of 321 and stir evenly. Then, like making a bomb, fill the soil material and lead wire in order to make it. Ding Host makes smoke bombs and earns 3,000 points. Next. My heart beats so fast. After all, it's my first time hitting someone. Although the law may not be applicable on this deserted island, it is still difficult for me to commit murder right now. So I'm going to save that girl without harming anyone's life. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. When is this? It's still standing there like a stick of wood. What are you staring at? Hurry up. Those few big men are tall and strong and have extremely rich combat experience. Even if I have two talents, it's almost a pipe dream to defeat them. Now we can only escape. As long as we can run out of the swamp and meet up with Hanpi, everything will be stable. Her speed has slowed down due to excessive blood loss. If it continues like this, we will be caught up by those four big guys in less than half a minute. Come up, I'll run with you on my back. Although I have never tried using talent to bring people, I can still improve my speed to some extent, but the energy consumption will definitely increase significantly. What the hell? She wants to stop them alone and let me escape first. Indeed, after adding one more person, the talent speed was greatly limited, and the talent state could only barely persist for two minutes at most. It's impossible to completely get rid of those four big guys. If you're really pushed to a dead end and can only throw the bomb out of your backpack, it will be either death or injury, but it's not my fault. Big snake, big long snake. What? Is it Titan Python? I don't know. This is not a bamboo forest. Nima is really it. So this swamp is the habitat of the Titan Python. It only flows to the bamboo forest in rainstorm weather. It has been bloody unlucky for eight generations. There's more meat chasing over there. There's more meat chasing over there. There's more meat chasing over there. Nima exploded. Does this heartless thing have a grudge against me? The Titan Python's speed is extremely fast and escaping is useless. It will only waste its strength in vain. It can only be a repeat of its old trick. This. The front half of the Titan Python is slanted and its scales are incredibly smooth, making it difficult to keep them from slipping off. However, she. The difference in physical fitness between people is also quite large, isn't it? Oh, wow. Humph, the smell of bombs is delicious, isn't it? Get out of here. I've already walked over 300 meters. Should I be okay now? 
Truly worthy of being a prehistoric ferocious beast, it didn't die like this. The Jade Emperor, the Heavenly Emperor, Odin, the Western Jesus, who came to save me. After I returned, I will definitely set up a memorial tablet and offer it every day. Are you worried that the big snake will find us? Don't worry, everything will be fine. Don't make a sound. Pythons do not rely on their eyes, but on infrared radiation to find prey, and their organs for sensing temperature are located between their eyes and nostrils. Now its entire mouth has been blown up, blood and flesh are blurred, and its head is dizzy. It must be that all senses are no longer working properly, so it is not easy to find us. Sand sculpture is now. The air-to-ground advantage is obvious, finally leading it away. We'll be safe as soon as we step out from the edge of the swamp ahead. She thought Hampi was a ferocious beast, so she wanted to protect me. He, he, it can be considered that she didn't save the wrong person. This is my pet. Let's ride it up. Child, what are you doing? I'm asking you to ride up, not to lie down like a fool. Besides, even if I mean it, you don't have to accept it so easily, do you? Ah. Ching Tian and the girl rode on Hanpi and ran away from the swamp at the fastest speed until they entered the forest. Ching Tian stopped to rest peacefully. The girl had a cut on her arm and the injury to her thigh became increasingly severe, urgently requiring bandaging to stop bleeding. Do you want to start a fire? Use a burning stick to stop bleeding. Very. They hurt. Um. The wound on the leg also needs to be bandaged. Color is emptiness. Color is emptiness. MMM, my heart. It's better to take her inside and rest when the weather turns cold at night. The attack just now should have been a subconscious reaction developed by her long-term exposure to dangerous environments. I can't afford such a kneeling ceremony. If I had this force, I'm afraid she would have kicked me out for the overnight meal. Try this. Dried pork. Uh, do I want to say love, Ching, keep calm. Ah, uh, let her sleep in the bag. She won't do it. But luckily the beast robe on her body is also quite thick, so there's no need to worry about frostbite or anything. It can't be true. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, after we parted ways yesterday, you brought the Titan Python to the center of the swamp. Uh-huh, later we left. Oh, you didn't take off the Titan Python until you confirmed our safety, and it took you quite some time to find it here. Well done. In the following period, Ching Tian tried his best to communicate with the girl in hopes of obtaining some information, but it was even worse than when Jessica was there. Ching Tian completely didn't understand the other person's language and ended up with nothing. Ching Tian decided to take the girl back to the camp first before making any plans. Finally back. Ching Tian. Did you get hurt? In the letter you asked Sand Eagle to bring back, you said we were all worried to death about encountering the Titan Python. It's okay, didn't I also write about safe escape? This is the girl you mentioned in your letter. Very cute, don't you like this type? But the little sister looks like she's still underage. No, no, we are not women. It seems that Jessica knows their language. Well, this way... Communication will be much more convenient in the future. Jessica, you guys talked for so long. What did she say? Everyone, I seem to have received some incredible news. This child's name is Haninik and he comes from a tribe called Rada. The one from the Rada tribe in Yemen. Yi Lin, do you know? 
Well, I once saw it in an unsolved mystery of the world. In August 1939, just before the outbreak of World War II, the British Protectorate at the entrance of the Red Sea in the southwest of the Arabian Peninsula, now known as Yemen, was located. However, at that time Yemen was not yet a country, and there were various tribes of different sizes within its borders, including a tribe called Rada. There are more than 50 people in the Lada tribe located in the desert, but because they are close to the Oasis tribe, they don't have to worry about water and have many jujube trees. The British stationed nearby often come to the Lada tribe to pick jujube to satisfy their cravings, making them regulars in the tribe. However, on a certain day in August 1939, when British soldiers went to the Rada tribe as usual, they found that the entire tribe had disappeared without a trace, while food, clothing, and other items were left intact in their respective homes. After the soldier who felt strange about this reported the incident, his immediate supervisor and the air force responsible for patrolling the area received a response that they had not seen any signs of the relocation of the troops. So the Rada tribe, like us, traveled through time and space and ended up stranded on this deserted island. In 1939, I asked her. I have confirmed that Nick's tribe suddenly appeared on this island three years ago, and I think our guess is correct. Doesn't that mean there are over 50 people on this deserted island besides us? If we can use the power of the Rada tribe to build ships, we may be able to leave this deserted island within a year. More than 50 people, according to Nick, visited this island by boat a year ago. The number was more than three times that of the tribe, and they attacked the tribe without any reason. The tribe rose up in rebellion, but quickly lost the battle. Most of the tribe members became prisoners, while the majority luckily hid in a corner of the island. Could it be that those group of people are bad? If those five big men escape from the swamp and return, they are highly likely to gather manpower to kill them here. Those people have rich combat experience, excellent equipment, and numbers that we cannot compare to. If they find here, even if there are bombs, we cannot resist. Perhaps we can join forces with Nick and his tribe to deal with that group of people together. This should be the only solution in front of us, see. Through Jessica's translation, Ching Tian learned from Nick that when the tribe first arrived on this deserted island, they were extremely short of food. In order to solve the food problem, the tribal leader once organized his people to go hunting, but encountered thick white fog. They believed that the white mist is the domain of the Grim Reaper. Some members of the tribe accidentally entered the white mist, which angered the Grim Reaper and silently took away their lives. Afterwards, the tribe members were curious about the extent of the white mist and walked along its edge for a week, only to find that it spanned the entire island. It is worth mentioning that this white mist does not disperse for a long time. Whenever the seasons change, it briefly disappears for two days. Now the white mist in the swamp should have reappeared. That group of people who want to cross the white mist and come here can only wait for the arrival of winter. Well, so with the presence of white mist, we are safe for the next three months. During this time, we have enough time to come up with countermeasures. By the way, Nick also said he hoped you, the witch envoy, could help them repel the enemy. What kind of witch? What kind of witch? Nick said she saw with her own eyes that you used powerful magical tools to repel the snake, used clear holy water to prevent the wound from being eroded by the disease, and used witchcraft to ignite flames. The Rada tribe reveres the shaman, and the shaman is the chosen spokesperson by the shaman. With a high status in the tribe, they can freely choose women from the tribe to serve them. How are you happy? Well, no wonder Nick has always been so respectful to me. Can you help me explain? I'm not a witch. Isn't it great to explain what kind of shaman? For archaeological purposes, I have visited many tribes, and from what I have seen, most of them are extremely exclusive. Are you saying that using the identity of a witch envoy can better leverage the power of the Rada tribe? Although there may be elements of deception, for the Rada tribe, the knowledge I hold in my hands is indeed a form of witchcraft. I have always wanted to join forces with the Rada tribe to resist the enemy, and now Nick is also requesting my help. It can be said that their goals are the same. Then I will reluctantly become a witch envoy due to its difficulty. 
This is also a matter that cannot be done for everyone's benefit. You're laughing too wickedly, aren't you? Nick heard that the witch lord had agreed to her request and excitedly bowed and cowed out three times, but he couldn't stop it. So when do you want to start learning Arabic? Personally, I think the earlier the better. It took me two months to learn it back then. Are you saying that the Lada tribe uses Arabic? Of course, after all, they are primitive tribes in the Arab region. Um, wouldn't it be better if you were the translator for Arabic or something? I have been studying English for over a decade before barely passing the CET4 exam. I have to learn Arabic in the years of the monkey and the horse. Complete collection of world languages. Oh, this. After the conversation ended, the four of them went to Yi Lin's kitchen to handle tonight's meals. As the number of people increased, the workload of preparing meals also increased. Ching Tian prepared to take a bath by the river. Originally, it was late autumn and taking a hot bath was undoubtedly the most comfortable, but the bathroom was reserved for guests who came from afar. And as the only one in the camp who could speak Arabic, Jessica naturally took over the task of entertaining Han Nick. For the convenience of readers, Jessica and Nick communicate in Chinese from here on. Nick's sister asked me to help you take off all your clothes. No, don't. Besides some new injuries, Nick has many old scars, big or small, on his body. What has this girl been through? Don't be shy. Wounds like these can easily become infected if not cleaned thoroughly, which could be troublesome. Thank you, thank you. Let's all come and eat when the meal is ready. The food today is too sumptuous, isn't it? There's also bamboo chicken soup. You guys have some good luck. Today, Xiao Bai caught a bamboo chicken while playing and came back. Well, Yellen, your cooking skills are really getting better and better. Indeed, Yellen is now the first cook at our campsite. It's just an illusion that you haven't eaten chicken for too long. Why aren't you used to this kind of food? No, the food prepared by the witch lord is very delicious and so abundant. Nick would like to express his sincere gratitude here. Since we started fleeing, everyone's food has become increasingly poor, to the point where we only have one meal a day. Nick hasn't seen such a sumptuous meal in a long time. Madam, is it delicious? If only everyone were here too. Late at night, because only three people could sleep in the cave, Ching Tian explained Nick's situation to Yi Lin and the others, and then slept in the tent outside the cave. Jessica and Yellen also tried to let Nick rest in bed, but Nick instinctively picked up the stone knife and retreated into the corner, making Yellen and her both feel heartbroken. The next day, Jessica began teaching Yi Lin and Ching Tian Arabic. All right, that's all for today's class. Huh, it's over. Ching Tian, have you ever thought about how to get to the Rada tribe? I originally planned to make a gas mask to cross the swamp, but thinking about that Titan Python made me feel like it's just not worth it. I think we can first make a small boat and sail around the island. Hey, this is a good idea and it can also provide experience for building ships to see in the future, Ijo. It's better to hit the sun than choose another day. This afternoon, I will go chop down trees. Nick. Unfortunately, the points are not enough and I haven't bought the world language encyclopedia yet. Do you want to help me chop down trees? No need. I wouldn't let an injured child help. A one-handed stone axe can even chop faster than I can with an iron axe. Is this still human? With Nick's help, Ching Tian and his team cut down enough wood in less than three days. After that, they started smelting iron to manufacture iron nails for building ships. The next day, Ching Tian and Nick started smelting iron. Yi Lin and Jessica took Han Pai and hid outside early to search for supplies. Accompanied by the heat wave and pungent yellow smoke emanating from the iron making room, they startled the birds and animals around them. The main component of pyrite collected by volcanoes is iron disulfide. Through melting at over 1,500 degrees Celsius, the sulfur element will turn into pungent sulfur dioxide gas, which will be discharged and the iron will transform into molten iron.
we have finally entered the Iron Age. Although the iron content in pyrite is only about 40%, the amount of iron produced is a bit too fake. No wonder pyrite is not used for iron making in industry. I can't explain to you what this is. Anyway, thank you. Let's take a break this afternoon and refine iron nails. Do we still need to ask you? Although I don't speak the same language as Nick, I have become accustomed to this little girl who is always by my side these days. When I first met her, she had a gray face and a pale complexion. After these days of rest, she was much better now. With a rosy face and a delicate figure, but with a good proportion, it's like a standard little lowly. Cough, 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 cough. In the afternoon, Ching Tian and Nick melted the iron block and poured it into the mold prepared by Yi Lin in advance. After it cooled down, they demolded one iron nail, which was basically completed. Did Yellen not have any new gains today? It's difficult to find new resources around the campsite after exploring almost everything, such as grapes and pineapples. However, there are already many harvested fruits in the campsite that cannot be eaten early, which is a waste. I'm thinking that fruits are seasonal and will rot even if they are hung on trees after the season. There are already few types of food available on the deserted island, and fruits can provide essential vitamins for the human body. Should we build a cellar now and refrigerate some fruits for winter use? Well, having no fruits in winter is indeed a problem, but digging a cellar with the three of us is too much work. I have another way. Don't sell it off. Tell us quickly. Let's make canned fruits. The issue of food has always been the top priority for survival, and shipbuilding has naturally been postponed to the later stage. Making cans requires glass, which is made of silica. So the next day, the four of them came to the creek to collect suitable silica. The content of silica in the stream is high, and it is a large and transparent high-quality silica. After one or two minutes of selection in a dustpan, you can get a small half-pound of silica. This transparency is just right. Oh, so Ching Tian, hello. What? Look, I found something amazing. Gold. It's really gold and its gold content is very high, far beyond what sand gold can compare to. The elemental form of gold is a soft, golden yellow, corrosion-resistant precious metal. No one is lucky enough to find gold in such a small stream. This won't work, will it? Nick, where did you find this? Oh my god, this must be worth hundreds of thousands, right? There's actually so much gold here. Is there a mineral vein nearby? See, I think I found a diamond. It's so big, at least 10 carats, and its value probably exceeds this pile of gold. Is this really fake? Diamond is an elemental crystal composed of carbon formed under high pressure and high temperature conditions in the deep earth. Could it be that the deserted island we are on is actually the legendary treasure island? If we continue to search, we may discover even more treasures. We're going to get rich. All right, no matter how much gold, silver, or jewelry there is on this island, it's just a pretty stone. Let's continue collecting silica. Um. After a busy morning, Ching Tian and his team finally collected a basket full of silica, gold, diamonds, and other items. They also took them with them. What if one day they could escape and survive? Dreams still need to exist. In addition to silica, the materials used to make glass also include shell powder as a reinforcing agent to enhance the strength of glass, and galena as a lead element to reduce the viscosity and solubility of glass. With these materials, they are all crushed into powder and evenly mixed. Glass, also known as silicon dioxide, is amorphous and has no fixed melting point. It softens with a melting range of about 800 degrees Celsius. If the temperature continues to rise, it will become a flowable glass liquid, which is much simpler than iron smelting and pottery firing. During the gradual melting of the silica, Yi Lin and Jessica were responsible for shaping the blow tubes used to blow mold the glass. Okay, when making it, dip a blowing rod into a certain amount of glass liquid first. 
then blow the glass liquid open like blowing bubbles, and finally use tools to shape the glass. The magic of softening this stone. After blowing open the glass liquid, it is necessary to rotate the blowing tube and use centrifugal force to evenly distribute the glass liquid before it cools down. It is important to maintain a uniform speed during rotation, otherwise the glass liquid will. Ding Host earns 1500 points for making garbage and waste materials. Cough cough, did you see that? This is just a wrong demonstration. Blowing glass bubbles is not that simple. Yellen, would you like to give it a try? Just give it a try. Clamp. I opened the bottle on the first attempt. It's a pity that if the rotation were more even, it would be even more perfect. Is there something on my face? Cool girl, Yi Lin, you are really handsome. Handsome. Well, you look very handsome when making glass. How do I get this glass now? Originally, pouring cold water on the glass before it cooled down and knocking it open would have been enough. But now, let's use this very luxurious carving knife to cut open the glass. I think it would be more convenient to have a table as a pivot when making glass. Well, I'll arrange it for you right away. By the way, adding the points just now is enough to buy a complete list of world languages. Give Nick a look too. Which is artifact? It's really beautiful. A stone like ice, I've never seen anything so beautiful before. If it's true, it's the witch envoy. Nyopi fully understood it, just like listening to Chinese, naturally. However, in order not to be abrupt, I still pretended to learn it bit by bit in the future. In the following days, Jessica taught Arabic while helping to pull the wind box while Yi Lin was developing glass skills. Yi Lin showed strong learning ability, not only gradually becoming proficient in Arabic to the level of simple daily conversations, but also making the glass jars fired more stylish. Ching Tian and Nick kept transporting back the nitrate soil and boiling it into potassium nitrate to make bombs. It should be noted that on this deserted island, bombs are the most powerful life-saving weapons that Ching Tian can possess. Naturally, the more, the better. However, the nitrate soil in the bamboo forest is limited, and after digging it all out, Ching Tian obtained three cans of potassium nitrate. As the departure date approached, most of the materials were ready. Ching Tian thought of a key prop. By the way, I almost forgot that sea has glass. Why don't we get a telescope? Telescope. Telescopes can be extremely useful for pathfinding and reconnaissance on deserted islands, and most importantly, making lenses or anything at your current level is simply effortless. Based on the existing materials, the only telescopes we can make are Galilean and Kepler telescopes, right? The principle of a telescope is very simple, which is to focus the light of distant objects behind it through an objective lens and condense it into a reduced real image and then observe it through an eyepiece to see a magnified virtual image, thus achieving the effect of farsightedness. The Galilean telescope uses convex lenses as crop lenses and concave lenses as eyepieces. It is easy to produce positive images, but the field of view is small and the magnification is not easy to increase. The Kepler telescope, on the other hand, has a convex lens for both the objective and eyepiece, which has a large field of view but produces inverted images in opposite directions. To achieve this effect, a convex lens needs to be added between the objective and eyepiece, known as the positive image system. Let's just make Kepler style lenses, Yellen lens molds, and I'll leave it to you. I need an embryo puller for the lens. Anyway, I'll be busy again starting tomorrow. The next day, before making the lens mold, Ching Tian made a simple embryo drawing machine using fired circular clay plates according to Yi Lin's requirements. Yi Lin used the rotation of the embryo drawing machine to cut a relatively smooth funnel-shaped small pit on the clay embryo with bamboo slices. Use tree leaves as sandpaper to smooth out the scratches on the surface of the funnel as much as possible, while carefully pressing down to create a curved surface at the tip of the funnel. That's all for now. Five molds are enough. Good. After having the mold, 
All you need to do is pour the glass liquid into the mold to cool it down, and then merge the two cooled flat convex lenses together. The double convex lens is considered completed. Finally, adjust the distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece. Generally speaking, the distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece of the Kepler telescope is roughly equal to the focal length between the objective lens and the eyepiece, but Qin Tian and his colleagues have no measuring tools and have to try slowly. It's adjusted. The imaging is slightly distorted but does not affect the use of C. The magnification effect should be 7 or 8 times. Very good. Even ordinary telescopes on the market can magnify about 10 times. Nick, come take a look too. Wow, this is the eyes of a god. After determining the focal length, the telescope was already halfway completed. Chin Tian and his team found suitable bamboo as the casing and divided the telescope's bamboo tube into an object tube and an eyepiece tube to make it a retractable telescope. It was very compact and Nick couldn't put it down. In addition, they also made several magnifying glasses for ignition. Although lighters are now available, the kerosene inside is a non-renewable resource, so everyone decided to use magnifying glasses to start fires except for emergency situations. Everything is ready. Ching Tian and the four of them are finally ready to start shipbuilding. What kind of ship are we going to build? The current materials available are limited to only wood and iron nails. The Fieldcraft Encyclopedia provides a variety of ship types, but most of them are small boats, mainly canoes, rafts, and fishing boats. Well, let's make catamarans. As the name suggests, a catamaran consists of two main bodies made of triangular wooden boats stacked with wood. These two wooden boats are fixed with horizontal wood to form a deck. The construction method of a catamaran is simple and similar to that of a raft, and there is no need to process wood or worry about gaps in the bottom of the boat. There is basically no technical content, and it is simple and fast. In addition, the stability of catamarans is significantly better than that of single hulls, and they also have the advantages of less obvious resistance peaks and larger loading capacity. They are not easy to capsize during sea navigation and can withstand greater wind and waves. Well, we can also build a sail that relies solely on manual paddling, which would be laborious and susceptible to the influence of ocean currents. I once went out to sea alone to fish with my palm sail in college, so let me handle it. Jessica not only knows how to fly a plane, but also how to sail a boat and ride the wind and waves. It's really charming. Humph, I won't be polite if I compliment you a few more words. After the shipbuilding plan was finalized, Ching Tian and his team officially started construction on a catamaran with a simple structure. The construction speed is much faster than building a wooden boat. Ching Tian also added a deck room on the deck, so you don't have to worry about wind and rain. It only took a week for the catamaran to be fully completed and successfully tested in the water. This is still the shipbuilding site located at the seaside, with daily trips far back and forth. Otherwise, the time would have been even shorter. Look, look, it's floating up. It's floating up. One word stable. The wind is nice today, and I want to drive out and take a spin. Same evening. Father, please wait a little longer with your tribe. Tomorrow, the Witch Lord will depart for our tribe. With the help of the Witch Lord, Nick will surely be able to repel the enemy and rescue you. What are you staring at? The reason is that we are leaving tomorrow. The first time I helped steer a boat was in an uninhabited sea area next to an unknown deserted island, you know. It's quite challenging to drive up Mount Chilming for the first time. It's too challenging. But with Sister Jessica around, everything will definitely be fine. You don't have to be too nervous. Um, Tin. Ching Tian, you must come back safely. Don't worry, I, what sweet words are you whispering? If you don't mind, can I join in and communicate and exchange feelings with you? Jessica, you can't wrap yourself up there. You're almost gone. The next morning, Ching Tian and others arrived at the seaside on time after calculating the high tide time. 
Yellen, the food in the campsite is quite abundant now. If you don't need anything, please try not to go out until we come back. Don't worry, I will definitely protect myself. However, you must be more careful on the way. Campy must protect Yilin well, do you know? Oh, wow. So we're leaving now. Yellen, we will be back soon. Although I know that keeping me at the campsite is for my own benefit, I still feel a bit disappointed in my heart. Cheer up, Yi Lin. Taking care of the campsite is the best help for Ching Tian and the others. After returning home, make canned food properly. This is one of the few things I can do to contribute. The sea breeze is really comfortable. How is Ching Tian? It feels great to gallop on the sea. He, it's great that I didn't get seasick or vomit. I'm just afraid of the big waves and the boat might capsize. Please pray to Poseidon. He will protect you. We have to pray to the Dragon King or Gangam Mazu in our place. Nick, are you okay? Well, since we arrived on this deserted island, under the pressure of survival, we have also mastered the technique of going out to sea to catch fish. Going out to sea by boat has become a part of our daily lives. Clan member Nick is coming back with the Witch Lord. We seem to be heading towards the open sea. Well, we have to avoid the receding seawater from the shore. When encountering cliffs, the waves will turn back and form convection with the original seawater, which is far less calm than it seems on the surface. Navigation on that surface is very dangerous. I see. Jessica is still very reliable. He, don't worry. Follow me as an experienced driver and you won't suffer any losses. If you don't understand anything, feel free to ask my sister and she can teach you step by step. Although the wording is a bit strange, I can't refute it. At noon, the wind on the sea was much weaker and very chaotic, so Jessica had to put away the sails. The scorching noon sun makes people doubt that there is any shelter in life. Within 10 minutes of exposure to the sun, the skin will become hot and scalding. The most serious problem is the light pollution. The undulating sea surface is like a mirror reflecting sunlight, and even titanium alloy dog eyes will be pierced blind. Therefore, the three of them hid in a makeshift house to restore their strength and replenish their fluids. In the afternoon, the sea breeze was still weak, so Ching Tian and Jessica had to use the pre-prepared wood pulp to row the boat. Han Nick, who had injured his arm, could only watch awkwardly from the side. The speed of human labor is completely incomparable to that of wind, and the speed of ships is slow. Rowing is really a tiring thing. Ching Tian and Jessica only persisted for an hour before collapsing on the boat and resting for half an hour before being able to continue rowing. As the evening approached, the wind on the sea finally picked up and Ching Tian and his team continued to ride against the wind. In the end, Ching Tian and his team were unable to arrive on the other side of the deserted island before dark as expected. The three of them had to put away their sails and anchor overnight. Without enough iron, we can only make do with this wooden anchor. However, placing four anchors at the four corners of the ship at the same time, even if it's wooden, won't be a problem. Jessica, how many kilometers did you say we walked today? According to our previous speculation, the total length of this deserted island is about 350 kilometers. Our sailing speed can reach 10 knots, which is 18 kilometers per hour, in windy conditions. We walked for about 10 hours, but on the way, we stopped for another hour and paddled for two hours. We probably only walked less than half the distance, right? Well, it's almost as I expected. I hope to reach the other side before tomorrow evening. Tonight, only Jessica is responsible for keeping watch without changing shifts, which is undoubtedly hard work, but there is no way. Only Jessica has sailing experience on board, and if there is a situation, others cannot respond in a timely manner. Um, I was awakened. How long did I probably sleep? About two or three hours. It's so short, I thought it had been a long time and it was a bit difficult to endure. Maybe you're not used to the sleeping environment at sea. Why don't you try counting sheep? Don't sleep, I'll stay up late with you. 
That's perfect for you to chat with me, see. Speaking of which, Jessica, you are a paleontologist who often travels around the world and must have encountered many interesting things. Interesting things. Do you know about the Megalodon shark? That is an extinct oceanic overlord. According to the bones obtained from current investigations, the megalodon shark has an average length of 14 meters, a weight of 40 tons, and can reach a maximum length of 18 meters. I have seen the bloody and terrifying scenes in the movie Megalodon starring Eco Dason, and I still vividly remember them. If megalodon were to appear in this sea area, this small boat would probably not be enough for a family. Wait. Even the Titan Python and Panda on this deserted island have that Megalodon shark, maybe too. Jessica, I think we should switch topics. When it comes to Tsamlong, it is another era of oceanic hegemony. According to speculation, its body length is between 18 to 21 meters, slightly larger than that of the Megalodon shark. However, because its survival time is too long, a complete Tsamlong fossil has not yet been unearthed in the world. Perhaps its true body length far exceeds this value. Jessica, even though we are currently at sea, we don't necessarily have to talk about marine life. Let's talk about turtles. This can have. When it comes to ancient creatures, Jessica is as excited as a child, her hands dancing together and her eyes sparkling with light, while Ching Tian quietly plays the role of a listener, and time passes unconsciously. The next day... Thanks to the good weather, the sea breeze had not stopped since morning. Ching Tian and his companions kept up with the wind as the sun began to tilt westward. Sandy Beach Master Wu, I saw the beach. We've arrived on the other side of the island. Great. How far is it from your tribe, Nick? Nick has never been here before, so he doesn't know how far away he is from the tribe. However, what is certain is that Nick's tribe is in this direction. Where are those bad guys usually? Along the coast, they seem to be searching for something on the island, so it's possible to encounter them almost everywhere. When going out, one must be very careful. The situation seems to be even worse than I imagined. Everyone, rest well today and go find Nick's tribe early tomorrow morning to avoid any complications. The second day. Relatively speaking, the vegetation on this peninsula is much taller than on our side, and there are not many shrubs. I've been to this area before, Nick. I found my way back. What's wrong, Nick? Why did he stop? The tribe has always arranged guards on the periphery, but now there is no one around, which is quite abnormal. I'll have Shadyao go over and take a look. There are many bipedal beasts. The information is too vague. I don't know if the two-legged beasts mentioned by Shadyao are from the Rada tribe or those bad guys. Otherwise, Jessica, you stay here. Nick and I will go investigate. Wait, Nick. This is all in Arabic and is expressed in Chinese for ease of reading. Elder, don't stop us. After Nick disappeared, we had to rely on us to rescue the clan leader. Don't act impulsively. Going to rescue with our current number of people will only result in a wasted life. Please calm down first. To die in battle is the highest honor of a warrior. Everyone, stop arguing. Nick, where have you been? We're so worried about you. Nick, it's okay if you get hurt. Nick. Sister Nick, you've finally come back. You're gone, and so are your uncles. Even the clan leader is gone. I'm so scared. The patriarch's father is also missing. What's the situation? You went out for several days without returning home, and the clan leader searched everywhere. In the end, the clan leader suspected that you had been captured by the group of people by the seaside, so he led someone to investigate, but accidentally discovered you. Only one soldier managed to escape during the fierce battle and only brought the news back to the tribe today due to serious injuries. Elder, you don't need to say much. We and Nick should go and rescue the clan leader now. I've already said we can't be so reckless. What should we do now? Quiet, everyone, listen to me for a moment. 
There are two things I want to tell you here. Firstly, the time I disappeared was not due to any unforeseen circumstances, but rather because I crossed the realm of death and arrived on the other side of the deserted island. Isn't that the vast realm of death on the other side of the deserted island? Nick, what you said is true. On the other side of the deserted island is the same environment as here, and the death realm only separates the island from the middle nine. The second thing I want to say is that I met the witch envoy on the opposite peninsula. How is it possible for the witch master to do so? That's just an ancient legend. Will Nick have hallucinations? Nick, if you're tired, go back and rest first. No, I'm very clear-headed now. I haven't. How ugly. The strongest woman in Nick's tribe. As the daughter of the clan leader, you have placed your hopes on a non-existent person. With such a disgraceful appearance, it is necessary for me to retract my previous praise for you. Kata. I don't need your praise. Besides, I really met the witch envoy. So where is the witch envoy you mentioned now? The witch envoy is here. Look out. So fast. It's too fast. Where did the giant eagle come from? I heard someone wants to see me. I hope this impressive appearance style can hold the stage. Master Witch Envoy. Is he the witch lord that Nick mentioned? He's not much different from us. However, according to the ancient saying passed down from the tribe, a shaman is actually someone like us, just selected by the shaman as the spokesperson. The two factions in the tribe, I naturally stand for the conservative faction. In a situation where there is a huge gap in strength between us and the enemy, recklessness without any strategy will only lead to faster death. I originally intended to use the identity of a witch envoy to stabilize the situation, but now it seems that everyone is skeptical about this identity. It seems it's time to showcase the magic called science. This is. Hey, did you see that? The flames appeared out of nowhere. Witchcraft, this is definitely witchcraft. Lord Witch God, Lord Witch God has finally heard our prayer and sent a witch envoy to help us. He, I'm such a clever little ghost. Greetings to the witch envoy. Uh, it's over. Let the elders kneel down for you. I'm afraid it won't ruin your life. Since I can become the spokesperson for the Witch God Lord, I believe the Witch Lord must be very strong. I really want to see it. Kata, do not be rude to the Witch Lord. Lord Katowich is very strong. He subdued giant beasts, captured large birds, and defeated an incredibly large python. He alone can knock down everyone in our tribe. Enik, please stop talking. This guy looks like a tough guy. Oh, that way I'll have to see it even more. Ah, uh, I can't be any more cowardly. Jia Li. Okay, hurry up. Has this speed already surpassed that of humans? I didn't see his movements clearly. I only need the strength of two fingers. If you can stand up, I will accept your challenge. Master Wu, this is a bit too underestimating, isn't it? Why can't I move? What's wrong? You seem to be struggling. Um, that Kata, the strongest warrior in our tribe, was subdued by the Witch Lord with two fingers. I didn't read it wrong, did I? The Witch Lord is too strong. If it were the Witch Lord, he would definitely be able to save our people. Since that's the case, I won't be able to accept your challenge. Humph. Huh, I finally managed to pass by chance. I am able to control Kata with my fingers through technique rather than force, which involves principles of human mechanics and mechanics. From sitting to standing up, a person needs to go through two directions of force, forward, backward, and upward. During this process, I use my hand to press against his forehead and cannot lean forward. The center of gravity will fall on the buttocks of the human body, and even with great force, he cannot stand up. Fortunately, he didn't propose any other ways of competition, otherwise there would have been no other choice. Lord Witch, please guide us to save our tribe. Don't worry, Master Wu, 
This time he's here to help you. Jessica. This is. The Witch Lord. It turns out to be the witch. No wonder his clothes are so similar to those of the witch envoy. Are they communicating in the language of God? So you're so good. Is that what you call no mountains, no dew? And I'm curious why your Arabic suddenly became so fluent. You've seen it all. You've been in the tribe for so long and haven't come out because you're worried about me, so you sneaked over. Don't worry, I won't force men with a sense of mystery to be more tempting if you don't want to say anything. Ha ha. Cough cough, that's right. The witch god heard your prayers and sent us to lead you out of your predicament. Oh, thank you for the guidance of the witch god lord. It's getting late, two adults. Please come with me. I'll take you to a place to rest first. This welcoming posture is too exaggerated, isn't it comfortable? Well, the thatched cottages of the Rada tribe are mostly circular, which looks a bit like yurts. From the outside, it seems that they were just built recently, which perfectly matches what Heinick said about escape. This is the house where our tribe worships the shaman god. I wonder if the shaman is satisfied with it. MMM, I'm very satisfied. It's almost dark now, so everyone should go back and rest first. So please rest peacefully inside, Lord Witch. I will have my tribe bring food over later. Huh, I can finally be quiet for a while. I've never been so respectful before in such a long time. By the way, where is Nick? She can't wait to promote your glorious deeds to the people in the tribe. At the moment of Nick's crisis, the witch lord suddenly used his magical tool, the giant snake, and flames shot out of its mouth, causing it to burst into the sky and then fall to the ground with a loud sound. Wow. Is it the power of a shaman who can defeat even a big snake? The witch envoy also gave me the eye of God, which can be used to see clearly even from a very long distance. Humph. What's wrong, Kata? Are you still not convinced? I just know how to use some strange magic. It's not really power. Kata only admires the strong. What are you thinking? I just observed that the tribe is now full of only about 20 people, including the elderly and children. In addition, the soldiers holding long guns are also covered in new wounds, greatly reducing their combat effectiveness. There are probably no more than 10 people who can really fight, including me. In this situation, even if there is a bomb feeling, it cannot compete with that group of people. At least we have more helpers now and still have time to consider countermeasures, right? It's much better than before when our eyes were completely black. Master Wu, I have brought you food. Come in, please. Little sister, what's your name? Returning to the witch, my name is Abielu. What a nice name. Is this the fruit for us? Thank you. Um, so, what's the matter with Elu coming to find the Witch Lord? Just speak up and the Witch Lord will do his best to help you. I. Please ask the Witch Lord to help us rescue our tribe members. Don't worry, Elu. I will do my best to help you because this is both for you and for myself. I'm hungry. I have some dried meat here. Meat, meat. Can Elu really eat it? Of course, eat quickly. Ilu, it's been a long time since you last ate. It's been a day. Sorry, Elu couldn't hold back for a moment. Elu ate too much. No, there isn't. There are plenty of dried meat at the witch's place. Feel free to eat. Ilu, you haven't eaten all day because there isn't much food left in the tribe. Through Abby Ilu's account, Ching Tian and his team gained a deeper understanding of the tribe. When the tribe fled from the pursuit of the group, the situation was urgent and a large amount of food was not taken away in time. Although the warriors in the tribe went out hunting every day after settling down, the food they brought back was far from enough to support the entire tribe. In addition, the weather became colder and the number of animals that appeared decreased. Recently, the food brought back by the warriors has been decreasing. So much so that until now, the tribe members can only barely survive by taking turns eating. It seems that the situation of the Dala tribe is even worse than we imagined. 
Master Wu, we have brought food and a bed over. Abielu, why are you here? Hurry up and come out. Don't disturb the witch and the witch. The two adults are resting. It's okay. I quite like this child. Let her stay here for a while. It seems that this little girl sneaked over here. Master Wu, these are the fruits harvested today and the freshly slaughtered rabbit meat. Please taste them. This is much more food than Abby Ailu brought over just now. Cough, cough. The food shortage situation in the tribe has been told by the Shrine God. You can distribute these foods to other tribe members. This witch envoy, sir. Actually, there's not much difference between me and you guys. It's just that I'm fortunate to have received the favor of the witch god and learned some of his wisdom. You can tell all the tribe members not to show too much respect to me later, which will make me feel uncomfortable. This time, the witch god sent me here to change the current situation of the tribe. Believe me, everything will be better soon. Here are a few pounds of dried meat. You can take them and share them with the elderly and children in the tribe. Old Master Hamel, on behalf of the Rada tribe, thanks the witch envoy for his gift. For the Rada tribe, the legendary shaman who only existed in legend actually appeared in front of them, which both excited and worried them. Excited that the shaman finally heard their prayers and sent a shaman to help them, but worried that they didn't know how to serve the shaman and were afraid of making mistakes, which angered the shaman. Especially in the absence of Chief Hamel, who is an elder, the tribe is led by him. Every command he gives is related to the fate of the tribe. Hamel has always been cautious in serving the witch envoy, but now he doesn't have to be so cautious. The witch envoy in front of him is so close to people and easy to get along with. Huh, now I truly feel the weight of the identity of the witch envoy, as if the fate of the entire tribe has been entrusted to me. You like to silently take on everything alone, which is a bad habit. Remember, you are not alone. There's me, Yelenik, and the entire lot of tribe. Isn't there a common saying? Three stinky cobblers are better than Jugaliang. What are we afraid of with so many people? Um, which envoy, which lord? Why are there so many empty people in the tribe? Everyone went out to search for food during the day. The elder and I came over to bring you some food. Master Wu, this is the fresh fruit that the tribe specially picked early in the morning from the meat jerky they received yesterday with gratitude. The tribe is currently facing difficulties and can only take out these things. It's okay. Eating more fresh fruits in the morning is good for your health, but you're here just in time, Nick. Can you take me to that group's headquarters later to take a look? Now, do you want to wait for the warriors in the tribe to return before setting off? Of course, this is not a doubt about the abilities of the Witch Lord, but the warriors all hope to see the enemy completely defeated by the Witch Lord. Do the people in this tribe really think I can move mountains and fill seas? Help me out, Jessica. Hamel, in fact, the Witch Lord has already exhausted almost all of his witchcraft power in order to enter this world. Now, he cannot directly defeat the enemy and can only rely on the wisdom of the Witch God to help the tribe. Beautiful, truly worthy of being Jessica. Cough, cough, that's right, so this time I'm just going to investigate the enemy's situation and have no intention of taking action. If there are too many people, it's easy to expose their whereabouts. Woo-woo, the witch envoy has sacrificed so much for our tribe. I am truly grateful. Uh, is it a bit too much of a deception? Ching Tian learned from Nick that the camp of that group of people was located more than a day away from the current position of the Rada tribe and immediately decided to leave to arrive as soon as possible, while Jessica stayed behind to help manage the tribe. After a long journey, Ching Tian and his companions gradually moved away from the tribe and entered the area where Nick's group of people often appeared. The chance of encountering enemies here has significantly increased, and the speed of both of them has slowed down, moving forward cautiously. Fortunately, Ching Tian and Nick still had a peaceful evening at noon the next day. This is it. This group of people are all young adults, dressed in horn helmets and this dragon-headed ship. They are Viking pirates. 
Generally speaking, if caught by pirates, there are only two outcomes, either being killed on the spot or being sold as slaves. The possibility of negotiating peace with them is very slim. Master Witch, look over there, it's Nick's tribe. Is the clan leader also inside? Well, I used to have no eye of God and didn't dare to get too close, so I couldn't explore the enemy camp. It's great to be able to confirm that everyone is still alive this time. The pirates only set up guards at the entrance and exit, as well as at the four corners of the camp. The security was not very strict, probably because they felt that there was nothing on this island that could threaten them, so they relaxed so much. It's not impossible to save people, but we need to plan carefully and strive to minimize the risk. Gio. Someone is coming over. Quickly hide it. Damn it, looking around every day is just some rotten grassroots. It's better for me to chop down a few people to have fun. Stupid, are you questioning the captain's map? The language spoken by the pirates here is Norwegian, but Chin Tian, who has a complete list of world languages, has no pressure at all. Of course not. It's been so long and I haven't found anything, right? Dogs can't spit out ivory from their mouths, guys. Let's take a break ahead. Oh hey, Larev, I heard that you almost went to hell when you met Yuminga a while ago. He, the news is quite well informed and cheap. You fools, listen to it. Tell me, tell me. Cough, cough, it's just rotten teeth. Mile didn't come back that day, blah blah. In the end, the two indigenous people caught the attention of Yemengade. We took the opportunity to escape, but halfway through, Yemengade killed him and returned. However, his mouth was severely injured at the time, and his speed slowed down. The five of us dispersed and fled. Finally, I, Larif, bravely escaped Yemengade. He, the damn Mayol, is not so lucky. He was shot in the thigh by a dirty indigenous person with an arrow, and before he could escape for a hundred meters, he was swallowed alive by Yuminga. He was unable to bravely die in battle and could only fall into Nivium and Valhalla without a chance. I hope I don't encounter the terrible Yemengade. If you, a coward, were to be heard by the Holy Father, even if you died in battle, you would not be able to advance to Valhalla. The Holy Father only needs brave and fearless people. But if we can find the Fountain of Youth, even if we don't fight to death, it doesn't matter, right, Larev? Are you sure the captain's map is correct? I used to doubt, like all of you, whether the captain had found the wrong place, but after seeing him engage, I was convinced that the captain's map was correct. There is no doubt that this is the treasure island where the fountain of youth is hidden, because only then can Leviathan and Yemengade guard it at the same time. Great. The legendary fountain of youth is right here. However, based on the current search progress, it may take a long time to find the Fountain of Youth. We don't have anything else except for time. Currently, Leviathan is guarding the deep sea, and unless we find the Fountain of Youth, we won't be able to go out to sea at all. Ralph, do you think the Fountain of Youth is hidden in the mist of death? Maybe. Anyway, let's search this peninsula first and then talk about it. Maybe the old spring is just hidden by those indigenous people. He, I don't want to go back and get the fountain of youth anymore. I have to drink it with my life. Sooner or later, I will find the group of natives who are hiding in Tibet. Don't worry, with Yemengade and Leviathan, they can't escape from this island either. As long as we find them slowly, we will definitely be able to uncover them. Okay, no matter how much you say, it's useless. Get up and continue searching. Let's go, let's go. Did you say that drinking Biu Lao Quan won't make you feel tired after searching for something? Stupid, you've already drunk the old spring and are still looking for nothing. These five big voices speak without any hesitation, but what they're talking about is not old, the spring is extremely sacred, Father Yemen Gade, and so on. Combined with this strange deserted island, there is indeed a chilling sense of reality. If all of this is true, I dare not imagine it. But what really matters to me is that the captain's map is not wrong. According to this sentence, Viking pirates did not come here by chance like us, but arrived according to the predetermined route. 
If that's really the case, as long as we get the map they're talking about, we may be able to find the accurate direction and return to the mainland. What are you thinking, Master Witch? Oh, I'm thinking about what they just said. The shaman is able to understand what they are saying. You don't understand. Oh, by the way, I can only understand their words because of the world language encyclopedia. Cough, cough, the wisdom bestowed upon me by the witch god allows me to learn any language in a short amount of time. No wonder the witch master learned our language so quickly. Uh-huh, that's right. The system is similar to the shrine god. Okay, it's not advisable to stay here for too long. Since the purpose of the exploration has been achieved, let's go back first. We must have a good discussion with Jessica about the Viking pirates. The language spoken by pirates is Old Norwegian. Catch up. Don't let these natives run away. Damn it, I just ran away from them while hunting and ran into them. What if Kata and the others catch up? Ragnar, quickly put Aruba down. Only then will the two of us have a chance to escape. What left Aruba behind? When they catch up, it will be too late. By then, none of us will be able to escape. Don't forget that our duty is to protect the tribe. If even we are captured, who else will go hunting? Hurry up, they can't hold on anymore. Capturing them, the captain is rewarded heavily. However, Kata, I don't want to die yet. Don't abandon me. How can a warrior of a tribe fear death? Don't do it. Aruba. Take a walk. Ah, ah, ah. Everything is for the tribe. Kata is right. Now the only warriors in the tribe who can go hunting outside are us. If Kata and I are captured again, the tribe members may be in a situation of starving to death. Kata, let's go together. Nick. Don't try to harm my people. Ah, who just fired the cold arrow, dog awful. If you want to fight, don't let them blow the horn. The stone gun head is too easy to break when facing the shields of this group of people and must be left for use in the event of a fatal blow. A wooden stick still wants to. Drink it. Tisk, it's endless. Ragnar, come and help me. Coming. Kata, don't use all your strength. What? Look over there. I see. From previous battles, this group of people would immediately sound the horn and gather their companions around them if they found the situation unfavorable to them. Nick wants us to pretend to be defeated to buy time for rescuing Aruba. Haha, ha, that's not enough. Then we're not polite. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, big brother. Can you please restrain yourself? Isn't this already escaped? Yes, I'm sorry, Lord Wu. I was too scared just now. However, upon careful consideration, this is the normal reaction of ordinary people when facing death. People like Nick who are persevering, fearless, and even overcome death can only be called warriors. Don't worry, you are now safe. Thank you, Master Wu, for saving my life. This encounter with Kata and the others was purely a coincidence, and they had no further plans. They could only save the people first, and now it's time for Nick and the others to evaluate quickly. Shad Yao, go notify Nick and the others. Kataragana, Aruba is safe now, and we can do our best. Little Beauty, what are you talking about? Give up resistance, Uncle will love you well. Of. Go to hell. Hee hee, look at me slowly exhausting you. Like a turtle, I only know how to use a shield to block you. I don't have time to continue spending time with you. Try blocking me with a drink. What's going on? What exactly happened? We were still holding the upper hand just now. Why did Bob and the others suddenly die? The horn must be blown in this situation. Ha ha ha. How did I finally realize that I'm scared? Nick and Kata are both the strongest warriors in our tribe. In order for them to one-on-one -on -one fight, I am not trying to restrain you two for nothing.
According to past experience, within three minutes of the horn sounding, other pirates will gather. Let's hurry up and leave. The whole forest is starting to stir up. It seems that there are quite a few pirates in this area. Master Wu, we have successfully dealt with that group of people, but they still sounded the horn. What should we do now? If the pirates around gather here and wander around freely, the chance of encountering pirates will actually increase significantly. Let's first find a place to hide and wait for nightfall. Haha, <laughs> I should be the first one to arrive, right? Hey guys, are you using both limbs like a dog? Are you coming too fast? Heedman, your mouth still smells like a pit. That didn't grow up eating shit, haha. <laughs> hey, can anyone tell me what's going on? They were killed by indigenous people. Is that really funny? At their level, they won't die in a few days. Even if they stumble over a stone while walking, they'll fall to death. Hey, look, this should be the bloodstains left by those indigenous people when they escaped. Should I tell everyone? Say nothing and quickly erase it. The fewer people you know, the better. A native reward of 100 gold coins, you need to share it with them. Of course not. There are no conditions to rush right now, so we can only handle it urgently in this way to avoid leaving bloodstains. Woo-woo, thank you, Master Wu. When are you going to cry? Do you want to bring those people over? Yes, I'm sorry. It was me who held back. All right, let's go. Before the sky completely darkened, Ching Tian and his team found an extremely secretive cave, which finally calmed everyone's restless hearts. You should know that even if we set fire to Ching Tian in this vast forest at night, it's not an easy task for them to find him. In addition, wild beasts appear at night and pirates dare not act recklessly. Kata, how did you meet that group of people? Has the tribe been discovered? No. We couldn't find any food near the tribe, so we had to go further to search. Unexpectedly, we encountered enemies on the way. I have food here. Who among you wants it? Is it really possible? Thank you for the reward from the witch envoy. I, I, thank you, Lord Witch. Is this the food that shamans usually eat? It's really delicious. Kata, if you don't want to eat, give me your portion. Ahem, Ragnar, why are you pinching me? This is a reward from the witch lord. If I refuse it and make the witch lord unhappy and leave the tribe, what should I do? And Kata's heartless abandonment of me there to get a share of food as compensation is not too much. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have been discovered. Although Aruba was abandoned by Kata Midway, he doesn't seem to hold a grudge against Kata. And Kata doesn't seem as heartless as imagined. Everyone has different personalities, but their hearts for the tribe are consistent. The next day, just as the sky had turned white, Ching Tian and the others immediately set off. Surprisingly, the pirate search team did not have as many successful returns as expected. With the guidance of the Sand Eagle, they safely returned to the tribe all the way. Master Witch Envoy Kata, you're back too. Is everything okay in the tribe? Nothing happened, it's just that the elders and witches are very worried about you. That's good, Aruba has some injuries and I'll leave it to you to handle. I have important matters to discuss with the witch alone. Are you saying that group of people are likely Viking pirates? I estimate the number to be around 100 people, equipped with iron armor and weapons, which can be considered well equipped. Although it's exciting to see notorious pirates in history with my own eyes, if possible, I still prefer to learn about them through corpses and bones. Forehead By the way, do you know what Yumengia is? Yumengade is a huge sea snake in Norse mythology that can surround the world. What's wrong? Why do you ask this? So what they're referring to as Yumengia is actually the Titan Python, and what about the Canary Island? Jessica, actually I heard another conversation about Leviathan among those pirates. Well, Leviathan is indeed an evil sea monster in mythology that resembles a whale. 
Can it be said that there are still ocean monsters corresponding to Leviathan in the waters around the deserted island? Don't worry, even if there are marine creatures that fit the image of Leviathan, due to their large size, they cannot operate in the nearshore areas around the deserted island. Huh, that's right. It seems that we cannot rashly set sail until we are fully prepared. Do you think that the Fountain of Youth really exists on this island, where even extinct prehistoric creatures exist? Even if there is a spring water, how can we hide those pirates? We suspect that the Rata tribe has hidden the Fountain of Youth. This kind of thing is impossible, right? But let alone recalling all the things on the deserted island. The legend of the Fountain of Youth varies around the world. In Viking mythology, the Fountain of Youth existed on an unknown deserted island and was first discovered by a navigator by chance. After drinking the Fountain of Youth, the navigator obtained immortality. However, out of greed, the navigator wanted to take the Fountain of Youth for himself, so he went to the end of the ocean and found the Holy Grail that could hold everything. He hid the Fountain of Youth in the Holy Grail. Later, the navigator encountered an unexpected event and the world found a diary about the Fountain of Youth from his relics. It was only then that the Fountain of Youth was known to the world. So it's like this. If it's just a cup, it's quite easy to hide. Otherwise, if you ask the elders, they might have really been hidden by them. If it's you, they will definitely tell the truth. Hee hee, I believe what you said. Jessica, how have you been with them for a few days? What's the situation with the tribe? Alas, the situation is not good. The most important thing that everyone in the tribe, from the elderly to the children, does every day is to go out and search for food. However, even so, they can only barely make ends meet. Once the amount of food found one day suddenly decreases, the tribe will instantly fall into a state of no food to eat, and without food, they will lose their labor force. This vicious cycle will eventually lead to everyone starving to death. At the end of the day, it's still a lack of productivity, but the urgent task is to find a solution to the current food crisis. Otherwise, let's go borrow some food. Borrow. For those who borrow but don't repay. This is a rough plan of the pirate camp. This is the place where the lot of people are being held captive. From my observation, not far behind is a Viking pirate restaurant or warehouse where there should be a lot of food. We just need to lure away the pirates in the camp to take the opportunity to enter and take away the captured lot of people and the pirates' food together. It's difficult to lure everyone away, isn't it? What if I have something they want, such as the fountain of youth or treasures? This. Well, considering the greed of the pirates, the feasibility is quite high. However, for safety reasons, we still need to be fully prepared to prevent pirates from remaining in the camp. That's right, we must ensure that the plan will definitely succeed. But I remember you said before that the captured lot of people were locked together with iron chains. How do we solve this problem of stealing keys? This is too troublesome and it's easy to expose that I have another clever plan. Clever plan. Wang Shui, please understand. The second day. This is a tribute from the tribe to thank the witch lord for saving Aruba. Please accept it, witch lord. This time, it's better for me to obey orders than to show respect. I've been eating dry jerky for so many days. It's really good to change the taste. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a salty smell and it's too strong. I really miss Yellen's cooking skills. By the way, old man, let me ask if our tribe has any craftsmen or artisans. Are you referring to Alex, the craftsman? If the witch wants to see me, he can take you there now. Then there's the old man who needs help. She is the most skilled craftsman in our tribe, Alucas. Many of the daily necessities and weapons in the tribe are basically polished by her. Alex, Alex. These stone spears and axes are all finely polished, sharp and beautiful, much better than what I did. Master Wu, please forgive me. Once Eric's becomes focused, she will enter a state of arrogance. I will go wake her up now. No need to do this. I can just take a look at her craftsmanship. 
Well, this one is pretty good, but the connection between the gun barrel and the gun head feels like it can be optimized. Let's try it again next time. Oh, Lord Witch, Lord Witch, I. Don't be nervous, your skills are great. I want you to help me make something. What's that? I need a container for holding special liquids and a pipeline to connect the containers. I call these things conduits and reagent bottles. Can you make them? Leave it to me, Master Witch. I will definitely make the most perfect pottery. Cough, cough, it's not that exaggerated. As long as there's no water leakage, it's fine. Configuring Aqua Regia requires the use of reagent bottles and tubes. I originally planned to do it myself, but now that I have such a craftsman, it saves me a lot of trouble. Next. Are there any leftover bones in the old man's tribe? Bone. Ah, does the witch lord intend to use the enemy's skull to perform curse-killing magic? No, it's not me. It's not human bones. The shaman wants to use animal bones to summon the spirit of the earth. This old man has extraordinary brain-boosting abilities. The shaman wants to use bones to make useful witchcraft tools. Not available. Which tools that can be used by every member of the tribe? Animals are the embodiment of the spirit of the earth, and they are the nourishment of the spirit of the earth for us. Therefore, we have piled up all the bones left over from the tribe to show our gratitude to the spirit of the earth. Master Wu, please come with me. Master Witch, these are the bones left over from the tribe's usual meals. I wonder if they can be used to make enough witch tools. That's enough, that's enough. This is simply too much. Ahem, next I'm going to perform witchcraft with the witch here, old man. You can go rest first. Then I won't disturb Lord Wu. What are you planning to do with these bones? Mixing bone powder, carbon powder, and silica to isolate the air and heat it, and then passing the formed gas into cold water, can obtain white phosphorus. Do you want to make matches with white phosphorus? That's right, but we don't have silica here. We can only notify Yellen to help us decorate the silica sand. Shad Yao, you've worked hard. Let's take advantage of our free time and go around the tribe. See if you can help the tribe find some food. Okay, okay. It seems that I am too optimistic. Almost everything that can be eaten around me has already been picked by the tribe, except for gnawing on tree bark. Yes, if it were easy to find food, the Lotta tribe wouldn't be so difficult. Which envoy, which lord? Aruba, what are you doing here? Your injuries haven't healed yet, have they? Come out and find food. Although my leg is injured, I can't just lie in the tribe and eat and drink. I'm lucky to have found a snake cave here. I've touched the cave and it's new. As long as I keep watch over the snake here, it should come back. And there may be toads in the snake hole, although they taste unpleasant, they can at least fill the stomach. Oh, when it comes to unpleasant food, I found a slippery creature by the seaside before. Wait, where did you find this leaf from Aruba? Is this one? I think this leaf would look great when used to make a hat, so I picked some. Does the witch lord also want a hat? Then Abaru has already made it for the witch lord. This is... Taro leaves. Where did you find this leaf from Aruba? Right around here. Take us over quickly. The witch envoy is here. Taro, a perennial perennial herbaceous plant belonging to the Araceae family, is commonly cultivated as an annual crop. It is an important vegetable and food crop with high nutritional and medicinal value, and is suitable for all ages as a nutritional supplement. Taro is rich in starch and its starch granules are as small as 110% of potato starch, with a digestibility rate of over 98%. It can also be used for vinegar production, winemaking, protein separation, alkaloid extraction, and other purposes. Great, it's indeed taro and there are so many more. What is taro? Are these the leaves? It's food that can be eaten. Food is not allowed, this leaf must not be eaten otherwise. Otherwise, it will cause swollen gums, nausea, vomiting, and dry mouth and tongue, right? 
Yes, yes, yes. Have you also eaten it, Master Witch? There is no such thing as taro. Before it is cooked, it does contain certain toxins, especially in the leaves. However, after it is cooked, it becomes very delicious. Can this really be eaten? Last time, I accidentally picked up a little leaf in my mouth and my tongue was burning all day. No matter, I believe in the witch envoy. With so many taro, everyone finally doesn't have to go hungry anymore. Only the tubers of taro can be eaten. Don't you want leaves? This taro looks a bit scarce. Forehead. The fruit of taro grows underground. What we need is this part. So it's such a magical food. Afterwards, Ching Tian and the three of them started digging for taro. As they didn't bring backpacks, the three of them had to carry them in their clothes and brought them back to Bulyuo. Oh, this is so big. Master Wu, is this really food? Since the witch lord said he could eat it, he must not be wrong, right? Let's give it a try and we'll find out. Generally speaking, steamed taro tastes better when boiled. The taro has less moisture and the flesh is still loose, but there is no steamer in the tribe. We can only make do for now. It takes about 10 minutes to boil taro in water. During this time, Hammer and the three of them stared at the big pot as if they could see through the lid. It should be almost done. Oh my god, this smells so good. Not to mention Aruba, even I'm drooling. After being on a deserted island for so long, I've been eating meat and fruits like this starchy food that hasn't been eaten for too long. Smelling this fragrance and saying it's not tempting is all fake. Well, it's already done, old man. You guys should try it. Thank you, Lord Witch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hot. Hot, hot. Delicious. Delicious. MMM, MMM, it's so delicious. Hey, hey, peel the skin first. Great, that's really great. The tribe finally has something to eat. Master Wu, thank you for your guidance. Didn't the old man say he didn't have to be so polite to me? And now it's not the time to cry. Other tribe members are still waiting for our sumptuous feast. After everyone is full, come with me to dig taro. Okay, okay. It smells so good. What's that smell? It's really delicious, isn't it? Gulu's saliva is flowing out. What is cooked in this pot, Master Witch? It's food. Is everything food in here? Well, it's all food. Is this true? It's all food. Does everyone have a share of so much food? I really want to know what's cooking inside. What's going on? Everyone is so happy. The witch envoy brought us a lot of food. All of these pots are. All of them. Quiet, quiet. Listen to me, everyone. Today's abundant food is all thanks to the guidance of the witch envoy. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the guidance of the witch envoy. Now let's invite the witch envoy to speak. Ahem cough cough. Start cooking and eat. Start cooking and eat. Witch envoy, witch lord. What's up? Actually, it's Ailu who wants to find you for something. Thank you, Master Xiaowu, for finding food for us. This is for you. Thank you for your present. The Lord which God indeed favors us. At first, I thought the shaman would only spend his days holding magical tools and doing mysterious things in the room, but I didn't expect him to be so kind as if he were no different from us ordinary people. Humph, this is the shaman of our tribe, not a fool of the Kurusan tribe. This guy is still so dishonest. I never expected even Kata to start recognizing the witch envoy. Everyone, please listen to me. Although we discovered a taro field yesterday, according to my estimation, the remaining amount of taro cannot sustain the tribe's consumption for too long. Moreover, the Viking pirates are constantly investigating the tribe's location and shrinking our living space. Our situation will become increasingly difficult. So we must start building ships from now on and prepare to leave here. 
During this period, I will find a way to rescue the lot of people who are being held captive by pirates. Once we rescue them, we will immediately take a boat to the peninsula where I used to be. Please follow the guidance of the witch envoy. Please follow the guidance of the witch envoy. Afterwards, under the organization of Hamel, the lot of people deliberately distanced themselves from the pirate camp and set the shipbuilding site in the woods near the beach where Ching Tian landed. How's the thing that Alex asked you to do before? Master Wu, all the porcelain you requested has been completed. Let me take a look quickly. Because it is a tool that the witch lord needs to use, I have carefully carved patterns on every piece of pottery. I don't know if you like it or not. Uh, I like it. I like it. Why don't you make me two more sets when you have this time? Truly a professional worker, this pottery is probably even better made than Yellen's. Now it's time for us to start construction. After preparing the experimental equipment, Ching Tian went to the beach to search for shells, crushed them, calcined them to obtain calcium oxide, and then sprinkled calcium oxide into water to obtain calcium hydroxide precipitate. Jessica is responsible for burning a large amount of seawater to a semi-dry state to obtain MgCl26H20, also known as brine salt ILO. After both materials are ready, add calcium hydroxide to the brine salt. There are a large number of metals in seawater, and magnesium exists in the form of magnesium chloride. When magnesium chloride and calcium hydroxide in the brine salt meet, they react to form magnesium hydroxide precipitate and calcium chloride solution. Ching Tian used his clothes to filter out the magnesium hydroxide precipitate, while Jessica took out the battery from her backpack and prepared saturated saline solution. Under electrolysis conditions, ions in saturated saline combine with hydroxide and sodium ions to form sodium hydroxide solution. Hydrogen and chloride ions then become gases. Ching Tian collects chlorine and hydrogen gases through a conduit, ignites them, and releases them into water to form hydrochloric acid. Pour the filtered magnesium hydroxide precipitate into hydrochloric acid for a chemical reaction to produce a pure magnesium chloride solution. Finally, the water is evaporated by heating to obtain solid magnesium chloride, which is then further heated to a liquid state and subjected to electrolysis. The chlorine element in magnesium chloride is converted into chlorine gas and dissipated, leaving behind white magnesium powder. After working hard for a long time, I finally got it done. Have a try. Have a try. What kind of witchcraft is that? It's truly worthy of being the witch envoy. You're so full. Taro is such a good thing. As long as you can eat enough, even if you chop down trees for a day, you won't feel tired. Master Witch Envoy. Come in, please. Master Wu, do you have anything to ask me about? Come and take a look. Can you create a structural diagram called Mortis and Tenon Joint, Alex? Mortis and Tenon Joint. The mortise and tenon structure has been passed down to this day, and many of them have disappeared from history. Even though there are only a few styles recorded in the system, they are still enough for us to use. The Rata tribe doesn't have iron and can only use this structure to reinforce their ships. Of course, they can also use hemp ropes to tie them up, but seawater is corrosive and hemp ropes made from tree bark become easy to break after soaking. I don't want to take this risk. A well-designed and ingenious structure is truly amazing. With this structure, even without ropes, two pieces of wood can be tightly connected together. Of course, this is the crystallization of the wisdom of the ancient Chinese people. If we have this blueprint, I think we should be able to make it. Does the witch lord want me to apply this structure to ships? However, the sharpness of the tools in the tribe is limited. It will take longer to carve precise gaps in the wood and ensure that they are firmly bitten about five days. Not all places require this structure. If only a few parts use mortise and tenon joints, can the construction period be shortened? Oh, oh, in that case, the construction period should be shortened to three days. Great, I'll leave the shipbuilding of the tribe to you. This is related to the survival of the entire tribe, so you need to handle it well. 
to fulfill our mission with determination. The sand sculpture has returned. Oh, and the glass experimental equipment. I didn't expect Yilin's skills to improve so much in just a few days. She's truly a life expert. Hole. Well, it's been a long time since I last reported my safety to Yellen. I'll apologize to her when I get back. To make white rice, the first step is to thoroughly grind the crispy bones into powder. Then mix the carbon powder, silicon sand, and bone powder together and heat them at high temperature. Under high temperature conditions, silicon dioxide reacts with calcium phosphate in bones to form calcium silicate and phosphorus pentoxide which can be reduced by charcoal to produce gaseous white carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide. When white phosphorus gas encounters water, it will turn into white particles and sink into the water. Some of them will float on the surface and emit highly toxic white phosphorus. At this time, it is necessary to maintain a safe distance to avoid self-harm. With white phosphorus, we can make white phosphorus matches, but white phosphorus matches are not very safe. Well, I know. The self-ignition point of white phosphorus is very low. If it exceeds 40 degrees, it will spontaneously ignite, and friction on any surface will burn. As long as the action is slightly larger, the matches in the matchbox will rub against each other and ignite, which is very dangerous. So what I need to do is make safe matches. The safety match was developed by the Swedes in 1852, based on the white phosphorus match, after being improved by the Swedes. The biggest difference between safety matches and white phosphorus matches is that the main ignition material used is N, compared to white phosphorus. Red phosphorus has a higher self-ignition point and can only be ignited by friction on a surface coated with red phosphorus without producing toxic gases during combustion. The production method of red phosphorus is very simple. Just isolate the white phosphorus from the air and heat it to about 300 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the campfire can be fully reached. Next, we need to produce potassium chloride required for safety matches. Mixing the byproduct calcium hydroxide solution obtained during magnesium production with potassium carbonate solution, also known as wood ash water yields calcium carbonate precipitate and potassium hydroxide solution. By electrolyzing salt water again to obtain chlorine gas and passing it into a heated potassium chloride solution, potassium chlorate and potassium chloride solution can be obtained. The solubility difference between potassium chlorate and potassium chloride is significant, so simply adding potassium nitrate to cool the mixture can cause a large amount of potassium chlorate crystals to precipitate from the solution. Finally, the necessary cutting of the matchstick stem is completed by peeling and drying the branches to remove moisture. The materials for making safety matches are finally all ready. Yeah, Chin Tion, let's get started. Sun. Gelatinous gelatin. Sulfur. Red. Potassium chloride. Match cup. To make matchsticks, you need to use the gelatin made by boiling pig bones as a binder, mix sand and sulfur together, and add water to stir. The proportion of each is about 12,406. The most crucial step afterwards is to add potassium chloride and red phosphorus to the mixture, which is also the biggest difference between safety matches and white phosphorus matches. Jessica, the matches are almost ready. You can prepare a temporary eraser with gelatin and red phosphorus. Jessica, are you ready? Well, Ching Tian, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Take it easy, I'm nervous. Reward 1000 points for making matches. Perfect Ching Tian, we succeeded. Hey, be careful of the fire. Don't move around. The next step is to make aqua regia. Let the spontaneous combustion of white phosphorus generate a large amount of white smoke, which can be dissolved into hot water through pipes to produce phosphoric acid. Add potassium nitrate powder to the phosphoric acid solution and let it continue heating at high temperature to generate reddish-brown gas. Finally, nitric acid used for making aqua regia can be collected through cooling and liquefaction. Hydrochloric acid and nitric acid are ready. Aqua regia needs to be prepared and used immediately. Let's call it a day. 
I'm exhausted. Let's go check on the situation at the shipyard. Which envoy, which lord? Nick, have you recovered from your jumping injuries? Uh-huh, after using the witch master's potion extensively, Nick has almost recovered. He, what kind of witch potion? Actually, it's just using alcohol to detoxify and simply bandaging. This girl's recovery ability is amazing, but this way Nick can face those pirates in the best state possible. Two adults, take a look at the ship we made. This is already the sixth one. I have made another zero zero. I made six ships in just a few days. It's really powerful with many people. Well, it's quite reliable, not necessarily worse than what we make with nails. Six such ships, one carrying six people, are already enough to bring back all the existing members of the tribe. The ship is doing well, but considering there will be other rescued tribe members, we need to add a few more ships. Don't worry, keep it on me. By the way, when are we going to rescue our people? We'll take action in four days. Four days later. Everyone has taken their bags, and each person should go to Jessica's place to collect the box they didn't take. What's this? This is the magical tool bestowed upon us by the Witch Master. This thing is called a match and is used to start a fire. Starting a fire with matches. Can we also use magic tools to start a fire? I see. If the wooden stick becomes smaller, it is indeed more convenient for friction. No, I don't think so. Ilu, how did you do it? Witchcraft is truly witchcraft. Did you just see it? The flames just appeared out of thin air. What kind of witchcraft is it? It's just the simplest chemical reaction. When a match rubs against the surface of red phosphorus, the potassium chloride in it oxidizes the red phosphorus in the contact area, generating high temperature and triggering a reaction between sulfur and potassium chloride. After the gelatin is added to the reaction, the heat generated can ignite the matchstick stem. Forget it, forget it. If they really explain it this way, they should think it's even more amazing. Alex, keep an eye on the beautiful flames. It's so magical. Is this the power of the witch master? But I always feel like it's similar to the spark I accidentally generated when I hit a stone. Is there any mystery behind it? Listen to me, there's no need to worry. This is something that everyone can use. Now I will demonstrate to you how to use matches. Everyone can imitate my movements. It's simple. Just quickly rub the head of the match against the eraser next to the matchbox. Oh, that's amazing. With this firewood, it's much more convenient to start a fire. But if these matches are burned one by one, they will be gone. We need to cherish them well. After burning it down, will the witch lord reward us again? This match is really convenient, Kata, don't you think so? Well, it's very convenient. All right, everyone, listen to me. We've been working hard these days building ships, and you should all know why, right? The time is now ripe to set out and rescue our people. Oh, oh, oh. Save our people. Save our people. As long as there is a witch envoy present, we will definitely win. We have been thinking about rescuing our tribe for too long, but we are also very clear that with the current power of the tribe, we cannot compete with those Viking pirates. Therefore, we can only bury this idea deeply in our hearts. Now that things are different, the witch lord has brought us hope, and even the old man's blood is boiling. Haha, <laughs> Elder, don't force yourself anymore. Next, I will select a suitable candidate from the tribe for this rescue mission. Everyone has stood up. Bakuma and Bohama are responsible for monitoring the guards on the outskirts of the tribe. They are siblings and have a handsome and neutral appearance. If it weren't for their differences in physique, just looking at their faces could easily lead people to mistake them for brothers. Their main weapons are bows and arrows, waist and short knives, and they are good at long-range attacks. The oldest warrior in the Viru tribe is around 40 years old, in the prime of his life with mature and steady weapons such as a double stone axe. The rest are Hanik, K, 
Kata, Aruba, and Lagama, all of whom have had contact with each other before. These are the only seven people in the entire tribe who can truly participate in the battle. Fortunately, this time we are not going to confront the Vikings head-on, and there are not many people in need. Okay, that's all for tomorrow's rescue plan. Do you all understand? Understand? Why are you nervous about tomorrow's action? Ha, huh, if you're not nervous, it's definitely fake. Have you not made up your mind yet? The determination to kill. I still can't hide it from you, Jessica. If the plan succeeds, it's best not to deal with the Shanghai pirates, but once there's a deviation, it's better to deal with the pirates. Jessica, what would you do? Kill the opponent before they take action. Even if animals hesitate to fight in nature, they will bring their own destruction. Not to mention those pirates are human demons with blood on their hands. Jessica, if you really encounter an enemy, I hope you can have the heart to kill them. I don't want any accidents to happen to you. Oh, I see. Late the next night. Damn it, this damn weather is making us stand guard outside. Be content, the team you're searching for outside is much worse off than us. We were just a bit frozen, but many people who went out to search lost their lives. There was a person named Ryda who was bitten by something and had his entire but torn apart, which is called a split skin and flesh. Don't you fucking say such disgusting things and still find life difficult enough. The captain also thought the same way, so he killed his right eye and threw it directly into the sea to feed the fish. Anyway, it's all about death. He has to thank the captain for being able to die so easily. God of light, God of light. The fountain of youth must be the fountain of youth. Shenguan, that must be some treasure. I'll go tell the captain. Ha ha, Lao Quan is mine now. Coming. Captain Solomon. Captain Solomon. Grigory, I'm here to find Captain Solomon. It's a pity that at the last moment, it was let go. Captain Solomon has finally met you. My dear crew, I remember saying that when I'm fishing, unless there's something really big going on, don't disturb me no matter what. So you must have brought me very valuable news this time, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very good. In order for you to be able to enjoy the sweet cheese, as usual tomorrow, I sincerely hope that your response will satisfy me. A treasure has appeared deep in the hidden forest of the baby. Indeed, my good crew deserves commendation. This bright light will definitely attract many fish, won't it? My decision to find Captain Solomon was indeed right. Hurry up. The treasure is right ahead. He, he, these newcomers didn't understand anything and dared to rush in. They're really just novices. I don't even think about our captain's style of dividing treasures and wanting to take them all by himself. It's better to just watch and reap the benefits of the fishermen. He, he. Come on, let me see who's the fish and who's the catcher tonight. What the hell did the treasure run away on its own? No matter what, how could the duck that was about to catch up make it fly? Unfortunately, I originally thought that tying a flashlight to a sand sculpture would make the beam of light emitted by the flashlight strange for Viking pirates, as it could lure them all out. However, I didn't expect that more than 20 people still hadn't been hooked. But at least they have been attracted to the main entrance of the camp. The rear defense is empty and the opportunity is not to be missed. You two stay here and I'll give you the telescope. If anything unexpected happens during our operation, you'll be responsible for providing remote cover. Understand? Nakata, the three of us reached from behind. Um, this wall is too high. Let's first send Kata up together and then. So what? Forehead. And then there's a ghost, and this wall looks like it's three meters high, but it jumped straight over. I guess this girl has a way. Are you witches or am I? I can't be underestimated. 
Gia. Great, as I expected, there is no one behind the campsite. This should be the southwest side of the campsite. Follow me. Why hasn't the witch envoy left? The area ahead should be where the tribe members are being detained, right? When we observed before, there should be two guards guarding the prison cell in front of us. I don't know if they have also gone to chase after the treasure. There's no time to hesitate. The longer you delay, the easier it is to be discovered. Also go. Nick. Why are you here? Are you here to save us? Hurry up and be careful not to be discovered by them. Father, don't worry. The Witch Lord has a way to rescue you from here. Master Witch Envoy. Kata, go ahead and let me prepare the royal water first. It's up to you. Wang Shui needs to be prepared in a ratio of three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid and one part concentrated nitric acid. The steps are simple but require extreme caution. Both concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid are highly corrosive liquids. If they drip onto the skin, even if white bones are visible, it is not an exaggeration. Reward 1000 points for making aqua regia. Alright, you guys, let me demonstrate first. Stand aside and don't touch this liquid. This witchcraft is really a witch master. Everyone, quickly stretch out the bracelet and ankle bracelet, Katanic. Use the remaining two bottles to rescue the other two people in the cage. The Rada tribe originally had nearly a hundred people, except for the more than thirty who were hiding. There should be around fifty or sixty people here, but looking at this number now, there shouldn't be anything else. I can't think of that much anymore. The top priority is to rescue everyone who can be saved. Everyone is untied. Let's go quickly. We expose the whistle. This. The pirates suddenly move towards the prison cell. What should we do? We have a witch envoy who has applied the witch medicine by going me to the wood in front of us. Following the witch envoy's original words, we will attack the west and divert the tiger from the east, leaving the mountain. The granary caught fire. This is the food we prepared for winter. Hurry up and put out the fire, otherwise everyone will starve to death. Ralph, you lead the team to put out the fire. Yes. Everyone else is not allowed to leave without permission. Come with me. Hee hee, Captain, I am extremely good at fishing. Where is the bait and where will the fish appear? It's like a clear mirror in my heart. It's time to shut down now, everyone. These Viking pirates are smarter than I imagined. Kata and Nick, who can easily climb over the wall, are indeed exceptions. In addition, these lot of people have been imprisoned for a long time and are physically weak. The speed at which they can climb over the wall is simply too fast, so there seems to be no room for maneuver. Since you insist on fighting to the death, I won't hold back. Attention everyone. That guy conjured up flames out of thin air. Something on fire flew over. What is this? What a loud noise. Don't be stunned. Hurry up and leave. Just relying on the power of this homemade bomb is definitely not enough to deal with all pirates. I just hope this bomb can deter them. Look out. Ha ha ha. How can I torture you this time? It's really exciting. Go to hell. Sob, it hurts so much. Fortunately, other pirates were wary of the explosion just now, so they didn't dare to approach. Otherwise, Nick and I wouldn't be their opponents at all. I hope we can continue to confront each other like this until all the tribe members have climbed over the wall. With our strength, we still have a way to escape. The little ones, one indigenous person's head costs 200 gold coins. Two or 200 gold coins to charge. Killing these indigenous people will make a fortune. What's the point of asking for money and risking one's life? Second-rate people eat me for a bullet.
Master Wu, you and your father must go first. I will deal with him. What should we do? It's impossible to leave. If we don't find a way to stop them, everyone will suffer. It's a rocket, everyone be careful. Raise the shield, raise the shield. It's the Bohama siblings. They're so good. It's a timely rain. Wow, it's on fire. The shield is on fire. Ah, there's also a fire on my body. The white phosphorus arrow is wrapped in animal skin sprinkled with white phosphorus. At the moment when the arrow hits the target, Baishimi will shake and fall from the animal skin. The white phosphorus has a low ignition point and the arrow flame is used as a trigger to ignite it. Good opportunity. I may not be able to defeat these people in close combat, but as someone blessed with horses and horses from afar, I am not afraid of any opponents. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pay attention to that indigenous person with strange clothing over there. The head belongs to me. Oh no. Chief of the clan. Master Wu, please leave this place with me. Please leave with the other tribe members. Master Wu grabbed my hand. I'll pick you up at the fence. Oh, wow. Kill him, damn native. I don't even need to take over this. Kill him. Does the clan leader seem to have any problems for a while? Nick and the Iron Claw Pirate are also inseparable, except for Kata where the situation is more critical. Oh, my eyes. I can't see it. He he he, can't this be okay? Die now. The harder the fish struggle, the tighter the net can be retracted. Kata's weapons are not as inferior as the opponents, and the rockets used to restrain the pirates are almost exhausted. We are no longer allowed to waste any more and must withdraw quickly. Everyone, close your eyes. That jar contains a large amount of magnesium powder and a small amount of gunpowder, which is the simplest flash bomb. Although it is much less effective than a real flash bomb, it is still enough to temporarily blind them in this already dim environment. Hurry up and leave. The effect of the simple flash bomb won't last long. Everyone is running towards the forest. I hope this smoke bomb can buy enough time. What the hell is this? Come out for me. Are all of you indigenous people cowards? Hey, hey, keep an eye on me. Don't cut me, you idiot. Useless waste made the indigenous people run away. Please flip it over and follow the footprints. Captain, it's so dark in the forest. Fish that bite the hook can be released by you and run away. If I can't catch them, you'll all die. Oh no, there are still many pirate search teams in this forest who will definitely come in this direction after hearing the horn sound. We should try our best to keep away from the pirates behind us so that even if we encounter a search team, we can take time to solve the problem without being wrapped up in rice dumpling. After the tribe is rescued, the pirates will become angry and increase their efforts to conduct a comprehensive search. Soon, the location of the tribe will be discovered. Now, we must follow the plan and flee directly to the coast where the ships are ready. Let's take a boat and leave. It's a whole day's journey from here to the coast, even if you run G, it will take dawn to reach. During this period, we not only need to avoid the search of other pirate teams, but also get rid of the pursuit of pirates behind us. Otherwise, if they discover that we left by boat and recklessly chase after us, the entire island will be occupied by pirates. The Witch Lord is from another pirate team. Don't act impulsively. They probably haven't noticed us yet. Everyone, hide quickly. If pirates were all carrying torches, we might be able to completely avoid them and escape safely by hiding in advance. Half an hour later, Ching Tian and the others encountered another pirate team with the bright light of torches, which was very conspicuous in the darkness. 
Ching Tian once again concealed themselves in advance and successfully evaded the search. This is already the third team of pirates. They thought it would be better to search with torches, but they didn't expect us to take advantage of it. If things continue like this, maybe we can really escape safely. He, I said Claw Claw Lousy's nose wouldn't be wrong, right? I am most sensitive to the smell of blood. Did these guys just pretend to leave and extinguish the torch waiting for us to show up? Hurry up, horn. Blow the horn. Master Wu, are you okay, chief? Hama siblings, you came too timely. Although I was mentally prepared, seeing five living people instantly turn into corpses with my own eyes is still so impactful. Life is really fragile. Master Witch Envoy. The battle just now may have exposed our position. Everyone, quickly retreat. The sound just now was over here. Everyone, look carefully for it. Hee hee, the head of the indigenous people is mine now. What do you want to eat? Dare to steal from me. Damn it, they were surrounded so quickly, and in terms of quantity, this group of pirates should have no less than 15 people. Each person has a torch to illuminate the forest, and it is impossible to repeat the old trick. If we confront head-on, it will only drag more pirates to come and rescue us, and we will undoubtedly die. There's only one way left. Listen up, everyone. Later, I will use flashballs and smoke bombs as cover for you, and then I will lure them away. You can take the opportunity to escape. Master Wu, let's go be bait. You and the clan leader go first. What the hell? I'll go. Don't worry, I've already made a trade-off between profit and loss. It's only appropriate for me to go, and I'm just trying to lure them away, not to risk their lives. You have to believe me because I am the Witch Lord. Remember to follow the arrangements of the Witch when you go back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my eyes. Cough. Cough. Master Witch Envoy. Nick, don't waste the opportunity created by the Witch Lord for us. Go. Found the indigenous people over there. Hurry up and chase. Did they discover the indigenous people? Hurry up and chase, we can't let the bounty be snatched by them. Okay, we have attracted most of the pirates and minimized the chances of Nick and his team being discovered. It's almost time to get rid of them now. How could this be so fast? The Fountain of Youth is definitely the power brought by the Fountain of Youth. Yes, that's right. It's true that the indigenous people did the Fountain of Youth. As long as we catch the indigenous people, we can get the fountain of youth. Blow the special horn quickly. Ha ha ha, it's different from team action. It's easier for me to hide alone and not be discovered. With the cover of darkness, as long as I use my talent every once in a while, I can completely shake off pirates. That's why I chose myself as bait. Living on a deserted island for so long has significantly improved my physical strength. If I had used the swift cheetah for such a long time before, I would have probably stopped eating long ago. This huge horn sound is completely different from before, giving people a sense of foreboding. You've rested almost, hurry up and leave. Is this a carpet style search? This direction is also the same. It seems that the horn just now informed me of my location. Most of the pirates in the forest are now gathering here. The area where I am located has been surrounded. I am constantly constrained in this way, and even if I have talent and abilities, I cannot completely escape. In the end, I will only be caught by them due to exhaustion. The terrain around the pirate camp we have stepped on before. Although the escape route was a bit chaotic, it generally ran in one direction, that is, in the 9 o'clock direction. The matter has come to this point, and we can only take a gamble. The last flash is up to you. Oh, wow. What's up? It's this damn thing again. 24 over here. Discovered indigenous people. 
It's the right side. Hurry up and chase. Ha ha ha, there's a cliff ahead. He can't escape. There shouldn't be any problem with Alex's excellent craftsmanship. This is also the last life-saving measure I left for myself. He, he, this stupid idiot who doesn't know his life or death is doomed. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Buddha, Avalokitesvara, bless. Amit Ba Buddha. Did you see that indigenous person? Did he actually jump down from here without risking his life? I think you must be crazy. Stein, your team is such a waste. They let a native break through your defense line. What are you saying? Why don't you admit it? I watched him escape from your side with my own eyes. You. How did you make that indigenous person with clues about the fountain of youth escape? Captain of the ship. So, my dear crew members, who can tell me what you are gathering here for? Stein, can you tell me? That's it. That person was summoning smoke, creating a shining light like the sun in the dark, and running fast like the wind. We couldn't catch him and chased him all the way here, but he flew down like a bird. Oh, the fountain of youth can indeed give people the power of gods. Stein, you said that indigenous person jumped from here. Yes. Why don't you go down and search for it? Maybe the fountain of youth is on that indigenous person's body. Go down here, Coco. You're not trying to say it's too high, are you? I hope you can become the first warrior on our ship to drink from the fountain of youth. It's a pity that you didn't see such a great opportunity, Stein. May the Holy Father be with you. Find a way for me to go down and retrieve even the body. Yes. When we first sailed around the deserted island, we always sailed close to the island and the scenery we saw the most was the towering mountain walls. Most of these mountain walls seemed to have been chopped by a huge axe, with flat and vertical incisions and no path to come down. It is almost impossible to climb down from them without professional tools, and if you are not careful, you will fall to pieces. The safest way here is probably by boat, but those pirates are so afraid of the so-called Leviathan that they dare not go into the water. If this can still be found, then my life is doomed. Since the beginning of the disaster, I have been calculating the date. Today is the 10th day of the lunar calendar when the tide rises, and date 08 is probably around 8 o'clock in the evening. This means that the water level has already risen, so there is no need to worry about the sea flooding this place. But on the other hand, I am also trapped on this reef and can only wait until dawn to make plans. It was originally just a survival game on a deserted island, where players had to face the dangers of nature and store food and resources. But now it has suddenly become a game of hunting and killing, with dead people becoming commonplace. This huge contrast is really hard to accept for a while. I don't know how Jessica and Nick are doing now. The Witch Lord Nick Chief Sompa, you have finally returned. Thank God, everyone is fine. It's great that when Sha Diao returned, the mailbox was empty and there was no note indicating a successful rescue. I thought you guys were okay, Chin Tian. The witch lord, he. What kind of witch did the lord go alone to lure away the pirates? What should we do, witch? We have to go back and save the witch lord. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to the witch envoy. Huh, it's so cold. The fog soaked the parachute and clothes, making them sticky and uncomfortable. Damn it, how should we go down such a steep cliff? Even if the indigenous people didn't fall to death, they drowned, right? You have also seen what happened to Stein. Let's quickly search for any other way. It seems that those pirates have not given up on their search for me and can no longer sit here waiting for death. It's just that in this vast sea, you can't even see the shadow of the beach. It's impossible to swim ashore. The food in the bag can last for a few more days, so we can only collect some tree branches brought by the waves first and see if we can make a simple raft or something. 
Jessica and the others should also make some moves, right? No, after collecting for so long, there are only one or two decent ones here. If we really use these to make a raft, I'm afraid it won't fall apart in just one wave. He shot Yao, you're finally here. Jessica asked you to come find me, right? I've been waiting for you for a long time. I am currently on a reef under the cliff southeast of the pirate camp. As for the specific location, I am not sure. Can the sand eagle guide you? Additionally, the Vikings are still searching for my whereabouts nearby. Please be careful. At the flying speed of the sand sculpture, the letter should be delivered to Jessica soon. I wonder what rescue plan Jessica will come up with. Now we can only wait. At dusk. No, even if it's fast, the rescue probably won't arrive until noon tomorrow to maintain good physical strength. So fast. What a fast speed. Turns out they came by waterway. No wonder they came so fast. Master Wu, are you okay? At least much better than Ragnar. It seems that Ragnar has suffered a lot to keep up with the speed of Nick and Kata, two non-human beings. It was already dusk, and Hani Nick and his three companions had expended a lot of energy to get here as quickly as possible. It was impossible for them to leave immediately, so they had to stay here temporarily for one night. Fortunately, when Haninik and his companions arrived, they were not empty-handed. They not only brought food and fresh water, but also a tent for overnight stays. Although the reef may not be a good camping site, the four of them managed to replenish their energy and safely spend the night in safety. The second day. Hey, hey. Let me help you on your return journey. Sit still, let's set off. Sister Witch, are you worried about the Witch Envoy? Master Wu, he will be fine, not necessarily. Look, it's Nick and the others. Master Witch Envoy. Nick, you haven't been discovered by pirates, have you? The Witch Lord and Ragnar's faces don't seem to be very good. Ching Tian, are you okay? You're injured. No, no, I'm fine. I'm not coming back, right? Hee hee, in order to keep up with Nick and Kata's pace, it's better not to talk about getting tired like a dog. Is everyone ready? Well, all nine ships have already set sail, and the people are all ready to depart at any time. Let's set sail and set sail. In order to avoid such a large migration being discovered by pirates, the fleet gradually moved away from the beach under the cover of darkness. All right, that's all for today. Let's put down the anchor and connect the ship with hemp rope. We'll spend the night here tonight. After enduring two nights on the reef, Ching Tian's spirit and body were exhausted to the extreme. After setting off, he crawled into the cabin and fell into a deep sleep. Eat something first and then go to sleep. The rescue plan encountered an accident. Okay, let's lure away the pirates and rescue everyone. Ching Tian briefly recounted what had happened that day, during which Jessica listened silently, but whenever she spoke of nervousness, her heart would also be stirred up. My hero, it's great that you came back safely. Well, we can finally go back. Tribal Village Hee hee, cunning indigenous people. This time, I will catch you all in one. Go ahead and capture all the indigenous people. After a short space. Captain, the house is empty without anyone inside. What? They definitely haven't gone far. Everyone, keep looking for me. Yes. This is where the witch lord resides, and it looks no different from our place. Didn't the witch envoy say that he is the same as us? Is there a lot of food here? Everyone, come with me here. Our campsite is still an hour's walk away. What kind of sound? Don't be afraid, it's just my pet. What kind of pet has such an amazing roar? Truly worthy of the title of Witch Envoy. Welcome everyone. Greetings, Lord Witch. 
the witch, I. All right, everyone, let's go rest first. Previously, asking Sha Diao to come back early only informed Yi Lin that we could arrive today, and we didn't have a chance to mention anything about the witch envoy. Qin Tian. What's up? Leave the arrangements for the tribe to me, don't keep them waiting for too long. Yisu Forest. You haven't reported my safety for so long. I've been worried about what to do if you can't come back. Sorry to have worried you. But just come back safely. Well, I'm back. Fragrant aroma fills the air. Is Jijil the food that Lord Ming eats on Pingri? It's too much. Is this the food that Lord Wu usually eats? It's so delicious. Please finish eating before speaking, okay? Why is this wild boar meat so delicious? I heard from the witch that the smoking method is different and special seasonings are used. Witch envoy, witch lord. The Rada tribe now has 47 people, plus the three of us, which is exactly 50 people. This number far exceeds the carrying capacity of the campsite. It's okay for everyone to sit and lie down. If we move around, it will definitely cause collisions and squeeze the living space of the silly sand eagle and the little white. Expanding the campsite is urgent. You two are done now. I, I'll go make some stew again. Is it my turn now? Oh, so Jessica saw it just now. It's really you. Thank you, Jessica. Whether it's accompanying me to the Rada tribe or helping me out when necessary, it's thanks to you that we can all come back safely. You're welcome, my great hero. Breathe so full. I haven't eaten so well in a long time. The cave and kitchen cannot accommodate so many people. How can we rest at night? Let children, women, and the elderly all live in caves and kitchens. Others can only stay on the grass for one night. Tomorrow morning, we will start building bamboo sheds. With so many manpower, we should be able to solve the housing problem soon. After a simple rest, the lot of people took action and lit piles of bonfires on the grassland, forming a circle with a trap. Between the two circles, the lot of people laid animal skins so that both the upper and lower bodies could feel warmth. In addition, Chin Tian also set up tents specifically for weaker tribe members such as Aruba and Pong to live in. After everything was arranged properly, it was already 10 o'clock in the evening and Chin Tian had been busy all day. Finally, he could stop and catch his breath, but he didn't rest immediately. Instead, he went to the bathroom and took off his clothes that had already started to smell. Yi Lin had already boiled the water in advance, and when he sank into the bathtub, Ching Tian's whole body melted into the water, and all the fatigue seeped out of his body. Um. Everyone slept soundly and peacefully that night. For Yi Lin, during the time when Ching Tian and Jessica were away, she couldn't even sleep well out of concern for them. As for Ching Tian and Jessica, since arriving at the Rada tribe, their minds have been filled with discussions about rescue almost every night until late at night. Ching Tian was even chased for two days and two nights, and could only simply sleep for a while. But now everything is different. Everyone has returned intact and their worries have been resolved. Life suddenly has hope, and everything is so hopeful. The next day at noon. Um, Yellen, Jessica, wake up quickly. Ah, don't let me sleep with you for a while longer. After a simple breakfast, all members of the Lada tribe, except for the elderly, weak, sick, and disabled, were evenly divided into three teams. A team followed Ching Tian to the bamboo forest to cut down bamboo and build an overnight bamboo shed. The other team followed Jessica to the river to fish. Although there were still many dried pork in the camp, they couldn't afford 50 people, so finding food was necessary. The rest is staying in the campsite with Yellen, responsible for all the miscellaneous affairs related to the campsite, and everything is proceeding in an orderly manner. I really miss it. When we first arrived on the deserted island, we hid in such a shed. In the blink of an eye, we have encountered so many people and things now. Well, this is just a temporary residence. 
Next, we need to expand the campsite and build houses. By then, everyone's living conditions will be much better. Ching Tian, look at our achievements today. It's a day feng shu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables. Oh, there are so many fish. That's really great. Yellen, let's go dance too. You can speak English. Yes. What are you talking about, Master Witch in Chief? He he Hamel, this is a special language used for communication between tribal leaders and shamans. Only those who become tribal leaders will receive teachings from the shamans in the underworld. I see, then I won't disturb you both. Chief, what is your English? Don't be so nervous. I just saw the matches and lighter used by the witch envoy and wanted to confirm. My English is naturally learned from the British Army. The British Army, by the way, Yellen said that the Rada tribe had dealings with the British Army stationed in Yemen. If the tribal leader was responsible for communicating with the British Army, it would be natural for Pahan to speak English and even see lighters. As the head of the tribe, I would like to express my gratitude for the great kindness and virtue that the witch lord has shown to the Rada tribe. Chief, what do you mean? You should also know that I am not a shaman, right? He, when I first heard your title as a witch envoy, I also had doubts, but these few days of getting along have changed my mind. The shaman is the existence that guides our tribe and allows us to survive. You, who saved our tribe, are undoubtedly our shaman. The clan leader spoke too harshly, and I only did my part within my ability. No, if it weren't for you, the Rada tribe might have already perished. We will always follow you firmly and devoutly. I wonder what plans the witch lord has after that. My plan is. The next day, Ching Tian gathered everyone again and divided them into three teams. Currently, what they need to solve the most is the housing problem. After setting up the bamboo shed, the original campsite space has already been completely occupied and expanding the campsite is urgent. A team is responsible for firing pottery bricks. Team 2 is responsible for collecting shells. The third team is responsible for clearing the trees around the campsite. Everyone has worked hard. Master Wu, this shell can really build a house. Well, after calcining the shell powder and mixing it with sand, adding a certain amount of water and stirring can obtain lime mortar. With lime mortar, bricks can be built into houses. What is lime mortar? How to apply sand directly? Building a house with sand. In short, all you need to do is follow my instructions. Now, you can crush these shells into powder and put them in the blast furnace for calcination. Okay, everyone. Mix the sand and calcined shell powder into an appropriate amount of water and stir. Did you see that? This is lime mortar. Oh, this soft and fluffy thing can really build a house. Bricklaying is also very simple. Just apply the mortar evenly on the brick floor and then build it piece by piece. How did you see it? It's quite simple. Just build the four walls like this and then put up the roof. That's the house. Is this really okay? I feel like this wall is so loose and soft that it collapses with just a push. Hey, hey, why don't you touch it? After the wall is built, you have to wait for a while, and it won't be soft anymore when it's too late. Lime mortar can build walls because of the property of hydrated lime absorbing carbon dioxide and becoming hard. It's strange that it hasn't absorbed carbon dioxide even after being built. The second day. Wow, it's so sturdy. No matter how hard you push it, it won't move. Isn't that amazing? Yesterday it was soft and fluffy, but today it has become hard. It turns out that using shells can really build houses. How about Aruba? It's pretty good, isn't it? I'll give it a try. Well, it's good. This wall is very hard. Even the claws of large beasts cannot easily break it open. I'll go ahead, buddy. You're pretending to be so cool. Next time I have a chance, I'll make a concrete one for you to try, and you'll die. Great. 
A house built with this lime mortar should be very warm, right? Elder Hamill When our Lada tribe first arrived on this deserted island, it was autumn with cold weather, and as desert residents, we wore very little clothing. Soon, several members of our tribe fell ill and passed away due to the huge difference in climate. Later, while searching for food, many members of the tribe died in pain due to the accidental ingestion of poisonous mushrooms by wild beasts. After a month, we finally adapted to the life on the deserted island and built our own camp. At this time, there were still more than 80 people in the Lada tribe, and we thought we could continue living like this. However, winter came. That winter, more than a dozen of our tribe members died in the extreme cold. We couldn't imagine how cold it would be here, except for snow and animals hiding. We didn't have enough food reserves, so we had to carry the cold and go out to search for food. Don't worry, this winter will definitely be very warm. The lot of people have been crossing the peninsula for over a week now, during which Viking pirates have been searching for their whereabouts. The swamp can be said to be the most dangerous place on a deserted island. Apart from the fierce crocodiles and snakes, not to mention the colorless and odorless methane that can unknowingly take human lives, the most terrifying existence is that all the Viking pirates gather in front of this swamp. Ralph, I remember you saying that the indigenous people once hid in the white mist. Let's face it, right? Yes, yes. Are you sure? Captain, I'm sure you said it might be the indigenous people who drank from the fountain of youth and gained divine power to pass through this fog of death. Well, it's very likely. Huh, I almost got thrown into the white mist. We have been on this deserted island for less than a year and have not experienced winter yet. We don't know the specific situation. If the temperature is too low and the snowfall is too heavy, it is indeed easy to encounter danger if we move forward recklessly. Let's go back and prepare for the harsh winter. Yes. Look, that white stone has really melted. Is this what's called glass? Soft like sugar. What kind of craftsmanship is this? It's truly amazing, worthy of being a kingdom of shamans. I really want to give it a try. How about Alex? Do you want to give it a try? Of course we have to try. Just now, when I saw how smoothly the witch made it, I thought it would be easy, but after actually getting started, I realized that the difficulty is really enormous. Especially in the step of rotating the glass bubble to evenly distribute the glass liquid, if the speed is not controlled properly, the glass bubble will become crooked or twisted. Not doing well, Master Witch. I want to do it again. You can try as many times as you want. If you have any questions, just ask the witch and she will teach you. Well, actually, Aluka's first finished product is much better than mine and Yellen's first. It's truly worthy of being the first craftsman of the Rada tribe. I hope everyone can master the glass making skills as soon as possible and make enough cans for the entire tribe before winter arrives. Ensure to fulfill the mission. Yellen, I'll leave it to you here. Well, the latest campsite planning and design drawings still need to be modified. Time lapse. How about designing the picture? Is it ready? It's time for dinner. Is it already this late? Let's go. Don't keep everyone waiting for too long. The meal is already ready. I just saw you waiting at the entrance of the cave for about 10 minutes without daring to disturb you. Uh, tonight we're eating fish again. The sea fish and river fish are cooked and grilled, although there are many types, I'm really tired of it. Master Witch, why aren't you eating? Are you feeling unwell? No, no, I'm just not very hungry. Although it's already great to have food on this deserted island, one thing is that eating too much food always makes you tired. If we talk about other foods, there is still some pork in the campsite, but it is already listed as a winter food reserve and can be left untouched. It seems that it is time to improve everyone's dietary structure. The warriors of the tribal chiefs should have the ability to hunt wild boars, right? Well, if it's a lone wild boar, there's no problem at all, but if it's in groups, there's no problem. 
Paison is indeed interesting. Despite being in his 40s, he looks like an old child without any trace of a clan leader. Master Witch, do you want to hunt wild boars? No. I plan to raise wild boars in captivity. Captive wild boar. In the Rata tribe, there has never been a mention of captivity. Ching Tian gave a simple explanation to the two of them, and it was only then that they suddenly realized. So in the future, our tribe members no longer have to risk their lives to hunt and will have pork to eat. Yes, but this situation may have to wait for two or three years. That's right. One of the reasons for keeping wild boars in captivity is to use them as winter food. After all, according to Hamill's description of winter here, it will be difficult to find wild boars when the snow covers the mountains and birds and animals disappear. Secondly, by raising wild boars in captivity, we can reduce their wildness and turn them into docile domestic pigs. Although this process may be lengthy and require several generations of breeding, once we are successfully domesticated, we can be completely self-sufficient. The Second Day Sand Sculpture has discovered the target. Okay, everyone, follow the plan we made last night and take action. Hurry up and stop them and drive them in that direction. Okay, big. Drink it. Great, we succeeded. I didn't expect there to be so many wild boars in this bamboo forest. The last time I came to the bamboo forest was to collect bamboo for building bamboo sheds. I didn't see the shadow of wild boars at that time. Unfortunately, one ran away. Don't worry, as long as you stay in this bamboo forest, you won't be able to escape. Alex and the others are here. Let's quickly bring up the wild boar. Help me, this guy is too noisy. Let me punch this beast and knock it unconscious. Don't bother looking at me like this. Did this use magic power? The wild boar quieted down just by covering its head. Fantastic. Hee <laughs> hee, I stole this traditional method from the old man who raised pigs in the village. As for the principle behind it, I'm not sure. There were a total of seven wild boars caught this time with a common mother, so there's no need to worry about the mother pigs whining and making it difficult for them to survive during estrus. The most important thing is that wild boars can still give birth to piglets after mating, and when piglets grow up, they can mate and regenerate. The piglets continue to give birth endlessly. Campsite Look, the witch envoy has returned. Chin Tian, are you okay? It was taken care of so quickly. Well, the hunting process went smoothly. How was the pigsty done? It's already finished. Come and take a look. Well, it's really good. The height of this wall is just right. For other animals, it may be easy to escape, but with the body size and jumping ability of wild boars, it can be said to be an insurmountable high wall. In the next few days, Ching Tian will continue to lead the tribe's soldiers to hunt wild boars in the bamboo forest. There are as many as 21 wild boars in the campsite. On the fourth day, the sand sculpture wandered over the bamboo forest for a long time, and no wild boar was found. I don't know if the wild boars have learned to hide or been caught, but 21 wild boars are already enough and there is no need to hunt anymore. Camp Upgrade Reward of 5,000 Points I didn't expect the camp upgrade rewards to be so generous this time. Adding in the messy points from making matchstick water and other items before, the total points now exceed 13,000, enough to purchase a talent. The rescue of the lot of people made me realize the importance of my own strength. In terms of the talents of Swift Cheetah and Sagittarius Blessing, no one is my opponent in escaping guerrilla warfare. But once I encounter a situation where I have to confront head-on, these two talents may not have much effect, so I need a talent that can comprehensively enhance my ability to confront head-on. Well, this is good. This is also good. Wow, this is great. It's really difficult to make a choice. 
I'll keep it for now as before, just in case I need it. Ching Tian, come and take a look. You produced over 50 cans in just one day. How about we? Are we good? In a few days, everyone will become more proficient in the craftsmanship and have a higher production rate. We can also produce more daily. Impressive, it seems like it's time for us to start making canned fruits for winter use. The process of making canned food is very simple. Disinfect the peeled grapes and sliced pineapples in boiling water separately. After disinfection, take out the grapes and pineapples, put them into glass bottles, screw on the lids, and then seal the cans with animal skins that have been sterilized at high temperature. That's it. Can fruits really be stored for several months when sealed like this? Since the witch envoy said it's possible, then there must be no problem. Generally speaking, homemade canned food at home will be added with rock sugar to make the taste better, but we naturally omitted it. The reason why food rots is due to the influence of microorganisms. As long as high temperatures are used to kill the microorganisms on the surface of the food and then sealed to isolate the invasion of external microorganisms, the goal of preserving food for a long time can be achieved. What is a microorganism? Why can't I see the surface of the food? The food issue has been resolved. It's time to go to the volcano. The second day. Listen up, everyone. When the cold winter is over and the white mist clears, Viking pirates are likely to invade this half of the island. Now, excluding the elderly and young, the number of people who can fight will not exceed 40, which is too few compared to the opponent's more than 200 pirates. And we are far behind in terms of weapon equipment. Even with bombs and other weapons, the chances of winning are extremely slim. Therefore, today I plan to take you to the volcano to search for iron ore and improve our own equipment to minimize the gap between us. With iron, we can create iron knives. By then, everyone will not be constrained by the fear of weapon damage during battles, and their combat power will definitely be greatly improved. Good. Nicodoragna, the three of you must always remember to protect the Witch Lord. It's Nick Ragnar who swore to protect the Witch Lord to the death. Don't worry, I've been to that place twice. As long as you're careful, you shouldn't encounter any danger. We're just going to dig a mine. Don't make it look like we're heading to the battlefield and setting up flags everywhere. Be careful on Ching Tian Road. We miss you every moment. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. The journey went smoothly for the whole day, and Ching Tian and his team did not encounter any danger. As the sun was about to set, a few people found a place in the woods, lit a bonfire, and set up a tent. Can the so-called Iron of the Witch Lord really help us repel the pirates? I don't know if we can repel it, but it will definitely enhance our weapons very well. What do you think of these two daggers, Nick? Very light, very sharp, very hard, just like the weapons used by pirates. That's right, they are all made of iron. Made of iron. The weapons of the tribe are almost all from my hands. Since the battle with the pirates, the tribe has been completely crushed by the pirates. I have been struggling to make weapons as strong and sharp as the pirates, but I have never succeeded. Can I make weapons like pirates as long as I have iron, Lord Witch? No, we can make better ones. Wow, this is the volcano crater. That should be the lake water that the witch envoy mentioned, right? I don't see any danger. Ha ha, just don't go swimming anyway. It's really hot here. All right, let's quickly excavate. Two hours later. Huh, it's a pity there's no pyrite. Everyone, take a break and we'll try somewhere else. An afternoon passed, and Ching Tian and his team dug two more big pits, but still found nothing. Don't be discouraged. Today we only dug three places, it doesn't mean anything. Everyone, rest well tonight and continue to work hard tomorrow. Yes. After everyone had eaten at night, they gathered around the bonfire to make new stone pickaxes. The production of stone pickaxes is not difficult, as long as the polished stone pieces are fixed to wooden sticks with ropes. Everyone worked until late at night to make up for the stone pickaxes consumed today. 
Among them, the stone pickaxe made by Alex alone accounted for more than 30%, which must be praised as the first craftsman of the tribe. Although we brought a lot of water with us this time, drinking water in such places is a bit less, so remember to collect dew in the morning so that we can replenish some fresh water. I didn't expect to be able to collect two bamboo tubes, which is enough for two people's daily needs. It's really good. Let's go eat something and continue working, Joe. Which envoy, I dug up a very hard thing. Is it pyrite? What? Let me take a look. Oh, this is not iron. It's a type of stone called volcanic rock. Due to its many pores, it's lightweight and can float on the water surface, also known as pumice. Volcanic rocks have the characteristics of high strength, insulation, heat insulation, sound absorption, fire resistance, acid and alkali resistance, and corrosion resistance. If found, they can be placed separately on the side. Ah, uh, I didn't dig up any pyrite or volcanic rocks, but I did dig up a lot. We use sampling method to evenly divide the area near the volcano into several zones for mining. We dig three pits in each zone, and once there are none, we quickly eliminate them and move to the next zone. As long as there is still pyrite present in this volcanic crater, we will definitely be able to find it. The fourth day. It's volcanic rock again. It's really unlucky. Wait, show me. There are no fine holes on the stone, and there is also an imperceptible yellow color on the surface. Although there is a significant difference in color from the pyrite I brought back before, this gives a sense of sedimentation. Master Wu, what exactly is this? Everyone, continue digging. Oh, 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 oh. This is pyrite. Great, we dug up pyrite. After digging for so long, the pyrite in the pit has not been depleted. It seems that there are plenty of reserves, which should be enough to equip everyone in the camp with an iron weapon. This volcanic trip was not in vain. Night. This is iron. Although heavier than ordinary stones, it seems that the difference is not significant. This can't be considered as iron in these stones. There's nothing inside. Ha ha. Directly smashing it open cannot extract iron from the stone. It needs to be refined with fire. However, before iron making, it is indeed necessary to crush the pyrite, which is not wrong. Humph. What kind of reaction is this? Is it considered arrogant? On the fifth day, early in the morning, everyone set up a blast furnace at the campsite to start smelting iron. Is this iron? It's so dark. It's really hard. With this thing, we can make stronger weapons. That's right, Teo. Everyone work hard to extract all the iron from this batch of pyrite today. The production of iron weapons is not like pouring arrows directly into shape, which requires repeated pounding of the iron material to remove impurities inside, so as not to make the weapons brittle and prone to breakage. It seems that the production of weapons needs to be put on hold first. The iron extracted today should be melted into iron pickaxes and shovels. This way, the speed of mining pyrite can be greatly accelerated. Once enough iron is extracted, it can be transported back to the tribe to gather the strength of everyone and forge weapons. Brooke's mold is really beautiful. Fortunately, I had the foresight to bring her along. Using lime water as a quenching medium can promote the stable transformation of ferrous ions into ferric ions and iron materials, resulting in a more uniform and dense oxide film. At the same time, lime water has alkaline properties and neutralizes the acidic components in the surrounding environment, slowing down corrosion. Although lime water may not be the best, it is still better than clean water, and it's just an iron pickaxe that doesn't require much treatment and can be used. On the sixth day, with the iron pickaxe and shovel, the speed of excavating pyrite has increased by more than twice. It's truly a production tool that determines productivity. What's going on today? The temperature has dropped sharply, and it feels cold near the volcano at noon. And at that time, the wind and sand stirred up from time to time, carrying fine stones that hit my face. It hurts so much. I guess it will snow in a few days. 
Snow. It's only mid-October now, and there's still over a month left until winter. Well, every time it snows, the weather suddenly becomes cold. And every time it's big, everything becomes white, even walking becomes a problem. The pyrite mined these days, combined with the iron already extracted, should be enough to create an iron weapon for each person. Continuing to mine would exceed our carrying capacity. I originally wanted to extract all the iron from pyrite here so that I could bring back more iron. Now it seems like there's no time left. Everyone, tidy up and move all the pyrite back. We'll be returning tomorrow. Good. On the seventh day, everyone packed their things and shared the burden on everyone to prepare for their return journey. Under this load, the team's forward speed will be much slower than usual. We probably won't be able to return to the camp until the afternoon after tomorrow. They returned to Ching Tian by the original route, left the grassland, and entered the forest. Before dark, they successfully found a place to stay overnight and set up a tent. Just this iron pickaxe is so easy to use. I really don't know what a weapon made of iron would look like. Yes, yes. I clearly told them not to take such care of themselves, but when I knew they were wiping iron picks, I thought they were wiping some artifact. Who? On the Silly Skin Roar The saber-toothed tiger lived during the Middle Pleistocene period, with an average body length of up to 27 meters and a weight of between 200,400 kilograms. It was the largest feline in prehistoric times and had tusks up to 10 centimeters long that could instantly bite through an animal's throat. It was one of the glacier overlords. Sword-toothed tiger Unlike modern tigers, saber-toothed tigers are animals that hunt in groups. Be careful, everyone. There are other saber-toothed tigers. Oh, wow. Ragnar. There are only three saber-toothed tigers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The shaman wielded his martial art skills and threw the fire stick casually, hitting him. Be careful, these saber-toothed tigers are very intelligent and difficult to deal with. Everyone, pick up your weapons. What should we do? The two ferocious beasts are so crazy that they want to help, but they can't get close to each other. If they accidentally become enemies under their claws, they can't even use arrows. The two beasts twist into a ball and constantly change positions. Even if they have the blessing of horses and horses, they can't guarantee a hundred hits. If they accidentally hit Han Pinnit, they will become a god and assist. And we also have to be wary of the other two saber-toothed tigers. It has to be said that saber-toothed tigers are truly top-notch predators. They are cunning, cautious, and attack before retreating immediately. They are very decisive and do not give their prey any chance to exert force. Knowing better how to use the darkness to conceal our own figure and wait for opportunities to move, once we reveal any flaws, we will be fatally attacked. When should we wait until we don't hang up at this time? Oh, I was careless. My hand trembled. Ha ha, your grandfather, how could I shake my hands and die? Listen to the call of the earth spirit. Drink it. Take your life while you're sick. Give me the one on the right. Four, four, and one tiger. Ding, the host has completed receiving the talent. Timal reaction. Time seemed to have come to a standstill, even the saliva splashing from the saber-toothed tiger's mouth could be seen clearly. Talent for swift hunting. Very impressive. Truly worthy of the title of witch envoy. 
such fast speed and responsiveness. So this is the true strength of the witch envoy? He really left a hand on me before. The energy consumed by Wu Mao's reaction is really huge. It only lasted for a few seconds and was already dizzy and confused. Master Wu, let's go help Hampi. Wait, don't take action yet. We'll gather around and help if needed. He he Hampi, this guy has a strong sense of self-esteem and even sent a message saying he wants to kill this saber-toothed tiger alone. Roar. Great. We won. Long live the witch envoy. On the morning of the eighth day, Ching Tian and his team continued to advance towards the campsite, but due to Han Pai's injury, the plank cart was replaced with a manual push-pull team, which slowed down the speed of the team's progress. After walking for a whole day until nightfall, Ching Tian and his team were still in the forest, which was much later than expected. Fortunately, Ching Tian had already sent the Sand Eagle back to the camp and asked it to bring people to pick them up. With the help of Song Pa and others, the people of Ching Tian finally returned to the camp in the early morning. I haven't slept for more than 10 hours and my stomach is hungry. It seems that there have been many changes in the campsite these days since we went to the volcano. Kitchen 10 Master Witch Envoy First, go to the kitchen and find something delicious. Ching Tian, wake up. No wonder the saber-toothed tiger has so many wounds on Hampi's body. Fortunately, we didn't encounter them last time. Well, it means we're still very lucky. If we had encountered those four saber-toothed tigers when we first went to the volcano, even with Hampi around, we would have had to burp. By the way, how is the upgrade progress of the campsite? I think this kitchen is pretty good, except for using wood. Everything that a modern kitchen should have is basically equipped here. The eight functional areas planned in the design plan include a resting room, living room, dining room, kitchen, washing room, bathroom, livestock breeding farm, laboratory for refining chemical agents, handicraft room for making various things, craftsman room for high temperature operations, and warehouse for storing various materials. The living room, kitchen, bathroom, breeding farm, and specially built rooms for Hampi have already been built. As for the other functional areas, the people responsible for building them are also working day and night to complete them quickly. The production of canned fruits was completed at noon on the third day after you left because all the pineapples and grapes that could be picked had already been harvested. However, we are still collecting winter food. Vera leads his team to go fishing every day. Pong and his team found wild chickens in the bamboo forest and raised them like wild boars in captivity. These days, their morale has dropped sharply. I am leading some of the tribe members to sew warm animal clothing and shoes to keep them warm. Well done. By the way, starting this afternoon, except for the person in charge of the food team, let the other members of the tribe put down their work first. Is there anything else more important to do? We're going to start making weapons now. The second day. The blast furnace built this time has an additional pool compared to before. That's a stir fried iron pool. Fried iron pool, Chin Tian, are you going to make steel? You rewrite. May I ask, Master Wu, what is stir fried iron? Stir fried iron is the process of converting pig iron into mature iron. Iron can be cooked raw or cooked, just like cooking. Pig iron, wrought iron, and steel are essentially the same, both being iron. It is only because of the difference in carbon content between them that there are differences in softness and hardness that they are classified. Iron with a carbon content exceeding 2 is called pig iron, while iron with a carbon content of 0.052 is called steel. Iron with a carbon content below 0.05 is called wrought iron. Their hardness increases with the amount of carbon they contain. Simply put, the higher the carbon content, the higher the hardness. Generally speaking, the molten iron obtained from smelting iron ore is pig iron. As long as it is in its unfrozen state and stirred, the carbon in the air and molten iron can react to reduce the carbon content and turn pig iron into wrought iron. Isn't the harder the weapon, the better? 
Why don't we just use pig iron to make weapons? Although pig iron has the highest hardness, it is brittle and easy to break. Wrought iron is soft and malleable, but easy to deform. Steel, on the other hand, has the advantages of both pig iron and wrought iron, making it our best choice. However, with our current methods, it is impossible to determine the exact carbon content in the molten iron, so we cannot directly stir-fry the steel. That's right, so our current goal is to first stir-fry the wrought iron and then use the steel-pouring method to obtain the steel we want. Be careful not to splash yourself. The method of pouring steel and iron first appeared in the late Eastern Han Dynasty, which is a steel-making technology that melts wrought iron and pig iron in a certain proportion to produce steel. Subsequently, through the improvement of generations of predecessors, a total of three stable steel-making methods were born. The first type of pig iron sinking method that emerged during the Northern and Southern Dynasties period. The method is to pour pig iron water into wrought iron, let it cool down, and then melt and pound it to make steel. The third improved pig iron covering method in the Song Dynasty. The method is to embed pig iron between wrought iron pieces and then seal the furnace for smelting. The third method of pouring pig iron, also known as the Su Gang method, which was improved by craftsmen in the Ming Dynasty, is also the method I am currently using. This method is relatively difficult to operate. To do so, place the wrought iron block in the blast furnace and place the pig iron piece at the furnace mouth. After the pig iron piece melts, pour it evenly onto the wrought iron block. However, due to limitations in skills and building materials, the ancient method of directly pouring iron into the blast furnace was difficult to achieve, so I divided it into two steps. First, Pour molten iron on the ripe iron outside the blast furnace to demold it, and then send it into the furnace for calcination. Although this is a bit troublesome, fortunately, the effect is the same. While Qin Tian and the others were busy, Yi Lin and her group of women were not idle either. At this moment, they were making scabbard and handle in the kitchen. Although it was not as difficult as iron making, it was still an extremely arduous task. The whole process requires cutting the bamboo into pieces that are about the size of the blade, planing them, and then using fish glue to stick the bamboo pieces tightly together. Among them, making fish swim bladder glue is the most arduous task, which involves placing the boiled and shredded fish swim bladder on a cutting board and pounding it into a paste. There is a saying that a hero cannot hit two liang of swim bladder in this step, which shows the exhaustion level. Finally, wrap the prepared fish swim bladder with gauze and squeeze out fish glue. Nick, it's time to take out the steel block. Ragnar, you guys are ready. Hammer it up. Look, it's deformed. It seems like something has fallen off. Why not use the method of making a hammer to make this knife? What kind of casting mold is used? Nine pairs of molds. As the saying goes, a hundred refines into steel. Although the steel produced by the pouring method has fewer impurities, it is only relative to iron ore and requires further removal of impurities through hammering. How many hammers do we need? About one or two hundred hammers, right? One or two hundred hammers. But you don't need to hammer it all at once. If you're tired, you can take a short break as long as the total number reaches about 150 hammers, right? This should be achievable. It is impossible to manually remove all impurities from the steel block. Once a certain limit is reached, there are very few impurities that can be removed. Continuing to remove them would be a waste of time. Okay, that's about it. Then it's time to start building weapons, Joe. Have you remembered everything I said? Even before the steel was refined, Ching Tian had already told Alex a special method for making weapons. The method is to make a hole in the iron block. Then clamp the steel block into the iron block and strike it with a hammer to wrap the steel sheet around the iron block. Then return to the furnace. To catch fire. Continuing to strike the blade. Eryx is truly a craftsman of the tribe, able to strike such a perfect blade on his first attempt. 
Finally, apply the quenched soil made of clay carbon powder and iron powder onto the blade. Master Witch, can this soil also make weapons more powerful? Yes. The exposed blade during quenching will become extremely hard due to rapid cooling without the cover of quenched soil. A blade covered in soil has better toughness if it cools slowly. In this way, the strength of the forged blade is guaranteed, and the toughness of its back can act as a buffering force during combat, making the blade less likely to break. The forging method of wrapping steel blocks with iron blocks is called bowging method, which can ensure that the blade is sharp and hard while the blade is strong and not easily broken. In addition, the quenching method called covered soil burning blade further strengthens the properties of the blade and blade. Master Witch Envoy both of these methods were obtained by Qin Tian from the complete collection of crafts. The weapon that combines rigidity and flexibility, crafted through these two methods, is the pinnacle of sword history, the Tang Horizontal Sword. This time it's the pirates turn to worry about their weapons. Listen up, this is not a real war, it's just to test Tang Hengdao's sparring skills. Remember to click and stop. The pirate sword I picked up back then really came in handy. Speaking of which, we haven't had a competition in a long time. I'm sure I can beat you this time. Am I making a fuss? Why do I feel like this is a bit dangerous? Don't worry, they will have a sense of propriety. It's okay if you're injured. There's hemostatic medication in the medical kit. Just lie down for a while and it will heal. I don't know if Nick can win this time. Including this, it's already the third showdown between Nick and Kata, right? Both of them are so strong. If you think I only know how to use guns and choose to engage in close combat with me, then you're wrong, Nick. Sorry, I've never had that idea before. Nick really won. I can't believe Kata's longsword broke in his hand. The weapon crafted by the Witch Lord is too powerful. If you had used a long spear, perhaps the outcome would have been different. You didn't use any weapons at your disposal, and there's no such thing as if on the battlefield. A very exciting showdown. Master Witch Envoy. Show me the weapons in your hands, both of you. Sure enough, the weapons of Viking pirates are all made of pig iron and lack resilience, making it impossible to confront Tang Hengdao head-on. But this situation is limited to the scope of swords and knives. For large weapons like axes, the results on both sides should be similar. Now Nick should be the strongest in our tribe, right? No, it should be the night when the witch lord killed two saber-toothed tigers in an instant. I really want to watch the duel between the witch lord and Nick. Maybe we can give it a try. Oh, oh, duels, duels, duels. Is it true what you said, Master Wu? Well, I want to give it a try. If it had been before, I would never have dared to challenge Nick. I still know how many pounds and tails he weighs. But now it's different. With the catch reaction, I have confidence that I can walk a few rounds under Nick's hands and even win. The most important thing is that I am curious about how much change this talent can bring to myself and whether it can put myself, who has never had combat experience, in direct confrontation with those pirates who lick their swords and blood. Nick, you don't have to worry about staying in the same state as during the battle with Kata. Yes, yes. The venue where everyone is preparing for the showdown. Old man, there's no need to go through so much trouble. Just this empty space will do. Ahem, everyone, don't make any noise. Just listen to the witch envoy. By the way, Nick, why don't you go take a break and recover your energy first? Ah, uh, good. I really stand up on the battlefield and act like a bystander. It's completely different. Nick walked towards that station with a dagger in his hand that emitted a cold light and a chilling aura, making me careless. I shouldn't have asked her to test my combat power. The Witch Lord Nick is about to go up. Come on. The Cat's Response Before watching Nick's battle, I just thought it was fast, but I didn't think it was that fast. It's really not worth it. 
I was thinking about not having talent at first and trying to compete with Nick for a few rounds based on my own strength. Now it seems that if I try, I will die. Wow, it's so fast. Look, this is the true strength of the witch envoy. If Nick is considered an adult in terms of combat strength, then at most I am a toddler with no combat skills. If it weren't for the cat's reaction, I would have died 800 times in the same place, Nick. Nick, are you really ruthless? Are you trying to murder your loved one instead of the witch envoy? Kata, did you see that? The witch lord's speed is like that of a ghost Nick, and he can't even touch him. Well, it seems that the witch lord is intentionally honing Nick. If the witch lord maintains such high speed, Nick will not be a match. Nick, come on. Don't let the witch lord underestimate us a lot of people. Hey, you guys, stop talking. Wow, it turns out Ching Tian is so strong and not too handsome, my great hero. Nick, come on. Just now, I was at a disadvantage due to my weak foundation in wielding the knife. I swung the knife too quickly so that my strength was not fully concentrated on the blade. As the saying goes, four or two can only pull a thousand pounds at most. If I could concentrate all my strength on the blade, the result would not be Tang Hengdao being bounced open, but Nick being repelled. But achieving this level is definitely not an easy task, otherwise those swordsmen wouldn't have practiced short selling and swinging thousands of times a day. GLE Strike first to gain the initiative. So fast. What the fuck? You see, the witch envoy has indeed left his hand. Just now, an experienced warrior only needed to dodge sideways to continue the advance and win the game. However, he withdrew directly. Uh-huh, Master Wu, this is intentional. Please stop brainstorming, both of you. This duel is really exciting. My eyes can't keep up with the speed of the two of them. Ninnick lost. What an exciting showdown. The Witch Lord is too powerful. Just lucky. See, I'll just say that the Witch Envoy is the strongest. When are you planning to hold your wedding with Nick, Master Witch? What? And Nick's? Wedding. It's better to strike a day than choose another. Let's go prepare a grand wedding for the Witch Envoy. Wait, wait, wait. Two people conversing in English. Wait, wait, what's going on? How did I get married to Nick? You don't know? In the Lotta tribe, a man's challenge to a woman is considered, in your words, a proposal. If he wins, it is considered a successful proposal. Isn't this unilateral intention too unfair to Nick? No wonder Nick's reaction was a bit strange just now. It turns out that's the reason. No, 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 every woman in the Rada tribe hopes to have a husband stronger than herself. Moreover, the Lotta people take pride in serving the witch god, and as a witch envoy, you are equivalent to the witch god. No, it's not about this or that so-called proposal. Can we give it up? What are the witch envoy and the chief talking about? The elder said that it is a shamanic language that can communicate with the shaman gods. Do not understand. Understood. Master Witch, do you think Nick is not cute enough? This is not a cute question, okay. Both of them are about to fight, and adding that would cause a fire, wouldn't it? Nick understood that he really didn't have the qualifications to be the wife of the Witch Lord. Nick will leave the tribe later. How could that be? Just now, the Witch Envoy was just. Father, you don't need to say anymore. Although Nick can't understand the witch's language, he already understands the witch's intentions from the expression on the witch's face. Leave the tribe. Nick is leaving the tribe. Did the witch god abandon Nick? But didn't Lord Wu challenge Nick just now? What rules are there for me to follow? People abandoned by the shaman must not stay in the tribe, otherwise it will definitely bring disaster. 
At the moment when the Witch Lord achieved victory, Nick was already the Witch Lord's companion. Now the Witch Lord refuses to fulfill the engagement, which is equivalent to Nick being abandoned by the Witch Lord, that is, abandoned by the Witch God. This, this, this. Don't worry, the Witch Lord did not say that Nick is not qualified to serve the Witch Lord. The Witch Master can only marry a wife every three years in order to maintain his power of communication with the Witch God. Oh, so that's how it is. Therefore, starting from this year, it will take another two years for the Witch Lord to marry a wife. You continue to write. So before Nick becomes the wife of the Witch Lord, the Witch Lord must first marry Yellen's sister, and then I will be the last to turn to you. The Witch Lord is worried that Nick will have to wait too long before he shows that expression. This is the real Witch Envoy. He doesn't want Nick anymore. Of course it's true. Nick is so cute. Why wouldn't the wizard like him? Hey, hey, isn't this development right? Right, Your Excellency the Witch Envoy. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. For now, we can only follow Jessica's script to get by and talk about the rest later. How are you happy? I think there can be a reward. Don't, don't, don't owe me first. I want to live a few more years. It's okay. I'll go ahead and draw the design. Quickly withdraw this, Jessica. It's too difficult to handle. By the way, Nick, should we also move into the cave and live with the three of us in the future? No need. In the next few days, Alex will be making weapons for everyone. In addition to the two teams dedicated to building and searching for food, Yi Lin also organized a third team of people specifically responsible for sewing fur animal clothing to withstand the cold. A few days later. Oh, is this snow? As a southerner, I've always wanted to see snow since I was young, but I never expected it to be my first time on this deserted island. I remember my college roommate from Northeast China, Lao Zhang, and his friends often said in videos that they would go home at the end of the year to fight Chu Lu Hua together, but I don't know who Chu Lu Hua is. Master Witch Envoy You're up now. Well, Nick, you're also so early. It's snowing. Yes, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Nick doesn't like snow. After snowfall, it becomes even harder to find food for animals to hide. That's right, but luckily we prepared enough food this time. The pre-sown animal clothing is all thanks to the witch envoy. Oh, you too. Talking about love and romance here early in the morning is not afraid of being overheard by walls. We are not. We don't. Sister Jessica is not like that. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking. Nick, you're blushing. It's snowing. Let's start building snowmen. Under the infection of several children, everyone's emotions surged and they began another day of work. This doesn't seem to work either. It's really troublesome. Is it too cold for me to go here? Maybe we can make a thermos. But before that, we need to finalize the design drawings for the matchlock gun and lathe. Although our weapons have greatly improved and we are slightly better than the Vikings, with a large number of Vikings and a slim chance of direct confrontation, only by making this matchlock gun can we have the power to fight in the first battle. The matchlock gun is the ancestor of modern firearms with extremely poor performance. In terms of lethality, it may not even be comparable to a bow and arrow, but its advantage lies in the speed of a fast bullet. With human reaction ability, it is impossible to avoid it, and its production is simple and easy to get started with. Having more firearms to replace and achieve the effect of continuous firing in a short period of time can still cause considerable damage. However primitive the matchlock gun may be, there are still certain requirements for the barrel. The barrel must be straight and smooth, otherwise if it gets stuck and explodes, it will be tantamount to suicide. Therefore, it is impossible to make gun barrels solely based on skills, and it is necessary to rely on lathes. The difficulty lies here. The drawings of the lathe were obtained from the process manual. 
Some parts in the drawings cannot be made under current conditions, so I can only try my best to adjust the design drawings and replace them with other combinations. There is still one final step left. That's all for today. I'm going in such heavy snow. The narrow tube effect is formed by the distribution of mountains around Guanching University, often accompanied by the appearance of demonic winds and being blown into fools by the vast demonic winds. However, it is a well-known saying here, so everyone curses and never says dirty words. Let me ask you directly, have the demonic winds blown too much? I'm really going to be blown into a fool now. The wind and snow are really strong. The kitchen is only half a minute away from the cave, and I'm already covered in white flowers. What situation? Master Witch Envoy. Ching Tian, quickly close the door. Ragnar, I can't take it anymore. You guys are smoked. It's really too cold, so everyone had to warm themselves up indoors. Ching Tian, I want to hug you. I didn't expect it to be so cold before winter. By December, it seems like we need to start making charcoal. What is charcoal, Master Witch? With that thing, there's no need to smoke it. Yes, charcoal is made by isolating the air from wood and smoldering it. Compared to wood, charcoal emits more heat when burned. Most importantly, charcoal generally does not produce smoke when burned, and even if it does, it is very rare. Wow, that's really great. In the future, you won't have to smoke or start a fire to keep warm in the house. You are truly worthy of being a witch envoy who knows everything. I don't know how Hanpi and the others are doing in this cold weather. Let's go take a look together. Okay. Could it be that Hanpi is hibernating? Pandas are warm-blooded mammals and theoretically do not hibernate. However, although there is a blood relationship between pandas, it is not surprising that they are different species with different living habits. Compared to them, we should be more worried about ourselves, right? Han Pai and Sha Diao have been living on this deserted island for some years. What kind of strong winds and waves have they never seen? Winter here is just a normal climate change for them. That's right. The next morning. Come on, let's divide into two groups. One group is responsible for building the charcoal kiln, and the other group is responsible for cutting wood into two finger sizes. Okay, we're almost ready. Everyone, put the chopped firewood into the charcoal kiln, seal it, and ignite it. It's almost time to turn on the heat. Block the smoke vent as well. The witch lord will seal it off like this and keep burning the wood inside, which will turn into the charcoal you mentioned. Well, yes, depending on the moisture content of the wood, the time required for smoldering also varies. In our camp, these woods have been dried for a long time and should be completely turned into wood ash by tomorrow. Alex, come with me. I'll show you what we're going to do next. You need to make a gun. Is that the kind used by gun kata? He, this gun is not that gun. What we need to do is a type of firearms, a weapon that is similar to a bow and arrow, but ten times stronger than it. Mouth O, oh, ten times stronger than a bow and arrow. Master Wu, this is the artifact you mentioned. It doesn't seem to have a very complex structure, so why didn't I see where its destructive power lies? He, there are still two things missing here, bullets and gunpowder. Bullets and gunpowder are like this. You know? I don't know, see. Master Witch, do you want me to make this thing called a musket? Yes, but before that, in order to create a straight and smooth gun barrel, we still need to build a lathe first. God, we have crossed thousands of years in one breath and are about to enter the steam age. He, since we have iron, of course we need to make a big improvement. Although steam power was also utilized when making steam fans, that thing was made of mud and cannot be called a steam engine. This lathe must have high precision requirements for its parts, and the template needs to be very precise to handle such a large workload. It's hard for Alex alone to handle it. It would be best to find someone who is clever and skilled. Okay, okay, isn't that you? 
This design and structure are too clever, right? Although there are many parts that I can't understand, they are really amazing. Master Wu, you are simply the god of craftsmen. It's not that exaggerated, Alex. Do you understand everything? No, there's still a long way to go. I need to study and research more thoroughly. It's okay. You can take the drawings back and take a closer look as long as you can make all the individual components. It's no problem. Pack it on me. Early morning on the third day. It should be almost done. Open the fuel inlet. It's so hot. The temperature inside is still very high now. Everyone will come back in later. Ten minutes later. Look, look, the freshly baked charcoal is here. This is charcoal that looks like unfinished wood. It's different. This surface is very smooth. Very hard. Everyone can try lighting it up, but it should be noted that charcoal needs to be ignited with wood. As long as it is burned red, the remaining part will slowly burn out even if there is no flame. It's so warm and there really isn't even a cigarette. With this, we can keep warm indoors with peace of mind. By the way, remember to leave some gaps for doors and windows when burning charcoal indoors, otherwise the evil energy produced by the charcoal burning will reach a certain concentration, which can lead to poisoning and death. No, no. They don't understand carbon monoxide, so they will pay more attention to it. The successful firing of charcoal brought joy to the campsite, and everyone moved the burnt charcoal to the storage room to prepare for the second firing. Handmade Indoor These two people are really serious. Since that's the case, I won't disturb them anymore. Huh, I can't just sit idle. Katarani Aruba, the three of you, come over here for a moment. Master Wu, you have something to ask us about, Linl. Well, let's make some small beads. After a busy morning, I finally managed to handle three of them. Lord Witch, what are we going to do? You'll find out later. Master Wu, what are we really doing here? Ah, uh, Aburu, I originally wanted to leave a surprise for everyone, but if he doesn't speak now, he'll have to turn my ears upside down with his mouth. Bullets from firearms. Ten times stronger than a bow and arrow. This thing is really so powerful. Of course, there may be more than that. That's really good. With this gun, we can kill the pirates and avenge our deceased people, right? After spinning for so long, it should be almost done. Pour it out and take a look. Well, it's almost what I expected. Although the iron bead looks almost identical, it doesn't really work much. It needs to be round and smooth enough. Everyone, please work harder. We need to prepare more bullets. Good. Everyone, please move in all the witch tools of the witch master and be careful not to bump them. Huh, after so many days, the laboratory has finally been completed. Not to mention, this laboratory looks a bit decent against the backdrop of these reagent bottles and experimental reagents. The construction of the witch lord's camp has been completed. What should we do next? Um, this. In the next few days, everyone should rest well and take a nap, enjoy the scenery, take a walk, or do something you like. Hee hee, since we arrived on this peninsula, everyone has been searching for food and building camps like spinning tops without resting for a moment. Now that everything that needs to be done has been done, suddenly there is nothing to do. I guess everyone will be a little confused. Master Wu, are you saying that we don't need to work anymore? We can do whatever we want. Yes. Wow, that's great. I've been wanting to go around the campsite for a long time. I also want to add myself. I want to sleep soundly for a day and a night. I want to use the eye of God to take a good look at the stars in the sky. According to the progress of Yellen and Alex, it will probably take a few more days for the lathe mold to be ready. During this time, everyone should take a good break for themselves. 
Adjust your physical state to the best to prepare for the upcoming battle. What is this sound? It's the howling of wolves. From the sound, there are at least 20 or so, and it's not far from the campsite. I'll go out and take a look. Master Witch Envoy. It's Winter Beast Tide again. Listening to the sound, they seem to be very close to here. We'll be fine with the Witch Lord here. Have you ever encountered this kind of thing in the past winter? In winter, these wild beasts will be extremely active and even risk their lives to break into the tribe to steal food. However, they are usually in small groups and not so conspicuous. Speaking of which, this winter is much colder than before. Perhaps the excessively cold weather has left the wolf pack with no food to eat and they have become extremely hungry, so they all have to resort to risking their lives to attack our camp. If it's true as Jessica said, it will be a disaster. Except for a few soldiers, the rest of the camp are elderly, women, and children. If they are targeted by wolves, the consequences will be unimaginable. We cannot sit still and wait for death. Nikata, you guys, come with me. No matter what, we can't let the wolf pack get close to the campsite. Chief Songpa, I'll leave it to you here. Don't worry. Ching Tian, be careful. Not to mention that Kata and Haninik have super strong combat power, Ragnar and Pakuma are also experienced warriors, and with the support of steel weapons, we will definitely be able to repel the wolf pack. Everyone, be gentle and get closer. This is the call of a saber-toothed tiger. Master Witch, quickly look over there. He he, it turns out that there was a battle between the pack of wolves and the saber-toothed tiger. I really hope that the last saber-toothed tiger can die from the mouth of the last wild wolf. The competition between snipes and clams benefits fishermen. What competition for what profit? It should be what Ragnar meant. Look, it's about to start. Oh. That black wolf is so powerful that it can entangle a saber-toothed tiger alone without falling behind. The wolf pack still has to lose, and the difference in average strength is too much. Even with a strong leader, it may not be helpful. Even I don't have full confidence that I can shoot it. And there are still a few wolves behind who haven't joined the battle. Are they guarding something? The wild wolf is about to lose. This is not acceptable. What we want today is a win-win situation so that we can profit from it. The current one-sided crushing situation is not what we want to see. Bakuma is preparing to support the wolf pack. Yes. The witch lord knows that you are highly skilled in martial arts, but he did not expect your archery skills to be so exquisite. With this distance, coupled with the current temperature and wind direction, it is already difficult to hit the jumping and flapping saber-toothed tiger, and it is even more difficult to deliberately avoid the key points. He he he, it's okay. It's okay. You are the real awesome plus. You have accomplished what I could only do with the blessing of horses and horses with just human labor. It should be almost done now. Master Wu, you are really having a wicked taste. It's the wolf cubs. They didn't participate in the war to protect them. The situation has changed. Take action. What a great all-iron long spear. It really suits my taste. 
long guns are divided into soft guns and hard guns according to the different gun shafts. Soft guns have a soft body that can throw out gun flowers and also serve as a buffer and release force when blocking. However, soft guns are very particular about the wood used to make the gun shaft, and they need to have the characteristics of toughness, flexibility, hardness, blocking, and resistance. They cannot be found on this deserted island. That's why I asked Acris to create an all-iron long gun for him. Although it's not soft enough, it's powerful and heavy, and its destructive power far exceeds the original soft gun. It's a perfect match for Kata's combat style. Well, my pair of steel daggers are also very sharp. With just a few strokes, it ended the life of the saber-toothed tiger. And my shield is a bit heavy, but its defense ability is more than ten times stronger than a pure wooden shield. It seems that everyone is very satisfied with the new weapon. What should we do now? Do we still need to pursue those wild wolves? Go back early so that the tribe won't worry. The witch envoy is very kind. I am not kind. But you let the wolf pack see go. The witch lord rushed out to protect those wolf cubs, right? I'm just here for ecological balance, food chain balance. You guys are truly kind. Endless demands will make the spirit of the earth angry. Kata is right, ha ha ha. Alas, in fact, releasing wolves back to the mountains will ultimately bring endless troubles. From a rational perspective, killing all the wild wolves is the most correct approach. After all, if the wolf pack appears near the campsite this time, there will be another one. But when it comes to those little wolf cubs, I really can't take action. It's a blessing, a curse, or a curse. I can't avoid them. Let's just be stubborn this time. The witch envoy has returned. Ching Tian, are you okay? Not only is it okay, but it also came back with a full load. Look. Wow, it's a saber-toothed tiger. Unfortunately, none of them are alive. Hee hee, I'll give it to you. Do you dare to take it? Okay, today can be considered a false alarm, but it also gave us a wake-up call. Wolves and saber-toothed tigers were originally active on the plain, but now it seems that they have crossed the forest and arrived here. Well, compared to the forest, there is already much less food on the plain. After snowfall, food becomes more difficult to find. It's not surprising that they come here for a long journey to fill their stomachs. As the weather gets colder, similar situations will become more frequent. I suggest that everyone should not go out easily during this period. I agree that with the current food reserves, even if we don't go out to survive the winter, there won't be any problem. Okay, then we will blockade the camp for the next few days and select some personnel to work three shifts day and night to guard against wild beasts attacking us. Good. In the next few days, everyone will only eat and sleep, and they won't be able to leave the campsite. Life is boring. Oh, it's so boring. Yeah, who said it wasn't? Bored, why don't we do some gesturing? Ha ha ha, we're just joking. Yeah, how could it be boring? It's impossible to be boring in this lifetime. Yeah, it's finally done. The molds for the lathe are all ready. Yes. Great. Lagana Aruba Kata. Hurry up and gather everyone. We're going to have a big fight. Oh, oh, so these places are connected like this. It's really ingenious. What kind of magical tool is this? It looks very powerful. The birth of steam machine tools on this deserted island definitely has epic-making significance. Ignition Look, it's moving. It's moving on its own. It's so magical. Is this the artifact of the Witch Master? Fortunately, it has successfully turned around. It still runs a bit unsmooth. This is also an unavoidable issue. 
the parts made under current conditions may have some deviation. Don't nitpick, this should be ready for use. Wow, the big wood turned into straight wooden strips like magic. The witch lord has no problem. Good. Next, let's start making gun barrels. Alas, it took a lot of effort to create a lathe, which is actually for such a stick. No matter how skilled a person is, they cannot cut completely straight and even fine wood. Place the fine wood in the center of the bamboo tube, then fill it with clay and compact it for firing. Using this as a mold, one can create a clay stick that is no different from fine wood. Fill the bamboo tube with mud again to leave a gap in the middle column, then put the mud stick in and pour in the iron juice. This will result in a smooth and rounded iron pipe inside. Next, replace the turning tool with a diamond to polish the appearance low. Using diamonds as cutting tools is really a luxury. Make the most of everything. Fortunately, when we were fishing for silica sand, we found quite a few diamonds. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been much to polish the gun barrel with. Alright, all the necessary parts have been made. Assemble them all together. Master Wu, is this the gun? That's right, this is our secret weapon against pirates. There is a huge gap between the number of tribes and Viking pirates. Whether they can turn the tide depends on their performance. The ammunition filling of the matchlock gun is very complicated, and the gunpowder needs to be poured into the barrel. The gunpowder is compacted with a connecting rod and placed into the iron ball. Then fill the muzzle with gunpowder so that when the trigger is pulled, the fire rope ignites the gunpowder in the barrel through the gunpowder at the muzzle and fires the bullet. Call. Man Ma Fu. Host makes matchlock gun to earn 5,000 points. That's amazing. Is this the magic tool called the matchlock gun? Even the shield was pierced. Thunderous sound. This power is more than 10 times stronger than a bow and arrow, right? Is that the power of flames? The burst of flames. I didn't see it. I didn't even see when the bullet was fired. Even if there is a shield that can block bullets at this speed, there won't be enough time to react, right? So it seems that the stick-shaped objects worn by the British soldiers who visited the tribe were similar to matchlock guns, okay? Fortunately, there was no conflict with them at that time. All right, everyone has a clear understanding of the production method of the matchlock gun. Now, let's follow the command of Alex and make matchlock guns together. The more, the better. It's the witch envoy, sir. Although the rewards are generous this time, with the current points, it is still not enough to exchange for talents. Let's see if we can exchange some useful book battles. If we can prepare more methods, the chances of winning will be higher. Let's take a look at the mysterious product interface first. Maybe there will be some good discounted items. Dawn System, your perspective has become smaller. Mysterious product interface. Since the last time I exchanged the combination gift package here, it has been empty until now, and there is still a taming encyclopedia that is not very useful for eggs. Let's exchange this for the complete collection of wilderness traps first. Host successfully exchanged goods. Product distribution begins. Host received successfully. I hope you can find something useful here. With the current manpower and resources in the camp, we don't need to make any traps to catch prey. The only purpose of exchanging the complete collection of wild traps is to deal with those pirates. Although iron weapons and matchlock guns have greatly narrowed the gap between the Lada people and the Viking pirates to some extent, this is not enough. We must fully utilize another advantage to turn it into the last straw that crushes the camels of the pirates. The production of a matchlock gun is not difficult, but because there is only one machine tool required for mass production and barrel polishing, the production time has been greatly extended. In order to produce the gun as soon as possible, everyone is working hard and unwilling to leave the camp. Life is extremely mechanical. What are you thinking? Jessica, you're here. 
I saw you staying alone in the cave for half a day without any movement, so you came in and took a look. Is there anything I can help with? Whatever you want, don't hesitate. For example, personal needs, etc. Oh, hey, it's not what you think. Ha ha ha, just kidding. You're designing a trap. Yes, yes, see. Once the white mist dissipates, the pirates will definitely cross the swamp to search for us. Instead of just sitting there waiting to die, it's better to annihilate them in one fell swoop. It's true that the man I like is so manly when it comes to being ruthless. Cough, cough. By the way, how are Yellen and her team doing with their snowboards? I came here to tell you this. This is simply amazing. Abby Elu actually stood on the snow. This is a witch tool called a snowboard. Um, the snow is real. This is because the snowboard increases the load-bearing area, distributes the weight of the body, and reduces the pressure, so people naturally won't sink into the snow. Master Witch Envoy This snowboard was specially designed for winter combat and hosted by Yellen. It seems very successful now. Have you tried it? Not yet. Let me give it a try. Master Witch, it seems that I have damaged your witch tool. Ha ha, it's okay. This is normal. Everyone's weight is different, and the required force area will also be different. Well, that's why I invited the three of them who have a significant weight difference to come and try. Ha ha ha, Kata, you're sinking deeper. Rolling. By then, making three to four sizes according to different weights should be about enough. Uh huh. The next day, in addition to making guns, everyone had a new task of making snowboards. Mid-November. Finally, we have completed 150 pairs of snowboards. After spreading them out, each person can receive two pairs. The remaining 76 matchlock guns can be used as backup equipment, which is more than enough for the 30 people who can go to the battlefield. Due to the reserve of gunpowder, everyone can only shoot a few rounds like they did during high school military training and become proficient in loading and firing. The feeling that the firing range of the matchlock gun is not far away and the shooting accuracy is not practiced anymore. At the end of November, what would Chin Tian like to eat when he comes back? Anything you do is fine. Is there any need to ask? A big meal is definitely a big meal. You must come back safely. Don't worry. According to previous calculations, the white mist in the swamp will disappear by the end of November or early December. Once the pirates discover this situation, they will definitely bring their troops over, which means that we will meet again in no more than 10 days. It's time for a decisive battle. I called out. This swamp is probably not an independent existence outside the deserted island. It has frozen snow and ice outside, but here it is extremely hot and humid. This has always been the case here, no matter when. Let's take a brief break for half an hour and then start building the campsite. In this sub-zero environment, a few small fires are useless. A windproof and warm tent is necessary. Therefore, after taking a short break, Ching Tian and his team began to cut down trees. Then I found a relatively dry place and started setting up my tent. The tent structure is simple, just build the skeleton and put on animal skin. Ching Tian and his team have a total of about 30 people, and each tent sleeps 3 people. They need to make 11 tents. When Ching Tian and his team finished arranging everything, it was already dark. Kata, tomorrow you lead ten tribesmen to the designated location to set up a trap. Ragnar, when you cut down trees tomorrow, be sure to try to cut them as far away from traps as possible. Also, don't cut too many trees in the same place and leave two obvious marks. Yes. The rest of the people followed me to set up the hidden bow trap. Now everyone is sleeping. When carrying out tasks, everyone must be careful and prioritize safety. If any situation arises, immediately notify with a whistle arrow. Very good. 
The trees here are lush and the branches and leaves are dense, making it a great place to arrange the hidden bough. Now everyone, come over and listen to me explain the layout of the hidden bough. The first step is to tie the bow horizontally to two wooden stakes. Be sure to tie the bow tightly when tying it, otherwise the shaking bow will release most of the force to a certain extent, greatly reducing the power of the arrow. Step 2. Place a three-finger wide piece of wood in the middle of the bow and use a wooden stick to support the other end to spread the bowstring. Remember to keep the groove at the end of the wooden stick smooth to ensure smooth untying. The third step is to pull the thin rope under the wooden chip to the opposite side and tie it tightly. Be careful not to use too much force to trigger the mechanism during the pulling process. Finally, attach the arrow to the bowstring. Remember to do this step last. Does this mean that the Witch Lord has already set it up? Yes, now let's try and see if we can successfully trigger the trap to avoid any mistakes. In. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, it really succeeded and its power is not small. If there is anything else you don't understand, you can bring it up now. Now it's up to everyone to arrange. The arrangement method of the dark bow is not difficult. After reading it once and asking a few questions, the Lada tribe began to arrange it in the designated place by Ching Tian. At the same time, Kata and his team are working hard to dig a pit. And Ragnar and his team are systematically carrying out their plan to cut down trees and create wooden traps. On the other side of the swamp, I've really seen ghosts. How could there be mosquitoes in this winter? Hey, there's a saying that only feces and carrion attract flies. Did you forget to wipe your butt after using the restroom? Ha ha ha. Blind your dog's eyes, these are mosquitoes. What are you guys arguing about this morning? Did you see the bones? They kept barking incessantly. Damn it, how could this kind of thing of keeping watch with rookies fall on me, Larif? There are many mosquitoes and insects in this damn place, not to mention the heavy water vapor. Even the blankets in the tent are wet. Hurry up, go back and tell the captain that the white mist has dissipated. Pirate camp. Someone is approaching. It's Larov and the others. The white mist has dispersed. We were busy running back as soon as we parted ways this morning. This is a reward for you. Notify the crew to prepare and depart through the swamp immediately tomorrow. Yes, yes. This time, we must get hold of the Fountain of Youth. Everyone outside should come out safely. It's still the air outside. Fortunately, it suffocates me inside. Although it's a bit stuffy, staying inside is much warmer than a tent. This is because snow is a poor conductor of heat. Poor conductor. Yes, because snow itself has insulation properties, the heat emitted by the human body will accumulate in the dark room and be difficult to dissipate, so the indoor environment will not feel cold. In addition, due to the extremely low outdoor temperature, snow will not melt due to heat. Humans. Body. It will heat up. Everyone, hurry up and start a fire to eat. If nothing unexpected happens, the pirates will arrive here in two days. Could what the witch envoy said be the situation when we were sick? Speaking of which, my body gets very hot when I'm sick. I don't think so. With our current strength, fighting pirates head-on is no different from a dead end. Therefore, we can only use the geographical advantage we have set up these days to slowly weaken the pirate's power. When it weakens to a certain extent, we can launch a total attack to finalize the battle. It's also a shame that the darkroom layout was done before the arrival of winter, otherwise the plan wouldn't have been implemented. Today's exploration task is entrusted to you, sand carving. Swamp Land Yiming Jiao won't suddenly appear, right? Close your crow's mouth. I see the boundary. Blessed by the Most Holy Father. As expected, as the captain said, after the disappearance of the White Mist, Yemingade was also exiled to another world. 
Captain Solomon. Everyone, keep moving forward and make sure to find a dry place to set up camp before the sun sets. That group of pirates actually safely crossed the swamp with the python. Probably hibernating. I originally thought that Viking pirates would encounter the fate of a titan python with heavy casualties or even annihilation when crossing the swamp. Now it seems better to abandon this unrealistic idea as soon as possible. However, snakes are cold-blooded animals. Although the swamp is not frozen, the overall temperature has dropped significantly. Titan pythons may have been hiding for the winter long ago. It's better if the Titan Python doesn't appear, then we can use our own hands to avenge the deceased tribe. The pirate's location is now here. At that time, we will quietly touch the darkness and try our best to kill the enemy. Once the bullets are empty, we will immediately retreat towards the nearest trap. Remember, the purpose of our night raid this time is to eliminate the enemy as much as possible in the shortest possible time and weaken their power. We must not be obsessed with battle. When will we take action? The Vikings have just arrived here and their vigilance must be strong. Let's rest well first and take action tonight early in the morning. Pirate Camp Even the fiercest beasts have to obediently hide in their nests in this ghostly weather. I think you can suggest to the captain to remove the guards. What's wrong? You wouldn't dare, would you? You're right, I really dare not. If you have the courage, go ahead. How about I give you 100 gold coins if you dare to go? As far as we can see, there are about 30 guards and there are many trees blocking the shooting range, which is difficult to handle. Why are you nervous? No, it's just that this battle is too important. This action should also be the first time for the witch envoy, right? Actually, I also worry too much about the wise and martial arts of the witch envoy. I will do whatever the witch envoy says, and I will strike whatever he means. Leave everything to the witch envoy, and use me to manipulate the wooden brain melon seeds. Hee hee, if you can speak, speak more. Everyone, be prepared and listen to my orders. Ha ha ha, I bet you twenty gold coins too. You don't have the courage. If you dare to go, all 120 gold coins will belong to you. Look what that is. Hey, hey, don't change the subject. No, there's a situation. Burning bamboo tube. What's wrong? What happened? It's Thunder God who got angry. The fire is on fire. Quickly put it out. Calm down. Don't panic. It's not that he died. It's me who died. Stupid, are your eyes on your butt? Without water, snow cannot be used. What just happened? What exactly happened? Quickly hide. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, wow. It's a demon. This is the curse of demons. Where is Sigurd Sigurd? Oh, wow. Save me, save me. It's not a divine punishment, nor is it a curse from demons, but this iron bead shot them. Most of the crew members who were hit tilted towards the east, which means the enemy is in the west. After firing the matchlock gun, there is no need to reload ammunition and it can be directly mounted onto the bow and arrow. After the bombing just now, the Viking pirates in the camp became a mess like ants, like living targets. Now is a great opportunity to weaken their power. The witch envoy sighed. Ha ha ha, it turns out you wild mice are playing tricks, but since you're here, leave your life and the fountain of youth for me. We have been discovered. Did you see that? It's not a curse, heaven punishes everything. It's all done by those indigenous people. Captain Solomon has orders to kill one indigenous person and reward them with 1,000 gold coins. Kill it. Indeed, they are a group of desperados who would even give up their lives for money. But compared to their soulman, the biggest danger is his fighting power. Once he charges over, it will be like a tiger entering a flock of sheep. Everyone retreat according to the plan, Kata. 
You and I go together. I thought the pirate leader was in the largest tent, so I threw the bomb there. It seems that this guy was already on guard and a cautious and cunning master. Oh, wow. Don't distract yourself and focus on defense. Everyone aim at the enemy's legs. Vernik Aruba, the three of you will lead a portion of your tribe to prepare for an ambush near the trap. The others stayed with me to receive the Witch Lord and Kata. I thought Kata was already inhuman enough, but now it seems that Sulman is truly unbelievably strong, with one against two and not falling behind at all. Kata, cover me up. Don't worry, leave it to me. Um. Hey, sacrificing oneself to let your companions escape is a commendable act of loyalty. Not bad, not bad. Hurry up even faster. I have seen this method of covering up and launching surprise attacks many times, Captain. Where are you looking? What? What other fun moves are there? It's best to take them out now, otherwise there won't be a chance again. No wonder Kata and the others are so afraid of Samanson. It's so inhumane. That's a flare. Be careful to protect your eyes. Oh my eyes, my eyes. I can't see anything anymore. Viru and the others have already gone far away, starting a retreat of 16. Waste, don't let them escape. That's the direction Grimm and the others are in. Withdrawal. It's very impolite to leave without saying hello. Great, I'm following up. Since that's the case, I'll send you a message to apologize. Oomph, will this little trick be useful to me, Captain? This is the second gift. I hope you are satisfied, Captain. Master Witch, the pirates are chasing after us. Very good, currently developing in the direction we expect. Keep a certain distance from them, neither being caught up with nor throwing them too far away. Hurry up, don't lose it. We're here, everyone. Get ready. Everyone, follow the plan and pay attention to safety. There are too many pirates, and once the trap is triggered, the pirates in the rear will be alert and wary. As a result, future traps will be difficult to work. Therefore, they need to be dispersed in order to maximize the benefits of the trap. Split up and chase after each other, don't let them escape. Sure enough, I was the primary target, but this is undoubtedly the best case scenario. Summonson's combat power is unbelievably strong. He fights alone and no one is his opponent. Fortunately, I have a swift cheetah by my side, which can completely shake him off. If anyone else is targeted, it will be extremely dangerous. It depends on whether the traps we've been working hard on these days can come in handy now. Why don't you run away? The cat and mouse game should be over now. Not good, there are traps. Damn indigenous people. I'm going to twist off his head and kick it like a ball. Oh, wow. Traps are very effective. Help. Help. Go back to die for me. The trap said that these mice scattered and fled not to increase their chances of survival, but to disperse their manpower and defeat us one by one. TNND, could it be that he was loaded with more than a dozen arrows and fired them all without causing any damage to him? There is no other choice but to lead him to the ambush circle of the tribe and work together to kill him. Ground stabbing and hidden arrows are indeed true. 
These indigenous people had already set up various traps before we arrived, and coupled with the fact that at least 50 crew members died in the surprise attack just now, continuing like this would be very detrimental to us. Temporarily retreat without knowing how many traps there are left. Just left like this. It seems that they can have some basic information exchanged through the horn. We originally intended to act as bait and lead them through the forest full of traps until their strength weakened and then take them to the final ambush point. I didn't expect this Viking pirate to be so cautious and choose to give up on the few people who were left alone. It seems like we need to go back and think about it in the long run. Wait, it's me. Everyone come out. There are no pirates following behind. Didn't the pirates come along? You should have heard the horn sound just now, right? Although I don't know the reason, after the horn sounded, the pirates who pursued me all retreated the same way. This is the captain's retreat signal. Go back quickly. The witch envoy and the others have also returned. Sigurd, save me. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. If you don't want to die, just close your mouth and save energy. How are all my dear crew members doing? Most of the injuries are too serious, and some can still be saved, but they will definitely fall into disability. I don't know if they can survive this winter. Sigurd, listen carefully. I want you to do your best to rescue all the injured crew members, understand? The captain has several wounded soldiers. Didn't you hear me? I mean everything. Lalov, you guys stay and help Sigurd to complete his work properly. The rest of you come back to the camp with me. Damn it, it's me again. Captain Solomon has been so kind to us. Indeed, a rookie who has just boarded the ship is naive. Just sleep peacefully without any pain. The Holy Father is waiting for you in Songard. Woo-woo. What are you shouting about? Remember everything you saw tonight and don't mention it to anyone else. If I were injured, I'm afraid I would also be killed like this. Previously, the indigenous people burned down the warehouse and destroyed a lot of the food they had accumulated for the winter, although they later sent a large number of crew members to collect the food. The food that can be found near winter is already scarce, and the food reserved for winter is barely enough. Even if these injured crew members can be rescued now, they have lost their labor and combat capabilities and will only become a burden to the entire team. It has to be said that Captain Solomon is truly a rational and cold-blooded monster. Inside the darkroom, about seven or eight pirates died in traps on my end. The situation here is similar. We are also... That means including those who were shot and killed by the matchlock, we killed about 80 Viking pirates in total, nearly half of them. Unfortunately, the pirates were too cautious and immediately retreated when they noticed something was wrong, otherwise we could have killed more. After this incident, the pirates have learned that we have set traps in this forest and will become even more cautious. It feels difficult to repeat the same trick. You don't have to worry too much about this. Our goal is not to completely eliminate them, but to continuously weaken their power. Our next plan remains unchanged, mainly using guerrilla harassment. As long as they dare to chase after us, we will lure them towards the direction of the trap. Master Wu, are you okay? It's okay, I'm just a little tired. Everyone, let's rest well today. Tomorrow we'll take action when the opportunity arises. Master Witch Envoy Pirate Temporary Campsite When dealing with corpses, throw them away and remember to cover them with snow. Don't lure wild animals over. Don't vomit, the new one. Come over and give me a hand. Are you crazy? Can't you lift it and drag it? Captain Solomon has ordered that anyone who survives tonight will receive a reward of 100 gold coins. Oh, 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 oh. Summonson, 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 summonson. Is it necessary to give these useless people so many tips? So many crew members died this time, and the seeds of fear have been planted in the hearts of the remaining people. 
naturally, we need to give them some motivation. Furthermore, if the gold coins are gone, just go and grab them. The most important thing is to get hold of the Fountain of Youth as much as you want. By the way, tell the crew to increase their vigilance tonight. Tomorrow morning, we will head towards the direction of the snowfield. Shiwei Yuen Have you ever thought about what weapon killed our crew? It should be a weapon we've never seen before, but one thing is certain, the range of that weapon wouldn't be too far, otherwise those indigenous people wouldn't be so close to our camp. You're absolutely right. Besides, judging from their switch to bows and arrows, that magical weapon may no longer be usable. Of course, this could also be a false impression that they intentionally lured us. No matter what the reality is, it's almost impossible for those indigenous people to quietly approach us in the vast expanse of white on the snowy plain without any obstruction in their sight. You killed someone. You killed someone. You killed someone. You killed someone. You executioner. Executioner. No, I'm not. You shot and killed me. If I don't kill you, then it will be me who dies. Go to hell with me. Oh, hey. I told you not to disturb the witch envoy. Coco, I saw the witch lord muttering to himself there all along. That's the language of the witch god. It should be the witch envoy communicating with the witch god lord, right? Sorry, Aruba, I didn't mean to. They left. Everyone, come with me immediately. Judging from the footprints, they should have just left recently. They seem to be heading towards a plane. What should we do? We haven't set any traps on the plane. If they really leave the forest, then we have no choice. The footprints are neat and orderly, so they shouldn't have left in a hurry. If you really want to escape, you should have time to clean up the traces, but now these footprints seem to have been intentionally left behind. Pakuma, Pakuma, the two of you, come with me. The rest of you stay put and wait. You two go test and see what reaction they have. Regardless of whether you are successfully lured or not, you must immediately withdraw to the nearest trap where I will receive you. Yes. Bakuma and Bohama are agile and both archers capable of taking lives from a hundred meters away. Even if discovered by Viking pirates, there is no need to worry about getting into danger. Grim, there's a little mouse following him. Where? Although I'm not sure exactly where they are, I felt a strong gaze. I think they will appear soon. Oh, it's those damn indigenous people. Look, this is it. Be careful, it's an archer. There are only two of them, don't be afraid to go together. Stop, everyone. Come back to me. Hold up the defense, maintain the original formation, and continue moving forward. Captain. From now on, without my orders, no one is allowed to leave the team, no matter what happens. It seems that the Viking pirates have already sensed our intention, and no matter how much we try to lure them, it's useless. We need to hurry to the snow-capped mountains on the plain and make new arrangements. I didn't expect there to be such a large snowfield on this island. What a great hunting ground. They did come, but they were much slower than us. Their abundant resources naturally cannot match our speed of progress. Master Wu, is it really okay for us to openly start a fire and cook? Don't worry, Viking pirates are like startled birds now. Even if they are discovered, they dare not act rashly. In their view, the forests around the plain have set traps, and by doing so, we are luring them in. There is no place to hide on the snowy plain, and once you appear, you will be discovered. If the pirates keep cowering in the center, won't we have no way? Hee hee, if their food is endless. They seem very safe to stay in the center of the snowfield, but otherwise, when the food runs out, they will have to send a team to venture into the mountains and hunt. 
and all we need to do is stay in the dense forest around us, sit high and observe its changes, and wait for the rabbit to emerge. Everyone, please be alert tonight. After counting, our current food reserves can only last for one month. Enough notice, let the crew rest well during this period. Rest well, don't we do anything. What would you do? If nothing unexpected happens, those indigenous people had already guessed that we would come and set numerous traps in that forest. If we step into them, we will face the danger of complete annihilation. And by this time, the fog of death in the swamp may have reappeared, making it impossible to return to the camp. That means our only way out is to kill those indigenous people. That group of indigenous people must have guessed our predicament so cunningly, so they won't act rashly but choose to lie in the forest and prepare to consume us alive. But the reason why the fish don't bite is because the bait is not big enough. As long as enough bait is placed, there are no fish that cannot be caught. Camp Location Everyone, it's time for the sun to come out. It's such a nice day. L. Large Ching Tian and his team have been away for over half a month now. I don't know what's going on now. Ah. Uh, does Yellen want to come and have a snowball fight? Playing snowball fights. Playing snowball fights with Sister Yellen. You guys play together. I won't. All right. Don't overthink it. Let's play together. Jessica, aren't you worried about Ching Tian and the others? Why worry? Don't you believe in Ching Tian? No, I believe it. So, do you want to have a snowball fight? Good. Ragnar, look, look, this snowman doesn't look like me. Like, like, like. Kata. Aruba, you're too loose. As a soldier, you have to be vigilant at all times. But isn't the clan leader also building snowmen over there? Do you also want to play? Having such a clan leader feels so embarrassing. I finally pushed the snowman. What's going on with this relaxed atmosphere? It's been a week now, and the Vikings haven't taken any action. Everyone has relaxed their vigilance, right? Master Wu, they have made some noise. The members of the hunting team are rewarded with 20 gold coins regardless of whether they bring back prey or not. Who will go? I'll go, I'll go. Add me one. His mother, don't rob me. It's really interesting that someone thinks they have a long life and rushes to die. If it weren't for these rookies, this task would have fallen on us. The captain's four hunting teams have already gathered, but will those indigenous people really take action? If they don't move, can we just replenish some food and fish? Patience is important, don't worry. Great. A team of 15 people, we can eat silently without a sound. Tell the tribe to prepare for battle. I can't even hear a bird's call in this forest. Where can I find prey? Don't talk nonsense. Keep your dog's eyes open and search carefully. You can also find a few snow rabbits. As long as you hit the prey, no matter how big or small, it costs 20 gold coins. TSK TSK Captain Summonson is indeed very big. It's really strange that none of those old crew members who eat shit came to grab this fat job. That group of old foxes have been on board for so long, and I don't know how much treasure they have hidden. How could they be interested in this? Gold coins. Pay attention behind you. It's that group of indigenous people. Hurry up and escape. They have more people than us. We need to inform Captain Simonson quickly. Fight quickly, never let them sound the horn. Drink. Die for me. It's a pity if there were more pirates coming. If there are more pirates coming, we won't be able to kill them all at once. As long as one pirate escapes back to our location, it will be exposed. But if the companions don't return for a long time, the pirates should also notice, right? Even if you notice it, it's okay. By then, we will have already hidden ourselves. Additionally, the food supply for the Viking pirates should be running out, and these four hunting teams in the mountains are the best proof. 
In this situation, they only have two choices. The first forest cannot enter the mountain or return on the original path. The second desperate attempt to break through in a large force. Regardless of the choice, we will continue to use the original guerrilla tactics, relying on the cover of traps to constantly consume them. Of course, if we can successfully annihilate the other three pirate teams in the future, the number of Viking pirates will be reduced to over 50 people. At that time, even if we faced each other head on, we didn't have to be afraid anymore. Where did the horn sound come from? Have we been discovered? I haven't seen any enemies here. No, this sound seems to be coming from a distance. Another horn sounded. These two horn sounds seem to come from the two hills next to us. Could it be said that? Shad Yao, go investigate the situation of the other three pirate teams. Oh no, these teams are actually bait used to determine our location. Only three teams have returned feedback as per our request. It seems that the fish has already hooked Grimm and played a magnificent melody for this feast. Start. Yes. Everyone, quickly leave this place. Our location may have already been taken. What is this sound? My ears hurt so much. My head is about to explode. Damn it, the huge horn sound doesn't even help covering your ears. This is. Everyone, leave this place immediately. Hurry up, hurry up. It's an avalanche. Quickly protect the witch envoy. The initial speed of the avalanche is 2,000 to 30 meters per second, and as the snow continues to descend, the speed will suddenly soar to a terrifying 97 meters per second, faster than a Category 17 typhoon. Even if I turn on the swift cheetah, I can't escape, let alone anyone else. Running is absolutely impossible, and I have to think of other ways. Avalanches invade everything. Here we go, everyone. Hold onto the tree trunk tightly. Don't let go. As expected, the tree trunk collapsed in the direction of the gap under the impact of snow, successfully landing on the surface of the avalanche. Master Witch, quickly look behind you. I can only bear it hard. It will be very bumpy next. Everyone, stay steady and be careful not to collide. Get down quickly. Pay attention to protecting the head. Oh, this scene is so beautiful no matter how many times I see it. I really have to marvel at the power of nature. Captain, we're back. Thank you for your hard work. This is your reward. Thank you, Captain. Next, it's time to collect ingredients for tonight's banquet. Master Wu, are you okay? Aruba, don't move around. The snow after the avalanche is soft and unstable. Everyone be careful. Are you an idiot? Everyone, quickly check yourself and your friends around you to see if they are injured. Everyone here is safe and sound. I'm also here. Someone has been injured on my end. Someone is unconscious here. It is impossible for such a huge avalanche to be safe and sound. The current situation is much better than expected. The witch lord Viru is missing. What? Is it because I was swept in by an avalanche? I have to find it quickly. The witch lord is not doing well. The Viking pirates are coming towards this place. It seems that they have already planned to utilize the avalanche from the beginning, so quickly. Pahong, please take all the tribe members and put on snowboards to leave here first. Katanik and I will stay and search for Viru together. The snow around us is at least two meters deep. Fortunately, we made a snowboard in advance. But I didn't expect Viking pirates to also ski. 
By the way, Viking pirates are already skiing in the icy and snowy Nordic countries, so it's not surprising that they can ski. We need to find Vera quickly. Master Wu, be careful. Wild Wolf Pack. Everyone, prepare for battle. It was the Black Wolf Pack before that, when they were unlucky, drinking cold water would stuff their teeth. Did Viru say? Kata, let's go. Hand over the Black Wolf to me. Wait. Master Witch Envoy. I don't know where the bodies of the indigenous people have gone in such thick snow, and I have to find them when. Stop talking nonsense. Find it early and go back early. I don't want to spend the night on this mountain. Hey, there seems to be bloodstains over there. Captain Solomon. Good job. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Well, these footprints should have been left by the wolf pack. The bodies of those indigenous people were discovered by passing wolf packs and dragged away. Forced. How is Lord Viru, the witch envoy? Fortunately, although Viru has many wounds on his body, they are all flesh and skin wounds that will not endanger his life. Believe that after resting for a while, Viru will wake up on his own. That's good. You are truly worthy of the title of witch envoy. He was able to summon wolf packs as helpers. This is not my credit. It's the wolf pack repaying their kindness. It's really thanks to them. Otherwise, not only would Viru be dead, but we would also fall into the encirclement of pirates. This is also because of the kindness of the witch envoy, isn't it? If it weren't for the witch lord's intervention to help the wolf pack and let them go, we wouldn't be where we are today. Master Wu, we have arrived. Call. Including Viru, a total of five members of our tribe have lost their combat ability. Currently, we still have 27 people left. I didn't expect to encounter an avalanche. Our luck is really bad. This is not a matter of luck. The avalanche was caused by the Viking pirates. Did they rely on the power of the Earth Spirit? Not at all. It's a sound. The loud sound will shake off the snow on the mountaintop, causing a chain reaction that leads to the collapse of large areas of snow and ultimately forming an avalanche. But with so many mountain pirates nearby, how could they know where we're hiding? Or is it because of the sound? Do you remember the three horned sounds we heard before the avalanche? I understand that those four pirate squads were actually released as bait to confirm our location. I think those four pirate squads all have a mission, which is to blow the horn every once in a while. If any team fails to sound the horn within the specified time, it proves that the team has encountered us and determined our location. No wonder each pirate team has 15 people. It turns out that all of this is calculated, and this number must be eaten by all of us working together. This way, we can ensure that all of us are in the same place and get caught in one fell swoop. It's a terrifying enemy to use their own companions as bait. I am more worried about whether our next plan will succeed than this. The enemy who can guess our actions and formulate corresponding countermeasures may be. Previously, it was, but now it's different. I don't think anyone would go to the embankment for those who have already died. The traces have separated here. If we search for them one by one, it will probably take a lot of time, and maybe during this time, the group of indigenous people will be completely eaten by the wolf pack. In that case, the fountain of youth will. Everyone will search separately and find a corpse. The reward is 200 gold coins. If you find that special young person, the reward is 1000 gold coins. Oh, oh. Haha, <laughs> as long as we find the bodies of the indigenous people, 200 gold coins will be ours. What is truly valuable in stupidity is the fountain of youth hidden among the indigenous people. If we can find it, we will truly become wealthy. Look over there. I want both gold coins and the fountain of youth. Wow. It's a trap. What? 
The indigenous people are still alive. Be careful, there may be ambushes nearby. Quickly notify others. Go down now. Go die for me. Short path number one. During the time when Snow Mountain encountered wolf packs, we suddenly split up so many routes. The Vikings should be suspicious, right? What do you think of the avalanche just now? If it weren't for the witch envoy, we would probably have frozen into ice sculptures by now. That's right, the Vikings also think the same way. In their eyes, we are already doomed dead. In addition, anyone who sees the footprints left by the wolf pack will feel that our bodies were dragged away by the wolf pack. In this situation, they would never have thought of the existence of traps. At that time, the sound of sand eagles will be used as a signal. If the sand eagle chirps once, it proves that the Viking pirates have divided into several tracking teams as we expected. If there are two, it indicates that the plan has failed. Immediately retreat without stopping and wait for the next opportunity. According to the path we set, the pirates should be dispersed into 12 teams, each consisting of approximately 7 to 8 people, with 4 short paths, 4 medium paths, and 4 long paths. At that time, we will be divided into 4 groups. First, we will ambush at the end of the short path and kill the four pirate teams tracking this way. Then, we will rely on the speed of the wolf pack to rush to the end of the middle path for a new round of ambush. Finally, we will proceed with the long path. Although our total number is not as large as theirs, we have an advantage in some areas. As long as we divide and conquer, we can achieve victory with fewer. The key to this plan is to race against time and not allow them to communicate with horns throughout the process. Remember to minimize the number of pirates as much as possible even if not all ambushes can be achieved. I will have the sand sculpture monitor the entire process and transmit information to make strategic adjustments at any time. Do you have confidence? Have. Short path number two. Let's walk to middle route two. I don't know how the others are doing. Short path three. You two beasts. Die for me. Uh-huh. This is impossible. Short path number four. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hurry up. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's going on here? Aren't these indigenous people dead? Well, that's great. The first stage went smoothly, and all the pirate teams on the short path have been killed. Now everyone is rushing to the ambush point on the medium path. Whether the plan can continue smoothly depends on your brothers. In addition, our old rival has arrived. Route 4 Middle. Route 4 Middle. We're really just sitting here waiting for him to show up. According to the information reported by the Sand Eagle, the pirate captain took this path. Kata, how many times have you dealt with him? You should have some understanding of him. Do you think our trap will work? Well, maybe he can tell at a glance our arrangements or fall into a trap without any damage. He's really scary. Coincidentally, I feel the same way. Get ready when the guests arrive. 6. This speed is too fast. If he chooses a long path, we can still prepare more thoroughly. The witch envoy will engage in battle later. If you are defeated, find a chance to escape and I will buy time. Don't be silly, we will definitely win. Swift cheetahs require a lot of physical strength to support themselves after a battle. Even if they have the intention to run, they cannot use this talent. Since they have chosen to face head-on, they must have the determination to win. Captain they are indigenous people. Well, he was still alive under that avalanche. Or were these two people not even on that mountain at that time? Humph. Trap. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You see, we didn't guess wrong. I can only go up. They intentionally waited for me here and added this trap. That group of indigenous people didn't die, and those scattered traces were meant to separate us all. We need to notify the other crew members. Although their lives are not worth it, 
we still need their strength to set sail. At times like this, you're still thinking about blowing the horn, Captain. You're a bit underestimating people. TSK, it seems like there won't be a chance until these two are resolved. Drink. Since that's the case, let's take you on the road first. Meeting is fate. Perhaps we can sit down and have a good talk. As long as we persist until other tribe members arrive, everything will be fine. Sorry, Captain. I don't know how to communicate with the dead. Middle Route 3 Damn it, how did these indigenous people survive under that big avalanche? Die for me. If this continues, I will eventually be surrounded by this group of indigenous people. I need to escape immediately and join forces with the others. Get lost. Don't try to run away. End of Route 4 What a heavy force. Master Witch Envoy This young man is very strange, despite having superb combat skills and speed. In theory, he must have been trained from years of actual combat and is a truly formidable warrior. But judging from the force on the blade, his strength is not as strong as a woman's. Any weakness in high-level combat is fatal. Despite Kadao's attack, he attacked me. Is this really life-threatening? May I return to the spirit of the earth? How could it be possible to avoid a fatal flaw in such a situation? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um. Got you. Drink it. Oh, wow. It looks like the captain. I won. Master Wu, be careful. Sure enough, he took me, who has weaker physical fitness, as the breakthrough point for this murder. Shouldn't the villain in a TV drama start with a few words of nonsense and then reduce their intelligence? What's the clear idea behind this? The game should be over. Hey, if you don't hold hands, brother, I'll burp. What? Kata. Right now. Bite off his neck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Look out. Younger brother. Get lost. Grim. Brother, brother. Nick. Why are you here? All the other pirates have been dealt with. It should have been resolved. Only this pirate abandoned his companions during the battle, so I chased after him all the way. I want to make your skeleton into a thick coffin for burying my brother. The situation is not good. Nindy's relatives and friends offer sacrifices to the heavens, but the power is boundless. They're even playing with eggs. Nick is providing cover for the Witch Lord. Master Witch, escape quickly. Don't worry, I will run away, but the prerequisite is to kill the enemy first. Isn't that what Shadyao said? Just stand up, Captain. I haven't had enough fun yet. Can we discuss something before fighting? You see, we both have many wounds on each other's bodies, and there are many bacteria in the wild. If we get infected, it will be difficult to deal with. How about we bandage the wound first and then continue fighting? What do you think? Hee hee, don't procrastinate. Don't worry, I won't let you die right away. Only by cutting off the flesh on your bodies with a knife and shedding drops of blood can I heal the pain in my heart. Captain, it may be difficult to fulfill your wish. It's the shaman, sir. They. The witch lord has been injured. Because you are facing over 20 warriors and 30 wild wolves. Captain, I won't bully you either. You can blow the horn and call someone. How about we have a fair battle? The white people I once slaughtered like this boring gentlemanly etiquette. But you're different. You're as cunning as a fox, which makes people feel disgusted. 
Since your people have arrived, it means my crew has been annihilated. No matter how much I brag, it's useless, right? Do you know that I always thought the villains who died from talking too much in those TV dramas were very foolish? Now I finally understand them. Because it feels really good to be silly, especially towards you vicious pirates. As for what the villain and the TV series mean, I'm not in the mood to explain at the moment. Compared to this, I hope you can answer me a question. Captain, it's not gentlemanly for you to take action without saying hello. If you're not careful, I could be killed. Is your mind filled with dog poop? This is a battlefield. More than 20 of you besieging one person is not gentlemanly at all, is it? Excuse me, is your mind filled with dog poop? This is a battlefield. I noticed before that you are different from that group of indigenous people and can speak our language. Is this all the benefits brought by the fountain of youth? He, this is your problem. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that it's not. I still won this battle. Blind chicken, can you be considered the winner of self-climax? You will go down to Heim, the damn swindler of the underworld. The witch lord has awakened. Aruba, speak softly and don't startle the witch envoy. Master Wu, how do you feel? How long have I been unconscious? It's been a whole day and night. Really? I thought it had only been a few hours. Uh. My whole body seems to be falling apart. Is it usually the sequelae of overusing my talent? Master Witch, it's best for you not to move around. The wound has already been treated, but it can easily crack open. You've been taking care of me for so long and working hard. Everyone, go rest. I don't think your injuries are as severe as mine. However, go ahead. I want to be alone and quiet. Then let's go first. Don't disturb the witch envoy. If the witch envoy needs us, he can call us. Call. Call. Is it due to the injury? I feel so heavy in my body. Should we also put the wolf's body on it? Of course, they are also brave warriors. The three people who died in Pakuma are. So you know I'm really nice and quiet in this place. At night, everything is quiet and peaceful. He, he yes. How is the recovery of the injury going? Maybe we need to take some time off. Just stay alive. Listen to Ragnar. Boer jumped into the pit with two pirates and died. When we entered the second stage, our physical strength was already depleted, and even with the assistance of traps, we fought very hard. Wutu is in our group until now. I still remember how bright his smile was. It has to be said that there are still some cautious people among the pirates, and one of the pirate teams discovered the trap we set up. Charlie sacrificed his life to trigger the trap in order to make it work. After the battle, all the tribe members were seriously injured and were unable to immediately bring back their bodies until this morning. One day and one night, the bodies of the three of them were already covered in thick snow. Fortunately, with the help of the wolf pack, we were able to find them. As for the wolf pack, they left under the leadership of the black wolf after helping us find the bodies of our tribe members. They are all brave warriors. Master Witch Envoy. No need, I can do it myself. We have finally defeated the pirates. Only a few members of the tribe died, yet they defeated so many pirates and gods of protection. Blessed by the witch god. It's the first time I've seen my comrade sacrifice. Chief of the clan. Sacrificing you all seems to be what it says, right? But there is no such saying in the Rata tribe. 
because those people just turned into stars. As long as you hold the starlight tightly in your hand, you can feel their presence and then put them back to the place closest to your soul. From now on, they will exist with you. Campsite. Is it really that magical? That thing called a car. I can't imagine what it looks like at all. Go and greet Ching Tian and the others. Hey, you also have that feeling, right? Ah, it's from the adults that they got home. I haven't taken a shower for so many days, it may smell a bit bad. Can you please bear with it? No problem. I need to remove a lot of bandages, which have already been stuck to the wound and may cause some pain. Come on. Five mouths and one. Yilin hot towel. Yes. Apply it for a while to soften the blood clots with the moisture and heat in the towel. Could you please let me know when you start on the last level so that I can be more prepared? Okay, I'll count to ten and start. Long pain is better than short pain. Chin Tian. This strap can still be used after being disinfected and washed with hot water. Can't it be wasted? Do you have any pain? No, it's not good. It's really okay. Yi Lin. Woo 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 woo. Great. He's back. It's really great. Two days later, the sacrificial corner. Boer and the others have returned to the spirit of the earth. It feels like a long time has passed. Does it feel a bit unreal? It's like having a distant dream. We can finally prepare to build the ship with peace of mind in the remaining time. This doesn't necessarily mean that the person in charge of duty, Alex, found the silhouette of a wild wolf near the campsite the day before yesterday, and there was also a completely black one among them. Did the wild wolves come with them? They. Cough, cough, I haven't had a chance to tell you that this is the situation yet. One minute later. A wolf with a whole black body? I really want to take a look. It must be very handsome. If that's the case, don't bother with them. Let's confirm first and then talk about it. As Ching Tian said, after resolving the Viking pirates, they can now build ships with peace of mind. There is nothing lacking in the camp now, and there are no external dangers. However, currently the main labor force in the camp is injured, and coupled with the harsh winter weather, their work efficiency is low. Therefore, everyone has decided to wait until after this winter before starting work. In the future, Chin Tian will be recuperating from his injuries. He usually eats after eating and sleeps, which is definitely the most comfortable day he has had since arriving on this deserted island. This situation persisted until one night. It's okay, there are so many people in the camp now and the walls have been built. Even if wolf packs attack, there's no need to be afraid. Maybe it's still the group of wild wolves mentioned by Chin Tian. Chin Tian spends most of his time in the cave, except for taking a stroll during meals. I'm a little worried. Well, since fighting against the pirate group, Chin Tian has been a bit quiet. I'm afraid there's a shadow in his heart. Otherwise, let's comfort him together another day. Chin Tian Chin Tian went out unexpectedly. Has his mentality improved? Let me tell you, I'm going out later. I went out so late because of the howling wolf. I guess. Then I'll go inform Nick and the others. I can go alone. Don't worry, I'll bring along the silly skin. However, let him be alone during this time. It seems that Yi Lin has sent someone to follow her. 
Anyway, otherwise, given my current physical condition, going out for a walk alone is completely a matter of seeking death or risking my life. Hampy, relax. Don't be so nervous. Task 30 Island Master Defeat pirates and become the owner of the island through content. Encourage the host to clear pirates and receive a reward of 15,000 points. Although the slave beast seal is a bit expensive. But if I can subdue the black wolf, it would be like having the entire wolf pack, and with a lot of people on this island, we can walk sideways. I have fought alongside the black wolf before, so I should be able to skip the process of taming directly, right? Intensive fear of Tianqing syndrome is about to occur. Relax, it's all your own. Thank you for the last battle. This is a thank you gift. Oh, wow. Last time we met, I thought this black wolf was extremely understanding of human nature. Now it seems that it's probably not just that, even I can understand what I'm saying. Unfortunately, I couldn't understand the language of the black wolf, otherwise it would have been more convenient to communicate, but fortunately, there are slave beast seals now. The black wolf has not yet tamed the slave beast seal and cannot make the moon. We need to go big. The black wolf has been kind to me, so I naturally cannot tame it. It seems that we can only talk about it later. It's just a pity that the points were used to exchange for the beast seal. I came to see you this time because I have something I want to ask for your help with. Of course, the reward will definitely not be small. The witch on voice seems to be talking to the black wolf about something. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you want to know... Just go ahead and ask. The witch envoy will definitely answer. Oh, in a few days, I plan to go to the Viking pirate camp and bring back all their supplies, so I entrusted the wolf pack to help. Well, with so many Viking pirates, there must be a lot of supplies in their camp. It's really convenient to walk in the snow with the help of wolf packs. When did you come, Master Witch? Not long ago. What are you doing here compared to this? I have to ask Ragnar about this. He asked me to call them out. Nick instructed me like this. This, this is. It doesn't matter anymore. Since we've met, let's go back together. The date agreed upon by Ching Tian and the wolf pack is three days later, during which he needs to prepare the sled needed to transport the goods. Therefore, that evening Ching Tian told everyone about his plan and arranged corresponding work. In the next two days, the campsite became busy again, and everyone started preparing sleds and towing ropes, which was exciting for Yi Lin and the others who stayed in the campsite. When Ching Tian and his team went out to fight, they could only stay at the camp. Now that they can help, their mentality has been balanced a lot. The number of wolf packs is around 30, and considering the power required for sled pulling, it is probably a configuration of four wolves and one sled. That is to say, the workload of making eight sleds is not considered a big task for Da Chin Tian. They only took two days to complete it. Three days later. What kind of magical tool are you holding in your hand, Master Witch? It can make such a sharp and loud sound. Um, don't our tribe have bone whistles or bone flutes? This Lada tribe is even more backward than I imagined. This thing is called a whistle and is made of bamboo. Its production method is very simple, just cut a section of bamboo randomly and cut a small slit on it. Find another solid branch and cut a slanted plug. Then insert the plug into the air vent and leave a suitable gap. That's how it's done. When blowing air inside, the airflow enters a gradually narrow gap through the blowing hole and the airflow speed becomes faster and faster. When blowing air inside, the flow enters a gradually narrow gap through the blowing hole, and at this point, the airflow speed becomes faster and faster. Voice hole. Blowing pores. Resonant cavity. Principal diagram of bamboo whistle sound production. Ching Tian, they have arrived. Wow, such a handsome wolf. 
I have never seen a completely black wolf before. According to genetics, wolves with black fur are unique colors that are mutated during hybridization between gray wolves and domestic dogs, and then transmitted back to the wolf pack through crossbreeding between wolves and dogs. Could it be that there are other people on this island? It may not necessarily be a purely natural genetic mutation, but it is also possible. You're absolutely right. After all, this island is so unbelievable that even with the appearance of golden wolves and red wolves, it wouldn't be surprising. Brother, you see that all the other wolves have been tricked, but you're the only one left. The wolf. How long will I be away this time? With the help of the wolf pack on the way, it should save a lot of time. At most, they will be back in two days. Look out on your road. Set out. Wow, that's so cool. Quiet down, Zomba Aru. If he could be quiet, he wouldn't be Aruba anymore. Master Witch Envoy. I forgot to mention that killing someone also means going to the underworld of Heim. Go to NM. I just need to put down my butcher's knife to become a Buddha on the ground. Can't you think of it? Humph. Master Wu, are you okay? Why do you ask that? Because the witch made the adult look very tired. That should be the reason for not resting well. Here we are. I remember you said that the fog in the swamp only disappears during the exchange of seasons, right? Is winter the same? Winter is no exception, and the longest time it lasts will not exceed three days. This is the first time it has disappeared for such a long time like this. Since the day the white mist disappeared, it has been less than ten days. In theory, the white mist should have reappeared long ago. Is there a pattern that we don't know, such as the white mist disappearing for a long time every few years? If only it disappeared forever. What Nick said is not unreasonable. After all, the lot of people have only been on this island for three years. If the white mist disappears for a long time every four years, Nick and the others won't be able to notice it. But it's useless to dwell on this now. The most important thing at the moment is to get to the Viking pirate camp before the sun sets. If we don't want to sleep outdoors late, we'd better continue on our journey. Originally, Ching Tian and his team could not have arrived at the pirate camp in one day even if they marched lightly. Especially in this winter when the snow is deep and difficult to walk, the speed of moving forward will be greatly affected. But with the help of the wolf pack, all of this is no longer a problem. The team arrived at the Viking pirate camp earlier than Ching Tian expected in the afternoon. But that doesn't mean they can just rest here. Everyone, hurry up and start setting up tents during the remaining time. As for why they set up a new tent instead of staying in the existing campsite, it is naturally because the Rada people's hatred towards Viking pirates has reached the point of hating everything related to Viking pirates. Remember to categorize and store the materials after finding them, and don't pile them up all at once. Understand? Hee hee captain, the tent where you live with your cautious personality should be the least eye-catching one, right? However, considering the previous night raid, I think you would have blatantly turned your tent into the most suspicious one. For example, this one. Captain Bingo, you only thought of me on the first level, but in reality, I am on the fifth level. I have quite a fortune as a captain. The value of this box of things has already caught up with my small goal of one billion. But here it's just some junk. I even scooped up a lot in the river. Well, what is this treasure map? This. I really can't understand why my father would willingly follow Fred, a timid leader like a rabbit, to Russia every year to plunder. I've had enough of how barren it is there, and this is not what I want. I have to find a way to kill the leader, PRD, and become the owner of this ship. After all, if we go to the west, we won't be able to do it without sturdy ships and manpower. As for the issue of moving forward, I have found the legendary sunstone. With it, even on cloudy days, I can find the direction to move forward. 
It's really natural to be ruthless since childhood. Hee Hee, a pirate leader who loves to write diaries, is interesting. I became a brother today, and it makes me sick because that thing is like a stone in a pit, black and wrinkled, and disgusting like Tucker's. If anyone else knew I had such a brother, I would definitely be ridiculed. Damn it, why would I think of Tucker? That guy is so disgusting. He always likes to touch women like a hot boar. Today is a memorable day. After more than a month of sailing, although we did not reach the rich land of the West, we encountered Westerners. It should be Westerners. We have never been to the West before, but the appearance of those people is different from ours, with fair and smooth skin, especially those women with full figures. This makes me extremely excited. I haven't had this kind of pleasure for a long time since Lioness died. But what excites me the most is the boat of this group of people. The ships of Westerners are very big, and I am proud of them. The ship in front of them is like the gap between a baby and an adult, which excites me immensely. If I could own this ship, I would definitely be able to reach the rich land of the West. Unfortunately, I burned down that ship during the battle, but I believe that if we continue sailing westward, we will encounter other large ships. However, before that, I need to gather some more subordinates. According to historical records, the first invasion of the West by Viking pirates was in the late 8th century ad. From what is mentioned in this diary, it appears that Summonson and his team come from this period. Until now, I still find it hard to believe that I have obtained a map that hides the fountain of youth. I think this must be the Holy Father watching over me, guiding me. Yes, the black bird I saw on the sea today is because of it. That's why I found this map. I must obtain the magical spring water that can make people immortal in the legend of the Fountain of Youth. The journey south is really long. Fortunately, I made sufficient preparations before departure, but even so, I lost over a hundred crew members in just one month. According to the route map, it will take at least a considerable amount of time to reach that island. The thought of not hearing that pleasant scream for a long time makes my whole body itch. Perhaps I should find a few excuses to attack the crew on the ship. Leviathan, yes. Although I haven't seen its full face and it doesn't match the description in the legend, I'm sure it's the legendary sea monster. There's no other animal in the deep sea that's bigger or more ferocious than it. The encounter with Leviathan caused my fleet to suffer heavy losses, with nearly half of the crew dead. However, I am excited because it was a test before obtaining the Fountain of Youth. After passing the test, I arrived at this island a few months earlier than expected. The island seemed to appear out of thin air, but this undoubtedly proves that it is a magical island and only such an island can exist without aging springs. We have been on this island for some time now, during which we have been constantly searching for the whereabouts of the Fountain of Youth while also interrogating the indigenous people see, but due to the language barrier, I cannot be sure if they can understand me, so I can only try to communicate with them through drawing. But their mouths are very hard, even if they beat a few to death, they still didn't reveal any information. But I know they're deceiving me because after I landed, I found God's ring, which completely shows that God has been to this place. This may not be the biggest mistake in the world. From the diary, it can be seen that Solomon also came to this deserted island suddenly after encountering a storm, just like me and Jessica. Summonson probably mistook this deserted island for the one marked on the map. But what's more concerning is the ring of the god mentioned in the diary. I have been playing with God's ring all this time. Although the ring is covered with fine cracks, it is still so beautiful and tempting. I have never seen such a clean and transparent gemstone retooled before. And this ring seems to sense my urgent mood. Today, it has bloomed with dazzling light, and there is a symbol from the divine realm in it, which should be a kind of text. Completely different from our words, it is so exquisite and beautiful. Unfortunately, the symbol of God is too obscure and difficult to understand, and the light only lasted for a short moment. Therefore, I only remembered the simplest two symbols and drew them down. This is. You must find that ring. Perhaps I am about to uncover the biggest secret hidden behind this deserted island. After a busy night, 
Ching Tian and his team almost turned the entire pirate camp upside down, plundering everything useful and useless. Even the tent was not spared, and all the animal skins on top were stripped off, leaving only empty shells that were burned by a fire before leaving. The gains from this trip were much greater than Ching Tian had anticipated, to the point where they had no seats after putting all the supplies on the sled. But fortunately, the speed of the sled's return journey, although not as fast as when it was, was not much slower. Two days later, they safely returned to the camp. After completing the task, the Black Wolf left Ching Tian with their tribe and repeatedly invited them to stay, but unfortunately they were all rejected. They didn't look back and left the camp with Ching Tian's promised reward. Ching Tian was also very helpless about this. Come play again when you have time. Lamb is lamb meat. And there's also malt liquor. These two types of food are not available on a deserted island, which should be the biggest gain of this trip. Where should I put these things, Master Witch? What's inside? Wow, it's wheat. There's still wheat. This is the true treasure. I seem to smell the fragrance of wheat bread. What's the use of this thing, Lord Witch? Ah, as desert residents, you probably haven't seen this kind of thing before. It's a food that can be eaten. What can be eaten? I haven't finished speaking yet. Before eating, I need to peel and cook it thoroughly, otherwise I won't be able to swallow it at all. The most important thing is that this wheat can be recycled and regenerated as long as it is planted properly. From now on, we will no longer have to worry about food. This is the ring mentioned in the diary. Yes. It's very beautiful and has an indescribable sense of technology. Don't be surprised next. Just like its appearance, the technology contained in this ring is beyond our imagination. This is amazing. This is a 3D projection. No, this is a true holographic projection technique that theoretically records and reproduces the true three-dimensional image of an object using the principles of interference and diffraction. It is far from comparable to the pseudo-holography achieved through media such as holographic films or fog curtains on the market. In other words, the technology contained in this ring may have been significantly ahead of the era that Yi Lin and I belong to. Unfortunately, all the garbled text on this screen is incomprehensible, otherwise we might have been able to obtain some useful information from it. Has the technology of the 21st century reached such a level? I really want to see what that era looks like with my own eyes. In fact, this screen is flipping pages, and there are other pages besides this one. However, due to the damage of the ring, most of the pages are filled with garbled text, but there are also intact ones. For example, the map in front of us. Is this what this deserted island looks like? Is it my illusion? How do I feel that the outline of this island is a bit familiar? It seems that you have also noticed it. It's not your imagination. I was surprised when I saw it for the first time. The reason why you feel familiar is because the outline of this deserted island is very similar to that of the treasure island. Hey, do you mean? I think it's just a coincidence. After all, as you can see, the terrain here is completely different and the deserted island is not that big. I accidentally discovered that this winter has zoom and location functions, and when I zoomed in, I found this route. Is this a guide? I'm not sure if it's a guide, but there must be some secret hidden here on the opposite peninsula. For example, this one. What is this place? There is such a magnificent architectural complex on the opposite peninsula. From the map, it appears that this building is indeed located on the peninsula where Nick and his team used to be, but unfortunately, I have not seen it before. Perhaps we can ask Nick and his team, after all, they have lived there for a long time. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Have you seen it before? I have never seen such a house in my memory. Nick, have you seen it before? No. But this location seems to be where the sinkhole is located, right? If that's the case, this is indeed the location of the sinkhole. But I remember there weren't many houses near the sinkhole. 
What is the sinkhole? A big pit. A large pit that runs through the island. There are no big pits on the map. Could it be that there is a big pit in the place where the building complex was supposed to be located after it disappeared? It seems that we have to go to the site to see after winter. It has been half a month since Ching Tian and the others returned from the pirate camp. During this period, Ching Tian and the others have been living a comfortable and comfortable life of recuperation. Probably because the deserted island environment is pleasant and they rest properly. Ching Tian and his team's injuries heal very quickly and they are estimated to fully recover in another month. I can't believe a serious injury like this should take at least half a year to recover and now it's almost healed. This situation is undoubtedly enjoyable, especially for Ching Tian, who was injured halfway and couldn't sit back and started running around. After nearly two months, we should be able to produce some nitrate to some extent. I often go to the forest to find black wolf packs to blow water and fart to strengthen my relationship. You see, I've known you for so long and I don't know how troublesome it is to call you by your name. How about I come up with a name for you? Your pitch black all over except for the white fur next to your eyes. How about calling you white-eyed? Isn't it cool? White-eyed Wolf Chain Tian, you must admit that you are a name loser, right? But not to mention whether it was Chain Tian's jokes that played a role or other reasons, the number of visits from the Black Wolf group to the campsite has also increased. At first, the wolf pack only operated near the campsite. After half a month, the Black Wolf Pack gradually approached the campsite. As a result, it was discovered by Abby Elu and a few children, and then it disappeared. Two months later, the Witch Lord asked me to make this thing called a stone mill just to grind wheat into this fine powder. This manually ground wheat flour feels a bit rough. So we have to grind the flour a few more times to make it fine before rolling it out into dough. Master Wu, they have returned. Is the flour ready? We can finish it before noon. Hurry up, let's have dumplings tonight. The witch envoy seems to be in a good mood today. It's rare to see him smile so brightly since he solved the pirates. Maybe it's because there's a banquet tonight. What is inside the box of the witch lord? Is this fireworks? Fireworks. Today is Chinese New Year's Eve, and the time is really fast. Yeah, I calculate every day on Chinese New Year's Eve. I don't know how my parents are at home. Don't overthink it. They must be doing better than us now. Maybe they're having a delicious New Year's Eve dinner. The flowers bloomed in the night sky. How was this done? Wow. It's beautiful. Even the tribe members who turn into stars must be able to see it, right? No wonder you've been secretly preparing fireworks behind your back lately. How about this? Can it be considered a surprise? Ching Tian, you are so amazing to make such beautiful fireworks. Actually, making fireworks is not difficult. Just wrap the prepared gunpowder tightly with paper in one sentence. To be honest, the color and blooming design of fireworks can be a bit troublesome. In terms of color, it should be a flame reaction, right? Different colored light beads can be made by using certain metals or their compounds to create a special color when burned in a colorless flame. In addition, adding carbon powder, phosphorus powder, and iron powder to the light beads can also create shapes such as small flashes and bright stars. What is a light bead? The color we see in the black pellets inside fireworks comes from its various production methods, and I made it by mixing mud powder with pre-prepared gunpowder. In addition, the shape of fireworks depends on the arrangement and combination of light beads. If they are closely arranged in a spherical shape, they correspond to spherical fireworks. If they are star-shaped, they correspond to star-shaped fireworks. Unfortunately, metal resources are scarce on the deserted island, so I can only use salt as sodium powder to make yellow fireworks. The color may be monotonous. I must have tried a lot of ratios when making fireworks, my hand was injured. But it's all worth it, isn't it? 
Does anyone still need dumplings? Ailu, could you please bring me some canned food? This thing called dumplings is just too delicious, isn't it? Please don't speak while eating. Saliva is flying out. This malt liquor has a completely different taste from wine. It's been a long time since the tribe was so happy. This is all brought by the witch envoy. I said, Kata, why do you keep putting on a straight face and smiling casually at our place? With your figure, you can definitely seduce a lot of girls. Kata, why don't you drink? Come and have a taste of this malt liquor. It's really good. Don't worry, we've already killed all the pirates. There's no need to be so guarded. I only have one drink. I feel that today's shaman is a bit different from usual. This should be venting emotions, right? Ching Tian, will everything be okay? Father, you can't drink anymore. Quickly let go of me, I still want to drink. Kata, why are there still drinks in this glass? Are you trying to raise whales? We didn't pay much attention and ended up like this. We were negligent. I'll go to the kitchen and cook some ginger water for Ching Tian to sober up. I'll ask you to take care of Ching Tian during this time. Good. Although I know I may not be able to help much, if possible, I would like to hear and know what kind of pressure you are currently under. Yi Lin, are you still dizzy? The former school bill was actually taking care of me. If those three sons in the dormitory found out, they would definitely envy my dad. Oh, wow. What's wrong? Do you have a headache? It's okay, I just got drunk. Jessica's sister is boiling ginger water. I'll go check if it's ready. Ching 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 Tian. Yellen, I killed someone. Upon hearing these words, Yellen's heart trembled uncontrollably, but she quickly calmed down. Yi Lin has been watching Ching Tian's abnormal behavior lately. Although Ching Tian doesn't say anything, she knows the reason behind it. It can be said that when Ching Tian decided to return to the tribe with Nick a long time ago, she had already anticipated this situation would happen. Yellen, I'm a bad person. Watching Ching Tian Ai Lin cry like a child, her heart throbbed with pain. Yi Lin and Ching Tian Bin lived in a society ruled by law, and the idea of killing could be said to have never appeared in their minds before they arrived on the deserted island. Listen to me, Ching Tian. Listen to me. This is partly due to their reverence for the law, but fundamentally they are all kind-hearted people. However, that idea that had never appeared before became a reality one day, which was nothing but a self-breakdown for Ching Tian. It is precisely for this reason that Ching Tian has been tormented by his conscience all this time, and it is thanks to his strength that he has not been defeated. You are not a bad person. The pirate is the bad person who killed the pirate. You're the hero. But there is always a value to it. Under the numbness of alcohol, Ching Tian's inner defense has loosened, and the accumulated pain is like a flood breaking its banks. You protected everyone. You are a hero. I am a hero. In fact, Yellen's heart was also extremely painful. She and Ching Tian came to this deserted island together and spent the most difficult time together. It can be said that they supported each other emotionally. Yes, you are a hero. You are a great hero. But she couldn't help much in this matter, especially since Ching Tian endured this pain for them. The feeling of powerlessness pierced Yellen's heart. She doesn't know if this is useful, at least it's how it's portrayed in TV dramas. She also doesn't know if it can convey her determination to accompany Ching Tian no matter when. Are you feel better? Ah, uh, um. Yellen ginger water is ready. Hey, hey. You guys. Ching Tian said he wants to be alone and quiet. Let's go out first. But what about this ginger water? Call. The hero who slaughtered the dragon was bound by the dragon's soul and escaped from the cage under the kiss of the goddess, leaving behind an epic legend that is simply disgusting. 
Seeing your relaxed expression, don't you think killing someone is really wrong? Don't you think you're deceiving yourself? Maybe, but after Yellen reminded me, I realized that I am more afraid of losing them than my hands are stained with blood. Moreover, your fate will be nothing but retribution for you. It's just my imagination. What are you blindly beeping about here? Get out of my mind. Yellen's comfort is still very useful. Although it cannot be said that Ching Tian no longer feels guilty in his heart, one thing is certain, that is, he can now look directly at what he has done. It's so strange. Why did Ching Tian suddenly regain his energy? Ching Tian, who had tidied up his mood, no longer became decadent and began to design sailing ships for navigation. During this period, Ching Tian took some time to go to the swamp, but after more than two months, the fog still disappeared without a trace. After thinking about it, he made a decision to hunt down the Titan Python. It seems that the white mist has really disappeared. Since the ring pointed to the opposite peninsula, Ching Tian has decided to take a stroll on the opposite peninsula in the same way as before by boat. But now that the white mist has disappeared, crossing it directly is undoubtedly the best and safest choice. As for the Titan Python, Ching Tian doesn't take it seriously at all. With so many people and arrows, he has full confidence in killing it without casualties. Preparing for time to pass quietly, it will soon be early spring. The wolf pack is generally arrogant and not so easy to tame. After the cold winter, they left the camp with the wolf pack in vain. Although Ching Tian was a little reluctant about this, there was nothing he could do about it, and he believed that during this period of time, he had become friends with the wolf pack. Whether the wolf pack stayed in the camp or not didn't make much difference. Swamp Land It's raining again and I can't go out to play. It's so boring. If you're bored, you can go find the whereabouts of the Titan Python. I'm not bored, I'm not bored. This should be the seventh day, right? It seems that the Titan Python will end its hibernation later than expected. I really want to see the Titan Python soon. Fortunately, we built this wooden house and don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain. Appeared. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. It's been a good time. Why can't you remember my old friend? That's really heartbreaking. It seems like I remember now, and it's still so enthusiastic. I have not let down the abundant wine I have prepared for you. Discharge It's about to escape. Bakuma Bohama Let's go together and don't give it a chance to catch its breath. Host kills Titan Python to earn 3,000 points reward. I didn't expect us to actually kill the big snake. Isn't it a certainty that there will be a witch envoy here? How did you get so many points? I remember that when I escaped from the pursuit of the Titan Python, I received a reward of 5,000 points. Could it be because someone else helped and the difficulty of the mission decreased? I finally saw the true face of the Titan Python. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's all burnt. I still want to study it well. It smells a bit fragrant. I don't know what it tastes like. Wipe off your saliva. This is a big snake that has eaten many of our tribe members. May you rest in peace. As a nightmare-like giant beast on a deserted island, Ching Tian, they successfully killed it in less than half an hour. As expected by Ching Tian, with their current manpower and resources, it's not too easy to deal with the Titan Python. After killing the Titan Python, they did not stop but continued to venture deep into the swamp, intending to take advantage of this to bring Jessica's plane back. If there is really any treasure on the deserted island, it is undoubtedly Jessica's plane. After all, there is only one plane on the entire island. 
whether they can still fly, not to mention the instruments and materials on the plane, is worth Ching Tian and his team's effort. Is this the artifact called an airplane? It looks like a big horse. The propeller and wings have varying degrees of damage, and the fuel in the tank has also leaked out. Fortunately, the engine was not damaged, but according to the current situation, it cannot fly. Let's take it back first. The legendary British made ant bomber during World War II was made of wood. Maybe we can also fix it with wood. So heavy. It's so heavy, Kata. Did you exert any force? Lord Wu, it seems like we can't get this into the car. Of course, the plane is so heavy, how could it be lifted manually? Lift it up. Lift it up. Quickly move to the car. The plane is so heavy that it actually lifted up. The physical fitness of the lot of people far exceeds the level of normal people. They haven't used any strange potions, have they? Noon. What is this, Master Witch? This is a simple crane made of pulley blocks, which can help us lift the airplane with less force. Really? Relying solely on these few wheels. That's unbelievable. The pulley system utilizes the lever principle, and each movable pulley can save us half of the force, which means that three movable pulleys can help us save nearly five-sixths of the force. Simply put, our power will increase six times. I see. Let's give it a try quickly. They didn't even understand, did they? Absolute. Two. Three. The plane has been pulled up. It's so easy. It didn't use much force at all. You guys take the plane back later. I plan to go to the sinkhole with Kata and the others first to see what's going on. Good. Look out on your road. According to the map, the distance between the sinkhole and the swamp is a full day's journey. If they walk at a normal speed, Ching Tian and his team won't even be able to leave the swamp, let alone reach the sinkhole. Therefore, after parting ways with Yellen and the others, Ching Tian and the others sprinted all the way. After all, there are fierce swamp crocodiles in this swamp, and staying overnight here is not a good choice. Even earlier than expected, Ching Tian and his team not only emerged from the swamp before dark, but also returned to the previous Rata tribe. However, due to the long period of vacancy, dust was everywhere in the tribe. Although there were ready-made thatched cottages, Ching Tian and his team still set up their tents. The second day. Could it be that I hallucinated? I seem to hear the sound of waves crashing. The witch envoy is right in front of the sinkhole. This is it. Tiankung. Although I have come several times, each time it makes me feel small and insignificant. Good boy, this can definitely be called a wonder, worthy of the name of a sinkhole. From the map, our current location should be in front of the building complex, but there is no sign of any buildings in the vicinity. Now the ring has an arrow pointing towards the sea surface. Do any of you know what's under the sinkhole? Do you want to go down, Master Witch? I would like to, but the smooth and steep stone wall is a big problem whether going down or up. I advise you not to go down. It's too dangerous down there. Although the sea appears calm on the surface, it's actually a turbulent undercurrent. You've been down there before. All the warriors in the tribe have gone down. This is a test given to us by the spirit of the earth. What kind of ghost is the test of the earth spirit? Every piece of land has its own earth spirit. If a tribe wants to survive on this land, they must send tribal warriors to withstand the test of the earth spirit and gain its recognition. At the moment we set foot on this land and discovered the sinkhole, the clan leader was summoned by the spirit of the earth and conveyed the content of the assessment. Summon me, I'm sure this is all your subjective imagination. To prove that our tribe has the courage and strength to survive on a deserted island, we need to find the marker stone that the clan leader threw into the sea. From the moment of entering the water, the stone must be found before it appears to pass the test. Although it was dangerous to do so, we ultimately completed the test. I can't roast. 
Never mind, how deep is the seabed under this sinkhole? Have you seen any strange buildings? It's just strange houses. At that time, I was only looking for the marker stone and didn't pay attention to the surrounding situation. Me too. Ah, at that time, Viru Aruba and the Boku siblings were also present. Perhaps after returning, the witch envoy, you can ask them. It seems that we can only go back first. After experiencing crossing the swamp once, Ching Tian learned his lesson and did not cross the swamp straight again when he returned. Go this way. Taking advantage of the convenience of the map, Ching Tian planned a relatively easy route in advance and detoured forward. Although the route has become longer by doing this, the speed has greatly increased, even faster than when we went there. Ching Tian and the four of them returned to the campsite at noon the next day and received a message from Sha Diao. Yi Lin and the others waited in front of the campsite early. After returning to the campsite, Ching Tian did not immediately rest. Instead, he called for a few people from Aruba to walk to the kitchen together, thinking of asking about the situation under the sinkhole. How about it? Did you gain anything? I guess so. I'll tell you later. Is it a special building? I didn't see it. However, the environment beneath the sinkhole is somewhat unique. Especially. Well, compared to other places, the sinkhole is very clean and you can hardly see any aquatic plants. By the way, there is a deeper black hole beneath the sinkhole. What kind of black hole is a black hole? I accidentally discovered a very, very large black hole that is bottomless and cannot even be penetrated by sunlight. First the sinkhole, then the black hole ring pointing towards the bottom of the sinkhole. It's true that we can only go down and explore it. Aruba, have you found anything strange or unusual? Ah ha ha, I. The first one to surface was him. And it only lasted for three minutes. Uh, isn't three minutes long enough? Forget it, we can't view them as ordinary people, but it reminds me that if I want to dive, I need to prepare well. Since the day Ching Tian decided to go down the sinkhole, he has been busy making oxygen cylinders to prepare for diving in the following time. Caution. The production of oxygen cylinders is not difficult. Simply pour molten iron into the mold and pour it into shape. The production of bottle mouth one-way valves is relatively difficult. Although there are not many parts, they are very small and require high precision for mold opening. Otherwise, there will be great problems with the combination degree of the demolded parts. By comparison, the production of a pump is much more complicated. Fortunately, unlike oxygen cylinders, air pumps only require two or three to be made, and the workload is much less. Host making oxygen cylinders earns 500 points reward. Host makes a pump to earn 500 points reward. It's easy. What kind of encouragement is this? I can do it myself. I have high hopes for you. Keep it up. As the pressure inside the bottle increases, it will become increasingly difficult to inflate, right? And the bottle body will become increasingly hot. That's why I put the oxygen cylinder in ice water to lower the temperature of the cylinder while cooling the air as much as possible and injecting more gas into the cylinder. Unfortunately, the gas injected solely by human labor can only sustain a maximum of 10 minutes of breathing. Strange why it's getting harder and harder. Ragnar, did you exert force? I have done my best. Oh, 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 You guys take a break and switch to the next group for seven. Is it really that difficult? Ching Tian spent a total of five days making diving equipment. After everything was ready, he took some of his tribe members to the sinkhole. The physical strength of ordinary people is not as good as that of Kata and their Ching Tian. It took almost two days to reach the sinkhole this time. Is this a sinkhole? It's simply shocking. On the second day after arriving at the sinkhole, Ching Tian and his team collected wood and prepared to build a large multi-body ship under the sinkhole to prepare for diving. Come and give me a hand. Apply force, exert force. Three days later. 
Are you all ready? Okay, T. I'm really envious. It's been a long time since I last went diving. It's also nice to see the scenery here. Being in this sinkhole always gives people a feeling that the center of the world is right here. I thought it would be very deep, but I didn't expect to see the bottom as soon as I entered the water. It seems that the water depth here shouldn't exceed 30 meters. If nothing unexpected happens, the direction pointed by this ring should be the location of the black hole. As Bohama said, this seabed is really clean and not a single small fish has been seen. However, judging from the many dead corals around it, this place used to be a gathering place for fish, and I don't know what happened and it has become what it is now. This black hole probably doesn't lead straight to hell. It's impossible to see the bottom. Do you want to go down? It's impossible to just go back like this when you're already here. It's so dark and the water pressure keeps increasing with the continuous lowering of the spell. Is this where the spirit of water resides? Miracles are definitely miracles. This is the architectural complex displayed on the map. Is it strange? Is it my illusion? I feel like the pressure on me decreases a lot when I get closer to this building complex. It seems like this is the destination, but the door is tightly closed and it doesn't seem like we can get in. At this moment, somewhere inside the building. What the hell is this? Do we need to go in, Master Witch? This building looks very large, and it would take at least half an hour to search it all. The oxygen in the oxygen cylinder is definitely not enough. And I don't know what's going on here. Is there any danger, so I have to go back first and make plans? What the hell? It's already here and the door has opened, yet it just slipped away like this. Do humans still have any exploratory spirit? Come in here. What happened? Um. Ha ha. Master Wu, are you okay? Don't worry. Where are we now? Have we floated to the surface of the sea? No, the white clouds and sky are both fake, similar to the image displayed on an electronic screen. If nothing unexpected happens, we should be inside the building now. Isn't this amazing? What should we do next? Now that we have lost our way, it is impossible to travel back the same way, but fortunately, the ring still has guidance. We can only follow the instructions and pay attention to tightening the valves of the oxygen cylinders. Maybe they will still be needed when we go back. How long did we swim? About half an hour. After so long, Lord Witch, they should be worried. Compared to this, I want to say that I'm hungry. Hi. Unfortunately, both here and outside are clean and there's nothing. If only there were fish, any fish would do. The energy consumed by swimming for such a long time is enormous, and in addition to maintaining body temperature, the energy consumption is even faster than usual. We need to quickly find a place to settle down. You guys, look over there. I'm going to Ragnar. You're here, the crow mouth fish, but it's still uncertain who's eating it. The defense system is damaged and cannot be activated. It's been so many years since I last went there, and I never thought the sharks in the aquarium laboratory were still alive. Could it be that the experiment was successful? The damage to the defense system can only be attributed to the fate of these three individuals. The megalodon shark, with an average length of 14 meters and a weight of 40 tons, is one of the largest predators in history. Its maximum bite force is 20 tons, and its oral biting power exceeds that of the Tyrannosaurus rex. It lived from the late Miocene 15 million years ago to the early Pleistocene 2.6 million years ago and is a top predator. What the hell? Damn it. Go to hell with you. You can hold me back and continue swimming. 
This won't work. The oxygen in the oxygen cylinder will eventually run out. We need to think of other ways. Look over there. Nima exploded. Hold onto the oxygen cylinder like I did and open the valve to the maximum. Hold it steady. Master Witch, quickly look over there. Casement window. Quickly dive down and see if there's an exit. It's really not working. Use an oxygen cylinder to smash it open. There are many precision instruments here that I have never seen before, like crazy science laboratories and science fiction movies. Is the Megalodon shark the masterpiece here, and so on, as well as the Titan Python, Swordtooth Tiger, and First Panda on the deserted island? It's not safe here yet. Hurry up and leave. Since it's a laboratory, there must be an exit. One, two, three, exert force. Is this? The door is open. Hurry up. This door is too heavy, isn't it? It must be that the shaft has rusted to death after being immersed in seawater for a long time. The shark is chasing after you. You guys go in first. Quick kata. Give me your hand. Close the door quickly and don't let it in. Fortunately, the door is facing outward. If it were to open inward, it would be impossible for the three of us alone to stop this megalodon. But this stalemate is not a solution if another megalodon shark comes over. This is another megalodon shark colliding with the iron gate over there, tightening it even tighter. I'm sorry, but you're such a pig teammate. Should I call you Shark Shark or Shark B? Are you dead? I can't die anymore. What should we do now with the last shark left? Hey, what do you mean? Right now. Oh, oh, I understand now. Repeat the stock tricks. So calling you Shark B is absolutely correct. The experiment was successful, but the cultivated megalodon shark seems to have a slightly low IQ. But it's okay. As long as I pass the Shuanwu Hall, I can take over them. I hope I won't encounter big fish with sharp teeth again. I don't have the strength anymore. Don't worry, sharks are very sensitive to blood. If there were any sharks nearby, they would have appeared long ago. Let's go. Although the shark is gone, we still need to find a way to get out. Upon hearing Ching Tian's words, Kata and Ragnar breathed a sigh of relief. Although they managed to eliminate the shark through the gap, it also greatly depleted their physical strength. If they encounter other sharks again, they will no longer have the strength to cope. Fortunately, this situation did not occur. After soaking in the water for so long, Ching Tian and his companions' bodies have started to feel a bit cold. In order to avoid this situation, Ching Tian and his companions piled up the floating objects around them and planned to make a simple raft. After spending half an hour, Ching Tian and his team finally succeeded in making it. However, due to the materials around them, the Raft 99 is not very sturdy and may fall apart at any time. But it's better than nothing. After such a long time, they can finally catch their breath. During the following time, Ching Tian and his three companions followed the guidance of the ring and continued to delve deeper. However, the size of this architectural complex was somewhat unimaginable, and after nearly an hour, the surrounding environment remained largely unchanged. During this period, Ching Tian wanted to enter behind the rows of large iron gates several times to see if he could find any useful information, but in the end, he suppressed this feeling. If he encountered something like a megalodon again, it would be completely cold. Um, what's going on here? Flying up. 
Master Witch, is this your new witchcraft? This. It has nothing to do with me. Hold on tight, don't be thrown off. We're about to collide. Someone is there. What the fuck? Hey, Tion. The ring is broken. The energy in the ring ran out and naturally shattered. Enemy. When did this person appear? I didn't even notice. I didn't read it wrong just now. There really is someone. Sit, sit, hurry up, don't waste time. There's not much energy left. Particle recombination. Why are you still sitting there? So what is the current situation? I forgot there were two foreign friends. Language translation system startup. Can you understand now? Why are you still in a daze? Quickly take out the recorder, camera, or something to prepare for recording. Don't tell me you didn't bring anything. It's not that we didn't bring anything, it's that we didn't have anything. There's nothing interesting about it. We accidentally drifted onto this island during a storm and have lost contact with the outside world. We were able to find this place because we received guidance from the ring. Alas. Are you okay? If possible, I would like to ask where this place is and how can we get out of here. Shut up and see for yourself. I'm not in the mood to answer your question right now. This is a black and white television. Quickly evaluate all personnel. Remember to save the data well. Damn it, the energy can't be controlled anymore. Although there is real-time recording from Tianyin, retaining too much data shouldn't be a bad thing. Recorded on the 26th day of the sun in the year 336 of the new era. Recording location, Kirin Hall, Wufang Laboratory, Bao Dao Number 2. Yu Jingfeng, Deputy Director of Wufang Experiment, Recorder. The official recording will begin below. Ah, uh, that's the taste. I thought I wouldn't be able to taste it again. How did such a big person get into this box? A mature and steady person with a detached mindset is truly the same person. Well, I don't know if the person who saw this record is a future customer or a past visitor, but I think you must be curious about what happened in the laboratory at this moment. What are you doing? I had two packs of loosafen on my back. Not enough for the few of you to divide. I won't eat, thank you. All of this starts from when the Earth reaches a level 1 civilization. After reaching the first level of civilization on Earth, the resources on the planet have been maximally developed, but the problem of energy scarcity has still not been solved. 156 years later, as Earth's technology advances towards a second level civilization, the planet once again faces an energy crisis. Are you curious why there is still an energy crisis when humans are able to freely shuttle through the solar system and extract resources from nearby planets after reaching a level 1 civilization? I won't mention this for now. Anyway, as long as you know, it's because of the lack of energy on Earth that we opened this laboratory. TM's half-spoken words are appetizing. Before explaining the main research projects of the laboratory, let me first clarify that this island itself is man-made. When the project team was established, it built the second treasure island near the Shisha Islands according to the outline of the island. I see. No wonder the outline of the deserted island is so similar to that of the treasure island. I don't know when the year 336 of the new era mentioned by Yu Jingfeng is. I really hope to see that day with my own eyes. Continuing with the laboratory itself. The main research project of this laboratory is the eternal proposition time in the scientific community. Time, as one of the insurmountable orders for humans in three-dimensional space, needs to reach advanced civilization before it can be fully controlled. However, due to that well-known event, we were able to detect this order in advance. So, thinking about using this as a breakthrough to solve the problem of energy scarcity on Earth today, we began to research it. Here are my suggestions for you. Please feel free to accept them. 
Regarding the study of time, I hope that everyone who obtains this data will try their best to prepare adequately and reach at least level 3 civilization before touching it. As for the specific reasons, I believe you have also seen that this is the consequence of crossing the line. What's the question? Why didn't I ask you to ban research time instead of just giving suggestions? Is this just for show? Curiosity killed the cat's rebellious psychology. The more uncertain I am about studying it, the more you want to study it, right? If you can really listen, then you'll see a ghost. Sorry, I didn't ask that question. You don't need to explain. With such a big secret in front of us, no one can resist it. What time is TMD now? What the hell are you still up to? Chicken feathers are not running away yet. Run an egg. Based on current calculations, the entire island will be affected by the turbulence of time. Where can I go now to flash the grave relocation? It seems like this is the truth. If you run away, it's all for nothing. I feel like neither of these people looks very normal. The sleeping trough almost forgot about this. Strange, strange. How could the password be wrong? Did you remember something wrong? Password error. I'm afraid this guy didn't cause the accident in the laboratory, did he? What are you doing now? Oh, I'm thinking of keeping some video recordings or something that might be useful to people in the laboratory in the future. Hey, look at those two secondhand goods who are still drinking tea. Don't worry about them, RT, have you ever seen them normally? Don't worry, if there's anything wrong with you, they'll be fine. Cough. Let's continue with the previous topic. But before that, let me introduce Professor Zhang Xueling, the leader of our research institute. Hello everyone, it's an honor to meet you all through this way. Flowers and rockets brushing up. The first and second leaders of the laboratory are both of this kind. How does this laboratory operate? By the way, Professor Zhang Xueling, we mentioned this experimental accident before. Can you tell us what the laboratory and even the entire Treasure Island 2 will face next? According to the calculated results, in a short period of time, the energy contained in the celestial balance will erupt, causing the long river of time to cover the entire island. At that time, everything on the deserted island will leap for 200 years in an instant. To describe it in one word is the ups and downs of the world. In addition, the immense energy of the River of Time will also cause a space-time storm, and at that time, Treasure Island 2 will disappear into the cracks of time and space. Wow, wouldn't Bow Down Number 2 disappear from the world like this? This won't be a time gap, it's extremely unstable because for this reason, Treasure Island 2 will appear irregularly in different places in different time and space. Just like the cruise ship that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle suddenly appearing in the Pacific Ocean. So those with fate will see this island, and those with fate will even come to this laboratory to see the video we left behind. Is Professor Yang Xueling really helpless in this crisis, such as using an escape pod to escape from here? You can see that some of our researchers have condensed particles into a compartment, which is the escape pod. This escape pod can escape the laboratory at a speed of 500 kilometers per hour without being affected by inertia. Unfortunately, even at this speed, it cannot escape the range encompassed by the space-time storm. That means we can only sit and wait for death. Death is not enough, although our bodies cannot withstand the invasion of 200 years of time. But our consciousness can. Professor Zhang Xueling, are you referring to consciousness uploading technology? That's right, as long as we upload our consciousness to cloud devices and live in the form of data, as long as the devices are not damaged, let alone 200 years, even 2,000 years, we can withstand it. I almost forgot about the sleeping trough. Yeah, there's another way. Are these two really scientists? Are they sure they're not crosstalk performers? Lao Zhang, please set up an emergency procedure. I am responsible for uploading the awareness on my end. Don't rush to do it. Finally, that's right. Password confirmation. How does it feel for Lao Zhang to be reborn? A person is transformed into someone out of thin air. Is it a deity with fluorescence emanating from the whole body? 
This is the technology of uploading consciousness to the cloud and then reloading it to the physical entity. How many years ahead of the 21st century? I don't transfer data anymore. You're just laughing foolishly here. They didn't transfer a hammer at all. They haven't, haven't we? Oh, I haven't used my brain for so many years, have I forgotten? You said you came to Treasure Island number two after encountering a storm, right? Yes, and the two of them disappeared suddenly during a storm and appeared on a deserted island. Well, it's not surprising that Treasure Island 2 is very unstable in the gap of time and space, appearing in different times and places from time to time. Is there any way you can take us back to our original world? No. Don't dream. But just because we can't do anything doesn't mean you can't go back at all. Next. This is. This ring stores the entire data of the Five Directions Laboratory, and this is the key for you to return to your original time and space. When our project team was established, it was under the entire home plan, and there was a project called Biosphere 3 in the same project team during the same period. I think you can roughly guess the research content of that project from the name, right? I remember there was an introduction to Biosphere 2 in my middle school biology textbook. Biosphere 2 is a miniature artificial ecological cycle system built in the desert north of Tucson, Arizona, in the United States. It was named after the Earth itself as Biosphere 1 and was initiated by former American football player John Allen. It was built under the leadership of Edward P. Bass and others. Its purpose is to understand how the Earth operates and study the conditions for simulating the Earth's ecological environment. Simply put, it is to prepare for the migration to other planets. Unfortunately, after two years of maintenance, the ecology inside Biosphere 2 began to collapse, with a significant decrease in oxygen levels in the air, acidification of seawater, desertification of vegetation, and even the lives of researchers becoming precarious. At this point, the failure of Biosphere 2 sounded the alarm for protecting the ecological environment worldwide and constantly warned future generations. If I'm not mistaken, this Biosphere 3 should be a continuation or advancement of Biosphere 2, right? Although the description may not be appropriate, according to your understanding, it is not wrong. The home plan is established to seek continuity for humanity, and all projects within it are an organic whole. Our Treasure Island 2 serves as the Biosphere 3. Are you saying that Biosphere 3 and Treasure Island 2 are also located in this temporal and spatial rift? Clever. Biosphere 3 has established a laboratory similar to Treasure Island 2, where we are responsible for producing research results and applying them in practice. It's like we are the origin of raw materials, and Biosphere 3 is the factory responsible for processing and shipping. If there are problems with the raw materials, they will naturally not be spared. Is this guy gloating? Don't listen to his nonsense. The experimental equipment on Biosphere 3 is stronger and more complete than that on Treasure Island 2. Even if there is some damage, it won't be as serious as it is here. That is to say, there is a chance to use the data from this accident to reverse calculate the gate that returns to the original time and space. As for the way to find Biosphere 3, this ring will guide you. I finally see hope. Guide to the ring. Aren't you two going with us? We would like to, but it's impossible. You have also seen that our bodies are now entirely composed of data and have merged into this laboratory, making it impossible to leave. Are you being polite like this? If you give me such precious experimental data, I won't be afraid of using it for personal gain. He. <laughs> Although they didn't say anything, I feel a deep sense of mockery. If you have this ability, you can use it for personal gain and benefit. As long as it can promote the progress of civilization, everything we do is worth it. All right, the data has been handed over to you. Please leave quickly to avoid dying here. After the accident, almost all the energy stored in the laboratory was released. It took me and Lao Zhang a lot of effort to turn the laboratory back to standby mode until you arrived and it started running again. What? 
In about an hour, the energy in the laboratory will be depleted, and when the laboratory collapses, the two of us will also dissipate. An hour. Calm down. One hour is enough. With this lifeboat, you can leave in less than half a minute. This thing is so strange that it doesn't even look like a lifeboat. After lying down, our bodies will be taken away by these two old guys, right? Kid, you know too much. What time is it? Are you still joking? He had a look of disbelief on his face, which made me angry. Ha ha. However, being vigilant is also a good thing to live longer. Let me put it this way, as we have absolute authority, we are the masters in this Kieran Pavilion. If we want to harm you, we will take action early. We need to use some small means. I have taken the heart of a petty person to measure the belly of a gentleman. Is there anything else you two need our help with? Being able to find Biosphere 3 and bring out the experimental data would be the greatest help for both of us. Do you have anything else you want to ask compared to this? If not, hurry up and leave. Don't hold on to everything. The problem is no longer whether the two can provide some funding, such as high-tech guns and cannons, for self-defense. It would be even better if we could provide another ship that can sail far away. Otherwise, with the help of the three of us, we wouldn't know if we could leave the island until the year of the monkey and the moon of the horse. Three people, don't tell me that the dozens of signs of life I detected on Treasure Island 2 were all primates, right? Uh, I've been exposed. Don't even think about these things. The things in the Five Directions Laboratory have long since disintegrated after the accident. The reason why it can still operate now is entirely due to the residual energy in the laboratory. When the energy is depleted, everything will turn into dust. Actually, the ring I gave you is also relatively small in size, but its energy inside is enough to sustain it for a hundred years without damage. I also want to tell you that Treasure Island 2, like the Five Directions Experimental Base, also requires energy to sustain. If nothing unexpected happens, after the disappearance of the Five Directions Laboratory, Treasure Island 2 will gradually collapse. According to my calculations, this collapse process will probably last for two years and will be divided into three stages in total. The fog of the early swamp will gradually disappear and the dormant volcano will gradually awaken in the middle stage. When the volcano erupts in the later stage, the entire Treasure Island number 2 will be covered by magma until it sinks. So you need to find a way to build a ship and leave here before the final stage arrives. Oh, I see. The white mist disappeared four months ago, and now there is only over a year left. We need to hurry up. We're leaving, those two seniors. Let's go, let's go quickly. Don't delay me from eating noodles. Escape route generation. Everything is all set. I hope I didn't find the wrong person. There are no other candidates, but this child is quite polite. Not to mention that it's already settled. The two of us have done our best. I really don't understand why you like to eat this thing. It smells like urea in the bathroom. You know what? It smells like stinky tofu and tastes delicious. Hum, I will follow the spirit of science to see if the loosophen is as delicious as you said. It's a pity that we're about to see results, but we're a bit unwilling to let this happen, Lao Lin. The project is even more confidential, not to mention outsiders. Even internal personnel are unaware of anything outside the plan and have no reputation. You still care about this. There have been many people in history who watered and fertilized the technology tree, but there were only a few lucky ones who were able to pick the fruit in the end. Nonsense, I just regret not being able to complete my own work with my own hands. Why are you standing there eating like this? How about it taste amazing? Not bad. The base's energy is depleted and about to be damaged. All personnel, please leave the base immediately. I don't know if both Jing Hao and Jialin have gotten married after such a long time. I'm afraid our grandson is already married, but unfortunately we won't be able to see each other anymore. Lao Lin
Um, I want to poop. TM is holding back. The escape pod is starting to decay. Which Lord Kataranya? We thought we might encounter something unexpected after you've been down for so long, and we were planning to send someone down to investigate. Everyone, come ashore immediately. What? What exactly happened underwater after you've been down for so long? I think it's been almost over 20 minutes and I was thinking of sending someone down to find you. 20 minutes. Yeah, is there a problem? No, it seems that the flow rate of time in the Five Directions Laboratory is not the same as that in the outside world. The three of us have been inside for so long, and it has only been less than 20 minutes since the outside world. Let's go. We really don't have much time left now. This underwater journey has been very rewarding for Ching Tian, not only because he has figured out what kind of existence this deserted island is, but also because he understands their current situation. The information contained in this is simply too vast. Ching Tian spent most of his time organizing his thoughts before finding a suitable excuse to share his observations with others. However, even if Ching Tian speaks in a simple and understandable way, things like artificial islands and temporal fissures are still too difficult for the lot of people to understand. At the end, they only understood one thing, which was that they had to build a large ship and leave here within the year. The rest would follow the Witch Lord. Building a large ship within a year is quite urgent. On the second day after returning to the camp, Ching Tian led a group of Lada people to collect wood for building the ship. Sun exposure for thousands of years, pine trees soaked in water for thousands of years, camphor trees must know that not just any tree can be used for shipbuilding. In ancient times, camphor tree was the best shipbuilding material because it had good toughness and was very resistant to soaking. It would not deform due to prolonged immersion in seawater, resulting in the collapse of the ship's structure. There is no camphor wood on the treasure island number two, so Ching Tian had to retreat. Secondly, there are large cedar trees under the mountains in the plain area, which can be considered as good shipbuilding wood. I don't know how many years this cedar forest has grown, but each tree is surrounded by a few people, and its thickness fully meets the requirements for shipbuilding, saving a lot of time in selection. In just half a month, everyone has collected enough wood, but these woods need further processing before shipbuilding. Generally speaking, the wood used to build ships requires four to five years of shade to completely remove the moisture inside. But Ching Tian and his team don't have that much time, so they can only intervene with external forces for artificial drying. Master Wu, don't we have to dry the wood? What's the point of boiling the wood in water? Before answering your question, let me explain to you that there are two types of moisture inside wood. One is to absorb water and exist between the microfibrils in the cell wall, and the other is to have free water in the cell cavity and intercellular space, which are separated by a wall. Self-draining water. Sucking water. If directly exposed to sunlight, the first thing lost is free water, which can cause local shrinkage and stress, leading to wood cracking. And after the wood is boiled in salt water, this situation will be alleviated and the stress generated inside will be reduced. In addition, steaming can also remove lipids from the wood and reduce its density, making it less prone to deformation. Because these two points of salt water can greatly reduce the probability of cracking in the wood after boiling. However, even so, the wood cannot be directly exposed to direct sunlight. Therefore, in the coming time, we need to build a warehouse with a sand-covered glass roof. Sand glass. It is glass with low surface transparency that has been polished with sand and stones. Using this type of glass can soften the incoming sunlight and further reduce the chance of cracking. I didn't expect that just drying wood would have so much attention to detail. Yes, even with these methods, the wood needs to be left to air dry for at least a month. During this time, we have to complete the tasks of planting wheat and excavating the dock. The rose flower is called the queen of flowers, also called the rose red. 
It is an evergreen and semi-evergreen low shrub that blooms all the year round. Its flowers can extract essence and can be used as medicine. Although it's the flowering period, it's really lucky to find roses so easily. Master Witch, quickly take a look. It's beautiful, but we should go back now. Is the Witch Lord picking so many flowers to give to Sister Yellen and Jessica? This idea is good and can be considered. The Witch Envoy has returned. Master Witch Envoy. Let's take a break first, everyone. I can't do it anymore. All the physical work I've been doing lately is exhausting me. Everyone is the same about this. What is the Lord Witch doing? This should be preparing acid base indicators, right? Acid base indicator. Things in nature are divided into two attributes, acidity and alkalinity, and land is no exception. And the anthocyanins in the petals of roses will show different colors when exposed to acid and alkali. Using this, we can make indicators for detecting soil acidity and alkalinity. Wow, look at the color of the petals starting to fade away. By heating alcohol, the color of petals such as anthocyanins and roses can be extracted and the acid base indicator can be completely removed, which is considered complete. Filter soil with clean water to obtain filtered solution. Pour the acid base indicator into the filtrate and shake the container. It's so miraculous that it turned green. What does this change represent? This means that the land we are cultivating is alkaline. Alkalinity. Plants that can grow on soils with different properties are also different. For example, the wheat we are planting this time prefers slightly alkaline soil. If it is planted in soil that is too acidic or too alkaline, its growth will be inhibited or even unable to grow. Then all our hard work will be in vain. This doesn't mean that the soil is alkaline, but that doesn't mean it's completely impossible to plant wheat on it. We just need to change the pH properties of the soil appropriately. Change acid base properties. That's right. The simplest way is to sprinkle an appropriate amount of sulfur into the soil. Sulfur becomes acidic and when mixed with alkaline soil, it undergoes a neutralization reaction, turning the soil into a slightly alkaline environment suitable for wheat growth. Finally done, can we plant wheat now? Not yet. The changes in soil acidity and alkalinity require a period of time to transition, and wheat also needs to be awakened from its dormant period by air drying before sowing. So we can only start planting in at least three days. What? It's really rare for Aruba to have such proactive work. I guess I want to eat dumplings again. After all, there is no extra wheat left to make flour. Indeed, it is Aruba. I don't know how much wheat can be grown on this hundred acres of farmland. The yield of wheat per moo is about 800 pounds, but it is an improved wheat variety from Viking pirates. The yield of these wheat varieties will be much lower, at most only half of the yield. In that case, even 40,000 pounds of wheat per year would be enough to meet the annual food needs of the campsite. As Ching Tian said, before planting wheat, it is necessary to awaken the seeds from sleep, so on the second day after processing the farmland, everyone in the camp was sun-drying the wheat seeds. Wheat needs to be sun-dried for at least two or three days. During this time, Ching Tian and his team did not just wait, but came to the seaside to prepare for the construction of the shipyard needed for the ship. Three days passed quickly, and after that, everyone spent a day soaking the sun-dried wheat in water until the seeds absorbed enough moisture. They then picked it up and stacked it in a cool place. After being dried and soaked, the wheat had already awakened from dormancy, so the next morning Ching Tian and his team went to the ground to start planting wheat. It's hard to imagine how much work it would take to cover 10 football fields on 100 acres of land. Generally speaking, it's impossible to complete it in one day. But even if it's not possible, the entire Lada tribe must mobilize together and work tirelessly until 9 o'clock in the evening, finally sowing all the wheat. This is also a matter of no choice. After all, one year is too short and can only be fully utilized. I know everyone is tired, but please persevere and persist. 
everyone knows the difficulties we are currently facing, so in the coming period, everyone will have their own tasks. Firstly, for the next period of time, you will need to use the existing lathe to machine the parts for the next level of lathe. I will gradually develop a lathe capable of processing large timber using this method. As for the design drawings, I will provide them to you later. Then Jessica, you are responsible for transporting the wood. I. I understand, you want to take the sea freight route and I. Although the land transportation route is short, it is extremely difficult for flatbed trucks to navigate through various terrains, and transportation also requires a large amount of manpower. But for sea transportation, it's completely different. You just need to transport the logs onto the ship, and the rest can be transported by wind power. The speed is not much faster than land transportation. There is still a short stretch of swamp to go from the plane to the seaside, so for safety reasons, Pakuma and Bohama, you two are responsible for guarding. Yes. Finally, Yi Lin, you are responsible for the logistics, irrigation, farming, and other household chores such as food, photography, and animal husbandry. Similarly, for safety reasons, Nick is responsible for guarding the campsite. As for the people who haven't been assigned, I have already arranged them on the list of various task groups. I will distribute it later. After everyone confirms their tasks, they can go back and rest. After determining their respective tasks, everyone became busy like a spinning top in the following time. The blacksmith hits the H-iron. Moving bricks, moving bricks. Cargo hauling. Even Abby Elu and a few children are not idle. Under the leadership of Yi Lin, they were responsible for stepping on water trucks to irrigate the farmland. Elder, why are you here? The wild boars and bamboo chickens in the campsite have been fed and are now being taken care of by Markla and the others. If there's nothing else we can do, come over and see if they can help you. Elder, why don't you take a break for now? Our work here will also be completed soon. The elders and the three of them are already old and obviously not suitable for this heavy job. Actually, we all know very well that whether it's the Witch Lord or the Witch Lord, you always take care of us and specifically entrust us with the easiest tasks. But watching everyone busy while we are excluded, it's really boring to be idle all day long. Yes, although we can't do heavy physical labor, we can still do things like stepping on a water cart. This. Okay. I think Abby Elu and the others are tired too, Elder. Can you help step on the water wheel? Please rest assured, which We will definitely complete the task. Let's go. It seems easier than imagined. Aha, uh -huh. let's work harder and strive to complete it before this afternoon. Okay, okay. Is this really an elderly person over 50 years old? I heard from my father that the elders were also one of the most powerful warriors in the tribe when they were young. So the elders are so powerful. Listening to the crowing of golden chickens in the morning. I'm so tired. Wearing the night sky with stars at night. Everyone has supper now. Riding a boat under the scorching sun and sailing across the sea. There is no wind on the sea, so we can only paddle manually. We hope to reach the beach before the sun sets. Busy with the passage of time, I don't know when Ching Tian and his team built a warehouse next to the shipyard. I don't know when Brooks will complete the lathe upgrade. I don't know when Jessica and the others transported all the wood from the plane to the beach and also joined the work of building ships. When everyone came to their senses, it was already summer. Everyone, come and have some ice cream. It's so hot, I don't want to move at all. If you take off your pants, it should be cooler, right? Aruba, you guy. Sorry, sorry, it's too hot. Subconsciously. It's really too hot today, even with the fan blowing, sweat can't stop coming out. Although avoiding the hottest time of noon, the summer sun is really scorching, and even with mud on their bodies, many tribe members still get sunburned. And the clothes of the tribe are made of animal skin, which is thick and not breathable. It seems like it's time to achieve the goal from a year ago. Goal from a year ago. Isn't this the hologram of Treasure Island too? 
However, it looks a bit different from the previous one and seems to be more detailed. Because this is an upgraded version. I only recently discovered a new map that allows me to view the names of vegetation on a deserted island. So I discovered this in this place. This is Sesame. It should be nearby. Everyone, search carefully. Eureka! Sesame nettle is one of the important fiber crops in the subshrubs or shrubs of the sesame genus in the family of Dicaceae. Its leaves have a high protein content and a nutritious feed. Its roots contain sesame acid, a medicinal ingredient that can nourish ink and treat sores. Hemp bone can be used as a raw material for papermaking or as a fiber board for various purposes such as furniture and board walls. That's right, that's it. Everyone work harder and try to harvest all the sesame seeds before the sun sets. Yes. Three days later. Clothes made with sesame seeds are indeed very cool. Although sesame is not a grain crop, it occupies a significant historical position in the history of Xia Dynasty, just like wheat, rice, and other grain crops. Don't think about being careless or lazy. Hurry over and help. There is no other reason than that sesame can be used to make hemp cloth, which is related to one of the four aspects of human social life, clothing. Ching Tian brought in so many sesame seeds just to make new clothes for the tribe members. Compared to cotton, hemp has poor warmth and excellent breathability. In this hot summer, linen is undoubtedly an excellent choice for making clothes. However, making sesame into fabric is not a simple task. The first step is to peel off the hemp fibers from the green skin on the hemp stem. Then dry it and use your hands to knead the hemp fibers into fiber strips and bundle them into yarn. Then thread the yarn roots onto the bamboo frame and evenly brush the rice slurry to make the rough yarn smooth. After that, use the same buttons as a comb to smooth the yarn, and then you can start spinning on the car. Host makes spinning wheel rewards 1,000 points. It's true that Alex made the textile cart so quickly. Weaving is simpler than imagined. It's not wrong to leave this aspect to Yilin. She can learn it as soon as she gets started, which can be considered as the ancestral gene playing a role. It's so magical. The yarns are interwoven bit by bit. Wow, is this fabric? It's so lightweight, XH1. The clothes made from this must be very comfortable to wear on your body, right? It seems that they are so beautiful, but at the current speed, it will probably take a lot of time to produce enough fabric for everyone to make clothes. I'll leave this task to you. Practice makes perfect. The fabric production speed in the later stage should be able to be improved significantly. Unfortunately, we don't have any dyes, otherwise we could have made clothes in various beautiful colors. Really? He, women's obsession with clothes really knows no borders. There are actually dyes available. Right there. What is it? The raw material for making banlangin from melon leaves is also a natural indigo dye. But how could this water be green? Getting indigo dye is not just about soaking it in water. Generally speaking, the melon leaves need to be soaked in water for seven days to extract the chlorophyll and then mixed with lime to turn blue. This Elu knows that the witch lord has said before that Yi Ching Su turns blue when exposed to alkali, right? Elu studies very seriously, that's the truth. When the water in the dying vat turns blue and is left to settle for a period of time, the final precipitate obtained is indigo that can be used for rinsing and dyeing. These are also used to make dyes. Yes. When I first went to Sesame Farm, I thought about the issue of dyes, but due to time constraints, I only collected some nearby during the journey. After boiling matter, a red dye can be obtained. Soak the clothes in it, then remove them and put them in nail solution to fix the color. Repeat this process seven or eight times, and the fabric will be considered successfully dyed. Zikeo needs to be soaked in alcohol for 24 hours to obtain a purple dye, which is also fixed with nao. The gardenia fruit can be directly crushed and soaked in water for 3 hours to obtain a yellow dye. Use salt water to fix the color. Great! There are actually four types of dyes. No, 
I think we already have dyes for all colors. Indeed, as the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue can be mixed in a certain proportion to obtain any desired color. Although the task of building a ship is urgent, as the saying goes, sharpening the knife is not a mistake. The breathable linen clothes of the woodcutters under the scorching summer sun are extremely important. Hemp clothes can not only prevent people from getting sunburned while working, but also reduce the intrusion of intense heat and improve work efficiency. Ching Tian, your figure is amazing. Is it okay? Ha ha. Moreover, the continuous high-intensity work these days, even though the physical fitness of the lot of people is stronger than that of ordinary people, is somewhat unbearable. I'll go check on how Yellen's design is going. Switching to a relaxed job now can be considered a suitable relaxation. However, it is worth mentioning that when it comes to making clothes, Yellen enjoys it. This style is good, and it seems to be good too. He he. One week later. Tailored is great. It fits perfectly. Chin Tian, have you changed yours yet? Come out and show me. It's pretty good. Wow, Yellen, you're so beautiful. What did you suddenly say? Oh, there's still a thread here that needs to be cut off. It would be more convenient to move around here if it were wider. It's already impressive to be able to make such good clothes by hand with the existing conditions. Yellen, is my chest a bit tight here? How is it? Does it look good? I just said that Jessica's figure is the most suitable for wearing Chong Sam. It's really beautiful. Big hmm. You go out first. This is a topic for us girls. Yellen, do you think Ching Tian would like to wear stockings again? Bakuma, what do you think? Is it good looking? Looks good, looks good. Master Witch Envoy. Master Witch Envoy. How is Nick Elu? Is the new outfit still suitable? The clothes made of hemp cloth are just too cool. I really like them. Yes, yes, as long as you're happy. Everyone can participate in the activity. If there are any inappropriate aspects, they can be modified and adjusted to Leo. The Witch Lord Wow, Ailu, you look so cute in this dress. Sister Yellen, you're also beautiful. Bohama, you look so cool. Witch, you are like a beautiful goddess. Is Nick really you? Okay, JK, little girl. JK Clothing, food, housing, and transportation are all that's left now. The matter of clothes has come to an end. In the days to come, Chin Tian and his team will continue to build the ship according to the plan. Yellen is responsible for leading the team to collect the food needed for the voyage. Nick, pay attention to safety. Everyone is performing their respective duties and progressing in an orderly manner. So soon, half a year has passed. They are white-eyed. They are here to find the witch lord. I'll go open the door. You go call the witch envoy. Good. Ching Tian, did you hear any sound? I think I heard the cry of white eyes. It's not like it's just a white-eyed voice. Quickly change clothes. Something must have happened. What happened? There are wild beasts attacking at night. The Witch Lord is a pack of white-eyed wolves. What is Hampi by Yen saying? The vibration is very hot. Does it mean that the vibration is very hot? Chief, you, Viru, and Aruba should immediately lead the elderly and children in the tribe to bring torches and rush to the seaside. Kata, you and the Pakuma siblings led a group of tribe members to the kitchen to get as much food and water as possible. The remaining people immediately went to get enough towels and blankets. The volcano is about to erupt. Everyone, hurry up. Master Wu, we have arrived.
It's really fortunate that the catamaran built to cross the peninsula can still be used at this time. Yu Jingfeng said that the dormant volcano in the second stage will awaken, but he did not specify the specific situation and did not know the power of the eruption. However, we do not need to worry about magma invasion while staying at sea now. Here we go. Everyone, quickly cover your mouth and nose with a wet towel. Um. The spirit of the earth is angry, it's over, it's going to die. Shut your mouth. Are you okay? Cough, cough, it's okay. Is everyone okay? We're fine here. We're the same here. Even here has been affected by volcanic ash, and it is estimated that the entire island has been covered in a thick layer of dust. The deserted island won't be completely engulfed by magma, will it? I don't think the scale of this volcanic eruption is too large by visual inspection. Anyway, we only have half a year left and we need to wrap it up quickly. Yawning. Has the volcanic eruption stopped? It looks like this. The temperature is between 700 and 1200 degrees Celsius, and even the lowest temperature is enough to ignite trees. Currently, there are no major fires in the forest, and the campsite should be safe. Walk back to the campsite. Cough, cough. Cough. Come back. Great, the campsite is still here. After staying up all night on the ship, all the tribe members were exhausted, but they didn't go back to their respective rooms to rest. Instead, they all gathered in the kitchen. The reason behind this is that they are worried that the volcano will erupt again, and they gathered together to seek that insignificant sense of security. In order to dispel the concerns of the tribe and to reassure themselves, Ching Tian and Kata decided to go to the plain to explore the truth. Before departure, Ching Tian also thought that he might be blocked by molten lava on the way, but in reality, the power of this volcanic eruption was much smaller than he expected. Although the volcanic ash affected the entire island, the extent of magma intrusion was less than one-third of the plain, and they arrived smoothly on the plain. The volcanic crater no longer emits magma, which looks like what Yu Jingfeng said. The second eruption of the volcano should be six months later. After confirming the time of the next volcanic eruption, Ching Tian and his team finally put aside their worries and continued to build ships. It is worth mentioning that due to the invasion of magma on the plain and the loss of hunting grounds, White Eyes relocated their population to the forest near the campsite. Due to their proximity, Bai Yan often leads his tribe to the campsite for a stroll, helping out with some errands and casually snacking on some food. Half a year later. Um. Unconsciously, I have been on a deserted island for two years now. It seems like everyone wakes up very early. Everyone is a bit impatient. After all, it's Chinese New Year. I didn't expect the ship to be completed two months earlier than expected, but that's why we can now prepare for the Chinese New Year so leisurely. Hey, don't you think this is very discordant? I think it's very cute. He looks very gentlemanly. This will make it warmer, right? Bai Yan looks happy too. I'm sorry, brother. I can't save you, see? Set out. It's almost dark, everyone hurry up and prepare for the dinner party. Tilted slightly to the left, one Eno. It's a bit difficult to control with too many people. So what's the point of so many people lighting this fireworks? Didn't the witch envoy say that fireworks need to be set off together to be interesting? If this continues, my hands will be useless. Um. By the way, it doesn't seem to have a name yet. Do you have any good ideas? You're awake, dragon or dragon. It feels a bit ordinary. Um. Dawn breaking dawn. 
What do you think of calling it dawn? According to tradition, people do not work for a few days after the Chinese New Year, and Qing Tian also postponed this custom. Qing Tian and the others did not continue to be busy, but instead scattered their belongings and strolled around Baodao No. 2, which they had lived in for two years but had never really seen before, enjoying a rare leisure time. In fact, they wanted to be busy but didn't have to. After two years of hard work, all preparations were in place and there was nothing to worry about. The rest of the time just needed to wait for suitable weather for the voyage. The only thing that needs to be said is to convey the imminent collapse of the deserted island to Bai Yan through Han Pai. Without any doubt about this, Bai Yan accepted Qing Tian's invitation and decided to take the tribe on the dawn ship to leave here. But maybe it's because they got used to being busy and leisurely. After a few days, Qing Tian and the others felt a bit empty and started looking for trouble when they had nothing to do. Everyone, carefully search for gold, diamonds, and so on. The key is platinum, even a little bit is enough. As long as you have the platinum voyage, you will not fear any danger. Although it's not an important thing, having something to do at least gives them a certain degree of fulfillment. I didn't expect the wheat yield to be so low, only 30,000 kilograms in total, which is 30% less than expected. That's enough, plus other fruits, vegetables, and meats, we won't have to worry about eating for the next year. Waiting like this, the day of departure will soon arrive. The night sky is filled with twinkling stars and only a few wisps of flowing clouds. Tomorrow should be a bright and windy day. What are you looking at? Have nothing to do and look at the information about Treasure Island number 2. Did you gain anything from that? I don't know if this counts. This is the experimental log. Yes, this is the speculation about the temporal and spatial rift left by Yu Jingfeng and Yang Xueling before uploading their consciousness. Guessing a conflict between the opposite sex. Due to the inconsistency between the magnetic field of Treasure Island 2 and the magnetic field of the space-time rift, collisions may occur between them, resulting in exclusion phenomena. This phenomenon will change over time and when it reaches its peak, Treasure Island 2 will be kicked out of the space-time rift, randomly appearing at any location in any time and space, but this is only temporary. Guessing that two people of the same sex are attracted to each other. The opposite sex is only relative. When Treasure Island 2 is kicked out of the space-time rift, its magnetic field will collide more fiercely with the magnetic field of the current space-time, forming storms and space-time thunderclouds. Treasure Island 2 will soon be pulled back by the space-time rift with similar electromagnetic wavelengths. If any creatures approach during this process, they will be taken to the space-time rift together with Treasure Island 2. It seems that the storm we encountered before coming here was this so-called space-time thunderstorm. And the reason why my injury recovered so quickly beyond reason is also given here. Guess 7x main ta. The energy generated by the collision of magnetic fields may have varying degrees of impact on all creatures on the Treasure Island 2 in an intangible way. According to my speculation, there should be changes, but not limited to the following. 1. Habits and personalities may change, such as from daytime to nighttime. 2. Body size will break through its original limit and become stronger. 3. The recovery speed of cells is several times faster than normal. 4. It seems that the coconut crabs you encountered before have changed their habits because of this. There are also sand eagles and novices, after all, their body size has exceeded the limit of the golden eagle species. Many questions have been clarified that the physical fitness of the lot of people is stronger than that of ordinary people, which may also be influenced by energy. However, what I am curious about is whether these buffs still exist after leaving the island. We can only know about this after we leave. Qin Tian I have already informed you of the news of tomorrow's departure. However, the tribe members did not experience the expected excitement and instead appeared somewhat melancholic. You see, I said Nick is here. I suddenly feel a little reluctant to leave, even though I wanted to leave here so much before. Perhaps many members of the tribe have this idea. MMM, um, I really have to leave now. 
Hey, Kata, what's wrong with you? Your eyes are red with sand in them. Oh, wow. Set sail. Set sail. Hey, hey. It's been two years, from waiting for rescue to self-reliance, and now I really feel a bit reluctant to leave the deserted island. It's too early to leave now, but we still have one final level to pass. Lord Wu will definitely bless us. Don't worry, troops for the enemy, earth for floods. Everyone, prepare well to entertain our friends who are about to visit us. Yes. Okay, put it in. Is this really okay? Can't it explode before attracting any sea monsters? Don't worry, I added enough wires to the bomb so it won't explode so quickly. The food is ready and we are waiting for the guests to come over. What if the customer doesn't like it? When the boat reaches the bridgehead, it will naturally go straight. If this trick doesn't work, I have other ways. I'll leave the security work of Bakuma and Bohama to the two of you. Don't worry, Master Witch. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual. I didn't expect Jessica's sister to have such good sailing skills. I have to thank my father for this. He loves sea fishing very much. I have been going out to sea with him since I was nine years old and learned it through exposure. This is the simple and unadorned life of wealthy people. When I was nine years old, I was still using a slingshot to shoot birds. The witch envoy has arrived at the place you mentioned. This scene reminds me of the day when the shipwreck occurred. This is the space-time thundercloud, right? Only by breaking through here can we truly leave Treasure Island number two. Everyone return to their posts. We rush over. Yes. The Witch Lord Leviathan has arrived. No wonder Solomon's fleet is so vulnerable. Judging from their size, their fast boats are not enough for one. And it's very clever to choose to appear when we're most exhausted from dealing with it. Such a massive creature is like the spirit of the ocean. Don't collide, don't collide. So we absolutely cannot let him get close. Everyone, focus and wait for it to bite before pulling the trigger. Samlong appeared in the late Cretaceous period with a huge head, strong jaws, and sharp teeth resembling crocodiles with fin-like limbs. With a body length of up to 17 meters, it was the largest top predator in the Mesozoic Ocean. Hurry up, crossbow! What if it dives into the water and cannot effectively attack? Master Wu, it's about to catch up. Jessica, activate Mingluan. Alex initiates the Mingluan. You is finished, it's over. I'm going to die. Shoot. No, its speed hasn't slowed down at all. Jessica asked Yellen and the others. What just happened? I'm not sure. I only heard a loud bang. The bomb is working. We just killed Leviathan like this. There is an unreal feeling. It's not surprising that there are so many explosives and they explode from within. Samlong's speed is much faster than expected. Fortunately, there was no danger, otherwise we would have wasted a trump card. Ching Tian, how are you doing? Did you solve Leviathan when I heard an explosion? Jessica, would you like to come to the stern of the ship and see the true face of Nalivitan? He's a dragon. Samlong, great. Come and help me steer the ship. I'll go take a look. There's no time left. You guys hurried back to the cabin. 
We're in big trouble. Hurry up. Everyone, go down and help Yellen. It's coming. Mingluan maintains power. Yellen is preparing to paddle. Whistle. One, two, one, two. This scenery is truly magnificent. Everyone, sit still. We're going to climb the waves. Sun Monkey probably feels this way when facing the Buddha's palm. Mingluan Full Power We're almost at the top. Punching. We're safe now. This project is a hundred times more exciting than riding a roller coaster. It's so spectacular. I was scared to death just now. I thought the ship was going to capsize. We should have already exceeded the magnetic field range of Treasure Island too, right? Well, the red soil continent has passed and we should go find one piece tea. Although the scenery is beautiful, don't linger and catch a cold. Don't lie on my bed wet. Finally able to rest. Hurry up and change clothes. It's meal time. What kind of situation did you get seasick? These land animals have never experienced the turbulence at sea. Um, what's the situation? It seems like they've been holding back for too long, so there's no need to worry about them. Where is Ching Tian? The witch envoy has gone to inspect the ship's hull and should be back soon. What's good to eat today? I smelled the fragrance when I went up the stairs. You see, Chin Tian, Chin Tian has arrived. I don't know if it was for the joy of leaving Treasure Island too smoothly or simply because of hunger. Everyone had an exceptionally enjoyable first dinner on the dawn ship. But this happiness still couldn't compete with today's fatigue. After dinner, everyone felt exhausted and returned to the dormitory to rest. This point is enough to exchange for an emergency talent in case of danger, which adds another card to the deck. Host killing Tsonglong rewards 5,000 points. Host building ship rewards 3,000 points. Personal points 18,000. However, some people have a biological clock that makes them tired but not sleepy at all, so the first thing Ching Tian did when he returned to his room was to open the system to learn about the use of points. Jessica, are you asleep? I feel a little uncomfortable. Is it because I wasn't in the same room as Ching Tian? Nick also wants to sleep in the same room as the Witch Lord. Some people are unable to fall asleep for inexplicable reasons. Of course, there is no need to say more about the person in charge of the Night Watch. There is also a group of newly liberated bear children. Everyone, it's daylight. Come out and take a look. The water intake of the dawn is still too small, and the waves are large. It's impossible to have a good sleep with the ship swaying left and right. This is a scenery that can only be seen on the sea, right? Wow, it's so beautiful. Set out. Yesterday seemed like nothing had happened. On this day, the sea was calm and the breeze was blowing, and everyone was enjoying the beauty of travel to their heart's content. Look, I caught a big fish. The so-called sunny day comes after rainstorm. In the next half month, the weather is surprisingly good. Breaking dawn is smooth. Until... Tropical Monsoon Mountain D1 Zone Tropical Monsoon Forest C2 Zone Temperate Monsoon Plain A1 Area This is the holographic map of Biosphere 3. It feels much rougher than the one on Treasure Island Number 2. According to the information in the ring, Biosphere 3 is not an island, but a continent that contains various climates and terrains of the world. Since Vanek has actually built an artificial continent, it also includes various climates and terrains. How is this achieved? And this holographic map is not as simple as it appears. Just click further to bring up a detailed map of the corresponding area. Temperate Monsoon Plain B2 Zone Oh, this is a plain. 
Each region's prefix indicates the climate and main terrain features of that area. That's right, that's right. There is a lot of fog outside, Master Wu. The fog is so thick that I can hardly see the sea surface. We won't get lost, will we? Why was the weather clear just now when suddenly heavy fog filled the air? The weather on the sea is always moody. One second, it's sunny. The next second, it's stormy. However, sea fog usually appears during the transition between spring and summer in coastal areas from April to July. This is the first time I have seen such a large fog in the deep sea now. This heavy fog won't affect our navigation, will it? According to statistics, 80% of maritime collision accidents are indeed caused by sea fog, but in this world, there is no need to worry about encountering other ships. Just in case, turn on the fog light slowly. It should be okay. Bohama, light the indicator light and come down. You can't see anything in this thick fog, so there's no need to be on duty. Good. The light has turned yellow. That is the fog lamp glass lampshade dyed with yellow dye, and the yellow light can spread far even in foggy weather. It represents the position of the ship to avoid collision with other ships. All right, everyone, let's go back to the cabin first and wait for the fog to dissipate before coming out. Mist is composed of a large number of tiny water droplets, which can easily carry various bacteria. At this time, it is better to stay in the cabin. I almost forgot about this item. The fog is so thick that it seems like it won't disperse for a while. What is Jessica doing? Jessica's sister is telling a story. It seems to be called a ghost ship. Hee hee, it's her personality to still have the mood to tell ghost stories at this moment. They were transformed from pirates who suffered a shipwreck, unable to go to heaven or fall into hell due to resentment, and could only drag a body full of maggots and carrion to wander on the sea. If a ship approaches them, they will launch an attack to vent their resentment. They only appear in weather conditions like this kind of heavy fog, and before each occurrence, there is a distant bell ringing, just like this. Dang 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 dang. It's so scary. I feel like I've already heard that sound. Father is so embarrassing. Which, you said that when there is heavy fog on the sea, the yellow light represents the position of the ship, right? Yes, Nick. Why did you suddenly ask about this? There is a yellow light over there. Ah. It's coming. It's coming. Skeleton pirates have appeared. It's a ghost, a ghost. Hey, 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 this should just be a coincidence. Could it be that other ships caught up in this world are like Viking pirates? Kata, pick up your weapons and go out with me to see if the others stay in the cab and don't run around. Bohama, first ring two short bells to say hello and see if there is a response. There was no response from the witch on the other side. Then ring five short bells as a warning. No, I still can't see anything. It's over, it's definitely a ghost ship. The other party has not responded, so we cannot contact them. Perhaps it is not a ship. Let's avoid it for now. It doesn't make sense. From our current distance, the other party should be able to hear the bell. Is it really not a ship? Just in case, we still need to be prepared to deal with it. Weapons full bow. I hope it's just a false alarm. Master Witch Envoy. It appeared. It's a ghost ship. Be vigilant. I didn't expect it to be a ship. Should Ching Tian try to communicate again? We sent signals twice, but received no response from the other party. It's obvious that they don't want to communicate. Let's go. If the situation is not right, we will immediately start the main wheel to clear the field. I don't know if it's an enemy or a friend approaching so quietly. Introduction It's an enemy. Launch Take action first to force them and catch them off guard. Not hit. No, it went straight through. Get down quickly. TMD has cannons and guns that cannot withstand the weapons of the dawn. 
Moreover, the Don's wooden hull cannot withstand the attack of shells, so we must hurry and leave here. Structurally speaking, they are just sailboats. Under the same conditions, the Don, which has a paddle wheel, should be able to easily shake them off. Why isn't there any movement? Did we hit off target or are we not within range? The witch envoy has passed through. What did you pass through? What did you pass through? Master Witch, I saw the shells they fired past directly through the hull of the Dawn ship. My arrows pierced through their hull, and their shells pierced through our hull. Does that mean? Master Witch Envoy, look out. Right enough. Witch Envoy, are you okay? Let's all get up. What we see in front of us is just an illusion, or more accurately, a mirage. I didn't expect to see a mirage here. It's really lucky. This is a rare wonder. What is the witch mirage? That is a natural optical phenomenon in which light reflected by an object is refracted by the atmosphere and appears as a virtual image elsewhere. Hee <laughs> hee, is this explanation useful? Simply put, mirages are shadows projected onto the ground in a more unique way, just like the shadows we cast onto the ground. Oh, so it's a shadow. Come here. The mirages that appear on the sea are all movable and seem to be able to respond to us in some way. Sorry, it's also my first time seeing a mirage. Perhaps this is not a mirage, but a natural wonder that only exists in this world or has not yet been discovered by humans. The mist has dissipated, Master Witch. After leaving the white mist, the ghost ship disappeared without a trace. It should be a unique spectacle in the white mist, right? After the white mist emerged, the dawn continued its journey towards Biosphere 3 without stopping. However, this encounter can also be called a fantasy. In the following period, many members of the tribe still talked about it with relish. The navigation has returned to calm. Although there are occasional storms, it is not worth mentioning when compared with the thunderstorm in time and space when leaving the desert island. With the performance of the Dawn and Jessica's sailing experience, Ching Tian and the others can easily get through it every time. It has been a month since the Dawn ship left Treasure Island number 2, and the lot of people have already become accustomed to life on the sea, except for food. Grilled fish, steamed fish, boiled fish. I miss the life on the island. There should still be a lot of canned food and dried pork in the warehouse. Why don't you eat those? How could you possibly eat those precious ingredients that are gone after finishing? Novelty no longer exists. The monotonous daily life has made many lot of people feel bored and bored. Bored. Do you want to train other members of the tribe to become warriors? Yes, divided into two groups for rotation training. In this way, even if the ship encounters any unexpected situations, there will be extra manpower to deal with. Training soldiers is a good thing, but it takes a long time and may not necessarily be effective. Not everyone is suitable to become a warrior, or in other words, warriors are born. So we need an assessment system to select and cultivate tribe members with the potential to become warriors. Although this ghost ship was just a false alarm, it also sounded an alarm for us. The only warriors on the ship are Kata and a few others. Although other members of the tribe can also participate in the battle, their combat power is too weak. If we really encounter danger, relying on Kata and the others on this sea is definitely not enough. We need to at least give our people the ability to protect themselves. You're right, you're the witch envoy. You can make the decision. Chief, I'm telling you, this is what I want you to help with. Don't try to be a hands-off shopkeeper. By the way, how did the Rata tribe become a warrior before you? It's simple. Just bring back a wolf or a stronger beast than a wolf alone during the coming of age ceremony. It's simple. Wolves are collective animals. If you want to hunt a wolf, you are actually facing a group of wolves. This can be said to be a comprehensive assessment of an individual's combat power, intelligence, and hunting experience. 
but what surprised me even more was that Aruba was able to pass such an assessment. I don't know how he did it. After a long discussion between Ching Tian and Pa Song regarding the assessment criteria, Ching Tian finally decided to continue using the method of selecting warriors from the Rada tribe. However, the assessment content has been slightly changed. Clan members only need to defeat one of the three wolves or persist for more than half an hour under the siege of the three wolves to qualify as warriors. Afterwards, Ching Tian communicated with Han Pai and Bai Yin about the selection of warriors. For Bai Yin, who had a strong desire to fight, this was also a good opportunity to train the wolf pack. Soon, Ching Tian and Pa Song finalized the charter and notified the matter. Upon learning of this, the Lada people were overjoyed because becoming a warrior in the tribe is an extremely honorable thing. A fierce battle between humans and wolves is about to begin. The assessment will start in a week, and all the tribe members except for the elderly Hamel and the children Abby Elu will participate. This assessment lasted for a whole month. In the end, a total of 13 members of the tribe passed the assessment. Ah, I passed. Just a little bit, that little bit. As for the tribe members who were not selected, Ching Tian asked them to learn archery from the Bakuma siblings. During the battle with the Vikings, Ching Tian discovered that the accuracy of the Rada tribe was not high. If some improvements could be made, it would greatly enhance the overall combat power. Ching Tian, I also want to learn archery. I cannot always accept the protection of others, and I must learn to protect others when necessary. Okay, I'll teach you. When pulling the bow, don't be too stiff and take it easy. Hold the handle close to your palm and find the most comfortable position for yourself. Hurry up, hurry up. Without strength training, you can't do stable bow pulling. If you want to touch a bow, you need to pull it 100 times first. Do we really not need to do the same training as them? You should first master the basic posture. The training is still too early for you. At this moment, not only Ching Tian is being trained, but also the tribe members who have passed the assessment at the stern of the ship are launching a strong attack on the three Kata people. Ah, ah, ah. The defense of both feet in space. Wow. Jumping around is useless, it's just a waste of effort. Don't try to deliver a fatal blow to your opponent. What you need to do is to drop the weapon in your hand onto them. As with the assessment, Kata's training is extremely simple and rough. In Kata's words, combat skills are the skills that can survive on the battlefield. During Yi Lin's rest, Ching Tian was not idle either. Since the battle with a strong opponent like Summonson, Ching Tian has also realized his own weakness in combat experience, so he entrusted Palm to be his opponent and hone his combat skills. A month later, Attention everyone, this sea journey is coming to an end. Please be prepared. The dawn is about to arrive at Biosphere 3. Are you ready to welcome the new world? Be ready. Although the sky thundercloud is terrifying, they have already successfully conquered it once. At this moment, although they have fear in their hearts, it is more of an excitement to climb the peak again. The dawn is still 100 meters away from the time and space thundercloud. Everyone has arrived at their respective positions. Hold your breath and wait. Mingluan starts and moves forward at full speed. Half an hour later. Master Wu, we have land ahead of us. It's really land. It's true. It's land, really land. Here we are. The voyage has finally come to an end. It's really here. That means Biosphere 3 arrived earlier than expected. This is a good thing, isn't it? I thought it would take six months, but I didn't expect it to arrive in three months. It's really a pleasant surprise. Keep going. Which, what are we doing now? Shallow seawater in coastal areas is prone to reef damage, which poses a great threat to ships. So we need to send out ships to explore and ensure the safety of the route first. This is Biosphere 3. 
This should be a lot of food, right? Look, these trees grow directly in seawater. That's a mangrove forest. Do you know which area we are currently in? The ring doesn't have a positioning function here, probably because the ring itself is associated with Treasure Island 2 instead of Biosphere 3. However, by using vegetation features such as mangroves as keywords and combining them with the shape of the coastline, we can roughly determine our location. Tropical Rainforest D3 Zone It's all rainforest. I think we can log in from a different region. What do you think? Tropical rainforests are the most diverse ecological environment on land, with snakes, insects, mice, ants, toxins, and frequent sightings of ferocious beasts. Even fully armed explorers dare not venture deep, let alone cross the entire Amazon rainforest. Landing here is not a wise move. Check if there are any less dangerous areas nearby. The neighboring area of the temperate monsoon hills is a great parking spot. Let's go there. After finalizing the plan, Ching Tian quickly informed them of the news, but they didn't rush to set off. Instead, they rested well overnight before continuing their voyage along the coastline. According to the information in the ring, Ching Tian and his team are currently located at the midpoint of the coastline in the D3 area of the tropical rainforest, over 400 kilometers away from the A1 area of the temperate monsoon and hills. With a favorable wind, they can arrive in about three days. Even though the minimum speed of the dawn ship against the wind is only a five-day voyage at most, it is not the case in reality. I really want to get ashore quickly. Yeah, it's really boring on the boat. On the morning of the seventh day. It's really strange. According to the plan, we should have arrived at Zone A1 of the temperate monsoon and hilly areas the afternoon before yesterday. But now we are still sailing around the coastline of Zone D3 of the tropical rainforest. We just don't know if we've arrived yet. The vegetation in the two areas is completely different, and now there are only mangroves outside. Which envoy, which lord? Bakuma, have you noticed the hills? Master Wu, I didn't find any hills. It's better for you to come out and take a look. It shouldn't be. The environment here is so familiar. Did I make a mistake? Have we been here before? What happened? This coast should just be similar, right? I also hope so, but this is too similar. No, it's similar. This is the first anchorage we arrived at. At this moment, the sun was emitting heat without any spare energy, but even so, Ching Tian and the three of them in the driver's cab still felt cold behind their backs. What's going on? Did we make a big circle around Biosphere 3? According to the map, different terrains on Biosphere 3 are adjacent to each other, and we cannot ignore them. Moreover, the entire continent is so large that it cannot be circumnavigated in just seven days. We can't continue sailing until we figure out what's going on. Ching Tian and his team discussed this matter for a long time, but ultimately couldn't come up with an answer. Therefore, based on the known situation, they made three hypotheses. The first speculation is that they encountered a seawall and have been circling around the coastal area. The second speculation is that there was an error in the map and the ring gave incorrect guidance. The third speculation is that Biosphere 3 collapsed in that experimental accident, leaving only the tropical rainforest in front of us, Rainforest D3 area. If it's here, then settle down. I remember the ring was pointing towards this tropical rainforest, Rainforest D3 area, during the voyage. It seems that we have to take a trip anyway. Regardless of which guess, Ching Tian and his team cannot verify it without the corresponding equipment. Look. There's a monkey. What a strange monkey. Its claws are so long. Isn't this a sloth? It's amazing. This thing can swim and it's much faster than crawling. I remember they only go down the tree when they poop, right? When seeking a spouse, they also. Sloths are naturally solitary animals that only gather together during courtship. Most sloths choose to mate at the end of the rainy season and the beginning of the dry season because food is most abundant at that time. 
At that time, female sloths would make sharp mating calls, while males would approach screaming females. During this period, sloths are no longer lazy. In order to breed offspring, male sloths may even cross the entire bay. Oh, then let's not eat it anymore. Well, I won't eat anymore. Although it looks delicious. By the way, should we wait until low tide to go down and see the mangrove forest after low tide? It's quite lively. Good. Yeah, we've been suffocating for a long time. Ah, the long lost feeling is indeed reassuring standing on the ground. Finally landed, haha. -ha. The mud under your feet is slippery. Please be careful. Just pretend you didn't see anything. Let's go take a look over there. Sister Yellen, Sister Jessica, please watch out for the strange crabs. Be careful not to get caught in your hands. These crab claws are one big and one small, and their eyes are very long, like crab boss. Although they look similar, the prototype of crab boss is the Christmas Island red crab, which is a trendy crab. What kind of fruit is this? I don't know if I can eat 171. This is not a fruit, but a seed. The Witch Lord. Seed. This is called Red Sea Olive, which is different from other plants. Most mangrove plants give birth to their seeds viviparous, and their seeds begin to germinate and grow into rock-shaped hypocotyls on the tree before they leave their mother's body. After the embryonic axis develops to a certain extent, it separates from the mother tree and falls into the mud on the beach. After a few hours, it can take root and grow in the mud, becoming a new plant. I can't eat percussion before. Their seeds are definitely inedible, but in mangrove forests, there is usually a thumb-sized green fruit called the money-grabbing fruit. If you stew it with clams, it can become a rare delicacy. Green Fruits Grass clams. A delicacy. Let's go. We must find the money-grabbing fruit. Hee hee, they are really a group of foodies. The lot of people were exceptionally proactive in searching for the money-grabbing fruit and soon found the blue fruit. That's right, this is the fruit of collecting money. Ching Tian can also understand this. The people who have been drifting on the sea for so many days have long been tired of the food on the ship. It would be good if they could change their taste. For the rest of the time, Ching Tian and his team were picking money, picking grass, clams, and catching crabs. This is really delicious, isn't it? I have never tasted such delicious soup before. This rich sweetness seems that I have returned to the mudflat washed by the sea. The tender mouth and elastic teeth of the snail meat are like jelly, and the full juice inside is also very sweet. These two started again. Why would I say again? So full, so full. I can't eat anymore. The Amazon rainforest is facing numerous crises. I think it's better to have all the warriors follow you during this reconnaissance mission. No, the elderly, weak, women, and children on board need to be guarded by some soldiers, and this trip is urgent. The shorter the tail of the army, the faster the speed. But in this way, there will be less things to bring and the ability to deal with unexpected situations will also weaken. So we should spend more time on selecting materials to ensure that everything we carry can be used as much as possible to avoid waste. In the following time, Ching Tian has been preparing the materials needed for this trip. Yellen and Jessica are not idle either. At the request of Ching Tian, Yi Lin led her tribe to sew several sets of clothes with closed cuffs and bound feet, as well as high-heeled shoes. Jessica extracted mint from her plants and refined it into essential oil for mosquito repellent purposes. You must be careful. Got it. The outermost part of the D3 area of the tropical rainforest is a vast expanse of mangroves, with trees intertwining and intertwining. It is extremely difficult to walk through on foot. With the help of the map, we can choose the river closest to the land and directly enter by boat, which is not only easier but also faster. I'll take the lead. You guys follow me. Half an hour later. There's no way forward, Master Witch. 
It shouldn't be. This river channel should lead directly to the land. It seems that the river has changed course. Everyone, get off the ship. We walked over by stepping on tree roots. It's already noon now. We are located deep in the mangrove forest and if we want to change course, we can only go back the same way. The time wasted on this journey is enormous and other waterways may not be smooth, so we can only continue to move forward. There is mud and moss on this tree trunk. Everyone be careful. Look, there are fish on this tree. Barrage fish is a species of fish in the family Gobidae, belonging to the genus Barrage fish. It is a warm-tempered coastal small fish that prefers to inhabit brackish and freshwater habitats in mangrove areas of estuaries and harbors. It feeds on benthic diatoms that are burrowing. It's a marlin that can breathe with its lungs and has strong pectoral muscles. It can crawl on the mudflat and climb trees. That's unbelievable. I don't know if it tastes good or not. It doesn't seem to taste good. Let's go. We need to get ashore before tonight. Look ahead. There's land ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Finally arrived. There are about two hours left until it gets dark. Let's find a place to spend the night first. We'll go deep into the rainforest tomorrow. The trees here are really lush. Sniff. What's wrong with Bai Yan? Is there danger ahead? Oh, wow. I smell a strong odor of urine. Are you a dog nose? We didn't break into the territory of some wild beast, did we? The leopard, also known as the jaguar, is the third largest surviving feline. Its appearance and patterns resemble those of a leopard, but its body is more like that of a tiger with a shorter tail. It likes to inhabit areas with dense trees, tropical rainforests, and seasonally flooded swamps where water is abundant. Like tigers, it is a swimming cat and a solitary predator. This is a lion I've never seen before. It has many spots on its body. The tail is also different from other lions. That's a leopard, not a lion, but it's good at sneak attacks and may be more dangerous than lions, so it's better to be careful. Is it declaring territory? Roar. Go tell it that we have requisitioned this territory. As it's getting late, everyone is assigned their own tasks to prepare for the night. Ching Tian, who was experienced in wilderness survival, quickly set up a tent and prepared to enjoy today's parade before dark. Oh, I can already smell the fragrance. I didn't expect that jaguars are still a good ingredient. Well, this meat has a bit of wood and a bit of fishy smell, so it doesn't seem to work without seasoning. I think the taste is pretty good. Yes, it's delicious. Just enough to fill your stomach. After finishing dinner, everyone quickly entered the tent to rest, leaving only Bai Yin and Sha Diao to guard the night outside. Against the backdrop of darkness, the rainforest became even more lively than during the day, with the sounds of various wild beasts echoing one after another. As a result, everyone remained half asleep and half awake, not daring to take it lightly. Fortunately, there was nothing to do overnight. After filling the kettle, we will depart. It's too hot and humid in the rainforest. Sweat keeps coming out and clothes are sticking to the skin. The body color of the Amazon giant centipede is generally red, mainly distributed in countries and regions in the Amazon River Basin, tied with the Galapagos giant centipede for third place. The Amazon giant centipede, measuring 2,530 centimeters in length, has a highly toxic sting that can cause redness, swelling, burning pain, and lymphangitis in the affected area. However, the systemic reaction may be mild, leading to chills, fever, increased pulse, delirium, convulsions, and even death in severe cases. Everyone, don't move. Don't move. Kata, listen to me. Don't be scared. There's an Amazon giant centipede on your feet now, so don't move. Huh, it looks good. 
The centipede just passed by and didn't attack. This centipede is too big, isn't it? You see, its teeth can probably even penetrate shoes. Fortunately, the witch lord discovered it in time. There are such toxins everywhere in this rainforest, so everyone should be vigilant. We're out. Let's take a break first, everyone. Going forward should be much easier, but correspondingly, the deeper you go, the more crises there will be. Everyone needs to be doubly careful. There are too many mosquitoes here. I hate it so much. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Why do they all come to sting me? Aruba continues. Mosquitoes already enjoy humid and hot environments. As noon approaches, mosquitoes are likely to increase in number as the temperature rises. Oh, the mosquitoes have flown away by themselves. It was indeed correct to have Jessica extract peppermint essential oil in the first place. What's up? I think I heard the sound of water flowing. Water flow sound. This seems to be the sound of a river. It should be over here. Am I the only one who hasn't heard anything? Let's go take a look. It's really a river. I don't know if it's the Tamsui River. Bai Yin was originally meant to survive in the wild, so he can give it a try first. It's fresh water. This water is so sweet. Come and drink it. Didn't the fool tell you not to drink wild water casually? If we can determine our current location based on this river, the road ahead will be much easier. It seems that relying solely on a stream is not enough to determine the location. We need to add other reference materials. It's almost dark now. Let's spend the night on this riverbank tonight. On the beach, apart from pebbles, there are only dead branches and fallen leaves. Ching Tian and his team don't have to clean the surroundings like they did on the first night. But they set up the overnight campsite in half an hour. After solving the problem of sleeping, the next thing to consider is the issue of food at night. As the saying goes, relying on mountains to eat, relying on mountains to eat, relying on water to eat. When the water level is at the edge of a stream, it is natural to eat fish. The fish here are all very small. You have to catch at least a hundred to be full, right? And it's hard to catch. If only there were an internet, it would definitely be much easier. I think it's better to go around the area. There will definitely be many wild beasts. It's evening now, and if you encounter a lion or tiger, you can catch one. Could you please give the lion and tiger some face? It's like going to the backyard to catch a chick. Spicy polygonum, also known as Myanmar Swan Muyeliao, is an annual herbaceous plant that grows in flowing ditches or damp places near water grasslands. A traditional Chinese medicine can also be used to contain pests, crush them, and put them in water to paralyze small fish. Don't be so troublesome. Let's still eat fish. The kind of grass used by the witch lord can really make fish float automatically from the water. You will know then. Next, we just need to wait. You guys, take a look. More and more small fish are floating up. This fish has very few fish bones. The taste is completely different from the fish we ate before. This is a tropical fish belonging to the tilapia genus, which cannot survive in the climate of Baodao number 2, so you probably haven't eaten it. I didn't expect the fish resources in this river to be so abundant. I caught over 200 small fish in less than an hour and couldn't finish a meal. Aruba, don't get involved. What does it matter? I've already washed it. Master Witch Envoy, do you think so? That shadow looks a bit like a human. Quickly save people. Although I had thought before landing that Biosphere 3 might have people like us who were swept in by the rift of time and space, I didn't expect it to be confirmed in this way. 
From the appearance of this person, it seems that he is a native of a certain tribe, and from the crotch cloth on his body, it can be seen that the civilization of this tribe is much higher than that of the Rata tribe. This is a wound caused by a stone tool. I just don't know if this tribe will be as friendly as the Rata tribe. What is your opinion, Master Witch? Let's deal with this body for now. The purpose of this trip is to find the target indicated by the ring. If possible, it is better not to come into contact with the people of this tribe to avoid any trouble. Kata. The spirit in the water will surely soothe his soul. So this is a water burial. After dealing with the body, Ching Tian and the others gathered around the bonfire again, continuing to eat their dinner while discussing the topic of the body just now. The appearance of this body undoubtedly indicates the existence of other tribes on Biosphere 3, and after a long discussion, Ching Tian stated the principle of avoiding contact with people from other tribes as much as possible. Out of vigilance against unknown tribes, Ching Tian and his team began to have six people on duty that night, each taking turns to work for two hours so that everyone could get enough sleep. Fortunately, they were unharmed overnight. The next morning, Ching Tian and his companions ate small fish and continued on their journey along the river. After coming here, the two sides of the Taiwan Strait have become much higher. Generally speaking, the source of rivers often originates from high-altitude plateau mountainous areas with large terrain fluctuations and drops in the upstream. The cutting effect of river water is obvious, so the downstream of V-shaped valley riverbeds is the opposite. We are currently moving from downstream to upstream, and under normal circumstances, the terraces on both sides will become higher and higher. Will the water also become increasingly turbid? The river suddenly became turbid. It seems like it's raining upstream. I think we'd better find a high place to stay. If the flood comes, we'll be finished. Hurry up and get ashore. What happened to the witch lord? Why are you in such a hurry to leave here? It's just a speculation. I'm not sure if it's true, but safety comes first. Let's put it first. An earthquake has occurred. No, look there, it's a flood. Sure enough. Aruba, please speed up. Let's go together. It's so close to being washed away. If it weren't for the witch's reminder, we would be finished by now. No wonder the flowing water only accounts for less than one-third, even though the riverbank is so open. It turns out that it was washed out by the river during its rapid rise. That is. The Amazon python is the largest python in the world today, with a bar that can be stretched up and down to about 180 degrees. It has four rows of teeth that can move independently without a chin and can swallow prey larger than its own size. Mainly inhabiting the trunk of adult males in South America, the python has a water-loving nature and usually inhabits shallow waters on muddy banks. It mainly preys on water dolphins, water birds, turtles, and even caimans, and is at the top of the river food chain. Small Titan Python That's an Amazon python, not a python, let alone a titan python, although they look very similar in appearance. Pythons have obvious scales on their bodies, while pythons have a slippery skin that resembles a loach. However, both of these are extremely dangerous entities, so we still need to be more careful. We have dinner tonight. I think I said it for nothing, right? Although my head is so small, my body has grown so big that I should have gained a lot of weight. It feels a bit cute. I haven't eaten the meat of a big snake yet. I don't know how it tastes. Should it be grilled or boiled? It's convenient to use grilled food. I guess we'll have to encounter a herd of beasts to threaten these few, otherwise even the largest and most ferocious beasts would only be food delivered to our doorstep. However, speaking of which, based on the beasts encountered so far, they are all within the normal body size range. It seems that the impact of the experimental accident on this area is not significant. However, not all the creatures on Treasure Island 2 were affected, only a few species underwent mutations, so we cannot take it lightly. Hey, Aruba, 
just cut off a part and take it away. This python seems to have reached adulthood and weighs at least 225 kilograms. It is impossible to completely take it away, and it cannot be eaten. Ching Tian and his team were unable to continue walking along the river due to the flooding, so they had no choice but to return to the rainforest. Compared to walking along rivers, it's much harder to walk through rainforests. Whenever they encounter less shrubs, Ching Tian and his team have to use a machete to clear a path before they can continue moving forward. It's getting dark. Let's spend the night here tonight. After walking for an afternoon, Ching Tian and his team only advanced 8 kilometers, and at this speed, it can be called crawling like a turtle, but it is also a helpless thing. At 5 p.m., due to the approaching summer season, the sun hasn't set yet, but the light has weakened significantly. However, the rainforest is already dim. At this point, Ching Tian and his team had already cleared a piece of land in the rainforest with a machete to prepare for the night. The meat should be ready, right? Don't wait for me to sprinkle some salt. This snake meat is too fragrant. It really tastes much better than that kind of leopard. Roll one's eyes. Oh, wow. The master rolled his eyes and said someone had come. Put out the fire quickly. Someone is coming. I don't know if the person Bai Yin is referring to as a native like him. Although judging people based on their appearance is not right, the tattoos and decorations on their bodies are easily associated with cannibals. It is best not to touch them. The big leopard is such a waste that it can't even look at a woman. Speaking of which, that woman is really beautiful. Don't even think about it. It's a sacrifice for Lord Nichiwava. It seems that they didn't notice us. Master Wu, they have left. Don't rush to show up yet, wait and see. Maybe there's someone behind them. Two hours later. The meat is completely cold and the taste has changed. It seems that those three people were just passing by. But what concerns me is that the decorations on their bodies are clearly human bones. Are they really cannibals? By the way, Kata, have you seen them in our original tribe? They seem to be speaking the language of our tribe. Nick, I really didn't notice this if you didn't say anything. They do speak the same language as us. Not seen. Perhaps the clan leader will know, after all, he often goes to other tribes to exchange supplies. Wait, you guys said that the three people we just saw spoke Arabic, which is the language of the Lada tribe. We won't hear it wrong. What's wrong, Master Witch? What's the problem with this? Yes, and it's a big problem. With Ragnar's affirmation, Ching Tian secretly took a cold breath. As Bakuma said, if it weren't for Haninik reminding Ching Tian, he wouldn't have noticed this. Because when the three indigenous people were talking, he clearly heard Mandarin. We all heard the conversation between those three people. But what we heard was the language of the Rata tribe and the shaman heard a language called Mandarin. People speak different languages, and Ching Tian and Hanik discussed this issue. The witch lord Aruba is broken. If you can't figure it out, forget about it. There's no need to force yourself. Even Ching Tian couldn't figure out what was going on, let alone Kata and the others. Since Ching Tian couldn't figure it out, he no longer hesitated. After all, it's not an important matter at the moment. Oh, wow. Quick, look ahead. This is a village. Could it be the village where those three people were last night? Didn't you see anyone? Did everyone go hunting? Dead person. This village is so quiet, isn't it a slaughtered village? Conflicts between tribes. Let's leave quickly. I don't know what happened in this village. We're not familiar with the place, so it's better not to get involved blindly. Let's go around. Chicken born. It's a baby's voice. There are still babies alive in the village. 
Do we need to go and take a look, Lord Witch? It's better to leave directly. If the crying of a baby in a deserted village develops according to the routine, they will encounter ghosts hitting the wall and then see ghosts, right? Be vigilant. Let's touch it over. It seems that there has been intense fighting here before. Everyone, proceed with caution. The sound comes from this room. It looks like I've peed. We need to change diapers. Which of you has experience in taking care of babies? I didn't. It's here. Finally, it's here. Aruba, don't come over here. Nick, quickly bring a clean set of clothes. Before that, you need to wipe your stool clean, right? It smells so bad. Who is he? His clothes are so strange. Is this exquisite fabric a nobleman in the city-state? The entire village didn't even have any food, so it seems like it was looted by other tribes. So we won't have any problem staying overnight here tonight, will we? I don't think any bandits would return to the village they just looted. So this child is really lucky. It seems that the raider has not yet become so insane as to attack the baby, but letting him fend for himself here may be a more despicable evil taste. Master Witch Envoy Do any of you know what else a child under one year old can eat besides breast milk? For Ching Tian, since he has encountered this baby, he cannot ignore it, but they still have to continue moving forward and cannot take the child with them. So when Kata and the others were speaking, Ching Tian was thinking about whether to bring this baby back to the dawn or hand him over to other tribes that may exist on Biosphere 3. However, before that, Ching Tian quickly discovered a crucial question, which was what such a small baby should eat. Of course, it's meat. By visual inspection, babies are only three to four months old. Generally speaking, at this age, they cannot eat anything other than breast milk or cow's or sheep's milk. What are they afraid of? When they are worried about their child's food, the child wakes up crying from sleep. Stay calm. It doesn't necessarily mean you're hungry. Let's take a look first. Don't cry. Don't cry. Let's have some delicious meat. Aruba, are you crazy? How could such a young child bite such hard jerky? At least chew it thoroughly before feeding, you idiot. Kata, you're right. But chewing it until it's disgusting, tearing it into shreds, wouldn't it be better? Oh, not bad, Aruba. You've become smarter. Let's give some water first and have a look. What should Lord Wu do now? Why don't we boil some meat soup? Why don't you knock the baby unconscious? If they fall asleep, they won't feel hungry anymore. Kata, good idea. The witch lord is on fire outside. Put out the fire quickly and don't let it spread here. Very good. This can form a barrier to prevent the flying thatch from carrying the flames to other houses, causing the fire to further spread. But how could the house inexplicably catch fire? And there's more than one room. This is arson committed by humans. When I don't exist. It's too slow. Woman. Is she from this village? Wait, little devil. What are you doing? She should have started this fire, right? There's no one else left. Could she be the mother of this baby? Even if it's not, it should be someone familiar to this child, otherwise they wouldn't be so close to her. You're awake. Don't come over, don't come over. What happened to Nick? This is my village. Get lost here, you demons. Get lost. Calm down. Please calm down. We didn't mean to harm you. Don't be afraid. We're not some kind of demon. They stepped back. They are numerous and powerful. If they really wanted to harm me, they would have taken action long ago. Their attire seems to be different from that group of people. 
How could she understand it when she forgot that she was speaking Mandarin? My name is Solom. This is my child. We grew up in this forest, and so did my father and grandfather. Our tribe has been living here for a long, long time. She understood what I said. My name is Ching Tian, and I'm from somewhere else. I just occasionally pass by here, and I don't have any malicious intent. Can you understand what I'm saying? Ching Tian is a child from heaven. I am a corn man. I actually understood. Can everyone in D3 communicate without barriers, regardless of language? But compared to this corn man, what kind of ghost is he? Forget it, now is not the time to dwell on this. If you don't mind, can we sit down and chat? Good. Are you okay? It's okay, I'm just too tired and hungry. She probably hasn't closed her eyes for a long time with deep eye bags and a thin face, and her nerves have been tense. It seems that she was completely supported by Faith before. You can eat slowly. I still have some here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you don't mind, can you tell me what happened in your village? The incident happened three days ago. Obviously, it's a painful memory. As soon as Solom spoke, his voice trembled and his eyes were filled with both fear and anger. According to Solom, three nights ago, their village was suddenly attacked by other tribes. Although I don't know what the situation is, the warriors in the tribe still rose up in rebellion and engaged in a fierce battle at the first moment. But with a large number of opponents, their village is no match at all. Except for the deceased members, everyone has become prisoners of war. According to their belief, killing a baby would be cursed by the gods, so her child was abandoned in the village and escaped unscathed. Solom, hurry back and take care of our child. Later, during the escort, her clan created an opportunity for her to escape, which allowed her to escape. Speaking of the end, Solom could no longer suppress his inner sadness and burst into tears. Ching Tian and the others also fell silent. She fell asleep. Well, I'm tired of crying. Will the Rada tribe accept people from other tribes? I don't know. Has the Rada tribe never encountered such a situation before? I don't seem to remember it. Master Wu, do you want to bring her back? If there are tribes nearby that have good relations with Solom and her tribe, we can escort them over. If not, we can only temporarily bring them back to the dawn. Of course, this requires seeking Solom's opinion after she wakes up. A wounded woman with a baby under the age of one can never survive in this rainforest. Before that, let's all get a good night's sleep. Go out and watch the night. The next morning, Ching Tian planned to talk to Solom and see what her next plan was. However, it was probably due to her weak body and inability to recover her functions. Despite resting all night, Solom still showed no signs of waking up. Helpless, Ching Tian could only leave Hanimik and Ragnar to stay here. He then took the others to stroll around the village to see if he could find something to eat. This should be the route that Soram and his people usually take, right? I just don't know where to go. Most likely a place for hunting or obtaining food. Which of the three paths should we take? Which side is better to walk on? Bakuma, look at this spider. It's so beautiful. If you point this thing at me again, you're done for. What is this situation? Bakuma has always been afraid of this long-haired, multi-legged creature. These are the Banluo brides, right? I remember old Wang from the neighboring dormitory once bought them for 30 yuan. If we calculate this, the Banluo brides here can sell for at least several thousand yuan. They are truly a rainforest. Look, that looks like a coconut tree. Great. We have coconuts to eat. Bakuma, have you seen any coconuts? Looking for. Have all the coconuts been plucked? Speaking of which, I feel like this coconut tree is a bit different from what we usually see. Of course it's different because this is not a coconut tree at all. Although the name of this tree is Shigu Coconut, it is not a common coconut tree and does not produce coconuts. 
However, this tree has a large amount of starch stored in the middle of the trunk, which is a huge starch storage organ, before the top inflorescence is extracted. To be frank, this tree trunk itself is edible. Have a good appetite. This tree trunk is so hard to bite. Poor taste. The heart of this tree is actually white. That's the starch it stores. This is the edible part, right? You can understand it this way, but more precisely, the starch slurry obtained by soaking the tree core in water and filtering it is the edible part. Soak in water and filter. We don't have enough fresh water now, do we? There's no extra water storage in the village either. So the question is, have you ever thought about how the people of Solom did it? You see, there must be so many tree stumps around here that were left behind by the people of Solom who chopped down the West Valley coconut trees before. However, there is not enough fresh water in the village to extract starch from the coconut in Shigu, so if I'm right, there must be a water source nearby. That is to say, one of these two paths leads to the water source. Which way should we go? On the right side, there are traces left by dragging trees on this small path, although they are not very obvious. No wonder it's Kata. Look, it's a river. This river is much bigger than the one we encountered before, and there should be many big fish in it. If time permits, we can fish a few back. When Ching Tian and his team arrived at the riverbank, it was already past noon and there was not much time left. After a brief rest, a few people began to extract starch from the trunks of Shigu coconut trees. Ching Tian and his team were divided into two groups, Kata and Aruba, who were responsible for chiseling the tree core into sawdust with a machete. Ching Tian and Bakuma folded the outer skin of the Shigu coconut tree into a square shape and fixed it with branches to make vessels. After making the utensils, Ching Tian and Bakuma soaked the tree heart chips in water and rubbed them. During the process, the river gradually turned milky white, which is the starch liquid. After kneading for a period of time, Ching Tian and Bakuma filtered the starch solution with hemp cloth. Let the starch solution stand for more than 10 minutes, and the originally suspended starch will gradually condense at the bottom. This is starch, right? It looks like wheat flour. Because wheat flour is also starch, the only difference is the way it is obtained. Essentially, both are the same. Pack up and prepare to go back. It's around 3 p.m. now, including the time to go back, so we can return to the village before dark. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you, Lord Witch. Master Witch Envoy. He is the messenger of the Witch God Lord. The messenger of the Witch God, Your Excellency the Priest. The Witch Envoy has returned. What is this white thing? Isn't it amazing? This is starch extracted from tree trunks. Your Highness, please forgive my previous rudeness. What is the situation, Your Highness? Priests are chosen spokespersons by God to communicate with him and impart knowledge to him. Your shaman should be our priest now. I see. Unfortunately, I am not a true priest. By the way, what are your plans for the next step? We still need to go deeper into the rainforest and won't stay here for long. If there are tribes nearby that are friendly with you, we can send you there. If not, then. I plan to go to the city-state. City-state. Actually, I haven't been to the city-state either. All the things related to it are told by the elders of the tribe. It is said that a city-state is a large tribe composed of huge houses built with stones. There is abundant food and a large amount of corn and cocoa beans are planted there. As descendants of the gods, the king and nobles live there. Whenever there is a festival or disaster, the king will have the priests prepare a priestly ceremony in the city-state to offer sacrifices to the gods and seek blessings and protection for the people. City-states I didn't expect sago starch to be cooked like this. MMM, it's really delicious. The starch is crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, and the oil aroma seeping out from the dried meat is really delicious. 
If it's true as Solom said, then the pattern of this continent is much larger than I imagined. How do you usually handle the starch of this West Valley coconut tree? Is this a coincidence? We usually make sago and cook kanji. Sago. This is all the knowledge imparted by the high priest that you mentioned, which is how to extract starch from the coconut trees in the Western Valley and how to make sago. The elders in the tribe say that the high priest knows everything. Shigu coconut and sago are clearly modern vocabulary, but now I heard them from Solom's mouth. Of course, it's possible that the names are similar, but if one word is the same and can be explained by coincidence, then it's really hard to justify it. Solom, you just said you were going to the city-state, right? Could it be that the priest was a modern person, maybe a student or teacher on the ship, and mixed up with me as a shaman of the Rada tribe to become a priest of the corn people? We can definitely sell for a good price this time. After all, it's almost time for the sacrificial ceremony. On the way of escort, I accidentally heard that they were going to take my people to the city-state to sell them. So I'm going to buy them back. The conversation with Solom tonight really surprised Ching Tian. The amount of information was so overwhelming that he couldn't digest it for a while. Especially regarding the information about the city-state, even Solom himself is not very clear, just very fragmented in what he thinks and says. Helpless, Ching Tian could only summarize the information he obtained into two points based on his own guess while on night shift. The first point is that around the city-state, there are tribes of different sizes. In general, tribes do not know each other's positions, and even if they do, they do not interact with each other and only operate within their familiar territory. However, this is not absolute. Some tribes will plunder other tribes, and if captured, they will be traded as slaves or contributed to the city-state as living sacrifices. The second Sorum, she doesn't know the exact location of the city-state. Currently, the only clue is the sentence that has been passed down from the village, keep moving towards the direction of the rising sun. Go take a look, the direction indicated by the ring is also heading east, which happens to be on the way. The most important thing is that the identity of the priest is really concerning. Thinking about the situation of Solom and his son, Ching Tian decided to lend a hand. To be honest, he was really worried about letting a woman with a few months old baby cross the crisis-ridden rainforest to search for the elusive city-state. If the priests who can impart so much knowledge were truly modern people, they might be able to join in, which would undoubtedly be a great help at that time. It's really rare that a group of indigenous people have the concept of money and hide it under their own houses. I didn't expect to stay and dig the ground. If I had known, I would have exchanged with Ragnar to collect starch from the West Valley. What kind of money is that? Bone and Bone That's the family of the clan leader. They will always be with the clan leader and protect this family. In your village, you will bury your deceased loved ones under your own houses. However, priests and nobles will build tombs for themselves. I dare say we've been sleeping in the cemetery these past few days. This should be the jar containing coins. Solom, there shouldn't be any mention of ashes in your tribe, right? Ashes of the dead. Please don't mind. It seems that this is not an urn for ashes. I don't know what's inside. Hee hee, I should have thought about it earlier. What? It turns out it's just a shell. What beautiful seashells. With these precious shells, we can definitely buy our people back. When are you planning to depart? Are you really willing to help me? Just like the answer this morning, yes. Thank you, Master Wu. May I ask for your help again? You can tell me first before deciding whether to help or not. I would like to ask you to perform the Hertzman ceremony on this child and give him a name. Hertzmech. Herzmik is a birth ceremony for corn people to celebrate the smooth growth of children, and the timing varies depending on the gender of the child. Generally speaking, girls hold it at three months and boys hold it at four months. This ceremony is generally held with the assistance of the tribal chief to the parents of the child. 
If a priest can be invited to preside over it, it means that the child will receive God's attention, which is a great honor. That's why Solon wanted Ching Tian to help preside over this ceremony. In his opinion, although Ching Tian is not a priest, he is also chosen by the gods to bring good luck to her children. It's probably like this. When are you planning to hold it? This ceremony sounds too much like China's drawing lots, so it seems that my speculation credibility has increased a bit. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for agreeing. It's my honor that you can trust me so much to hold this extraordinary ceremony for your child. I plan to hold it next month. Are you sure? Today is only the 18th, waiting for such a long time for a ceremony. Isn't Solom anxious for her people? Although the two days were a bit rushed, if we start preparing now, we should be able to have everything we need ready. Two days time. What? Only 20 days. Unlike the Gregorian calendar, the calendar used by Solom had only 20 days in a month. Upon learning this, Ching Tian finally resolved his doubts. Indeed, the calendars used by countries around the world were different between the appearance of the Gregorian calendar. If we think about it, it's not surprising that Solom's calendar only has 20 days in a month. Ching Tian was not too concerned about the calendar. After receiving the currency, he and Aruba reburied the accidentally excavated bones. By the time everything was done, it was already noon. During the remaining time, Ching Tian did not take Saruba to the coconut grove in Shigu to assist Kata and his companions, while Haninik stayed behind to help Solom prepare the necessary items for the ceremony. The witch envoy has plenty of time now. I think we can go down the river and catch a few fish later. Just go fishing and forget about slacking off. According to various information about D3 in the ring, this area is simply a scaled-down version of the Amazon rainforest, which means that all the species that the Amazon should have, including the ferocious piranhas and caimans, are present here. The shallow stream I encountered before is not very deep, but the knee height is also clear to the bottom, so there is no need to worry about any danger hidden underwater. Why? Of course, it's for safety. But the depth of the river in front of us is unknown, and the water is turbid. In terms of its width, it can completely breed any large fish. Unless absolutely necessary, it is best not to go into the water. I have been eating dried meat as a backup food for the past two days, and the remaining amount can only last for two days. Can we continue to consume it? Before departure, it is necessary to collect as much shigu starch as possible. If possible, it is best to smoke some dried fish and bring it with you. Look, I caught a lot of earthworms. Master Witch, what are you doing? Automatic fishing device. Once a fish bites the hook, this button will detach, and then the fishing rod can be straightened to pull the fish up. I see. Another fish has taken the bait. This automatic fishing device is so convenient that you don't have to watch it at all. Please help me. Aruba, hold on. Even Aruba cannot be pulled up. It must be a big fish. Let's work together. The sleeping trough is so strong. Not good. What was bounced open? The giant bony tonguefish is a species of the bony tonguefish order in the ray finned fish class. It is also known as the walrus fish. Adult fish can grow up to 26 meters in length and weigh up to 100 kilograms. The tongue has hard bone teeth and belongs to the remaining ancient freshwater fish. It appeared as early as 100 million years ago. It mainly inhabits natural lagoons and slow-moving sections of the Amazon River and is the largest freshwater fish on the South American continent. Although it has a large body and strong jumping ability, it can also jump out of the water to hunt in the wild. Its tail is powerful and can easily knock down adult males and break bones, causing a large number of internal injuries. The huge size of this giant bony snakefish, under the influence of inertia, cannot withstand the force of its descent. Aruba and I must kill it before entering the water again. Aim at its head. 
Kadar's strike was unsuccessful, and now at this distance, the only one who can make a move is Pakuma. I didn't expect such a big fish to be born in the river. Even small fish here should not be underestimated. This big fish is enough for us to eat for three days. What hard scales. In fact, in addition to the intuitive hardness that can be felt, the spiral plywood micro nanostructure inside the fish scales also greatly reduces your attack power, so it can withstand your attacks. In short, the scales of this fish are very powerful. That's why the witch lord asked me to aim at its head, right? Actually, I'm not sure if you can succeed because the giant bony tongue fish not only has hard scales, but its skull is also exceptionally thick and has higher defense capabilities than scales. However, in that situation, with the massive size of the giant bony tongue fish, it is absolutely impossible to deliver a fatal blow. Once it enters the water, it will definitely escape, but if it attacks the head, it may still be able to leave it behind in Hotan. That means, Lord Witch, you're actually asking me to take a risk. So well done, Pakuma. Although the meat of this giant bony tongue fish is also good, I feel that tilapia is still better to eat. The head of this fish is indeed very thick. Fortunately, an iron arrow was used at the time, otherwise it would have been impossible to kill this giant bony tongue fish. This fish's tongue is actually a bone. That's how the name of this fish came about. Solom, what are you doing? The scales of this giant bony tongue fish are very hard, and I plan to use them to make a piece of armor. The capture of the giant tongue fish is undoubtedly the biggest surprise of the day. Its appearance brought Ching Tian and his team a large amount of meat, and it is not an exaggeration to say that Ching Tian will not need to go hunting for the next three days. However, fish meat cannot be stored for a long time and is not suitable as a reserve food, so the next day Ching Tian and a few others collected Shigu starch as usual to prepare for the next trip. As for Solom and Haninik, they are the things needed to prepare for the ceremony. Two days were not long, and soon it was the day of the ceremony. Ching Tian and his team were also prepared early, waiting for the sun to reach its highest point at noon. It's really troublesome to make a few requests for divine protection and blessings before every ceremony like this. But fortunately, Solom and the others stood far away, and I could easily say anything to get by. A few minutes later. What should I do now? The ceremony begins, Master Witch. You need to support this child's buttocks and make him sit up straight and raise his head high, so that his gaze is level with yours. This is... Oh, hey. Oh no, because it's too similar to that scene, I couldn't help but shout it out. First, calm down. Solom and the others will definitely not understand what this means. I can find an explanation to deceive them. Simba. It seems that we don't even need to look for any excuses anymore. Afterwards, you need to introduce the purpose of nine items to this child one by one, and after each introduction, you will need to circle it once, which represents completeness. This is a dagger. With it, you can cut the neck of a wild beast. This is a fishing rod. With it, you can catch fish swimming in the water. This is a bow and arrow. With it, you can shoot prey from a hundred meters away. This is a hoe. Come on, choose your future path now. Next, all we need to do is choose the item based on the child's preferences, say a blessing, and finally come up with a name. This ceremony will come to an end. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. If that child picks up a bow and arrow, I say he can become a sharpshooter in the future. If he picks up a long spear, I say he can become a brave warrior. What is this unlucky child doing with so much? What should I say to congratulate him now? The earth nurtures and embraces all things, just as this child embraces everything. Earth, that's his name. Children nurtured by the earth. Great. Starting today, you also have your own name. Earth is really a good name. You can tell from this name that this child will definitely become a powerful warrior in the future. 
I can't believe the witch lord could come up with such a good name. Solom, how is your injury? Thank you for your concern, Lord Wu. My injuries are not serious, and after this period of cultivation, I am no longer seriously injured. Is this what this forest looks like? It's simply amazing. This is the power of the witch master, a power called technology. How about, Solom? Can you determine the location of the village? This will take some time. It should be around here. Although the positioning range is very wide and not very accurate, at least you can know yourself. The current general location will not move forward in the dark like before. On the eve of departure, with the help of Solom, Ching Tian determined their current location and spent several hours devising a route forward. The next morning, Ching Tian and the others packed their things and left the camp early. This time, with the guidance of Solom, the progress of the group was much faster, and there were hardly any obstacles encountered along the way. However, the reason why Ching Tian and his team were able to advance so smoothly is entirely due to the small path they opened up while walking in the village of Solom. Solom, do you really not need this outfit? Thank you for your kindness, but I still feel more comfortable wearing my original clothes. However, on the third day, Ching Tian and his companions reached the end of the path, which meant that their journey ahead would not be as smooth as before. There's no way ahead. Get ready to stay overnight and continue departing tomorrow. I didn't expect to collect so much water after one night. It's really surprising. In addition, manual collection in the morning can greatly reduce the time required to collect dew. Master Wu, the fresh water has been collected. Pack up and prepare to depart. It's a bit too hot in this rainforest. Solomon too. It's windy. The wind is howling low. Master Wu, it's about to rain. It's going to rain. But now it's a sunny day with no clouds in the sky. Yes, and the rain will be heavy. As a resident of this rainforest, Solom may be able to detect the anomalies that occur when the weather changes by observing the clouds. Preparing to set up a campsite. Everyone, go inside and take shelter from the rain. The rain is coming too quickly and there is no time to set up the other two tents. If it weren't for Solom's reminder, we might not even have time to set up this tent. That's amazing, Solom. How did you know it was going to rain? Listen carefully, the rainforest will tell you. I see. If I listen carefully, can I also hear the voice of the earth spirit? Fortunately, I believed Solom. Otherwise, I would have become a drenched chicken now. The rain probably won't stop tonight. Rainy days are really annoying. Judging from this weather change, it is possible that it will rain for the next week. Fortunately, Jessica brought a tent with a bottom, otherwise you wouldn't have been able to sleep late. The rain started suddenly and lasted for a long time from noon until evening, but there was no sign of it decreasing. It's a bit cold after the rain. If only there was a bonfire. Finally stopped. Fortunately, the rain finally stopped before dawn, but it was only temporary here. Just as Solom had anticipated, after the rain that day, it felt like a leak, and every now and then a rain would come. Whenever encountering such situations, regardless of the environment, Ching Tian and his team would immediately stop and set up their tents as quickly as possible. But on this day, it seemed like they were intentionally opposing Ching Tian and the others. Sometimes, it rained three times a day, and the rain was particularly short, lasting for half an hour, ten minutes, or even one or two minutes. The witch envoy, the rain seems to have stopped. Anyway, every time Ching Tian sees the changing sky, he has to set up a tent, which wastes a lot of time. In addition, the withered leaves in the rainforest are like sponges that have absorbed a large amount of rainwater in recent days. It seems like there is nothing left to squeeze out half a pound of water with just one foot. It can be said that these past few days, Ching Tian and his team have been walking in soaked shoes, even their feet have been soaked until they turn white. Damn it, 
the shoes are completely soaked. Master Wu, if we take off our shoes, will we walk faster? I just feel like my shoes are cold and heavy now. I suggest you don't. Prepare. Fortunately, the rain fell slowly this time and even the animal skin tent was set up. It's not just a practice that makes perfect these days. It's still better to use animal skin tents for grilling. Kata, your feet have six fingers. I seem to have something similar on my feet as well. I thought I was the only one who had it. Could you please remember to say anything unusual about your body next time? This is very important. Did you feel anything wrong, such as pain or itching? It just hurts a bit when pressing. I don't feel anything. What is this? It makes my scalp tingle. Although Kata and the others said there was no discomfort, any abnormality in this rainforest could be fatal. I remember there were medical books in the bookstore of the system. I hope that book can help me identify what Kata and the others have on their feet. Fortunately, I accumulated a lot of points before, and now with 2,000 points, I have no pressure at all. Complete Guide to Field First Aid Redeem 2,000 points, 18,000 personal points. Ding Host Successfully Exchanged Books Ding Books are starting to be distributed. It's really a long-lost feeling. Eureka Plantar warts are common warts that occur on the sole of the foot, often caused by human papillomavirus infection, compression, friction, trauma, and sweating. It can be transmitted by self-inoculation through small skin damage, and more and more vegetations that occur between the metatarsal heads or soles of the feet are a common type of wart that can cause pain or no symptoms. At present, the treatment methods are divided into general treatment, local drug treatment, physical therapy, and acupuncture and moxibustion treatment. The location and size of the diseased area are different, and the treatment methods are generally different. This is a disease. Plantar warts. I'm dying. The future safety of the witch lord depends on you. Go back and tell Bohama not to be too sad. Oops, oops, oops. What are you guys doing? It's just a small problem, and you can't kill anyone. Arkata and the other is really not going to die. There is a high probability that he will still die in a few decades. The treatment for plantar warts is very simple. Just soften the warts with hot water and cut them off with a knife, just like gouging out a corns. It doesn't hurt, does it? I don't feel anything. But the difference is that the corns may hurt, but this plantar warts are similar in nature to nails and can be cut off immediately. That's good. Of course, it's impossible to estimate that the plantar warts will regrow in the next one or two days. We can just cut them later until they no longer grow. That's when it's considered good. This means that the area where Kata and his team discovered the lesion early is not likely to be treated with this simple and crude method. If it is more severe, medication and other means must be used. Of course, there is also a faster way, which is to use a red-hot iron needle to directly pierce into the skin and destroy the diseased tissue. Do you want to give it a try? It seems that this rain may last all day. Let's treat today as a day off. There are two reasons for Kata's plantar warts. One is that they are caused by prolonged foot friction during long journeys, which is the main factor. The second reason is that the rain in the rainforest has dampened the shoes for several days, creating a sweaty and humid environment for the feet, which is conducive to bacterial growth. This is the inducing factor. That is to say, if we don't find a way to solve these two factors, then Kata's illness can only be controlled and cannot be eradicated, and even others may be affected. I hope there are books in the system bookstore that can solve this problem. This is a manga. The system mall has actually been updated. The cover painting is quite exquisite, and the plot should also be very exciting. I really want to watch it. Can you update some useful books? This should be an upgraded version of the Fieldcraft Encyclopedia. The last book in the updated book is worth a try. Complete Collection of Modern Crafts 
7,000 points. Maybe there's some way inside, although it's a bit expensive, I can still afford it with my current points. Ding Host successfully exchanged books. Ding books are starting to be distributed. I spent 10,000 points in less than half a day. I need to take it easy now. We have a solution. Pig Fat Nail Glycerol Shigu Starch Water Baking Soda Nako Vinegar Glycerol Biodegradable Plastic Is this the tool used by the shaman? It's simply too beautiful. This is glass made of stone, a craft taught to us by the shaman. It should be almost done. What is this, Master Witch? A waterproof material called plastic. Half an hour later, Ding Host makes rain boots and earns 3,000 points reward. Are these rain boots? Look so handsome. Who among you is interested in trying out these rain boots? I, I, the Witch Envoy, I will come. Wow, the water is all trapped outside the shoes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The plastic is not very hard and can fit well on the shoe upper. I believe that with these rain boots, the plantar warts on their feet should disappear quickly and the chances of others suffering from plantar warts will also be greatly reduced. The production of rain boots took Ching Tian and several others almost a day until the next day when they continued to set off. Although it took a bit longer, it was all worth it. It should be noted that the consecutive days of rain have caused the accumulation of water in the rainforest to reach an unimaginable level. A large amount of rainwater cannot seep into the ground in a short period of time, forming depressions of varying sizes in the rainforest. The shallowest water in these depressions can reach up to the ankles. Without rain boots, Ching Tian and his team's feet would be like soaking in sewage for a long time. Not only would it be plantar warts, but their entire feet would be soaked to pieces. This amount of rainfall is too terrifying, it even directly flooded the rainforest. Some depressions are so deep that they can reach knees, and even that they cannot be described as depressions anymore. They are called lakes. According to the size of the depression, Ching Tian and his team would choose to directly wade through the water or bypass it, but most of the time it falls into the latter category. The bull shark is a species of shark in the family Caracidae, belonging to the genus Caracidae. It has a spindle-shaped body and a thick trunk and inhabits coastal bays. It is the only shark species that can live deep in freshwater rivers and even lakes. The appearance of special depressions is entirely due to temporary changes in terrain, so it is impossible to plan a route around the depressions in advance based on the original map. We can only explore them bit by bit. For this reason, Ching Tian's progress in recent days has been full of twists and turns, and he has walked many unnecessary journeys in vain. Avocado, a plant of the Sapindaceae family and the genus Avocado, is an evergreen tree that is tolerant to shade. It is about 10 meters tall and has gray-green bark. Its fruit is a highly nutritious fruit that is rich in various vitamins, fats, and proteins. In addition to being consumed as a fruit, it can also be used as a dish or canned food. Fortunately, I found avocado, which is a highly nutritious fruit. I feel that the taste of this fruit is strange. I feel it's quite delicious. You guys are too much to eat first. There is a fire ahead of the witch lord. It's on fire. It's been raining all these days. How could it possibly catch fire? Dancing flames. No, that's not a flame. The Latin name for red fire ants means invincible ants that are difficult to control and are widely distributed. They are one of the highly destructive invasive species and belong to the social insect group. They have the ability to attack humans and repeatedly sting. During an attack, red fire ants will clamp onto a person's skin with their upper jaw and use the claws at the end of their abdomen to continuously sting the body multiple times. Each time they sting, they release venom from the venom sac, causing the body to experience a burning pain. Afterwards, they may develop blisters like burns and even allergic shock, posing a risk of death. Don't daydream, run away quickly. 
Master Wu, those are just ants, right? It's an ant, yes, but it's an ant that can bite people to death. Ants that can bite people to death. According to the information provided in the system, although the red fire ants themselves have a red color, they should normally be brown red. However, now this group of red fire ants is completely red. In addition, although this red fire ant colony is a multi-queen colony, the population generally does not exceed 700,000 people. But the members of the red fire ant colony encountered here are at least 10 times more than this limit, and although red fire ants can fly, only a very small number of breeding ants in the population will grow wings during the mating season. Absolutely not like this group of red fire ants, all members can fly. Indeed, the experimental accident still had a certain impact on the creatures in this area. Solom, you and Bayan lead the earth first. The others take out alcohol bottles and torches. The speed of red fire ants is faster than ours. Running like this is definitely not a solution. We have to find a way to counterattack. Put alcohol in your mouth. Stabilize and wait for them to approach before spraying. Coming. What? There are too many ants. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. Cover your head and rush out. Geo. The sand sculpture is done beautifully. Sand sculpture, quickly move away. Bakuma, look at you. This can only slow down their speed. Where the fuck are you from? The neurotic ants bite everyone. Red fire ants, natural enemies, fleas, flies, anteaters, ants, wasps, parasitic ants, Boveria bashiana, and Metarizium anisoplai. Such ferocious red fire ants cannot exist without natural enemies, otherwise this rainforest would have fallen long ago. The flea fly, a parasitic fly that grows in South America, mainly parasitizes in red fire ants and lays eggs. Its larvae can cause the death of red fire ants. Boveria bashiana and Metarizium anisoplai adhere to red imported fire ants and then germinate and invade their bodies, continuously growing and ultimately causing the ants to die in rigidity. Fungi that can infect red imported fire ants can cause large-scale death within just five days of infection. After rainy weather, the yellow dragonfly preys on red imported fire ants and has a high killing efficiency, which to some extent inhibits the expansion of red imported fire ants. Got it. Yellow dragonfly. This way. They're almost catching up. Don't let the alcohol bottles get too close. We have to hold on for a few minutes to get to the river. Master Wu, we have arrived. Punching. If you have the ability, come down. This is a dragonfly, a species of yellow dragonfly. Indeed, it comes from the suppression of bloodline. Faced with the yellow dragonfly swarm, the red fire ant colony cannot even counterattack. I can't believe this battle ended like this. Master Wu, wouldn't these dragonflies also bite people? Don't worry, they're not interested in people. Do you feel dizzy and nauseous now? No. The area bitten by ants feels a bit hot. Fortunately, they didn't have any allergic reactions, but this wound bitten by red fire ants needs to be treated quickly, but before that, we need to meet up with Solom first. Master Witch Envoy Master Wu, I feel itchy where I was bitten by ants now. Hold back, don't scratch. Master Wu, this is soapy water. Alkaline soap water can neutralize the formic acid of red fire ants and alleviate wound pain. It's so amazing. It doesn't itch at all anymore. It's completely healed. If you overthink this red envelope and want it to completely disappear, it will take a few days. Fortunately, I sniffed the scent and came over, saving the time to meet with Solom and treating the wound in a timely manner. 
Otherwise, due to the toxicity of red fire ants, the bitten area would have developed blisters by now. Today can be said to be the most embarrassing day for Ching Tian and his team to enter the rainforest in so many days. After being chased by red fire ants for most of the day, Ching Tian and his companions were exhausted. Even though it was still early, they had no energy to continue their journey and set up a tent on the spot, ready to set off again tomorrow. Ah. Uh, to be honest, they would never have thought that the ants they can easily crush on them in their daily lives would have the ability to chase after them and fight them, leaving them with no fighting power. The witch's rain boots are broken. It's not bad, it's just that the plastic surface is broken. If it melts, just reapply. Don't get too excited. First, wipe your nose. Indeed, rain boots made of plastic are still inferior to those made of rubber. However, Ching Tian and his companions, who were in a panic to avoid the pursuit of the red fire ant colony, unexpectedly found themselves in a treasure trove. I didn't expect there to be wooden cows here. This is a milk tree. What's special about this tree, Lord Witch? Especially quite special because this is a tree that can produce milk and drink. Drinking trees. Milk. The juice composition of this tree is the same as that of milk. Although it emitted an unpleasant odor when first taken. But as long as a certain amount of water is added to dilute and heat it, it will emit the aroma of milk and also have the taste of milk. It smells good. This is a fragrance that I have never smelled before. What is this? It's just too delicious, isn't it? Is this what is called milk? First came the edible West Valley coconut tree, and then the drinkable milk tree. This is truly amazing nature. Solom has changed shifts. Are you worried about your tribe? Master Witch Envoy. The sacrificial ceremony is about to take place in just over a month. Sacrificial ceremony. I heard from the elders in the tribe that when summer begins in early June, the priests in the city-state will hold a grand sacrificial ceremony. Solom had previously said that the priests in the city-state would offer living people as sacrifices to the gods. She must be worried that her people would be chosen, right? I remember you said that it took your clan leader a month from leaving the village to returning to the city-state, which means it only takes 10 days from your village to reach the city-state. We have been walking for a week now, and in terms of time, we believe we can arrive in the city-state within these few days and be able to buy back your people before the sacrifice. Thank you, Master Witch. The sacrificial ceremony in early June undoubtedly brought some pressure to Ching Tian and his team. Although they had plenty of time, they did not know the specific location of the city-state and only knew a general direction. This means that Ching Tian and his team cannot determine how far they are from the city-state at this time. With their current pace of advancement, can they reach the city-state before the priestly ceremony? As a result, they have accelerated their pace in the next few days. It is worth mentioning that as Ching Tian and his team advanced, they began to encounter other corn man villages. There are villages of all sizes, similar to Solom's village, which has a population of around 10 to 20 people. Some villages have around 40 to 50 people, while others have hundreds of people. Is it because it's close to the city-state? The frequency of encountering villages is increasing. However, adhering to the principle of non-contact, Ching Tian and the others choose to avoid unnecessary trouble by avoiding it. A few days later, Where are they going? Solom, do you know what's going on here? The elders in the tribe never mentioned it. This road leads in the same direction as we are moving forward. Do you think this will be the road to the city-state? Hurry up, brother. Hurry up even faster. The fragrance is getting stronger and stronger. A child and a youth does not pose a threat to us. Brother is that fragrant scent. I would like to eat. Then you wait here for a moment and obediently don't run around. I am no longer a child. 
Can I exchange this deer leg for some of the food you eat? Just a little. If not, I can add a leg. One leg is enough, but you have to answer a few questions for me. Since this man appeared here, he might know something about that road. My name is Tiger Claw, and this is my sister Aya. Thank you for willing to exchange food with us. Thank you. Brother, this is absolutely delicious. It must be a gift from God. Aren't you here to attend the sacrificial ceremony? We're here for the first time, so we're not sure if we're on the right path. This really hit Ragnar right. This road leads to the city-state. As expected by Ching Tian, he smoothly obtained the information he wanted from Tiger Claw. According to Tiger Claw, that road leads directly to the city-state, while those people go to the city-state to attend the sacrificial ceremony. But given the current location of Ching Tian and his team, it will take another two days to reach the city-state. However, there is still some time before the date of the priestly ceremony, so you can take your time to walk. By the way, you should all be ready with the necessary expenses to enter the city-state, right? Costs are required to enter the city-state. I have occasionally seen people who were unable to enter the city-state due to lack of preparation for entry fees before. That's why I asked a lot of questions. I didn't expect that you really weren't prepared. How is this fee calculated and paid with seashells? Shells can be considered as a form of currency, and valuable items such as cocoa beans, tobacco, and corn can also be used for payment. What is the cost for that person? If you're talking about shells, then each person needs 20 shells. 20 pieces. If you don't have enough, you can exchange currency with other items and people. Of course, you can also exchange your food with me, but here are cocoa beans. I suspect that your previous words were all a preparation for exchanging food with me. It seems that the order and system within this city-state are more sound than I had anticipated, despite the claim of entry fees. I would rather know if there will be any looting when traveling to the city-state than this. Solom once said that there would be looting between villages. With so many people from different villages walking together on the same path, I would never believe it if I didn't reveal anything. Just kill them all. There are still many gains to be made. Unless there is a significant difference in the number of people between the two sides, this situation is usually rare because once the two sides engage in battle, the people around them become hunters who are watching closely and may enter at any time. So, wouldn't it be very dangerous for you too? Brother who doesn't know, he's very strong. One person can fight ten. Let's get back to the main topic. How to exchange shells and food. Since these two have been able to go to the city-state multiple times, there must be some extraordinary places. Otherwise, it would not have been safe and sound. Now worrying about them seems a bit unnecessary. There are many, many delicious foods. I'm really sorry, I don't have that much currency on me right now. The price will be based on what we just discussed. The extra food will be considered as my gift to you. Although there is a jar of shells in Solom's place, Ching Tian couldn't help but worry about whether he could buy back all of Solom's people with the amount of shells in that jar since he learned that everyone entering the city had to pay 20 shells. Therefore, Ching Tian exchanged a bag of cocoa beans for meat rolls and tiger claws made from shigu starch and dried meat with an equal ratio of 30 shells per meat roll. In terms of quantity, the shells of tiger claw are not enough, but Ching Tian still gave all the shigu meat rolls to the tiger claw siblings. After all, just now tiger claw exchanged one deer leg for that meat roll. Ching Tian has already taken a considerable advantage. After the transaction was completed, the Tiger Claw siblings bid farewell and left Ching Tian. They also started packing up and preparing to spend the night in a different place. Although Ching Tian had a good conversation with the Tiger Claw siblings just now, he still had a sense of caution in his heart, only worried that the Tiger Claw siblings might be scouts from other tribes and return. That's why Ching Tian made this decision. He's such a good person. He actually gave us so many delicious food. It's a good sign, isn't it? 
Maybe after the sacrificial ceremony, God will bestow blessings and blessings, and even the holy ball sport will not need to be participated in. Of course, even if I participate, my brother will definitely win the championship. Ailing. If you don't feel cold, if you hug me, I won't feel cold anymore. Master Wu, won't we take the main road? It will be easier to walk there, won't it? Don't rush, wait and see for a while before deciding. Tiger Claw has also mentioned that situations often occur on this road. If only a few of us appear so recklessly, we may be targeted. Although it's so close to the main road, it can't be considered safe. What are you really worried about? I opened this mountain and this tree because I wanted to stay and buy money from now on. These people may seem big and small, but they also have brains. Knowing that the main road is the only way to the city-state, there will definitely be many people coming from nearby, which will inevitably cross the rainforest and ambush in advance. In this way, there is no need to worry about a third party peeping, avoiding the outcome of a fight between the snipe and clam, and allowing the fishermen to benefit without any hesitation. But unfortunately, you chose the wrong target. What kind of weapon is that emitting a cold light in their hands? Was it given to them by Lord Ecuva? Our weapons were all chopped to pieces. We have more people here than they can win. They have been protecting that woman, first targeting her and restraining them. Oh, oh, is this the huge advantage that pirates gained from relying on weapons when they fought against us back then? This feeling is really amazing. Good weapons are important, but one's own skills are the fundamental way to survive on the battlefield. How does that sound? It feels like we've become bad people. However, on the other hand, there are nearly 20 people ambushing here. If they didn't have the advantage in weapons, they might not have been able to suppress them just now. Even now, we have to be careful because we still have to protect Solom and the Earth. Friend, I'm here. Tiger Claw brothers and sisters. That raincoat. How did you come across them? Quickly withdraw, we are not opponents. Why did he run away? We meet again. Ah, uh, we meet again. Are you okay, my friends? Why don't you ask yourself? Thank you. It's quite a coincidence that we met again so soon. It's like knowing we're here. We're not with them. We just woke up today and saw the weather was nice, so we were in a good mood and ate something. Then we continued to rush towards the direction where the city-state was located, only to encounter a taper on the way, so we kept chasing after Azu. At that time, I was thinking about my friend. You generously gave us food yesterday. If only I could repay you. I thought you were also going to the city-state, so I wanted to see if I could find you along the main road, but I actually met you. It must be God guiding us to meet again. Do friends want to follow the same path together? If we walk together, we can have delicious food. Got it. I finished eating the dried meat from Shigu last night. My sister urged me to come. At the request of the Tiger Claw siblings, Ching Tian finally accepted the request of his peers. For him, with these two experienced guides, the road ahead will undoubtedly be much easier. As for whether Ching Tian will be targeted or not, he has thought about it. Since walking in the rainforest may encounter robbery halfway, it's better to show up openly. A lot of people. Suddenly seeing so many people gives me an unrealistic feeling. How do I feel that they are intentionally keeping their distance from us? That must be the clothes on your body, right? Only the nobles in the city-state can afford so much fabric. However, what prompted Ching Tian to make this decision was the battle in the rainforest just now, which gave him a rough estimate of the combat power of the corn man. Compared to you, our clothes do look a bit eye-catching. Should we switch to the same clothes as them? 
If there were clothes to change and they could make them wary, maybe it would reduce the trouble. Compared to the stone weapons of the corn man, Ching Tian, who had iron weapons, was able to handle battles with ease even when the difference in numbers did not exceed three times. That's why Ching Tian dared to step out of the rainforest. Finally, I don't have to stay in that muddy and damp rainforest anymore. Solom, it shouldn't rain again this time, right? It will be good weather in the next few days. It has to be said that although this road was deliberately stepped on, it is inevitably bumpy and bumpy, but compared to the rainforest, it is really much easier to walk and the broad view makes Ching Tian and his team feel much better. Is this salt? I can't believe it. Where did it come from? Can you tell me? What is your salt like? It's obtained by drying seawater in the sun. It's all salt. The juice from the milk tree is so delicious. There seems to be some situation over there. Rest in place. Who are they and why are others so afraid of them? He is a soldier in the city-state. Disgusting guy. What kind of person is that bound captive? Before each priestly ceremony, these soldiers would attack the surrounding villages to capture offerings. The soldiers in the city who attacked the surrounding villages knew the location of the villages. I don't know, so they will spend a long time searching. Of course, in order to ensure that they can prepare enough offerings, they will also purchase prisoners and slaves from those who come to attend the ceremony. Then your village. Uh-huh, they've been found before, but those soldiers were all killed by everyone in the village. That time, they harvested a lot of things. Soldiers who kill cities, aren't you afraid of retaliation? As long as you kill all the soldiers who come, you don't have to worry about anyone knowing. But is it normal for a seven or eight year old girl to become accustomed to murder? Although this is due to the cultural environment, it still makes people feel uneasy. Use this to see more clearly. As the city-state of Solom approached, her heart became increasingly anxious. When she saw the group of prisoners, she couldn't help but have an expectation that her own people were among them. When we reach the city-state, we will definitely find it. However, among those prisoners, not only did they know each other, but they also had familiar faces. Ching Tian could only offer a few simple words of comfort. What's so amazing about this? Wow, you see so clearly. That night, Ching Tian and his team didn't set up a tent anymore, but slept on the ground just like everyone else. After all, tents are too eye-catching, so it's better to keep a low profile in this environment. Aya wants to exchange her brother for this one with you. Aya. The next day, Ching Tian and a few others followed the crowd towards the city-state, which gave Ching Tian a feeling of going to the market from the village to the town as a child. It's just that the road is a bit bumpy, and occasionally there are some small bumps and bumps because it's very simple. One group of people takes a liking to something from another group and directly fights it, which is called a head injury and bleeding. But for this situation, everyone along the way seems to have become accustomed to it, except for some who want to cross over. Everyone else turns a blind eye, even the soldiers in the city are like this. Fortunately, Perhaps as Ching Tian said, the clothes they were wearing were intimidating or for some other reason, but no one without eyes dared to come to them. After leaving like this for three days, a huge creature appeared in front of Ching Tian and his team, and they knew without hesitation that it was the city-state. Is that a city-state? It's so big, like a mountain. Is it because I have seen the laboratory before? Although I was still startled by the size of the city-state, I was not shocked. We'll be able to reach the city-state in half a day. Strange, the outline of this city-state seems like a sand sculpture you've seen somewhere before. Go and explore it. How did it appear here? This is the Mayan Pyramid. Maya. Pyramid. You are Mayans. What is that? We are corn people. Although I haven't seen the Mayan pyramids with my own eyes, as a highly legendary building that has appeared in various media outlets, the building in front of me is the Mayan pyramids. 
but the Tiger Claw siblings and even Solom call themselves Corn People, and so on. I remember the term Maya was derived from the city Maya. Is there any problem here, friend? It's okay, let's keep going. This means that the Mayans were given names by later generations, while the Mayans themselves referred to themselves as corn people. By the way, Tiger Claw, do you know the five prophecies about the end of the world? Is the world about to collapse at the end of the world? It seems that the residents of D3 District are all Mayans brought here by a time space storm from other eras. Hurry up, don't hinder the people behind you. Is this the temple? It's so magnificent. It's hard to deal with teams of seven or eight people. Isn't there a team of four or five people? What are those yellow clumps of things? They are also currency. That's tobacco. Beetle nut can also be used as currency. After ignition, it emits white smoke that is extremely irritating. But compared to this Mayan city-state, there is actually a moat, which I didn't expect. It's just that this moat is a bit too narrow and feels like a decoration. Are there too few soldiers guarding the city? There are no corresponding guards in other places except for the entrance. Aren't you worried that someone might jump over the moat directly from other places? This distance should be easy to jump over, right? My friend, it's best not to have such thoughts. If God knows and brings bad luck, then it's over. God is everywhere. I got it. It seems that jumping over directly is not a problem. Did that person not pay the entry fee into the city? That person should be a resident of the city-state. Residents in the city-state will have a special ID card, and as long as they have it, they do not need to pay entry fees when entering or leaving the city-state. Wow, there's still an ID card. How can I become a resident of the city-state? There's nothing we can do about it. No way out. I heard from the elders in our village that the city-state was originally a village, but one day the gods descended and imparted wisdom to that village, which led to the emergence of the city-state. That is to say, this city-state does not accept people from other villages. Roll aside without any entry fee. I think he came from a faraway village, so I don't know much about it. Another few idiots who don't know the fees required to enter the city-state. Although the Mayan pyramids were within reach, the first thing Ching Tian and his team saw after crossing the bridge was a piece of farmland with flames blazing brightly. When Ching Tian and his companions walked in, they realized that there were many Maya slaves in the farmland. Under the guard of soldiers, they used torches to light the corn stalks and withered leaves in the farmland. Ching Tian is very familiar with this. His favorite thing is to do this kind of dumping, which is not fun. It's just to clean up the dead branches and leaves, and the ash left after burning is also a good fertilizer for nourishing the land. The cultivated land area in the city-state is quite large. Ching Tian walked along the road for about 10 minutes before finally seeing a low-rise house. According to Tiger Claw, the Maya city-state can be roughly divided into three regions based on their functions. The outermost region is an agricultural area for planting, followed by residential areas for civilians, and the middle region is a temple for priests and nobles. City Moat Agricultural Area Civilian Area Temple if divided by blocks, the Maya city-states are divided into four regions by intersecting moats east, west, north, and south, each with a large market. It's so lively. There are many interesting things. Is this what it looks like inside the city-state? Friends, do you have any plans for the next step? I want to know where there are slave sales available. I can't tell, big brother. You guys actually want to buy slaves. It's so disgusting. My friend must just be curious to take a look. Yes, I was just curious to take a look. This girl is really straightforward. The places where slaves are sold are not fixed, but they are often the busiest stalls in the market, just like there. A strong man, a strong man. We had to mobilize three people to capture him. That is to say, this man can do the work of three people on his own, 
but he only needs to eat for one person. And absolutely healthy. Let's take a look at absolute health. The starting price is 200 cocoa beans. I will provide 250 cocoa beans. I will provide 300 cocoa beans. I will produce 100 seashells. Solemn. The elder sister's clan members have been captured. My friend, this is actually the purpose of your visit to the city-state, isn't it? I wrongly blamed you, big brother. Can it be considered one of them? The slave trade is not limited to this area, and there are also corresponding markets in other urban areas. We can go and take a look. Thank you for bringing me here. I remember you have other important things to do, right? I won't trouble you about finding the tribe members next. I don't know how to repay your kindness, Solom. If I can find my own people and you come back to the village, I don't know. I am willing to be your servant, even after death, my soul will serve you forever. I have helped you so much, and you really need to be grateful to me, but I also need to thank you. Thanks to you, I am here. Although he was eager to explore the Mayan pyramids, it was undoubtedly Sorum's matter that was more important. Therefore, in the remaining time, Ching Tian helped Sorum continue to search for their tribe. The special Tiger Claw siblings are also helping to find things. In their words, they are just idle and doing things with friends that are their own business. To be honest, Ching Tian doesn't know what to say about Tiger Claw calling himself a friend. You should know that they have only known each other for a few days, but Ching Tian gave the Tiger Claw siblings a little discount during the transaction, which can be considered as knowing each other. Friends are really out of reach. Because of this, Ching Tian sincerely expresses his gratitude for the help of the Tiger Claw siblings, and his heart also feels a little more grateful for their friendship. Furthermore, it must be said that the Maya city-states were truly large, although they were completely incomparable to modern cities, their area was similar to that of modern county towns. Ching Tian and his team arrived at the city-state around 10 a.m. in the morning and have been searching for the whereabouts of Solom and his people since entering the town. However, Ching Tian and his team spent five or six hours searching before they could go through the entire western district. By the time they arrived in the southern district, it was already afternoon. The number of people is gradually decreasing. It seems that we can only temporarily stop here today. I'm hungry. Me too. What would I like to eat tonight? Should we go eat that? Want. That. That's hot cocoa. They all look delicious and tasty. I want to put this on. However, speaking of which, there are places like roadside stalls in the Mayan city-states that I never expected, and the variety of food is quite abundant. Thirty cocoa beans, thank you. Thirty pieces. I remember all your cocoa beans were exchanged with me, right? So my brother is currently helping people with their work. Friends, you can eat here and leave it to me. We brought our own food. Thank you for your kindness. Do you guys sell out the laborers directly? Excuse me, is the golden sculpture over there yours? What a strange smell, like rotten fruit mixed with honey. Sure enough, you can't be curious about everything. Adding chilies to cocoa is truly magical. It's so bitter and spicy. This thing called hot cocoa is really amazing. Despite having nothing, it has various flavors. Thank you, friend, for inviting us to eat. Thank you. Can this really be used for payment? You can definitely count one feather and one hundred cocoa beans. If you want to thank me, thank Sha Diao. Where do we sleep at night? After nightfall, outsiders are not allowed to stay in the residential area, so we have to retreat to the agricultural area. The Maya civilization, hailed as a civilization from outer space, was established with the help of aliens. Ire. Is the fire too strong? I'll remove the firewood. My friend, Aya, and I will leave for a while. You don't have to worry about us. Brother, Aya is so hot. Aya, please hold on a little longer. 
We've arrived. Sorry for inviting my friend to dinner again. To be honest, I haven't seen you very embarrassed. Big Brother is really good. Last night, Tiger Claw left with Aya and only returned three hours later. At that time, the two of them seemed to have just been rescued from the bottom of the water and were soaked all over. The most important thing is that Aya fell into a coma and looked exhausted in the past. I thought something had happened, but the next day, Aya woke up and became so lively again. Although I really want to know what happened to Aya, everyone has a secret. Since Tiger Claw hasn't explained, it's better not to ask. Hurry up, there's a holy ball game at the temple now. What is the holy ball sport they are referring to? Friend, would you like to take a look? It's estimated that people from all four regions are rushing towards the temple, which is a very sacred sport. Walking in, it feels even bigger. This looks even more sturdy than the houses we have built before. I was shocked to think that this was built entirely by human labor. What matters more is how this thing looks like the head of a Chinese long. This is Lord Equiva, in charge of the war, violent deaths, and human sacrifices. He is the black god of war. I remember the first three Mayans I met mentioned the name Equiva. I thought it was a royal family of the city-state, but I didn't expect it to be a deity. This is Lord Chuck, the rain god. This is Lord Apch, the god of the underworld. This is Lord Ishichel, the moon goddess. This is Lord Kukulkan, the feathered snake god. He has a big snake on his head. That's the incarnation of Lord Kukulkan. How can I put it? This incarnation and the totem of Huaxia dragon cannot be said to be somewhat similar, but rather extremely similar. What kind of god is this? Compared to other murals, the color of this mural is much more vibrant and feels like it was added later. This is the goddess of wisdom who heard from the residents of the city-state that the goddess once descended here to teach knowledge to the priests. But is it really the case? Every time we talk about the deity Kata, we lose our usual calmness and are truly devout. Looking at the murals scattered throughout the corridor, Ching Tian couldn't help but think of the Dunhuang murals, both of which depict many gods and cultural treasures of their respective ethnic groups. However, Maya murals depict not only the gods, but also other contents such as the entire process and process of sacrifice. Although it's just a mural, it still looks chilling, but it can't be said that the Mayans were a cruel and bloody people. After all, cultures around the world can more or less see the shadow of human sacrifice in their early development. Even Chinese culture is like this, which can only be said to be a stage that must be experienced for the development of civilization. I didn't look at Qing Tian for too long, and they quickly continued walking towards the exit. As the group was about to leave the long corridor, the first thing that caught their eye was the continuous pyramid group like hills. The Mayan pyramids are all concentrated in this core temple area. Walking among the pyramids of different sizes and heights, Ching Tian felt a sense of walking under the feet of giants, and the visual impact was truly shocking. There is a Maya pyramid in front of which the square is full of people standing there. At this moment, Many people are walking towards that direction, and you don't have to guess. That is the location of the Holy Ball Sports Competition. Go ahead. Fuck the other side. Are your feet just a decoration? Kick him. The rules of Holy Ball Sports are very simple. Just throw the ball into the opponent's stone ring to win. But it should be noted that during the game, you cannot touch the ball with your hands or kick it with your feet. You can only hit the ball with your elbows, forearms, knees, or buttocks. Can you also physically hit someone? Sure, you can just kill the opponent and throw the ball into the stone ring. Look out. What? What's going on with this terrifying force? Friend, are your hands okay? It's okay. Can you show me the ball instead of this? It's so heavy, at least six pounds. Damn it, 
How did they play with such a heavy ball and hit someone at such a speed? I'm afraid they got punched, but what really matters to me is that the ball seems to be made of rubber. Ball. Is the holy ball game so dangerous? Generally speaking, this situation only occurs in the holy ball tournament organized by the high priest. It's rare for such intense competition to occur in an ordinary match like this. This is the holy ball tournament. Has the holy ball competition sacrificial ceremony already been held? Haven't you heard? This year, the high priest has rescheduled the holy ball competition to before the sacrificial ceremony. Aya, let's go. Where are you going? I'm sorry, my friend. I can't continue to help you. Bye-bye. They left. Is there anything important? It should be related to the so-called Holy Ball Tournament, right? Let's take action while the competition is still ongoing. Everyone dispersed to search for places where slaves were sold. Gather in half an hour. The reason why Ching Tian and his team came here is not actually to watch some Holy Ball sports, but mainly to find the people of Solom. After all, Tiger Claw once said that the holy ball game is always an extremely sacred sport and most people in the city-state will go to watch it. This means that within this temple, Ching Tian and his team can see people from four regions without having to go through the trouble of searching for slave owners in each region. Unfortunately, on that day, Ching Tian and his team searched all the slaves owned by the slave owners who came to watch the game, but they couldn't find Sorum's tribe. Help! 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 Solum Solum. 30. 300 cocoa beans or 100 shells are all I need. Of course, you can also exchange this golden eagle and black wolf with me. 300 cocoa beans, can we reduce it a bit? Sand sculpture and white eyes are absolutely impossible to replace. No way. All the cocoa beans we had to exchange from the tiger's paw are gone. Saved. Saved. Solemn, solemn. This bird can actually speak. Does this bird host the incarnation of a spirit? Fantastic. This parrot. Hello, hello. That's right, this is Xiao Wang raised by Heiyu. Xiao Wang, do you know where Black Feather and the others are now? Come with me, come with me. Sand Eagle, keep an eye on it. Everyone else, hurry up and follow. It's so huge. How was this built? The ring pointed towards the pyramid in front of me. Stop, who is it? The temple ahead cannot be approached without permission. Hurry up and leave this place. Okay, okay. Let's go now. Don't get too excited. If nothing unexpected happens, this should be the pyramid where the priests and the king live. With such tight security, even if you want to sneak in, it may still be difficult. Guest. From a distance, I could see several familiar figures walking in. It turned out to be a few guests. Uncle, why are you here? Bring this to the priests in the temple. Hot chocolate. You should know that only the most delicious hot cocoa in the city-state can be sent to the temple, which means, uncle, the hot cocoa I made is the sweetest. Wow, that's amazing. Is it surprising that so many people like to eat that thing that looks like swill? Is this serious? That can also be called the sweetest. Have you finished speaking yet? This is Zhu Yuan Zhang eating Xiaobing, baked cake and griddle. Empress Ma invites the cook to the city. Let's go. Under the sunlight, the shadow of the north wall of the pyramid gradually changes from a straight line to a wavy shape from top to bottom, extending all the way to the snake head on the top of the tower. Its shape resembles a giant snake swimming towards the earth from the top of the tower. Is this the snake-shaped light and shadow known as one of the Maya wonders? Master Wu, are we just going back like this? You have also seen that there are numerous soldiers guarding the temple, and it is too difficult to sneak in. It is even more impossible to break in forcefully. 
So let's make some preparations next and have them invite us in. Please let us in. What should we do then? Uncle said before, the most delicious hot cocoa in the city-state will be sent to the temple, so our next task is to collect a large number of cocoa beans. Although I don't know why the ring points towards the pyramid, there must be a reason behind it. I must go in and take a look. When Ching Tian saw the uncle, he already had a specific plan in mind for how to enter the temple. As he said, he made delicious cocoa and asked the priest to invite them in. There are indeed sweet potatoes sold in the city-state. After all, South America is the homeland of sweet potatoes, and it is normal for the indigenous Maya people to use them as crops. Therefore, after making up their minds, Ching Tian and his companions split up and took the feathers of the sand eagle to various vendors to exchange for cocoa beans. After all, they didn't even have a single cocoa bean in their hands. However, in addition to cocoa beans, Ching Tian also collected two things, sweet potatoes and herbs, which were the sources of information that he could believe his plan would succeed. Very hot, very hot. This thing called sweet potato is so soft, sticky, and delicious. Is the witch lord buying so much of this food called sweet potatoes as a reserve food? Sweet potatoes, although delicious, are extremely easy to digest. Even if eaten to the fullest, they can easily become hungry again in a short period of time and are not suitable for storage. In addition, they also have one downside. That means eating too much will make you feel like Aruba. The reason why I bought so many sweet potatoes is actually to make the syrup needed for blending hot cocoa. After a simple meal, Ching Tian and a few others started making hot cocoa. In order to save time, they divided into two groups and boiled sugar water and cocoa at the same time. Ching Tian's team is responsible for boiling sliced sweet potatoes in water, while Solom's team is responsible for drying the moisture in cocoa beans. Not long after, the water boiling the sweet potato chunks had turned pale red, which is proof of sugar leakage. Solom used Shichen to grind cocoa beans into powder. After a period of time, the excess water in the sugar syrup evaporates, leaving behind a viscous and crystal clear syrup. On this side, after cocoa beans, Sorum put the dried herbs he bought into Shichen and ground them into powder. If I hadn't eaten it once, I couldn't believe how hard it was to swallow this tempting aroma. Don't worry, it won't happen this time. Cocoa flavor is bitter, and adding syrup can harmonize the bitterness. Milk is rich and mellow to enhance the smoothness of the entrance. Finally, add vanilla to enhance the aroma. This is a hundred times better than what that uncle made. I feel warm all over now. It's amazing how sweet and bitter are clearly two opposing flavors, but now there's no conflict. They complement each other and showcase each other's unique flavors. The bitterness is still a bit too strong. We need to add some syrup. Master Wu, I have something I don't understand. Why don't you just add honey? Honey is also very sweet. Can it be exchanged in the city-state? Indeed, honey is very sweet, but you have to know that honey will become sour and lose its original sweetness at water temperatures above 60 degrees, but syrup will not have this situation. Of course, cocoa can also be left to stand for a period of time and wait for its temperature to drop before adding honey. However, if this is done, the flavors of honey and cocoa will not blend perfectly and the taste will be chaotic. I see. It smells so good. What's that smell? Don't miss it as you pass by. Come and take a look. Feed the best hot cocoa to the entire city-state. Could you please give me a bowl? I want it, too. Don't squeeze behind. Everyone, line up and don't worry. Everyone has their own team. I have never tasted such delicious hot cocoa before. This is really delicious. I feel God summoning me. It's almost sold out. It's only been an hour now. We should prepare more. More popular than expected, Ching Tian's hot cocoa was almost sold out in just one hour. Master Wu, look at so many cocoa beans. 
On the other hand, Ching Tian and his team also obtained a large amount of cocoa beans, which is twice the production cost. It can be said that they earned a lot of money. Although these cocoa beans are not something valuable, the self-earned reward still brings joy to Ching Tian and his team. But earning cocoa beans is not their goal. What they want to see is to promote their hot cocoa throughout the city-state and finally reach the ears of the priests. In order to achieve this, they must continue to produce delicious hot cocoa. Subsequently, they sold their hot cocoa in various parts of the city-state in order to spread their name faster and achieve their goal as soon as possible. Based on observations over the past few days, there are approximately 30,000 to 40,000 people in the city-state. Given the current situation, it is unlikely that the priests of the city-state will notice me within a week. What happened? How could it be that I have already penetrated your body? How impressive! Under the siege of five people, he managed to turn the whole situation around with just one move. It's likely to be as strong as Sorensen. May I work with you? Just give me some hot cocoa. Can you really give me this big bowl of hot cocoa? Drink it for free. Thank you very much. I think you can put down the bamboo basket before eating. This is. The main component of calcium carbide is calcium carbide with the chemical formula CAC2. The industrial product is a gray black block with a purple or gray cross section. When it comes into contact with water, it immediately undergoes a violent reaction to produce acetylene and release heat. Can I take a look at this stone? Do you need this? It's okay to take it all away. Oh, the water boiled instantly. Next, it's best for you to take a step back. Suddenly, it exploded. It's indeed calcium carbide, but it's still far away. It's unbelievable that flames have risen from the water. Can you tell me where these stones were obtained? Calcium carbide is highly reactive when it comes into contact with water, and it definitely does not exist in nature. I didn't expect there to be such a forest in the city-state. My father said that a long time ago, this place wasn't like this. Since being cursed by evil gods here, few people have come here, and over time, this forest has formed. Curse of the Evil God On that day, a dazzling light suddenly bloomed in the temple, followed by a loud and violent sound. At that time, the people in the temple were instantly turned into charcoal by the evil god and their souls were taken away. But all of this is what I heard from my father. What about you? Why dare you come here? Aren't you afraid of some evil god? The guy said it with a serious expression and thought you had seen it with your own eyes because the high priest said that the evil gods there have been driven away by him. What a loser. Here we are. We'll just walk up like this. It's okay. The Mayan pyramids are considered sacred places by the people of the city-states and cannot be violated. Only nobles, nobles, and priests can climb to the top. However, now this little brother has taken the lead in climbing up. Because the deity has been abandoned and left, there is no need to worry about offending the deity. What exactly happened here? The entire stone wall actually melted directly. That basket of limestone was picked up from here. Charcoal, quicklime, limestone, calcium carbide. There are two methods for obtaining calcium carbide in industry, namely electric furnace melting method and oxygen thermal method. The former involves the reaction of calcium oxide and carbon being placed in an electric furnace to generate calcium carbide under an arc of up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. As far as the materials for preparing calcium carbide are concerned, they can be said to be complete. As for the reaction conditions, from the wall, apart from the current, I can't think of anything else that could leave such a mark. I just can't figure out where this current comes from. Even lightning cannot cause such terrifying power. I don't know why this thing looks a bit familiar, but I can't remember it for a while. 
but what's certain is that it wasn't something that the Mayans could have made. Can I also go up to other temples nearby? I was just about to ask why you brought so many limestone here. Building a temple requires the use of lime. Got it. Take it to sell, right? So it seems like I've wasted your time today. Let me pay you when I get back. No need. You sent me hot cocoa. I am already extremely grateful for helping you. It is only right that I cannot ask for your compensation anymore. This little brother doesn't even have a shirt. He should be a commoner in the city-state, right? As the saying goes, children from poor families should be in charge early. Do you know what was originally placed on this shelf? It was limestone before, but I have already taken it away. Unlike the previous temple, there is no charcoal in this temple. It seems that my previous guess was accurate. Those charcoal and even coke were transformed from wood under terrifying electric currents and then reacted with the quicklime that the Mayans intended to use for painting, which led to the emergence of calcium carbide. Are you looking for something? For some rare things. For example, sparkling stones. Do all temples have this kind of stone on their roofs? Some have, some don't. Although it's a bit different from what I've seen before, it looks like a solar photovoltaic panel. But what's going on with this gap? Let's go take a look. Thank you so much. If I really have to say it, I should thank you. Can the witch commander simply put it into the jar? Will it explode? Don't worry, as long as you don't encounter any open flames, you don't have to worry about anything. The acetylene produced by adding water to calcium carbide is an excellent fuel that can be used to produce high-temperature blowtorches, allowing for high-temperature experiments even without a blast furnace on board. Unfortunately, after searching through all the abandoned temples in the forest, we only found this basket of calcium carbide, which needs to be used sparingly. But what concerns me more than this is the thing in the temple that resembles solar photovoltaic panels. I spent an hour looking through all the top pyramids in that forest, and as my younger brother said, not all pyramids have solar photovoltaic panels on their tops. However, from the pit at the top, it is evident that these pyramids were initially built with photovoltaic panels. Combined with the obvious damage caused by humans on the photovoltaic panel, it can be completely speculated that someone intentionally damaged the photovoltaic panel. It was only during the destruction that the photovoltaic panel exploded that the so-called evil god event occurred, right? It was precisely because of the explosion that the people who destroyed the photovoltaic panels were frightened and left hastily without being able to remove all the panels. Photovoltaic panels are undoubtedly products that could not exist at this time, yet they are embedded in a pyramid unique to this era. More importantly, someone actually went to destroy him, which shows that the person who did it may know what it was. At first, when I saw the carbide, I thought it was made by the priest, but unexpectedly, it turned out to be a product of an accident. The witch invoice hot cocoa has been sold out. That's all for today. Pack your things and prepare to go back. Never mind, I still don't think about it. This scattered information can't lead to anything useful. The second day. Oh my god, many people have come. Did something happen? I heard from people in the city-state yesterday that today is the final of the holy ball sports, which is why so many people came, right? Although there are many people, no one comes to buy our hot cocoa. That person should have made it to the finals, right? Well, it's always one to five from beginning to end. They suddenly knelt down. Shall we kneel down together? That's the high priest. Pay respects quickly and don't let them notice us. Which of these two is a priest, but to be honest, whoever it is doesn't seem like a knowledgeable person to me. Bakuma, can you hear what he's saying? No, it's too far away. That's right, it's this kind of gaze that always fascinates people. The competition begins. Is this the warrior? It's really strong and can be used for me. Your Excellency the Priest. You're lucky, commoner. 
you can receive cocoa beans or slaves as rewards, which you can choose for yourself. Of course, that's possible, but you can only choose either one. Tomorrow morning, I will come here to pick you up. Remember to be prepared and absolutely not make any mistakes. Remember, this is your honor. We must be prepared properly. No wonder the last time I saw that chubby guy, he had a happy expression. Emotions are rewarded, but it can be considered an unexpected joy. I was planning to find a way to buy back the people of Solom through a transaction after entering the pyramid, but now it's okay and saves this trouble. You guys, look up there. What are you guys up to? Release me, release me. You are so lucky to have the power to become a divine being. The holy light of the gods will forever protect us. This kind of sacrifice is fundamentally blasphemous against the gods. This is too cruel. I think we should leave here early. This will be seven. Ragnar, how do you feel? Have you experienced any difficulty breathing? It doesn't feel like it's a bit stuffy. Then add a few more ventilation holes, which may be better. The rest will wait until tomorrow. He won't ask to take off the mask, will he? I remember many Mayans in the city-state wore masks as decorations. No problem. After entering the temple, do we all remember to follow closely? Understand? Can a circle be used like this? This person seems to push it so easily. Is this the place where the king and priests reside? The width of this river is estimated to be at least 10 meters. Far from being able to cross in a jumping manner, it is much stronger than the moat used as a decoration. That is, the man-eating pomfret, also known as the man-eating fish, is a type of fish found in the Amazon River in South America. It is a species of water tiger fish and can be classified into omnivorous and carnivorous according to its diet. Due to its sharp teeth and ability to attack large animals in groups, it has become one of the most notorious animals. It is worth mentioning that the man-eating pomfret is divided into two types, social and solitary. The former is small in size but naturally fierce, while the latter is generally larger in size but has a shy personality and generally does not actively attack larger organisms than themselves. Be good if this falls down. Isn't that equivalent to finishing the game? At first, when I looked outside, I thought it was huge, but I didn't feel much of it. Now that I walk in and see it, I can truly feel what kind of grandeur it is in front of me. How many years will it take to build it? Surprisingly, there are people entering and leaving. It seems that this pyramid is not performing sacrificial and offering functions like other pyramids, but rather a place of residence. The pyramid in front of me was truly shocking. Compared to other pyramids, the pyramid in front of me can be called a giant. The difference between them is like a baby and an adult. Suddenly, Ching Tian became curious about the pyramid and spent some cocoa beans to obtain some information about the pyramid from the soldiers. However, the soldier's status is not high, and they don't know much about it. They can barely speak about the approximate area of the pyramid. According to the soldier, the pyramid is divided into three layers with a large platform as the boundary. Jade. Noble. Servants, slaves, soldiers. The first floor is the residence of servants, slaves, and soldiers. The second floor is the residence of nobles. And the third floor is the residence of priests and kings. As for the topmost temple, only priests can freely enter and exit, and even kings must obtain permission from priests to go up. Soon, under the leadership of the soldiers, Ching Tian and a few others entered the second floor. As soon as they entered, the first thing they saw was a long corridor with four intersecting paths. In the distance, stone chambers could be seen one after another. After following the soldiers for a few minutes, Ching Tian and a few others arrived at a place that could barely become a kitchen. This is the kitchen. You can start preparing now. When I was a child, I came to fetch hot cocoa. 
suddenly had a feeling of returning to the countryside. It seems impossible for anyone to wander around casually, even though someone is still guarding it. Fortunately, preparations were made last night, but for now, we should prepare the hot cocoa first. All the cigarettes were sucked away by this thing. It's so amazing. This is called a chimney. When smoke drills into it, due to its relatively low gas density, it is easy to flow upwards, which creates negative pressure at the chimney inlet, that is, suction force. In this way, the smoke emitted from the stove will be continuously sucked away, while also generating a continuous amount of suction force. Although the production of a chimney is quite simple, just building a simple path is enough, it is not easy to understand the principles behind it. Cough, 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 cough. What's going on? Did it catch fire? I'm really sorry, the firewood suddenly went out. Cough, 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 fast, cough. Quickly ignite the firewood. I'm really sorry. Hurry up and tidy up. Strange, has this person become a bit taller? It won't be noticed, will it? Hey, your birds have flown away. It's okay. It will fly back on its own later. It seems that the soldiers didn't notice anything unusual. Time is only one hour. We need to hurry up. The light of the instructions is getting stronger and stronger. It seems that we are about to reach our destination. That was close. God, I see clearly. No wonder there aren't many figures in such a big place, and everyone is enjoying their emotions in their own rooms. But it's also their downfall that allows me to navigate this pyramid smoothly. What do these mean? Let me pass through. It really flew back. I'm back. I'm back. Why are you here again? What are you guys up to? Sorry, the fireworks have gone out again. I choked to death. I choked to death. You'd better not have this situation happen again. If it wastes time, you'll be finished. Don't worry, there won't be any more. After all, I have already come back, but unfortunately I haven't gained much. Chin Tian was extremely depressed at this moment for no other reason than that his ring was pointing at the wall as if something was wrong after encountering it. At first, Chin Tian didn't pay much attention, just like most 3A large open world games. Although there are guidelines when doing tasks, the coordinates and players are in a straight line. This leads to some players who, despite having a winding route, insist on climbing over mountains and directly following the marked path, resulting in situations where the mountain is too high to climb and there is a wall blocking them in front. However, when Qin Tian thought that the wall was just an obstacle between him and the mission point and planned to solve the problem by crossing the wall without following the instructions, he found that the ring was still pointing towards the wall. Not believing in evil, he changed his direction a few more times and finally discovered some clues. The indicators were not pointing at the wall, but at the areas surrounded by the wall. The emergence of this speculation directly startled Chin Tian at that time, but after calming down, he decided that it was not impossible. For example, there might be something hidden in this wall, which led to this situation. But these are all speculations. To prove it, we have to knock down the wall, but obviously the most important thing right now is to first get the hot cocoa done well. Ching Tian was holding onto the hot cocoa that he had brought back. Shortly after finishing, the Maya who had left earlier returned and asked Ching Tian to wait patiently before taking away the hot cocoa. This made Ching Tian somewhat disappointed. If possible, Chin Tian would really like to follow and meet the priest so that he can inquire whether the priest is actually a Maya. If it's not as he guessed, then can he join in? Unfortunately, there are too many things at the moment, and this not-so-important matter can only be temporarily shelved. Being troubled by the issue of the ring, while waiting, Chin Tian once thought about whether to steal and take a look again. However, when he thought about not knowing when the Mayans would return again and not being able to grasp the timing, he gave up. The final result proved that Qin Tian's choice was right. 
The Mayans returned shortly after taking away the hot cocoa and brought news that the priests were happy to reward Ching Tian and the others. As for the content of the reward, it was the same as the verbal promise made by the soldiers who came to invite Ching Tian and his team. Ching Tian naturally chose slaves as a reward for this. It's him. Is he the winner of the holy ball competition? He looks really difficult to deal with. I can finally meet the high priest. If it were the high priest, I would definitely be able to do it. We have arrived at 111. All the prisoners are here. You can choose two of them to take away. There are only two. If you don't like it, you can exchange it for 500 cocoa beans. Upon careful consideration, although this person had previously stated that they could receive slave prisoners as rewards, they did not mention that they could take away a few people. I don't know if the prisoners here can be used for trading. Neglected what should have been asked. Of course, that's possible. How do we calculate it? These days, the cocoa beans earned from selling hot cocoa are worth a large vat, which should be enough to buy all of Solom's people. Men 200 cocoa beans, women 150 cocoa beans. 80 cocoa beans for children. More than half of the people are coated with blue dye. Surprisingly, there are so many living sacrifices. Here. Here. This is Xiao Huang. Wasn't Xiao Huang taken away? But how could he appear here? Black Feather. Everybody. Solemn. You have taken everyone in here. Yes, I have it all. Will these children also become sacrifices? Besides, I want several children in this cell and that cell. Although I cannot bear to see so many living people lose their lives in vain, with my current abilities, I can only do so to the maximum extent possible. What the fuck? Is this? Identity confirmation access permission. The door is opening. What is this sound? The ground is shaking. Don't panic, stay calm. The voice of the Divine Lord. This is the voice of the Divine Lord. Could it be that the dome experiment is right behind this wall? TMD, how could this sudden change happen without any preparation? You damn evil god, go die. What the hell did I become again? What a mess of evil gods. Did you misunderstand something because of the abnormal appearance of the ring just now? Since he made a move towards me. Then I won't be polite anymore. They are all evil gods sent to kill them. The witch envoy and soldiers have all come here to kill. I have to rush out quickly, or I'm afraid I'll be wrapped in rice dumpling. The system will start again if the door fails to open. What happened here, Lord Witch? Solom, quickly take your people out of the cell. Fortunately, I hid my things in a jar beforehand. Kataranya, take this opportunity to open all the surrounding cells. The Mayans who want to rush out should be able to create some obstacles for the Maya soldiers who came to kill them, and they can also take advantage of this to escape from here and avoid becoming living sacrifices. The sacrifice has escaped. Stop them quickly. Damn it, I can't see anything. The door failed to open again. The system attempts to open for the third time. Where did this sound turn on? But where does the energy come from there? It's impossible. This is the voice of a divine being. Not good, your highness. There is an evil god. Did those people already find this place, emitting strange light from their hands? Is my reign over? Wait. This is an iron tool, not those people. But how could they resonate with that door? They also inherited it. Kill them. It's not good, Lord Witch. They are surrounded. Bakuma. Let's go. Stop, civilians are not allowed. Get closer here. Flash to the left, flash to the left. Hit him, hit him. Wow, this fight comes with its own atmosphere group. 
to the right of the witch envoy. What a fast speed. See how you hide. What? Look out. What was that just now? The feeling of not being hit at all is as if the straw is empty inside. But the most important thing is to rush out of here as soon as possible. Otherwise, as time goes on, more and more soldiers will come to support, and it will be difficult to rush out when the time comes. Master Witch Envoy Nick Fortunately, we had Nick and the others wait outside beforehand. As long as we meet up with them, it shouldn't be difficult to charge out with our advantage in weapons. If only the long spear were here. I'm not used to using a long knife at all. How dare he be distracted? Surprisingly, the weapon has been hidden all along. Master Wu, be careful. He's heading towards your side. What a heavy force. Master Wu, are you okay? Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and take Solom and the others to join Nick and the others. Kata and I will deal with this guy. We have to stop this guy as long as Ragnar and the others leave safely. With my and Kata's abilities, even if we lose to this guy, we can still leave here. Hurry up, don't let the evil god escape. Brother, it's so noisy outside. Did something happen? Brother, where are they going? Where are the envoys and Kata? The witch envoy asked us to go first, and they will catch up later. No, I have to help the witch envoy. Nick, wait a minute. Don't you believe in the witch envoy? After fighting for so long, I finally understand why the previous blow didn't succeed. His thick raincoat was like an armor that could conceal all his postures. So he can use the raincoat as cover to achieve the effect of blurring the enemy's vision with a move, just like a bullfighter's cloak. However, no matter how much one hides their true form, they cannot leave this spacious raincoat. As long as the attack range is sufficient to include the entire raincoat, then they will have nowhere to hide. Damn it, wearing such a big raincoat, you can still be so agile in your skills. Do you want to escape? No, at my speed, although I can escape, Kata will definitely be entangled. Surprisingly, there are still weapons. Don't leave your hands together. Find another way to cut off his weapon. We need to solve this problem quickly. If the soldiers who went to besiege Nick and the others retreat and return, Kata and I will have to make dumplings. Not good. This person is much stronger than expected. According to this strategy, I'm afraid we'll be surrounded by Maya soldiers who come to support us before we can determine the winner. We need to fight quickly and make a quick decision. Brother, what are you doing? Aya. Wait, Aya just called out brother. Could it be said that? Answer my brother. No, it's not Aya. As long as those few people are used as sacrifices, the god will surely bring down blessings. Is it because of Aya's relationship? But didn't you say that you can never hurt your friends no matter what? Aya doesn't have such a bad brother. He's Tiger Claw. It seems that there is no one else who can make Aya call her brother. No wonder I feel a bit familiar with the thatch draped over this person's body, which turned out to be the tiger claw raincoat. But instead of dwelling on this, it's better to take this opportunity to escape. Yes? Sorry, my friend. I really don't want to hurt you, but there's nothing I can do about it. Brother, Aya, Aya, she's about to die. Tell all the soldiers who can kill the evil god Envoy and Tiger Claw. Whoever can become my personal attendant. Yes. 
Even if they die, they must die. We absolutely cannot let them live. Sure enough, the previous battle tiger claws had reservations for me and Kata. Now is his true strength. My friend, please rest assured that even if I die, I will ensure your safe departure from here. I'm sorry, my friend, but I don't have the authority to call you a friend right now. I'm sorry. I think we can leave here first and then talk about other things. What do you think? Madam, is it possible that the evil god Equiva has descended upon them? No one can stop it at all. We're almost done. As long as we break through this bridge and into the forest, the numerical advantage will be completely wiped out. Not good. They want to escape to the forest in the western district. Stop them. Be careful behind. Wow, this shabby outfit can still be used like this. Is that a stone in your eye socket? Get out of my way. Don't block me in front. You're hindering me. Sure enough, this densely forested rainforest is not suitable for a large army to quickly advance. The massive number of Maya soldiers greatly slows down the pursuit speed. It's just a matter of time to get rid of them. I just don't know where Nick and the others are now. Gio. So all of this is because of the wizard you mentioned. Yes, if it weren't for the witch lord, I might never have seen you again, and I might never have seen everyone again. Master Witch Envoy. It seems that they are all safe and sound. Tiger Claw. How are you? Don't worry, this is the punishment imposed by the gods on me for betraying my friends. In order to break free from the encirclement of Tiger Claws, he sacrificed himself as a shield and tore open a hole in the encirclement. From the wounds all over his body, it can be seen that his body has now reached its limit. Brother, brother. Has brother completed what he promised Aya? Completed. Brother has taken his friend to a safe place. Brother has fulfilled his promise to you. Great, really great. A face with wax corpus luteum fever and sweating is an infectious disease. When did Aya's situation occur and what are its characteristics? Tell me as much detail as possible. Aya, she may still be saved. The symptoms of jaundice have already appeared, which may be in the later stage of the disease. If we can determine what kind of disease it is, there may be solutions in the field first aid guide. Is that true? Is that true? What do my friends need me to do? Do I have to sacrifice? Can I calm down, Tiger Claw? It's just possible that what you need to do now is answer my question. Chill. For Aya, I need to remain calm. Brother Aya Lang. Aya, be good. Now, brother, burn the fire up a bit. Aya's abnormality started over a month ago. At the beginning, Aya felt cold and icy all over her body, and even if she was roasted, it couldn't be relieved. It's so hot. Aya, come and drink some water. Sometimes Aya's body is extremely hot, and the breath she exhales can make people feel hot. Ha ha ha, if you run faster, you'll catch up. These two situations alternate and last for about an hour each time, but in most cases, Aya is normal. Alternating between cold and hot, fear of cold has periodicity and is not effective. There are too many diseases that fit this symptom, and it's impossible to determine what illness Aya really has. This must be Aya's unintentional offense to the gods, which is why the gods let mosquitoes attack Aya. Aya has become like this. Mosquitoes, wait. Are you saying Aya became like this after being bitten by mosquitoes? It's a large group of mosquitoes. I see. His mother gods will attack their followers. They are bullshit. It's malaria. Aya is suffering from malaria. Malaria. That's right, this is not a divine punishment, but a disease. Friend, since you know this is a disease, there must be a way to treat it, right? Please save Aya. I think it over. 
Complete guide to field first aid. Great. Once the symptoms were confirmed, there was an immediate response in the field first aid guide. You should be able to find a treatment method from it. Got it. This disease is an infectious disease caused by malaria parasites, mainly transmitted through mosquito bites and parasitic on the human body. There are four types of malaria parasites, namely Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium falciparum, and Plasmodium ovale. Diagnosis, the onset of the disease is acute and the course of the disease is divided into three stages. 1. Cold period. Afraid of cold and shivering for half an hour. 2 hours. During the O2 fever period, after the shivering stops, a high fever persists for 45 hours. During the sweating period of 57 hours, the patient experiences heavy sweating and fever subsides. Malaria occurs every other day if there is a double infection. Malaria occurs every three days if there is a double infection, and every other day if there is a double infection. Malignant malaria may occur every other day or every other day. Atypical severe cases may result in high fever, persistent fever, diarrhea, red-black stool shock, and other symptoms. One treatment, one new needle. Take the acupoint between the great vertebrae to stimulate yang and apply a needle 12 hours before the onset. If the effect is not good with strong stimulation techniques, add the herbs of Higu Tao Dao No. 2 Middle School. One Chan Shan leaf, one liang of water decoction, or Chan Shan powder, three qian. Take tea two hours before the onset. Two fresh portulaca oleracea, for boil twice in two water, take once three hours and once two hours before the onset, ten seeds each. Boil three whole plants of Artemisia scoparia in one liang of water and take eleven orally twenty-three hours before the onset of symptoms. Mijia 4, stir fry chan shan wine, two pairs of beetle nuts, one pair of Artemisia annua, and one pair of ground into fine powder. Each time costs 3 yuan, add water to one bowl, and fry the remaining half bowl. Take the three anti-malaria drugs two hours before the onset. Add chloroquine for three days, treatment during the attack period, and continue taking baramavir for five days. The first 10 doses are at 10. GGJU2, treatment during the dormant period, is to eradicate the source of infection. For those with a history of malaria within two years, except for severe complications, they should take Emiquin continuously for five days during the dormant period of the infectious agent, and on the first and second days, they should also take amiodarone lane if the above-mentioned radical therapy cannot be used. Chloroquine quinine or aspirin can be taken alone to control the onset of explosive hand T7. For patients with severe illness who cannot be taken orally, aspirin 0102 grams can be injected intramuscularly every 800 to 12 hours until it can be taken orally, and then switched to oral medication. Tiger Claw, quickly help I up. I don't have anything on my hands now, so I can only try pressing the acupoints to see if it works. As long as the condition can be slightly relieved, we can free up time to find medicine. Uh-huh. Humph. Is this enough? Of course not. It's just to alleviate the pain Aya is experiencing. To save Aya, we need a special medicine. A few minutes later. It's impossible to gather so many types of medicinal herbs at the same time in this mountain forest. Changshan leaf. You. And even if some types are only a few days away from here, it's simply not feasible. What should we do? If we can't find other Western medicines, it's even more impossible. Wait, when it comes to the combination of Chinese and Western medicine, I remember that quinine, which was used to treat malaria before 2UU discovered artemisinin, was extracted from the bark of the Sincona tree. The Sincona tree is native to the Andes mountain range in the Americas, and parts of the Andes mountain range are located in the Amazon rainforest. The D3 area built on the Amazon rainforest as a basket will definitely have cinchona trees. Eureka! Cinchona! Fortunately, at that time, 2UU won the Nobel Prize and caused a sensation nationwide. 
I also passively learned a lot about related things. According to the map, the location of the Jinjina tree is not far from the campsite. Aya's situation is urgent, and Kata and I set out overnight to catch up as soon as possible. Be more careful and keep it hidden. Remember to arrange for personnel to be on guard at night. Don't worry, Master Wu, you'll leave this to us. It seems that it will take about half a day from here to Jinjina Tree. If everything goes smoothly, we can return tomorrow morning. He, run as far as you can, run as far as possible, run until you're exhausted, run until you're mentally drained, but you'll never escape my sight as long as I'm still the god here. Eureka! That was close. If you hit your nose bridge at that speed, you'll have to break it. But Aya's condition is severe, and we can't slow down. We need to be even more careful in the future. The rainforest at night is really terrifying. Even a flashlight can only shine on a small area within a few meters, and I don't know what will jump out in the next moment. Target. You. It's almost there. As long as we cross this stream, there's only about two hours of foot travel left. Oh, wow. What's wrong with you? My body can't move at all. Chin Tian. Be careful not to step into the water of this river. What exactly is in this river water? This witch tool is powerless. Maybe. The flashlight in the sleeping trough has been scrapped like this. This is really unlucky. Drinking cold water can even stuff your teeth when you're unlucky. Then we can only continue moving forward with the torch. Well, since this flashlight is broken, we can just make another one. The brightness of the torch is so strong that it can only illuminate the whole body. It's not a big deal in other places. If you want to hike in this densely forested rainforest under the cover of night, you need a bigger view. Calcium carbide lamp is a type of open flame lamp that is generally divided into two layers, with the upper layer containing water and the lower layer containing calcium carbide. Its principle is to ignite the acetylene produced by the reaction between the two to achieve the purpose of lighting. Electric stone lamps are not considered technological products in terms of structure. After preparing everything for production, Chin Tian began to tinker with them. Time is tight, and Chin Tian is not so particular. He directly cut the bamboo tube used for water storage into two parts, which were used as a water tank and a carbide tank. During this period, Chin Tian instructed Kata and Chi Tu to prepare pottery shards to separate the two storage rooms. Quickly, Chin Tian and his team completed the body of the carbide lamp, but before assembly, it is necessary to measure the amount of water entering the carbide. After all, acetylene is a flammable and explosive gas. If the rate of acetylene production in a carbide lamp is much higher than the rate of combustion. At that time, as time goes by, the carbide silo will be filled with acetylene, which could explode accidentally. It took Ching Tian nearly two hours to assemble this electric stone lamp. Although the lampshade is added, will it still be affected by the wind? But it's okay. Even if there is a reflective cup, the flashing light will be directed towards the front and have little impact on the lighting. Let's go, Kata. Unexpectedly, the illumination of this carbide lamp is even better than expected. The white light emitted during acetylene combustion is much brighter than the yellow light of a flashlight. This fish is really that dangerous. Oh, wow. The danger is very dangerous. As long as you know that they can easily kill a crocodile, you will know how terrifying it is. Electric eels, belonging to the Gymnotidae family, are eel-shaped South American fish that can generate an electric current strong enough to knock people unconscious. They are the freshwater fish with the strongest discharge ability and can output a voltage of up to 300,800 volts. Therefore, electric eels are known as high-voltage wires in water. 
Mainly distributed in the Amazon River Basin in South America, it is mostly active in shallow ponds or turbid water bodies on the banks. It has a large body and often preys at night, with few natural enemies except for humans. Fortunately, Baiyan didn't have direct contact with the electric eel at that time, but was affected. Otherwise, he would have hardened now. However, in order to restore his mobility at present, he would have had to delay for a few hours. Here we are. The golden rooster tree, also known as the quinine tree, is a tree belonging to the Rubiaceae family and the golden rooster genus. It is usually 36 meters tall and can reach up to 25 meters in height. The bark is gray-brown, thin, and has many shallow cracks. Originating from the Andes Mountains in South America, bark and root bark are important industrial raw materials for extracting quinine and quinidine. You need bark, right? If possible, also add some roots to the tree. The toolbox Jessica brought with her back then. Time waits for no one. We need to hurry up. Quinine is divided into two types, quinine sulfate for taste and quinine hydrochloride for production. Currently, there are no injection needles available, so quinine sulfate can only be prepared. The preparation method of quinine sulfate is to mix the bark of the cinchona tree with alkali lime evenly and then extract it repeatedly with petroleum ether. After clarifying the extraction solution, dilute sulfuric acid is added to extract the acid layer and concentrate it to obtain quinine sulfate. Golden Chicken Tree Bark Alkali Lime Petroleum Ether Dilute Sulfuric Acid Quinine Alkali Lime 75, Calcium Oxide Chow 20, Water HO3, Sodium Hydroxide NaO1, Potassium Hydroxide Co. Among the things needed, the bark of the Golden Chicken Tree, Kata, is collecting alkali lime and sulfuric acid, which have already been prepared when making other things before. Currently, only petroleum ether is needed. Ethanol alcohol concentrated sulfuric acid ethyl acetate. However, petroleum ether is a light petroleum product and it is impossible to produce it here. However, the function of petroleum ether is only as an extractant, so I can withdraw my request. Secondly, I can choose to prepare ethyl acetate as an intermediate extractant. However, the awkward thing is that I still lack acetic acid in the material for preparing ethyl acetate, so my first step is to prepare acetic acid first. Ethanol, sulfuric acid, acetic acid, ethyl acetate. Vinegar, low temperature cooling, crystalline acetic acid, glacial acetic acid. Fortunately, the preparation of acetic acid is not difficult as it only requires adding saltpeter to the water to lower the water temperature to below 166 and above zero. Ching Tian made it while on bow down number two. You can use a water bath to cool vinegar and precipitate glacial acetic acid, also known as acetic acid. Next, prepare ethyl acetate using three reagents, two ethanol, three sulfuric acid, and two acetic acid. Then add sulfuric acid to ethanol while shaking it. Finally, add acetic acid. Subsequently, heating produces ethyl acetate with a certain aroma. Everything is now ready to make quinine. Vinegar. Low temperature cooling armor. Acetic acid glacial acetic acid. Ethanol alcohol. Heating. Sulfuric acid. Golden chicken tree bark. Ethyl acetate. Reef lime 75 calcium oxide chow 20 water H2O3 sodium hydroxide NaO1 potassium hydroxide Co. Heating, concentration, and crystallization. Quinine. The first step in making quinine was supposed to be drying the bark of the cinchona tree and then grinding it to extract the plant alkaloids inside. But now the time is tight and I don't have the time to put in so much effort, so I had to resort to this rough and simple method to handle it. Then add the corresponding reagents to the bark of the golden chicken tree and extract the mixture with ethyl acetate. Calcium oxide, quicklime water, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, potassium hydroxide, ethyl acetate. Then extract with sulfuric acid. Final concentrated crystallization. Quinine's done. Aya, hold on a little longer. 
My friends, they will be back soon. Master Wu, they have returned. Are they the witch envoys? I feel like there are too many people around. I don't know how Aya is doing now. I hope she can catch up. Ching Tian, it seems like we've arrived. No, those are soldiers from the city-state. Found them. There are two people here. Six people can fight. Kill them and don't let them expose our location. The head is mine now. I'll take the one on the left. Then I want the one on the right. That's a member of Solom's tribe. It seems to be Black Feather. Let's go together. Right, right. Transferred it. There are pits, there are pits. This parrot is even noisier than Aruba. About three hours ago, soldiers from the former city-state suddenly appeared around the campsite. Three hours ago. That's not the Witch Lord. He is a soldier in the city-state. What should we do now that the Witch Lord is not here? Aruba, you take them away from Nikakuma first. The three of us stay and try to delay time with smoke bombs as much as possible. I also want to stay. And me too. Wait, it seems like they haven't found our specific location yet. We still have time to evaluate. Before the transfer, I was worried that Lord Witch, you might not be able to find us and might even collide with those soldiers, so I stayed behind and hid until you two appeared. After nightfall, the sand sculpture couldn't see clearly, so when I left last night, I didn't take it with me. If it weren't for Black Feather's support in this situation, I would have put in a lot of effort to find Nick and the others. It's here. It's here. But what I didn't expect was that even the soldiers who escaped to the city-state deep in the jungle could find the camp so quickly. Fortunately, Nick and the others were safely relocated. The witch envoy and the three of them have returned. Aya, did you hear that? Friends, they're back. Next, it depends on Aya's own will. If it's fast, she can wake up tomorrow. Friend, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have already done my best, hoping that this medicine will be effective. Everyone can extinguish the bonfire now. Although it's a bit inconvenient, the firelight will undoubtedly expose the location of the campsite after nightfall, and we can only make do of it in the dark for the night. I haven't rested since yesterday and have been staying up for almost two nights, so tired. What's going on here? Don't play any tricks like you did in the dungeon. Yu Jingfeng. This is a woman's voice. The ring is flashing, which is something that hasn't happened before, and what's going on with that sound? Yongji. Huang Yukiyukiyu's eight mothers request communication one. Chiobapa, this note is really special. The Jingxing Jingyo system is currently being invaded. What situation has been invaded? If you have the ability, Yu Jingfeng, please try hanging up again. Huang Ichio. A woman appeared in the witchcraft ring. The ring emits a light. She seems to be looking for something. Not Yu Jingfeng. Question 1. Who are you? Question 2. Where did the ring come from? Question 3. Where have Yu Jingfeng and Huang Xueling gone? Beautiful enough and strong enough. Before asking for someone's name, should you first report your own home? I think this should be a basic polite question. However, the fact that this inquiry immediately appeared is really unpleasant. Our momentum cannot be weakened to avoid being led astray by it. From your clothing, I think you probably come from a time period around the 20th century, so what I'm saying below may be difficult for you to understand. But I suggest you don't interrupt me when I'm narrating. If there's anything you don't understand, wait until I finish speaking before asking. This will make it easier for you to understand the current situation. Don't worry, I won't interrupt. I was really surprised to see her so dominant. I didn't expect her to fall so easily. 
My name is Huang Ichio, and I am the director of the D3 Laboratory. I don't know if he has already had contact with Yu Jingfeng and the others, or if he said the ring was picked up. Let's just start from scratch. The sudden appearance of Huang Ichio was unexpected for Qin Tian, but for him, it was undoubtedly a good thing. Not to mention anything else, based solely on Huang Ichio's identity as a researcher, Qin Tian may have learned the specific location of the Dome Laboratory from Huang Ichio without being constrained by the guidance of the ring and falling into a situation of following the crowd. However, Qin Tian also understood that this was not the time to ask, and he followed his promise earlier. At this moment, he closed his mouth and listened carefully to what Huang Ichio had said. Huang Ichio's words were not long, but the amount of information was so explosive that Qin Tian couldn't recover for a while. After Huang Ichio finished speaking, Qin Tian also answered Huang Ichio's questions, which included information about Yu Jingfeng and Yang Xueling. The conversation between Qin Tian and Huang Ichio did not conceal that everyone present heard it. However, hearing is one thing, understanding is another. As far as the conversation content is concerned, except for a very small part that can be barely understood by the few people who have listened to Qin Tian's explanation, such as Haninik, Sorum, and others, they all felt lonely after listening. The witch general and soldiers are catching up. Damn it, how did they find this place tonight? The ring on the priest's hand can be connected to the laboratory to check any corner of D3 area. It's useless where you hide. But don't worry, when I woke up, I had already tampered with it. As long as I dodged the bait I set up this time, it would work. Then you don't have to worry about being found anymore. And the temperature. They just left not long ago. I was really wary, probably because I saw the flames and hurriedly fled. Isn't it interesting to see prey constantly fleeing and eventually exhausted under the shadow of fear? I don't think they would have thought that the high priest could know their location through communication with the gods. Finally, I'm leaving. My bait has also taken effect. Escape separately? A good idea to live in fear more. Why not just strip the ring of its permission? It's simpler than setting up bait, isn't it? Do you want to challenge yourself with a difficult infiltration? I see. The real purpose of these baits is actually to lure away the troops from the city-state. Did she set the bait when she woke up, which means she anticipated the next development from the beginning? Impressive. All right, let's end this conversation. The remaining questions will be discussed after you enter the laboratory. Wait, can't you solve this matter? This is your territory, right? Of course, if you're afraid, you can also give up. You walked quite decisively. There is too much information, so we need to take some time to organize it properly. Why are you all looking at me like this? That's the holy light, right? That's the goddess, right? Friend, you're a divine envoy, right? It is my great honor to be your servant. We also want to follow you. She can be considered as... How should we explain this? Let's just deceive the Mayans first, but for the Mayans, Huang Ichio may really be considered their god. The impact of Huang Ichio's appearance on Soram and her people, who had never seen any technological power before, was enormous. Qing Tian spent nearly an hour calming them down. It was also after this that Qing Tian Kai had time to sort out the words that Huang Ichio had just said and finally summarize the most important content that is currently useful to him into the following four points. The first D3 laboratory is located in the temple where the priests reside. The second D3 laboratory is able to open a space-time channel and send people back to their original space-time. Due to certain reasons, Huang Ichio was unable to reappear before arriving at the D3 laboratory. The fourth priest has a genetic potion in his hand that resembles the serum of a super soldier. After summarizing, everything in Qing Tian's eyes became clear and he quickly determined what he needed to do next, which was to find a way to enter the D3 laboratory. But before taking action, he needs to get a good night's sleep. After all, he hasn't closed his eyes for almost two days, but both physically and mentally, he has reached his limit. 
Ching Tian slept for a whole day and night until he woke up in the afternoon of the next day. It was also a pity that Huang Ichio led the soldiers away. Otherwise, Ching Tian would never have dared to sleep for such a long time, let alone openly start a fire and cook. I remember when I first entered the city-state, there were no soldiers guarding other places except for the bridge used as an import and export. In this regard, it is the same to enter the city-state from any direction except for the bridgehead, but the western area has a large forest as cover. If you enter from there, it is undoubtedly safer. By the time we finish eating, it should be almost dark, right? We can use the cover of darkness to enter the city-state and investigate the situation of the temple in order to prepare for future actions. Get up! Get up! Get out of here! What happened? Don't look, hurry up and don't provoke them. The guards have become stricter. It should be the impact we caused, right? As Huang Ichio said, the priest has already guessed that our target is the laboratory, so we have strengthened our security. Starting from today, no one is allowed to stay overnight outside the city-state or approach it. There's a bright light over there. It seems that there is no one around here. The child said that this area has been cursed by evil gods, so under normal circumstances, people from the city-state would not come here. But it's convenient for us. The stark contrast between bright lights and pitch black silence is truly intense. So quiet. I didn't expect there to be so many soldiers in the temple. If it weren't for Huang Ichio leading away some of them, I'm afraid I wouldn't have even had a chance to infiltrate. As far as the current situation is concerned, the military forces of the temple are focused on guarding the four bridges that enter and exit from the east, west, north, and south. In addition, some soldiers form teams to patrol the entire temple back and forth. As for other places, there are only a few soldiers guarding, especially in the area between the two bridges where there is a vacancy. In the eyes of the priest, climbing up such a high cliff was already extremely difficult, not to mention the presence of piranhas in the water. It was impossible for anyone to enter the temple from this area, so there was no emphasis on defending this location. You can take the waterway to the other side and climb up the cliff to infiltrate the temple. Let's go. Next, we need to make a raft, Z. The water flow is not turbulent, and under the cover of night, it's not a big problem to row a raft to reach the other side. The only remaining issue is rock climbing. The situation on the other side of the cliff is unclear, and there may be some danger if the moon ruler climbs recklessly. For safety reasons, we still need to conduct on-site inspections to determine the climbing route. Only after confirming this point can the diving plan be implemented. What is this sound? There seems to be something under the raft. Piranhas. The sturdy raft was shattered like this. What kind of fish is this? It's too scary. Go back, that's all for today. Damn it, this piranha may have mutated like that red fire ant, and it can even overturn a raft. The method of riding on a raft is not feasible. We need to think of other ways. Search for rubber trees. When I saw the rubber ball in the holy ball game before, I predicted that there must be rubber trees in zone D3, but I didn't expect there to be so many. From the location, it doesn't seem far from here, so it should be easy to find. Just collecting natural latex requires a lot of manpower and time, and I don't know how many more people can take action at the moment. Brother Aya is hungry. My friend Aya, she's awake. Aya, she's awake. How is my friend Aya doing? The fever has subsided. It should be due to the medication taking effect. There shouldn't be any major issues, but I still need to continue taking quinine until I kill the malaria parasite in my body. By then, Aya will really be fine. Aya, did you hear that? You're okay now. The most worrying thing has finally been solved, so I can rest assured to collect natural latex. 
Rubber tree is a perennial tropical tall tree in the upper layer of tropical rainforests, belonging to the Euphorbiaceae family and the rubber tree genus. It can reach a height of up to 30 meters and has abundant milk. It is a typical tropical rainforest tree species. The economic lifespan of rubber trees is as long as 3,040 years. The latex secreted by rubber trees is an important industrial raw material, and the vast majority of natural rubber used in the world is produced by rubber trees. Master which, quickly take a look. This tree can also produce milk. That's what I mean by natural latex. Although it looks like the juice of a milk tree, it's two different things. Don't mix it up. This natural latex is not drinkable. Actually, Tiger Claw, you don't need to help. There are already enough people here. You should spend time with Aya now. That's not possible, my friend. Your matter is mine, and it was Aya who asked me to come. Speaking of which, my friend, why do you collect so much rubber to make holy balls? Is it for catching fish? Catching a fish that can dry flip crocodiles is extremely dangerous. Is a dry crocodile an electric eel? That's right, it's an electric eel. Electric eels can release up to 800 volts of voltage, even crocodiles can electrically flip. If it were to escort the wooden boat, even mutated piranhas would not be afraid. But if you want to catch the electric eel, you must have rubber as an insulating material. Rubber is generally divided into two types, natural rubber and synthetic rubber. The former uses natural latex from rubber trees as the main material, while the latter is chemically synthesized. There are advantages and disadvantages between these two, but in the current situation, synthetic rubber is impossible and can only be made from natural rubber. The production of natural rubber is quite simple, just add formic acid to latex, but I don't have formic acid on hand and need to make it on site. Fortunately, it's not difficult. You just need to add oxalic acid to glycerol to prepare it. Previously, when making plastics, there was only a little bit left, which was lacking oxalic acid. C6H12O6 sucrose 12 NO3 concentrated nitric acid 3H2C2O4 oxalic acid 9 NO23 NO9 H20. Brown thick smoke has already started to react, and once it dries up, oxalic acid with more impurities can be obtained. However, the oxalic acid produced by this method is already impure. For the best effect, it is better to recrystallize it again. H2C2O4 oxalic acid C3H803 glycerol coupe formic acid. Compared to before, this color is much whiter. This level should be sufficient. Next, just add glycerol to it and heat it up to condense the resulting steam, and you can get formic acid solution. There are still a few people left, and I don't know how much latex can be collected. Friend, what did you add to this latex? This is formic acid, which can accelerate the coagulation of latex and act as a coagulant. What is this called acidic liquid? I always feel like I've smelled it somewhere before. Gloves sewn with animal skin. I think I've smelled this kind of smell before. You probably smelled it from red fire ants, because formic acid is commonly known as formic acid. Speaking of which, you should understand now. Generally speaking, rubber gloves are made by high temperature pressing of solidified rubber particles into a film, but currently there is no such condition. Only this enamel-like method is used to make gloves. I'll wait until tomorrow to see the effect. That thing called formic acid is amazing. It solidified the rubber in just one night, which normally takes two days. This kind of feel is somewhat similar to that thing called plastic. From a chemical perspective, they can be composed of the same component, so broadly speaking, rubber is actually a type of plastic. Therefore, the tactile sensations may be somewhat similar. But ultimately, the difference in properties between the two is due to the fact that they are two different materials. I don't feel anything. The rubber gloves were successfully made. Host will receive a reward of 3,000 points for making rubber clothing. 
Kata, it's up to you. Don't worry, leave it to me. It looks like a loach, and there's no danger at all. Since the witch envoy said there is danger, there must be something powerful about it. There shouldn't be any problem with touching it, right? Ah, oh, oh, oh. it's not advisable to have too many people infiltrating the temple this time, so just me and Katanik, the three of you, can meet outside. Lagana, you will be responsible for the specific situation. If necessary, you can make some noise to attract the attention of soldiers for me and Kata. Of course, the prerequisite for this is that you ensure your safe evacuation. In addition, please keep an eye on Aruba and don't let him do anything foolish again. I think he probably won't know after today's incident. Also, if you see any unusual changes in the temple, don't worry and just leave. Don't you need to answer? What about after entering? After entering, it will be my territory. You don't have to worry about anything anymore, and Yu Jingfeng looks funny. However, he always takes things seriously and thoroughly. Don't tell me he didn't put anything in the ring. No need, by then we should already be safe. Hey you, are you listening to me? Sorry, there's too much noise during the day and I accidentally got distracted. Master Witch, you are leaving now. Well, there's something I need to do. If everything goes smoothly tonight, I should return directly to the Dawn ship and not come back here again. Before that, I need to say hello to Solom. Just like the oath I made earlier, as your servant, I will always follow you. I just hope that before leaving, please give me some time to say goodbye to my people. To some extent, our colleagues this time unintentionally helped each other, and our relationship can be considered balanced, so you don't need to take this matter to heart. Are we leaving here? Where will we go? It's definitely right to follow friends. Maybe we'll go to the world where the gods reside. There must be a lot of delicious food in the world of the god lord. You are now wanted by the city-state and wandering around here is not a fun thing. I suggest you return to the tribe as soon as possible. What's wrong? Did I say something wrong? Does my friend mean to abandon us? What does abandonment mean? Aren't you two going back to your own tribe? The witch envoy must have a mission from the divine lord, so that's why he can't lead us, right? Yes, the reason behind this is as Blackfeather said, so it's not that I abandoned it. Thank you for your brain boosting, Blackfeather. Leaving this matter was not widely publicized by Ching Tian, he just had a brief conversation with Solom and the others privately. After all, Ching Tian had witnessed the reverence and fanaticism of the people of Solom towards him, and he was not sure if he could escape unscathed after telling them about leaving. However, Ching Tian and his team did not leave immediately, but stayed recuperating until the afternoon before quietly leaving. Although Ching Tian and his team only intersected with Solom due to the overlap of their target routes, the experience during this period was enough to make both sides friends. When they left, Ching Tian and his team also felt some emotions in their hearts. The Witch Lord, they will go to the city-state tonight. But Ching Tian and the others probably wouldn't have thought that this time they weren't really apart. The Witch Envoy and the two of them have successfully lowered the raft. We need to move faster. The Piranha is probably already aware of the movement here. They're coming over. Hold still. The noise has decreased. It's safe now. That's really impressive. No wonder the Witch Master had to prepare so much before catching the electric eel. Fortunately, Aruba was electrified by an electric eel to the point where he wouldn't faint even if he had a few more today. Let's hurry over now. Yes, Lord Witch, but don't worry, if the piranhas wake up, we'll electrify them again. After the electric eel is electrified, it needs to recharge, and our threat is not only that the piranhas here may become more active, but also that other piranhas may be attracted. And, 
I thought all the piranhas here would be electrocuted, but I didn't expect that many of them would only suffer from electric cramps, which is somewhat different from my expectations. It seems that the mutated piranha is not only bigger and more ferocious, but also more durable. It seems that in the future, these accidents must be taken into account when making plans. When we arrived, there were ropes. Now, if we want to go ashore, we can only climb with bare hands. This cliff is not too high. Considering our physical strength, it's not difficult either. It's just about choosing the climbing point. I'm quite familiar with rock climbing. I'll go first. You follow me. Good. Two strange millet plants that blend black with darkness, black and night. We have to find a way to sneak in. Piercing eye. Who am I? Where am I? It's also a loss that the bright lights here allow the golden eagle without night vision ability to function even at night. Sand sculpture, go take a look. As I speculated, West Bridge and South Bridge are the easiest places for the enemy to attack, so they are also the places where the most soldiers defend. Sand carving signals. Wow one. Wow. Call again and call again, and I'll eat you up. Bakuma, you and Aruba are responsible for covering for me and Nick. Yes. Do you remember the plan of the witch envoy? Remember. Scattered. It's almost time. Come and taste my rocket. What is that moving star? No, it's not a star. That's one. Ah. What's going on over there? That's right, that's right. What's going on? Do you want to go take a look? Good opportunity. West 1. South. Enemy attack. There is an enemy alert. Where are the enemies? Take a look at how many enemies there are. Surprisingly, there was only one person. Damn it. Catch her. Kill. Remember not to be obsessed with battle. Immediately leave after attracting firepower. Lord Witch, we will definitely complete the task. You said there were only two of them. It's one on the West Bridge and one on the South Bridge. At least 17 of our soldiers have died so far, and now they are all pursuing them. Two people killed 17 of our soldiers. These useless things may seem like a lesson to them, but we need to solve this incident first. You guys go down. I've been staring at this screen all these days. I never looked away from eating, drinking, defecating, let alone sleeping. But I found that these few light points are constantly moving, even in the middle of the night. The red light spot represents Ching Tian and his group, while the green light represents soldiers. Do they not need to sleep? Even the soldiers I sent out have slowed down, so you can't sleep and let me relax. Two of them would never have exhausted my soldiers and arrived here, otherwise they wouldn't have had to escape at that time. However, despite knowing this, they still came. Moreover, the Divine Ring was unable to detect their location. Their purpose. Is it? The guards outside the dungeon have already been attracted by half, but... Why are there still four? Fighting is not scary, but if we bring the soldiers back, it won't be worth the loss. This is all we can do now. It seems that after I released all the prisoners inside, no new people entered here. Here we are. According to Wang Ichio, behind this stone wall is the entrance to the D3 laboratory. It was precisely because I was in front of this entrance that the ring reacted and sent the command to open the door. However, due to being blocked by a stone wall, the laboratory door did not open smoothly and instead caused a lot of noise. The stone wall also had so many cracks due to stress. What are we going to do next, using bombs? We can't leave here even if it flies with the sound of explosives. And we currently have no gunpowder left. 
Don't worry, I've already figured out a solution. Limestone. Heshixigian. We need to pour the contents inside into the crack. First, pour the limestone powder into the crevice, which is the white powder, but be careful to pour it into the small cracks as much as possible. Okay, there's only one final step left. Just pour the sulfuric acid over it. Someone has arrived. Your Highness, don't worry. I bet they must be inside. There is no other exit from the dungeon. Even if they put their wings on, they cannot fly out. I see you guys. Don't move. Squeak. Your Highness, they understand witchcraft. Those two mice may have been transformed by them. It's also your head again and again. They must still be here, closing the gate. Everyone remains vigilant. Two people, even if they open the ground for me, we still need to find them. Wow. You said you were going to kill us, ha ha ha. This is the funniest joke I've ever heard in a while. It's funny. I don't know what's so funny about this. Do you think you can still escape? What are you saying about me, Stu? Stuville. Oh, it seems like you really don't know me, Stuville. Do they still hold power that I don't know about? What are you up to? Look at your dark circles, haven't you slept well lately? I'm worried every day and don't know when I'll appear, right? Tell me how you manage to move day and night. Don't try to deceive me. You know the consequences. You have a characteristic. There's too much nonsense and nonsense. But for the sake of what you want to know so much, I'll tell you. It's actually quite simple. My ring is more high-end than yours. You know what it means to be able to counteract you at a higher level, right? So if your ring belongs to your son, then mine belongs to my father. Your mouth really makes people want to tear it apart. What other means do you have in your hands? Is it just a show of strength? No, I can tell from his disdainful expression that it's not a fake look in his eyes, nor is it the despair of knowing he's doomed. He must have some means at his disposal. Damn it, I hope he didn't hear my provocation. Before that, I can't act rashly. There must be some means. It's this little bamboo tube. Trick me. Kill them for me. Just right. Friend, where are you? It's great to see you, my friend. Just now, when the sand sculpture flew by, I saw the arrival of Tiger Claw and Black Feather through its field of vision. It has been dragging time and slowly moving here for now. You finally arrived. There is still support available. Kill them all and get their heads. I will reward them heavily. Kata Tiger Claw Black Feather, help me hold on for a minute. Good witch envoy, sir. No problem, my friend. Although the addition of Tiger Claw and Black Feather has relieved the pressure on Kata and me, the number of people is too large. The situation has become uncertain again, so we need to hurry up. Limestone powder has the chemical formula CACO3 and can react with sulfuric acid. When sulfuric acid encounters the limestone powder, it will produce bubbles. And the products after the reaction are white crystals of calcium sulfate, one by one. Water. When gypsum is formed, its volume increases by 30% compared to crystallization, and the stress generated during this period is terrifying enough to crack rocks. Blamed. You forced me. This is definitely not something that the Mayans could have made. So painful. This is. Humph. Ella. The crack network of the stone wall sound has expanded by one third. 
If this crack network continues to spread, the entire stone wall will collapse with a loud bang. But will he give me this chance? This speed is almost the same as when I activated my talent. If you don't want to die, get lost. Master Witch Envoy I actually felt even more terrifying and powerful than Bissamonson. But, the so-called warrior means to have the courage to fight. Even when facing stronger enemies than oneself, one dares to use their own moves. If he hit me, I'm afraid the whole skull would be shattered. It's too late. Goodbye, Master Witch. How is this possible? Can this be seen through the anus? You can see it all. I have already activated the cat's reflex. Everything around me slows down at double speed, and only with its agility can a cheetah maintain normal speed. But now Stuville's speed is actually the same as mine, which means he has the same speed as me after activating his talent. This genetic potion is surprisingly strong. With Kata's strength, I was beaten like this and had to dodge. What's wrong? What was your aura just now? What was your composure on the face? Do you only know how to talk? So it's just a show of strength. You did a great job. I almost got deceived by you. Believe me, this time. You will die. Wow, help me quickly. Come again. 2A, he's pushing everyone to get their heads together. The high priest has a reward. Namely, Go ahead. Fuck him. Kata. Damn it, this priest's attack speed is too fast for me to squeeze out the time to summon the system. I was thinking about letting Kata restrain him so that I could splash water on the stone wall, but I didn't expect Kata to be too busy on his own. I still have thoughts of caring about others who don't die fast enough. Friend, please hold on a little longer. We're here to help you with seven. Although Tiger Claw and Black Feather have good strength, they cannot withstand more than 20 soldiers. Not to mention, I have to find a way when my mind is distracted by being saved. Haha, ha, the head is mine now. I've already said that if you don't want to die, just get lost and come here. You're such a fool. Got it. You've been chasing me for so long, haven't you even touched a strand of my hair? Court death. Hee <laughs> hee, if you have the ability, you can't kill me. You're my grandson. Ah. Your Excellency the Priest. Don't come over here. Hurry up. Step back. Quickly step back. What happened? Opportunity, Black Feather. Let's go. We need to hurry up. My friend needs us. Go protect the high priest quickly. It's too easy to handle with only three people left. It's your turn. Come on. Why have you slowed down? No, what are you doing? Are you playing hide and seek with me? Of course not. We're playing the game of Sun Tzu chasing grandpa, not hide and seek. You, Your Excellency the Priest, what do you want? I used a potion, and the power in my body was too great for me to control at the moment. This person saw my weakness and used verbal stimulation to borrow my hand to clean up my soldiers. You, oh, your priest is indeed powerful. Is this the power bestowed by the gods? Yes, it is too terrifying. Look at this person, you swept him in the stomach with a stick and even kicked him out. 
and the bones in that arm were all broken by you, so we had to amputate them, but it's still pretty good. This is the most miserable face. I guess it's hard for his mother to recognize it. Shut up, someone will kill him for me. Ha ha, your holiness, your words don't matter. Humph, little brat, then it's up to me. Master Wu, hold on. Friend, I'm here. Master Wu, hurry up and do what you need to do. Leave it to us here. Okay, hold on. Please, everyone. My body has reached its limit. Even though Kata and the others have an advantage in terms of numbers, the priest's strength is too incredible. They won't be able to delay for long. Even if I exchange points for talent now, my current physical condition cannot use it. Then I can only go quickly and open the laboratory. If you want to run, ask me if I agree or not. Don't run away. Black Feather I'm all right. Hee hee. I put a protective cover inside your ring, which can be opened in case of danger. But the protective cover will consume a lot of energy from the ring, and after use, it will directly become scrap metal. If this continues, I won't have time to open the laboratory. Do we still have to use our trump cards? But this will result in a significant loss of data, and we may not be able to return to our original world. Master Witch, can you extinguish all the fires in the dungeon? Put out all the fires in the dungeon. I think no one can defeat me in the darkness. Blackfeather's eyes were actually cloudy with unfocused pupils, which means that Blackfeather's vision is not in focus. Then we need to hurry up. Try this. This knife is definitely much more harmful than the long gun in your hand. One or two. Three or four. Why are you still standing there? Hurry up and stop him. Why is it dark? Don't panic, we can't see them either. Come here, everyone gather in a circle and face outward in unison. Don't think that this trick can stop me. Your opponent is me. What's going on? Why is his action faster than just now? No, it's not that he's fast. It's his ears. He must have undergone special training. The knight weakened the ability of his eyes, but it made him amplify his hearing and capture my actions. The wizard's sword is indeed effective in bringing good fortune. My eyes can't see things at night like he can, and I can't fight him anymore. The most important thing is to stop that person, and his destination must be there. Humph, I know you have the ability here, so come out. Although I can't see anything now, my body and even senses have been greatly enhanced under the action of genetic agents. As long as I calm down, I can determine their location through that subtle sound. He's really smart now that his eyes have adapted to the darkness, coupled with the light and black feathers in the ring, it's not so easy to succeed. We need to come up with a solution, otherwise we'll lose everything by dawn. Ah. Uh, what's up? Someone has died. Who? It seems like there's someone next to me. Don't come over here. What's going on? Calm down, don't panic. Everyone, be vigilant. Shut up, you fools. Keep your ears perked up and pay attention to the sounds around you. Ah. Save me, save me. I don't want to die, you're a priest. Only hey you can act like this at night. Well done. Just this scream is a bit creepy, priest. Your soldiers are almost gone, can you still hold on? Damn it, if this continues, the soldiers will eventually be killed by him. I can't wait any longer. Ah. Come out here. I'm going to kill you. I want you to taste my strength. Ah. Don't. You're a priest. Uh. Master Wu, I'm here. What is this situation? I don't know, but I heard many soldiers lying on the ground to avoid being hit by the priests. 
I guess he went crazy. He, I see. This priest is very smart. He's pretending to be trying to lure us into the trap. On one hand, he pretended to be crazy and made sounds to confuse me, making me think his voice could cover up my footsteps and lead me to the stone wall, but... In this way, when I approach the stone wall, I will be discovered by soldiers lying on the ground. Even if the soldiers do not know the priest's plan, stepping on me will make a sound, and the priest will know my location. This priest's ability to make such a move in such a short amount of time is truly impressive. But he missed a point. Black Feather, what will you do next? Good. Game time is up. Come out here. What's going on? Isn't their goal a stone wall? Why haven't they made any moves yet? Well, how did you get here? Anyway, die for me. What's going on? Damn it, come out. Don't play with these little tricks. Hee hee, eat me some more stones. You take a bamboo tube and pour it on the stone wall. Also, find some stones for me to use. That is. What's going on? Damn it, is this power even more powerful than my ring? I want to go out. Where is the door? I remember it's in this direction. What's going on? Why did the high priest run away? No matter what, we'll run too. Fast. Did the witch lord really let them leave like this? Let's escape. Thanks to Hey You this time. Hey You, it was you who was fighting the priest just now. Can you see this in the darkness? How did you do it? This is really amazing. Because I have always lived in darkness, I can only rely on sound to distinguish things. Finally opened. Come in. Is this the temple where the goddess is located? Just now was the voice of the goddess, right? The goddess is facing me here, right? This must be a temple, and only a temple can emit such holy light, and only a temple can be inhabited by the goddess. Go inside. This place is a bit different from the previous one. What kind of genetically modified drug did Yu Jingfeng and his team give you? I don't see any signs of you collapsing after using the medication. Oh my god, how did this person appear? Is this the power of the goddess? What does she mean by that? Oh, what Wang Ichio asked should be why I have that extraordinary speed. You've been watching like this from beginning to end. As I mentioned to you before, the additional energy I used in front of you was almost depleted in the laboratory, and in that amount, it could only support me to meet you once. I can only appear in front of you again if you enter the laboratory and meet the conditions for using backup energy. I don't need to lie to you about these things. As for why I know the whole process of your battle, it's very simple because I'm part of this laboratory. We're just walking to this laboratory. Isn't there that kind of light screen that can carry people? It turns out that we woke her up when we entered the laboratory. She accepted the records of the entire laboratory and learned about what was happening outside. It was really embarrassing. Sorry, D3 Laboratory is just a regional laboratory and cannot compare to large laboratories like the five-party laboratory. Just some ordinary things see. Ordinary stuff. That must be a good thing too. What is this thing? Come up here. It is capable of autonomous driving. Here is clinic. You three should lie down inside. Is this the one inside the Dragon Ball? How long will it take for their injuries to heal? This should be that thing. I guess so, but the effect isn't that exaggerated. 
they are severely injured, which can only alleviate their pain and accelerate their recovery by injecting medication into their bodies through hydrotherapy. You won't drown, will you? Don't worry, you can still breathe normally in this healing solution without worrying about drowning. Just lie down quietly. They really trust you. That is. I said, why have you been waiting outside for so long? The witch lord hasn't come out yet, so he must have gone in. Should we break in? Didn't you see that priest running out in fear? I believe the witch will be fine. That's right, we just need to wait outside. There's still some time until dawn and retired from this incident. Let's find a place to rest. Listen to you, oh my god, you've been running for so long. I'm a little thirsty. I'll go get some water to drink. This water tank. I can also go in and lie down later. I'm a bit envious. Although you're just physically exhausted, it's not a problem to lie down and you can do it now. Wow, before that, I was curious about what hypnotic ingredients are in the healing solution. The composition of the healing solution in each compartment is generally the same, but different medications may be added due to individual differences in injuries. So I don't know if there is any hypnotic component, it all depends on the results detected by the computer. I just need to take a nap now, but if I lie down and the computer detects something hypnotic happening in this compartment, it will be a big deal. The four of them outside, Han Nick, are still waiting. If I want to sleep, I have to wait until things are over. No matter how tired I am now, I have to hold on. Why not use the methods left by Yu Jing Feng? In the video recorded in the laboratory, it is very obvious that you had signs of using methods, but you eventually gave up. I don't want to make myself so embarrassed either. If we use the data and information inside, it will be gone. Speaking of which, what is that gene potion? If the priest didn't have the gene potion, I wouldn't be so miserable. This thing has to start from the first time I was awakened. What are you looking for? If possible, chairs or something like popcorn and cola would be better. Don't you want to watch TV? That's what you're talking about. There is no such program here, so. You don't want to listen, it's okay. Is this expression of disappointment due to spending too much time alone and needing to talk to others? Tell me, it's also to pass the time. Besides, I think it will take some time to extract information from the ring. The situation in D3 Laboratory is similar to that of Wufan Laboratory, which was affected by time turbulence during the experimental accident. All the researchers in the laboratory died, only I uploaded myself to the computer at the last minute. Most of the energy stored in the five-party laboratory was consumed in the accident, and then in order to maintain the entire Treasure Island 2 from collapsing and the relevant data stored in the laboratory. Afterwards, the five-party laboratory directly entered standby mode, striving to maintain its own state as long as possible with minimal consumption. This was also done with the hope that someone could take away precious laboratory data and information before the collapse of the five-party laboratory. But D3 and Wufan Laboratory are different. The energy required for the formation of time turbulence in the entire Wufan Laboratory comes from Wufan itself. While D3 is affected by the time turbulence produced by the Dome Laboratory and does not require energy support. So, under the turbulent flow of time, the Five Directions Laboratory needed energy to sustain its existence, but D3 did not consume much, which allowed me to continue to exist in the laboratory after the experimental accident. After that day, I started investigating the cause of the entire accident and spent a year figuring out everything. Subsequently, based on the data recorded by the laboratory computer at the time of the accident, reverse engineering was started and used as a reference to find a way back to the world of wishes. This process was extremely long and tedious, even though I had already become a data expert at that time, without exhaustion. It also took nearly 60 years to come up with a way to open the rift of time and space and return to the original time and space.
Wait, you found the way to open the space-time rift and return to the original world on your own. Doesn't that mean even without this ring, you can send me back to my original world? I remember when we first met, I told you that D3 Laboratory could take you back to your original world, right? What? Whether this ring exists or not doesn't affect his return to his original world, which means I got a fat beating for nothing. But it doesn't mean that this ring is not important. You should know that it contains various experimental data from the Five Directions experiment, which is an invaluable treasure for the scientific development of our country. Of course, it may not be of much value to you. So, this is indeed an invaluable treasure. As a citizen, I have an obligation to contribute to the development of the country. I feel honored to be able to escort such a precious document. This is what contemporary youth should look like. And what happened afterwards? Later on, the entire laboratory fell into standby mode. After finding the way back to the original world, I realized that the energy required to open the space-time channel connecting to the original world was enormous. The energy stored in the D3 laboratory was simply not enough, so I immediately adopted the same decision as the five-party laboratory. Insufficient energy. Yes, the energy required for time and space jumping is beyond your imagination. Instead of giving you unrealistic expectations, it's better to be honest and straightforward. I remember you guys are from the 21st century, right? There are still a few from the 20th century. What I mean by insufficient energy is that the laboratory's energy is not enough to construct a space-time channel connecting this world to ours. As for how much energy is needed to build this world to connect the 21st or 19th century, it will be determined by computer calculations before the results are known. Can you be more direct? Well, it's not that the longer the linear jump, the more energy is needed. Instead, the energy required for point-to-point -point jumps ultimately depends on the distance between two points. In short, everything requires a computer to produce results, right? By the way, haven't you ever thought about creating energy so that you can reach it even from afar? I don't understand the specific details, but you said that room D3 itself has a certain amount of energy reserves. Can we use this energy as a basis to obtain more energy? For example, sending robots to build reactors or something. This is really going to be wiped out. This bird actually wanted to kill me so much that it went back and forth. It's strange that a laboratory that can withstand the tide of time can be easily destroyed by you. However, speaking of which, are we getting too far apart? Shouldn't we talk about genetic drugs? It didn't go far. Keep listening to me. Before closing the laboratory, I left a setting that if someone comes to the laboratory, it will trigger a restart. In addition, in order to search for other humans, I have arranged for drones to patrol the D3 area regularly. If a human is found, I will send a wake-up command to the laboratory, but I have not been able to find it yet. A hundred years after entering standby mode in the laboratory, the laboratory restarted. In that accident, all the people in the D3 laboratory had already died, which means that those who came to the laboratory were undoubtedly outsiders. But I saw that the so-called humans were actually Maya people from the pre-classical period, which I later discovered through researching. The Mayans who came to this world have over 20 tribes and nearly a thousand people scattered in different places in the D3 area. I didn't originally disturb their thoughts, but after observing for a while, I realized that some of the animals and plants in D3 area had mutated due to their arrival in this world. These mutations were fatal to the Mayans, and because I couldn't bear to watch them die here, I decided to help them. I projected my drone onto various tribes in D3 area, and this sudden appearance of a virtual image with its own radiance made the Mayans of each tribe worship it as if they were gods. At this moment, the subordinate relationship was established under my guidance, and they gained extremely rich and advanced knowledge. Of course, this is only for the current level of civilization of the Maya people. Wait, the cultural knowledge of the Mayans was taught by you. I taught you not to look at me with that expression. Let me finish speaking. On the way of teaching, I suddenly thought of the energy issue and thought that perhaps these Mayans could do something. 
Then, as a deity, I entrusted them with the management of solar photovoltaic panels. Afterwards, we continued to fall into a deep sleep to save energy in the laboratory. And during this period, the Mayans evolved their unique cultural knowledge based on the knowledge I taught them over more than 300 years. And the Mayan pyramids are a product of their cultural development process. As for their function, they are naturally used to place solar photovoltaic panels at a higher height, which is more conducive to receiving sunlight. So the Mayan pyramids are actually the basis for placing solar panels. It is also true that it is used for worship. Of course, this is a unique custom formed during the development of their culture, not what I have taught. Cough, cough, why are they all damaged? Really, how could this person guess my idea accurately? They were all destroyed by the Mayans. When I woke up for the second time, the Maya civilization had developed to a new height and the population had grown to tens of thousands. At this point, the Mayans had already established a foundation for understanding more advanced knowledge, so in the hope of finding someone to help me, I selected a few of the smartest ones from them as my students for secondary teaching. This time my students learned about the D3 laboratory, but even after learning that I am not a deity, they still hold me in high regard, and I am greatly gratified. After the teaching ended, I left them a learning ring because my existence will continue to consume energy in the laboratory. In addition, I also left behind a genetic potion. This potion is more powerful than the serum used by the beautiful captain of your era, which not only strengthens the body but also enhances the five senses. I'm doing this for the safety of my students. After all, they have the task of spreading civilization on their shoulders, so no accidents can happen. Because the Mayans had been guarding the solar photovoltaic panels and collecting a lot of energy for the laboratory before, I thought it would continue smoothly, but things are unpredictable. For over a hundred years, the successors of the students continued to become priests, shouldering the responsibilities of their predecessors. Generation after generation, civilization developed step by step until an ambitious priest appeared. Could it be the one outside now? No, but your words reminded me. Ah, your Excellency the Priest. It is an offense to the High Priest and to the gods. Run away. Fortunately, we didn't take action. He should have had a chance to survive, but he didn't cherish it properly. He still walked down a path of darkness and was hopeless. It's better to kill him to avoid harming others again. Make sure this is not meant for me to hear. Who is the priest you mentioned? Yellow Black Soil. Most of the early Mayans used names for things in their daily lives, such as black bears, white dogs, and loudspeakers. Unlike the priests who previously played the role of wise men, he was very ambitious. After becoming a priest apprentice, he was already laying out plans to capture the entire Mayan kingdom. After becoming a priest, he sent people to assassinate other priests, conspired to usurp the king's power, and finally opened the divine right of kings in my name. In an era where divine power supersedes everything else. Subsequently, through a series of means and the efforts of several generations, the entire Mayan kingdom became part of the yellow black soil family. This is a bit too troublesome. Just replace the king with a snap. It won't be long before we have to do something like Boss Chow to blackmail the emperor and make the princes. This is the terrifying thing about Juan to soil. He kept the king not out of kindness, but because he wanted a shield whenever he encountered a natural disaster that he was unable to solve. Drive the king out. Yes, the king was pushed out to offer sacrifices for the crime of offending the gods with incompetent management in order to ease the dissatisfaction in the hearts of the residents and maintain their morale. During this period, in order to avoid the emergence of the unsettling factor that could threaten their rule, they first surrounded the entire laboratory with giant stones and built it into the current pyramid, and then destroyed all the solar photovoltaic panels. Wait, won't you do them like that? It's too late. They completed this series of operations while I was asleep. Can I know if these things were recorded by the drone or not? 
that means by the time I know, these things have already happened. During this period, I also tried to go out, but the laboratory door couldn't be opened at all, so I had to lock the energy in the laboratory to ensure that the actual energy only flows to the laboratory under any circumstances and to maintain the D3 area as much as possible without collapse. Of course, I also kept a small amount of energy for my wake-up, so it was only when we first met that I expressed my lack of energy and couldn't provide any help to you before entering the laboratory. However, judging from the appearance of the priest just now, the information about the laboratory may have been lost to him. Therefore, DDDD, it can't be true. Please calm down, your majesty. Please calm down, your majesty. Please calm down, your majesty. He he, it must have been the soldier who reported Stewieville's death to the king earlier, and they regarded it as a consequence of the wrath of the gods, that's why this happened. What do you think we should do, your majesty? Cheating is enough. After Huang Haitu became a priest, he killed all the informants. Except for you, no one knows the truth about the laboratory. So they can only believe whatever we say. God, God, my Lord. Stuville dared to charge into the temple, so he deserves to die. Since you have realized your mistake, I forgive you for your innocence. Long live the gods. Divine Lord. Long live the gods. P.U. seems to have seen the way he looked when he was pretending to be X back then. At first, in order to save his life, he deceived a lot of people and became a so-called witch envoy. But after going through so much, as a fake witch, I have become a real person in a sense. Only by continuing to walk with them can I not disappoint their trust in me. Listen carefully, Ching Tian is my divine incarnation on earth, and all your actions must follow his arrangements. Good guy, if we keep going like this, I'm afraid the stick will go all the way until it gets dark. This is cooked. All the injuries on my body have healed. Okay, your majesty, this is really amazing. I just slept for a while and all the pain on my body disappeared. I should take another month off and there won't be anything else. What about the eyes? Can they see? It seems that healing fluids cannot cure congenital injuries. Speaking of which, how could you two be here and help me a lot? It was Heyu who told me. I accidentally heard about your infiltration plan and told Tiger Claw about it. We knew this trip would be very dangerous, and you were kind to us, so you came over to see if you could help us. At first, I was afraid of affecting your plan, so I secretly observed until you were in danger and then killed you. Thank you. Hi, we're friends. Ha ha ha, yes, we are friends. Ha 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 ha. Everything outside has been dealt with. Well, the calculation results have already been released. Come out. Mixed good and bad. The energy in the laboratory is not enough to open the space-time channel connecting your world, so we can only barely open the channel to the Mayan space-time. This. The energy reserves in the laboratory have been continuously depleted, and within a hundred years, the entire D3 area will collapse. At that time, this area will sink into the sea, and now it's already good to be able to barely open a time and space passage to the Maya civilization. Well, that's really good news. Friend, don't be unhappy. Yeah, I can't give up. I still have you guys. By the way, what about using solar photovoltaic panels? I remember you said before that the operation of robots requires a lot of energy. If we replace the robots with humans, the Maya Kingdom will have tens of thousands of human resources. Replacing robots with Maya residents can indeed reverse the situation of insufficient income, but it takes a long time to accumulate enough energy. I'm afraid you'll die of old age here first. Instead, why don't you go to the Dome Laboratory and try your luck? Oh, is there really no other way? Wait, what are you saying about the Dome Laboratory? The Dome Laboratory is the central laboratory of Biosphere 3, serving as the core of emergency energy and independent of the laboratory. 
the energy contained in it is definitely much more than that in the D3 laboratory. As long as you find the Gene Wu core and use the equipment there to return to the original world, there is no problem. Great, so we still have a chance to go back. You did it intentionally, right? What's intentional? I can't understand what you're saying. This woman deliberately dragged key information aside, probably just to see how I would be shocked if I heard bad news. No wonder Yu Jingfeng left a note for her saying B.A. Pa. It turns out she has such a wicked taste. So how do we get to the dome laboratory? This ring seems to have a problem. It was supposed to point to Biosphere 3, but it brought us here. You're mistaken. The problem isn't with the ring, it's with Biosphere 3. What? The aftermath of the experimental accident at the Dome Laboratory directly swept through the entire Biosphere 3, causing the entire continental plate to shatter and float in different corners of the world. Due to the accident that first occurred on Treasure Island 2, Yu Jingfeng and his team had no idea about the collapse of Biosphere 3. In this case, the two of them used the most direct point-to-point -point guidance method from the ring to the laboratory when setting up the indexing program for the ring. I understand. If Biosphere 3 hadn't been broken, there wouldn't have been any problems with this setup. However, now that Biosphere 3 has become multiple entities, there are bugs in the operation of the entire program. When the ring detects the D3 laboratory, it will be judged as the Dome Laboratory. No matter how I go, the indicators are always in the same direction, which is why the Dawn has been circling around the D3 area. That's right. Knowing the problem is easy to solve. I made some modifications to the original ring, and now it can only point to the section where the Dome Laboratory is located so that this ring won't make any more mistakes. The other one is for defense. I have transferred the protective cover set by using foam to this ring, so you don't have to worry about your data disappearing with the ring after using the protective cover. That's really good. Oh, by the way, I remember there was a potion used by the priest in the laboratory, right? If I use that to cultivate a few super warriors, won't I be invincible? This is the priest from before. How did he become like this? If it weren't for the familiar clothes on his body, he wouldn't have recognized it. Didn't Yu Jingfeng tell you? This is really so dead that there's no residue left. Where does he have the confidence to ensure that his improved genetic medicine has no side effects? So she was worried that I might have this side effect too. My speed was not obtained through genetic potions. When I got involved in the space-time storm and arrived here, I found that I had a breakthrough beyond ordinary people. It's not that the genetic agent came here with this speed. Of course, I can't tell you about the system. Sister, you're too close to me. It's amazing how time and space storms can cause mutations in the human body. According to the information, your physical fitness has exceeded that of the top 999 people of your time. I really want to give you a full body examination. He he he, is it something else? You have also seen the appearance of the priest after his death, which is the side effect of the genetic potion that overdraws the body's vitality in exchange for strength. Of course, this power is not temporary. Under normal circumstances, he can still live for more than 10 years. This is also because this category is still only a semi-finished product, otherwise the side effects would not be so significant. This category. There are a total of seven types of genetic agents that I currently know of, excluding semi-finished products and genetic agents under development and most of them are used to treat congenital diseases and genetic defects. Even if given to you, it won't have much effect, but a genetic agent called Xianxiong can increase your lifespan limit and should be useful for you. Thank you, Sister Chiu. No. What? Nothing. This genetic drug was also extremely essential in our time. When you use it as cough syrup, everyone has it. Maybe we can find the Dome Laboratory, right? For things that can increase lifespan, they may already involve the fundamental nature of life and cannot easily ruin the street. Like the Five Directions Laboratory, you can't take anything with you in this laboratory, so you shouldn't think about what you have or don't have, but... 
The use of this medical cabin is unlimited. You can use it any time if you want. Let's reschedule this. Are you trying to help me? It's obvious that you covet my evolved body. After I fell asleep in the water tank, I was unknowingly stabbed. Ahem, if you're okay, Chilgia, then I'll leave on my end. Get in the car. Wishing you all the best. This farewell is too decisive, isn't it? What's up? Divine Envoy, sir. Divine Envoy, sir. Divine Envoy, sir. Lord Witch, we are here. Are you all okay? It's okay, I'm running fast. Ragnar only had some scratches from sharp leaves. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Busy all night, are you hungry? I'll take you to eat. There is food available. Ha ha, come after me. Thanks to the Witch Lord, we have such a comfortable life. Yeah, where are ye Lynn and the others? She saw her and Jessica go out on a small boat early in the morning, maybe to pick some fruits. Are you okay? It smells so bad. Shoo, shoo. It is called the musk pheasant and is one of the unique animals in tropical rainforests. It looks very similar to the Archaeopteryx and the Confucian bird. I want to draw it, which has great research value. But it smells too bad. I can't take it anymore and feel like vomiting. The strong body odor of the musk pheasant is also famous for its endurance. Uh huh. You scared my research away. You'd better bring good news, otherwise I'll stew you. Don't be afraid of her scaring you. I didn't expect so many thrilling things to happen during this period. Yeah, I don't know when they'll be back and what they're doing now. Yeah, it must be tough, right? So much meat. Eat more and strive to grow taller. I'm not polite. It tastes good. I'm starving. Let's have a drink. Cheers. What is the toast? That's how you drink it. Cheers. The Divine Envoy, there are five lamb legs outside that have been roasted. Can we bring them up now? Bring it up. Oh, by the way, go tell the king that I am satisfied with this meal and will give my blessings to the Mayan kingdom. It's a divine envoy, sir. I haven't rested all night. First, take a nap and wake up before going to the D3 laboratory to explore the technology from the future. What time is it? Still lying in bed. What are Chio's instructions? It's nothing. I just want to tell you that I have already built the space-time channel and will be ready to open it in a few days. You can arrange your own time to leave the D3 area. What was built so quickly? I was originally planning to build a space-time channel, but it would take one or two months. I can take the opportunity to replenish some navigation supplies and so on. Wait for me. I'll be right over. Surprisingly, it was done in one night and it still takes time to return to the dawn ship from here. Did she intentionally try to drive me away? You are you on room. I'm coming. You are here. It seems that this is the energy core of the entire D3 region. By the way, I have something to ask. What's up? Can we postpone the opening of the space-time channel? I plan to collect enough sailing supplies here before leaving. You're saying that too late. In terms of the remaining energy, this island could have been sustained for over a year. The process of building a space-time channel is irreversible. Once the island is activated, it enters a countdown, and the ecosystem on the island will gradually collapse and become extremely unstable. For your safety, I advise you to leave here within half a month. Half a month. I know what you're worried about, but you don't have to think too much about traveling from D3 area to A1 area where the Dome Laboratory is located. With the speed of your ship, it only takes at most six months and a half months to collect supplies, which is enough. Half a year. 
Do you already have the exact coordinates and directions? After I returned the ring to you, didn't you open it and see how much information I had added inside? I haven't paid much attention to this. Are you kidding? I was busy all night, tired and hungry. Who cares about watching that? By the way, I remember Sister Chiu saying that you are now using the same data body as Yu Jingfeng and the others, right? Both of them are bound to the laboratory once it disintegrates. Yes, in that case, I wouldn't exist anymore. From a biological perspective, I have long been dead. Now it's just a piece of data, guarding this empty laboratory like an APL. It's not very interesting. I'm glad to have met you and helped us bring back the experimental data. I have been lonely for too long. After arriving here, there were no relatives, friends, colleagues, or anyone else who had already died. They defended their positions and even became a torment. Thank you, Huang Ichio. Thank you for persisting in preserving the experimental data. This is the greatest contribution to the country and the scientific community. Why do big men say these sentimental things? Is there anything else? Don't disturb me sunbathing. No, no, then I'll go first. Tiger Claw Black Feather has something to tell you. Hey friend, come sit down. We will be leaving this island soon. Where to leave? What do you care about him? The witch on voice said we should go wherever we go. We're going to a faraway place. Friend, can I, you also have a place to go? The goddess said she will take you to a more prosperous and vast place. To be honest, they won't listen. This is the only way to make them accept it. It's a better choice than following me to an uncertain place and returning to your original era. Okay, I've been thinking of visiting places I've never seen before, let alone a good place. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, Kata. Next, we also need to prepare supplies for the journey. Good. I'm also here to help you, my friend. Me too. So Ching Tian brought in the king and asked him to arrange his soldiers to help him prepare supplies. Then I searched the room for the newly added information in the ring. Go to the vicinity of the city-state during the day and see if you can find anything good for the soldiers to help collect. At night, I went to the D3 laboratory to chat with Huang Ichio and used the excuse of wanting to know about the future to accompany this lonely person. On the fifth day, they finally gathered enough supplies. Ching Tian and the others, escorted by soldiers, prepared to leave. Fortunately, there is a team familiar with the terrain escorting us. I believe this time we should be able to return quickly by two days. Black Feather No wonder he's in a bad mood. It's hard to see each other again after parting ways. From Sha Diao's letter, it seems to be today, but why hasn't anyone appeared yet? Don't be in a hurry, be patient and wait. Master Wu, they have returned. Ching Tian, you have finally returned. You didn't think of us, did you? Think about it, it's killing me. Friend, what is this? This is a little bird, isn't it? Its big head is so ugly. What a cute little bird. Yeah, I think so too. Here's a small gift for you. The gift of separation. You should keep it well and don't forget that you have a big brother who loves you very much when you grow up. Big brother, uncle, 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 right. Once we part ways, we won't have the chance to meet again. Yeah, so we should also cherish the present moment. Master Wu, all the goods have been loaded onto the wooden boat. Good. Lord Witch, we will definitely see each other again, right? Yeah, my friend. We'll meet again, right? MMM, we'll meet by chance. I'm afraid we won't have the chance to meet again, but it's always good to have expectations. Thank you for getting to know you all in my life. Hurry up and eat. You must not have eaten well these days. Just eat more. No, we... How difficult it was for me to write in my letter to Yellen. 
If Yellen finds out that we are enjoying ourselves outside, it would be embarrassing. Yeah, it's been really tough these days. Let's go rest when we finish eating later. We can also give you a bedtime massage. I can't take it. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. Cocoa bean milk gum, chili, honey. The food we brought back this time is not available on the Dawn ship, but not a lot. After all, food is no longer a problem now. There are too many things to list before they can be adjusted. Ah. No, I'm too tired. Let's take a day off tomorrow and leave for the Dome Laboratory the day after tomorrow. You see, there's another stormy area ahead. Don't worry, we have experience. Everyone, go back to your room, sit firmly and hold on to it. We'll just rush over. This time, everyone reacted quickly and didn't panic. It seems like they've all grown up. That's already happened twice. I'm not afraid anymore. But it's still wet on this deck. Why are you all out in such a hurry? Of course, there is something good to show you. Wow. My God. He. That's unbelievable. This is the power of God, right? This is your ship. It looks good. Yeah, you can hug me left and right. What's your ability, kid? No, it's three. Miss Chio, your figure is really sexy. You are Jessica, right? I heard Ching Tian say that you are really beautiful, especially with deep eyes. Your temperament is really good. Many celebrities can't compare to you. Is that so? Ha ha ha, then I might be the most beautiful among scientists. Miss Chio, stop boasting about business and get down to business now. Okay, okay, got it. I came here this time to show you something. This is. It's a picture of the Mayan city-state. At Ching Tian's request, I will broadcast to you the footage of opening the space-time channel and sending the Mayans back. The following scenes are all normal. Please don't be overly nervous. Is this what the king said about the goddess sending us to a place with richer food? It should be. Stop talking and disturb the goddess. Look what that is. Miracles must be miracles. What's going on? Has the goddess become angry? I don't know. Hurry up and hold on to me. This is... Ah. Uh, Miss Autumn. Indeed, projecting multiple positions on the island has exhausted all the final energy. But it doesn't matter. The remaining energy is not enough to sustain for a few days. Chilgia, Chilgia, what's wrong with you? There's nothing to say. Wishing you a smooth sailing. However, I don't need to say anything. I understand that. Thank you. Thank you for patiently chatting with me during those days, accompanying me as a lonely person for hundreds of years until the very end. Take care. Don't worry about them being sent to a better place by the goddess. Now everyone has dispersed, right? Is he upset about Miss Chio? Should we go comfort him? Never mind, let him be alone. But I don't know how those Mayans are doing now. Where am I? Is this the new world? It looks similar to our original place. Oh, where's the firewood I just chopped? My axe is also gone. It looks like all our things are left there. Then let's start from scratch. Everything was left there. It's terrible. What's wrong, brother? Aya, do you remember the five fables my friend said on the way to the city-state? 
You need to write it down quickly, otherwise you'll forget it in the future. Quiet down, give me peace. This is the new place chosen by the goddess for us. We need to rebuild our home here. We will build our country according to the previous system, but I declare the abolition of slavery. Your Majesty, what should we do first? How can I say it's raining just because it's raining? Take shelter from the rain first. There are banana leaves rushing over there. Go ahead. We must defeat the Demon King. Run slowly. Children have so much energy, huh? Oh, that is. Haha, -ha, the points for this trip to D3 area have increased a bit again. No, why is it less than I thought? I think there were 18,000 points before entering the D3 zone. Complete guide to field first aid. Complete collection of modern crafts. On the way to the city-state, I exchanged two books, Field First Aid Encyclopedia and Modern Craft Encyclopedia, for a total of 900 points. Are these rain boots? Then they made plastic and electric stone lamps, earning 3,000 and 2,000 points respectively for their healing. I earned 7,000 points for making quinine. That's right, that's right, that's the number. That's enough to exchange for two talents. What's good to exchange for? After the last battle with the priest, I realized that talent must be exchanged first, otherwise there may not be enough time to exchange it for face at the critical moment. Haha, <laughs> maybe we can exchange it for that powerful talent like an ox. I thought that the only martial arts in the world were fast and unbreakable, but after exchanging for the reactions of Swift Cheetah and Cat, my speed did not reach the point where I could leave anyone behind. I need to further improve. Jiami Shang. Never mind, let's first see if there are any new and exciting updates to this mysterious product. What is the shopping mall item list? This is the newly updated product list. Mom, even the chicken manual can be sold separately. No wonder the items in the product list are not explained. I'm sorry, I had already thought of it from the beginning. But I should desperately need it to understand the talents in the mall, otherwise I don't know what other talents are useful except for the quick response of cheetah cats, which can be known by name. Ding Host successfully purchased the product. The product is being distributed. Dingy Host successfully received the product. Make this pain even more intense. Well, why isn't it painful this time? Oh, the system page has indeed changed. Slightly inferior Silver Wolf. After acquiring this talent, if the host's body has sufficient energy, the ability to recover will be improved several times and the host's bodily functions will be enhanced to a certain extent. Wow, he's really sandy. I thought this breathing turtle could isolate its own breath and prevent it from being discovered by sensitive beasts, but I didn't expect it to be a talent for breath control. After obtaining this talent, the Quietful Turtle's ability to hold its breath in Shiksentu will be greatly enhanced. Stubborn Flathead Brother's talent will endow the host with toxicity resistance comparable to honey badgers, but the scope of toxicity resistance is limited to biological toxins, which means it does not work against artificially synthesized toxins. This newly added talent is quite interesting. Stubborn Flathead Brother can make me resistant to poison. Why do I need 15,000 points? This is basically all my belongings. Let's just forget about it. We should wait until we encounter danger before making the exchange. If we have some flexibility in terms of time, just pay attention to it. Ah, this is definitely not something that a novice can understand. I just need to look at the geographical layout of the A1 area where the Dome Laboratory is located. Let me give you a name. The ring with information is called the Five Square Ring with Defense Mechanism. The one given by Huang Ichio is called the D3 Ring. These two rings can be connected to each other like a mobile phone, which is an extremely incredible feature in this world and quite useful. What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, please note that we are now on the highway and the speed of the ship has increased. Please stand firm and hold on to it. Expressway. What's going on with Jessica's highway? Ching Tian, come and take a look. Did you see anything on the sea surface? 
It's nothing, isn't it? That's right. Small vortex. You two have exactly the same answer. Let me tell you, Sister Jessica, not everyone can tell at a glance like you. This is an ocean current with a speed of up to 8 kilometers per hour. The small eddies you see are formed due to the fast flow of water. Ocean current. The geography textbook in junior high school defines it as the horizontal flow of seawater in a certain direction with a relatively stable velocity, which is a large-scale movement from one sea area horizontally or vertically to another. It is the main form of seawater movement. No wonder the speed of the dawn is so fast. The speed of the dawn, combined with the speed of the ocean currents, is too fast to do anything about it. It can indeed be called a highway belonging to the sea. If only this ocean current could flow directly into a one area. It's not impossible. If that's the case, then we're too lucky. At the current pace, we'll only need four months to get there. Let's go. The wind is too strong here. Let's go back to the cab and chat. Good. Now I finally understand why the Maya civilization has so many similarities with the Chinese civilization. That is to say, the Mayans who returned from D3 areas to BC passed on their knowledge to the indigenous Mayans in the Americas, which led to the Big Bang of the classical Maya civilization, right? The Maya civilization is divided into three periods, the pre-classical period, the classical period, and the post-classical period. The classical period was the most glorious period of the Maya civilization, and it was a sudden glory without a gradual process. So modern archaeology has made various speculations about the history of the Maya civilization and finally combined them with the flying rockets and astronauts in the murals to make bold speculations. The Maya civilization came from outer space and was supported by aliens. I'm too excited. Until now, scholars have not been able to come up with a unified conclusion on the history of the Maya, but now that I know the answer to all of this, it's really exciting. No wonder they have such high achievements in astronomy, because their teachers are top researchers from the future. But what's going on with their calendar? Their calendar is based on the calendar from their time, Chiojie. Chiojie is from the future, and the positions of several major planets in their time have already undergone significant deviations compared to our time. Therefore, the original calendar is no longer suitable. In order to better develop agriculture and plan daily routines, they have re-customized the calendar through scientific calculations. And when Chiojie imparted knowledge, she passed on this calendar, so that's why the calendars used by the Mayans were extremely similar to the ones we use, with some errors. I see. That is. Master Wu, I have discovered a ship. What's going on? Have we seen this ship somewhere before? I also have this feeling. Ghost ship, this is the ghost ship we've encountered before, right? That's right, it's the ghost ship. Unexpectedly, I will see it again before it arrives first. I don't know how much manpower and time it will take to build such a big ship. What is that dark pipe? Wow, that looks really handsome. Artillery can be seen as an enlarged version of firearms. Fortunately, it's fake. Did you see it so clearly this time because there was no white mist? Yeah, last time I didn't seem to be able to see the twists and turns clearly, but now I can see clearly that there's a strange black flag and a skeleton painted on their ship. Indeed, compared to the last time, the ghost ship this time has solidified too much, and it looks like it's real no matter how you look at it. That flag is a pirate flag. Do you? You two take them back to the ship and stay inside. Don't come out. There is danger. Do as I say first and explain later. Enter the alert state and activate the paddle wheel. Yes. The visitor is not good. Just avoid them quickly. Surprisingly caught up forcefully. Why is this ghost ship chasing us? Those people look different from us. I've never seen anyone with such fair skin before. White skin. 
I thought everyone on the ship should be as fierce and fierce as the Samantson and others, with big and rough looks, but I didn't expect them to be well-dressed white people with guns. It seems to be an army, and the leader has a bit of noble aura. Observe again. How can the wheels on the ghost ship still turn? It's simply amazing. Perhaps ghosts reside in those wheels. Humph, lowly people are only worthy of doing this kind of physical labor after death. Sword, aren't you worried that the ghosts on the ship might hear you when you say this? Ha ha ha, Captain Chadley, I've always thought you have a great talent for telling jokes. This is really funny. I really hope they can hear it and then angrily charge towards me, and then they will realize it. How funny their bows and crossbows look in front of our cannons on board. Sword, you're being too rough. If this ship is real, we can't treat it so roughly. It's a treasure ship. Treasure ship. Ha ha ha, that's true. After all, this is a ghost ship. If I were to offer it to King Garmonts, T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-K-T-S-
They are divided into several shifts to take turns launching, so that the interval between launches can be compressed to the shortest possible length, forming absolute firepower suppression. This is about killing everything. We need to remove their locking hooks in order to get rid of them. No, there's no time left. They're almost following the iron lock. The huge disparity in numbers and the complete suppression of weapons once they board the dawn, then everything will be over. I'll go buy you some time. No need. You guys wait here for my signal. Master Witch Envoy. We must also go and not let the Witch Lord be harmed. Let's go together. This is the power of the Witch Lord. Fortunately, it was useful. Kata, you guys are following behind me. It's time to counterattack. Yes. Go ahead. It's our turn now. Ah, uh, I need to go back. I need to go back. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. It is impossible for the current power of the dawn to completely defeat them. We must take this opportunity to inflict pain or even harm them so that they dare not invade, otherwise it will be dangerous after the dawn. Don't leave your hands behind and hit me hard. How could they actually block the bullet? Are they really ghosts who are not afraid of bullets? Not afraid of bullets? Then come and taste this. Give me a cannon, I don't believe they can't be killed. Everyone, be careful and hide behind me. Fire the gun. You must hold on. Oh, my whole body is numb. Counterattack. This protective cover is really good. It can even block bullets, but it hurts my hands from shaking. But it's okay, I can even change my wristband. Drop. Insufficient energy. The current situation cannot be solved in a short time. We can only resort to risky tactics. Aruba, you came with the ring to carry it. My ring doesn't work. I don't have divine power. It's okay. Hold on. I'll be back soon. Aruba's strength is the weakest, but it is still sufficient to serve as a support for a protective shield, which can maintain the shield while maximizing the retention of combat power. Brother Chicken, come and help me. Oh, giggle. Experimental Cabin Get it done. This hand is a powerful Taoist technique that I learned from the aunties in the village when I was a child, called Xiangxi Dingji. It wasn't until college that I understood that this was nothing more than a survival mechanism for animals when they encountered danger, scientifically known as the state of rigid stillness and natural paralysis. Okay, this way we can have a stable table on the swaying boat. The next moment is to witness the miracle. Don't be nervous, you can do it. First, prepare the sodium carbonate solution. You have to be careful next. First, pour concentrated nitric acid into a water basin. Use saltpeter to cool down and control the temperature of concentrated nitric acid below 20 degrees Celsius. Next, mix concentrated sulfuric acid with low temperature concentrated nitric acid. This way, even if the mixed acid solution is ready, the key is now. We're about to start adding glycerin. If only there were a rubber dropper, it would be great. Rubber was only obtained during this period of time, and there's no time to make it. Be sure to keep it steady and drop it every 10 seconds without making any mistakes. Come on. How can we still persist? I can still hold on. You guys go and kill the enemy quickly. We can't let them rush in. The people are all inside. We can't retreat. There must be a way for Master Wu to persist. Finally became. Producing nitroglycerin earns 10,000 points. 
This charming and dangerous scent is notorious throughout history for the liquid explosive nitroglycerin. Liquid nitroglycerin is extremely unstable to any external impact. It is possible that it could explode, and the subsequent separation work needs to be more careful. Pour the solution of nitroglycerin and mixed acid into distilled water. Normally, oil floats on the water surface, but unlike nitroglycerin, it completely sinks into the water, which separates it from mixed acids. The layer below is the extracted nitroglycerin. This nitroglycerin was previously included in the modern industrial encyclopedia, but due to the danger of nitroglycerin, it was not configured. Complete collection of modern industries. Without proper storage conditions, this thing is like a ticking time bomb. Put nitroglycerin into a solution with sodium carbonate to preserve excess acid and react with sodium carbonate. It can make glycerol more stable, although to a limited extent, it is still better than nothing. Uh, hold on a little longer. Ha ha ha, their ghost's power is almost exhausted. Keep firing at me, I'll see how long they can hold on. Be gentle and don't forget that your woman is still on that boat. Well, what is that? Master Witch Envoy. You did a great job. Now it's up to me. I took the ring. Swift Cheetah is indeed my favorite. How is this possible? Stop him quickly. The Musketeers shot him down for me. Allow me. Good to come. See and experience my sharpness. See you, sir. Get lost. Foreign devils. Your father, I'm here. What do you want? I found the energy of the protective cover and I don't know how much longer it can last. I need to hurry up. What are you up to? Stop him quickly. The bottom layer of the ship here is where the keel of the ship is located. As long as the keel is blown off, this ship is considered useless. In that case, the dawn can be saved. Ah. Help. Witch. Master Witch Envoy. Quick, look at the Witch Envoy. I'm going to save the Witch Envoy. Ah. Quick, let go of the spring egg bug. It's five feet long. Please save me. The ship is sinking, and if it falls, it will be directly swept away by the vortex. Damn, I still understand a lot, but there's no way to drag me down. Ah. Go die for me. The whirlpool shipwreck caused a vortex. Could the witch master also be swept away by the vortex? Bohama, go and stop their ship. Hanik alone can't handle it. I'll also go save the witch lord. Jessica's sister Ching Tian fell into the sea. There's a vortex ahead. Stop the ship quickly. Stop it quickly. Oh no, the speed is too fast. We can't turn the hole in real time. I'll help. Ching Tian, please don't do anything wrong. Witch Envoy, give me your hand. Hahani cough, cough, cough. Got it. This is Whirlpool Rapids. Nick, let go quickly. If we continue like this, we'll all be finished. W won't let go. No, in this vortex, not even rescuing Nick himself wouldn't be able to withstand it. Oh no. Oh, giggle. Oh, giggle. Where am I? I remember blowing up the foreign ghost ship and... Wait. Nick, are you okay? Here is... Nick. Wake up, Nick. Master Witch Envoy. 
Nick, are you okay? It's just a little painful, Master Wu. You don't have to worry. It should be because the muscles and bones in both arms were pulled before, but now the pain will only worsen during the recovery period, and there may even be stiffness and immobility in both arms. Later, I will check with the field first aid guide to see if there are any methods for treatment. Master Witch, where are we now? I don't know, but what's certain is that this is definitely not a good place. The chances of nothing surviving here are very slim. We must leave here early. Fortunately, I have a D3 ring on my hand, and a pentagonal ring is usually placed in the driver's cabin as a directional marker. With it, I can contact the Dawn ship. Doo 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 doo. Hey, Yi Lin and the others contacted us first. Chin Tian Nick. I just said they'll be fine. Chin Tian, where are you now? Don't worry, Nick and I are both doing well. I am also preparing to contact you. Then I'll let it go. Um, why is it stuck? The signal is not good. Exhausted energy, hairy hands. Fuck. Ah. Cooing. I'm freezing to death. Even if you're frozen, you can't throw it away. Hurry up, we can't stay here. Master Wu, where are we going? My nose feels so uncomfortable. Even if you feel uncomfortable, you have to leave. Just hold on a little longer. In low temperature environments, the human body will prioritize concentrating blood in the brain and heart. To ensure normal physiological function, the blood in the limbs will become smaller and have fewer branches. In addition, the dry wind on the ice sheet can cause the respiratory mucosa in the nasal cavity to dry and rupture in just a few minutes. Now the blood hasn't flowed out because it's frozen due to the cold. But this won't last long. We need to quickly find Shiwe Yuen. This area should have a polar climate. Polar climate landforms are generally composed of ice sheets formed by the freezing of the sea surface, continuous snow fields, and mountains and forests in the middle. E7 area. Mountain forest. Shiwe Yuen. Ice field. The mountains and forests are undoubtedly the most life-saving places, but it is impossible to reach them in a short period of time. However, as long as we can reach the snowfield, building ice houses or digging snow caves can provide some shelter from the cold wind. How long will it take to get there? Not to mention Nick, I can hardly hold on anymore. Nick. Hold on, we're almost there. Master Wu, you don't have to worry about me. Don't sleep, we're almost there. Nick, holding it will make you feel better. I'll dig a snow hole. No, I'll help you. Nick, quickly get in. The hole is still a bit small. Let's take a break first and then continue digging. Good. It's so magical. Why is it warmer in the same snow cave? And why do we still have to dig a hole here? The cold air will sink, and with this pit, the cold air from the snow cave will sink into the pit, making the temperature above the snow cave higher. Heat 111. Air conditioning. In addition, snow is a poor conductor of heat. All the heat emitted by our body is stored in this snow cave, and the carbon dioxide exhaled from it plays a particularly insulating role. This is also the reason why snow caves are warmer than outside. Conductor carbon dioxide doesn't understand, but this snow cave really works. Master Wu, I seem a bit hot now. No, even in a snow cave, the temperature can only be maintained at a few degrees Celsius. How can it make people feel hot? Could it be hypothermia? Nick, don't move. There is a record in the complete guide to first aid in the wilderness that people who are frozen in ice and snow feel hot all over and need to take off their clothes to relieve themselves. It's called abnormal undressing phenomenon, which means hypothermia is a sign before freezing to death. This situation usually occurs in people whose body temperature is below 35 degrees Celsius, which is an unconscious behavior of the human body. 
Experts speculate that when the human body is threatened by extreme cold, the blood vessels in the limbs will excessively contract to maintain blood flow to the main organs of the body. When the human body is exhausted from fighting against extreme cold, blood vessels dilate again and blood flows back, causing the limbs to feel hot or even scalding, leading to involuntary removal of clothes. In addition, there is another terrifying theory that the subconscious of the brain knows it is about to die. It's so hot, so hot, so uncomfortable. So he issued instructions to take off his clothes in order to end this painful process as soon as possible. Fortunately, this lighter is made of flint and won't be unable to hit due to falling into water. Although fire sources are extremely precious in the wild, there is no need to worry about not having the opportunity to use them in the future. Uh. Nick, don't move around. Really, I didn't take off my clothes out of that kind of evil idea of indulging in pleasure before death. I did it just to survive. In such sub-zero temperatures, wet clothes will freeze into ice cubes in just a few minutes. At this point, clothes not only fail to provide insulation, but also take away the body's temperature. The correct approach is to remove the clothes. Although this means I have to be honest with Nick, I just can't care so much about it in this life and death situation anymore. But I never expected Nick to have such a big reaction. How can this chick bear it? Master Witch Envoy. Ninnick, listen to me explain this. I can't. We can't let it go like this anymore. Be good, don't move. Huh, it's finally different. Now our core body temperature has stabilized, although our limbs are still cold, at least we don't have to worry about freezing to death. But it's still too cold here. We need to find a way to get out of here. MMM, big. Master Wu, you. Um, Nick, listen to me explain. When I was on Treasure Island 2, I inexplicably became Hannick's husband. Because I did it to ensure her safety at that time, I never took that identity seriously. Afterwards, I also selectively forgot about this matter. From now on, it appears that. Nick seems to have never forgotten that before this, I was aware of it, but just kept pretending not to know. Because Yellen and Jessica are already enough to make me difficult. I can't stand it anymore, even though I have fantasized about having multiple wives and concubines. Now it's hard for me to let go of any of them. I didn't reach this level for Hanik before, but today. The way she risked her life and didn't hesitate to save me. Think carefully, since I met her, she has always been by my side on every adventure. Nick. Um. Why is this happening? I know that the Witch Lord must have done this to keep warm. I won't think too much about it. Yeah, I'm just an ordinary person with a low social status. How can I compare myself to Elin and Jessica, who are witches? Yes. I did it to live with you. Um. Witch Envoy, sir. I'm sorry about this. The witch lord is so cold. Nick, quickly let go. It's rare to hold back in such a situation, so please don't tempt me anymore. Put it on. The water in your clothes turned into ice and I shook it off. It's already dry now. Awesome. Activity increases blood flow rate to generate heat. It is really comfortable. Master Witch Envoy. It's been so long and we should have been hungry. Let's eat something first. There's nothing to make a fire here, so we can just eat it directly. Such cold weather. Parasites should also freeze to death, just like that sushi. Do we not want this internal organ, Lord Witch? Generally speaking, parasites in animal bodies mostly reside in their internal organs. Currently, we do not have any cooking conditions. 
If eaten raw, it is highly likely to be infected with parasites. But when we run out of ammunition and food, these internal organs will be our last food. If possible, I would prefer it to serve as bait. Beast. Yes, that's right. It's a beast. Don't be fooled by the vast expanse of white on this snowy plain, where there isn't even a single strand of fur, but there are still animals present, such as seals, snowbirds, polar foxes, and the most powerful carnivore, the polar bear. That's also the prey I want the most. Because polar bears have an extremely sensitive sense of smell, seven times that of dogs, it is precisely because of this that they are able to find food in a vast expanse of white snow making it highly likely that they are attracted by the smell of blood. As for snow foxes and other animals, they are mostly omnivorous and naturally timid. Even if they smell blood, they may not necessarily come to investigate. However, polar bears are one of the strongest creatures on land, and this is their home ground. It's a bit scary to encounter them in person. Master Witch Envoy, Master Witch Envoy. What's up? Why aren't you eating? Ah, uh, I still feel a little resistant to eating raw chicken. I'm eating now. Master Witch Envoy It's really hard to swallow. Master Wu, don't try to devour what you said and live together. Nick Yes, you should take big bites. Now is not the time to be indecisive. I finally ate it. Ouch one. To survive, you must eat it. Call. Ha ha. Call. Ha ha. Okay, our bodies are getting hot. Let's go outside and check on the situation. It's not that cold outside. Let's go. Um. The internal organs of this bamboo chicken have frozen into a pile of ice, which might be useful to keep. Master Wu, why do I feel like I'm standing still? This place is covered in snowy white without any road signs, which creates the illusion that many people give up because of this situation. But we must go down and break out of here to find a glimmer of hope. It's the witch envoy, sir. Let's go. Um. Why are your eyes feeling a bit uncomfortable? Master Witch Envoy. Are you okay? Nick, let's take a break first. Is it due to excessive physical exertion and insufficient supply of chi and blood to the brain? Master Wu, are you okay? This. Master Witch Envoy. Don't scare me. I can't see my eyes anymore. Master Wu, I will carry you on my back. Nick, don't worry. At this moment, I need to remain calm. I can't go blind for no reason. Look for the corresponding symptoms in the Field First Aid Guide. Complete Guide to Field First Aid Eureka! Snow blindness is an inflammation caused by damage to the corneal and conjunctival epithelium caused by ultraviolet radiation. Symptoms include photophobia, tearing, and inability to open eyes. During the onset of the disease, there may be blurred vision. Severe cases may experience temporary blindness. During this period, one can go to a dark place or cover their eyes with an eye mask and chill them with a cold towel. Reduce eye usage so that after a few more days of rest, vision can be restored. If conditions permit, fresh human milk or fresh milk eye drops can be used, with 5 to 6 drops per time and 35 drops every 35 minutes to relieve pain. If the situation is urgent, acupuncture or massage of the Sabai Higu Neguan Acupoint can be used to relieve symptoms. Higu Acupoint Radial Flexor Tendon of Wrist Daling Neguan 07 Palmaris Longus Tendon Sibai acupoint. It must also be mentioned that repeated snow blindness gradually weakens one's vision, leading to long-term eye diseases and even permanent blindness. Fortunately, it's temporary. Nick, quickly cover your eyes. Don't cover them too tightly. This fabric is made of cotton and linen, and the gaps are relatively large. 
If it's loose, you can see the road. Cover your eyes. My eyes are no longer visible. Please protect your eyes. Master Wu, I have concealed it. That's right, this is the best way to avoid UV damage to the eyes. From now on, you are my eyes. I'll follow you. If you say stop, I'll stop. Wherever you turn, I'll turn. The Witch Lord Nick can carry you. This is too much consumption for you, and now we all rely on exercise to consume our own energy to resist the severe cold. If I don't exercise, I'll freeze to death within ten minutes. Nick understands now. Although I couldn't see it, it didn't matter if I fell down due to the buffering of snow, but... If there are wild beasts attacking, it will be difficult to resist. So it's better to buy the talent of the slightly inferior silver wolf so that your eyes can recover in the shortest possible time. Open the system. Indeed, the system is presented directly in my mind. Even snow blindness can still be seen. Ding host successfully redeemed talent. Slightly inferior silver wolf. After acquiring this talent, if the host's body has sufficient energy, the ability to recover will be improved several times and the host's physical functions will be enhanced to a certain extent. Ding products are starting to be distributed. Ding host successfully received the product. Comfortable now, my whole body feels warm and cozy. The swelling and pain in my eyes suddenly subsided by half. It's obvious that my talent is starting to take effect but my vision hasn't improved significantly. I was naive. Master Witch Envoy. It is also clearly stated in the item list of the mall that this talent can only increase the host's own recovery ability several times, rather than obtaining the same recovery ability as Wolverine. It's okay, Nick. Let's go. Although it may not heal immediately, this talent can increase recovery by several times. Undoubtedly, being in the snow can greatly increase the chances of survival. Now that the sun is setting, my body temperature is also starting to decrease. Nick, that's all for today. Find a place to stay overnight. It's the Witch Envoy, sir. Okay. Master Wu, you were thoughtful. We had plenty of time this time, and as soon as the sun set, we dug the snow cave. Nick, we will continue to rush like this in the future. Hold on, we must walk out. Well, I believe in the Witch Envoy. When will we be able to get out of here? Even with the blessing of talent, the body is almost unable to withstand it. My ears were frostbitten on the first day I came here, from stiffness to redness, swelling, blisters, eventually rupturing, ulcers, scabbing, and blackening. If it weren't for the difficulty of bacteria surviving here, my ears would have been completely rotten long ago. Snow blindness has been cured today, but my nose is broken again. Even with socks and shoes, the feet are still swollen and curled, and even a slight movement can cause severe pain. The exposed skin is already red and cracked, and when touched, it is like scales of dead skin falling down, causing swelling in the areas wrapped in clothes. These are just the surface level. The most serious thing is that the low temperature has disrupted the normal physiological functions of our various parts. I can clearly feel that my body is getting weaker and my strength is gradually diminishing. My stomach can't adapt to raw meat for a while, and I have been smoking from time to time during this period. Although Nick lived on Treasure Island Number 2 for many years and was affected by the special magnetic field there, his physical fitness far exceeded that of ordinary people, but he suffered multiple frostbite injuries. In addition, Nick already has a strain on her body, and her recent travels have worsened her injuries. Her entire shoulder and even arm are in a stiff state, and even a slight movement can cause severe pain. She is in a low-grade fever state, afraid of the cold. What's that noise? The sound of snow fox or snow wolf constantly changes positions, but it is all centered around the location of the internal organs, which is obviously attracted by today's chicken internal organs. We need to catch it and not let the chicken's internal organs go to waste. Nick, get ready. 
Large. The polar bear is the world's largest terrestrial carnivore with a large and robust body that can stand up to 25 meters tall. Its head is relatively smaller than other bears and its ears are smaller. Its round neck is slender. The skin is black and the hair is transparent, so it usually appears white or yellow in appearance. The body is huge and fierce, with five toes on each foot and a large, paddle-shaped front claw. It is suitable for swimming and walking on thin ice. Living in waters covered by ice in the Arctic Circle, sometimes forced to spend several months on land until the sea freezes due to the melting of the ice circle. Fast. I didn't expect the polar bear to be the first to take action. Ha ha. My body is too weak now. This knife didn't even hurt its bones. Nick, hold on. The subcutaneous fat of the damn polar bear is too thick. Nick, run quickly. Damn it, I didn't expect this polar bear to have such a huge body and such a fast speed. It doesn't have the talent to give it a chance to rub against the snow just by touching it. This won't work. Maybe I'll exhaust my strength before the polar bear. So I can't just run away and make the biggest counterattack before exhaustion. He, with a catch reaction, even the fastest polar bear is like a sloth. How population. Just now it was just an appetizer, now it's the real deal. Great, in this situation, I could definitely kill this polar bear here. The polar bear lying in the trough can still fake actions to deceive people. Stop for me, eat my food, and just want to leave like this. As long as we can kill the polar bear, it's like having a large food reserve. The fur of polar bears can also be used as a blanket to resist the cold and wind. Anyway, I won't let you go of anything I say. I'm really tough going. Master Witch Envoy. Ah. Fake action, returning the spear. This polar bear is probably going to become a sperm. Moved, move quickly. Don't try to harm the witch envoy. Host successfully purchased the product. Product distribution begins. The host successfully received the product through the mouth. Ha ha. Master witch envoy. Master Wu, are you okay? It's okay. Fortunately, this is snow. Otherwise, a polar bear weighing one ton would have flattened me long ago. Quickly slice open its belly. It's so warm, Master Witch. Taste. How is Nick recovering? The temperature of the polar bear is dissipating, and we cannot stay here forever. Well, Nick is much better now. First, dig the snow cave for tonight's overnight stay. Later, I'll give you a gift. Gift. You'll find out soon. Master Wu, this is the gift you mentioned. It's really warm. Your skills are so good that you didn't damage any fur at all. As long as you have a little understanding of the subcutaneous tissue of polar bears, you can handle it with ease. And this one. Wrap it up and have a good sleep tonight. Uh-huh. Nick's body is probably at its limit due to pulling a strain on his arm while saving me, coupled with his recent life in the snowy plains. Good boy, I didn't expect us to sleep all day and night. Yeah, my spirits are much better now, and the frostbite on my body has also eased. Nick, open your mouth. What is this, Master Witch? It's so disgusting. The eyeballs of polar bears contain a large amount of fatty acids, vitamins, lipopolysaccharides, collagen, elastic substances, and other multi-element substances. For the body. It has great benefits. 
Ha ha ha, Master Wu, you look too ugly now. It's really unappetizing. When will we depart, Lord Witch? Do we still need to take away so much meat? If possible, I would like to take it all away, but it is impossible to do so. Dragging a ton of load in such a harsh environment is not a wise thing to do. We can only choose the best and most useful ones to take away your serious injuries. We can rest here before setting off. Such a long period of fatigue cannot be compensated for by sleeping for a day or a night. In fact, if I hadn't exchanged my talent for the slightly inferior silver wolf earlier, which increased my resilience several times, I would have fallen asleep like Nick. Alas, in order to deal with the polar bear before, I exchanged 11,000 points for the talent of being as powerful as an ox, which gave me the strength to finally pierce the polar bear's throat when I was exhausted. Host's production of nitroglycerin earns 10,000 points reward. Personal points of 3,000. Points are really wasteful. Let's take a look at the mysterious product. The Life of Old Hunter 1. Snowfield Experience Pack. Snow Forest Experience Pack. Swamp Experience Pack. Good Guys Lifelong Experience, and as long as. Just 1,000 points. How could it be so cheap? You should know that with these valuable experiences, you can avoid many detours. Wait, that's not right. You really have your Snowfield Experience Package, Snow Mountain Experience Package, and Snow Forest Experience Package. It's obvious at a glance that these should have been integrated together. Now it's being split and sold, and you're really straightforward about treating me like a fool in the system. But now this is a life-saving thing. Should we exchange it or must we exchange it? The system has successfully purchased the product. Product distribution begins. It's really a good thing. There are many areas that can be improved in the snow cave in front of us, such as changing the flat roof to a dome to make the snow cave more stable. To prevent the recurrence of polar bears stealing homes, it is best to set up more than one entrance and exit so that you don't have to worry about becoming a turtle in a jar. Furthermore, the location of this snow cave cannot be chosen. The snow that falls directly and the snow that accumulates in the distance due to the wind are different. The former is heavier and denser, while the latter is slightly worse. If I hadn't kept my points as a trump card, I would have really wanted to redeem all these experience packs. The priceless wealth experienced by the old hunter in this experience package is not something that can be learned just by reading a book. With these, my confidence in getting out of this snowy plane has greatly increased. According to the snow experience package, it is best not to use the ice house and snow cave for more than seven days, otherwise there is a risk of collapse. Then adjust here for seven days before setting off. Nick, let's go. It's the witch envoy, sir. The wind is getting weaker and it seems that we are getting closer to the center. It's getting harder and harder to walk with every step of snow reaching knee deep now. If only there were sleds. It's just that there's not even a single hair on this vast snow field, so where do we get the materials to make a snow version? We can only walk slowly. Two days later. Is there something in front of the witch envoy? What? I didn't see anything. It seems to be a tree witch. Did I have a hallucination? Having hallucinations at this time is not a good sign. It's not an illusion, there's something. There is indeed something ahead, is it? Nick, hurry up. Let's go take a look. Master Wu, this is really just a tree and it's dead. Nick, we've arrived. We've finally arrived. The appearance of trees means that we have entered the central forest area of E7 Snowfield. Mountain forest area. Yes. The mountains and forests should be right ahead, but it will take a lot of time to reach them. Let's take a good rest and rest our spirits first. Um, it's still early, Nick. Take a break and I'll go find some wood to make a fire. No, I'll be responsible for digging snow caves. I really can't argue with you. These trees have been dead for a long time, and after being exposed to wind and sun, their moisture has already disappeared completely. 
They are very crisp and happen to be excellent fuel. Master Witch, you have returned. Well, come and chop the wood into pieces to prepare for ignition. The cotton core of a lighter soaked in kerosene is an excellent ignition material. Great. We have a fire. It's so warm. Oh, the fire is about to be extinguished. The weather may change, Nick. Let's quickly dig a snow cave and move the campfire to the snow cave. Good wizard, sir. It's just getting dark. Yes, don't seal this hole for smoke to escape. Are you hungry? Come on. Coming. I finally don't have to eat raw meat anymore. Yes, Lord Witch. Eat more. It's been really hard these days. I don't have to work hard to be with the Witch Envoy at all. Ah, cooked meat is really delicious. Master Wu, you should also eat it. Although there are no seasonings, this can definitely be called a top-notch delicacy. What are you doing, Master Witch? Do you need my help? No need, it's almost done. I'll be right there. Hurry up and sleep. We'll definitely have a good night's sleep tonight. Let's leave early tomorrow. Finally arrived. I thought we could arrive at noon but we didn't expect the distance to be even farther than we estimated. However, we finally arrived at sea, yeah, that's right. Is this the place where we will live with the Witch Envoy in the future? It looks really nice. Let's go, try to find a suitable place to spend the night before dark. Master Wu, why do we seem lost and wander around? It feels like we're still spinning in place. Well, it's getting late. We can't keep going like this. Let's spend the night here tonight. But there are no leeward slopes here, and the snow on the open ground is very fluffy, making it impossible to dig holes. How can we spend the night? It's okay, look at mine. Master Witch, do you want to? Ha ha, let's go get some branches. All right, take the branches back and we can build a house. Master Wu, leave it to me. Let's start. Fill the gaps between the leaves with snow to prevent cold air from pouring in from behind and taking away the heat. The style here is similar to the first campsite built on Treasure Island number 2. The difference is that this is the icy and snowy E7 area, and the people around us are not yelling, but Han Nick. I don't know how Yellen and the others are doing now. How does it feel itchy? How could there be blood? Master Wu, your nose is also bleeding. It's okay, it's okay. This is a normal phenomenon. After the body warms up, the blood flow rate inside the body increases, which causes the capillaries in the nasal cavity that were originally contracted and become brittle due to the cold. Unable to relieve it in a timely manner, it ruptured and caused nosebleeds, which is not even a minor problem. Just use snow to cool down your nose. I come too. Ah. Arm pain. I'm here, Nick. Please do your best not to move during this time. Good witch envoy, sir. Take a good rest. Your nerves have been tense lately. Relax and take a nap. With Nick's injuries so severe, I'll be the one to watch the night. Although I haven't encountered any other wild beasts along the way except for polar bears, I believe this forest is definitely not that safe. In this tranquility, there must be a deadly killing intent hidden. The possibility of encountering danger may be small, but once it happens, it can be life-threatening. Therefore, we must never take any chances or slack off. Not 11 4 slack off. I actually fell asleep. No, I can't just empty my mind like this. I need to start thinking about my future plans. Although I had a video call with Yellen and the others before the energy of the ring ran out, no one knew how big the world was. 
Even though they knew that Nick and I were still alive, it was really difficult to find this place. I remember Nick and I were in the midst of ocean currents, which flowed back and forth between two areas. If they were lucky enough to encounter ocean currents without tributaries, Yi Lin and her team might have found this place by following the currents. But if there were any other diversion of this ocean current, or if Nick and I had separated from the current on our way and drifted to E7, then Nick and I would probably have to rely on ourselves to leave here. But in either case, given the current situation, it's impossible for Nick and I to leave here in a short period of time. I have to plan for long-term survival here. As of now, water can melt snow and obtain food, and there is still plenty to worry about in the short term. It's better to say that keeping warm in this low-temperature environment is the key. Although this wooden shed can meet the needs of warmth, it is too small to fully utilize its body, unable to provide good rest, and has no defensive function. Any slightly larger beast has the ability to destroy it. The most important thing now is that the temperature will be higher in summer and lower in autumn, so we need to build a house to resist the cold wind and wild beasts before then. In addition, we also need to find ways to hunt and make animal skin sweaters, otherwise even with a campfire and a house, there is still a possibility of freezing to death. It's dawn. Has the witch lord woken up yet? Just now, you can sleep more. No, I've already rested all night. Instead, the witch lord stayed up all night. Still holding me like this. Ah. Nick, don't move. I'll take care of it. This is due to a strain that limits Nick's range of motion, causing him to become stiff while exercising. That Nick, I'm going to take off your clothes now. Hey. I have long seen this situation in the field emergency directory. It is due to a strain that limits Nick's range of motion, causing him to become stiff while exercising. I didn't mean it that way. I have a massage method to speed up recovery. But in the whole book, various treatment plans basically require the use of medication, but the current situation is really difficult, so I found massage techniques to relieve pain and accelerate recovery. The main methods of traditional Chinese massage for shoulder strain are acupressure and rotation. The areas that can relieve spasms include the scapular dark vein, shoulder lifting point, and arm lifting point. Stretching is to move the muscles in front of the shoulder, outside the shoulder, inside the upper corner of the scapula, which can relieve blood stasis and relieve pain. Spinning the shoulder is to make the patient bend the elbow, lift it up from the lower inner chest, then rotate it outward, extend it down, and repeat 35 times. In addition, acupuncture and moxibustion can also be used to select jinyu, jinzong, jinjing, higu, ashi, etc. All right, you should rest well in the coming period. I'm sorry, Lord Wu, for dragging you down. How could it be? If it weren't for you, Nick, guiding me when I was snow blind, I might have frozen to death on the snowy plains long ago. And that night when the polar bear attacked, you saved me in a critical moment. I need you, Nick, so all you need to do is rest quietly and recover early. Okay, I grilled some meat last night. Although it's a bit cold now, it's still edible. The next thing to do is to build a warm and enemy-proof house, but before that, there's one more thing to do. I can finally have a sip of water today. Nick and I haven't had a sip of water in many days. Master Wu, you should drink it too. If the water were any hotter, that would be great. That might take some effort. If we can find a stone to heat it up and throw it into the water, it's possible, but here, besides trees and snow, we can't find a single stone. If the wooden cup is placed directly on the campfire, although there is water in it when boiling water, the wooden cup will not burn through, but over time it will turn into charcoal and is highly likely to crack, let alone drink water. You rest first, I'll go out first. Nick may encounter some danger. I can't go too far, but there's nothing in this area. But I always feel like I'm missing something, yet I can't figure out exactly where I'm missing it. Forget it, let's open the system and learn from the experience of our predecessors. 
the application of the content in the previously redeemed Snowfield Experience Pack is limited to experiences on the snowfield that have now entered the snow forest and are rarely applicable. Then exchange it for this snow experience pack. Ding ding. Host successfully exchanged goods. The product is being distributed. I understand what detail was overlooked. The resources in this area are very poor, except for the lack of edible plants. The footprints of animals are nowhere to be seen. This is because it is located on the edge of the forest near the snowfield, and the food quality is poor. After all, animals also need food, and this place is empty, so naturally it will not be active here. It seems that the schedule for building the house will be postponed. The most important thing now is to step into the depths of the forest and find a suitable location for long-term survival. But before we leave, we still need to make some preparations. As one of the relatively cold-resistant tree species, birch occupies one-third of this forest, while the other two-thirds are equally occupied by pine and fir trees. This is a mixed forest. But it doesn't matter what kind of forest it is, what's important is that there are birch trees. It's summer now, I don't know if there are any. Got it. In order to survive the cold winter, this birch tree begins to collect and store nutrients at its roots towards the end of autumn to meet its winter needs. In spring, it will use these nutrients to grow rapidly. During this period, birch trees contain highly nutritious sap, which is rich in vitamins, minerals, polysaccharides, as well as vitamins, iron, potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, selenium, and more. It can also be used as a detoxifying agent to protect the human liver, and the triterpenoids and polysaccharides in it have anti-tumor activity. Lignin compounds not only have enzyme-lowering, liver-protecting, and anti-cancer activities, but also play an important role in protecting the cardiovascular system, anti-allergic, and enhancing immunity. It's really not much, it's a waste of time. Let's get down to work first. Gone still needs an axe for convenience. It's almost time to go back, although there's a lot of wood. Fortunately, I have the talent of being powerful like an ox and can transport them back with just a few trips. Ah, comfortable. I just made two more cups, so I don't have to wait for a while after drinking each cup of water before drinking the second one. Even the snowboard version has been remade. After all, the previous snowboard was made of randomly broken branches and tied with small intestines, which is a mess that cannot withstand the long journey ahead. During this period, due to the staggered schedule with Hanik, not even a single speaker felt extremely frustrated during the day. But survival is just like that. I've already put in all my effort to survive, so there's no time to worry about anything else. We should take another day off and set off. Fortunately, the sled made is not small, 2 meters long, 15 meters wide, and covers an area of 3 square meters. This way, Nick has enough space to stretch out inside without worrying about discomfort. Sure enough, it's a bit easier. Previously, in order to reduce the grounding area, I specially added two sled blades at the bottom of the sled. This sled blade is made of two wooden sections that are the same length as the sled, arranged side by side, stacked in two layers, and finally fixed to the bottom with a rope. This greatly reduces the friction between the sled and the snow. Although I am now as powerful as an ox, after these days of testing, I have found that this talent, like the swift cheetah, only unleashes the potential of the human body, rather than directly endowing any kind of power. Overall, my strength is still within the realm of humanity, and with the power I currently possess, I can already compete with Kata's wrist. However, dragging the sled still feels a bit strenuous. To describe it, it's like an ordinary person carrying a big watermelon that can be lifted, but it doesn't take long before they feel tired and need to rest for a while. Pulling a sled alone is really slow. After walking for a day, the two of them are still on the outskirts of the woods. Fortunately, there is a sled. Otherwise, if we also include the time to build the roof, it would definitely be a bit urgent. 
Master Witch Envoy. Wake up, come and eat something. Good. Master Witch, where have we been? We are still at the outer edge of the forest. Then let me also pull the sled together. Don't wait until your injury is fully healed, and if there are any lingering effects, it won't be worth the loss. Nick, please pay attention to your surroundings. I'll leave for a while. It's better to go back quickly if you're feeling better, otherwise Nick will have to worry. Master Wu, I have roasted the meat. You can have some. Good. You'd better eat it yourself first. An hour later. Master Wu, how are you feeling now? Much better. Let's have some water. As far as my current state is concerned, I must have eaten something bad to become like this. Could it be that there is something wrong with the meat of bamboo chickens or polar bears? If there is no problem, it has been around for a long time, so how could it wait until now? As for spoilage, it is even more impossible. Wait, besides meat, the other thing that enters the mouth is water. Did I remember? There is a tip in the snow experience pack that if you can't find a water source in the snow, you can turn the snow into water. This can temporarily meet your body's needs, but remember not to drink snow water for a long time. Because snow water lacks minerals, even boiling it and drinking it can cause bloating or diarrhea, but making soup with snow water is another matter. What's wrong with this water, Lord, which one? It's better for us to drink as little snow water as possible, but it's not a big problem. There are many pine trees in this forest. We can pick some pine needles to make tea. How can we boil water here when we don't even have stones to make tea? Actually, we don't necessarily have to use stones. Wow, so this can replace stones. Yes. I have long thought of this method of boiling water. As for why it was not used before, there are two reasons. One method is to increase the carbon content in the knife, which reduces its toughness and increases its rigidity, making it easier for the knife to break in this environment. Secondly, the heat transferred from the knife to the water in a low temperature environment dissipated quickly, and it took too much time to boil the water. But based on the current situation, I have to do this, otherwise I will fall into a cycle of diarrhea causing dehydration, drinking snow water causing diarrhea, and eventually collapse completely. There is a saying that pine needles are my Chinese treasure. The extract of pine needles contains plant enzymes, plant fibers, growth hormones, proteins, fats, and 24 amino acids, which have a blood pressure lowering effect. It's really much more comfortable now. Nick has to wake up early tomorrow. I'll go rest first. Okay, leave this to me. I wanted to find a suitable place to live for a long time before solving the problem of boiling water, but last night's diarrhea forced me to deal with it quickly. Although this wooden shovel is not big, there is no hope of finding a stone that can be used to boil water smoothly. It's really difficult. But although it's a bit less, it can still boil the water at once, which saves a lot of time and effort. Next, we can continue moving forward. That is. Moss. This taste is like eating oyster dishes. Of course, this taste is not important. The important thing is that the appearance of this moss means that we have approached or even reached a relatively warm inner circle. Nick, look what I've discovered. Moss is actually moss. Yes, we may be about to leave this forest area. Eat it and replenish some nutrients. Then we keep moving forward. There are fewer and fewer trees here, and more and more are dead trees. And the moss on the trees is increasing in size, so Nick and I don't have to worry about running out of vegetables to eat. The structure of moss itself is simple, so it is greatly influenced by the environment. Moss in different soils and even under different lighting conditions presents differently, and even the air can affect them. So this moss is also a pointer to distinguish direction and where the water source is located. In the wild, under large rocks, mounds of soil, and trees, the south is usually covered in dense vegetation, while the north is prone to moss growth. 
Therefore, it can be divided into north and south. So the current direction is towards the east. As for how to determine the direction of the water source, it is more difficult to distinguish it by the moss on the same tree. Generally speaking, in order to visually distinguish the differences between mosses and determine the direction of the water source, at least one kilometer apart mosses need to be compared and then judged based on the abundance of moss distribution. But the effort required for this is not ordinary, and comparing memories in the mind without recording tools can easily lead to errors and interruptions. I'm not very concerned about water sources. Whether or not I have it is okay. After all, water is not what we lack now. Let's keep moving forward. I feel like we're almost surrounded by the woods. The sound of stepping on the snow confirms that the snow beneath our feet is no longer as thick as before. Most importantly, it's much warmer here. Although compared to those temperate tropical forests, this place can be considered barren, but compared to before, the snow field here is simply much better. According to the snow experience package, there may be berries in this area, which also means that there may be some animals lurking nearby. Let's walk and see. It would be great if we could find some berries or other food, but we still need to go to the outskirts of the forest first. Two hours later. Alas, I kicked my feet hard for two hours and my eyes were almost sore, but I couldn't find anything to eat. I don't know if it's inside. Shrub. Have we arrived, Lord Witch? Did you see that shrub when we arrived? We have reached the inner circle. In the coming time, we need to find a long-term place to live. Are we staying here? Although we are not short of water, there will undoubtedly be more food near the water source. Since we have been searching for it for so long, it is not bad for this one or two days. Nick, can you be alone now? I need to go find a water source and temporarily leave for a while. It's possible. Under the massage of the Witch Lord, the pain in my arms has completely disappeared and my body is no longer stiff. I have the ability to protect myself. You can rest assured and go find a source of water. Okay, wait for me. In this snow, my movements are greatly restricted and the speed of a swift cheetah can only be used for a fraction of a point but not having to pull the sled can save a lot of energy. When we arrive at a distance of one kilometer from the sled, we must first remember that the distribution of moss area cannot have any deviation. Because if there is a deviation, it will render all previous comparisons useless. The moss here has not increased. Master Witch, have you found the water source? There's no trace of water source here. Let's go north and try. Good. That's the right direction. There is more moss on the trees in the north, which indicates that this place is closer to the water source. It also means that there is more food in this direction and animals appear more frequently. The animal footprints are snow rabbits, but unfortunately, these footprints have faded under the invasion of wind and snow. Even in places without tree cover, it is impossible to find snow rabbits. Anyway, this is a good sign, and as the saying goes, good things come in pairs. Master Witch Envoy It's a small stream. It's a small stream. Although this stream is small and shallow, its flow is abundant. Moreover, the creek is filled with stones, which is simply amazing. Lord Witch, shall we build a shelter nearby? No, although water sources are important to us, they are equally important to animals. There are only two of us, and you are still injured. If you encounter a herd of animals, it's not a joke. Where should we go, Lord Witch? Don't be too far from the water source, but don't be too close either. Let's just use the open space in front of us. It's an acceptable distance of half an hour from the water source here. This place looks great, doesn't it? Uh-huh. The first thing to do when building a tall building on flat ground is to lay a solid foundation. But before that, we have to make tools for excavating the foundation, and in the icy and snowy world, we can only return to primitive society and start with stone tools. Furthermore, the issue with food is that we haven't been hunting or having any other sources of food these days. 
We have already eaten almost all the meat of polar bears, and now we only have one week's worth left. We need to quickly make some reserves. Nick, please wait here for me to come back soon. Ah, it's so cold. I hope to find some suitable stones for this water. Hey, this is flint. It's a very good material in primitive society. Basically, primitive people's stone tools were polished from this kind of stone. The material is dense, hard, and can even produce sparks when struck, serving as a flint that must be taken away. Master Witch Envoy I found some flint and will polish it into axes and hose tonight. Master Wu, why don't you take a break and have some hot tea? No, I need to fix them up quickly and then go to sleep. There are still many things to do tomorrow. Master Wu, please pay attention to safety, and I cannot rest like this. What else do I need to do? Although the stone is hard, it is still too easy to break compared to iron. Polishing stone tools do not require high shoulder mobility, which has little impact on me. There's not much food left. I hope we can find the footprints left by the animals that appeared today. This is the footprint of a snow rabbit. It seems that there are many snow rabbits around here. This is already the second time I have seen the trail of a snow rabbit. The traces this time are deeper and more messy than what we have seen before, which means this is a path where snow rabbits often appear. If we trace this trace to the snow rabbit's nest, it would be too time-consuming and may even result in a fall, so it's better to make a trap. So, what kind of trap should we make? With a three-pole trap. The first step is to insert two branches side by side on one side of the path at a distance of 60 centimeters and then place one branch horizontally on these two branches and tie them tightly with a rope. Then insert another branch between these two branches on the other side of the path so that the main structure of the trap is completed. But the second step of triggering the mechanism is the most critical part of the entire trap. This requirement cannot be too stiff, so that the trap cannot be triggered, nor can it be too loose, so that the trap cannot be triggered and fails due to some vibrations. It only took me a dozen minutes to set up this trap, and now I have plenty of time to continue searching nearby. Besides animals, there may be other things as well. Eureka! The North Wind Fungus, also known as the Frozen Fungus, is a group of sheep with a scientific name of Lotus Leaf, Folding Umbrella, Basidiomycetes, Subphylum Mushroom, Folding Umbrella Genus, Chrysanthemum Cap, Flattened Hemisphere, Gradually Flattened, and Finally Concave with a Diameter of Centimeters, Gray-White to Gray-Yellow. Rich in protein, essential amino acids, carbohydrates, various vitamins, trace elements, and other nutrients for the human body. It's really lucky to be able to eat. This weighs 7 or 8 pounds. Recently, Nick and I can only eat meat. Finally, we can change our taste. Although the net hole is not small, it can still hold some larger things. Although the mesh bag made of hemp rope has a large gap, fortunately, the frozen bacteria are not small, almost all of them are palm-sized, so there is no need to worry about them falling off. I was planning to make a fur bag. Although we have a small quantity of fur to keep warm, we barely have any surplus. We can only see if there is a chance in the future. Let's use it to make soup tonight. Although it may take a bit longer, I really miss this bite. Okay, let's walk around again. Maybe we'll get something else. That is. You don't have to think about it. There must be squirrels around here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so much pinecone debris here. Let's also set a trap here. Once the task is accomplished, if a squirrel discovers that the pinecone cannot withstand the temptation and touches the pole, the original balance will collapse instantly. The resilient and rebounding branches clamp the squirrel between the roots of the tree. Okay, it's still early. The snow experience package has something interesting to try somewhere else. This is it. Only one final step is left. I hope I won't be disappointed. Including this, I have set up a total of three traps, 
but this is far from enough. We need to set up more traps nearby before dark. Nick polished all of this in just one day. Terrific. Nick dare not fall asleep easily without me by his side. I'm back. Those stone axes, hoes, and spears are all made very well. Master Witch Envoy. You can sleep peacefully now. Good. Then I'll prepare dinner. Today's dinner is really worth looking forward to. Master Wu, what is so fragrant? It smells so good. Wake up, this is the frozen mushroom I found today to make soup with polar bear meat. Come and taste it. It's so fragrant. If there were salt, it would be even better. The soup made from frozen mushrooms and raw meat has basically no taste, but a strong earthy smell. It tastes great without salt. I really wish there were such delicious soup every day. Although there are many frozen mushrooms that I collected and planted that cannot be eaten in one meal, the remaining ones are only enough for tomorrow's quantity. And meat is also a problem. Although many traps have been set up, whether one can catch prey also depends on some luck. If luck is bad, no matter how many traps there are, there may be no harvest. The feeling of uncertainty about finding a stable and sustainable source of food is really annoying. Living solely through hunting is too fragile and lacks the ability to resist risks, which also takes up most of one's time. Master Witch Envoy If we want to plant crops in this place, we must build a greenhouse, but with Nick and I, we're afraid we'll starve to death before we can do it. It seems that we can only focus on aquatic products. There should be many fish on the ice sheet, and we don't know if the stream we saw before is connected to a larger river channel. Before that, we can take a look at the harvest situation of tomorrow's trap. If we catch enough prey, we can temporarily rely on the trap to sustain our livelihood. Until the wooden house is built, make another plan. However, if the captured prey can only sustain the daily consumption, immediately search for a fishing ground along the river. If you are lucky enough to find water areas with abundant fish resources and use fishing traps for future food, it should not be a problem. But if you can't find it, then you'll have to return to the ice sheet. Ah, uh, it's so annoying. It's already the end of June, and in two months we will enter autumn. At that time, the temperature in the E7 area will be even lower than it is now, and current clothing will not be able to keep warm. In winter, not to mention the extinction of all things, it becomes even more difficult to find food. Therefore, before that arrives, I need to reserve a large amount of winter food. That means we need to build the wooden house and prepare the necessary food and clothing for winter within five months, otherwise it will be a dead end. It's almost time. Wake Nick up and keep watch. I'll take a nap first, hoping to find something in the trap tomorrow. I didn't expect the trap I set to catch snow rabbits, squirrels, and crows overnight. If I set 20 traps, I can harvest 10 prey. If I set 30 traps, I can harvest 15 prey. The success rate is quite terrifying. However, it is also thanks to the experience packs clamping in the right place and the use of the correct trap that this result has been achieved. Go back to the place where the barbed wire trap was placed and take a look. What's going on? There aren't any large carnivores around here, and there's not a single footprint around. Or is it that the bait I placed is not effective? Forget it, today's harvest is just enough for Nick and me to eat for a day. After all, these snow rabbits and squirrels don't have much meat after peeling off their skin, let alone snow crows. They don't need to be used as bait anymore. Alas, after a busy day, I only harvested one day's worth of food, which is enough to reach a balance between income and expenses. Where does the time come to build a house? It seems that we still need to set more traps to save time on searching for food later and do something else. I'm back. The witch lord has gained a lot today. 
That was during this week when I set up hundreds of traps around the campsite and divided them into four areas, east, west, north, and south. I harvested them every day. I know why you're trying to avoid frequently appearing in a certain area and disturbing the prey in that area, which reduces the trap capture rate. That's right, now you only need to make one trip to get two to three days worth of food. If you're lucky enough, you can even get a week's worth of food. And these traps can be reused to collect prey and reset the traps, which can take me up to a morning at most. It can be said that the cost is low and the return is high. Although we no longer worry about food, once autumn arrives, not only will the prey we catch gradually decrease, but the temperature will also drop significantly. Just relying on polar bear skins is not enough. So first, let's build the house. Well, my injury is almost healed and I can go out now. Okay, I'll tell you the location of the trap first. You're responsible for collecting the prey and resetting the trap. I'll go get the wood for building the house. With the outstanding resilience of the silver wolf and its extraordinary strength as strong as an ox, it probably won't take long to obtain the wood for building the house. The wood should be enough. Next, we need to trim the wood. Lord Witch, currently we only have wood. Are we building those simple triangular houses now? No, then I'll show you the profound and extensive culture of China. To build a wooden house without nails, one can only use mortise and tenon joints to connect the wood together. To ensure the stability of the wooden house, it is necessary to achieve a tight fit between the protruding tenons and the recessed tenons when docking. This is really difficult for me, who doesn't have the tools to handle it. Ah, uh, I'm not Alex. The mortise and tenon joints made with such excellent craftsmanship are really not good looking. Forget about those that can barely be used and reinforce them with wooden sticks in the later stage. One and a half months later. Finally built, this house is really nice and much faster than expected. Thanks to your help in the past half month, my speed has improved. If you hadn't massaged my hands every day, they wouldn't have healed so quickly. Unfortunately, the tasks in the system only receive point rewards when completed for the first time, otherwise the rewards this time would definitely be considerable. Nick, let's go inside and take a look. Good. Master Wu, I wanted to ask before why there are still two windows open in this cold place. That's because in the future, I want to light a fire inside the house with two windows to facilitate the release of smoke. Avoid carbon dioxide poisoning. Then we can make the house bigger. If the space is too large and the heat dissipates quickly, it won't keep you warm anymore. Don't worry, I will build another independent house for you in the future when I have free time. I didn't mean it that way. Ha ha ha. When the stove burns, the rising smoke continuously fumigates the roof of the house. By filling the room with warm and dry air, the moisture content in the wood can be reduced, making it less prone to decay. Moreover, the smoke from burning firewood contains tar, which can penetrate beams, columns, thatched roofs, straw roofs, and other building materials to enhance insect resistance and waterproofing. Master Wu, are we just stacking these rabbits and squirrels here? This looks too uncomfortable. Let's build a warehouse outside these days. The house is not big, so there are so many foods piled up here, which is too troublesome. I don't want to see hundreds of pairs of eyes staring at me at first sight every day when I wake up. Okay, then I'll go and tidy up the remaining wood. This short period of effort has finally accumulated hundreds of prey, with rabbits accounting for one-third of the total. The rest are large prey such as squirrels, lemmings, snow crows, and ferrets. There are very few snow foxes. Thanks to these prey, a wide and thick fur blanket was made. But if possible, I still want to sleep on that mattress. Although I can fall asleep, even lying on a wooden board with hay is really uncomfortable. By the way, we should also make a few boxes to make it easier to load things when going out. If there is enough time, it may not be possible to burn a few pots. 
Pottery is necessary, and using stones to boil water is really troublesome. However, this also means that the search for fishing grounds will have to be put on hold for some time, and the fishing dungeons also need to be prepared. Nick, let's first build a warehouse behind the wooden house to store the prey we've caught these days. Good. Master Wu, your method called mortise and tenon is really good. There is no gap between the wood to store food, which is the best. You can bring the food over now. I'll use the same method to make a few more wooden boxes later. With only a month left before we enter autumn, we don't have much time left. These days, Nick and I have been working day and night, hoping to be ready before winter arrives. Master Witch, you can rest now. Nick, if you feel tired, just take a break for a while and stay up all night. I will. So tired. I need to get a good night's sleep. I won't be able to do it until tomorrow. It's dawn. I closed and opened my eyes, and this whole night passed by like this. Is it a problem with one's own eyes or perception? It's dawn. Has the witch lord woken up yet? It's already dawn, isn't it? It's polar day. But isn't this a situation that only occurs in the polar regions? Is the world also round? What is polar day, master witch? Polar day, also known as perpetual day or midnight sun, is a phenomenon in which the sun stays above the horizon within one day within the polar range of the earth, with a day length equal to 24 hours, formed by the earth's revolution and obliquity. Oh, in some cold places, there may be a period of time throughout the year when there is no night or when the night is very short, Nick. That's how you understand it. There's no night, I understand. It's amazing, isn't it? It's also fucking. Without a timing tool, these days I have been judging my schedule based on the sky, but now with the appearance of polar day, this regular lifestyle will undoubtedly be disrupted. Is it only possible to determine time through the biological clock? Besides that, what other methods can people use to determine time in this polar day? A sundial uses the position of the sun in the sky as it rises in the east and sets in the west to determine time. However, nowadays, the sun is mostly suspended in the sky, and during the day, it often exceeds 12 hours. A sundial is useless. The position of the stars is mostly daytime now, and with the passage of time, there may be no more dark nights. Where did the stars come from? Alas, this also means that Nick and I are facing the possibility of experiencing functional disorders in our bodies due to our sleep patterns not keeping up with the body's biological clock. Nick, wake me up when you feel hungry. Good witch envoy, sir. Since we can't come up with a solution, we can only rely on the biological clock formed by long-term, regular sleep patterns. Although this is not very accurate, at least there is a rough judgment that won't make people's eyes black. Besides, polar day is not always bad for us. At least during the already dark hours, we don't have to fight over the campfire anymore. The speed of preparing tools will definitely be much faster. Three days later. Have you brought everything? I never thought we would have these things ready in just three days. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Summer has arrived, although it's still around zero, it's much warmer than before. Yeah, I hope this trip will be rewarding. Master Wu, this water is so clear. Unfortunately, there are no fish in such good water quality. Although I know the truth that there are no fish in clear water, what if? Let's go upstream and see if we find anything. Good. Surprisingly, it's still within the range of the creek. We walked for a long time, but the total distance wasn't particularly long. Nick, are you hungry, LTX? Appreciably. I'm the same. It seems like it should be around 6 p.m. now. We're not leaving. Let's find a place to stay overnight. Now we can only judge what time it is based on when we feel hungry. Nick, keep watch over me and walk around. Good witch envoy, sir. Right here. Okay. 
The triggering principle is also very simple, which is to use the small animal's head to crawl into the live chicken coop, but its body gets stuck and struggles, causing the coop to tighten and eventually strangle the small animal to death. Due to its simple structure and mechanism, this trap can only capture smaller prey such as squirrels, snow rabbits, and has a higher probability of failure. Go around and see if there are any suitable places to set up traps. I brought enough food for this trip, so there's no need to worry about getting hungry. It's just that this convenient trap is easy to set up and won't take too much time to try, but if there's something to gain, it can really make a lot of money. The second day. This is Flathead Brother. No, Flathead Brother is white. This is a wolverine. The wolverine, arctic flathead, and honey badger belong to the same family of animals, so they are extremely similar in appearance. The obvious difference is that the fur on the back of the former is brown, while the latter is white. In addition, their habitats are also different. Wolverines inhabit coniferous forests and permafrost grasslands in cold temperate regions, while honey badgers inhabit tropical rainforests and open grasslands in Africa. It is possible that the size of the wolverine is larger than that of the honey badger by about a circle due to its environment, and it can grow to over a meter. In contrast, its attack power is much stronger than that of the honey badger. But no matter what, they can still be considered relatives. Wolverines and honey badgers have quite a few similarities, such as both being active alone, preferring to eat during the day and sleep at night, and being good at long-distance running, swimming, and crawling. In the end, both have a strong sense of territory. Indeed, it is a family's fearless spirit that has been passed down through generations. Being able to separate flesh and skin to protect one's own body and minimize biting damage can be a formidable skill in the animal world. Unfortunately, it's useless to me. Early in the morning, there was a harvest. It seems like there will be some good luck today. Let's take a look at the remaining traps. Master Witch, you have returned. Well, today was pretty good. I caught a wolverine and a snow rabbit. As long as there's a catch, this trap won't be useless. We can still rely on this method to catch prey. Set out. Witch Lord River. Go take a look. This is. This is the snow mountain in E7 area. After getting used to seeing the empty snowfield and unchanging forest, seeing the snow mountain with one's own eyes actually made people yearn for it, just wanting to take a look. I don't know if there will be iron ore there. The iron ore was found on the mountain when I was on Treasure Island number 2. Master Wu, we can go and take a look. Okay, go take a look. I feel like the map of E7 area is a bit wrong. I remember that the mountainous area is in the core zone, and to get there, you have to cross the entire forest area. From the map, the forest area is much larger than the entire snowfield. However, Nick and I spent over a week crossing the snowy plains, but now it has only taken us two days to reach the mountainous area. Even though our campsite is deep in the forest, it shouldn't be so fast. Did I forget something, or was it just my imagination? After all, when crossing the snowy plains, Nick and I spent most of our time resting and didn't walk the snow version quite slowly. Master Wu, what's wrong with you? It's okay, let's go take a look at the river. Anyway, it's not really important. If you can't figure it out, then you don't want to. I don't know if there are any fish in this river. Master Witch, quickly look over there. This is... Red Salmon Red Salmon is distributed in the circumpolar regions along the coasts of Europe and America, as well as the islands in the Arctic. It is the farthest freshwater fish that penetrates deep into the Arctic region. This species is mainly an anadromous type, living in the sea from a young age and returning to rivers for breeding as an adult. Generally speaking, adult Red Salmon will return to the sea in July and wait for autumn before returning to rivers. However, there are also long-term subtle types in all lakes. 
I understand that the river is generally divided into four parts, the source and the upper, middle, and lower reaches. Among them, the downstream riverbed has a smaller width to length ratio and slower flow rate. The siltation effect is more significant in the river channel, and shallow shoals can be seen everywhere. The river bends, twists and turns, and there are many tributaries. In the middle reaches, the river channel becomes slower and the riverbed is more stable. The downward cutting force weakens while the lateral erosion force increases. Therefore, the river channel gradually widens and twists, and there are beaches appearing on both sides. Now Nick and I are located at the transition point between the midstream and downstream. Lord Witch, won't we catch some fish? Don't worry, there will be more fish upstream. It's been another day since we left. It should be afternoon now, Nick. Master Wu, look ahead. Yes, it's here. Beautiful. What's going on? What a big mouse, as big as white eyes. Although it looks like a mouse wind, this is an animal called a beaver. Is beaver delicious? Well, I haven't eaten either. This is actually my first time seeing a beaver. The witch lord is about to escape. Just run away. Unfortunately, there was a meal of meat. Nick, come and take a look. At first glance, this shape indicates that it was not caused by insect damage that hollowed out the tree core or external force that forcibly broke it. Could it be that the mouse was bitten off by a beaver just now? It's incredible, isn't it? Beavers have four huge and extremely hard front teeth, and with this, they can gnaw through trees the thickness of their heads in two hours. Awesome! They are powerful. But what's even more powerful is that they are extremely rare animals besides us humans that can change their living environment. For example, the wetland we see in front of us evolved from forest land after beavers built dams. They are undoubtedly masters of architecture. That pond was built by beavers. Yeah, they're really amazing animals. Although the abilities of this beaver are clearly known through the Encyclopedia of Wild Animals, they are far less impressive than the visual impact of seeing them with one's own eyes. This pond looks big, but currently the world's largest beaver dam is 850 meters long, which is relatively small compared to it. But for us, it's enough to know that this beaver is a completely herbivorous animal that feeds on the tender branches, bark, and roots of trees, which makes fish the highest level predator in this pond. So that's why we can see groups of fish that don't know their geometry, and the quantity is enough to breed animals that need to survive in this area, not to mention Nick and me. After being tired for so long, the food problem has finally been solved. Nick, let's take a good rest today. What's wrong? Aren't we going to catch some fish to eat? No need, even those traps don't need to be set up. You can easily catch any fish from such a large fish pond and get enough to eat, but it's necessary to waste time trying your luck. Now let's take a good rest and ensure our daily routine. Good witch envoy, sir. The witch lord is so powerful that he pierced the fish in one fell swoop. I'm not particularly proficient in controlling this force yet. This powerful skill is indeed good, but I haven't used it many times and haven't fully mastered it. It seems that I still need to practice it well. This fish is really delicious. Not bad, but there are too few varieties, only red dot fresh and arctic abalone. However, compared to animals on land, these two types of fish have very little fishy smell and can be removed by smoking. After finishing, let's take a break and organize the rabbits we caught earlier. Good witch envoy, sir. Nick, go to the sled and bring us the cage we made before. Good. Master Wu, you are so fast. It's okay. I've become proficient these days. Let's put the meat pieces separately into the ground cages. Yes. In this way, the fishing hooks and nets prepared before are no longer needed, but this is definitely a good thing. The rest is the warm clothing needed for winter. 
In winter, everything is silent and life hides in that environment. Many animals try their best to survive by either hibernating or migrating in order to get through the cold, and very few come out to move. But this fish is different. If they don't hibernate and migrate, it's impossible. This water area is where they live, even in winter. It's completely a natural granary, which is why I wanted to find a fishing ground so much before. But I didn't expect to find such a place so quickly. In my plan, I planned to solve this matter before autumn, but who would have thought it would only take less than three days? Master Wu, we are going to the snow-capped mountains next. Yeah, go take a look. Let's go pack up and set off now. What kind of animal hair is this, Master Witch? It's the first shed by reindeer during seasonal changes. Reindeer is another animal I haven't heard of, but in my impression, any deer's fur is a good thing. Does that mean we also have winter clothes? If nothing unexpected happens, follow this road and you will definitely find the reindeer herd. God favors us, but no matter how much we think or how beautiful it is before seeing the reindeer herd, it's just a fantasy. Nick, we need to speed up a bit next. According to the Snow Experience Encyclopedia, reindeer are migratory animals that migrate to the permafrost in winter and arrive the following summer. At that time, the permafrost will be affected by temperature and the melting of ice and snow will bring vitality to the area. Here, reindeer can find lush plants and various mushrooms and no longer need to feed on lichens. Thanks to this period of time, reindeer reproduce and nurture their offspring and will migrate back until autumn. It can be said that reindeer migrate for eight months of the year. Of course, this is not the earth. I am not sure if reindeer have the habit of migration, nor am I certain if they are currently stopping somewhere waiting for us to find them, rather than still on their migration journey. Besides, this route is a roundabout wetland, so if I can't find the reindeer, then yesterday I was essentially useless. But even so, I must give it a try. After following for two days, we finally found the elk herd, the witch lord. There are at least 200 reindeer, right? My swift cheetah here will not be affected in any way, as long as I want to rush out now and get a reindeer. But if they are so reckless, other reindeer will be frightened and flee in all directions, which is not what I want to see. Nick, let's go back and prepare first, then dig traps near this herd of deer and let them run into my bowl one by one. Good witch envoy, sir. On the morning of the third day, Nick should have been in place for three days of preparation, that's all for now. How many deer can be driven into the trap this time depends on whether we have a tacit understanding in our cooperation. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry for trying to survive. What's going on? This is Trap Area, UUE. Master Wu, I saw seven deer fall into a trap. No, it's definitely not just you watching. The Witch Envoy is really powerful. Let me also go help out. Master Wu, I brought down three reindeer, but still managed to make many of them escape. Master Witch Envoy. What's wrong with this reindeer cub, Master Witch? Choking amniotic fluid. Nick, give me a hug. Um, one. Cough, 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 cough. The Witch Envoy is so powerful. Haha, -ha, as long as it's okay. Uncle Lee knows this completely because he has seen the elderly in the village use this method to save a calf in the same situation before. Do we need to keep it, Master Witch? Yes, take good care of it. Reindeer are mammals, and since they are mammals, they need milk for their growth process. Where can I find milk? Due to living in such extreme environments, reindeer babies grow quickly and can stand, run, and search for food in just one day. 
That means this milk may not be a must-have for reindeer cubs, but in my impression, newborn cubs are very weak and must drink milk. Let's first light a bonfire to keep the reindeer babies warm, and then go deal with those reindeer carcasses. Good. The harvest was good this time, and a total of 16 reindeer were captured. This time, we have all the necessary fur items. But how do we transport this back? After all, these are all adult reindeer, with an average weight of 200 pounds per head. Forget it, the bloody smell here is too strong. Let's clean up the snow on the snow first and talk about it later. Master Wu, look. How cute the reindeer babies are. It's very cute now that it's almost evening. You can go rest and rest, even though it's still light up now, but your schedule shouldn't be chaotic. But what name should I give you? Never mind, after all, whether this reindeer baby can survive is still a question. Naming it now is a bit too early. Wait, it shouldn't freeze to death unconsciously. Fortunately, you have to grow up well. The reindeer are the ones who pull Santa Claus. Can you also help me pull sleds when you grow up? Great, but I don't think I'll escape, do I, of surprise? Haha, <laughs> it seems like you're thinking from the bottom of your heart. Believe me, I won't hurt you anymore. Wait, are you sniffing around like this? Are you looking for milk? I don't have any milk, but I have prepared this. If the reindeer baby doesn't eat it, then I have no way out. It's delicious, isn't it? If it's delicious, just eat more. But I don't know if the nutrients contained in it can meet your needs. Reindeer baby. It's great that you can stand up now. It actually walked towards you. Master Wu, it's so cute and affectionate towards me. It may remember your scent, but don't forget that the mucus on its body was wiped clean by you. Uh-huh, by the way, it's time for Lord Wu to change shifts. Don't worry, leave this place to me. Okay, it can eat some lichen and moss, but don't let it eat too much. I'll go to sleep first. Now that we have winter clothes, should we head to the snow-capped mountains or return to the wooden house? Forget it, let's go back. In order to obtain the reindeer skin, we have already deviated significantly from our original route. In addition, we have more supplies on hand, making it more difficult and troublesome to move around. What should we do with these deer? I was planning to transport them a few more times, but the fishing ground has already been found, so there's no need to worry about food. Running around multiple times for these meat is not cost-effective. Forget it. Take the fur and tendons of the reindeer and bring some fish back to the fishing ground as winter food. This way, Nick and I will be much easier in the first half of the journey. But if you really want to slaughter, you need to take care not to let the reindeer baby be seen by it, so as not to create any psychological trauma. After all, even animals can recognize their own kind. Nick, I took the reindeer baby for a walk with you. You can do whatever you want here. Uh-huh, I got it, Master Witch. We need to dispose of those reindeer carcasses before the Witch Lord returns with the reindeer cubs. Cut a few more pork ribs as food on the way back. Of surprise. The reindeer baby runs really fast. I believe he will grow up soon. Yeah, three days passed suddenly and we finally returned to the wetland. Let's go check on the cage we put down before. 2. Master Wu, there are many fish. Ha ha ha, the harvest is good. Let's pick up all the cages and deal with the fish on the spot before leaving. Fortunately, these fish in the snow will soon freeze and not be afraid of spoiling. That's right, hurry up. We've been out for too long this time. Good wizard, by the way, should we give the reindeer baby a name? As stated in the Encyclopedia of Wild Animals, this reindeer baby grows very quickly. In just a few days, the reindeer baby can already scatter and jump around in the snow without any developmental abnormalities caused by the lack of breast milk. If nothing unexpected happens, this reindeer baby will surely grow strong. 
The horns on its head are very cute. Let's call it Jiao Jiao. Of surprise. I didn't expect that Wen Qing could build this wooden shed in just one week. Yeah, Jiao Jiao. Look how kind the witch lord is to you. He specially built a shed for you and it's facing the window of the wooden house. The witch lord is afraid that something will happen to you. Taming deer is an animal that lives in ice and snow. This wooden shed is completely sufficient for you. But now you're still young because there's no one of your kind to keep warm, and the little fur on your body isn't enough to withstand low temperatures. So, before you grow up, why don't you stay with us in the wooden house? If it were somewhere else in mid-August, it would probably still be hot, but in the E7 area, it has already entered autumn and can even be said to have directly entered winter. Why is it still so cold? What's going on? What's wrong with the witch envoy? Sorry to wake you up. It's snowing and the polar day has passed, and it's getting dark now. It's getting dark. The wind and snow outside are so strong that even inside the house, you can hear the howling wind. We need to quickly deal with the fur. It seems that we won't be able to go to the snow-capped mountains. We had planned to go there in the next few days, but the appearance of this weather clearly indicates the change of seasons. According to the Snow Experience Encyclopedia, autumn and winter are not suitable seasons for long-distance travel. If you are not careful, you may encounter a blizzard and bury yourself. Let's talk about it tomorrow if there's anything else. Ah. Oh my god, the snow is so thick. It's a shame that the door was designed to open inward. Otherwise, I would have had to crawl out of the window. It's so cold. Don't go too far, Jiao Jiao. It's okay, it will come back on its own. Let's eat something first and then shovel the snow around the house, otherwise another snowstorm may bury the wooden house. Then it's about dealing with reindeer skin, right? Yes. We have too much food now and the warehouse can no longer hold it. Let's build the car after we finish taming the deer skin. Haha, ha, I didn't expect to eat anything. Now we not only have the prey captured by the witch using traps, but also boxes of fish. Alas, the weather will get colder and colder in the future. If it continues like this, the fishing grounds are likely to freeze over. Let's go fishing as much as we can after we build the warehouse. Good. The witch lord's warehouse is already full. Okay, then come over and we'll start building the kiln. Good. Why did Lord Wu suddenly remember to build a kiln? Now that everything is ready for winter, it's natural to improve our quality of life. It's been so long, don't you want to take a hot shower? Think about it. Yeah, all the pots, pans, and utensils rely on this kiln. Oh, these pots, pans, and utensils are all made. What about this bathtub? It seems that this bathtub won't burn. Let's find another way. There are other ways. Firstly, we need to build a small house. Hut. It's so comfortable. So the witch lord wants to build a small house for this reason. The witch envoy is really amazing. Paste mud in the pit and then use burning firewood to solidify the mud into a bathtub. Although the witch said it was a pity that there was no way to boil water under the bathtub, I am already very satisfied. Witch envoy, where are you going? Go and check if there's any catch in the trap. Although we have a warehouse of fish now, eating fish all the time is not a problem and we'll definitely get tired of it over time. Then I'll go too. You just finished taking a shower and should rest at home. No, I want to go with you. I can give you a hand. Okay, okay, okay. Nick, we'll split into two groups. You go. Young. This little guy seems to have found something delicious again. Yeah, it's really like your eyes light up when you see food. 
Well, Nick, you're currently of surprise. It seems like we've discovered something. Let's follow and take a look. This is Yunberry, a perennial low-growing herbaceous species of the rosaceae family in the genus Rubus with dioecious growth. Long and branched creeping rhizomes often appear in forests or under moss layers. Flowering period, 57 months. Fruiting period, 89 months. That's right, it's Yunberry. This cloud berry is edible, but I see there are still quite a few over there. Ha ha ha, there are still quite a few. Nick, let's go over there and pick it. If only we had discovered it earlier, it would have been so close to us. There's no way this thing can be hidden too deep. This cloud berry grows on the ground and is covered by weeds. If there are no corners, we probably won't know there are cloud berries here until the fruiting period is over. Come and taste it. Sour and sweet, this is too delicious. Yeah, we finally don't have to eat raw meat anymore. It's very difficult to supplement vitamins in this E7 area, and in order to maintain the vitamins needed by the human body, Nick and I would eat a meal of raw meat every once in a while. Because there are many types of vitamins, including vitamin C, present in raw meat. However, cooking it will destroy the vitamins inside. Let's go look for Yunmei tomorrow, Lord Witch. Maybe we'll find more. Hmm, bring some horns. If you can find it, it's better to go out and play if you haven't. October. Autumn is so cold, I'm afraid this winter isn't really like peeing and turning into ice. Haha, ha, if it's really possible, that would be so much fun. Oh, you even joked about me. You're quite brave. No, Lord Witch. By the way, aren't we here to find seal oil for winter? Now that we've arrived at the ice sheet, what should we do next? I was planning to hunt seals again in late autumn, when the ice fields were wider and the hunting grounds were relatively larger. After the autumnal equinox, the temperature is getting lower day by day, which makes it necessary to put this matter on the agenda as soon as possible. If we delay, the weather will become increasingly severe. The wind and snow have become even more fierce, and now my eyes are clearly feeling uncomfortable. I'm just worried that if I keep walking, there might be some problems. No, it's too windy today. We'll leave tomorrow. Get down, Jiao Jiao. You're so good. Let's build an ice house downwind of the sled and spend the night here. Good. Master Wu, can this soft snow really be used to build an ice house? Of course, you can try it if you don't believe me. Oh my god, this snow is very hard. The snow bricks cut out can definitely be used. Yes, freshly fallen snow is indeed soft, but once it accumulates excessively over time, it becomes as tight and dense as a ball during a snowball fight under the influence of gravity. And the snow here has accumulated for hundreds of years, except for the fluffy surface snow, the deeper snow has been compacted by gravity. Doing this is quite fun, like going back to my childhood. Haha, ha, cutting snow bricks is also quite interesting. Master Witch, why did you stop? It's not that after working for a long time, sweat will break out and wet clothes. In this low temperature environment, sweat will quickly freeze into ice, causing clothes to lose their function of keeping warm. So when your body feels hot, stop and wait for your temperature to drop, Nick. When you feel hot, also stop and rest for a while. Not bad. It took two hours to make something that is pleasing to the eye. Master Wu, let's go inside. Jiao Jiao, if you don't stay here tonight, it was specially made for you by the witch envoy. Dear Crying I don't know if anyone would be in such a place. It's hard to say now, but there must have been before. I remember Huang Ichio once said that there is a sub-laboratory in each area of Biosphere 3 equipped with corresponding researchers. However, after the accident, I'm afraid they have all been suspended. Yes, I don't know where the laboratory in E7 area is. If we can find it, maybe we can get help. After this winter, look for it carefully. 
Based on the experience of the Wufang Laboratory and D3 experiment before and after, it seems that someone in the E7 area laboratory may have survived using a special method. Master Wu, what are you thinking? Let's eat first. Okay, okay, pay attention to the campfire. Don't burn it too vigorously. The ice house is too small, and too much heat can cause it to melt. This needs to be well thought out. It's really not urgent. Are you tired? Let's go to sleep. Finally arrived. Master Witch, do you think that's the seal you mentioned there? That's right. That's a seal. Lord Witch, will we stay here for a long time? It's likely to stay here for a few days. This seal is extremely vigilant, and we need to make some preparations before we can build a big house for Jiao Jiao this time. Dear Crying Sure enough, a bigger ice house takes time to walk in. Let's go inside. Jiao Jiao, why don't you go back to your own ice cave? Master Wu, then I'll go to sleep first. Good. Although the wind and snow are strong, the probability of polar bears coming out is not high, but we still need to be cautious. By the way, think about how to capture snow leopards. This is the first time I have seen so many animals since I came here. But I don't know why there isn't the excitement and excitement of seeing prey, but rather... Have you developed a sense of awe and admiration for the wonderful diversity of life in nature? The natural cycle of life is endless, and seeing these scenes always makes people feel like they have returned to the source of the flow of life. So calm. Make people feel so comfortable. No matter how comfortable it is, we must still. We're just a part of nature, Nick. Do you remember the plan we talked about before we left? Although this snow still affects my speed. But the blessing of skills should not be underestimated. Oh. Fortunately, they didn't move quickly and were able to catch up. The witch lord and the seal have disappeared. This is also quite impressive. The thick ice layer is easy to gnaw on. Is this made by a seal? The animals living here have too many teeth. How can we survive in such a place if it's not impressive? Even if I had to use a knife to chisel through this half meter thick ice layer, it would still take a lot of time. However, this seal was able to break it through without any tools. Generally speaking, seals have at least several ventilation holes. If they are scared here, they are unlikely to appear here for a short period of time. Jiao Jiao, come here. Of surprise. We don't have much food left, so we need to catch some sea fish to replenish it. Due to the limited load-bearing capacity of the horn, and considering the space required for returning with the seal, we reduced the carrying of food when going out this time. Why is the witch lord holding a branch here? In order to prevent the ice cave from freezing over, there is still some distance before it gets dark. Let's search nearby and maybe find other seal populations. What is Ice Ridge, Master Witch? It's the place where two floating ice flows bump into each other with the help of seawater and rise up, which leads directly to the sea surface and is considered a place where seals often appear. But just exposing themselves to the water for ventilation, they won't jump onto the ice to bask in the sun like the previous group of seals did. By the way, Lord Witch, there are a large number of walruses on the edge of the ice field. Why don't we capture them? They're right on the edge of the floating ice. They don't even need to climb. They just flip over and jump into the sea. Unless I can teleport, there's no need to think about leaving. Let's continue searching for the ice ridge. Master Wu, do you think that moving object is the ice spine you mentioned? You rewrite. This is a newly generated ice ridge structure that is not stable. In a short period of time, there have been no seals visiting sea. That's a pity. Master Wu, let's go back and take a look at the fishing hook. I feel like we must have some gains this time. Okay, go take a look. This fish is really big. One is enough for us to eat for a long time. 
Yeah, it looks like I've been alive for at least five or six days. Although I was busy until nightfall and didn't catch any seals, this cod was still an unexpected catch. After finishing eating later, you can go rest first. I'll keep watch and think about the plan to catch seals tomorrow. Good. Although Nick and I have a fixed place to live, clothing, animal skins, food, and fish, we can stay here for 10 days and a half months, but Jiao Jiao is not suitable. Jiao Jiao needs moss and lichens as food, but it's easy to find them in the snowy plains. However, despite being covered in heavy snow, there are only ice blocks underneath without the soil needed for plant growth. The Witch Lord, it's snowing today. There are very few animals here. Will Seal Day come out? Don't worry, the seal will definitely come out. Last night, I spent 1,000 points to redeem the Icefield Experience Pack. So I know even in this kind of weather, there will still be seals on the ice sheet. Master Wu, take a look. The seal has indeed come out. Nick, you and Jiao Jiao wait here for now. Squeak. Don't scare the seal away. Oh, oh. It's okay. It seems that the methods in this ice field experience package are quite useful. So I'll continue. Master Wu, this is pretending to be a species of seal. This method is really amazing. Oh. Oh. I want to run. Oomph. Come out here. Oh, oh. You can't leave anymore. Master Wu, you have succeeded. Oh my god, this seal is so fat. Fat is right, the more fat and oil there is, the more afraid it won't be fat. Nick, let's handle it on the spot. Master Wu, this seal is so fat and big. Fortunately, the pottery jars we make are all very big, otherwise they wouldn't fit. Yeah, that's right. Thanks to this ice pack, we were able to successfully catch the first seal, but we can still try other methods inside while we're still here. At noon, these animals have come out again. Nick is preparing for a while, so we can split up and try to catch a few more today. After a while, I'll try the method you just used first. Oh my god, it's so cold. My fingers are numb from the cold. When the witch envoy did this just now, it must have been even colder in the morning than now. He actually persisted. I also need to work hard, not just let the witch envoy and everyone else contribute. Right now. Alas, my speed is far inferior to that of the witch lord, and I can't catch up with this seal at all. It seems that I need to find another way. Then let's use the dumbest method. I'll wait here in the ice cave. If a seal swims or appears, I'll use a spear to pierce it. I finally caught you. Most seals are too timid. Several times, even when I was 34 meters away, they hurriedly crawled into the ice cave and escaped. Yeah, I've been guarding the ice cave all afternoon and only caught this one seal. Capturing seals is not easy, but we are all open at least and won't have zero harvest like yesterday. Yeah, these two seals are both very fat. The fourth day. The fifth day. On the sixth day. On the seventh day. What's going on? Is it because our frequent hunting these days has made these seals notice something and hide in the distance, afraid to come up again? Master Wu, didn't you say that seals are very intelligent? I think it's possible. Okay, luckily we've hunted a total of 10 seals these days, which is enough for us to get through this harsh winter. Yeah, the food for the Witch Lord's Corner is running out. Let's go back. Okay, let's tidy up. Let's spend the night here today and go home tomorrow. Uh-huh, we'll go home tomorrow. Normally, there are strong winds howling outside this ice rink, 
but tonight there hasn't been any movement. It's okay now that the noisy noise is gone, I can hear the movements outside more clearly. But suddenly it's so quiet. I'm really not used to it. Is it? It's indeed you. Is Nick asleep? Come and take a look. Not yet. Hmm, it smells so good. It's so delicious. I feel warm and cozy when I eat this oil. Yeah, I didn't expect that under the high temperature of the campfire, the originally solidified seal oil would melt into a shiny oil and water. Master Wu, I know why you are so persistent in searching for seals. In this icy and snowy world, these are treasures that keep you warm and protected from the cold. Yeah, are you ready? Let's go for a walk outside. Good. This is the first time we've walked out of the ice house at night. It's really beautiful. The hazy beauty gives people a feeling of dreaming. Looking at the moon, it should be almost the 15th day of the lunar calendar. I don't know how Yellen and the others are doing. If one night the sky is clear and cloudless, then the weather the next day is often good. As expected, the moon was bright last night and the stars were sparse. Today is a good day. Yeah, and everything went smoothly on the way. It's afternoon. Let's spend the night here tonight and start preparing to build a snow house for the night. Good. Is Nick's snow brick done yet? Nick, what's wrong with you? Nick. Um, did Nick discover something? It turns out to be seawater. What kind of seawater? I was cutting snow bricks just now when I suddenly heard a sound coming from under my feet, but upon closer inspection, I realized it was the sound of the sea receding. The sound of receding seawater. There's no trace of the sea in the snowy surroundings. Is it? It's true that it's even harder to penetrate even if it's less than half a meter deep. Nick, dig with me. We are indeed still on the ice field, obediently. How big is this ice field? Could it be because we are walking too slowly? Even if we walk slowly, we have covered over 10 kilometers in a day. It's really terrifying, but... It seems that Bing Yuan wants to give us one last gift before we leave. Gift. Yes, it's a gift. Since we can hear the sound of waves crashing across the ice, it's no surprise that we have the beach right under our feet. Nick, let's first build the ice house and then make a big hole on the ice surface. We'll come back later to pick up our gifts. Good. Midnight. Nick's up. We're going to the ice cave to get a gift of purple mussels. Is the purple mussel really that delicious, Master Wu? I haven't eaten it before, but this purple oyster berry has a variety of good vitamins that our body needs. Although we used to have cloudberries to supplement vitamins, we didn't plant many of them. Now that there is another thing that can supplement vitamins, we definitely can't let it go. Why wait until now? Didn't we dig the ice cave in the afternoon? During the full moon, the tidal difference reaches its maximum, giving us ample time to move beneath the ice layer. This is really a gift from Icefield to us. Look, the seawater is receding. The shaman has seen the sand and stones underwater. Go. So dark. Master Wu, are you okay? Not bad. There are many purple mussels on the beach here. Nick, help me take off the animal skin bag. Wow, this place looks a bit strange. Nick, you're in charge of the right side. I'm in charge of the left side. Remember not to go too far. If you hear the sound of seawater, leave as quickly as possible. Got it. Without a timing tool, we have no idea about the passage of time and cannot calculate the rise and fall of the tide. Therefore, we can only judge by the sound produced by the seawater during the high tide. Although the ice surface is thick, it is not impossible for it to suddenly collapse without the buoyancy of seawater. However, if we can perceive the sound of ice breaking before the ice surface collapses and react accordingly, it will undoubtedly increase the time for escape. Picking up purple mussels under this ice layer is a highly risky activity, although most of the time there is no danger involved. 
However, once danger occurs, it can be extremely deadly. After being nervous for half an hour, the harvest was pretty good. It seems that there are over 200 pounds of purple mussels here. Yes, Lord Witch. But the sea hasn't risen yet. Shouldn't we go and pick up some more while it's still there? No need, the tide has already passed for such a long time. The sea can rise at any time, so let's not take any risks. Let's move these purple mussels to the sled first. Good. Master Wu, the taste of purple mussels is so delicious that I can have two more. I was wrong. Compared to raw meat, this shellfish is still better, but for the sake of vitamins. Put it together. Um, this purple mussel tastes like frozen jelly, very smooth to the touch. Although the juice is a bit fishy, the experience is not bad. I just said it's delicious. We'll go to bed early later and take advantage of the good weather these days to go back early. It's the witch envoy, sir. Ah, finally home. This snow is really heavy. Deep. Haha, ha, the witch lord, the squirrel welcomes you back with pine cones. Let's go in. Good. Yeah, it's better to stay at home, Nick. Let's take a break and deal with the prey we brought back from the ice field for now. Good. We can also make a bow and arrow. Um, you're back. Luckily, there are two snow rabbits in the trap today. By the way, Lord Witch, I've dealt with almost all the seal skins. What should I do next? Make waterproof shoes. Yeah, our shoes are often soaked in melted snow, making them wet and cold. It would be great if we had waterproof shoes. By the way, Lord Witch, aren't you going to make a bow and arrow? What's going on now? It's not easy to make a bow and arrow that can shoot seals yet. Let's prepare it again. And it's almost winter. Let's prepare for winter first. Good. Winter. I know this snowy winter can be very cold. But I didn't expect it to be so cold. Since mid-November, snowflakes have been falling almost every day here, with only differences in magnitude, size, duration, or duration. Anyway, the stored food is completely sufficient. I won't go out in this weather, no matter what the weather is like. Nick, don't stop me. Since I said those words, we've been staying at home every day. It's really suffocating. Ha ha, where are we going, Lord Song? It's too boring, but the visibility around is too low. For safety reasons, let's wander around the wooden house. Good. Why did the witch lord stop? It's so cold, I, I want to go home. Be good, be good. If the weather is good tomorrow, I'll take you a few more trips around the fields, okay? The food of the Witch Lord's Corner is almost finished. Let's go out and look for it these days. Before winter arrives, reindeer will migrate to places with abundant resources and relatively warm temperatures for the winter, but the condition of the horns is different and needs to be taken care of. Let's go back and have something to eat first. Good. Is our room still warm? Yes, Master Wu, I'll go get some jam. I don't know how everyone is doing. Anyway, it won't be worse off than us. The Dawn ship has abundant supplies and complete manpower, and the people on board are much better off than we are now. Perhaps they have already arrived in Zone A1. I don't know when I'll be able to meet everyone again. We'll always meet. Eat quickly and rest early after finishing. Corner angle. There seems to be some movement outside. Snow wolf. How did you find this place? Foos. Swift and profitable. R is as big as a cow.
Are you okay? It's okay. It's just a wolf. It's not a problem. I'll be able to do it soon. Withdrawal. Where did these wolves come from? I didn't go to catch them, so it's good that they even wanted to use me as food. Yeah, Lord Wu, we never found any trace of the snow wolf before. Why did it suddenly appear today? Regardless, they are likely to go to the corner and get ready. Yes. Nick, go close the window first. Lord Witch, we are surrounded. There are wolves digging holes from the ground on the corner, and they have already penetrated half of their bodies. Damn it, dare you touch my corner. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I really think I'm giving you face, right? Fast. Oh, wow. Jiao Jiao, how are you? Are you okay? If you're okay, just let me know. Dear crying. Great, Jiao Jiao, it's okay. Next, we should think about how to deal with these animals. Capture the thief first, capture the king. As long as we take down the wolf king, the wolf pack will lose its command and will definitely become disorganized. At that time, we can easily eat up the wolf pack. It's just that these wolves are all about to find the wolf king, it's really difficult. If there are white eyes, then these wolves are all treasure wolves. There are two types of fights between wolf packs, either fighting in groups or the wolf king fighting alone to win the loser's territory or even the tribe. Oh, wow. There are too many damn wolf packs. I couldn't even see which wolf was giving orders. Master Witch, they have arrived. What the hell about him? Kill them. It's endless. Wolf King Master Witch Envoy Ah I Chow N I Ma It's quite good at hiding. Let me come up and consume it first. I just appeared now. Do you understand what it means to advance and retreat together? I don't think you know, so let me teach you. The meaning of advancing and retreating together is My companions have passed away. You can't survive either. I fell to the ground with such force and was able to stand up. Let me take a look at your foundation. It turns out to be a fear of wolves. The largest wild canine subfamily in the history of wolf terror lived during the Ice Age 400,000 years ago. Compared to today's wolves, the body and limbs of the terror wolf are shorter, thicker, sturdy, with broad shoulders and a larger, heavier head. Its jaws and teeth are stronger and more powerful, possessing the terrifying bite force of a hyena and a more robust physique. So every region has prehistoric creatures, right? Master Wu, how are you? I'm all right. Nick, protect yourself. Well done. Oh, wow. Why aren't they attacking, Master Witch? They may be brewing something or have reservations about us. Oh, wow. The Witch Lord, they escaped. It hurts. Fortunately, this wolf pack has returned. If it's not returned, I really don't know what the outcome will be. Nick, go take a look at the corner. I just looked at Jiao Jiao. It's okay. I'll help you back first. Master Wu, your injury is not light. What should I do? First, use animal tendons to stop the blood from my thighs, and then bandage the wound on my shoulder. Use my t-shirt instead of animal skin. I don't know if the Silver Gang Wolf will enhance its immunity, so I can't take this risk. Nick, use your method to stop the bleeding for me. My method, do you mean? I know. It will end soon. Ah, Ninik, Master Witch Envoy, Master Wu, how are you? Do you want to drink water? It's okay, just a little hungry. Master Wu, 
Please wait for me to heat up both the fish and smoked meat. I'll take a look at my physical condition now. No, just a slight movement will cause severe pain all over the body, and I don't have any strength now. It seems better not to move for a short period of time. Humph, I've never suffered such a big loss before, trying to kill these wolves and dogs. But is the cold winter in E7 area so terrifying that even snow wolves have to leave their chassis and search for food elsewhere? They didn't succeed this time, maybe they will come again. If they don't recover from my injuries, it will be bad. We can only set traps near the wooden house to deal with it for a while now. The witch lord just needs to lie down. I don't need to do it myself. Does the witch master not taste good? How could that be? It's just that I ate too quickly and took a break first. What's going on? When I was eating just now, there was a warm sensation running through my wound. I'm pretty sure this is the talent of the Silver Gang Wolf at work, but this time my performance is much stronger than during my recovery period after being scratched by a polar bear. Could it be that this fish and this meat are helpful in recovering from injuries? Nick, can you give me some hot meat again? I feel like I can eat some more. Of course not. I'll go right away. Um, Nick, could you please give me something to eat? Did the witch eat and become hungry so quickly? Fast. Master Wu, you only had a big meal two hours ago. Two hours ago, I ate so much meat and got hungry so quickly. Could you please prepare more food, Nick? I think I'll be hungry soon after finishing this meal. Good. I feel weak now that I'm missing a few pieces of meat. Fortunately, with plenty of food now, I can eat freely. That's right, as long as I eat, the effectiveness of my talent will be enhanced. Perhaps it should be said that as long as I have sufficient energy in my body, my talent can be fully utilized. When I was dealing with polar bears back then, I was starving and my physical condition was extremely poor, which is completely incomparable to now. It's like the engine running slowly or even unable to operate naturally when there is insufficient energy. That's right, it was definitely because of the operation of my talent that extracted energy from my body to heal wounds, which caused me to inexplicably collapse. When I first received the talent of Silver Gang Wolf, I felt that this talent didn't quite match the name, but now upon closer inspection, it can be considered a true match for the name. At this rate of response, I might be able to fully recover within a month, and if I were to confront the Wolf King again, I would have full confidence in pressing him down and rubbing him against the ground. But before that, it's better to rest well. Accelerate the recovery process. These furs are all good things. We can't waste it like this. Put it in the warehouse first. Let's deal with it when we have time. The Witch Lord is not doing well. What's up? Be without. The meat in the warehouse is all gone. It must be those snow wolves who did it. What a brilliant cultivator and a cunning strategist. Chen Song, these days the wolf pack has become elite, right? No wonder the wolf pack confronted me for so long that night and didn't dare to pounce on me. Obviously, they knew they couldn't beat the Yin game. Winter will be difficult now. We currently have 12 snow wolves that can hold on for a while. It seems that we can only go back to the wetland once more. In the current situation, even the wolf pack cannot find food. It may be even more difficult to go wild in the woods. Only by going to the fishing ground can we get some food. However, there are still some things to prepare before departure. One week later. Master Wu, the door has been repaired and the food in the corner is ready. We have also placed wooden boards on the floor of the corner room, so don't worry. I'm not worried about those, I'm worried about the weather. Master Witch Envoy. Should we take a break? Don't worry, the longer I stay out in the snow, the higher the likelihood of encountering danger. The earlier we arrive at the wetland, the earlier we can come back. The weather made it take less than two hours for the talent to leave, and the exposed skin was painfully blown by the cold wind. Even though he was wearing thick animal skin clothes, his whole body was cold and his toes were almost numb. Just take a break after walking for a while. 
Let's eat something to warm up first and then continue on the road. Good witch envoy, sir. The weather is really bad. In the future, when we sleep, we will probe each other's noses at regular intervals to prevent each other from freezing to death unconsciously. Good. Master Wu, we have finally arrived at the wetland. Nick, go back and take a closer look first. Why is it all frozen? Yeah, it was so warm here back then. This means I have to chisel out the ice cave before I can place the fishing cage, but I was injured in the battle with the snow wolf before. Hey, witch envoy, come and take a look. There are animal hairs here. Master Wu, I just smelled it and I suspect it might be. The fur of a snow wolf. The wolf pack must have been gone for a long time. Look, there's still this here. This is left by the snow wolf. I have seen this kind of group before, which looks like dog feces with bacteria growing on it, and this process often takes a long time. Nick, let's first check nearby to ensure safety before discussing the rest of the matter. Good wizard, sir. Did you find anything there? I found some other feces, but they all grew white fur. The wolf pack only visited here once and hasn't come back since then. It seems that they wanted to dig open the ice to fish, but in the end they failed, so they never came back. This is safe, right? I don't want to encounter wolf packs again. It's not necessarily better to be careful. There's nothing to hide here. Oh, hey. Master Wu, there are many bubbles in this ice. This is a biogas bubble. Biogas foam. It is the bubbles formed by the biogas produced by the dead branches and leaves of water under the action of bacteria. Methane produced by the decomposition of organic matter at the bottom of biogas by microorganisms. Nick, step back a bit. I'll do you a magic trick. This is amazing. This biogas can also be burned, right, Master Witch? Yes, but it can also explode. Blast. Yeah, but let's work first and talk later. Good. Master Wu, I saw fish swimming under the ice. The oxygen and food in the frozen pond are extremely scarce in this situation. Ice caves with abundant oxygen undoubtedly have a huge attraction for swimming fish. Wow, wow. Fortunately, we found this place and at this speed, we can go back tomorrow, right? Nick, we may have to stay here for a while. We need to solve the wolf problem before leaving here. What should we do if we don't make adults? Wait for them to wash their necks clean and bring them to the door. Nick, come here. My plan is to catch enough fish for the winter first and then. This plan is fantastic. Truly deserving of the title of Witch Envoy. It should be here, Nick. Please bring Jiao Jiao to the reserve place and wait for me. Good. Just waiting for you guys. In the forest. Oh, wow. I'm only here now. Are you too slow? I prepared food for you a few days ago. You should have finished all the food I had by now, right? After all, it's just the two of us who have enough for the winter, so how can you share it? Don't look at the fish and viscera on this ice surface. They're all frozen hard. I didn't dare to rush over yet. It's true that I already have fear of me. Fortunately, I was well prepared. There's something fresh here. Why don't you dare come over yet? Oh, wow. Is that right? If you're still afraid of me, that's hard to justify. It's you waiting for. Oh, this dog crawling style is really standard. Hey, 
Why did you run away just after the banquet started? Don't run away. So anxious. This fish hasn't caught yet, but it opened its mouth. Since you can't wait, you'll have to trouble yourself to catch it. Oh, wow. With so many wolves, even if I have an advantage in the water, I would definitely be the one to be killed alone. I didn't say I was alone either. Fortunately, the witch envoy had already prepared the bow and arrow before, which can now come in handy. It's finally over. Achoo. Don't catch a cold or have a fever. Master Wu, come and have a cup of hot tea. Although I only soaked in the water for a few minutes, if it weren't for my strong physique in this weather, I would have died long ago. Ah, uh, it's much more comfortable now. Master Wu, you worked hard tonight. What's there to deal with them so I can rest assured? Even after repelling the wolf pack that night, I was thinking about how to solve this disaster. That little food is simply not enough for the wolf pack to survive this winter. After the food is finished, the wolf pack will inevitably make a comeback. My original plan was to set up a trap array, but when I saw this frozen pond and biogas digester, I came up with today's brilliant solution. Ah, besides being in a good mood, my heart is really at ease. Do we not want this wolf meat, Lord Witch? Don't take it anymore, throw it into the pond to feed the fish. Although they are all canine, the dog meat is sweet and the wolf meat is sour. Nick, let's move faster. Let's go home today. Good witch envoy, sir. Nick, are you okay? I can still hold on, master witch. Let's go faster and get home early. Good. Master Wu, we have finally arrived home. Let's go inside. Nick took off his shoes. Let me take a look. Okay, okay. Ah, since there's enough food too. Let's take a break for a while first. The witch envoy's injuries are not yet healed, so we need to take good care of them now. Um, ha 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 ha. It's already February. Why is it still snowing nonstop? Master Wu, the fish meat has been grilled. Come and eat it quickly. Okay, it's probably noon now and it's time for dinner. Since we solved the wolf problem and returned from the wetland, it has been snowing heavily here almost every day, but it hasn't had much impact on Nick and me. We just hide in the wooden house and bake on the stove, and our days are also comfortable. I thought the weather would get better in February, but I didn't expect the snow to continue as usual. Half a month ago, there was even a polar night. So although it's dark, it's actually just noon. Nick, eat more. Master Wu, don't always worry about me. My frostbite has already healed, but you should take good care of yourself instead. Got it. Let's stay at home for now. If there's anything, we'll talk about it in March. March. As expected, Chuan Guang looks up and moves forward, but it's already stung. Why is it still so cold? After more than a month of recuperation, under the influence of the Silver Wolf, my injuries have completely healed. What a nice day today. The witch envoy has prepared the pottery bowl and wooden skewers, and we can set off now. Okay, bring the corners and let's go. It's just you. Does the witch lord have any juice in this bark? After autumn, this birch tree begins to store nutrients. Once winter passes, the birch tree absorbs melted snow and breaks down these nutrients into birch juice for growth. When I first came to this forest, I had the idea of birch sap, but unfortunately it was already past the season and the sap in the birch trees had already been consumed. But now, birch trees must have stored up a lot of sap. Got it, got it. It's much better than before, although in terms of time, the best time to collect birch juice is from the end of March to the end of April because the birch juice is the most nutritious and abundant during this period. Master Wu, this tree sap has a fragrant scent of trees. Have a try. So you like it too. Then drink more. Nick, don't just watch us drink. 
Although it's not very obvious, it's a bit sweet like honey mixed with water, so it's a bit bitter, but overall the taste is good. There is also a unique fragrance of trees inside. When you drink it, the fragrance is not heavy, but after drinking it, the fragrance gathers in your throat and becomes very rich. This is what the witch master said, endless aftertaste. Then let's take advantage of this and get him dozens of jars so we can drink whenever we want. MMM, okay. Besides, I have something else to do. Master Wu, what are you cooking this birch tree juice for? We need to capture yeast in the air. It's getting dark now, so take our boiled birch juice outside and bring it back when it's daylight. Due to concerns about failure, I prepared 100 nutrition bottles. No matter how unlucky my luck is, there must be one successful one out of them, right? Well, there will definitely be success. Has this thing finally healed after waiting for a month, Master Wu? Okay, we'll have a result today. It smells so bad. This bottle is considered useless. Could it be that I made a mistake in some step, or that the sterilization was not in place and not sealed properly, or that there is no yeast in this forest? Master Wu, let's continue. Don't forget we still have so many bottles left. Yeah, keep going. Has Master Wu succeeded? Well, if nothing unexpected happens. Generally speaking, transparent vessels are used to capture yeast because yeast is different from miscellaneous bacterial colonies floating on the surface, and they usually sink to the bottom. But we don't have glass. We use ceramic bottles, and the birch juice is cloudy, so we can't see the bottom of the bottle clearly. We have to pour out the birch juice to get the result. That's enough. Is this yeast? To be precise, besides yeast, there are also many impurities and alcohol in yeast puree. Finally finished, this time there were only four successful ones, and the success rate is a bit too low. But fortunately, the captured yeast is sufficient for brewing wine. So, Lord Witch, are you going to make wine? Produce birch tree wine as a preparation for extracting alcohol. Save yourself from having to resort to extreme methods to treat the wound when you get hurt again. The witch general can put the bottle in water and boil it to kill bacteria, right? Yeah, after boiling for 15 minutes, pour in boiling water and set it aside to let it cool down to room temperature. The temperature of the witch lord has already dropped. Okay, pour this water into the bottle where yeast slurry was found before, shake and dilute it until two-thirds of the bottle is filled, and then leave it there. Good. The top layer of liquid is alcohol, the middle layer is yeast extract, and the bottom layer is impurities, so I have to pour out the top layer of alcohol first in order to pour out the yeast extract. Alcohol rice. Yeast liquid. Impurity. I have to be very cautious during this process. If the liquid poured out changes color, it means that the layer has been changed. I need to stop immediately to avoid wasting the yeast liquid and contaminating it by pouring impurities into the yeast. After separating the yeast extract, pour it into the previously sterilized birch juice. It's really comfortable. Unfortunately, the water cooling is too fast. Otherwise, I would really want to soak in it for a little longer. A month has passed and the wine should have been brewed. Go open it and take a look. Brewing requires a certain temperature, and this wine jar has always been kept in a wooden house by me. After all, a long burning stove in a wooden house is undoubtedly warmer than a warehouse. I hope it's already okay. It smells good. Generally speaking, the longer the brewing time for wine, the better. It takes about a year or so to have a rich and mellow taste. But I made the wine to obtain alcohol, I don't care about the taste. I just didn't expect that after only one month of brewing, this birch tree wine would have such a fragrant aroma. Maybe it tastes good. Master Witch Envoy Nick, come over quickly. Has the wine been brewed yet? Just taste it and you'll know. Come. 
Good tasting. The taste is completely different from wine, sweet and spicy, and the body is warm and comfortable. It tastes better than wine, just like the kind of fruit wine that has a slightly sweet taste but is immediately followed by the feeling of a burner. It's hard to say what kind of taste it has. In the past, no matter what kind of alcohol I drank, I only drank a little bit when I had to drink at barbecue parties or other occasions. However, in the E7 area where there are not many drinks, this alcohol has also become delicious. Master Wu, this birch tree wine is really delicious. Good to drink, but don't drink too much. It seems that Nick is also a good drinker. Anyway, there's nothing to do tonight, so let's have a drink. Good. Cheers. Tonight, just indulge yourself. I'm here anyway. Master Witch Envoy. Nick is a bit hot. Just be patient and wait for the alcohol to subside. I can't do it. I want to drink water. Nick, are you all right? Master Witch Envoy. Ah, uh, Nick. Master Witch Envoy, go back to sleep for a while. Last night, you. What's wrong? Does it still hurt? Do you not regret it, Master Witch? How could it be that even though I had a drink last night, my consciousness was clear? And you? Do you regret it? No, I will never regret it. Are you tired? Do you want to take a shower? We're not tired. Let's go now. We. Ah. Uh, early in May. I didn't expect Jiao Jiao to grow so strong after one winter. We could both run so fast on the sled. Yeah, at this speed, we can get to the wetland in two days. If we want to reach the snow-capped mountains, I believe it won't take much time. Master Wu. Do you think we can find the iron or smoothly? I don't know, but I have to give it a try. Hurry up. The witch lord did not expect us to arrive here in just four days from departure until now. Yeah, this is all thanks to Jiao Jiao. Lord witch, should we go find the iron or now? Don't worry, it's getting dark now and not suitable for searching for iron ore. Let's find a relatively flat place to prepare for the night. There is no vegetation cover here, and there are stones everywhere. Maybe there is iron ore in these rock walls. But don't rush for now, take it slow. Master Witch, take a look at this stone. Let's search again if there is no iron ore in that area. With a comprehensive collection of minerals in the wild, I can easily distinguish whether there is iron ore in a stone with just a glance, saving me the time to get started. It's just that the snow mountain range is too large. Even if I can quickly eliminate areas without iron ore, it would take a huge amount of time to identify the snow mountain range again. Although I don't know if there is iron ore on this snowy mountain, I still need to find it no matter how much time it takes. Because if we want to leave here, we have to build ships and use iron, otherwise Nick and I may have to stay here for the rest of our lives. Master Wu, please sit down and rest for a while. You've been searching like this for a week and need to relax appropriately. Listen, let's go for a walk to change our mood and set up some traps to increase our food supply. Good. Okay, this is the last trap. It's still early. What are we going to do next? Let's take a stroll. There's a saying that goes, when you want to find something, the more you want to find it, the harder it gets. 
Maybe when we're wandering around, the iron ore will jump out on its own. Jiao Jiao is really brave. If you can hold back and not run, you must have overcome a lot of fear. Master Wu, this is the call of a polar bear. Yes, I am already very familiar with this call now. The sound should not be far from here. What I'm looking for is iron ore, not polar bears, okay? But if you can jump out voluntarily, I'm happy to accept it. Go. Is there still the sound of wolves? It feels a bit different. Nick, keep an eye on Jiao Jiao. We should have a new blanket now. Now it's not the same situation as when we were in the ice and didn't have enough to eat or shelter from the cold, let alone being seriously ill. A polar bear is not afraid anymore. Let's use it to make a mattress. The mattress we're using now is made of multiple animal skins pieced together. It's really hard to rub and there are stitches everywhere. The shaman has become even more powerful. Is there a problem with this polar bear? This polar bear was already injured before it started, except for the wounds on its neck and abdomen, which were not caused by me. Yeah, that's right. It has many blood holes the size of thumbs and fingers on its body, which are obviously caused by different weapons. Wait, weapons. Hurry up. Hurry up. Don't let it run away. Don't worry, follow the bloodstain. Even if it runs far away, we can still find it. Master Witch Envoy. Don't panic, let's take a look at the situation first. May I ask which tribe you belong to? We are. We are from the Rata tribe. Lada tribe. What tribe did you actually ask about? It seems that there are other tribes besides them in East Seven area. It's just that Nick and I have been here for almost a year now that we finally met the people here. Is it because their numbers are too small and their distribution is too scattered? Why haven't you heard of the Rata tribe before? Forget it. Did you kill this bear? Yes. Next, we're going to say that this polar bear belongs to you, right? This polar bear was the first one we discovered, and before you killed them, we were hunting him. This is our weapon. Since you were the first to discover it, this polar bear naturally belongs to you. No, 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 we can't all take this bear. Although we discovered it, it was ultimately killed by you. One person, half. One person, half. We can't take advantage of this. These people are actually quite reasonable. In theory, I killed this polar bear, so I should have a share. Just now I said I don't want this polar bear, but it's actually for the purpose of building relationships, naturally to use the power of this group of people to build ships. These people are surprisingly straightforward, which is quite good to make friends with. Although I killed this polar bear, even without me, you can still kill it. It's just a waste of time. This can be considered as taking advantage of you, so dividing the polar bears equally is somewhat unfair to you. You just need to give me the fur. Of course, if you need fur, you can also give me the four bear paws. I can choose either of these two options. It's not fair to you. You can take away the fur and four bear paws. It's so refreshing, then that's settled. Great. This bear can eat for a long time now. They will definitely be happy. This trip was not in vain. Thank you. We took advantage of you, so it's up to you to share the profits. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. I know this knife is specifically used to separate flesh and skin. Of course, that's not the key point. The blade of this URU knife is made of iron. Is there iron here? Master Witch Envoy. Ahem, cough. Oh, let's leave this matter to you guys. Okay, then it's up to us to share. Don't worry, we won't let you lose anything. Uncle, are you from Big Nut? Yes, we are Inuit people. Sure enough. Are you guys from outside? Coming from outside? Yes, we're from outside. 
If you don't mind, uncle can chat with us. I hope to obtain more information this time. Nick, let's go back to the campsite to pack up and prepare to set off. Set out. Uncle Zipu invited us to their place as guests. Good. Coincidentally, the polar bears have also been separated, and we are about to depart. Uncle, the road here is not good. You can slow down a bit. Good. What were you talking about just now, Master Wu? The man who led the team is named Zipu, from a tribe of more than ten people who have recently wandered nearby in search of prey. As for the URU knife, it was not made by them themselves, but was traded with people from outside. And those people who came from outside came here on big ships from unknown places and exchanged animal skins with them with various strange things. I feel like those people are like merchants from the age of discovery and trade. Will those outsiders come back? It is said that they come here every summer and the trading location is on the snowy plain by the seaside. That's great, that's great. By the way, Lord Witch, they're not curious why we're outsiders and still investigating the situation of those outsiders. I'm curious, so I told them about the shipwreck we encountered. He was extremely surprised. I've been asking how you managed to survive, it's amazing. Living here for two people is not an easy thing. I can see that they have a good heart. We will visit them this time and learn more about them. More importantly, this is the key to whether we can leave here. We can't miss it. You've been living here for a while now. Uncle Zipu, you don't need to be so guarded around here. I've already checked and there won't be any danger. Have you never encountered a wolf pack? So that's why you've been able to survive here for so long, right? This is simply too lucky. Wolf pack. Yes, the wolf pack is very scary. Long ago, we risked our lives to come here in search of food, disregarding the warnings of the elders in our tribe. However, we accidentally encountered a pack of wolves that were much larger than the packs we have seen elsewhere, with dozens of them. Especially among those wolves, there was one that was bigger and more cunning than the others. It was like a ghostly shadow attacking us in the dark, and it was definitely the embodiment of a demon. So for your safety, it's better to leave here as soon as possible and go to the other side of the mountain. Actually, we've seen those wolves before. Are you the only two left in the Rata tribe? Have you seen those wolves? Just stay alive. Just stay alive. We both killed all the wolf packs, so Uncle Zipu, you don't have to worry about encountering another wolf pack. You can rest assured to hunt here. This is the jewelry made from the teeth extracted from the wolf's mouth. The witch lord has packed his things and we can start now. Let's go. What's there to talk about on the way? Okay, you need to explain it to us carefully and thoroughly. Master Wu, we're almost out of the woods. It only took less than half an hour to get out of the forest so quickly. It's different from your side, isn't it? When I was on the highest peak of the mountain and looked over at your side, I couldn't even see the edge of the forest at first glance. But this place is different. The forest you just saw is the only forest here, and there are no other places left. The only one, Uncle Zipu, isn't this place very barren. No, 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 this is just the surface. As long as you calm down and feel it, you will find that there is too much life on this land. Although you can't see them, they silently gaze at you in the corner. This is not a place that we humans alone possess. And with fewer forests, the chances of encountering fierce beasts such as wolf packs and white bears are also reduced, making oneself safer when hunting outside. Indeed, wild beasts generally enjoy activities in large forests. Please take a look, sir. We're home. Come out quickly. They're back. Wow. Did you gain anything today? You're not injured, are you? Yeah, there's meat to eat. Wow, there's a lot of meat. Mom, look, we have meat to eat now. By the way, let me introduce our esteemed guest named Ching Tian. How do you do? Excuse me. Chin Tian. Strange, why haven't they responded? 
Language difficulties. You're so tall. Eating more meat will make you grow as tall as your brother. Please come in. Please come in. It's rare to have guests here. Let's have a banquet tonight. There's just so much meat available. Okay, okay, everyone, let's pack up first and prepare the best food. We can't let our guests go hungry. This enthusiasm is really overwhelming. Yeah, that's right. Sister, can I touch it? Nick probably can't understand the Inuit language they speak. Okay, okay. Because I have a complete list of world languages, I am able to communicate with Zipu and the others, Dillo. But now Nick, who speaks Arabic, can communicate with these Inuit-speaking children without barriers. Nick, can you understand what those kids are saying? A little bit can roughly understand what they are saying. Is it you and Hong Kong you? Ching Tian, please sit down first. They will soon bring the food. Don't be polite. I heard there are guests coming. Daddy. Guests, sit down, sit down. Young man, I heard that you have already killed the wolf pack on the other side of the mountain. Yes. Great, we can go hunting there in the future. I'm really sorry. When we first arrived at this place, many of our tribe members died due to wolf packs. That's why my dad took the news of the wolf pack being wiped out so seriously and inquired about it. When I first arrived at this place, we are not actually the original inhabitants here. That happened over 30 years ago. That morning, the weather was very bad, and the wind outside the ice house was particularly strong, as if the undead who had frozen to death on the ice sheet were roaring. Hurry up! A storm is coming! Hurry up! Afterwards, I lost consciousness and woke up here. Although the environment here is the same as the place where I used to live, I feel a sense of unfamiliarity with this land. This is definitely not the Anjakuni Lake where I used to live. Just treat this as a story. I know it's hard to believe. Uncle Zipu, I told you before that I came from outside, right? Are you guys? Yes, both of us, like you came to this place inexplicably, so I believe what the old man said because we have also experienced it before. Friends from afar, friends from afar. Do you also live near Lake Anjakuni? No, we came here from somewhere else. By the way, there is one more thing, which is the mystery of the village that disappeared from Lake Anjakuni in Canada in 1930. So it's you guys. Based on the words mentioned by Zaitam just now, I can be completely certain that Zipu and the others are the villagers who disappeared in the first place. 8. Master Wu, look at that plate. It's so beautiful. They should have exchanged it with the fleet. Okay, okay, okay. Don't say anything. Let's have a banquet to welcome friends who have come from afar. Oh. Come. Let you taste something good. The aroma of this wine is very strong. I don't know what kind of wine it is. How is it? Does it taste good? Very delicious. I haven't been in contact with the Inuit people before. I thought they would live a relatively primitive life like the Lada tribe based on their clothing, but I didn't expect them to drink alcohol. Or perhaps it was influenced by the fleet. Is this? In the Snowfield Experience Pack, it is recorded that the method of making a food called marinated puffin is simply to kill a seal and then completely remove its internal organs. Then, one untreated dwarf puffin after another is filled into the seal's belly, and the seal's belly is sewn up and sealed with seal oil. Finally, it can be buried in the frozen soil layer and fermented with seal stomach acid for 23 years before being taken out for consumption. It's not difficult to imagine what level of biochemical weapon this marinated sparrow is. It's something that even canned herring would be inferior to. Chin Tian, my friend. You guys, hurry up and taste this. It's just dug up and smells amazing. Um... I seem to have eaten enough of this. 
friend, you don't like this marinated sparrow. How could you refuse with such enthusiasm? I don't seem to know how to eat this. Look, there are so many feathers on it, right? I see. After such a long period of fermentation, the feathers of the marinated puffin can be easily rubbed off. But it should be noted that the juice in the marinated auk is its essence, so be careful not to let it drain. You can squeeze it into the meat and use it as a dip. I usually like to eat directly. Really delicious. Let's enjoy delicious food together, friends. Good. I'm not afraid of death, but I'm also afraid of this. Birds are rectal animals, and if they have feces, they can't hold it in their bodies, so there's no need to worry about eating feces. After such a long period of fermentation, the internal organs of this dwarf puffin have already decayed into water. As long as I say it forcefully, that's right, that's it. How does my friend taste? Fantastic. Right, my friend? Why don't you eat more and let's share it together? Goodoo goodoo. Nick, please don't try. It seems that Uncle Zipu said he could squeeze it onto the meat. How did you forget about this? Two friends, please rest here tonight. You should go back and rest early too. Master Wu, although this ice house is not big, it is so exquisite. Yeah, it should have been built just before dinner. Let's go take a look at Jiao Jiao. I don't know if it's full. I just want to see that it's already sleeping soundly with the sled dog in front of Zipu's house. Let's lie down too. We've been making a fuss all day. It's so lively. Yeah, it's so lively. Since the day we were stranded in E7 District, Nick and I have been here for almost a year now. During this time, apart from each other, we have no other people to talk to. This makes people feel a sense of loneliness abandoned by the world, until today when they encounter the long-awaited excitement of Zipu and others, it is truly joyful. Good morning, Ching Tian. How do you do? Good morning, brother and sister. Nick, let's go get some food from the sled and take a look at Jiao Jiao. Good. My friend, breakfast is ready. Let's go eat quickly. Okay, we also brought some red salmon. Let's eat together. Friends, there aren't many types of food. Let's make do in the morning. It's okay. Just be able to eat enough. I don't know how many unicorn whales can be hunted this year. I am more curious about what they will bring this year than this. What are you planning to change this year? Of course it's alcohol. I have to save on drinking this time. Hunting unicorn whales. Yes, they really like the horns of unicorn whales. They can exchange a lot of things for them, which are much more precious than animal skins. In addition, unicorn whales can also produce whale oil, which is something they love very much. Every time they come, they will exchange a large amount of it. According to the Encyclopedia of Wild Animals, there is indeed a unicorn whale in the world. Although I have not seen it with my own eyes, I know that it does not exist only in fairy tales like unicorns. Actually, it's rare to see unicorn whales even if I'm a worker in a related profession. After all, they live in the Arctic, where human activity is rare. Even if you want to find unicorn whales through equipment and instruments, it's not easy. For us, unicorn whales are also extremely rare food, so every summer we go to the coast to hunt them. You are about to depart today. Yeah, I'll take you to see where the ships are anchored. Can you help me? Master Wu, this kayak is really well made. Not only good, but because it's made of seal skin, it's also very light and can be lifted by one person with one hand. Then let's go. May the god of wind and snow protect you. Dad, be careful on the way. The village is a distance from the seaside, and even with a sled, it takes two days. Do those fleets come every summer? That's right, they will stay for a period of time and leave immediately when autumn arrives. At that time, the villagers here will go to exchange valuable items such as fur on their hands with the fleet for some useful things. I'll rest here tonight and leave tomorrow. Okay, 
I'll go find some firewood to start a fire. Are you all packed up? Let's go. There are actually snow-capped mountains here. Is there no mountain over there? No, it's possible, but at least I haven't seen it. It's almost there. There are so many puffins here that I want to know. The puffins pickled in Zipu were caught from here. This is where they docked their ship, but it seems like they haven't arrived yet. Ching Tian, do you want to continue waiting here, or do you have any other plans? Well, why isn't there any sound? Brother Chi Piu, what is that thing? Have you never seen a penguin? I have seen it before, but... There is no fixed time. The only thing that can be confirmed is that they will definitely arrive here this summer. As we all know, polar bears only live in the Arctic and penguins live in the Antarctic. Except for zoos, under normal circumstances, these two species would never be in the same place. When I first met the polar bear, I used this E7 area as a template for replicating the Arctic. I never expected to see penguins here. But considering that E7 area is also artificially constructed, the flowers, plants, trees, and even living beings on it can be altered. By the way, Uncle Zipu and his team have a fixed arrival time here. Do you want to continue waiting here? It may take a long time. If you want to go back, I'll take you there. Uncle Zipu, you still need to hunt unicorn whales, right? Yeah, that's right. Perhaps you can stay and hunt unicorn whales with us, and then return together. Of course, we will divide the prey we get during this period equally. Then please take extra care of me. That ship may be our hope of leaving, but since it hasn't arrived yet, let's help here and wait for a while. Besides, the unicorn whale is such a fantastic creature that I really want to see with my own eyes. Master Witch Envoy Master Wu, they said there is a basin here that can block wind from all sides. Come quickly, let's prepare to build an ice house. Okay, here we go. There's plenty of moss here, enough for you to eat for a few days. It's also lucky that in the summer, it's not hard to find food in the E7 area. My friend's breakfast is ready. Got it. Yakum, come here. This is... Some dried organs and bones need to eat more to have the strength to work. Breakfast is in the ice house, why don't you go eat some too? Once you're done eating, we'll leave. Good. Isn't having a trusted partner and a loyal and reliable sled dog the life I want to live? It's been half an hour and I still haven't seen the figure of the unicorn whale. The higher the level of animals in the food chain, the fewer they are. This is especially true for unicorn whales. According to Zipu, unicorn whales will frequently appear in this sea area this season. If you're lucky, you can wait for unicorn whales in less than three days. If you're unlucky, you can also encounter them within a week. I just waited for half an hour and my eyes were starting to sting from the phosphorescence on the water surface. We won't just wait until we find the unicorn whale, will we? Of course not. That would be a waste of time. Waiting for a unicorn whale would only require one person to keep an eye on it. You should know that there are not only unicorn whales here, but also seals, puffins, foxes. We need to keep someone here. Let me handle the matters of staying behind. We usually have the male lead responsible for hunting outside and the female lead responsible for all the chores inside. Wow, this is amazing. Surprisingly, he was able to hit a seal from such a long distance. How can I do it? Okay, okay, that's really desirable. Then I'll leave it to you, Nick. Oh, that seal skin. Is it made so perfectly for storing things? It's seal skin, but it's not meant to hold things. What's that for? It was originally a leather ball, but don't we have a kayak? Is it used for hunting? Ching Tian, how do you hunt seals? I saw seal oil on your sled, and you also hunt seals, right? 
we usually hunt in autumn. In autumn, when the sea is frozen, it is indeed easier to hunt, but the possibility of encountering danger is also higher. Will you join me? You are responsible for rowing, and I will hunt. Good. Go out to sea. Chin Tian, this is your first time riding a kayak. If you trust me, you can let me be in charge of hunting. This kayak is really different from a wooden boat. Sitting on a wooden boat is like sitting on a wooden board floating on the water, while a kayak is like stepping on a bucket floating on the water with one foot. A slight movement of the center of gravity causes the kayak to sway, and coupled with the fact that the kayak is purely handmade and cannot achieve complete symmetry, the difficulty becomes even greater. Don't panic, think back to when you first learned how to swim. Don't worry about capsizing, learn to adapt and slowly find your center of gravity. Swimming is not about me controlling the water, but using the water to control the kayak. That's right, and it's almost like riding a bicycle. It's extremely difficult to keep the bike from tipping over when you stop, and once you start driving, it's relatively easier. Ching Tian side. Good opportunity. This solitary seal is much easier to hunt than a pack of seals. Okay, don't move now. Just let the ship float by like this. Get closer. Oh, wow. Let's follow along. The speed of the ball is getting slower and slower. It seems that it has exhausted its strength. Yeah, but if we're not in a hurry and accidentally pull the spear off the seal and let it go, it won't be worth the loss. Got hit. Let's swipe over. Not bad. This seal is so fat. You keep it steady. Good. This is the gray seal, which is one of the larger species of seals in the Arctic. Adult males can weigh up to 300 kilograms, while females can weigh around 200 kilograms. Let's go back. Zipu, I'll send the seal back first and then go out to sea with you. No need, we can go back now. We're going back now. There's still a lot of time until evening. Are you worried that the nearby seals might be startled by us? There is still time tomorrow. We haven't gained nothing today, have we? Being too demanding often doesn't lead to good results, and we may even suffer the retribution of this ocean. It seems that all the tribal dwellings living relatively primitive lives in the world believe in the belief that gods reside in mountains, rivers, lakes, and seas. Should we just go with the flow when there's really no food? People must have the courage to fight against nature in order to survive. Will it not anger the gods, as you said? How could this be? The gods allow us to survive, hunt, and reproduce on the land they have transformed into, which shows that they love us deeply. If the gods get angry, it must be because we went too far back then. I think these mountains, the sun and moon, and the forest and the sea will all be our enemies, right? So as long as we don't cross the line, it's good. Balance. Balance. There's nothing to worry about, see. Hey, we're back. How was the harvest? Not bad. We caught a total of three, all of which are quite fat. Unfortunately, we didn't find any trace of the unicorn whale. What about you? We haven't found any unicorn whales either. That's good. Let's go back. Master Wu, I saw your seal balloon on the shore. What is it used for? That's tied to the end of a spear, and when the spear pierces the seal's body, it floats on the sea surface as a positioning buoy. We can also learn this method in the future. We were lucky this time and found a lone seal shortly after going out to sea. That's very similar to us, then what? And then I thought this couldn't make you run away, so I, ha 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 ha. What's wrong with the seals today? We haven't caught any of them all morning, let alone the small number. We encountered the same situation. Well, since we can't see the seal, why don't we go to the cliff? What are we going there to capture? You'll know when the good thing arrives. Eureka! Are you lucky? Remember to keep two. Do you know about sustainable development? 
I understand. Hurry up and catch the puffins. Pong and I will help you put pressure on them. Just now we were playing a riddle. It turns out we're here to catch puffins. I don't think we'll bring them back to make salted puffins, do we? These puffins really care about their eggs. They don't want to leave when they see their bird eggs stolen, but it's convenient for Zipu and the others to catch them. Master Witch Envoy The Unicorn Whale has appeared. The Unicorn Whale is indeed a unicorn whale. Finally, I can get a close-up view of that legendary creature. Ching Tian doesn't need to be in such a hurry to hunt unicorn whales. We need to be patient and at least wait until they enter the coast before we can talk about it. Ching Tian, you have great physical strength. I should go down the mountain first and then follow the mountain road up. Unicorn whales are different from seals, and hunting cannot be accomplished by just one or two people. This time, we must cooperate with each other. Let's go. Let's go. This area looks like a hole, but it's actually broken, just not scattered yet. It's really summer. And if we force the unicorn whale here and block both ends, the unicorn whale will become a turtle in a jar. Although unicorn whales can sink, dive, and leave, it is better than a flat and wide sea surface on all sides. Let's see if we can wait until the unicorn whale group swims into the ice shelf. We're just sitting here like this. Unicorn whales won't take us seriously as long as we don't make too many moves. I don't understand anything about hunting unicorn whales for the first time, so since Zipu has said so, there shouldn't be any problem. I've been playing around there for two hours now. It seems that hunting unicorn whales is really urgent. Do they all procrastinate like this? Sometimes it may be more procrastinating. Master Witch, they are coming over. Still, it's pretty ugly. What a long, long horn. It can easily pierce through the ice layer, isn't it amazing? The horns of a unicorn whale are truly as long as their entire body, and they are very slender and sharp, with rings overlapping like a spear in the hand of a heavy knight. In comparison, the kiss of a marlin can only be called a small knife at best. That shouldn't be used to break through ice layers, at least we haven't seen them use those long horns to break through ice layers. Used for defense, right. That's not right either. It seems like I've never heard of anyone being stabbed before. They're about to swim over. We'll quietly follow the unicorn whale in the end. If we're alone, we'll take action. Good. We discovered a group of unicorn whales around 10 a.m. in the morning, and after preparing to set sail at noon, we waited for another two hours. Now, we've been following for over an hour, and it's already 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Although the sky is still bright and the sun is high, the wind on the sea has grown stronger, and the slow circulation of blood in the body, which has been sitting in the kayak for too long without enough exercise. So even though I'm wearing thick clothes now, it's already unbearably cold in this cold wind. Zipu. I know. Let's go back and come back tomorrow to see if these unicorn whales will leave this bay in the short term. We still have plenty of opportunities. Master Wu, you haven't eaten much tonight. Would you like some more? No need, although I didn't exercise much today, I have a lot of mental exhaustion and now I'm very tired and just want to sleep. Stay energized tonight, we'll leave tomorrow morning. I don't know if unicorn whales have a fixed schedule like humans or if they sleep whenever they want. Let's go. The formation of unicorn whales seems to have changed. Yesterday's parallel parade of formations has become the current deep formation, distributed in positions of two or three in the front, two or three in the back. In addition, due to the sharp horns on their heads, there is a large gap between the front and back of the unicorn whale group in order to avoid harming their own people. There seems to be an opportunity today. Look, there's a unicorn whale left alone. Keep pace with. Spread out. 
Discharge. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. The ball has been pulled into the water, and the strength of this unicorn whale is definitely incomparable to that of a seal. But as long as the spear on its body is not pulled out, no matter how strong the strength of this unicorn whale is, it will eventually be pulled out of the water by this ball, and it's just a matter of time. Follow 1. Pay attention to the surroundings. Don't worry about them, we'll scatter and look for them. It won't run too far if it's injured. I'm going this Wanch Young C, Nick, and I will go to the right. I haven't noticed for half a day. I'm afraid I lost track of it. Master Witch, look over there. That is. It's floating up over there. Let's not rush to let it struggle and struggle again. We'll wait until its strength is exhausted before taking action. It feels as smooth as touching a seal. Chin Tian. Eat it, it's so delicious. It smells so good. I took a bite and the strong smell of oil filled my entire mouth. After capturing the first one, we will have much smoother sailing. After a while, we will take out its easily decaying organs and feed it to the sled dog and then transport the unicorn whale back to the camp. But remember not to be blinded by one victory. We must be more cautious in the future and strive to bring back more meat. Don't forget that there are still people waiting for us in the village. Good. I'm so happy. Recently, we've been lucky to have encountered three groups of unicorn whales. We can catch five unicorn whales every three days, which is our best result so far. Indeed, as temperatures continue to rise, the melting and fragmentation of floating ice along the coastline is expanding, and our hunting range has also increased, resulting in a higher probability of capture. All right, it's getting late and I'm tired all day. Everyone, go back and rest early. I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired. Then go to sleep. The energy and physical exertion have been too high lately. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Master Witch, quickly look what that is. Aurora. You guys, come out. Come out. It's so beautiful. I've never seen such a beautiful scenery before. It's really beautiful. Although I am aware of the existence of the aurora and have seen it through various media, it cannot compare to what I have seen with my own eyes. It is truly an indescribable beauty. Every time I see Tian Lu, I wonder what the end will look like. It should be a temple, after all, it was created by the gods. I'll know after you die. Everyone can sleep in tomorrow and we will return the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Because the heavenly road has appeared. Yes, this is the heavenly road built by the gods to extradite the undead. The timing of the heavenly road opening is uncertain, but as long as the number of undead reaches a certain level, the heavenly road will open. That's right, this time it must be due to our excessive hunting of unicorn whales with other tribes, which has led to a surge in the number of undead. This indicates that the gods have noticed us. Good. Their faith is really simple and powerful, and we have hunted enough unicorn whales during this period. No matter how many, we are afraid we cannot bring them back. Coincidentally, I've been busy hunting lately and haven't had much fun with Nick. I'll take her out for a walk tomorrow. Dad is back. Thank you for your hard work. Let's have a drink and warm up. Are there so many unicorn whales? Don't worry about them this winter. There are also seals and bird eggs. I spent half a month on the road this time, including hunting eight seals for unicorn whales and touching hundreds of bird eggs. This is definitely a daifeng shu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables. I will collect Ching Tian's unicorn whale horns and exchange them for currency when they arrive, and then we will divide them equally. You can make the decision on this matter. 
I believe in you. Ching Tian hasn't introduced you yet. This is my wife named Wusek, who is responsible for distributing the daily work and food of all the women in the tribe. Hello. She has a lot of experience in cutting the horns of unicorn whales. Hello, then I'll leave this job to you. Don't worry, I won't damage anything. There will be a celebration banquet tonight, and the rewards will also be distributed. Remember to come early. How is allocation generally done? It's simple. First, the Yuzak will take a portion of this harvest as public food, hold banquets during festivals, or use it as reserve food. Next, the food for the big head will be evenly distributed according to the number of heads, and the remaining food will be divided into two parts for distribution. The first part will be shared equally among the hunting personnel on this trip, while the second part will be distributed according to the proportion of each person's income on this trip. Okay, I've been too tired lately. I'll go take a break. This is actually a good solution. If we divide the food equally according to the number of people, it would be unfair to those who are risking their lives outside and lose their motivation. The witch lord has been tired for so long, let's go rest too. Good. Ha ha ha. We're not afraid of eating meat this winter either. Yeah, thanks to Zipu and the others. Without further ado, let's toast Zipu. Mom, I want to eat seal meat. Good. Ching Tian's food has been distributed. You have a seal, a large piece of whale meat, and two large barrels of whale oil. Can you exchange whale meat for a seal if it's inconvenient for me? It's possible, but whale oil is much more precious than seals. Are you sure if it's not convenient, I can have someone help you transport it? It's okay. Seals are also very good. Okay, then I'll also thank you for drinking this cup for everyone. Good. You have lived in this place for the longest time. I would like to ask if you have seen any special constructions, such as tall houses or places that look like temples. I have never seen a tall house in the temple. Is there such a place here? Is a temple the place where gods reside? I've never seen a place like this before. Alas. The next time we go to the bay to wait for the ship is in July, and now it's mid-June with half a month left until July. I really hope to find the laboratory in E7 area during this period. If it can be found and the laboratory can operate normally, then I may be able to replenish energy for the ring. Or they can get a new ring to contact Yi Lin, but from the current results, the hope seems slim. Ching Tian, what is the house you are looking for? We can ask people from other tribes when the time comes. Very big, very big. If I had seen you before, I would never have forgotten. It's not that I don't want to say it. In fact, I don't know what the laboratory in E7 area looks like either. Wait, when you say other tribes exchange items. At that time, other tribes living in this place would go there to exchange goods, and there would be many, many people. Some of them must have seen the big house you mentioned. I hope so. If the ship leaves before autumn, as Zip said, and we can find out the whereabouts of the laboratory there, then there will still be time to go to the laboratory and turn back. Look, look, Irina is blushing. You must have thought of Tylan, right? This is so sad. Irina is leaving us soon. Don't speak recklessly, you won't. Irina is getting married this year, and time flies really fast. NTH is day. When will the groom get married? The groom is from another tribe. Yes, we have always married people from other tribes, Zio. This can also avoid the harm caused by consanguineous marriage. It should be noted that in order for human civilization to continue normally, at least 98 people are needed, and it must also be composed of 49 pairs of unrelated reproductive age opposite sexes. And the number of people in the Zipu tribe, including the elderly and young, is far from reaching this total. Therefore, only by marrying other tribes can we ensure the continuity of bloodline. Then Irina will come with us to the bay. You have already made an agreement with that tribe, right? Irina, who made plans last year, was lucky to have met Thailand as early as three years ago when she went to the bay. 
That young man is really good, very polite, and has great hunting abilities, but... Ha ha ha, I just don't know how to express my love. I clearly remember that Thailand was deeply fascinated after seeing Irina at that time. During his time in the bay, Thailand would always find various excuses to exchange items with us. At first, we thought he was just interested in our things, but later we found out that he did it just to take a look at Irina. It seems that this bay is a place similar to a blind date corner. The Inuit people living here will follow their tribe to the bay every summer after reaching marriageable age. Due to transportation restrictions, couples who are deeply in love with each other can only get to know each other during that time each year and ultimately decide whether to get married. It's really lucky to meet someone you like in such a situation. You must take good care of this. When your mother is not with you, she will accompany you instead of me. What a beautiful ring. I remember picking up this ring from the heavenly steel, right? Ring. That is. Master Witch, look, it's a ring. Ring, what ring? Cough, cough. Can you show me that ring? I will be careful. This ring looks a bit old, although it looks intact overall, there are many scratches on it. I don't know if it can still be used. Give it a try, please make sure there's a response. Surprisingly, there was no response at all. May I ask where this ring was obtained from? I know you'll be curious because I also have one of these rings. Affected by the temperature in E7 area, the five-sided ring is like ice cubes. If you wear it on your hand, it will freeze your meat to death, so I took it off and temporarily placed it with Nick. It's really, really the same ring. And it looks better than Irina's ring. Is this also picked up? This ring was picked up from the Heavenly Steel. Where is Tian Bay? Can you take me there? The Heavenly Steel is on the Snowy Mountain. If you want to go, let Chi Piu take you there tomorrow. It seems like you're looking for something important. Thank you very much. I will pay you the remuneration. Ching Tian, this is too revealing. Friends don't need to be paid for their affairs. The place where this ring fell off is likely the location of the laboratory. Thank you so much for leaving with me so early. Haha, ha, your anxious mood was all on your face last night. After discussing it, we decided to leave early. But you need to be prepared. Although we can reach the mountains in half a day, we still need to walk a short distance to reach the location of the Tian Bay. It's okay, I can walk as far as I want. I can't make it in time. Let's rest here tonight. The Tian Bay is the name we gave to that place, but in terms of terrain, it is actually a basin. That basin is very deep and located in a particularly central position in the mountains. You may not imagine that you can only experience it after seeing it with your own eyes. Why did you name it Tian Bay? Because there are many stones engraved with words at the bottom of that basin, but no one knows the words on them. The text that no one knows seems to be the location of the E7 laboratory, and the monument is actually on the peak. Isn't the basin on the peak another sinkhole? Are they all tied up? I've got it done over here. Me too. The remaining four people will guard the campsite and sled dogs. Let's set off. For good. Uncle Zipu, why did you come to this place? There's nothing delicious on this mountain. I ran here to avoid the wolf pack. Ha ha ha, yes, those wolves can. You guys stay steady. I'll go and pull Uncle Zipu up. Saved. It's too dangerous. Without this rope, it would have fallen directly. Don't go back, Uncle Zipu. I already understand where the heavenly steel is. It's too dangerous. We can go alone. That's not a pedestrian. If you give up halfway, you'll be abandoned by the gods. From now on, we will stop communicating and focus our attention on our feet. Good. Two hours later. This is the basin. 
The terrain changes here violate the laws of nature, and it must have been an external force that changed the original appearance of this mountain peak. Just like the accident that occurred at the fifth party laboratory of Treasure Island Number 2, which directly hollowed out the ground and formed a sinkhole. So the laboratory must be here, but why isn't there a trace of the laboratory? Did it explode into the sky? The stones engraved with words are in that basin. Let's go down and take a look. Pay attention to those protruding rocks. Some can be leveraged, but others are extremely unstable. Be careful not to roll people down with them. There are many plants growing here, which seems to be due to the impact of the accident, causing the rocks here to be crushed and turned into fertile soil. In addition, the relatively flat location provides a growing environment for plants. Every time I come here, I feel like I can reach out and touch the sky. Yeah, and it's much warmer here. Where are those stones engraved with words? I haven't followed them before and I want to take a look. Found the stone tablet here. Chinese After my observation in this section, it has been confirmed that the ecology of the E7 region can maintain balance even without energy maintenance. This is definitely exciting news. To be honest, when the ecological changes occurred, the thought that all these years of effort would be in vain gave me the idea of self-destruction, but fortunately, I didn't have that choice. This may be because my consciousness has already been uploaded to the internet and has been influenced by only following predetermined programming, which is why I have made such a rational decision. After all, this mechanical thing is always either right or wrong, and there is no need to think about anything else. But there's nothing more to worry about now. This aspect is still Fongstone's loser. The only thing I want to do now is to watch the evolution of this land while waiting for the arrival of hope. From this content, it can be seen that the inscription on this stone tablet is the diary of a certain person, and this person should be a researcher in the E7 laboratory. Friend, can you understand the text on this? How did you know? As expected, I see you with a thoughtful expression. Is this the message left by the Divine Lord? This is not a text left by a deity, but a diary left by a person who created this place. The people who created this place. This is the God, right? Tell me what's written on it. Yeah, the person who left the diary should say that the researchers here should be known to the world, even if they didn't leave their names, at least let the world know that there is such a group of people. It says on it that he feels very happy looking at everything here, and he thinks this place is very beautiful. This place is very beautiful. Thank God for creating such a beautiful place. Thank you, Lord God. Look, I see there's also a stone monument there. Ching Tian, let's go and see what else the God said. Just now, I witnessed the laboratory dissipating like dust, which can only be said that the power of time is terrifying. Even the hardest material will disappear into the river of time. I don't know how long the energy in the ring can last. It shouldn't exceed a hundred years. If the organization or anyone else doesn't come here within this hundred years, then everything about us will be destroyed like the laboratory, right? So I think it's necessary for me to do something, like now I'm using a laser to leave this passage on this stone. This inscription should be able to be preserved for at least three to four hundred years. Speaking of which, the erosion of this stone by external forces should cause the E7 area to collapse soon after losing its energy maintenance. Perhaps it will become a strange story, or maybe if this world develops its own civilization in the future and finds this sleeping stone at the bottom of the sea, how will they react? It should be just like when we excavated Sank Singui. Thinking about it, this is actually a new entry point. Assuming that the world where Earth is located in a higher level world may also be viewed in the same way as we see this world. As expected, in the second month after losing the laboratory's regulation, the ecology in E7 area became a mess and could no longer maintain the previous balance. Soil acidification has led to trees no longer growing and snow rabbits without food starting to die in large numbers. The number of wolf packs has also sharply decreased, just like what Biosphere 2 experienced in the past. Is artificial land really not feasible? 
Is alien colonization really not feasible? Is human intervention in nature really not feasible? The person who left the diary here, like Yu Jingfeng and Huang Ichio, uploaded their consciousness to the computer before the experimental accident broke out and waited for the moment when it was found. However, after waiting for hundreds of years until the laboratory energy was almost depleted, no one came. And later, the program set up temporarily in the E7 laboratory ran, and one of the researchers, who later left these diaries, woke up. Afterwards, the person used the ring as a carrier of their consciousness and stored all the remaining energy in the laboratory in this ring to ensure that it would not immediately turn into dust after leaving the laboratory with him. In the days to come, writing a diary is like a soul residing in this ring, waiting here alone. During this period, due to the loss of laboratory support, the ecosystem in E7 area began to collapse, and species sharply declined. However, at some point, the species in E7 area no longer declined. After more than a decade of bottoming out and rebounding, species in E7 area began to recover and vegetation began to cover, but the entire ecological chain was vastly different from before the accident. The time span of these 20 plus articles is extremely long, spanning over 30 years. Apart from initially worrying about the collapse of the E7 region with almost one journal article per week, the stability of the E7 region was confirmed, possibly to save energy storage AMP 1717. In the future, people who write diaries will spend most of their time sleeping and their diary frequency will decrease. I must feel lonely here all these years, right? This is probably the last piece of text with so many words. Let's see what happened. The time display shows that it has been 114 years since the laboratory collapsed. If it weren't for the remaining energy in the ring reminding me, I would have thought it had only been three years. I think this should be the last time I leave a log, maybe if it says I'm completely gone, after all, lasers also consume energy strangely. Humph, which flat guy said he wants to cancel the solar module? Although the energy converted by that module is so small that it can even be ignored, it can still be used for emergency purposes. Spicy chicken has no foresight at all. Just a bigger ring, let alone a solar module. Adding a few more modules is not a problem. It has to be a dead-end design. I really want to give you a kick in the hole. How can I put it? Although I understand that I am already dead, I feel a little reluctant to leave this world when my consciousness is about to disappear. Fortunately, before leaving this world, I witnessed the birth of a truly artificial continent. To be honest, this is something I never expected. It was originally the laboratory that affected the climate and environment of E7 area, but unexpectedly, when E7 area was supposed to collapse, the climate and environment here also affected E7 itself. At first, I thought this was temporary, but after many years, there were no signs of collapse here, and it has become increasingly stable and solid. It's like a piece of ice placed in a bucket that causes the water in the bucket to reach below zero degrees Celsius, creating an environment where the ice cubes won't melt when the water temperature meets the conditions for freezing. Can we make the assumption that we can collaborate with nature when building land? The laboratory provides the prerequisite for the formation of land, which is that the material is finally molded into shape by this ceramic master in nature. Based on my observations of the E7 region over the years, I have found that it seems that the experimenter died on the spot just as he said at the beginning. I had hoped to meet the researchers in the E7 area laboratory and receive help later, but now it seems impossible. Are you tired, witch lord? They are still searching for the stone tablet. Maybe there will be more information. Nick, go and call everyone over. I'll tell them the content. After experiencing various hardships in this way, the world went from chaos to chaos and was split open by the axes they made themselves, giving rise to heaven and earth. The person who left the inscription on the stone tablet and several other gods, relying on their own strength, constantly transformed this barren world and built this land. The God Lord is really amazing. One axe will split open the sea. With a wave of your hand, everything grows. Can we still go home? I miss home. I'm sure I can't go back, but this is our home that we created. 
Coco, will anyone know everything we do here? Will anyone know that there are a bunch of fools doing an unknown research in such a place? I will definitely do it. Don't worry, we saw it. Thank you for your efforts. This can be considered another form of meeting, right? You are all persevering and striving in such a harsh environment, and compared to you, my situation doesn't seem so bad. What qualifications do I have to be low on? Let's go back. How far is Ching Tian from you? Don't go to my place yet. I want to take you to a good place. Good place. Right ahead, take a look. Oh my god, how many fish should there be in such a big pond? Go take a look and you'll know. With so many fish here, you don't have to worry about winter anymore. Yeah, catch enough fish here at once. After a year of growth, there will be more in the second year. Is this the house where Ching Tian and you have been living all along? It looks really nice. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen a house like this. Look, there are still two houses over there. This is the spacious room where Jiao Jiao lives. Yeah, it looks better than where I live. There is so much food stored here. I saw the wine. Where did it come from? Ching Tian, haven't you ever been to the beach before? That's something I brewed myself. It's not as delicious as yours, but it's also good. Come on, let's have a big meal tonight with wine and meat. Then I won't be polite, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, Ching Tian, you're really eating well here. We live near the woods, where there are more animal species and a wider variety of food. It's not just about food. What's the name of your drink? It's really good. Yeah, it's birch wine and it can be open to drink. It's really satisfying. Have you seen Uncle Zipu's wolf skin? In the future, you can rest assured to come here to hunt or settle down in the village. If you live here, you don't have to worry about food anymore, do you? The food in the warehouse, along with the previously hunted unicorn whales. Until next year, no one will have to worry about food. You have enough time to build new houses here. No, we can't take your food for nothing. This is the reward for taking me to the heavenly steel, which can also be considered as a farewell gift from me as a friend to you. Farewell. If you refuse, it means you haven't recognized me as a friend. No, 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 you and Nick will always be our friends. Sigh. Ching Tia Nick, thank you all. Don't thank me too early. If you want to get these foods, Uncle Zipu, you need to safely deliver me to the bay again. This is not for nothing. Don't worry, but where are you guys going? I'm not sure yet, but I want to take a day off tomorrow and leave the day after tomorrow. No problem, you can bring anything you want. We'll use a sled to help you pack it. Thank you. They're back. They're back. Thanks to Ching Tian, we brought back a lot of food this time. It's embarrassing to say that we originally wanted to help him move things, but we didn't expect it. I didn't expect Ching Tian to give us all the food. Yeah, but Ching Tian is going to the bay in two days. I'll escort them there. I will go too. Ching Tian brother, I like you. Don't worry, I will definitely send you safely to the bay. Sorry, it will take us two more days to get to the bay. It's nothing. I have plenty of time anyway. I don't think Ching Tian is in a hurry. Are you in a hurry? Why am I in a hurry? I, I didn't really want to see him. Ha ha ha. Lord Witch, many people here are like those in the Mayan city states. Yeah, that's right. Ha ha ha, it's quite lively, isn't it? After a while, there will be more people. Hurry up and find a place to rest while it's still early, but don't run out of space by then. Let's build an ice house here. What is Irina looking for? Is she looking for Thailand? You and I don't. Don't worry, if nothing unexpected happens, the ship will definitely arrive this month. I'm not in a hurry, I'm just curious about what they're doing, exchanging things. Yes, did you see what was placed in front of them? 
Of course, besides exchanging things, there are also many young people who take this opportunity to find partners. Don't worry, let's build the ice house first. Let's talk about the rest tomorrow. Master Wu, why are they still awake so late? People living here rarely see others all year round. Now that there is such an opportunity to communicate, it is naturally not to be missed. But if we're not in a hurry, we should focus on getting our spirits up first after running around for so long on the road. You can take a look here and see if there's anything you like. If you're interested in something, you can discuss it and then exchange it. You don't have to carry it with you. No wonder the people here didn't bring any goods. Unexpectedly, the most popular thing is food, and many people are willing to exchange precious things for it, which also shows that not every tribe needs to worry about food. Yadamu, long time no see, my friends. How are you? Not bad, but someone has been so excited lately that they can't sleep well every night. Thailand, go quickly. Your future wife is right there. Irina, how have you been lately? Big heart, oh. So this is the man who is going to marry Irina. He looks quite reliable. Okay, okay, I know you're in a hurry. Let's go find a quiet place and watch the wedding. What should we do? Ha ha, come to my place. The delicious and tasty food is ready. Even if we are familiar with each other, we will never get involved in their affairs. Good witch envoy, let's go for a walk. I saw some interesting things. Although more and more people are coming, I have noticed that the items on the small stall come and go of only a few types, not exceeding 20. It should be the output limit of this area, but since you have nothing to do, just take a stroll. Don't you think it's fun to watch them bargain? Ha <laughs> ha, hmm. Coming. Finally here. Is it really man-made that this ship is so big? I don't know what they will bring this year. Lord Witch, won't we go take a look? There are too many people in a hurry, and the boat hasn't docked yet. I was worried before that they wouldn't come, but now that the ship has arrived, I can't escape. They look so strange. Blonde hair. Could that wooden crate contain alcohol? After sailing for so many days, we finally arrived. Is this Iceland? I can't wait to eat meat in big gulps. No wonder there is such a large space left here. It was originally reserved for these merchants. They seem like witches. About 50 people went ashore this time, and most of them were wearing rough clothes, probably sailors. The remaining small group of well-dressed people should be the true owners of this ship, such as the captain and officials, but no Asian people have been seen in any way. Look, there's another ship. Zipu had said before that there would be more than one merchant ship arriving, but he didn't expect it to be so fast. It seems that the caravan ahead is in high demand. Chin Tion. So you guys are here. What's up? There's nothing to be afraid of you guys resting in the ice house again and missing this scene. By the way, I need to remind you. If you see something interesting, hold back and don't replace it with what you have in your hand all at once. They have a lot of things like those, and they will also have their ships coming later. But some things are very popular, like alcohol. If you want to drink it, you have to exchange it quickly because it will become increasingly expensive later on. Okay, I understand. Rare things are precious. I understand. Why don't we forget about scarcity? But I think you understand. Let's go back and wait for a while. So many people, when will this be scheduled? Isn't it said that there will be other ships coming later? I think we can wait for them. It's possible, but you have to know that the earlier you exchange, the more things you can exchange. Why? What I don't know about this is just that they told me to hurry back as soon as possible to avoid saturation. Market saturation. Yes, 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 it means market saturation. What they mean is market saturation. So it turns out that rarity is precious. 
Once a certain item becomes saturated in the market and there is an oversupply situation, its value will decrease. Those merchants raise their chips from the beginning and exchange for the desired goods as soon as possible so that they can return first and seize the market and make a fortune before the market saturates. However, judging from the length of this team and the speed of our progress, we have to wait. Hello, we would like to exchange coins. Wait, wait. What is the witch lord doing? That person can't decide the price of this unicorn whale's horn. If they go to find themselves, the person asked and I guess this horn will sell for a good price. It's so beautiful. This is a gold coin. They seem to call it that. This is a currency specifically used for trading. When they came to exchange it, there was no such thing. It only appeared later. This is also their consideration that we may encounter difficulties when exchanging materials. The issue of equal distribution, for example, the horns of this unicorn whale cannot be divided equally. It would be much more convenient to exchange them for gold coins and then divide them equally. That's right, these 20 gold coins are yours. Good. Ching Tian, are you planning to leave next? It's not that fast. At least we need to find a ship. You must inform me in advance when you leave. Don't worry. I will definitely do it. Master Wu, it's right that we're not in a hurry to exchange supplies. There are already 13 ships coming now, and the exchange price keeps decreasing. Those who started exchanging things may regret it now. Yeah, but once it drops to a certain point, it won't drop anymore because they will also unite to avoid a lose-lose situation, so now is also a good time for us to exchange. Hello, would you like to exchange something? How many coins can you exchange for these two barrels of whale oil? All at market price, one barrel of seal oil costs three gold coins. If you exchange it for wine, you can exchange it for five bottles. I don't need alcohol here, thank you. I'm already very fair. If there's no suitable one, remember to come back and find me. Three gold coins. Up to three gold coins. I can give you seven on my end, but don't tell anyone. Hey, you two, stop it. You're a playboy, but I can't judge people based on their appearance. Let's first see what's going on and then talk about it. Hello, can I help you with something? We want to buy your reindeer. I want to buy horns. I know now. I'm the only one here carrying this reindeer. It's indeed conspicuous and high profile. Not for sale. We'll give out 30 gold coins. These gold coins are already a considerable wealth here. All right, we'll take away this reindeer. We won't sell 300 gold coins either. Wait, I'm willing to offer a higher price. If you don't want gold coins, you can also exchange them for other things such as wine, weapons, etc. Anyway, these are all good things for you, aren't they? If I don't sell it, is it impossible to leave here today? Damn it, I was scared by such a barbarian. No, I can't lose. Stop. I am now acting in the name of a baron. I want to duel with you. Duel. Why should I duel with you? I don't think there's a need to duel with you, do I? Yes? You're scared. Baron Tritt, please wait a moment. Who are you? Who I am is not important nor worthy of being a baron. Remember, what's important is that I am honored to meet Baron Tritt here. Or do we civilized people speak like those barbarians? What's up with you? It's like this, I just learned the whole story from the onlookers. I don't think this reindeer is worth your effort, after all, you are so noble. What do you think? You make a lot of sense. So it should be an honor for that barbarian that the reindeer caught my eye. The short-haired man wants to help me out of trouble, but I will never give in when it comes to corners. If the situation becomes irreconcilable, then I don't mind using force to resolve it. Baron Tritt, although reindeer are rare on this ice sheet, they are definitely not impossible to find. 
Otherwise, the residents living here would not have obtained so many reindeer antlers. I can find better reindeer for you. What do you think? It would be our honor to present a gift to your esteemed baron. I don't know if you've noticed, but there have been more indigenous people here since just now. What? What do they mean by this? Will they be defeated by their own companions? And dare to take action against me, this esteemed baron, to regain my face? What? Talking about a duel with an indigenous person is like playing the ching to a cow. What happened to the baron? Why didn't he dare to attack you? Idiot. No, 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 of course they wouldn't dare. It's just that they will use another form to deal with you, such as not coming here anymore to exchange supplies with us. He and his reindeer both missed an opportunity to gain glory. Let's go. Is this the kind of person who throws away their own brain for the sake of their own glory? If that idiot really agrees, will you use gold coins to buy a reindeer and bring it back? Aye. They're so interesting. We need to go and thank them. Maybe our ship has also landed. Hello, thank you for your help. My name is Ching Tian. You. Empty gratitude is of little value. Then consider these as my thank you gifts to you. Ospel was just joking with you. Don't take it to heart. Hello, my name is Kate. This is Gozen. And this lady is Ospel. I suggest that if you encounter the same group of people again, you should avoid them first, otherwise you may encounter trouble again. By the way, you must be businessmen. I've been looking for suitable shops to exchange these things. Don't expect us to give you any high price. Let's go talk to our shop. Uncle, we meet again. My suggestion is to choose this one, even though it's a bit expensive. Let's forget about it. It should be the same price. Is this the thing you told me last time? It's really beautiful. Try it quickly. This is a marinated sparrow that our tribe recently dug up. Master Wu, the people in other shops all have a straight face during transactions, but Kate and the others in their shop are all talking and laughing. Yeah, and it seems that most of these Inuit people who come to exchange things are regular customers of this shop, and their relationships with each other are also close. It seems that after wandering around for so long, it's not in vain. Let's take Kate's boat and leave. These people are trustworthy. This is 34 gold coins. This unicorn whale horn is really valuable. It's worth more than all these things. This is definitely the market price. If you don't believe it, you can ask elsewhere. We've been staying here all this time, so you don't have to worry about us running away. I have always believed in the bucket of whale oil you gave you before, and you just included it. There are six gold coins here. Don't be a fool if you have money. By the way, may I ask if you carry passengers? What is the cost of taking a boat from here to your place? Why do you want to leave here? The world is so big, I want to go and see it. You're really interesting, you know? Before you, we also suggested that the residents living here leave. I think other places would make your lives better. Just say that this place is not suitable for human habitation, I don't mind. Yes, the living conditions here are really harsh, but basically, except for you, the residents here are unwilling to leave. This is something I don't understand. This is their route, of course they won't leave. No matter how beautiful the flowers are, they can't survive without roots. Root. Falling leaves return to their roots. This is an instinct engraved in the soul of the nation. Let's talk about the shipping fee. This doesn't cost anything, it's just two extra beds. There is no cost for taking the boat, but the daily meal cost per person is 20 copper coins. How long can these gold coins stay with you? Lying down can last for three years, but with only bread and one meal per day. Then I choose to work for food. Okay, let's go in and discuss the specific situation. What do you know about winter in the world? Yes, there have been other vendors selling it before. Do you have any here? There are some, but they even sell this thing to you. 
For the Inuit people who refuse to leave here, a map is just a piece of paper. Yes, from my observation so far, no one seems interested in this thing except me. Here you go. A silver coin. Holy Kingdom of Powit. Garmin Empire. The Witch Lord found nine silver coins. Good. It seems that the exchange rate between gold and silver coins is 110. All right, then let's go back first. Okay, goodbye you owe. They really plan to leave here. How do I feel so unreal? Are you serious? You agreed without even being sure about yourself. Uh, he's quite interesting, isn't he? He's not from here. This part of the Holy Kingdom of Powit is so detailed, and there are so few details about another country. It seems that those people belong to the Holy Kingdom of Powit. The place above, called Iceland, should be the name they call E7. Unfortunately, Iceland is a place with very little contact with the outside world, so the outline of Iceland on this map is only rough, so I cannot determine the exact size of those two countries based on their proportions. Also, I couldn't find Baodao number 2 and D3 area here. Master Wu, have you roughly understood some of your conversation? Are we leaving here in mid-September? That's right, it's the end of August now. We still have a week to prepare. That's great. We can finally leave here, maybe we'll have a chance to return to our ship. Yeah, I've already found the boat. My mood is much better now. Let's just eat, drink, and prepare something simple for now. Of course, when we have free time, we will go to Kate's place to learn about the situation outside. 47O Kate, come and help. Our country's mineral resources. Ching Tian, I'm sorry, I have to go ahead and get busy first. It's okay, we'll talk when we have time. I also understand now, although Kate seems to be the leader of the entire caravan. But the one who really handles all the affairs is still Ashbel, the butler. As for the quiet and reserved Gosnik, she once said that she could feel the threat from Gozen. Such a strong person should be Kate's bodyguard. Jiao Jiao, I'm sorry I can't bring you along. Because this is the right place for you to live, and only here can you have your kind. This is your home. Don't worry, when we get back, we'll find the mother reindeer Jebo for Jiao Jiao. Uncle Zipu, please take care of him. Be careful all the way. You should also pay attention to safety when you go back. Are you all ready? Once we are economically viable, we will wait for the goods to be loaded onto the ship. However, I see that you are still moving the goods. Do we also pull the goods onto the ship like those goods? Yes. Okay. Sit still, we're starting. Do you know that when I first sat on this wooden boat, I was so scared that even a slight swaying of the boat would make me tightly grasp it? Even more timid, he curled up and lay down without daring to move, just like some crew members. Yes, it's quite normal, isn't it? He he. This is not a big deal, but the mountaintop is much higher than this. It's so big. This is the largest ship I've ever seen so far. It's much bigger and more crowded than the Dawn ship. Come with me, I'll take you to see the accommodation. Although it's not high here, it's known as the tailhouse. The top of this place is where sailors can watch and move around, and they need to climb up the ladders on both sides. Oh, by the way, those things on the deck are called cannons. Don't touch them if it's okay. Isn't our room right below? This stuffy feeling is really uncomfortable. When designing the Dawn, I specially added a ventilation mechanism to prevent the cabin from feeling too stuffy. Forget it, maybe things will be much better after the ship sets sail. This is where you rest. There's a net hanging on the wall. You can hang it anywhere and sleep. Is there any other place? After the ship sets sail, it will be much cooler here. Of course, there are also separate rooms that can be used, but it will cost one silver coin per day. Could you please open a single room for me until I disembark? 
The environment here should be much better than in Iceland, right? Do you want to be honest? Okay, the voyage will take about two months. If you count it to 60 days, you will receive a refund or an additional six gold coins. Thank you. It's not urgent. Let's take a look at the situation first. Okay, come with me. Take a look, this can be considered the best room on the ship. If you're not satisfied, there's nothing I can do. Deal. Wait a moment, I'll tidy up your room for you. Open the door. Coming. Gosh, Bill, what are you? From today until I go back, you two go to the cabin and sleep for me. Cough. The witch lord's room is so small compared to the dawn ship. After all, most of the space on this merchant ship is used to transport goods, otherwise the activity space would definitely be larger than that of the dawn. Let's tidy up the room. Um. Sail. I didn't expect Ashable to even take the blanket. Fortunately, we have a spare one. If you don't put something on top, it's really like sleeping directly on the bedboard. Let's go out and take a look. Good. Master Wu, we have been away from the Dawn ship for a long time. Yeah, it's been wandering aimlessly like a homeless cat without a stable place to stay. Hiccup and the others are the two rookies who boarded the ship for the first time. They probably haven't experienced life on the ship, so please take care of them. If you can't take care of yourself on this ship, it's better to disembark early to avoid dragging others down. I can't say that, after all, they can also be considered guests. The guests working on the ship are so funny. Should we ask them to come down? Don't let them see their hometown more, let's talk about it tomorrow. One day they will see the scenery of this sea. Master Witch Envoy It's okay, he's right. Controlling a ship is not an easy task. In short, unlike some works, everyone will never be able to do what they like after the ship sets sail. Turn left, that's it. Wait, I'll be right over. You two didn't feel any discomfort. Did you feel nauseous or nauseous? Are you talking about seasickness? No, when we were hunting whales in a kayak, the bumps were much greater than they are now. That's good. I'll give you rum. If you feel uncomfortable, you can take a few sips. Thank. No need to thank you. By the way, let me tell you about the precautions on board. Good. It's time for dinner. It's time for dinner. It's finally time for dinner. I'm starving. Has anyone exchanged something with me for rum? Let's go to the cafeteria, too. As the leader, shouldn't you have your own small stove? Most of them are the same, right? Hurry up and queue up. Next. I'll give it a try first. So hard. This is sending out tiles as bread. Forget it, let's eat. It seems like there's nothing else on this ship besides these. You can use it to soak meat soup before eating. This is indeed a good idea. It seems that these sailors are also quite averse to the cabin. Otherwise, they wouldn't have rested on the deck either. Get up, hurry up. If you don't want to fall into the sea and feed the fish, hurry back to your place. Wake up, don't sleep. Damn it, I was almost going to kiss you. This ocean is still fierce enough. In the previous voyage, I could only feel this kind of turbulence in a storm. Is there any distinction in this ocean? The temperament of the ocean varies in different places, and the Pacific Ocean is much calmer than the other four oceans. Did Nick just finish eating? I'm full. Well, the environment here is not good, so we can only wait until the place is ready. By the way, it's almost autumn and the temperature will be very low at night. Be careful not to catch a cold. Go to sleep. The next day. Wait a moment. This is Uncle Roger. 
your future work will be arranged by him. Look at you guys who haven't woken up yet. I'll give you ten minutes to have breakfast and then quickly roll over here. Understand? Uncle Roger always talks like this. I hope you don't mind. Fully armed, this is a dangerous voyage to Iceland, or is it standard for all merchant ships? I don't know if this third layer also has artillery. You too. Go ahead and move that bucket of tar onto the deck. Your job today is to tow the entire deck over. I will come to inspect you at noon. It's best not to slack off and play tricks. This is related to your dinner today. It's so strange that wiping oil on the deck could easily cause a fall. This is to maintain the ship. This merchant ship is mostly built with soft woods such as oak, cedar, and teak, which are prone to deformation when left in a dry or water-soaked state for a long time, causing the gaps between the woods to become larger and larger. In addition, the corrosion of salt particles in the gaps will make it impossible for these gaps to resist the leakage of rainwater and seawater once it rains or waves hit them. Why didn't our dawn ship mention the need for tar maintenance? Haha, -ha, maintenance is necessary, but it doesn't have to be so frequent. I carefully selected the wood to minimize its deformation. Alright, we should get to work now. This deck is estimated to be at least 300 square meters in size. It would take about half a day to oil the deck with only two people, and this is only when the ship is sailing smoothly. But this is already a very easy job. The sailors who climb up and down the rope net are working in this high air. Whenever they encounter a big wave, the sailors may be thrown into the sea. Roger has actually been very considerate of us. Evening. Um. The completion speed needs to be improved. You can go have dinner now. I will only arrange the work tomorrow morning. The next day. Your task today is to serve as a lookout. You idiot, what are your feet doing? Hurry up and wrap yourself around the rope. Thank you, Uncle Roger. Be careful, rookie. The tasks I will assign you in the future are not limited to these. It's too inconvenient for Lord Wu to use the restroom here. Yeah, although we can use the Ashbel-specific toilet, this toilet only requires two wooden boards to be placed in the room. When squatting, one can see the surging sea. Alas. Today I'm with you all. Gozen. The food today is really good. It's marinated lamb crackers, cheese, and even alcohol. Yeah, it would be great if we had it every day. Did the witch master hear that? There's cheese and wine. I heard it, and finally, I can eat more comfortably. Master Wu, this water smells so bad. It seems that the fresh water on the ship was not sterilized when it was bottled, so it's better not to drink it. Let's drink a bar. I understand why alcohol was provided today. I guess the sailors on the ship don't want to drink this stinky water either. I'm sorry, this water has been left for too long, which is why it smells bad. However, as long as you drink it with alcohol, there shouldn't be any problems. As for this cheese, it's not bad either. Just shake out the maggots inside. How about this? I'll exchange cookies with you. That's okay. This cheese tastes perfectly fine, and even the maggots don't need to be shaken off. To be honest, the protein content of these worms is higher and cleaner than beef. How long has this water been in here for a month? A month ago, the water on board the ship had already gone bad since the snow melted after landing in Iceland. No wonder next time you sail, you can boil the water for sterilization treatment before putting it in barrels, which can preserve the water quality for a longer time. Sterilization The Holy West Kingdom doesn't even know about bacteria. Bacteria are invisible creatures that can be found everywhere, in the air, soil, and even on our bodies. Invisible creatures We also have it on us. Ching Tian, it seems like I haven't found them. 
If you can't see, naturally you can't find it. In short, the decay of food and the odor of water are all caused by bacteria. As long as the bacteria are killed, the shelf life of food can be greatly extended. As I just said, you can try boiling the water and storing it next time, and then compare it with other untreated water to find out. Since bacteria cannot be seen, how do you know their existence? I retract my previous words. I really can't come up with any strong evidence without a microscope. Hey, are you okay? Did you get drunk in broad daylight? What's up? Sorry, there are some things that need to be dealt with. Let's talk later. Master Witch Envoy. Regardless of what they will handle, they should. This is water seepage from the cabin. Don't worry, Poseidon won't accept rookies like you. At least wait until the water reaches our knees before this ship can sink. Your task today is to empty the water from this cabin. Using buckets. By the way, is there a water pipe here? What is that thing? Namely, if there were water pipes on this ship, Roger wouldn't have known. It seems that we still need to handle it honestly. Hmm, this feels like... It's indeed bamboo. Uncle Roger, can I use these bamboo? Now is not the time for you to do handicrafts. I have a way to make these waters flow out on their own. Ha ha ha, this is the funniest joke I've heard in a while. Do you think you're very humorous? How do you use magic to let this water flow out on its own? Or are you planning to make another hole in the bottom of the boat? Give me two hours, you'll know in two hours. At this point, he still speaks hard. I heard that very few Inuit people use some incredible and magical methods. In two hours, if I don't see the water you're talking about, it will flow out on its own. You are responsible for all the drainage work today. If it can be done, then there must be rewards, right? I'll give you my reward this week. Deal. What should we do next, Lord Witch? First, connect the antinodes inside the bamboo. This is a crucial step. Fortunately, there is canvas oil on board. Otherwise, I really don't know how to seal this gap. Break through the bamboo. What are you looking at? Hurry up and take it away. Are these two people fantasizing about using bamboo tubes to suck up all the accumulated water at the bottom of the boat? What are you murmuring about? I'm thinking about what those two Inuit people would look like after losing a bet. It must be very exciting. Your butt is itching again, isn't it? What's that? On the deck. Hey, what are you doing? It's obvious that I'm pouring water into the bamboo tube. So I'm asking why you're doing this. Bottom of the ship. What the hell are those two Inuit people up to? How could there be water seeping out of the bamboo tube? Boss, do you want to go and see where the drainage is? It's clearly pouring water into the cabin. Feed. What do you guys really want to do? Deck. Great, the signal is coming. Two. Three. Water sprayed out from the bamboo tube. Damn it, really damn it, guys. That water. According to my observation, one-third of the people on board have been affected by the disease. Only one-third of what can be observed actually has already reached two-thirds of the number of patients. They were already prepared before boarding the ship. The water sprayed out from the bamboo tube like this. Spray it out. Why is it so chaotic outside? What happened? I didn't look at the flowers, did I? What the hell is going on? How was this done? Bottom of the cabin. I felt a strong suction force. This is unbelievable. These two Inuit people really know witchcraft. Boss, come and take a look. Unbelievable. This is simply unbelievable. Is it really witchcraft to hear other sailors say that Ching Tian and his team only connected this bamboo tube together? If the ship could have this means, it would definitely save a lot of manpower, but how to speak up is a question. 
Siphon effect. Is this siphon effect the name of this witchcraft? Can I also learn it? That's how it was said. If you are willing to teach, we can pay you a fee here. This is an opportunity. How much is the remuneration? Fortunately, I just stopped talking and didn't hand over the bottom. Why are they all gathered together? What are they all looking at? 300 gold coins. 300 gold coins. Just 300 gold coins. Be calm, you must be calm. The price offered at this time is just a test, and there is still an opportunity to raise it. The saying wealth knowledge is wealth is indeed true. We can negotiate again. You've made a counteroffer, and as long as you make a counteroffer, there's still room for negotiation. 500 gold coins will exempt us from the remaining food and accommodation expenses during the voyage. Isn't the asking price too harsh? Deal. I agreed. I didn't expect to agree so readily, but it added 200 gold coins. I was so lucky. I didn't expect the transaction to be completed with 500 gold coins, which is half less than expected. Two people who thought they had an advantage and were complacent. The witch lord laughed so strangely. Ashbel laughed so cunningly. When paying the remuneration, please also give him my weekly salary. That means we can witness this magical magic today because of a bet between Uncle Roger and Ching Tian, right? Then Uncle Roger can't afford it anymore. After all, it benefits all of us. Is it okay for me to pay for Uncle Roger? Actually, I don't need it at all. I just... It's just one week's salary. You don't need to help me pay. I'm willing to gamble and accept defeat. This is quite awkward. I was just saying it casually, but I didn't expect it to be this result. How long can this witchcraft last? It won't stop until the water is drained, but if there is any more water accumulation at the bottom of the boat, it will have to be rearranged to take effect. If you want to speed up the pumping speed, you can add another set of siphon pipes. Are you all deaf? Didn't you hear what he just said? Why are you standing here like a fool? Go get me the bamboo. Yes, yes. Siphon effect. Simply put, as long as there is a difference in liquid height between two containers, connecting a suction tube filled with liquid to the liquid in both containers will cause the liquid in the container with the highest liquid height to flow towards the container with the lower liquid height, resulting in a siphon phenomenon. Of course, in addition to the above conditions, it is necessary to ensure that the height of the highest point of the storage container from the water surface of the upper container is not higher than the height of the water column supported by atmospheric pressure, and the outlet must be lower than the water surface of the upper container. However, the siphon effect is not entirely caused by atmospheric pressure. It can also occur in a vacuum, causing the upward force of the liquid to be the cohesive force of molecules between liquids. Ah, this familiar and fucking expression. It seems like I have lost my ability to think. Is atmospheric pressure invisible, just like bacteria? What are bacteria? A tiny invisible creature that is said to cause food spoilage is also present in our bodies due to bacteria. This money is not easy to earn. It's been almost an hour now. But thinking about it, it's really difficult to explain this intangible thing. If I hadn't received systematic learning and gained a general concept, I'm afraid I wouldn't have understood what atmospheric pressure is. Let's discuss it slowly first. I'll go out for some fresh air. Seeing them like this, it won't be possible to end it for a while. Go check if the siphon is still working properly. Before you get the money, you can't smash the card face. Bottom of the cabin. Although there is some water seepage, the problem is not significant. What are you doing here? Who came out? Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger, why are you here? Is it because of a bet? It feels so awkward that I have to come up with some excuses to slip away. Drive this child away from insects. Would you like some? That is. What a long bug. The ship maggot, also known as the chisel ship shell, belongs to the class of gills, suborder of poor teeth, family of ship maggots, and is a mollusk with a worm-like body. 
It has a slender body with two symmetrical white small shells at the front end and a thin white calcareous tube that wraps around the rest of the body. Ship maggots are commonly found in various oceans, feeding on wood. Most of them live by chiseling wood, which can damage wooden boats and dock buildings. In addition, different types of ship maggots vary greatly in size, with only 2 or 3 centimeters in size. They can grow up to about 1 meter. Uncle Roger, you've been looking for shipworms here all along. This disgusting thing and the damn barnacles at the bottom of the boat are all things that make this child suffer. Wooden boards that have been hollowed out by ship maggots often have cavities. If there is external force squeezing the air inside, it will burst out. It seems that Uncle Roger has found the wormhole, right? Sure enough. Uncle Roger probably has over a dozen shipworms in his hands, but he's also an experienced sailor. Judging from his calm demeanor, it seems that these shipworms haven't caused any major problems to the ship yet. Have those idiots finished dealing with the bamboo? I'll go take a look. Run away, run away. After returning to the deck, Ching Tian immediately went to Oshbel's room to see what the three of them were doing now. Who would have thought that when he opened the door, he would see Kate and the other three sitting paralyzed like dead dogs? As you said, you don't need to fill this bamboo tube with water, can you? Just use your mouth to suck it up. If you can do it, you can give it a try. Ching Tian did not attempt to explain this further and planned to let the three of them personally operate it once. After all, no matter how much he said, it was just a paper talk. It was better to practice it himself. Thanks to this, Ching Tian also received 500 gold coins and full meals as he wished, which made him decide not to continue working on the ship. It was really exhausting. But I don't know if they've gotten used to being busy, but Ching Tian and Haninik feel a bit restless during their free time. Occasionally, they also spontaneously do some work on the boat. Why are you also mopping the floor? Ospel said that the tuition fee for the witch will be deducted from the salaries of a few of us. Unconsciously, a month passed and we entered autumn. The sea temperature dropped significantly, and the overall temperature remained around 10 degrees Celsius. I finally understand that the sailors on the ship emit a smell of alcohol all day long, and Uncle Roger is even more drunk. If this continues, I'm afraid I'll be like them too. Although rum with high alcohol content can act like alcohol to kill bacteria in this green water, the unpleasant odor cannot be eliminated. Not tasty. The witch master said that the protein of this insect is six times that of beef. What is the eighth or ninth this week? This person seems to have fallen twice already. Are you dead? Get up quickly. If you want to sleep, go aside. Don't block the staircase here. Be careful, I'll kick your butt open. Hey, wait a minute. He seems to have something wrong. It's scurvy. Scurvy. Nick, let's go take a look. Ashbel, go find Uncle Roger quickly. On the deck. Look at the devil's mark. The demon invaded his blood. Damn it, hold on. How is he doing? As if he had been beaten up, the sailor's body was covered with large clots resembling bruises, especially in the subcutaneous tissue and various joints. It's really scurvy. Go to the infirmary. This is the heavy smell of blood in the infirmary. Why are you all stuck here? Move aside. Preparing for surgery. Pour it down for him. I didn't expect Uncle Roger to still be a doctor. Can you treat scurvy without surgery? Needle tube. I'm already drunk. Is this needle used for surgery? How do you use this needle for surgery? It's not disinfected, just wiped. Wait. 
The Age of Discovery, also known as the Age of Discovery, refers to the extensive transoceanic activities launched around the world, especially in Europe, in the 15th and 17th centuries. I think I heard the teacher explain it during my history class. This era greatly promoted Europe's overseas trade and also took advantage of this opportunity for rapid development in Europe, laying the foundation for prosperity beyond Asia. But for the sailors of that period, it was a nightmare era. In the age of discovery, ships could only cross the ocean with the help of sails. Therefore, the time for overseas trade voyages was quite long, and sailors often stayed on board for several months. At that time, refrigerators had not yet been invented, and most of the food on ships was meat products such as cured meat and salted fish that could be stored for a long time. In this situation, if sailors are unable to consume vitamin C from food for a long time, they will develop scurvy. Due to the limitations of medical technology at that time, although doctors knew that scurvy was caused by blood problems in the human body, they did not know the cause or treatment methods. Some even believe that demons are hidden in the blood. At that time, ship doctors on various ships generally believed that as long as the blood was released, the demons in the body could be driven away and the goal of healing could be achieved. The fatal thing is that most of these sailors used unsterilized tools to cut open the sailors' blood vessels when bleeding them, which undoubtedly increases the risk of infection for the sailors. Besides, the ship doctors at that time were not aware of the existence of bacteria, and the medical room was not cleaned all year round, let alone the sterile environment. After a long time, the entire room was red and black in color after blood coagulation. In order to prevent the slippery and difficult to walk ground after bloodletting, a layer of sand was laid on it. In this incorrect treatment method and this environment full of bacteria, the sailor's survival after surgery depends entirely on their own luck. Uncle Roger, stop it. We'll die. Don't worry, Uncle Roger is treating him and everything will be fine. Ching Tian has been living in Iceland and probably hasn't seen this type of treatment before, otherwise he wouldn't have had such a big reaction. Believe me, bloodletting is useless. It will only kill that sailor. If nothing happens, then it's strange. Have you used the same method to treat others before? What were the final results? How many people survived in the end and what is the proportion? A total of 127 people received treatment, but only 31 survived. That's a quarter survival rate, which is too low. Gozen was cured through this method. You're really lucky. If I say I have a success rate of over 80% in saving that person, will you still insist on bloodletting? 80%. 80%. Kid, can you take responsibility for what you say? Of course. When I said I could make the water flow backwards, you didn't immediately believe me, but you gave me a chance, right? Ching Tian can make water flow backwards. Maybe he can really achieve an 80% cure rate. Will it be another miracle? 80%. If Ching Tianjin could have achieved it, and if he had been the person in charge of the treatment, at least 50 out of the 120 people would have survived. How to do it? Do you need anything? It seems like I believe it. I remember you said there are many barnacles at the bottom of the ship, right? Do you want to clean the bottom of the boat? All I need are those things. Vine pot. Yes, it's a barnacle. The reason why you suffer from sepsis is because the body lacks intake of vitamin C, which means that as long as you consume enough vitamin C, sepsis will not be cured. Vitamin C is an invisible substance found in any fresh food. For example, as I just mentioned, barnacles contain vitamin C. Anyway, as long as you eat that ugly thing, this guy will bounce around, right? Yes, but it takes a lot and a period of time to eat, but during this time, there is no need to worry about the condition worsening. What are you still staring at? Are your ears all blocked by earwax? Get ready. The A team led by Gozen will be launched first, while the B team will be responsible for reception on the sea surface, rotating every 10 minutes. The oil is here. Ching Tian, what's the use of this grease? It's not that I want Gozen. They want it. We. 
Yes, see, applying this oil to your body can to some extent resist the cold while diving. Can it still be like this? Is only this animal oil effective? Damn it, this is just too funny. Don't procrastinate like a little girl and talk so much nonsense. Just do whatever you're told to do. This is simply disgusting. I hope it really works. It smells too bad. Remember to keep an eye on the water surface. If you receive a distress signal, be sure to come and support as quickly as possible. You're so scared of death, why don't you get off the ship earlier? Bring the knife with you. Get ready to go into the water. So many barnacles seem to need to be cleaned up properly after this return trip, otherwise there will be a big accident sooner or later if things continue like this. However, it's ridiculous that the barnacles, which were supposed to pose a great threat to the ship's hull, have become life-saving drugs. Speaking of which, Ching Tian's method is truly miraculous. Although the temperature of the seawater is cold, it is much better than I expected. It's true that sailors who have been at sea all year round can hold their breath underwater for such a long time. It's been three minutes now. Is the Inuit method effective? If you don't tell me, I forgot about this matter and didn't pay much attention to it. I think there should have been some unexpected coldness when going into the water. Why is it so small? You're not unaware of how difficult it is to clean barnacles. Just like when you see a woman, you can't even pull her up, can you? Ha ha ha. As long as you eat this kind of thing, scurvy will be cured, right? But it's not something that takes immediate effect and takes some time to take effect. The appearance, like the hand of a demon, is like coming from hell. Knock it off. Knock, knock, knock. Give up now. I have lost the ability to swallow. That shell doesn't need to be stuffed into his mouth. Just pick out the meat inside. That's really troublesome. Although that's what I said, I still personally took action and my heart was divided. Uncle Roger is really not honest enough. It's so fragrant, it's just too fragrant. What exactly is this? Although barnacles can be eaten raw and tasted fresh, their taste is definitely not good without processing. It should be because his body is extremely thirsty for the vitamin C contained in the barnacles, which affects his taste buds and makes him feel that the barnacles are very delicious. It's too bad to eat. What delicious meat? Can this barnacle only be eaten raw? Can it be cooked before consumption? It's possible, but high temperatures can damage the vitamin C in the barnacles. If cooked, the amount of vitamin C ingested will be much less than if eaten raw. However, in the current situation, there are also many barnacles, and even if they are boiled and eaten, they can always meet the body's needs. No, I'm tired. I'm in your group now. Boss won't let us clean all the barnacles at the bottom of the ship, will he? Don't joke around. When will we get that done? I can't take it anymore. I can't catch any fish at all. It's so strange that after so long, the swim bladder hasn't made any movement at all. After all, this is not a fishing ground and cannot compare to the coastal waters. What is a fishing ground? Nick, you have to know that although the ocean is boundless, it is the place with the richest fish resources in the world. But the distribution of fish in the sea is very uneven. Generally speaking, fish tend to gather in coastal areas because shallow sea continental shelves near land riverbeds bring in a large amount of inorganic salts. This leads to the deposition of a large amount of nutrients on the nearby seabed, which attracts a large number of marine organisms to the final gathering place, known as the fishing ground. Simply put, nearshore is more suitable for a large number of fish to survive, while offshore is different. Fish in that area do not move on the surface of the water. Most of them live in areas 30 to 300 meters below sea level. Of course, there are not only fishing grounds in the near sea, 
but also in the far sea with a richer variety and more quantity than in the near sea. However, these fishing grounds often do not appear on the frequent shipping routes of ships. So fishing in offshore areas that are not fishing grounds is basically based on luck and requires excellent patience. And it also requires a quiet environment. Raise the anchor, lower the sail, and ride the wind in waves. Breathe forward against the wind and rain. At 18 knots, I'm the most awesome sailor on the sea. Don't be fooled by the fact that these sailors now look like they've been injected with chicken blood, but half a month ago they were still in a sickly state. After learning from Ching Tian that fresh barnacles could cure scurvy, for a period of time, the food on the ship became a feast made of barnacles. These people are all suffering from scurvy. According to recent statistics, over three-quarters of the people on board have contracted scurvy, although the severity varies. Most of them silently endure it. The congestion has really decreased. Dietary therapy is effective. After one week, severe symptoms become mild, and mild symptoms heal. The sailor's physical condition has greatly improved. After a while, the sailor on the brink of death also became lively and energetic. Thanks to Ching Tian, they have this kind of mood and energy. It's because they're too noisy that the fish dare not approach. What's up? A storm is coming. Hurry up and leave the sea area. Storm. Why are you still standing still? Get moving, you deaf people. Storm. Storm. My perception of the storm is not wrong. You and Nick, hurry back to the room. It's dangerous here. The sky is clear for thousands of miles, but I don't understand sailing either. Since Kate said there's a storm, it's safer to go back to the room. The storm is really here. Yincho, come with me. You guys go over and help them. Hurry up and turn off the cannon. Apply force. Blamed. This storm came too quickly. Sail 60. What happened? We're done. We're done. The fire of hell. What a loud noise. What just happened? Blue flames. Look out. Stand firm. What's going on here? What's going on? Large. The Great Vortex. Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate. I don't want to die yet. God implores you to save your greatest believer. If the ship breaks down and is already caught by the Vortex's force arm, unless there is enough power, it may be swept into the seabed like this. Hurry up, Uncle Roger, come and help me. Kid, hold on. Listen to my command and use force to turn the steering wheel back together. Two. Go. I can't hold on anymore. Kid, use all your strength to breastfeed. Young fellow. Kid, are you crazy? Ching Tian, what are you doing? Quickly stabilize the steering wheel, otherwise we will all die. I won't die. Believe me, I can make the ship safely leave the vortex, just as believing in me to make the water flow upstream can cure good and bad blood diseases. Besides, it's protecting us. We can't die. Can we rest assured? Hell's fire. Ha ha ha, is that what you call hellfire? Remember the name of St. Elmo, the god who guards ships and sailors on the sea, and this is his token, the fire of St. Elmo. All the ships that have ever experienced such flames have sunk to the bottom of the sea. Uncle Roger, where did you hear about this? It must be a crew member who survived after hardships, right? So is there a possibility that a ship that should have been completely destroyed could have been saved after the appearance of the St. Elmo fire? 
The most important thing is that our ship is now in this vortex and it is impossible to escape with the wind. Why don't you trust St. Elmo and also trust my methods? After a loud bang, the speed of the ship increased. No, this is the ocean current. Let's go. Where to? Of course, I'm going up there to take a look. I don't even know what happened here. And the current speed of the ship's oars doesn't work at all, do they? Hold it steady, don't fall down. The hull is tilting so badly. What happened? You guys. What's up? Ashbel. It's done. Believe me, you will witness the appearance of the third miracle. Miracles will definitely happen. If it's what he said, then miracles will definitely happen. He must know the St. Elmo, that's why he can perform miracles. We have the blessing of the fire of St. Elmo. Great, now the sailors have calmed down. Listen to my command. Fold up the sails. Received. This speed. It's really the boat running ahead and the soul chasing behind. I can only trust this kid. Pay attention to my password. The extreme end of the lever arm. The vertex of speed. Put down the sail. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Out. Come out. Miracle, this is definitely a miracle. What just happened? We rushed out. Saved. No, my legs are weak. Miracles are miracles. This is amazing. How did it happen? Just using centrifugal force to throw the ship out of this vortex is like spinning an umbrella and throwing raindrops off it. Grandfather Wisdom taught me. Stand up, all of you boneless things. Does this danger scare you all to pee? Go get me the empty bucket and collect rainwater. One week later. I've never thought this rainwater was so sweet. I said I would definitely find you here. Is there anything you're looking for me for? There's no such thing, but there's a message. At this speed, we will arrive at the port in two days. So I want to ask if you two have any plans. Are you planning? Ching Tian has thought about his plans after landing, but he hasn't delved into them deeply. The reason is simple. He doesn't know what the situation is like in the Holy West Kingdom, Lo. Therefore, no matter how well or meticulously his plan is made, it is still a castle in the air. After all, the foundation of this plan is his own imagination. As for whether it is actually like this, he doesn't know. If it doesn't match the ideal situation, or even if it's completely different, then his plan will be considered a blank slate. Do you have any good ideas? It is precisely because Ching Tian understands this that he has never come up with a specific charter. The only thing that can be confirmed is that his purpose for this trip is to use the Holy West Kingdom as a springboard to find Yellen and the others. Do you want to join our Chamber of Commerce? Join your Chamber of Commerce. Yes. I remember when you boarded the ship, you mentioned that you wanted to come and see the outside world. But I have to remind you that in the Holy West Kingdom, everyone speaks English. And as merchants, we learned your language in order to conduct better transactions with you Icelandic residents. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry too much about these concerns. If you join us, we can teach you English. Of course, this is not a compensation related to your work here. We will pay you separately. This can only be considered as our welfare. In addition, there is something called kingdom law here. If you accidentally violate one of its provisions, you may encounter trouble. Similarly, there are things related to kingdom law. Ching Tian, what English did you just say? Feel surprised? Feel off guard? Damn it, Ching Tian. Are you not a criminal who was exiled or fled to Iceland? What are you planning to do? Don't worry, we will never tell anyone about your whereabouts. That's definitely true. Only in this way can we explain why Ching Tian has such a big difference in thinking compared to other Inuit people. 
Calm down, I am not someone who has been exiled. Really? Let's talk about work. If possible, I would like to hear about the job responsibilities and ask about some salary-related matters. Nick and I are not familiar with the Holy Kingdom of Wester. It would be great if we could find a resting place there as a buffer. We would like you to serve as the Vice President of our Chamber of Commerce. Salary is up to you. Is a monthly salary of 500 gold coins also acceptable? This 500 gold coin monthly salary is. Ashbel, why don't you come and talk to me? This idea should have been proposed by you, right? You see, I said you must be able to guess. If I had known, I wouldn't have gone into such a big circle. We sincerely invite you to work here. As for the remuneration, I can offer you 50 gold coins per month. Ching Tian is really incredible. If such a person can work in the Chamber of Commerce, it will definitely be of great benefit to the development of the Chamber of Commerce. So many. Ashbel once said that a few gold coins can sustain the basic living expenses of ordinary civilians for a year. Fifty gold coins a month is definitely an extremely generous reward. Ching Tian was really shocked to hear the reward offered by Ashbel. At first, the 500 gold coins he offered were just a joke. In his opinion, being able to earn five gold coins in a month was quite good, but now this offer has far exceeded his psychological expectations. But even so, Ching Tian did not agree to it. As the saying goes, there is no free lunch in this world. In his opinion, the responsibility that Ashabal needs to bear for being able to offer such a high price should be enormous. But what surprised Ching Tian was that Ozabel had only one requirement for him, which was to help provide advice whenever the Chamber of Commerce encountered any major problems. Ching Tian was very pleased and agreed to Kate's invitation. At this point, Ching Tian and Hananik became members of the Chamber of Commerce, and on the evening of the ship, Kate and the others held a simple welcome ceremony to introduce the Vice President to everyone. Two days later, Everyone perk up and make your dog eyes shine. If any suspicious vessel enters the range, immediately fire a gun to intimidate. What's the situation? This sea area is dangerous. There are only a few routes from the Holy West Kingdom to Iceland, and some pirates will deliberately guard the relevant waters during our return journey. This time period is the node where merchant ships return with full cargo, and there are many valuable things. If ambushed on the return route, the profits will be even greater. But you don't have to worry about pirates often choosing prey based on their own situation. As long as they show enough powerful firepower, you don't have to worry about pirates catching them. I think our firepower should not be bad. Master Witch Envoy This is Linhai City. Here we are. Finally back. There are only carriages and no cars, and I don't know if the Holy Sweet Kingdom doesn't have a steam engine or if the steam engine hasn't been applied to carriages yet. However, regardless of the situation, it indicates that the Holy West Kingdom did not enter the era of pneumatics. In addition, wherever the line of sight goes, there are undulating mountains. Apart from the coastal city in front of us, there are no villages nearby. It seems that this is a country with vast territory and sparse population. How about this? This is my country. The walls of the Holy West Kingdom are truly awe-inspiring. Not bad, very beautiful, antique and charming. Why is the response so flat? There shouldn't be such magnificent buildings in Iceland, right? I feel like this praise is perfunctory. Stuart Fred has arrived. I've kept you waiting for so long. Chamber of Commerce Steward Fred. Great. It's all fresh vegetables. Look at this apple. It's so damn tempting. Get me some oranges. Get me some oranges. I'll trouble Uncle Roger with the finishing work for now. The goods will appear in the warehouse by tomorrow morning at the latest. You guys know what to eat, the bottom rat. Get back to work right now. Let's go. Let's finish our work before eating. Gunpowder Monkey, help me get an orange. Kid, give me a bite of the apple. I'm really going crazy during this time at sea. 
I must go to the tavern tonight to relax and unwind. You saw the fire of death, nonsense. If you had seen the fire of death, how could you have survived? Stupid, pay attention to your wording. It's called the fire of St. Elmo. By the way, I saw the rumored ship with two wheels and a chimney. Is it really using wheels instead of oars to drive on the sea? This is what I saw on my way to deliver the goods to Brawl. I didn't see it clearly even though it was too far away, but what can be certain is that the wheels on the ship didn't turn at that time. Don't crowd one over. It's a noble car. Don't stop it. Is this Lenhai City? It's so magnificent. I don't know what kind of scenery it will be inside. Cavalry heavy armor, this is the first time I have seen it with my own eyes. It gives a more profound feeling than in movies and TV shows. I don't know if it can withstand bullets. If it can't, then it's a heavy burden on the battlefield. Fresh fruits freshly picked. Hello, madam. May I ask if you need flowers? Excuse me, please. How is this new vice president? Very good. It can make people feel at ease. It was Oshbell's decision. There are many interesting things. The clothes on these people should be European clothing, similar to the resident clothing in the game of power. Where are we going now? After our chamber of commerce branches here and there, we can rest. A young master. We've arrived here. The welcome banquet is ready. Please take a seat for a moment. Fred, you are always so meticulous in your work. At first glance, it appears to be all kinds of jewelry and unnamed items, but at first glance, it is clear that the Chamber of Commerce is engaged in the luxury goods business. No, if it's really a luxury goods business, Kate and the others don't need to go to Iceland to do business. Let's ask when we have time. I can finally rest. Master Wu, this stool is so soft. Wow, everyone is made of genuine leather. Everyone has been waiting for a long time. The dinner was well prepared. There were meat like roasted sucking pig or roasted baby pig, roast lamb leg, hot dog, and good wine. The most important thing was Fred's specially prepared carrot, cabbage, grape, orange, and other things rich in vitamin C. These are undoubtedly extremely tempting for Ching Tian and the others as they greatly satisfy their physical needs. After eating and drinking enough, Ching Tian and his companions accumulated fatigue during the voyage erupted. Then, led by the maid, they arrived at the second floor. Fred had already prepared the corresponding room during the meal and simply greeted them, agreeing on dinner time. After meeting, several people entered their rooms separately. The room is very large, with a large bed placed in the center. There is a dressing table on the right with a huge mirror on top. On the left is a coffee table, two chairs, hot water for bathing, and wooden barrels. You should know that during the voyage, fresh water is extremely precious and not enough to drink, let alone take a shower. Therefore, the stains on Ching Tian and Hanuk's bodies have reached an unbearable level during this period. After taking a comfortable bath one after another, Ching Tian and Hanuk lay on that soft bed, embracing each other and sleeping. By the way, what is the main business of our Chamber of Commerce? Sales of jewelry and related items. This is just one of them, and there is also the business of fur and grain. In addition, our Chamber of Commerce has branches in other cities besides the current one. Did anything happen to the Chamber of Commerce during my absence, Fred? These are all small things that have already been resolved. Sorry, sir. We are currently closed. Please come back tomorrow. Move out of my way. Lord Kate, it's great to see you safely back. Captain William, there's no need to say such polite words. We still have breakfast to eat. Viscount, if you have any instructions, please indicate them as soon as possible. Convey the Viscount's command. There is a task that Lord Kate needs to complete here. I have confirmed the task content. You can go back now, so I won't disturb your meal. 
Damn Dumbledore, it was intentional. Only bring the task at this time. Which time wasn't like this, but we all completed it smoothly, right? This time it's definitely the same. There's no need to get angry about this kind of thing. If possible, I would also like to know what happened. If it's not convenient, let it go. It's just a small matter. Of course you can, after all, you are now the Vice President of the Chamber of Commerce and have the qualifications to do so. I think from our conversation just now, you also know that we have received a task from the Viscount. And the task is to send a batch of military supplies to the front line. Military supplies. There is war. Yes, the war between the Holy West Kingdom and the Garmont's Empire has been going on for over a hundred years. Over a hundred years. As far as I know, during this period, most of the two countries were in a state of confrontation, and the number of times they went to war was very small, even if the time of war was not long. Of course, that's all I've heard. After all, I'm not a witch and can live that long. What is the reason for the battle? I don't know. Perhaps His Majesty the King was mocked by King Galmans for having an ugly beard. Or maybe it's because the wife of King Garmont was taken away by our Jade King, right? Who knows if the heads of nobles and nobles are filled with donuts or something else besides their brains. This is serious. The reason for this century-long battle of emotions is unknown to the people, and they are still knitting. Fred, do you know? Young master, I'm sorry. I don't know, but in my impression, this war has been going on for a long time. They are stealing something. What's that? This is also what I heard when I traveled around before, and I don't know specifically about C. I have to say so much, it's all just hearsay, so there's no definite news. Let's continue talking about this task. If it's just transporting the goods to the front and rear, it should be easy to complete, right? If no one is obstructing. That Viscount Dumbledore. You rewrite. You should be able to understand English, right? Small token of kindly feelings. The task release date above is the end of August, but this batch of supplies must be delivered before October, which means Kate and the others still have half a month left. No wonder you had such a big reaction before. It's just a deliberate attempt to delay time. Although you haven't returned yet when the task was released, they clearly can hand it over to Mr. Fred to arrange for personnel to transport this batch of supplies. This task is of great importance. If we hadn't seen Lord Kate, we wouldn't have easily handed it over. Yes, Kate mentioned earlier that something similar has happened, and many things have already happened. Obviously, Kate was sent this way when she asked for an explanation before. But if you really want to find fault with this excuse, there's really no way out. If we only use this trick, it's okay to say that the most important thing is that there may be accidents during the transportation of supplies. From this tone, it seems that there may be some danger during the transportation. But don't worry, you're not familiar with everything about the Chamber of Commerce when you first arrived. You don't have to go with us on this mission, just familiarize yourself with the Chamber of Commerce with Fred. From the map, there are two routes to take from Lenhai City to the front line, which are sea freight and land freight. I don't know which method Kate and her team will choose. If it's land transportation, I have to pass through several cities on the way. This may be a good opportunity to spread the news of my arrival in the Holy West Kingdom. If Yellen and the others were in this country, they would definitely know that I have arrived here. So I won't disturb you. Lord Witch, Kate and the others have brought us clothes. Is this what we call pajamas? It feels strange, but it's very comfortable to wear. Very suitable and beautiful, Nick. Pajamas are good, but let Kate change into a different outfit for this everyday wear. I don't want to put stockings on my legs. So, I wish everyone a smooth journey. You really don't need to come along. If you're worried about the salary, don't worry, it will be fully distributed this month without any deductions. I understand that. But I'm still the vice president, right? I can't just eat and drink for free, can I? Speaking of which, why haven't I seen the goods? Before setting off for the front line, we need to go back to Mozo City. 
Dam William left all the military supplies in the estate. Manor. So the question is, Kate, what title are you? Ha ha, you already know. When else would I like to tell you? Fred called you young master, and there's a viscount who has an intersection with you, as well as some signs of daily life. This is not too obvious. If I'm not mistaken, you should be a baron. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been killed by the jazz. Hereditary barons, however, there is actually no clear hierarchical relationship between titles. Since that's the case, why did you take on this task? You should be able to decline, right? Of course you can refuse, but the rest of the matter will be difficult to handle. How do I say this? Ching Tian, how much do you know about titles? Just a little bit, not much. Sure enough. In the Holy West Kingdom, the titles from top to bottom are Duke, Marquis, Count, Viscount, and Baron, which are further divided into lifetime and hereditary systems. Under equal conditions, hereditary systems are more noble than lifetime systems. Lifetime system. Hereditary system. The difference between hereditary and lifelong systems lies in whether they can be passed on to their descendants, just like their titles. This is just a difference in social status between superiority and inferiority, not an absolute subordinate relationship, which means that the higher level cannot command the lower level to do something, but can only request and the lower level can refuse. However, if the next level is a subdivision of the previous level, then there will be a subordinate relationship between the two. That is to say, there is no subordinate relationship between titles that are not under the same superior. Simply put, there is no subordinate relationship between two political systems. Kate's baronial status is not conferred by Dumbledore, so they are not in a superior subordinate relationship, and vice versa. I still don't understand why Kate took on this task. According to what you said, these two are not related at all. This is a task assigned by the royal family. But that's not right. What Kate and Ashbel were expressing inside and out was that Dumbledore wanted to take action against them. But in reality, the task that was released was actually the responsibility of the royal family. In theory, even if Kate and the others were unable to complete the task smoothly, it would still be the responsibility of the royal family to launch an attack. If the task is not completed, will Dumbledore be the beneficiary of the punishment result or is there any grudge between Dumbledore and you? The former. The failure of material transportation to arrive on time is not actually a significant responsibility. As I mentioned to you before, the two countries are mostly in a state of confrontation, so the preparation of materials is just a precautionary measure. Even if the supplies are not delivered to the front line within the specified time, they can still sustain for a period of time. It can even be said that it doesn't matter if the supplies are delivered in November. But this is only for the front line. Some people will use this as an excuse to express themselves. As long as it is justified, even if it sounds absurd, it can become a reason to launch a war. When my father was still alive, Dumbledore was already restless and restless. Your father. As soon as Ching Tian asked Kate, her gaze became hazy, and she knew that Kate was trapped in memories. Ching Tian was very tactful and didn't speak again, just listened quietly, which lasted for half an hour. In the social system of the Holy Sweet Kingdom, the knights who were granted land by the royal family are responsible for maintaining local security, ensuring domestic peace and stability, and protecting the royal family. In their own fiefdoms, each knight can enjoy their own autonomy based on the laws of the kingdom, but they need to pay a certain amount of taxes to the royal family on time and in quantity. Adding a little more on top of the original taxes so that I can have some left after paying the taxes. In this case, local knights can collect taxes from each household while ensuring that their residents can live a normal life and use a portion of them for payment while the rest belongs to themselves. Therefore, in the case where the land area and tax rate are equal, a knight who can manage the land in an orderly manner will undoubtedly gain more wealth in taxation than other lands. According to Kate, their family's fiefdom is directly divided by the royal family and located within Dumbledore's fiefdom. In this context, the fiefdom managed by their family is much better than the fiefdom experienced by Dumbledore. 
It is precisely for this reason that Kate and her family's fiefdom has been targeted by Dumbledore, as the higher the financial status of the residents in the fiefdom, the more wealth the landlord can obtain. This is also true enough, it's all for wealth. But since Kate's fiefdom was directly divided by the royal family and annexed by Dumbledore, wouldn't the royal family have any explanation? At the end of the Zhou dynasty, when the emperor divided and infeft the feudal lords, the warlords rose up and the world was in chaos. The royal family was in danger. The royal family directly placed Kate and her family's fiefdom in Dumbledore's fiefdom, which is equivalent to planting a nail as a means of balancing the various jazz lords to prevent a situation where one family dominates the land and becomes king. Now that this nail is about to be pulled up, the royal family should respond accordingly. The royal family did not stop the struggle between the knights and even said they were happy to see such a situation arise. If the scale of casualties caused by the battle between the two knights is too large, the royal family can use the excuse of ineffective governance of the fiefdom to reclaim the knight's fiefdom or even directly strip him of his title. Even if the decline in military strength between the two knights cannot be recovered, it is still more advantageous for them to rule. What a big cow. The wizard has such a big fan. This is the first time I've seen a windmill so big. This is your fiefdom. This is Lusai village, not my fiefdom. My fiefdom is Masuwa city. We won't be able to arrive there until this afternoon. Masuwa city. Luther village. That is, Master Kate has returned. When you arrive, this is Masuwa City. Although it may not be as big as Lenhai City, I think you will definitely like the residents here. Master Kate has finally returned. It's great that Master Kate has returned safely. I miss Sister Oshbell. It seems that you, as a baron, are highly respected by the residents of the fiefdom. It's because everyone has been helping me all along. Although not as grand as Lenhai City, this city can give people a sense of tranquility and peace that Lenhai City cannot compare to. Master Wu, please take good care of the big house. Young Master Kate, you're back. Emperor of War II, this is much more powerful than any luxury villa. Even the Baron's residence is so grand, what a luxurious house this Viscount and even the higher ranking Jazz should live in. A young master. Sister. Sorry, Ophina came back in a hurry this time and didn't bring you any gifts. Young master, can you come back? It's the best gift for Ophina. The young master came back for the transportation of supplies, right? I have already had them loaded onto trucks and parked in the backyard. The knights from each village have also sent people to notify us. If possible, they can arrive tomorrow morning so the young master can rest well for the night. Well done, Ophina. Sister, I have grown up. Can you please stop touching my head like a child? By the way, let me introduce myself to you. This is Ching Tian. Kate's new vice president of the Chamber of Commerce, and the other is Nick. My name is Ophina, and I am the deputy butler of the estate. If you have any needs, please feel free to contact me. Nice to meet you. It turns out to be Ashbel's sister. Why do they look so alike? What is it? The list of materials to be transported this time. You seem very interested. I was just curious. Several boxes of wine, several sets of armor, several firearms, several cannons, several guns. The items on this list don't seem particularly important either. There are many things on it that are available in major cities, right? It is entirely possible to purchase in cities near the front line through fundraising without the need for such long distance transportation. Apart from firearms and artillery. These two are difficult to buy. You need to make a reservation to make a purchase, and it will take one or two months to receive it. Of course, if you need to be in a hurry, you can also book from workshops with poor quality products. 
However, the probability of the purchased firearms malfunctioning is higher, and these types of firearms cannot be delivered to the front line. Therefore, it is impossible to purchase the corresponding supplies on the list in cities near the front line to complete the task because firearms cannot be obtained in a short period of time. It seems that although the Holy West Kingdom already has firearms, they are not readily available. From this perspective, armor still needs to exist. By the way, what do you mean by booking from workshops with poor production? It means literally. According to Ashbert, all the firearms in the Holy Powai King were manufactured by major workshops, and even the military equipment was purchased from these workshops. Especially, the products of these workshops vary in quality. Some workshops produce firearms with high precision, which are durable and long-lasting. And some workshops' firearms, such as the V-King, have poor precision and durability, making it difficult to even determine whether they can be used normally. What hurts is that the caliber of the firearms produced by these workshops is different, which also means that even if the style of the firearms is the same, due to the fact that they are produced by different workshops, the bullets between the two may not be interchangeable. For various reasons, the royal family will cooperate with excellent workshops for a long time, but sometimes the war is tight. Even if these workshops work overtime, they cannot produce such a large quantity of firearms and ammunition in a short period of time. Whenever such a situation arises, the royal family will have the knights of each fiefdom collect firearms and ammunition. Chatting with Ashbel, they soon arrived at the dinner point. After finishing their meal, Ching Tian and Han Nick were arranged to one of the rooms on the second floor. Do you need anything? I would like to ask if there are canvases in the estate. If not, paper is also acceptable. Yes, we have. Do you need a heart to paint? I guess. When you arrive here, there should be what you need in the studio. Besides, Master Kate has already instructed that you can use everything in the castle without any questions. Okay, please. This room is really spacious, but drawing itself doesn't require too much. What's more important is whether it can provide a place for people to calm down during painting. In this regard, this place is the best. That's it. High saturation makes it more prominent as a missing person notice. Anyone who can provide clues about a wheeled ship named the Dawn, as well as people named Yellen and Jessica Paon Kataranya, Aruba, Pakuma, and Bohama, can go to Baron Kate in Mozo City to collect 50 gold coins. Although it's just a few short sentences, it still takes a considerable amount of time in terms of quantity. Ching Tian plans to post the above notices every time he passes by a city for the task of escorting supplies. Based on this calculation, he needs to prepare quite a few notices. In addition, the pigments used for making notices are extremely fast and require immediate grinding after use, which invisibly increases labor. That should be enough. This caused Ching Tian to work all night without realizing it. When he regained consciousness, it was already daylight. Sorry Nick asked you to stay up with me all night. The witch lord doesn't need to take it to heart. It was Nick's voluntary decision. Good morning, Ofina. You two wake up early. What is this doing now? As you can see, we are currently transporting the goods for this mission to the port. Which boxes are available for me to take a look at regarding firearms and artillery? All the firearms and artillery are here. You can take a look at them freely. Master Wu, this gun is so short. Because this is a handgun that is different from the rifles we have used, but both have terrifying killing power. Except for the different ignition methods, most of the structures are not much different from a matchlock gun, and the overall power should not be too great. Just being so flashy and pursuing beauty, polishing the stock to a smooth finish, once it gets wet, it's easy to take off and not useful. This is a riding gun. What is riding a spear, Master Witch? It's a firearm specifically designed for cavalry. But the range is not good and the accuracy is not high. What about this one? 
When using a portable powder canister with a fixed capacity, first pour the gunpowder from the canister into the canister and then into the firearm. The size of the powder keg varies depending on the firearm. Pistols have a 20 grain powder keg, while rifles have a 60 grain powder keg. Although I had heard from Oshbell before that the precision of firearms in the Holy West Kingdom was not high, they were not equipped in the army. But I never expected the accuracy of firearms in the Holy West Kingdom to be so poor. Bullet grinding tool is something that can adapt bullets to any firearm due to the immaturity of bullet making technology and processes. Its use is very simple. Place a lead piece on the hole and then insert a bullet. Press the lead piece firmly to change the diameter of the bullet, thus avoiding the problem of mismatched bullets caused by different gun calibers. It seems that these two light field guns are the most valuable among them. From these firearms and artillery, it can be seen that the weapon technology level of this country should be similar to or even worse than that of the original world in the 17th and 18th centuries. This is a good thing for me, given the power of these weapons. Even if you get shot, your chances of survival are quite high. Are you saying you need to find someone? You just arrived in the Holy Sweet Kingdom and there are other people you know. Yes. Very important, very important people. This is. It's not wrong. I don't think you need to ask the young master for a guarantee. Anyone who sees this notice will firmly believe that you can definitely offer 50 gold coins as compensation. Did you use the chewinching from the studio? What kind of chewinching? It's the blue color on your announcement. That cannot be used. How much was used? One box. Okay, your half month's salary is gone. Half a month's salary is worth 25 gold coins. The raw material for this group of blue is lapis lazuli, which is very rare and therefore extremely expensive. In addition, in order to obtain the purest color, impurities need to be gradually removed with tweezers during processing, which greatly increases the cost. 25 gold coins can only be considered as the cost price. Due to these reasons, the price of chewinching remains high, and under the same weight, its selling price is three times that of gold, sometimes even up to five times. Five times the gold, spendthrift. That's already indescribable as spendthrift. This is natural, but isn't it possible to mix this color? As far as I know, it seems that there are currently no painters who can only produce similar colors, but the difference is still quite obvious when compared, and if there were, the price of this group of green would not be so outrageous. If we can't create a navy blue color in this era, perhaps I can try using the current method. If we can succeed, it would be like practicing the art of alchemy. Master Kate, the knights have arrived. I have to say that knights are really handsome. This momentum is like small tanks one by one. Master Kate. Kate. Baron, sir. Uncle Green is going to trouble you again this time. We're not late, are we? Is there any explanation for the fact that half of these 24 knights are fully armed and the other half are only wearing a pair of armor? The prepared ones are the twelve knights, which are the fully armed ones you mentioned. The rest are their followers. But don't underestimate these knight followers. They are also a very powerful force in battle. According to Ashbel, although Kate is only a baron, her fiefdom is quite large and she shares a city. That is to say, the city of Mozo and seven villages, and these knights come from those seven villages. However, this does not mean that the seven villages only have 24 knights. In fact, the number of knights owned by the feudal lord is not closely related to the size of the fiefdom or the rank of the nobility, but is directly linked to their own financial resources. The stronger the financial resources, the more knights one has. In general, it is important to cultivate a knight. The cost required is enormous, and most of the time a village can only cultivate one knight. On weekdays, these knights are responsible for managing the village. If the feudal lord needs assistance, they will go to assist after receiving a letter from their own mouth, just like this escort mission. 
Young master and sister, you must be careful on the way. I'll bring you a gift when I come back. Kate, how many soldiers do you have under your command? There are a total of 117 soldiers, including knights from various villages. Why do you suddenly ask this? The guards are also considered. It's all included. As a baron, may the number of soldiers be a bit low. On the contrary, as a baron, Kate already has a considerable number of soldiers, and some viscounts are even inferior to Kate. Of course, this only includes the number of people who can be equipped with firearms and equipment. If we include the soldiers' vassals, Kate can actually mobilize around 500 people. No wonder military supplies are such an important task. Kate only sent more than 50 people, which turned out to be half of his troops. Actually, there aren't many people. Soldiers' vassals, knights' followers also have vassals, right? If that follower is an apprentice knight, then there should be some. Surprisingly, there really is. That means there are only over a hundred people who can form combat power, right? That's right, Dumbledore only has 181 soldiers. In a few years, this gap will disappear. At that time, with the deterrence of military forces, I don't think he would dare to make any small moves no matter what. Kill him directly when the time comes, and there won't be so many worries. Hey, it doesn't necessarily have to be resolved through war, right? You are Baron Nine. You are the, the final say. It seems that Gozen and Ashbeld have long had the idea of going to war with Dumbledore, but Kate wants to avoid war and seek other solutions. Will there be any changes in a few years? According to the current development trend of the Chamber of Commerce, it takes an average of six months to purchase a village, which is equivalent to Kate having one more knight or more than ten soldiers under her command. Buying a fief is also possible. Of course, the fiefdom is already the property of the nobility and can be traded. You should know that Kate's fiefdom was originally only one Mozo city and two nearby villages, and now the six additional villages that have been added were all purchased over the years. But most of the time, nobles generally do not sell their fiefdoms unless absolutely necessary, and even if they do, the selling price is extremely high. However, you only need six months to buy a village, and I'm afraid Dumbledore won't give you that much time. So according to the development trend of the Chamber of Commerce, if it takes enough time, Kate may not be able to buy the entire Holy West Kingdom. So in the past two years, he has been causing trouble for us, but he doesn't have any appropriate excuse to go to war. As long as we can complete this mission, we can still drag on a little longer. The gap in our military strength is not enough to compete with him. It's probably not that simple. On the third day, Dumbledore sealed the land. Be alert and report any suspicious individuals or vehicles immediately. Yes. Be alert to someone approaching. Stop coming. It's also possible that someone who rushed straight towards Dumbledore like this might not be so foolish, right? I hope it's just a passing by. Is that them? Even if it weren't for their vigilant appearance, there must have been many valuable things in the car. Sooner or later, it will be ours. Let's take a small path back. If every person I meet is so high profile, then I'm afraid I'll be exhausted along the way. Generally speaking, unless it's near a town, you can't meet many people in a day in places like this, let alone ride horses together and wander leisurely in the woods humming. It could also be occasional thieves passing by, but not Dumbledore's people. It's very likely that we came to inquire about the situation. After all, this is Dumbledore's chassis, and our trail is unlikely to hide from him. Unexpectedly, the technology of military equipment only reached the Holy Post Kingdom in the 16th and 17th centuries on Earth, and fire materials, which were only invented in the 18th century on Earth, appeared. Punching. Kill them all. Night raid with bandits on horseback. Sure enough, it's here. Firestarter. All steady, don't panic. 
The second team aims at the third team and prepares for the first team to load gunpowder. The accuracy of firearms in this era is already not high, and with the interference of nighttime environments, there is no time to aim in a hurry, but three-stage shooting may be able to. Firestarter. Ha ha ha. They can't even hit it. This distance won't be enough for the third round of shooting. Knight's Order. Charge. Forbearing Kate. Handsome. He killed the opponent in one fell swoop, truly a armored heavy knight. Second round of charge. Crush them. Hurry up, we're not opponents. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Stop pursuing and clean up the battlefield. The musketeer reloads ammunition and remains vigilant. A group of disorganized people. If we catch up, we can probably kill them all in a few minutes. This ended so quickly, from the enemy's invasion to fleeing in panic, the whole process was only a short moment. I don't think I'll come back late. Can I finally rest well? This is just the beginning. If Dumbledore doesn't give up, he will lose even more. The guards may not have strong combat capabilities, but these knights can all be considered elite. Damn it, damn it. This time, I have to put on armor no matter what I say. It's like a turtle shell. I can't cut anything with just one slash. Why are we only allowed to investigate together? If we go together, we can definitely kill them all. These bastards are just watching the damn dog on the side. Captain William. Did you hear that? My brothers are very unhappy about this. Shouldn't we have some expression? Mr. Zack, you should remember very clearly that the relevant remuneration was already paid in full by Viscount before the cooperation. Besides, you still owe me a favor for tonight's incident. Are you saying that I owe you a favor for causing so many of my brothers to die? The bread is so big that if you eat it alone, you can eat more, right? I see that Mr. Zack's secret joy is already on his face. Ha ha ha, is that so? Am I that obvious? To be honest, it was very hard to endure not laughing for so long just now. Crazy. If I had a choice, I would never collaborate with this lunatic, but other people are not strong enough and only this lunatic can be used. What about you? You should also be happy to see my subordinate die, right? After all, you've always wanted to eliminate the bandits in your own territory, haven't you? Mr. Zack, you're joking now. After this, you won't be a bandit anymore, right? The Viscount will reward you with one of the villages, and then we will be our own people. Captain William, you need to be honest in order to be interesting. Don't you find it disgusting to say things that go against your own will? Besides, I don't want to be your own person. After all, being a person is more interesting than being a noble dog. I beg your pardon? Ha ha ha, Mr. William, don't be nervous. It's just a joke. Don't get angry. Let's continue talking about the main matter. I just want to know if Dumbledore has enough soldiers to kill them directly. I don't understand why you're using this method. Humph, in order to transport the supplies for this mission, Viscount will personally escort and leave some strength to guard the castle to prevent some shameless bandits from suddenly launching attacks at this time. For example, Mr. Zack is someone who promises to cooperate but has ulterior motives in his heart. Since Mr. William has said so, it means there are only about 20 of you now, right? If I kill you, will I be able to get the rest of the reward? This kind of probing is really not funny at all, but no fool would carry a sealed book with them. This lunatic may really take action. It seems that Mr. William is lucky tonight and doesn't have to die here. As for those people, we just need to keep harassing them until they are mentally exhausted and can eat before launching a total attack to kill them all. That's right, that's it. Kate's musketeers may not pose a significant threat, but the knights are a tough nut. This lunatic would be better off dying at the hands of those people. Then I wish Mr. Zack could complete the task as soon as possible. Let's go. Hee hee, I can do it. There is a fork in the road. Waiting for command. Osbel, which path should we take? 
Let's go towards Jaminia. Understand? Every time I think about this thing being posted on the countryside, I feel luxurious. As long as we can find out the whereabouts of Yellen and the others, this expense is not a big deal. This notice looks a bit small. Don't worry, that touch of blue will definitely attract many people. After a short space. What a beautiful color that reminds people of the Virgin Mary. Wait, this is a reward of 50 gold coins. 50 gold coins is a huge sum of money. If we can find the person above, our family won't have to worry for the next few years. Hurry up and go to the nearby village to inquire. The waste is simply too wasteful. Using ultramarine as a base is completely tarnishing this sacred pigment. Wait, Baron Kate will go to Mozo City first. At this moment, in the convoy. Aim and shoot. Ha ha ha, it's been rejected. Even with this courage, I dare to come and rob. After seeing the convoy, he thought about making a fortune and rushed up, only to find that he couldn't beat it. Then he turned around and ran away. Is it really that simple? This is already the fifth time today, right? These people are endless. This is the sixth time. Sorry, Master Kate, we only killed a few people and couldn't keep all of them. Don't these people need to rest either? It's been three days now and they haven't stopped every day. Maybe, but there isn't much time left for us to choose from. There's only one route left. Although there are many small paths to choose from along the way, they will eventually return to the main road. They can also ambush us on the path we must pass through. We should take the initiative to find their hiding place and kill them all. Their thieves these days are Dumbledore's men. Don't worry, Dumbledore would never dare to openly attack us. If there is a need for useful people, he usually secretly recruits manpower or collaborates with others. This is actually good news. What does it mean that this is good news? If they have enough manpower or enough confidence to silently eliminate us. They won't use guerrilla tactics to consume our physical strength, but will work together to kill us all. Simply put, they currently do not pose a threat to us. Can we chase after those bandits at the speed of cavalry? It shouldn't be difficult, right? If we could deal them a heavy blow, they wouldn't have launched another attack on us, would they? The number of enemies is unknown, but there is definitely more to it than what we have seen. It is very likely that they will fall into the trap they have set in advance. If they run away with all their heart, it will be difficult for us to intercept them all. If it develops into a chase war, it will actually consume our already limited time. It's really hard for you to hold back and complete the previous task. The previous mission was not so dangerous, but this time it's different. Dumbledore is completely using the name of the royal family to cause trouble for us and doesn't give us a chance to refuse. If we hold on for another two days, when we reach her well, our pressure will be much less. I had already asked Fred to recruit soldiers and knights there before we left. But before that, we have to pass through the Ratner Forest. That group of bandits is likely to launch a total offensive there. After all, the abundance of trees in the forest effectively limits the mobility of cavalry and invisibly weakens the convoy's ability to resist enemies. I remember there was a village before Herivir, right? Ching Tian, you can get off there when the time comes. You're not going back on your word. Are you thinking about leaving me there so you don't have to pay me a salary? Of course not. If I really can't stop those people, I will have everyone abandon their supplies and run away. I may run faster than any of you then. I hope you can understand. If you run slowly, don't blame us for not saving you. The largest forest in the southeastern part of the Holy West Kingdom, the Trana Forest. My people have come back safely. It's really hard to have to go out and run around late at night. What do you mean, too hard? Don't make it sound like you're putting in effort. You're just staying here for a while. Captain William, could you please help me watch tonight? I'll go to sleep for a while. 
Why don't you let yourself keep an eye on the convoy these days? It's my soldiers who have been keeping an eye on the convoy. Bastard things will kill you sooner or later. The enemy is likely to launch an attack in the evening. Everyone must remain vigilant and not slack off. When the time comes, your night order will be divided into two teams. Green will be responsible for clearing the way in the front, while the others will break off and move forward as quickly as possible. But barring any unforeseen circumstances, we will definitely face resistance and may also encounter traps along the way, so you need to be mentally prepared. In addition, everyone must remember that our task tomorrow is to escort the supplies on the vehicle and prioritize defense. If there are signs of the bandits retreating, remember not to pursue them. Uncle Green, if you encounter any danger, you must remember to prioritize your own lives. If you encounter any situation that endangers yourself, I allow you to escape. We are your shield and your sword. Swearing to defend your life and uphold your dignity to the death. The next day, set out. In any situation, your safety must be ensured first. I got it, I got it. Everyone, hurry up and keep up. At the current speed of the convoy, it only takes three hours to cross this forest. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Kill them all. Prioritize killing Kate and the others, and burn down supplies such as Kimi Motohito. No, the distance is too close to fill the gunpowder. Embrace the enemy. Embrace the enemy. At last. The target is right ahead. Give it to me. Charge over to protect the Baron. Humph, just a few nights. Do you think I can't handle it? Kill them for me. Look out. Quickly disperse and dismount. I can't earn it. Danny, let's rush. What a great force. Quickly help me hold him. You can't stop me. Everyone retreat. We don't want the supplies anymore. Ha ha ha. If you still want to leave, please keep everything. Look out. Your opponent is me. Die for me. Damn. Come again. What a fast sword. It's too fast. Are you a bit too passionate, but I'm not interested in men. Hurry up, hurry up. Ha ha ha, almost killed me here. Hurry up, hurry up. I'll help you. What do you want to do? This is Gozen buying us time to take advantage of this opportunity and run away quickly. Your level will only disrupt Gozen's rhythm and drag him down. All we can do now is organize a retreat. Oh, I see. Chin Tian. What's wrong? Are you weak? You're not manly enough like this. There's more than enough to kill you. You're much stronger than William's dog. But the financial wolf will always be food in front of the fierce tiger. I have to say... It's a pity that you almost killed me. Unfortunately, you're going to die here. When? Are you all right? No problem. We can continue. Sorry, maybe it's because I haven't lived such a leisurely life for too long and my vigilance has relaxed, so I couldn't join the battle in the first place. It's really boring. Your sudden intervention is not gentlemanly at all. This is not the etiquette that a gentleman should have. Speaking of which, Gozen, do you know the identity of this person? According to intelligence, the bandit leader in Zack Dumbledore's territory has already slaughtered three villages. Great, so I can leave him here without any burden and use these trees as fertilizer. Zack, right? You just said I'm not a gentleman, that's right. I'm not a gentleman in the first place. This is really boring. There are too many people who don't follow gentlemanly etiquette to deal with. This deal is not worth it. The intelligence did not mention that the convoy has someone as difficult to deal with as you. After killing both of you, I should pursue some more rewards. Is this the last word? 
Do you know that during my time of survival, I hunted many ferocious beasts, as well as some small animals such as wildcats? In my eyes, you are just a wildcat that has blown up its fur. You may look intimidating, but you are just trying to make a show of force and scare away the predators. You are terrified to death. Damn it, this is really boring. It's not completely understood at all. This damn monster has too much power. I am no match for it no matter what. Damn William, damn Dumbledore made me face this monster. Fortunately, I never talk about gentlemanly etiquette. It's you guys who keep me from sleeping well these days, right? When did you catch up? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Run, I'll see how you run. I haven't slept for several days, and now I finally caught it. Wait, William is also here. Everything is under his command. Even if you kill me, he will find someone else to harass you. If you rush over now, you can still intercept him. Kate, what's wrong with you guys? Damn it, goes in Valkyrie. I saw Valkyrie. She's so amazing. Over there. Such powerful combat power. That's Nick. I didn't expect Chin Tian's wife to be so powerful, right? I chased after him. Don't be stunned. Help us quickly. We can win. That's right. That's right. Let's go together. Kill him. If you can't fight, escape quickly. Retreat and retreat. What are these useless people doing, Zack? This damn dog disappeared at a critical moment. Never mind, they're preparing plan B. Not good. The fire carriage caught fire. Stop chasing, put out the fire first and move the gunpowder and firearms from the car first. Damn. All the gunpowder inside is shells. If it catches fire, it will ignite. Hurry up and move all the boxes down. Well done. Don't rub my head. A total of 13 people died, including two knights, Rondo and Jonia. If I sell the fiefdom to Dumbledore, what nonsense are you talking about? Do you want the residents of Mozo City to live like slaves? Do you want them to starve to death? Okay. We can't complete the task on time now, can we? If it's horseback riding, right. It only takes about half a day to get from here to her well, but it's too late to buy a carriage. Chin Tian, I remember you said there was a way for me to win the war. You're really ready. Actually, we still have a glimmer of hope to complete this task. There is still hope. I remember when you were on the ship, you were both a captain and a sailor, right? The front line is in the north, and this season is dominated by northwest winds. Do you want to take a boat? Although the wind is favorable, the ship can quickly transport the goods from here to the port, but it also takes a lot of time, and as I mentioned before, there are pirates on the route. I plan to fly over. Fly over. Ching Tian, have you been stimulated by something? You probably haven't heard of hot balloons, have you? This thing can make us fly. How much can it really be sold for? Don't daydream. There are too many uncertainties in riding a hot air balloon, and making a hot air balloon also takes a lot of time. Hurry up and leave. If nothing unexpected happens, we will be able to fly soon. The convoy did not have the materials or tools to make hot air balloons, so they had to rush to the nearest town, Helleville. Zack should already be dead, right? It's probably already hard by now. I didn't expect you and Nick to be warriors and so powerful. We have always been armed, right? Well, to be honest, I always thought it was for you to dissect animal carcasses. Here we are. Our Chamber of Commerce's industry can be directly accessed here. Welcome, may I ask what guests need? The name of this shop is not bad, right? A young master. 
I'm very sorry that I wasn't prepared to welcome you. According to the plan, didn't you arrive tomorrow afternoon? Don't worry. Ching Tian, this is the store manager of Aunt Norma's branch. Hello. This is Vice President Ching Tian, right? I've heard of your name for a long time. Time is running out. How much fabric is left in Aunt Norma's store? There are still over 30 yards left. We need at least 100 yards, the more the better. 100 yards. The size is about 1 to 30 meters, which may seem like a lot, but it's far from enough for making hot air balloons. Aunt Norma, you are familiar with this place. Could you please buy as much fabric as possible for me, regardless of the price, and ensure the quality of the fabric as soon as possible? Understood. I will dispatch manpower now. However, with such a large quantity, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. In the remaining time, please rest assured. Riding Marco for half a day is even more tiring than riding a bike for several days. Hot air balloons are generally divided into three parts. The balloon, also known as the sphere itself, is made of fabric. The burner heats the air inside the balloon to generate upward lift. Basket carrying items and passengers. The third part of the hanging basket is the simplest, just a wooden frame with no difficulty at all. The production of the balloon in the first part is more complicated, requiring a tailor to sew the fabric into a spherical shape and ensure tight stitching between the fabrics. The burner in the second part is the most critical. Modern hot air balloons mainly use propane or natural gas as fuel, but these are not currently available. This is a simplified version of a rocket furnace. Two iron pipes, one large and one small, with a radius difference of one centimeter, can be nested with each other. This structure will cause the air to expand and become lighter when heated during operation, leading to the formation of a vacuum under the furnace. This is equivalent to someone continuously injecting air into the device, making the fireworks more and more intense. The area where oxygen is depleted at the top will inhale air again, allowing the heat released during fuel combustion to be fully utilized by the gas that is burned again, which is known as secondary combustion. Young master, I have already contacted a good person to purchase the fabric. If nothing unexpected happens, it can be delivered to the warehouse before this afternoon. You've had a long day. We still need Aunt Norma to make another trip. Help me find as many tailors and blacksmiths as possible. We need to make the items on it. There are still many remaining parts in the whale oil warehouse that should be easily collected. Is there any requirement for the craftsmanship of the tailor and blacksmith? The more exquisite the craftsmanship, the better the remuneration can be appropriately increased. The most important thing is to be able to invite people. I don't know if these materials can be gathered as soon as possible. Don't worry, it's no problem. Last night when I was designing, I took into account that the most difficult part, the balloon and burner, had already been disassembled into several parts that could be produced by different workshops at the same time and then assembled together, which could save a lot of time. These materials are all produced in the prestigious workshop of Harivir, and the samples have reached the qualified line. This is the final batch of finished products. Not bad, you worked hard. Master Kate, these are the knights and rangers I have recruited these days. They will escort you back. Knights can still be hired. The knights belonging to the nobility certainly do not accept employment, but these people are not mercenaries. The equipment we raised ourselves, self-proclaimed knights, as long as they can afford gold coins, they will unconditionally sacrifice their lives for us. Be careful on the way, Master Kate. I will. We only have four days left. Those hot air balloons can help us reach our destination within four days. Anyway, if I try my best, even if I can't catch up, it's just like this. Master Kate, you're back. Yes, let's start unloading. Hurry up. A few more people over here. Push hard. Although hot air balloons may appear large, their carrying capacity is not much, which is equivalent to the product of their internal volume, the difference between internal temperature and atmospheric temperature, 
and atmospheric density. Of course, there are still many deviations in the carrying capacity. The hot air balloon with a diameter of 20 meters that I designed should not carry more than 1,000 pounds while ensuring stability. Besides the passengers and the weight of the fuel itself, there is not much that can be carried, so it is safer to manufacture 10 hot air balloons. This is too big, isn't it? This big guy can fly as long as he ignites the fire. Just light the fire. I thought there might be wings or something. If the witch on voice says he can, then he definitely can. How high can this fly? It looks a bit dangerous. Flying is definitely possible, but it's hard to say how high it can fly, and it's indeed a bit dangerous. The balloon material of modern hot balls is mostly made of reinforced nylon or polyester material, which is then coated with a paint film to ensure air tightness. However, whether it is reinforced nylon or polyester, there is currently no such thing as cloth, but as long as there is enough heat, it can still fly into the sky. Simply put, it's the same as this. This is a small hot air balloon. You've been curious about the principle of hot air balloons, right? You'll soon find out. Flying up. That's unbelievable. Can we go see God by taking this ride? Sorry, this thing can't take you to see God, and I don't think you want to see God either. Master Kate, could you please shut up? Thank you. I just think God should bless us. This is the most important thing for a hot air balloon, and everyone needs to be equipped with one. What's inside here? This thing is called a parachute. If anything unexpected happens, remember to carry this parachute on your back end. Jumping off the hot air balloon without hesitation can save your life in the sky. Jumping from the sky. We will definitely die, right? You must be joking, right? I will never jump off with it on my back. Relax, this is just for emergency situations. Compared to parachutes, we are actually more likely to need this. What is this again? Telephone. It is also the only communication tool we can use in high altitude. Wow, this is amazing, Ching Tian. I can hear your voice clearly. He he he, can you hear me? No problem at all. The communication tools in the air have also been resolved, and we are now ready to take off. Increase the wind power here, that's right. That's it. Okay, all the preparations have been completed. The only thing left is the last thing. Ignition. It really flew up. It's amazing. It's not enough. Keep the blower running and don't stop it. I can really fly, haha. <laughs> I can fly now. Be careful not to flip it over. We're almost up and ready to take off. Wow, is this the feeling of flying? Be careful, everyone. The high altitude airflow is not a joke. Everyone, stand firm. Did you hear me coming back? Hey, my head. I made you stand up early in the morning. You're not afraid of heights, are you? Haha, <laughs> how could that be? The knights and I rushed to the next town as quickly as possible, and the remaining people went to the nearest town to rest and recuperate. Master Kate will arrive early, and I need to hurry as soon as possible. Ching Tianjin is a magical man. Is this heaven? What a beautiful scenery. Did you see there? There are birds below us. We really flew up. Kate, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I received it. I'm really sorry. I was mesmerized by the scenery around me. The height of the hot air balloon is different, and the wind direction is also different. Remember to always pay attention to the wind direction. Understand? According to the compass pointer, the hot air balloon is currently drifting towards the front line, but this is temporary. The wind direction will definitely change, and there may even be extreme weather conditions such as rain. When Kate returned, she was able to detect the arrival of a storm without warning, which proves that she is an excellent sailor who can perceive changes in the weather in advance and make corresponding strategies. He is now the alarm for this hot air balloon team, and his role is crucial. 
I don't know if the set on the sea is useful here. But no matter what, we must give it a try. Feel the flow of the wind. If nothing unexpected happens, the wind direction will not change for a long time to come. Always pay attention. How long will it take for us to reach the front line? I don't know. Well, you told me you don't know. I can only confirm that the speed of the hot air balloon is several times that of the carriage, and the time it takes to reach the front line is relatively shorter. However, I cannot guarantee that it will arrive there on time, as the weather can change at any time. Never mind, even without hot air balloons, we won't be able to arrive at the front line on time. There's still a glimmer of hope now. If the weather gives us face, there is a high probability that we will arrive on time or even earlier. I hope so, but I can only pray for God's blessing. The wind direction has been confirmed and there is a Kate warning. There shouldn't be too much unexpected. Although I have flown and witnessed the scenery above the clouds, that feeling is completely different from now. Ding Host makes hot air balloons and earns 5,000 points. Successfully produced. Well, the system has been resurrected again. Since the production of nitroglycerin on the dawn, it has been almost two years and I haven't heard this beep again. I thought the system was broken. Although I may not need it now, looking at this point really gives me a sense of security inexplicably. Point 6,000. If you want to exchange 6,000 points for talent, you still need at least 4,000 points. I can no longer see the ground at all. In that case, the witches won't be able to see us, will they? We will find them. The fuel for the Qing Tian hot air balloon is running low. Time passed by with the wind, and the fuel tank of the hot air balloon was gradually depleted. Due to the consideration of transporting goods, there are not many fuel belts on this hot air balloon, and even if fully loaded, it can only fly for two hours. When Ashbel reminded, there was only a quarter of the fuel left in the hot air balloon. Seeing this, Ching Tian issued the command to descend. As the fireworks in the burner turned off, the small hot air balloon slowly descended from the clouds, allowing Ching Tian and his team to once again see the ground. Fortunately, there happened to be a town near the location where the hot air balloon landed, which gave Ching Tian and his team a chance to supply. But if I had to say it, Ching Tian had already anticipated this so-called luck. In Ching Tian's view, the urban and rural coverage of the Holy West Kingdom is the foundation of this hot air balloon operation. After all, even if hot air balloons can fly, they cannot reach their destination in just two hours. If there is no way to supply resources, he will not waste time on it. Just the supply of fuel also takes a lot of time. By the time Ching Tian and his team prepare the fuel, it will already be in the afternoon. According to the cost of this time, Ching Tian and his team can only fly a maximum of two times a day. However, the uncertainty of hot air balloons is too great. For example, on the first day, Ching Tian and his team successfully completed two takeoffs and landings, but on the second day, the weather suddenly changed and it rained for half a day, which delayed a lot of time. On the third day, the hot air balloon fell uncontrollably into a forest and was taken down, wasting a lot of time. Fortunately, the speed of the hot air balloon was fast enough, and even in the event of various unexpected incidents on the way, Ching Tian and his team successfully arrived near the front line on the last day. Quick Action, Agile Points Now is not the time for rest. Everyone, hold on a little longer. Hey, did you guys just see an angel? This speed is really fast. Fortunately, we have already packed everything, otherwise we might not be able to leave. Sorry, we don't have it. It doesn't seem to be here. What's that? Angels have descended. The residents of that village did indeed follow. Could it be that we misunderstood? Let's go look elsewhere. When will we depart? Although this is not far from Wofei City, we still need to go to nearby towns to find vehicles and transport the supplies to the city. Why go find a car right in front of you? People who come here are all looking for hot air balloons. It won't be long before many people leave because they can't find them. 
As long as we pay the corresponding remuneration, we can hire cars. The city of Wolfia was established due to war. The main rear of the entire front-line army of the Holy West Kingdom is composed of giant stones, which are difficult to open even with artillery. Wolfiai City is very close to the front line, isn't it? It's so prosperous. Don't you worry about being affected by the war. It takes two days and two nights to travel from Wolfiai City to the front line, even by horseback, so there is no need to worry about being affected by the war. And as I mentioned before, most of the time the two countries are in a ceasefire state, so the city of Wolfi and the surrounding towns can develop steadily. I heard that Wolfiai City was not so big when it was established, but its special geographical location attracted many chambers of commerce to settle here before it began to expand. It took over a hundred years of development to reach the current scale. Get out of the way, get out of the way. I really envy it. If only I could become a nobleman, then I wouldn't have to wait in line. I don't know what level of title can receive such treatment. Kate is also a nobleman, but she is still queuing up here. Obviously, she is not qualified enough to enter the city like this. At least the count. Please queue up honestly. All the carriages, don't stop here and leave quickly. Quick action. Register here. Today is the last day. Has Ramit not arrived yet? Viscount Dumbledore. This is a task assigned by the royal family. If it is not completed on time, accountability will be pursued. Don't blame me for taking action. What the hell? It's so cold and annoying to have flies in such weather. Where are the flies? I keep buzzing like I've seen shit, excited. Maybe it's because I smell too bad. Damn it, Roger used to call me a fly. If I can't get angry, even if I admit to being a fly, I still like to eat shit. Roger, don't forget. This is a task assigned by the royal family. If the supplies cannot arrive here within the specified time, I hope you can bear the consequences. Viscount, don't worry. Thanks to you, we have arrived. Sorry for keeping Uncle Roger waiting. Something happened. I was ambushed, but luckily all the supplies were delivered. This is impossible. I clearly saw that their carriage had already been burned to ashes. So please explain to me why they were able to arrive here on time. The empty ones must be the empty boxes they found to cope with after riding horses here. Empty. You're right. It takes a day to get from Ratner Forest to the nearest town. They wasted two days every time they went back and forth. If I had brought the goods, I definitely wouldn't have been able to reach Wolfiai City in such a short time. That's really amazing. What was Zidane's butler's expression when he saw those empty boxes one by one? That would definitely be wonderful. Corresponding to writing, it's okay. Open all the boxes for inspection C. The show is about to begin. Why did Zinedine Zidane, the manager, just take a glance and then look away? Viscount Dumbledore, your complexion doesn't seem very good. I understand now. It must be because you're worried that Kate won't be able to deliver the supplies on time. But please rest assured that we have successfully brought the supplies here. It's impossible. This is absolutely impossible. It seems that Viscount Dumbledore can finally breathe a sigh of relief and rest well after seeing us successfully complete our mission. Ashbel's words are truly the ultimate mockery. All of this is over. If the mission fails, we will all die. You need to cheer us up. We still have bracelets, and we can offer them to that adult. Bracelet. Yes, 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 that bracelet will definitely make that adult forgive us. Viscount Dumbledore, please remember that you are a nobleman and your current appearance is truly inappropriate. Also, this is a warehouse. If nothing happens, please leave here and don't disturb the order here. I'm really sorry, we're leaving now. It seems that this old man's status is very prestigious, even Dumbledore, who is a Viscount, is so respectful. All right, you guys move the supplies in. Just sign your name here and you can leave. 
In two more days, it will be Duke de Quill's birthday party, inviting all the knights to attend. If you have time, come and join us. It's my pleasure. Who is de Quill? One of the 27 dukes of the host kingdom of this city, a member of the royal family. Damn it, we're going to spend money on chemicals again. Just don't go. It's okay not to go, but the gift still needs to be given after all, it's an invitation from the duke. Why not go to the banquet with so much delicious food and wine? I think you just want to recoup your investment, right? We're out of money. The cost of building hot air balloons has far exceeded this month's expenditure. Of course, if you choose to advance next month's salary, I can arrange a luxurious mansion for you. Staying in a tavern seems quite interesting. Master Wu, I smell the strong smell of alcohol. Boss, come to a few clean rooms and bring us another cup. De Quill's birthday party will be held in two days, during which Qin Tian and a few others will temporarily reside here. During this period, a few people did not just lie down in the tavern, but were busy preparing party dresses and selecting gifts. Roger, who was extremely disgusted with the banquet, led a group of sailors to leave Wolf City first. Two days didn't last long, and soon we arrived on the evening of the De Quill banquet. It's true that candles are used for lighting in big cities at night, which is a huge expense. This scene can only be seen in autumn and winter, and in spring and summer, the streets are completely dark at night. Isn't it too late for us to leave now? The banquet starts in the early morning, so we don't have to worry about being late at all. In terms of time, people usually choose to start at this point. I see. This is like a fortress, isn't it? What kind of castle is it? When the outer city is breached, this will be the last line of defense for the residents of the city, which is why there are so many soldiers guarding here. It is also true that the volume of this castle can accommodate the entire residents of Wofei City. Just arrived, it looks good. The banquet is about to start. Remember to eat less bread later. The sausage made with sheep bladder tastes good. And it's also quite expensive. If we eat more, we might be able to recoup our investment. Nick. Um. Just go eat something as I said before. Whatever you want. Eating something to fill your stomach first is also good. What is the second floor? On the second floor, only titles above count are allowed to go up, but ladies have priority and are not included. There are important figures present. It should be, right? The person who can't see is too short. I heard a beautiful woman has arrived. Let's go take a look. It's beautiful. Perhaps if we go back now and call Chin Tian, there's still time. The female guard behind her is extraordinary. Viscount Mu, do you know who that beautiful lady is? I also really want to know. It does give me a very peculiar feeling. That young lady should be Viscount Yellen. The newly crowned female knight. She was indeed invited. I think the young lady in front of me now is the legendary Lady Viscount Yellen, right? If you don't mind, can I stay here? May I ask who you are? Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My Marquis Shadak is honored to meet Viscount Yellen. Nice to meet you. Can I help you with something? May I ask if it's possible to take up some of the Viscount's time? I would like to discuss cooperation with the Viscount. Cooperation. Qin Tian, you should have gone with us just now. That's an unprecedented beauty. It's so beautiful. It's very beautiful. I really wish I could say a few words to her. Don't misunderstand me. I just want to work with her. I just inquired and heard that the Dawn Chamber of Commerce she founded has a huge scale. In less than a year, he became famous among major nobles and used this as an opportunity to transform from a commoner to a viscount. Wait. Ashbel, what did you just say? What's the name of the viscount from the Dawn Chamber of Commerce? It seems to be Viscount Yellen. 
Master Wizard. Chin Tian. I have heard of the first Marquis under the Duke of Shadak. As the war between the two countries became increasingly tense, Shadak crazily expanded his army, which also plunged him into a financial crisis. Recently, he purchased a group of chambers of commerce at an extremely unreasonable price, but unexpectedly targeted me. The Dawn Chamber of Commerce is our biggest reliance and backing for finding Qin Tian. No one is allowed to have any thoughts of spying, even if it means offending a duke. Sorry, for some reason I am unable to work with you. Viscount Yellen, there is no need to rush to answer the agreement and regulations above. It may be unfair to Viscount Yellen. But I believe that Viscount Yellen will not refuse the conditions I am offering next. Has Viscount Yellen been looking for someone? If we can cooperate, I can help you find that person. Fully assist. That's impossible. Now is the preparation period, and I cannot use all my strength to help you find that person, but I believe that with my abilities, as long as the person is in the Holy West Kingdom, even if only a part of them are sent, it is enough to find him. But if we don't cooperate, are you threatening us? Although I account for the majority of the Chamber of Commerce's profits from the agreement, in the long run, I can bring greater benefits to the Chamber of Commerce in my name. I just hope you can help me find that person. If you find that person before me, I don't mind giving you the entire Chamber of Commerce directly. It seems that that person must be very, very important to Viscount Yellen. So as a partner, that person is also very important to me. I will definitely find that person as soon as possible. As long as you can find this contract with him, I can do it too. Yi Lin. Qin Tian. It's really you. It's me. You're not dreaming. I miss you so much. Me too. I never expected that the person Qin Tian was looking for was Viscount Yellen. Perhaps we can strive for cooperation with the Dawn Chamber of Commerce. Viscount Yellen 9, this is. Sorry, Marquis of Shadak. I still need to consider the matter of cooperation. Such an important matter should indeed be carefully considered. So I won't disturb you. Duke of Dequil. Uncle De Quill, isn't this Ilya? He's grown taller again. Duke of De Quill, Achoo. Nick, what's wrong with you? It's the smell. The unique scent emanating from Shadok's body. Perfume is not like. Where have you been lately? Me and Nick. This is the unicorn whale horn I brought to you from Notre Dame Cathedral, hoping to protect you forever. I heard that you have always been fond of gemstones, but I don't know if you like this emerald or not. I remember you said last time that you wanted a pearl to make a necklace, so I think this black pearl would be suitable for you. He's Kate. Well, without them, Nick and I wouldn't have come here and wouldn't have seen you here. I am honored to be here to personally express my congratulations to you. This is. Who is this person? Surprisingly, I used a piece of wood as a gift. This is an insult to the Duke. Baron Kate, may I ask what you mean by using this piece of wood as a gift for Duke de Quill? Did you not take the Duke's banquet seriously? Chin Tian. Don't worry, we'll just keep an eye on it. I had already anticipated it when I arrived and also got vaccinated with Kate. Of course not. This is something that our Chamber of Commerce accidentally salvaged from the sea. At first, I thought of him as a piece of broken wood, but later I realized that through it, I could see thousands of flowers. So I call it a kaleidoscope. I think this must be something dropped by the god of plants, Adonis. Only the Duke deserves to have it. Ten thousand types of flowers. He must be crazy to say such things. Kate, are you joking with Duke de Quire? It's a shame for the nobility that a piece of wood can be so grand as a gift. Your Highness, please give it a try. I swear in the name of God that if I tell any lies, I will fall into hell after death. Wanhua, for God's sake, I'll give it a try. Please look inside from the smallest end. And during the viewing process, the animal mirror is the other end of the kaleidoscope. 
It's so beautiful. I have never seen such a beautiful scene of 10,000 flowers before. I apologize to you for my impoliteness earlier, Baron Kate. Don't say that. Baron Kate presented a gift of merit and was promoted to a noble title. Starting today, you are Viscount Kate. Thank you, Your Highness, for the reward. The banquet continues. Viscount Kate, come over here. Let's come together. So you are targeting this market with enormous potential. Yellen, what did you give? You wouldn't have thought of it. It's soap. This is the gift. This soap is very special. It's just an ordinary piece of soap made using the method you gave us, the Witch Lord. Don't underestimate this soap. You'll find out later. Who is this person? Marquis of Shadak. He has a prominent status, and if he offends someone, it may be very troublesome in the future. This is so beautiful. That bracelet has the exact same pattern as the pentagonal ring. Six months ago, a fisherman on my fief got an identical bracelet from a sunken ship at the bottom of the sea. It's just that the bracelet is covered in cracks, and I don't know if it's broken or for some other reason. No matter what method I use, it doesn't respond at all. The same bracelet. Well, but the pentagonal ring is broken. If it's broken, it's not a big deal. At least we still have clues from the laboratory now. But how did the pentagonal ring break? Its material is not ordinary. Actually, I'm not sure what's going on. When the dawn arrived at the Holy West Kingdom, the five rings were activated without anyone touching them. Afterwards, I put it away, but no matter how I touched it, there was no response, so I thought it should be broken. So it seems that the energy inside has been depleted. However, when Yu Jingfeng said that the energy in the five square ring was enough to sustain for a hundred years, how could that be? This is a new soap launched by our Chamber of Commerce, which has an additional fragrance effect on the body compared to the previous soap. Soap is very valuable in the Holy West Kingdom. When Jessica first arrived in the Holy West Kingdom, she went to the library to investigate the history of this country. As a result, it was found that the history of this country is not entirely complete. The vague descriptions in the history books seem like this country emerged out of thin air, with no trace of its origin. Later, Jessica discovered that the cultural level of this country should be similar to that of Europe during the Age of Discovery, and many customs and habits were also similar to those of Europe during that period. Therefore, Sister Jessica boldly speculated that this country is likely to have had its initial inhabitants drawn into this world from other eras, just like the Maya Kingdom. I remember during that period, European nobles were extremely indifferent to personal hygiene and cleanliness. But this habit shouldn't be so easy for them to change, as far as I know, this situation has existed in Europe for decades. Just place an advertisement, such as promoting Jessica's skills at various banquets. After advertising for a while, major nobles became loyal fans of these toiletries. At present, soap is one of the main businesses of our Dawn Guild. Well done. Hey. Gio. Sand carving. You look like you're doing pretty well now. Let's go. Let's go back first. No, it's too tired. We can't finish chatting like this until dawn. Then we'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's get a good night's sleep first. For the past two years, everyone has been looking for you. This time when you go back, they must be very happy. Is everyone okay? We're all fine. We're just worried about you. How did you get here? After contacting you and Nick through the ring and confirming that you were okay, we began searching for your whereabouts in the nearby waters. At first, we thought that you might be washed into the buffer zone by the ocean currents, so we followed the currents to the Holy West Kingdom and began to inquire about your whereabouts in the cities along the way. Afterwards, I searched for you in the Holy West Kingdom, while Sister Jessica was responsible for searching at sea. In order to search for your whereabouts and maintain the expenses of the tribe, we finally used the remaining funds to purchase a manor and founded the Dawn Chamber of Commerce. What's going on with the Viscount? 
Noble Viscount Yu Lin. This was proposed by Sister Jessica. The sales of soap brought huge profits to the Dawn Chamber of Commerce, but also attracted greedy aristocrats. In order to resist their covetousness, at Jessica's suggestion, we spent a huge amount of money to buy the title of Viscount and the corresponding fiefdom. However, as a noble, I also need to bear corresponding responsibilities, which is why I am here this time. You've worked hard these past two years. You are. The gift you gave is very good. It's my honor that you like it. But I still want to know why you can't even deal with a small baron. This is completely an accident. At that time, I had already had someone burn down their carriage. Stop. I don't want to hear the process of your failure. I just want the outcome. Please give me another chance. I will definitely get rid of Kate within a month. Viscount Dumbledore, you don't have to be so nervous. I believe in your abilities. But even an excellent knight without weapons and war horses is just an ordinary soldier. I will send a knight order to help you. I need to hear the news of Kate's death within a week. Or the news of your death. Don't worry about risking my life. I will definitely complete the task this time. I will definitely kill them. You seem to have something to say to me from just now on. Master, I don't understand why you gave this useless person a chance and even let the knights attack that little baron. Do you think it's unnecessary? A baron does not need to send out a knight order, but after he has been promoted to a viscount and is being targeted by that old guy to quill. That gift, although I don't know what it is, is not an ordinary thing that can make DeQuill's heart flutter. As for why Dumbledore should be given a chance, the reason is simple. We cannot expose the need to rely on the identities of others yet, so for this operation, you need to disguise yourselves as other identities. What are you planning to do with the Dawn Chamber of Commerce? Let's wait until we find suitable personnel before we talk about it. Take it easy. The prey entering the cage cannot escape. Iceland, you are in Iceland. I'm really sorry, I should have gone there earlier. Why do you say that? We had already prepared a search plan after arriving in the Holy West Kingdom. Among the many islands, including the known Iceland, it's just that Iceland is too far away from the Holy Land, so it's ranked last. If we had prioritized it earlier, perhaps we would have done it a long time ago. I thought I would never see you again. Thank you for always looking for me. The next morning. Are you Viscount Yi Lin? She's just as beautiful as rumored. Thank you very much for taking care of Ching Tian during this period. It's an honor to have met you all during this time. You're leaving the Chamber of Commerce, right? Thank you for taking care of us all along. If it weren't for you, we would have sunk to the bottom of the sea long ago. Oh, by the way, and your kaleidoscope, Kate has been promoted to 16 Viscounts. Unfortunately, it's just a title without any substantial rewards. Some, some. After the banquet, Duke de Quills had someone bring us the Xiangjin gold. Kate, as long as you develop slowly now, everything will be stable. However, de Quill sent such a large sum of money to support Kate and Dumbledore in their confrontation. All of these are you. This is the small amount of money we borrowed from you. It shouldn't be much to you now, right? Of course, we will add interest and repay you later. As you know, we really need this money now. This box of gold should have been yours. Kate got this box of gold because of your kaleidoscope. Then make a promissory note. If you add interest, this should be a considerable income. Although Ashbel loves money, she takes it wisely. This strong-willed woman would never accept gifts. I didn't expect to exchange more than 10 coins for such a large box of coins, and the return rate is really high. After all, the kaleidoscope is really amazing. Among all the gifts at the banquet, perhaps only the bracelet of the Marquis of Shadak can compare. But I seem to have seen that bracelet somewhere before the banquet. Are you sure it was the bracelet sent by Shadak? Where did you see it? It's not like you did see it in Dumbledore's office. Yes, yes. He seems to have obtained it from a tomb, as if that tomb is still on the edge of our fiefdom. What the hell is it? 
Why is it on the edge? If that bracelet in our fiefdom is mine now. Any clues related to the laboratory are extremely important when the pentagonal ring is damaged without any directional markers. Being able to excavate the same thing, perhaps that tomb is actually a laboratory. Chin Tian. Well, I know your concerns. The tomb is on Dumbledore's territory. If you want to go in and investigate, it won't go smoothly. And there is also a sunken ship on your territory. Explore there first and then make plans. So let's say goodbye now. Remember to come back and see us. Don't forget your gold. Jessica is not in the fiefdom. Uh, Jessica took the Dawn ship to Nasser Island a month ago to search for your and Nick's whereabouts. We agreed that if we don't find any clues from you within a week, we will return, so Sister Jessica will be back in half a month. Have you encountered any danger in the past? Jessica always brings Kata with her every time she leaves, so there's no need to worry about any danger. Gio. Bohama Parking. What happened? Sha Diao issued a warning message. Are you saying Kate and the others are being followed? Many, many people still have weapons. Uncle Green has really worked hard for you all. He came so far without much rest and has to escort us back. The mission of a knight is to protect the Lord. And there must be a reason for you to return so urgently. Uncle Green, we can't take it lightly right now. The road may not be too quiet. Kate, don't worry. The knights will defend your safety with their lives. But if we take that hot air balloon, will the return speed be faster? The current monsoon wind direction is still southeast, opposite to the direction of our return journey. But I think hot air balloons are really a good means of transportation, and the members of the knights should learn how to use them. We are willing to make any attempt for the sake of Lord Kate, absolutely not to fly into the sky. The convoy accelerates and moves away, but we can't cover the distance. The knights protect the baron and the musketeers are in place. Ospel threw away the gold. They may have set their sights on it. No, they're here for Kate. Then I'll go and lure them away. Green, gather all the members of the knights and leave with Kate. Kate, Kate, are you okay? I'm fine, Ospel. How are you? Stop talking nonsense and hurry out first. Give me your hand. Come up first. Gozen, be careful behind your back. It's too late. What happened? It's Nick and Chin Tion. They're back. But there are too many enemies, even if we add them. Surprisingly, one person can achieve such a level of success. That's really amazing. Uncle Jellion, go help Ching Tian and the others quickly. Hurry up, that guy is not a human, he's a devil. 5. Spread out and escape. You okay? It's okay. By the way, why are you here? Not long after we parted ways, we found a large number of knights rushing towards the direction you left, so we turned back. Chin Tian, you saved us again. Fortunately, you came back. We will remember your kindness in our hearts. Chin Tian, I really don't know how to thank you this time. You don't have to be so polite between us, and I also want to go to Masuwa City to do something. Please feel free to let me know if you have any needs. But if Shadok did it, was he really just completing a transaction for the bracelet? I didn't expect your car to be equipped with bombs and firearms. The security in the Holy West Kingdom is not as good as it appears on the surface. However, after consuming the ammunition in the car just now, we have almost exhausted it. If Dumbledore attacks again, we may only have a chance to escape. They have lost so many troops and should not come in the short term. A group of trash. Why escape? 
you bunch of slutty bastards. More than a hundred people are all equipped with cavalry guns, yet they can't take down their few people. William will reorganize the team and depart in half an hour. I think we need to rest now. Damn it, have your ears been blocked with earwax? Let's reorganize the team and leave in half an hour. Everyone retreat. No one is allowed to leave without my orders. I need to report this situation truthfully to Lord Shadok. We are loyal to Lord Shadok. You're just a chess piece. Give fewer orders. If you don't cooperate, I don't mind cutting off your head first. Now I see. Dumbledore is really a waste. They should have already returned to Mozo City, right? Yes. Fortunately, he is a useless person. Since small cages cannot trap prey. Then let's switch to a bigger cage. Greenton's entire army launches an attack on Mozo City. If the entire army launches an attack and the royal family finds out, then... Once Yellen and Kate return to the fiefdom, surround them and cut off their connection with the outside world. At that time, I will be able to quietly eliminate Yellen and Kate without any royal supervision, and even if the royal family investigates afterwards, I can push Dumbledore out. Abandoned children should have the effect of abandonment, right? Two days later, Masua City. Lord Kate. The village of Butsai was attacked by Dumbledore's army. Just received news that Valen Village has also been attacked. This is already the fourth one. Shouldn't all the villages have been attacked? What the hell happened here? What happened to Kate? Several villages in Kate's fiefdom have been subjected to large-scale attacks, and we are currently organizing rescue efforts. According to the information received, the attack on the village was carried out by a well-organized army estimated to be over 300 people and equipped with firearms and artillery. Their goal may be Kate. For your safety, I suggest you leave here first. The next step is a real life and death battle. What is your current strategy? Organize personnel to go to various villages for rescue operations. Ching Tian's situation is critical now. You can't stay here anymore. You can leave with a hot air balloon. According to the map, the entire city of Mozo has been surrounded. This is impossible. Where did Dumbledore get so many troops? He intends to cut off our connection with the outside world so that they can act against us without any concerns. After all, the dead cannot speak. The knights who attacked us earlier are likely to be from Shadak. Perhaps Dumbledore and Shadak had already formed an alliance behind the scenes. You were promoted to Viscount at the banquet and have connections with the Dawn Chamber of Commerce. They probably can't wait to get rid of you. What are you going to do? I will hold on until the last moment. Before that, I will find a way to help my people escape this disaster. Don't be so desperate. There are still ways to solve the current situation. You still have a way. As Gozen said, they chose to surround first and then attack because they were worried that what was happening here would be exposed to the outside world. So the key to breaking the deadlock is to let the royal family know what's happening here. I understand. I'll have someone prepare a hot air balloon right away. Hot air balloons cannot be used. What we need to do is make Dumbledore care about the royal family and stop attacking, using a hot air balloon to leave without him knowing that the news has already spread. Gozen is right, so the only way currently is to gather soldiers for a breakout. The faster the speed, the better. The villagers. If the army gathers together to break through them. Kate, I understand how you feel. But if we don't do this, it won't just be the villagers who will make sacrifices. Even so, as long as we are fast enough, we can definitely bring the villagers back and then break through, right? In theory, it is indeed possible. Uncle Green, according to the previously agreed upon action plan, you must depart immediately and go to various villages to rescue the villagers as much as possible. Yes. Summon all adult men to defend Mozo City together. Everyone must pick up weapons and fight. Once the city is breached, Dumbledore will not leave any survivors. 
They're back. Open the city gate quickly. The musketeer is ready. Uncle Green, how are you? Are you injured? It's not my blood, but I lost a few people. The opponent has a large number of people, and if we forcefully break through, we may be intercepted. As long as the speed is slowed down, there is a high probability of being caught in a quagmire by a pincer attack from front to back. Damn it, I was too naive. I should have listened to Chin Tian's advice before and not held any lucky mentality. Calm down, Kate. You're the leader. If you even collapse, then everything will be over. I got it. Aim at the gunner and fire. Siege preparation. Lord Shadok mobilized more than 3,000 people this time, and even if only half of them participated in the siege of Mozo City, the troops were not enough to defend it. Moreover, we are all equipped with siege guns, and this city will soon be taken down. Prepare to smash whale oil down. Shoot arrows. The city gate is broken. Go ahead and kill. The city gate is broken, that's great. Kate and the others are doomed this time. Viscount Dumbledore, please don't get too excited too early. We can't take it lightly until we completely capture Mozo City. The cavalry regiment launched an attack. Everyone must persevere. Hold on, we will definitely achieve victory. Look out. Are you okay? It's too dangerous here. Go down quickly. No, I can still hold on. We must persist until Ching Tian arrives. No matter how strong an individual's power is, it is unlikely to reverse the course of a war. The only reliance to overturn the balance of victory or defeat is... Nitroglycerin has become. Yellen, stay here and don't go anywhere. Be careful. Wait for me. You must be careful. Finally broke through the city. Firepower coverage reserves advanced comprehensively to occupy Mosawa City. Don't let them in. Fight with them. Get out of here. Put me down, put me down. What's that? Purgatorial flame. What kind of bomb is that? No, it's impossible. A bomb can't have such great power. That eagle. I think I saw an eagle and it exploded. That eagle is coming over. Get out of here. Hurry up. Withdrawal, withdrawal. I won. I won. We won. Oh my God, thank God. Thank God. Why did you suddenly withdraw? How are the casualties? Let's not talk about these Ching Tian. What did you just do? Those explosions. In a critical situation, I made a few tubes of nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. You were hurt. Although we won, many people also died. Let's take a break first. Leave this to me to handle. The current situation is that although they have already withdrawn, the threat is still present and a second attack may be launched at any time. Where are those bombs, nitroglycerin? With this weapon, even if they come back, they can still hold it. There are no more prepared reagents left. They have been used up. It should be possible to rearrange it. If you need anything, I'll have someone collect it now. Sodium carbonate, concentrated nitric acid, concentrated nitric acid. I've never heard of these things before. What kind of nitroglycerin is a product of alchemy? Alchemists should have it. What are we waiting for? 
It's just that Masawa City is just a small city without the existence of alchemists. Kate, you need to come out and see if someone is looking for you outside of Mozo City. Are they Dumbledore's people? Not those people are very shy and don't seem to be Dumbledore's people, but if I'm not mistaken, they should also be nobles. Let's go take a look. Noble rules can't be broken. Who is Baron Kate of Mozo City? What do you need from me? Who are you? So you are Baron Kate, Chuenching. Do you still have Chuenching for me? You don't deserve to have such a sacred pigment. Ultramarine. Using such a sacred pigment on the notice is simply blasphemy against the Virgin Mary. Currently, Mozo City is in a state of war, so. Who are you and from what standpoint? Is this the hospitality etiquette of Masawa City? Indeed, they are a group of wild insects that do not know how to cherish even the rest of the world. Ching Tian and others are not Dumbledore's people. Excuse me, is this Master Ramini Benny? That's right, he's Master Ramini. I'm not sure about that young man, but that old Master Ramini is a famous painter from the Kingdom of West. Even the royal family needs to treat each other with courtesy and have dealings with many nobles. The portrait of the Virgin Mary in the largest church in the royal city was created by him. If the master painter says so, wouldn't his connections be very broad? From the attitude of the person just now, it seems that they may have mistaken us for Viscount Dumbledore. I am Marshall, the eldest son of Marquis Spencer, and everyone else is my bodyguard. This time we are accompanying Master Ramini to visit Baron Kate, and we have no ill intentions. Please stop attacking. Sorry, I thought you were Dumbledore's people. It seems like there was a misunderstanding. Please come out. It was us who offended. As compensation, we still have many young people here. If Master Ramini needs it, we can give it all as a gift. Really? Chuenching is left in the estate. If you don't mind, I would like to hold a banquet for you as an apology for our rudeness earlier. At that time, we will present the Chuenching to you as a gift at the banquet. Master Ramini, don't forget that you were attacked just now. Didn't they explain? They got the wrong person. If you want Chuenching, I can collect it for you. You can give me a considerable amount of free gifts. At present, the territory is preparing for war, and there are few workers to start mining the production of lapis lazuli and ultramarine. If you're scared, you can go back to the Count's place first. I'll explain to him then, and of course, I won't leave his portrait behind. What the hell, Garola? You stay outside the city with the two of you. If I don't hear from you before tonight, go back immediately and tell my father. Young master, you cannot take risks. I don't want to take any risks either, but if something unexpected happens to Master Ramini, our family will be in danger. Ching Tian, do you have any ideas? Ching Tian, are you thinking of using Master Ramini's power to make Dumbledore retreat? I don't think Master Ramini can have such great power. But we can borrow his hand to help us find the necessary supplies. Welcome, please wait a moment. The banquet has already been prepared and will be ready soon. I have received your sincerity, but I am also aware of the difficult situation you are currently facing. I just want to get the turquoise paint faster than the banquet. Since you are aware of the current situation, I think you should know that giving away chuenching is conditional. Humph, I've already guessed your conditions. As long as there are enough group members, I'm not unable to meet your needs. We just need you to help us transport some supplies. It's not difficult for you to break through the defense line and come here. What supplies do you need me to transport for you? If it's weapons, you don't have to speak up. And we promised Dumbledore to keep the secret here by being able to enter, so it's best for you not to imagine that we can spread the message here. Here's a tip for you. There's a third party with a high title behind this battle. Right enough. Thank you for your reminder. We originally intended for you to transport weapons, but since that's the case, we won't bring up this matter again. Do you know any alchemists? 
we would like you to help transport some sodium carbonate concentrated nitric acid, kaolin sodium carbonate sublimated sulfur dioxide, and rosin drying. What do you need these things for? These things cannot be used on the battlefield. You don't need to ask about confidentiality. I can help you transport it in, but it will take some time and how much turquoise pigment can you give me? I want one kilogram of turquoise. One kilogram, at its lowest equivalent, is equivalent to five kilograms of gold, but now it's difficult to even get 50 grams. I'll give you two kilograms of duo. Can you really give me two kilograms? I can still get two kilograms of chewinching here, otherwise we wouldn't have used chewinching to make notices. It's impossible. Where did you get so many chewinching? Since you don't like banquets, please accept this piece of chewinching as our apology for our previous rudeness towards you. Ultramarine. Could you please remember that we can provide two kilograms of chewinching here, but you must deliver what we need to us within one day. It's true, chewinching. No problem, no later than tomorrow night. I will definitely deliver what you need. Young master, are you okay? Don't worry, Baron Kate, they haven't done anything to us. Okay, now's not the time to care about this. Hurry up and gather supplies. My chewinching is still waiting. Can they really find those materials? If we can't, we won't lose either. Your affairs have been taken care of. Not yet, so I may have to disturb the Viscount again next. You still need to come back. That's not how we agreed back then. Please rest assured, Viscount. We will keep this matter confidential. I hope you can keep your promises. Is it really not a problem for us to let them go like this? In front of the master, these two people are just ants. It's just that these two ants are a little bigger in size. If you crush it randomly, it may cause unnecessary trouble. This is absolutely not allowed before the task is completed. We must capture Mosuo City within two days. We need to hold on until Ramani comes back with something and never take it lightly. Dumbledore's army has sent us a large amount of ammunition and arrows. Defending for a few days is not a problem. Don't disturb them. Quietly open the city gate. Hi everyone, good evening. I had anticipated that you would launch a night raid. Kill them. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Hurry up and sound the alarm. They have launched an attack. Retreat. Are we retreating now? I could have taken Mosawa City tonight, but tomorrow there won't be any chance of winning. What else? Yesterday, Mosawa City was completely unprepared and we were unable to launch a successful surprise attack. What makes you think we can succeed with casualties? Etc. You just need to defend well before I come back. The emblem of the Shadak family, I can negotiate with nearby knights to borrow more troops. Mosawa City won't last long. That's it. Isn't that good? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Of course, the sooner the battle ends, the better. Dumbledore withdrew so easily because he had nitroglycerin as a deterrent. But if they launch a fierce attack at all costs, the forces of Mosso City will be unable to defend it. We can only rely on Master Ramini to deliver the materials as soon as possible. Although we have expedited the hot air balloon project. But the quantity is still far from enough. Master Ramani and the others have returned, sir. What the hell are they doing here again? Master Ramani, it's great to see you again, but what you're transporting in your car is. Viscount, you already know it yourself. Master Ramani, what are you bringing these things for? Is it none of your business or do these things violate the laws of the kingdom? No violation. Then get lost to me. Release. Excuse me, Baron Kate, when can you give me the chewinching you promised me? That. Please wait a moment. 
This group of green is precious, so we have placed it in a hidden place to retrieve it. It will take some time. A hidden place. Not in the manor. That's how it is. No wonder you were able to think of this. After all, chewinching is too precious and stored in the estate is too dangerous, but it can be retrieved quickly. How about we enjoy the dinner party first? Your approach is correct, chewinching. We cannot afford any losses. Since we still need to wait, let's eat first. Okay, with so much nitroglycerin, it's enough to solve this crisis. How should we allocate chewinching? In the race against time, you shouldn't waste time on a bunch of irrelevant things. It's not an easy task to allocate the group of youth. I promised Ramayani that I would give him the group of youth, but I didn't say it was for now. Chin Tian. We. It's time to counterattack. Victory is guaranteed. Victory is guaranteed. Please, we must win the armor spin. Don't worry, Master Witch. They will definitely return victorious. Ching Tian would never have taken such a dangerous action without absolute certainty. Sir, would you like to take a break for a while? I also want to rest, but I can't rest until Greenton comes back. This is also something that cannot be done. Up whistle. Please don't walk around casually. I'll go out and see what's going on. I'll give you some more big gifts. I'll charge forward. You guys, take a look. This person seems to be Dumbledore's personal bodyguard. William. Since the personal guards are nearby, Dumbledore shouldn't be too far away. I found it here. Chin Tian. No one was injured, right? No. Please order the pursuit. The current situation is just right, and we can let them know what will happen if they offend Mozo City. Not press an enemy at bay. Although this wave caught Dumbledore off guard, Shadok is still alive. This battle is not over yet. Although we have won the victory this time, it is difficult to ensure that the enemy will gather more troops to make a comeback. What we ultimately need now is to eradicate this crisis. Grace, I need you to lead the knights to the capital as quickly as possible and in the shortest possible time, while informing the royal family of the situation here. Swearing to complete the task to the death. The capital is located in the center of the Holy West Kingdom. Even horseback riding takes a week to travel back and forth, and even more so, it takes two weeks. I hope to catch up. As long as you're willing to wait, I can give you two kilograms of chewinching. Thank you for your kindness, but I just need you to promise me in advance that one kilogram of chewinching will be needed today. As we told you last night, we have already sent someone to pick it up, but it will take some time on the way. By then, you will have already been destroyed by Dumbledore. You can rest assured. The battle that would never happen like this is over. We have already killed Dumbledore. Sorry, it's already daylight now. Kate's troops will not exceed 1,000, while Dumbledore has over 3,000. It's already incredible that Kate can hold onto Mozo City. As for killing Dumbledore, it's just a pipe dream. Since you don't believe me, I don't have much to say. Come in. You want to kill someone to silence them. I hope you know that I have been invited by Marquis Spencer to paint on his fiefdom. If anything happens to me on the way, Marquis Spencer will take full responsibility. At that time, Marquis Spencer will come under pressure from our Painters Association to launch a campaign against you. I believe that given your current situation, this is definitely not what you want to see. Indeed, in the face of Dumbledore's siege, our ability to hold on is already God's favor. If we offend another Marquis, we have no way out. Since it's already a dead end, what else should I be afraid of? I want to die with you, Master. Perhaps the chance of going to heaven is greater. No, you can't go to heaven. You'll only go to hell. Master Ramini, please calm down. 
This was just a joke with us. You don't need to take it seriously. Right. Do you think I'm joking? He, tell me your reasons. There's really no reason for that. It's just that I don't think you're someone who would do that. If you had wanted to kill us, you wouldn't have let us leave in the first place. So that's why you've been so indifferent from beginning to end. Yes. If your hands don't shake, maybe I'll believe it. As I said before, whether you believe it or not, it's impossible for you to leave here now. Of course, I won't hurt you either. Please rest assured. As for when the two of you will leave, I don't think it will be too long. It should be in these few days. At that time, I will offer two kilograms of chewing with both hands. Since we're all waiting, why not hold on to a glimmer of hope? What if it happens, right? I only hope to leave here safely. Then we can only mistreat you for a few days. Just kill it directly, and we'll completely throw the body onto the battlefield, causing the accident of accidentally entering the battlefield. After all, Dumbledore had blocked this place before, who would know what happened here? Why bother fooling around and just give him chewing? I finally managed to fool around, but just fooling around like this is not a solution. Not to mention whether we have enough financial resources to purchase so many chewing, but whether there are still so many chewing for sale in the kingdom now is a question. Ching Tian, if you don't make a statement, they will collapse. Ching Tian, can you really get chewing? I don't think I've ever said anything big before. Don't get excited yet. There are still a few more processes to complete. Generally speaking, there are three processes involved in firing chewing. The first step is to sublimate kaolin, sodium carbonate, sulfur dioxide, and rosin and dry these materials. Ramini didn't need many of them, only one or two pounds each. In addition, there is an oven for baking bread on the estate. This process only took two hours to complete. The second process involves grinding and mixing these materials, then slowly heating the mixed powder to 750 degrees Celsius within 8 hours and maintaining a constant temperature for 8 hours. The second process will not be completed until at least tomorrow. After explaining all the precautions to the craftsmen, Ching Tian and his team arrived at the city wall to arrange for tonight's defense. I hope there won't be any more battles tonight. Kate, shut up. Don't be a crow's mouth. I think no one can adjust their mentality so quickly after witnessing the power of nitroglycerin. We shouldn't worry about a large-scale attack in the short term, but we still need to be cautious. How long until we arrive in Greenton? You don't even know where your own army is stationed, do you? K. What is your ghost name? There's a hand under your feet. Fack, fack, quickly kick this damn thing away. Be careful, there are also some over there. Stop, stop, don't panic. What are you all shouting about? Stop it all for me. Adults are ahead. Light all the torches. You guys, look at this big hole. Damn it, was there an explosion in the ammunition depot? They also died too miserably. What's going on here? This battle was too brutal. The defense line here was personally arranged by me, and the ammunition depot is definitely not in this position. And even if the ammunition depot explodes, it's impossible to create so many huge pits, especially since these pits still extend along the defense line. Is this the result of the counterattack by Masuwa City? What are your plans next? We rushed here day and night without even fighting, so we withdrew like this. If you want to die, I won't stop you, but before that, I hope you can have someone go back and inform your lord that the previously agreed upon content will naturally be invalidated because the agreed upon matter cannot be implemented. Of course, I won't let you go for nothing. It is not enough to capture Mozo City with the current military strength. We must inform Lord Shadak of this matter as soon as possible. Like the second process, the third process still requires burning, but the difference is that this time the container containing the mixed powder needs to be opened and the firing temperature needs to be lowered to 500. 
four hours later. Turning stones into gold, Ching Tian. This is definitely turning stones into gold. Different from real Chuanqing. I can only say that turning stones into silver. There's a slight difference. The ultramarine produced by this method has a certain color difference from the real ultramarine, but this difference is not too obvious. Only those who are sensitive to color can perceive the difference between the two, but Ramayani will definitely accept such a large amount. Even when I was invited by the church to paint at the church last time, I had never seen such a large number of chuanching. Chuanching, chuanching, so many chuanching. Haha, ha, there are actually so many chuanching. This is probably how I feel after winning the Super Lotto. In the Holy West Kingdom, ultramarine is the most expensive pigment and also the exclusive pigment of the Virgin Mary, which is extremely sacred. Many master painters have to give up their hard-won paintings because they cannot purchase enough chuanching. I remember Master Ryan Huck was willing to sell his property in order to raise enough turquoise paint to complete his final work, but even so, he was unable to finish that piece before leaving. It seems that Master Ramayani also has a persistent painting in his heart. No, 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 I want to try these pigments. This is what you want us to do. We have no right to interfere. Let Master Ramayani try. This color is incorrect. So do you want it? Sorry, I'm not a painter and I don't have the sensitivity you have to colors. In my opinion, this color is ultramarine. This is not turquoise. Although the colors are very similar, it is definitely not turquoise. My eyes won't make mistakes. It's a pity that we only have this type of chuanching. I wonder if you still want it. Of course, we can give you something else as long as you ask. This pigment is not ultramarine. Do you still want it? What I want is chuanching. If it doubles again, do you still want it? You can choose either to double or terminate the transaction. You. So we'll deliver it here, a few of you. Be careful on the way and come back when you have time. Humph. Great. It can really be used as a group of youth, and it will definitely sell well. This recipe belongs to Ching Tian. This matter has finally been resolved. I know about this, but the birth of the stone silver technique is hard not to excite, isn't it? Perhaps this cannot be considered as turning stones into silver. Is it a supply-demand relationship? That's right. Only painters would buy Chuanqing, and painters with certain status and financial resources would also buy it. As a result, there are even fewer potential customers. The overall market size is not large, which is bound to block the upper limit of artificial youth. However, this upper limit is very high and can earn a staggering amount of money in a year. Now the Chamber of Commerce should be able to operate normally. We need to sell these youth as soon as possible. Now, we urgently need a group of craftsmen and manpower now. You want to recruit soldiers to increase the strength of Mozo City, but in our current situation, no one is willing to participate. Even if we can recruit a large number, it won't be too many. No, 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 I'm not recruiting soldiers, but craftsmen like blacksmiths and carpenters. I can also find reliable workshops. Is there something you want to do? I can only say upgrade. Upgrade our weapons. As Ashbel said, at present, Mozo City is isolated and helpless, and anyone who looks at it will think it's doomed. There will definitely be no one who foolishly responds and comes to die. So when the amount of combat power cannot be increased, the only way to improve the quality of combat power is to enhance the power of weapons. Although the city of Mozo now has the great weapon of nitroglycerin, the lack of effective throwing tools only reduces the deterrent power of melee weapons. Therefore, there is an urgent need for specialized catapults to complement nitroglycerin and maximize its power. In addition, firearms can also be upgraded to revolvers with ammunition pockets, which greatly saves the interval time between front and rear firing. 
In addition, the way of changing ammunition can also be changed from filling type to cutting type. Under these two time constraints, the soldiers of Masawa City, who are equipped with revolvers, are fully capable of doubling the number of defenders in multiple disguised forms with one enemy. My current plan is to prepare with both hands, but as we were worried before, we are completely in a passive state and have no idea when the mastermind behind the scenes will come back to kill again. Therefore, our defense works may be attacked by the enemy before they are completed. At that time, the number of enemy troops will definitely be higher than last time. Although our military equipment has greatly improved, it is unknown whether we can block this. The current encirclement has been torn apart, and with a way out, there is a choice in front of us, which is to evaluate Mozo City. Evaluate Masawa City. The short-term evacuation has been delayed until the royal family sends someone to handle this matter, which is problematic. In the laws of the kingdom, this form of migration is seen as the unconditional abandonment of everything by the Lord. At that time, the residents of Masawa City will become homeless houses with no fixed abode. However, this ultimately requires seeking the opinions of the residents. If they are willing, I am willing to give up everything. The reason why our Lord is called a Lord is because he has his own people. If no other people have them, then a Lord is just a title. Should we first adopt the opinions of the residents before making a decision? An hour later, Kate summoned all the residents of the city to solicit their opinions. The result is that all residents have the same opinion, which is to stay in Masawa City. For residents, Masawa City is the foundation for their survival, and their home is their home. They cannot let their home fall into the hands of others. Therefore, they are willing to face this war with Kate. With the end of the opinion collection, the weapon upgrade planned for Masawa City has officially begun. The manpower is not enough to upgrade the catapult and firearms at the same time, so it is impossible to choose between the two. In this case, all the manpower can be invested in the manufacturing of the catapult. On the other hand, Ashbel released the recruitment information through the channel of the Chamber of Commerce and Su Chongli hoped to collect manpower as soon as possible. In this tense atmosphere, after a week of working day and night, the craftsmen in Masawa City finally built 10 catapults. The main function of these catapults is to throw nitroglycerin out, which does not require too much force. Therefore, in order to save time, these catapults are slightly smaller than their normal counterparts, but in any case, they have elevated the defense strength of Masawa City to a higher level. Interlagos is the second largest city among the frontline cities and also the main city of Shadok's fiefdom. Why did you come back alive? I... I hope you brought back some valuable clues. This is your only chance to survive. They have a mysterious weapon that is several times more powerful than bombs. Even siege cannons cannot compare. That's why you failed. Yes, that weapon is just too powerful. If we can get hold of it, we will definitely be able to complete His Majesty's grand plan as soon as possible. If it's not really a command problem, but rather the powerful weapons in Masawa City that make a successful counterattack, then wait, does that kaleidoscope really come from there? Kate not only got the kaleidoscope, but also got something else. Master, be careful. This pattern, you. Your Majesty's letter. Step back, Greenton. He's not an assassin. You go and notify the presidents of those chambers of commerce to prepare the agreed-upon coins within three days. If there are any mistakes in the task, you know what to do. Yes, but on the side of Mozo City. Just let them survive for another month. Under the heavy bounty, the manufacturing of revolvers has been put on the agenda and divided into several parts according to the parts, which were handed over to different workshops by Ashbel. At least in a short period of time, it can be kept confidential to ensure the advantage of Mozo City in weapons. What was the breakthrough of Shangxian's previous unification barrier? It's impossible that the two countries have been fighting for so many years and this situation hasn't happened before. Are you sure you heard correctly, Ofina? It was the driver who came to deliver that said it, and I have confirmed it many times, but as you have heard, the front line has collapsed. 
How could this happen? Those coachmen didn't drink, but to be honest, I have some doubts, so I have already asked someone to verify the authenticity of the information. We can get a response today. Did something happen to the witch lord? Sorry, I forgot that you don't understand English. The tribe won't be affected by this matter, will they? In the short term, there is no need to worry too much that the city of Dorenbach is located in the northeast of the kingdom. Even if the imperial army were to drive straight in, it would take two months to reach there. The royal family will definitely not let it go unchecked. Perhaps the breach of the defense line is only temporary. The structure of a revolver is simple, with about 20 parts quickly assembled. It can assemble a total of 10 magazines with a capacity of 9 rounds. As long as the speed is fast enough, it can completely empty the bullets in one minute, which is enough to cause absolute firepower crushing on the flintlock gun. There should be a long gun version in the future, right? Is this a revolver? It looks very peculiar. If you're talking about rifles, then there are none. Without the range of a rifle, it is much farther than a handgun and more formidable on the battlefield. That's enough. Just give it a try and you'll know. 80 meters is the maximum effective range of a long gun. Next, let's take a closer look. Madam, you're amazing. Leaving aside the accuracy, this firing rate completely overturned my impression of firearms. Chuanzhong, surprisingly, Chuanzhong. This weapon is enough to increase the combat power of a soldier several times. Don't be too surprised yet. You need to give it a try first. Although the effective range of a revolver is between 50 and 100 meters, its accuracy is still slightly lacking. The reason why I was able to hit all of them is due to the talent of Hunter Blessing, which others may not necessarily have. Ashbel, Ofina hit four shots, Gosnik hit five shots, Bohama hit seven shots, Pakuma had the highest hit rate, a total of eight shots, Kate hit three shots. I knew it. Teen Tion, you have indeed received blessings from the Witch God, haven't you? You two are more powerful than me. Just relying on your personal strength is enough to compare to me, who has been blessed. I still prefer to use bows and arrows. It's better for you two to use bows and arrows. As far as current revolvers are concerned, they have the advantages of rapid reloading and quick shooting, but this cannot completely crush bows and arrows. In terms of range and armor piercing ability, bows and arrows are still superior. For the Pakuma siblings, using bows and arrows has become a habit. If they are forced to use revolvers, their combat power will actually decrease. However, for ordinary soldiers, this is completely an artifact. Unfortunately, the hearsay brought by the carriage drivers yesterday is true, just like what Ching Tian and his team heard this morning. The front line defense line has been breached, and the Empire's army has entered the territory of the Holy West Kingdom through the Gap. And the location of the Gap corresponds vertically to the city of Wolfiai. Currently, Duke de Quill has been engaged in battle with the Imperial Army, and the defense line has been breached. It's just a matter of the past few days, and the royal family has not received any news yet. As a result, the frontline troops cannot receive effective reinforcements, so De Quill can only rely on a few marquises near his territory. The royal family will not receive any news for at least a few more days during this period. I hope Duke De Quill can repel the Empire's army. Although not a frontline city, Mozo City is also close to the front line. If De Quill cannot stop it, Mozo City will be destroyed under the hooves of the Empire's Iron Cavalry. It's not a good habit to rely on others for hope, and the changes in the war may be an opportunity for you to develop and grow. Opportunity I think the battle on the front line is undoubtedly more important than the battle between two knights, to the point where there is no comparability between the two. To be frank, we can take advantage of this opportunity to annex Dumbledore's fiefdom. Now that Dumbledore is dead, we can easily receive his fiefdom. At that time, Kate... 
your strength will skyrocket. Even if the worst scenario comes true, you will still have the ability to protect yourselves in troubled times. This is indeed a good proposal, but what is the legitimate reason for accepting the fiefdom? One thing we have to consider is that the royal family has repelled the enemy and the two countries have returned to a state of confrontation. Will the royal family take any measures against Kate after knowing that Dumbledore's fiefdom has been annexed? Chaos is just our hypothesis, right? What if the Imperial Army is repelled? In this scenario, we need a reasonable and legal way of annexation so that we don't have to worry about the royal family finding excuses to attack Kate after the situation stabilizes. Viscount Dumbledore sold his fiefdom to Baron Kate, who took over the territory according to the agreement. However, Dumbledore went against his word and launched a war against Baron Kate. Fortunately, God favored Baron Kate to kill Dumbledore and take over the fiefdom according to the agreement. The reason of being unable to testify to death can be freely written. As for the agreement, I think Dumbledore's seal should be in his mansion. Chin Tian, shouldn't you have already thought of a reason before the end of the battle? So what about the mastermind behind the second question? I don't know if you've ever thought about why the mastermind behind the scenes gave us such a long breathing space. Is it because Ting can't take action? According to our previous speculation, the mastermind behind the scenes must have a high title, otherwise he wouldn't have provided Dumbledore with so many troops. But now the front line is in urgent need of troops, and in this situation, the royal family must be very sensitive to the movements of various armies, especially the high-ranking nobles. They have enough troops in their hands, and the target is even larger. It is precisely because of this that they cannot easily use the army to attack us. Of course, it is also possible that the mastermind behind the scenes is deliberately numbing us and trying to relax our vigilance, so the manufacturing of the revolver still needs to be done quickly. In the current situation, this is undoubtedly a good opportunity for us to annex Dumbledore's territory and have enough strength to better protect your children. Oh, I see. The next day, Ching Tian accompanied Kate and her team to the city where Dumbledore's mansion was located in the center of his fiefdom, outside the city of Mozo. Apart from the large crater blasted by nitroglycerin, there were no traces of the battle on the defense line. Rudy, a village on the outskirts of Erbiev. This village is empty and the houses have long been dilapidated. We don't know if everyone here has moved away or for some other reason. We have seen more than one village along the way, and the location is close to the main city, which is somewhat abnormal. I didn't expect even Rudia village to be in ruins. Judging from the dilapidated state of the village, it should be a matter of the past two years. Did the village we just passed through also become abandoned in recent years? Except for the village we first encountered, other villages existed several years ago. What's the reason? Only Dumbledore may know about this. Well, no matter what, let's go to Erbiafu first. Time is tight. In the evening, the main city of Erbiv. 50 copper coins per person. If you want to enter the city, give the money quickly. I should have shouted higher if I had known so readily. Speaking of which, do you feel that the woman among them is a bit familiar and the man next to him? From what you said, it seems like... I didn't expect you to give money. Let's keep it with them for a period of time. Once we completely take over Erbiev, they will definitely double the amount and return it. This Abingo always gives me a feeling of being lifeless, just like the villages I have seen along the way. The personal strength of a knight cannot be judged solely by his rank and the size of his territory, but also by evaluating the Lord's governing ability. This statement is indeed true. I finally understand why Dumbledore, as a Viscount, and Kate, as a Baron, have almost the same strength. Stop. Who are you? I remember we met Captain Colin two years ago. Miss Oshbell, Baron, may I ask what you came here for? The Viscount is not here now, so it's possible that you'll have to go for nothing. It's obvious that Colin is not Dumbledore's confidant to be able to ask such a question. It's okay. We don't have to notify anyone when we go back to our castle. My own castle. Wait, wait. 
Thank you. May I ask what you mean by that? The literal meaning is that it is indeed necessary to tell you about this matter. Dumbledore sold his fiefdom to us a month ago, which is why he is not here during this period. Today, we are here to pass on this news as soon as possible to avoid any misunderstandings. Selling the fiefdom is impossible, Miss Ashbell. If possible, I would like to review the relevant documents. For you, this reminds me that I need to convene a public notice meeting with the residents of Ibingo, and then I will need your help. Where is Dumbledore's office? It's been too long since I arrived, I forgot. Did Lord Dumbledore really sell the fiefdom? By the way, the adults have had a long-standing grudge against Baron Kate. Otherwise, how could they dare to walk into Irby if so arrogantly? This is the Viscount's office. Um, open the door. The Viscount only has the key to his office. Didn't he give it to you? This door doesn't look good. I think it should be replaced. Ah, you're right about the Vice President. The style is too ugly and should be replaced with a more attractive one. Well, you should step back first. If there's anything, I'll call you. Yes, yes. Dumbledore's office. This position is indeed suitable for Kate Collin. Do you have anything else to do? Ah, uh, no. I was wondering if the Baron needs me to do anything else. You go down first. If you need anything, I'll call you Viscount, not Baron. It's Viscount Kate. I don't know if it was by becoming a Viscount that I annexed Dumbledore's territory, or by acquiring Dumbledore's territory that I became a Viscount, but regardless, it's always a good thing. I heard that the city of Mozo, which Kate governs, is very prosperous. I hope Kate's arrival can change the situation in Erbium. Don't let him make any small moves. I'll keep an eye on it. Fortunately, Colin was fooled and Dumbledore's sale of territory was completely fabricated. We don't have any relevant documents. If he insists on checking, we may not be able to leave. Don't worry when you find the seal. This seal is equivalent to Dumbledore himself, which is an extremely important thing. It is naturally impossible to just leave it on the table without anyone around. You can look for the specimens hanging under the desk and the shelves where jewelry is placed by knocking and tapping to see if there are any hidden compartments. I once saw the seal in Dumbledore's office. Finding this hidden item is too easy. Ashbel, you're too skilled at this. You probably don't do this kind of thing often, do you? How could that be? It's also my first time. If nothing unexpected happens, the seal is in this box. I think you can. Why is it me? Intuition, does this count as an answer? Then I'll give it a try. Beautiful, it opened in less than half a minute. Wait, are you waiting? Mastering some home tips is normal, isn't it? Besides, this kind of thing is like swimming. Once learned, it's impossible to forget. It's more important than the things in this box. Finally found it. We have it now. This castle and this territory are truly ours. It is a rewarding trip. For me, being able to defend my territory is already a great blessing. Everything else can only be considered as adding joy. What's wrong with this letter? Aren't you curious about the content on this side? They are all placed in the same drawer as seals, proving their importance to Dumbledore. Compared to seals, they are almost the same. The signature of this letter is actually Shadak. The content of the letter is very simple. Shadak asked Dumbledore to raise funds, but he did not write anything about what they were used for. However, there are many other letters like this. You guys, come and take a look at this letter. It states that Dumbledore will take action against Kate, but it was actually instructed by Shadak. How could the Marquis of Shadak be the Marquis of Shadak? Is it really Shadak's army that is attacking this city? It's actually him. We have thought that there is a Marquis behind Dumbledore and we have prepared accordingly, but we never thought it was Shadak. Shadak is just a nominal marquis, and his personal strength is completely comparable to that of a duke. 
The gap between a marquis and a duke is not ordinary. Calm down, he's just a duke. He only managed to hold up 100,000 troops, and he's still using old-fashioned flintlock guns. A marquis with 100,000 troops, even a duke's royal family, is absolutely not allowed to exist. Sometimes, I wonder if you are a god who came to this world. This should also be used for communication between Shadok and Dumbledore. They marked a special location on the map, which seems to be closer to Mozo City from the position. Should we go take a look? I definitely have to go, but it's not the right time yet. The location on this map is near the border between Dumbledore and my territory, and it's also an estate. In my memory, there doesn't seem to be any estate in this place. Based on clues from other letters, perhaps that place was not a manor, but the remains of Dumbledore's bracelet. That's why Kate and the others have no impression of the terrain of this manor because it's underground, not above ground. Under Dumbledore's rule, the commercial economy in the terrible city of Ebingo was very poor, and agriculture, which was the basic livelihood of the residents, was also worrying. Most of the residents in the city were struggling to survive, and in this situation, they also faced high taxes, which could be described as living in dire straits. Faced with this situation, Kate and Ashbel immediately drafted several documents, one of which included a temporary suspension of taxes, and began to mobilize a large number of people to prepare for the manufacturing of revolvers and the corresponding improvement of urban facilities. By doing so, we can provide some work for the residents of Urbif to solve their survival problems and also bring labor to the defense construction of Mozo City. Under Kate's urging, these measures quickly reached the ears of the residents of Ibingo. It was like pouring cold water into hot oil. The residents of Ibingo immediately boiled up, and then they discovered that the Lord of Ibingo had been replaced. I was already dissatisfied with Dumbledore, but I didn't have the ability to leave here. Now that there is such a lord, the residents of Erbief are all cheering and cheering. But Ibingo is a mess left by Dumbledore, and it's impossible to take care of it in a short period of time. Kate and Ashbel can only cut losses in a timely manner. After spending three days, Ching Tian and a few others returned to Masuwa City together after the situation in Erbiafu stabilized slightly. Although they only left for four days, the current environment is changing rapidly and they cannot stay outside for a long time. And as soon as she arrived at the city of Mozo, Wofina conveyed extremely bad news that the city of Wofiai was trapped and the Duke of Dequile was trapped in the city. The nobles on the front line retreated and fled. I don't know how much longer Duke Dequil can hold on. If Wolf City is captured, then we will be in danger. Now the defense line has only been opened up with a gap. If the Empire's army wants to penetrate deep into the kingdom's hinterland, it is not so easy. At least the gap needs to be stabilized, otherwise they will be attacked from both sides. The army dispatched by the royal family should already be on its way by this time. I hope it can be rushed. I'm only worried that the royal family will also send us to support the front line. Now I just want to feel comfortable lying in bed after finishing eating, which is not as good as taking a car. This carriage is really bumpy and has been a bit tired all day. Has there been any progress in the production of revolvers in recent days? During your absence, we have found four more workshops. According to the current progress, it will take about a week for each workshop to produce the parts and then transport them to us for installation. Each cycle can produce 120 revolvers, and now soldiers in the city are equipped with this weapon. But this only counts the soldiers who originally belonged to the young master and were temporarily arranged in this city defense battle. The soldiers have not yet been equipped, but I think they are also a strong force and should be prepared for them. Therefore, the workshop still continues to produce revolvers. This is indeed necessary, and the workshop needs to continue searching. We need to obtain at least 2,000 revolvers and corresponding ammunition in the shortest possible time. At present, all the combat forces in Mozo City have killed 400 soldiers, but Kate has just taken over from Evif. At least 200 soldiers can be recruited, which means Kate can currently mobilize 500 soldiers. According to this calculation, the current revolver is not enough. 
The special number of 500 soldiers is not enough for a Shadok with tens of thousands of soldiers, even with the support of a revolver. We need at least 2,000 soldiers to rely on our home advantage and challenge Shadok. Do you have any issues on your end? If you're only asking about firearms, it should be enough. The cost of a revolver is not low. For a Viscount, 2,000 pistols may be a bone and bone injury, but they represent more than just their own value. If we add the soldiers' military expenses, we will bear such a large proportion of the expenses, even if we include the reward Kate just received. This shouldn't be a problem. In terms of funding, we can borrow. Is this really possible? What I mean is, can it really be lent to us? Such a large amount of money. I think 100,000 gold coins should be enough. For the Dawn Chamber of Commerce, this is nothing. 10,000 is enough. 10,000 is enough. 100,000 gold coins, not to mention 2,000 people, can be bought directly from Wasawa City. Suddenly, I feel like this Viscount is so poor. If it's only 10,000, there shouldn't be a need for people from the Chamber of Commerce headquarters to send the coins to nearby stores to raise funds. Thank you, Miss E. Lin. Thank you so much. Ofina, oh, I remember you saying that the nobles on the front lines are selling their assets now. Yes, these nobles are worried that their fiefdoms will be ravaged by battle, and they will sell all their possessions for cash with the mentality of recovering as much blood as possible. Selling your property like this can be considered as being prepared to escape, right? Running away without fighting, won't the royal family get angry? All the knights in the kingdom must uphold everything within the royal family, including the land. If the royal family finds out about this behavior, they will definitely be sent to the guillotine, but as long as they do not actively sell, it is enough. There is also a passive explanation for this. Although these nobles are selling everything they have, it does not mean that they will immediately leave their fiefdoms. They can symbolically resist before retreating when the imperial army attacks. At this point, it becomes a passive abandonment of one's own fiefdom, right? Let's go take over their assets. I think they must be in a hurry to make a move at this time, so the price will definitely be very low. Apart from other things, their military supplies are what we need. The main city of the Count of Yukasjanut's territory, as well as the cities of Wolfi in Dequil and in Terlagos in Shadak, are all frontline cities. Count Ganuit. As of today, only 10 to 12 percent of the assets have been liquidated. If the Imperial Army attacks these extremely expensive assets that cannot be taken away, they will be completely destroyed. Since no one has come knocking on my door, I can only personally find the next one. Come in. Sir, Viscount Kate came to visit. Viscount Kate, I don't seem to have heard of this name, but since he came to visit, did he say what he came for? No, but the Viscount is already waiting. Count Ganuit, nice to meet you. Viscount Kate doesn't know what you're looking for from me. I'm still in a hurry to sell my assets, but I don't have time to waste on this unknown Viscount. You seem to be selling your assets. I think I will send those who spread rumors to the guillotine. Don't rush to reject me for now. I'm here to purchase some supplies from you. Military supplies. What? Take over what? For example, food and horses. Preparing a banquet, I think we can talk while eating. The wealth owned by a count is enormous, coupled with the tug of war of interests. Ganuit and Kate spent several hours negotiating before the banquet came to an end. Don't worry, everything will be delivered to your fiefdom in no more than half a month. Excuse me, then we'll leave first. I didn't expect things to go so smoothly. I haven't started to find the target, but the target is delivered to me. I thought that a Viscount didn't have much money, but he didn't want to buy most of my military supplies at once. Although the other side kept the price extremely low, as long as he could sell, it would be much better than being taken in by the Imperial. But sir, I always feel that there is something uncoordinated about it. Inconsistent areas. Since Viscount Kate knows that you are selling assets, he must be aware of the war on the front line. However, in this situation, he has acquired our assets. As early as I heard the name Kate, 
I felt a bit familiar with her. It wasn't until after our conversation that I remembered that she was the one who had made a big splash at Duke de Quill's banquet a while ago. This kind of person must have some shrewdness, and it's impossible not to consider this. He must have his own intentions for doing this, but we just don't know. But no matter how the transaction agreement is signed, our goal has been achieved. Even if Kate takes advantage of us, it has nothing to do with us. Let's start packing the goods and resources to complete the transaction in the shortest possible time. Yes. It has been a week since we started acquiring the assets sold by these nobles. Although we don't know how long DeQuell can hold on, we have hoarded a lot of assets. Should we go back or continue looking for other knights? Continue to search for other knights. The military supplies we have purchased now should be enough for a 5,000 strong army to survive for a month without support. This is not enough equipment for a while, but we still need to continue purchasing food and supplies. The reason why we were able to hold on to Dumbledore for such a long time before the troops and horses moved was due to the huge geographical advantage of the city of Massault itself. Even before it developed, we still needed this advantage, and in the case of only defending without attacking, food and supplies were extremely important. If we were trapped like De Quill and lacked food and supplies, we would probably be defeated without attacking. After spending a day and a night leaving Yukos, the neighbors of Count Ganuit, Viscount Franco, arrived in the city where Ching Tian was located but met another unexpected person. Why is Shadak here? It seems that they all know each other and came here for the purpose of acquisition. It's really a coincidence. Count Franco, you should know that this young man is Baron Kate, who has been appreciated by Duke de Quill. He shouldn't be called Viscount Kate now. As for this beautiful young lady, she is Viscount Yellen. I think you should know Count Franco. Sorry for the sudden visit, but since you already have guests today, we'll leave first. This is not acceptable. If you leave like this, it would be very impolite of me as the host. If you don't feel disgusted, please let a few people stay with me first and let me fulfill my responsibilities as the host. I still won't disturb you. Okay, then I'll send it to you. I didn't expect to run into Shadak. It's really unlucky, Gozen. At that time, you should have suddenly wielded a sword behind his back. Then we have to walk sideways to leave there. That's Franco's territory. If he were to take action, Franco would have to arrest us in order to avoid being labeled as assassinating Shadak. Besides, the hundred knights and musketeers who accompanied Shadak on their journey, we left this time in a hurry without any guards. In case of any conflict, it would be a dead end in that situation. I don't know why Shadak bought the property of Count Franco. Perhaps it's because he, like Kate, is unwilling to give up his city and intends to collect as many supplies as possible to prepare for war. That really doesn't show that he's someone who dares to fight to the death. The next morning. The town of Rhine is too close to the main city of Franco, which makes people worry that Shadak will follow and touch their door all the way. In order to avoid encountering Shadak's acquisition route again, I also made adjustments and tried to stay as far away from Franco's territory as possible. In the next few days, we will continue to travel among various nights, but the acquisition of military equipment has not been as smooth as before. The knights we have met with have already sold their assets to Shadak in advance. According to the intelligence we have, there are seven knights who sold their assets to Shadak. This is just what we know. In fact, the number of knights who sold their assets to Shadak may have already reached double digits. No matter how we adjust our route, we don't know if it's a coincidence or just following our footsteps. Surprisingly, after signing an agreement with Count Morgan, we ran into Shadak again. If you don't mind, I would like to have a private chat with Viscount Kate and Viscount Yellen. If you want to chat alone, then I won't disturb you. If you have any needs during this time, please feel free to call me anytime. I didn't expect us to meet again. This must be God's will. I don't know what the Marquis of Shadak wants to discuss with us. I just want to know your views on frontline warfare and why you are aggressively purchasing military supplies. What about you, Marquis? And for what? 
I think our goal is the same, to counterattack the Imperial Army. The nobles of the kingdom are cowardly and incompetent. I believe you must have seen that the situation is not good at first sight. Their first thought was to find a way to preserve their assets and prepare for retreat. They are not worthy of the glory given to them by the king. But fortunately, not all knights are like this. I think the two of you must have the same idea of acquiring military supplies as me. Have a guess. I guess. So let's take our leave first, Marquis. Think slowly. Half a month later. After this period of development, the military equipment of Mozo City has been upgraded and all soldiers are equipped with revolvers. The number of catapults on the city gates has increased from 3 to 10, and with the power of nitroglycerin, even a team of 10,000 people cannot win Mozo City in the first round of attack. But the current city of Mosowov still has a weak point, which is that there are too few manpower and we can only rely on the defense of the city walls without enough troops to attack. The population migration in Urbif should be completed in the next two days. Now, including the reserve army, we have recruited over 2,300 soldiers. I will inform Yilin about the cost of recruiting as much as possible. The current military forces are unable to protect both the city of Mozo and the city of Ibif as a solution. The only solution is to relocate the residents of Ibif to Mozo, which will undoubtedly cause many problems, the most direct of which is population explosion and crowded living areas. 2,000 people are far from enough for the current situation. Ching Tian, I really don't know how to thank you. Of course, this is not by bang. After this matter is over, you have to help me excavate the ruins, and the things inside belong to me. Of course, there's no problem with this. That was the group led by Jellian who went to the royal city. After the siege ended, Jellian left Mozo City and requested the royal family to handle it. Finally, they returned. Green did successfully complete the task, but unfortunately due to the war, the royal family doesn't have time to deal with these trivial matters now. However, this was expected, and now the city of Mozo has taken shape. Even without royal regulation, there is no need to fear anyone. However, the development of the war still caught us off guard. Two days before Greenton returned to Mozo City, Shadok led his army to support De Quill, but even with Shadok's support, it was impossible to reverse the situation on the front line. Three days later, news came from the front that Shadok had been defeated and Dequir Kiki was trapped in the city of Wolfiai. In addition, the Imperial Army used war to sustain the war, and Shadok's military equipment became their capital to march north. They left behind some troops to besiege Wolfiai City, intending to exhaust the choir's provisions in order to win without fighting. After that, the remaining army continued to penetrate the kingdom. The knights near the war zone sent troops to resist, but they only made symbolic resistance and hurriedly fled to the royal city with their already packed supplies. According to the advance route of the Imperial Army, we will arrive at Mozo City in less than three days. The Lid Hills refer to the hilly area closest to the front line in the Holy West Kingdom, where many nobles particularly enjoy picnicking and admiring this unique scenery in their leisure time. However, during this period, they may never have this possibility again because according to the route advanced by the Imperial Army, this will be a must-pass. The nobles in the vicinity quickly realized their assets as soon as they received the news, but this only made the residents in their fiefdom suffer. Leaving their hometowns and wandering in the wilderness, civilians became refugees. I absolutely cannot let this situation happen to Mozo City. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's snowing and tonight it's even colder. You're wrong. Snow isn't cold, it's when it melts. It's snowing. It's really annoying. When the Rata tribe first came to this world, they died in large numbers because they couldn't adapt to winter. I don't know if the Empire's army will continue to advance in this weather. For the Empire, the most important thing right now is time. Time is like this. If possible, I hope you too can explain. The gap in the front line is extremely unstable for the Imperial Army without capturing the city of Wolfiai. In this situation, the army is so deep that our country may face the possibility of being cut off and isolated at any time. 
they didn't take this into consideration. No, they're just going off the edge of the sword. Exactly what? Due to the long-standing conflict between the two countries, the military forces of the Holy West Kingdom have been concentrated near the front lines. Most of the domestic forces are dispersed in various fiefdoms, and the current Holy West Kingdom's military forces are empty. In this situation, the invading imperial army is like a sharp blade. If it can penetrate the royal city with one strike, it will surely lead to chaos. Of course, by this time, the royal city had already received the news and started preparing for the army, but it would take time, so time became the target of both sides' competition. Whoever can achieve the goal in the shortest possible time is the winner of this game, but by the time we appear here, they have already lost this time. They still won half of it. How do I say this? The news of the Time Empire's northward movement has already reached the royal city. Even if we successfully snipe the Imperial Army, due to the slow transmission of information, it will take a lot of time for the royal family to receive the results from here. During this period of time, the royal family made adjustments based on the outcome of this battle, which was originally intended to defend the kingdom by deploying troops southward to support the city of Wolfii or taking another route. This long gap was enough for the Imperial Army to capture Wolfii. Of course, this outcome is not absolute, and perhaps Duke de Quil will be able to secure the support of reinforcements. I'm curious, Gozen. What did you do before? Just wandering wanderers. I don't think a Ronin can see the actions of the Empire's army so thoroughly. The Empire still has a hand in Wolfy City. If Gozen hadn't woken up, I wouldn't have thought of it at all. After all, everyone has a little secret. The next morning, we erased any traces of our stay here last night and continued to monitor the fleeing team. Everything was progressing in the expected direction. They are expected to arrive here tomorrow morning. We brought so many soldiers here not just for leisure, but to explore the mountains and waters. After receiving support from the defeated Shadak army, we began preparing to ambush the Imperial army. Preserving Kate's territory is equivalent to preserving the ruins, which means preserving hope of returning home. Fortunately, with the presence of Sand Eagles, we are able to constantly grasp the position of the Imperial Army and have ample room for adjusting ambushes in terms of time. At least we don't have to keep our nerves taut all the time. At 9 o'clock in the morning, we quickly entered the designated ambush location after obtaining the position of the Imperial Army through the Sand Sculpture. This time, all we brought were musketeers. According to previous intelligence, the size of this imperial army has exceeded 10,000, including thousands of cavalry knights and several artillery regiments. Just cold data is never as shocking as seeing it with one's own eyes. The Vanguard Exploration Cavalry Regiment was followed by the largest proportion of musketeer soldiers, with several artillery regiments scattered and interspersed among them. The team of tens of thousands of people is extremely long. Currently, only a few hundred people have entered the ambush circle. If they act rashly, it will be like scaring the snake. Moreover, now entering the pass, the cavalry team has too much mobility to cause too much damage. Although the Imperial Army has a large number of personnel, their current vigilance is not high, which is due to military discipline issues and the fact that the battles in recent days have made them even more bloated. Before the Imperial Army advanced, the Kingdom Army, which was unstoppable and blocked in front of them, was vulnerable. The most deadly thing on the battlefield is underestimating the enemy and being careless. In the eyes of the enemy, this Imperial Army is already occupied, and it is destined that they will pay the price for it. Firestarter They're up there. Pay attention to concealment. The Musketeers are counterattacking. Stone throwing tool preparation. This power is a bit too powerful. Don't shoot, don't shoot, surrender. We surrender. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. My family can give you many, many ransom payments. God, God, save me. Let's go. Their morale has already collapsed. 
The bombing effect of this round has completely exceeded expectations, and the killing power in this narrow terrain is even greater than I imagined. In just 10 minutes, from the first shot to the end of the battle, the Imperial Army had completely lost its combat effectiveness, and even the cavalry regiment that was expected to counterattack had fled. After resolving the issue of the Imperial Vanguard, we need to go to the city of Wolfii, but not to support De Quill, but to find a way to cut off the Empire's retreat. The victory of this battle has very limited obstacles to the Empire. As long as the gap in the front line is still there, they can organize more troops at any time. So our tactic is to infiltrate the Imperial Army's base and find a way to dispose of their military supplies. As long as the Logistics Empire Army is cut off, it is equivalent to a water of no chance. Dequil and Shadak can also be lifted and the gap in the front line can be closed. The snow and wind weather in the Holy West Kingdom is frequent and long. Since the last ambush when it snowed, the snow and wind have stopped and lasted for several days. Under normal circumstances, it only takes two days to ride a horse from the Lit Hills to Wofii City. However, in this weather, not only does the snow slow down the speed, but also the exposure to this combination of wind and snow makes it easy for the body's heat to be lost. It is necessary to stop and rest every once in a while to ease the body, otherwise one will be frostbitten. So it took us five days to reach the vicinity of Wofii City. Kate, please notify us. Let's find a place to rest for a while first. Now Wofii City is surrounded by the Imperial Army, and ahead of us is the Imperial Military Camp. In this weather, the visibility is too low, and acting recklessly is highly likely to encounter some danger. That's right, as Gozen said, the visibility is too low in this weather, but it doesn't only affect us, the Imperial Army as well. Overall, this weather is not suitable for action, at most only a small number of patrols can be avoided carefully. I see. The geographical location of Wofii City is a vast plain, not to mention hills and ravines, where trees are extremely rare and it is difficult to find suitable terrain to block the wind and snow. In the end, tents can only be set up in place to isolate the cold wind and snow from the outside. Thanks to the disturbance of the blizzard, the smoke generated by the campfire is completely safe from being discovered and can be used for normal cooking. In this cold environment, the human body needs to expend a lot of energy to maintain body temperature, and meat is undoubtedly the best food to replenish energy. It seems that this snowstorm will not stop for a while. Are we going to push forward today? This weather is not suitable for advancement, but it is very suitable for exploration. Are you planning to use the cover of wind and snow to investigate the enemy situation? This is indeed a good opportunity, isn't it? We'll go with you. This climate environment is not suitable for horseback riding, let alone walking. Sledging is the most flexible way of operation in the snow. Although we know that Wolfii City is surrounded by the Imperial Army, this is only a rough information until we see it with our own eyes and see that Wolfii City has been tightly surrounded. Tens of thousands of Imperial Armies use dotted lines to set up military camps as nodes of encirclement around the city of Wolfii. Each camp responded to each other, and in case of any situation at any node, the camps on both sides were able to support each other in the shortest possible time. The snow has stopped. Get down quickly. Fortunately, the soldiers patrolling in such snowy weather would not have thought that there would be enemies coming, but according to the scale of the previous camp, the Imperial Army stationed here must have exceeded 60,000. Although we won the ambush battle before when our own numbers were 10 times larger than the enemy's variants, it was due to our geographical advantage and the result of the ambush. If we had fought head-on with over 10,000 people in the previous battle, even with revolvers and nitroglycerin, we would not have had any chance of winning. After all, those are real people, not targets. They will dodge, take detours, and cannot foolishly attack head-on while eating shells. Even 10,000 people are like this, let alone more than 60,000 people. Retreat after the snow and wind disappeared and we returned to the campsite, we immediately led the team to retreat several kilometers and switched to sand eagles for aerial patrols. 
As long as the Sand Eagles confirmed the location of the Imperial military supplies, it would only be a matter of a few hoses of fire hydrant glycerin, and we didn't even need to use military force. But this time, I miscalculated. Although the Sand Eagle can inquire about the enemy's situation, it is still just a bird with high intelligence. Simple communication is possible, but overly complex communication and identification are difficult for the Sand Eagle. The Sand Eagle can see the position of each Imperial soldier clearly, but cannot distinguish which one is a general or understand what the so-called provisions and military supplies are. This caused the temporary beheading operation to fall through, and the original plan to cut off the supply of the Imperial Army could only be shelved. We may be able to blend in, but I don't think any soldiers can remember the entire army. You should understand that even though they are all citizens of the Holy West Kingdom, people from different places have different accents and lifestyles. The soldier disguised as injured didn't want to communicate with others because he couldn't adapt physically. The doctor will examine it. Perhaps this method is not impossible for the wounded. When the wounded return, they must go to the rear area for recuperation. Generally speaking, that is where the military supplies are located. This has nothing to do with my expectations. I have never put in any effort during battles, not to mention commanding, which is a decent suggestion. I seem to have no use in this team. Temporary Command Post in Trimberg According to today's investigation, there is still no movement of the Imperial Army. Continue to investigate. Duke de Quill, the food we currently have can last at most another week. Let's further reduce the food supply for residents. Tell me, do you all have any good ideas? Duke de Quill, although I can't think of a good solution, there is at least one way out. What happened? Where did the explosion come from? Did the Imperial Army come over? Don't panic, that sound is far away from us. Each knight should return to their own team immediately and prepare for battle. Who can tell me what happened to the explosion just now? Your Highness, we currently do not know what has happened. I don't know if your eyes are for decoration or if your ears are filled with earwax. This is a joke. I heard the explosion from such a far place like Trimberg, and you didn't even know. No, 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 we also heard the explosion, but we're not sure what exactly happened. But what's certain is that the explosion was in the enemy camp. Are you sure you're in the enemy camp? Yes, it is indeed in the enemy camp. The explosion site is too far away from here, and it is unclear what exactly happened over there. Could it be that the support is not right? If it is, there will definitely be no movement, but what about the explosion sound? Send the order to double the number of on-duty personnel tonight. All units are ready for battle at all times. Although I don't know what the explosion sound is about, it undoubtedly represents that something unexpected has to be guarded against, and it is highly likely that it is a strategy of turning the tide and other directions also have to be guarded against. Do you have any news? The military supplies on the master's side have been destroyed. What happened? The kingdom support has arrived. It's impossible. According to the news, the kingdom's support should still be on the way. Even if it has already arrived, it's absolutely impossible to directly infiltrate our rear and destroy military supplies. What exactly happened? What happened? I don't know what happened over there. What do you mean by don't know or don't know? Is this a ghost? As of now, I really don't know what happened over there. The explosion inexplicably appeared. Whether it's speculation or anything else, I have to listen. We can't be sure if it's related to the explosion sound over there, but based on the feedback from that side, before and after the explosion, he noticed an eagle or some other animal hovering and hovering over the camp. Eagle. I remember you said that when you attacked Mozo City, an eagle also appeared. Yes, but I'm not sure if it's the same eagle or if it's just a coincidence. They tried to kill that eagle but failed. Let this damn eagle go first. Don't waste time on this matter. I just want to know the loss. At present, statistics are still being conducted. 
Based on the situation on site, the losses are very serious, and the army that launched the surprise attack on the royal family also encountered an unknown ambush on the way, resulting in heavy casualties. The army of more than 10,000 people only managed to escape with just over 3,000 people. For some unknown reason, the knights who opened the way were not ambushed and there were no casualties except for them. The rest were just a few. That's enough. Whether it's the sudden retreat of the advancing army or the destruction of military supplies, it has disrupted our plans. Since what has already happened is powerless to change, the most important thing now is to seize the moment. According to the plan, if there is enough pressure on the royal family and they cannot gather enough troops in a short period of time, the royal family will definitely use that power. If successful, after repelling the empire's advance, the royal army should come to support De Quill. By then, even the royal army will be unable to resist with a pincer attack. However, the defeat of the sudden army gave the royal family enough time to mobilize troops from various places, and they will not easily use that force. What matters is whether the army that ambushed the assault troops is the knight of the kingdom or the army of the royal family. Notify them of a change in plan and prepare to launch a strong attack on Wofei City within the next two days. Yes. Such a long time of effort must not be in vain. It's coming. Eleven lighting. What's going on? The sand sculpture is injured. This is an arrow injury. Arrow injury. That's right, it's easy to tell from the shape of the wound. The sand eagle flew so high and at such a fast speed, even if I wanted to lock it in, it was not an easy thing. Now someone has shot the sand eagle with a bow and arrow, and it's still tonight. It's okay now. Sha Jiao's injuries are not serious. Let's go back and rest first. What happened? Where is the enemy? Kate, calm down and don't get angry. Did I hear it wrong? It's impossible for everyone to hear it wrong together. Everyone, evaluate this place immediately. Gozen, please evaluate from here first and stay as far away as possible from this place. I'll take care of the Ashabal sand sculpture and remember to leave a mark along the way. Pakuma, bring your skis and let's go check the situation. The Imperial Army launched an attack on the city of Wofei despite the destruction of its military supplies. The aftermath of these explosions mixed with the soldiers' attacks, and even ghosts and gods had to avoid them by a third. In the face of such a large-scale battle, even if an individual's strength is too strong, it is still too small and they are in danger of dying at any time. War is always so terrifying. Such a massive siege vehicle. The skybridge extending from the top corresponds exactly to the height of the city wall of Wofei City. Imperial soldiers can directly reach the top skybridge from the bottom by taking the stairs inside the siege vehicle. This is equivalent to building a staircase outside Wofei City that leads directly to the city wall. At that time, Imperial soldiers can enter the city through this. Not only that, look over there. The Imperial Army's artillery may not be able to hold on anymore. The first section of the city wall has been breached, and we are now entering the stage of street fighting. It remains to be seen whether Duke de Quill can hold on. Once the city of Wofei is breached, the situation on the entire front line will quickly collapse. What should we do if the Imperial Army rushes in? We can't rush into the city now and continue to guard here. We can't do anything. The only thing we can do is pray for them. Evaluate quickly. The Imperial Army has been defeated. Fortunately, I won. Duke de Quill is holding on. As long as the city of Wofei is not breached, the gap on the front line can be filled, and we can let the two countries fight until it's pitch black. As long as it doesn't affect the country, it's not our business. During this period, we can also do our own things. Let's go. The defeat of the Imperial Army is a foregone conclusion, and we don't need to look at it anymore. We still need to tell them this news. 
There are still many Imperial soldiers fleeing and hiding in the city, so we cannot take it lightly and let people quickly clean them up before completely cleaning them up. When the city gate was breached, I thought I was going to escape, but I didn't expect to be able to hold on. Fortunately, fortunately. Marquis Shadak, are you okay? How are you feeling? God bless, I feel good now, but I need to recuperate for a while in the future. If it weren't for you blocking that knife for me, I might have died now. I will always remember this kindness in my heart. You don't have to worry about this matter. Saying that actually makes me feel a bit ashamed. If our strength could be stronger, perhaps this situation wouldn't exist. Don't say that. If it weren't for your reinforcements, Wolfei City wouldn't have been able to hold on. You have made great contributions in this battle. I will definitely help you claim credit from the monarch this time when you go back. With this achievement, you will definitely be promoted to Duke. Guarding the kingdom is our responsibility. I have done so much to achieve the title of Duke. The cleanup work on the battlefield lasted for two days, and on the third day after the battle ended, normal order was restored in Wolfei City. It was also on this afternoon that the Royal Army finally arrived at the front line, and Kate and others, who were temporarily not facing the threat of the Empire, returned to Mozo City. But in order to prevent facing the same crisis in the future, at Qin Tian's suggestion, Kate still spent a lot of resources to reinforce the city walls. The militia form temporarily did not disband, but instead increased the training intensity. After the temporary safety of Mozo City, we finally took the time to search for the ruins with Dumbledore's ruins map. In this era where technology is limited, the maps depicted are not as accurate. The map in hand is even rougher, only depicting the terrain around the ruins as a reference for searching. According to the map, the approximate location of the ruins is around this area. There are weeds nearby, but there is no vegetation here and the soil is very loose, as if it had just been filled in recently. Is this entrance underground? Just dig it open and you'll know. In terms of area, it will definitely take a lot of time to dig it up. First, build a campsite, and soon it will get dark. It's 8 p.m. now, which is not too late in terms of time, but there is no entertainment here, so we can only gather together and chat. In this low temperature, it seems that even human consciousness becomes a bit sluggish, and in the blink of an eye, they all fall asleep. If the ring is not broken, we can know if this is a laboratory down here. We'll know tomorrow. What we need to worry about is how far we can go if there's really no key in the laboratory below. The laboratory must have an ID card, which is a ring or something with a key function, and the laboratory's door will only be opened after it has been recognized and approved by the laboratory. Another possibility is that the manual door opening in the laboratory is just like Yuichio did back then. However, if there were people in the laboratory, there would have been some movement, but it cannot be ruled out that the people in the laboratory do not want to open the door. Since Dumbledore was able to get that bracelet, I think he must have gone in. Even if it's unexpected, it's okay to find it slowly. That's how we've been through these years, isn't it? Actually, things are pretty good now, aren't they? We're all doing well. Perhaps after coming into this world, I have been trying my best to find a way back, to the point where I have overlooked all of my loved ones. It seems that there is nothing to force around those who love me. Throughout history, the victims of war have always been those who want to live and work in peace and contentment. Their strength is ultimately limited. Even if I have far greater power than ordinary people and far greater technology than this era, it is good to be able to preserve myself in war. If there had been no war between the two countries before, that would have been even better. Since the excavation started in the morning, it is estimated that only half of the covered soil area has been completed. Although it is not large, considering the depth of the landfill, it is estimated that this excavation will take at least one day. Young Master Kate, come and take a look. Surprisingly, it's a wooden board. We've dug it to the right place. Wooden door partition under the soil. 
Open it. I'll do it. The stone steps are mottled and uneven, but this is not due to the erosion of time, but rather because they are rough and the gaps are so tight. I don't know if it's due to poor craftsmanship or just a style. It seems that this is not a relic. Judging from the corrosion on the stone gate, the excavation time of this stone gate is not long, probably around 20 to 30 years. It's not a laboratory either. But what can be certain is that there will be clues from the laboratory inside. I don't know if there will be any treasure. If Dumbledore had moved out long ago. Besides the strong smell of mold, there is still oxygen inside that can enter. Let me go first. There is a light on the wall of the witch envoy. There's also whale oil in here. Although it's solidified, you can still try it. Not only the floor, but also the walls and ceiling are paved with stone slabs. How much manpower did it cost? I am now curious about what this place is actually used for. As long as it's not a grave, it's fine. Yellen, stay behind and be alert, Pakuma. It's Dumbledore's man. I've seen the fabric on his body before. It seems that we need to be careful on the road ahead. Everyone, be careful and pay close attention to your feet to see if there are any traps or mechanisms. Fortunately, Dumbledore helped us explore, otherwise we might have been the ones who got hit. But that doesn't mean it's safe in the future. We have to be careful from now on. The trap may not have been fully triggered, so be alert. This is... Team Tion, are you okay? Huh, it's okay. Don't worry. Fortunately, there aren't many arrows. Otherwise, even if I react quickly and face this pincer attack, I wouldn't be able to achieve a flawless defense. This mechanism is a big deal. You guys stay put and wait for me to explore ahead. The total length of the passage is about 60 meters, divided into two halves. One is a diagonal downward section of 40 meters, and the other is a horizontal forward section of 20 meters. We have already advanced more than 20 meters, and the remaining distance is only a few seconds. These people must have died from the heavy blow of the siege tree, which was much more tragic than being shot by arrows. First came the hidden arrow, then the hidden stake. This is just a mechanism in tomb reading novels. I hope there won't be any ghostly things like the mesmerizing ladder, glass, and fire roof in the future. Come on, come on, but Zonzi illusion should only exist in film and television works. There are too many traps in these agencies, aren't there? For the rest of the journey, let Ghostnik and I first investigate the situation before others enter, otherwise it will be difficult for us to protect everyone. Be sure to pay attention to safety. There should be more mechanisms in the latter half of this period. I'll wait for you to follow me. Even if you trigger a trap, you don't have to worry about being hit by the siege wood. The witch envoy must be careful. It's safe to come over here. Someone really lives here. From the surrounding facilities, it seems that this completely meets a person's normal living needs and is definitely not a place of eternal rest. I don't know what kind of people will live here. This is a good hiding place. You guys go back to the long corridor first. I'll explore the way before you come back. What was initially thought to be a relic turned out to be a safe haven, perhaps hiding even more dangers inside. After running two laps, there was no mechanism at all. Huh, all the trap mechanisms set up here should have been triggered for temporary safety. It seems that they have been dead for a long time and we don't know which side they belong to. The markings on these people indicate that they are members of the Royal Guard and are directly affiliated with the Royal Family. Royalty. It's interesting that besides Dumbledore's people here, there are also members of the Royal Family who dare to kill them. The chest armor on the corpse is a layer of steel plate. 
Although it is made as thin as possible to reduce weight and facilitate wearing, it is only 3 or 4 millimeters thick. However, this steel plate is strong enough to resist arrows. But such a defensive steel plate was actually pierced by a long sword. How powerful should the person who started the attack be? If nothing unexpected happens, he should be the owner of this place. From the modeled marks on the skeleton, it can be confirmed that this skeleton died at the same time as the royal guard. It's hard to imagine how dangerous he was when he was alive, with so many wounds on his body. Be careful and search for it. Perhaps there is some hidden treasure, but it's unlikely. After all, the royal guard is not mobilized for wealth, but I don't think you came here just to search for treasure. I almost forgot the important matter. This is much smaller than I imagined, and I can't find anything. Nothing of value should have been moved away by Dumbledore. There are no clues from the laboratory, and no written records can be found. Does this have nothing to do with the laboratory? Could it be that the Royal Guards took all the treasures inside? If that's the case, Dumbledore wouldn't have been able to get that ring. Judging from the wheat piled up in the warehouse and the outcome of the battle, the Royal Guard should have perished along with the owner inside. Has there been no movement from the Royal side since the disappearance of the SS for so long, such as sending people to investigate? Perhaps this is a secret mission, and the SS who carried out this mission immediately took measures against the owner of this place upon discovering it, resulting in all deaths here. Therefore, the royal side does not know where the SS disappeared, so there is no way to send people to investigate. What measures? What kind of ruthless person is the owner of this place? He even mobilized the royal guards. I don't know about that. It's just my guess. Sometimes writing a diary is really a good habit, right? If that person had also written it, maybe we wouldn't have returned empty-handed. At least there's one more clue with me. The situation isn't too bad yet. When I was on the Treasure Island too, I learned about the whereabouts of the five square ring through Solomon's diary. When I was in Iceland, I also learned about the Icelandic laboratory through the diary. The diary is really a good thing. Are we going back now? Are you going back now? Well, it's almost time. Kate's strength has grown and she doesn't have to worry about being affected by the war in the short term. Besides, the clues related to the laboratory here have been cut off and we need to find new clues. When are you planning to leave? Just make the decision. Maybe these two days. The gates of Masuwa City are always open to you. Ching Tian, we will meet again, right? Don't forget that we still owe you money from the Chamber of Commerce. Remember to come back early to get the money. So everyone will have a deadline in the future. You are welcome to visit Duorumba at any time. The city of Dorenbach is located in the northeast of the Holy West Kingdom, with a straight line distance from the city of Masalt that is comparable to the nearly half-month journey from Masalt to the Royal City which requires passing through more than a dozen large and small fiefs. Fortunately, everything went smoothly on the way. On the 13th day after departure, we finally arrived at Yellen's fiefdom. After passing this sign, it will be our fiefdom. It seems that Sha Yao is also very happy. Finally back. At the current speed, we can arrive at Durinba City this afternoon. Thank you, your majesty, for the kingdom you have conquered for me. Compared to the northern part of the Holy West Kingdom in the south, the altitude is higher and there are more mountains and forests. According to Yellen, Dorenbach is a city built in the mountains. Is that Duolenba city? It looks really good. From the outside, it looks similar to the coastal city that was the first stop when we arrived in the Holy West Kingdom. It's so lively. This is almost the busiest city I've ever seen in the kingdom. Look at that castle over there. Wolf Eagle Castle is named after the White Eyes and Sand Eagle, where we now live. A good name is really a good name. 
Is everyone there? At this time, everyone should be active on the grass outside the fortress. Let's go take a look and we'll know. Jio. Oh, wow. Sister Yilin. The witch has returned. Great, they're back safely. Wait, give them a surprise. You forget it, just listen to you. Are you okay along the way? Welcome back, Sister Yellen. It's really great to see everyone so energetic. Everyone is still the same. Unfortunately, Jessica and Kata haven't returned yet, otherwise everyone would have been together. No, there's also the Witch Lord and Nick. Right, Your Excellency the Witch Envoy. The Witch Envoy and Nick. The Witch Lord Nick. Master Witch, Sister Nick. The Witch Envoy has returned. The lot of people are still so enthusiastic. Just as they returned to Wolf Eagle Castle, before they had a chance to sing, they were pulled up to the dinner table. But today's dinner was completely in accordance with domestic customs, which is the most comfortable meal I have had in so long. Drifting alone is never very reassuring. Now that I'm reunited with them, I feel a little at home. Did you think of something happy? You're not drunk, are you? You didn't drink too much either. You're sober now. I am happy to think of you by my side. Wait, everyone is still watching. If everyone is drunk, let's move to a deserted place. Hey, you. Yi Lin, you look so beautiful and tempting tonight. Ching Tian doesn't want me, but I'm not ready yet. I'm sorry, I was too anxious. Go to sleep. I've been running around for days and I'm tired, right? Now, except for the elderly and young, the Rada tribe are all nominally soldiers of Wolfei City. However, they are only responsible for the security of Wolf Eagle Castle internally, and the defense work of Delumba City is entrusted to the soldiers summoned by Yellen. Excluding the subordinate soldiers and knights, I can currently directly mobilize over 2,300 soldiers, divided into two artillery regiments of 400 and one knight regiment of 100. The remaining 300 cavalry regiments are all musketeers. This is already comparable to the strength of a count. Let me take you to see our planting base again. Although this power is good, the battlefield where the kingdom and empire often clash with tens of thousands of people is far from enough with only a few thousand people. Even if we are surrounded and cut off external supply channels, we can still hold on for at least a month with vegetables, fruits, and reserve grain in the castle. In addition, we have also established an English school for communication between the tribe and the people of the Holy West Kingdom. Nowadays, most of the tribe members have mastered English and simple communication is not a problem. Is there a secret room where the ring and bracelet are placed? Hee hee, this place has a medieval flavor, right? Which way should we go? The one on the right and left is a trap. The box was initially found in Summonson's tent after defeating the pirates on Treasure Island 2. It contained a box full of treasures, right? It's not over there. Jewelry and diamonds. Surprisingly hidden so discreetly. There aren't too many empty rooms at the entrance of this Wolf Eagle castle. No one could have imagined that there would be a secret room in one of these rooms, and the entrance would be hidden. Even if they found this secret room, they would definitely be attracted by the treasure chest placed inside. They wouldn't have thought that there was also a secret compartment stored in this secret room. This is a serial plan. Speaking of which, this place was accidentally discovered by Sister Jessica. I thought you had someone build it specifically for you. This Wolf Eagle castle had already changed hands with multiple owners before me, which caused the location of this secret room to be forgotten during the handover. That bracelet is exactly the same as the one that Shadok gave away at DeQuill's banquet. If I have to say, there are more cracks on this bracelet. After all, it was salvaged from the bottom of the sea and eroded by seawater, so it will naturally be more broken than the environment of the bracelet placed in the ruins. Well, why hasn't there been any movement?
The five-sided ring suddenly projected onto the screen and closed without anyone touching it, and then it couldn't be opened again. After that, I tried several times, but the result was the same. After logging in, an exception occurred, which is quite interesting. But even if I knew there was a problem with this future technology, I wouldn't be able to figure it out for a while. I can't even understand the working principle of the ring on my hand, but I can give it a try. The D3 ring, which I used to detonate nitroglycerin at close range, relied on protecting us from the impact of the explosion and drifting to Iceland, where the energy was depleted and now it is in a state of shutdown. Perhaps it can be. Okay, I took it for granted. But I remember you said that this bracelet had a ring that a fisherman got from a sunken ship. Yes. Have you seen that sunken ship? After receiving this ring, Jessica and I immediately went to the area with the fishermen to explore the sunken ship. However, the sea where the fishing boat was located was too deep, and even with oxygen cylinders, kata, they couldn't withstand the water pressure and stayed underwater for a long time. And Jessica's sister's flashlight has long run out of power, making it difficult for Kata and the others to search the entire ship without lighting equipment. I worked tirelessly for a long time without any gains and ultimately had to give up. We'll go back once we're ready. The results of the investigation are all due to the lack of equipment, which means there must be many unexplored corners in the sunken ship and there are likely laboratory clues in those places. First, find a way to create equipment suitable for underwater operations. Other than lighting fixtures, they are definitely necessary. Otherwise, if you walk past clues underwater and your eyes turn black, you may not know. However, it cannot be solved in the short term and requires some preparation time. Let's go. In order to maintain the safety of Wolf Eagle Castle, Yellen has long established a production line for flintlock guns, but this is far from enough. We must upgrade this production line to a revolver, which is the fastest way to enhance our strength. Yellen Bohama, what are you doing here? Because if it just appeared in the city like this, I might not be able to relax tonight. Yellen is quite beloved by the residents. If discovered by them, it will definitely cause a stir. Got it. Do we also need it? You don't need to because to the residents, you are strangers. It's so lively. Surprisingly, there are so many people. It's already 8 o'clock in the evening. If it were in another city during this time, the streets would have long been deserted. However, at this time, the city of Delumba is bustling with people. What a fragrant smell. That should be the taste of cream cake. This place is still so lively. In the Holy West Kingdom, no matter which city it is, once night falls, residents rarely go out except for pubs and hotels, and there are no more shops for business. But this is different. This should be a significant expense every night, right? It is indeed a considerable expense when the night market first opened. When Kate was on her way from Wolf to Trimberg, she said that the lighting in this city was entirely the responsibility of the Lord. That's why most cities, although they have street lights, are still pitch black at night because the lighting is too expensive. Even Duke de Quil only lights up the street lights in autumn and winter. When the night market first opened, when night markets appeared, there were very few other shops, and most of them were opened by dawn commercial clubs. However, the novelty of night markets still attracted many residents, which made many shops see the potential contained in them and start operating at night. In this way, a virtuous cycle is formed. The more shops opened, the more attractive they are to residents, and the more shops they can attract. Later on, the night market grew bigger and bigger, and chambers of commerce from other cities came to Dornbach to open shops, pushing the prices of storefronts to a peak. After that year, the Dawn Chamber of Commerce recovered the previous lighting expenses, and the tax revenue from the shops was enough to maintain the lighting costs every night. Now, they can make profits from it. Yellen, what is your major? I remember it's related to economics, right? Yellen, with the help of a chamber of commerce, has surpassed countless people in achieving a leap from the common class to the aristocratic class in a short period of time. The current night market has formed a virtuous cycle, continuously absorbing foreign funds and shops. 
In the long run, Yi Lingen does not need to contribute to the construction of Duolimba City, but only needs to make good plans because those foreign shops will invisibly build Duolimba City. Strolling through the night market in the Holy West Kingdom gave me the illusion of returning to my original world. We have arrived here, and it is the headquarters of the Dawn Chamber of Commerce. I designed the store of Dawn Chamber of Commerce based on the ideas of modern large supermarkets, selling any type of goods that can be found in the market, such as food, weapons, clothing, daily necessities, etc. This model has attracted a large number of customers, making the store basically full during business hours. We not only sell high-value products such as department stores, but also sell them. Lord Yellen, Lord Jessica has gone missing from us. Jessica has gone missing. Yes, Lord Jessica lost contact with us half a month ago. How could this happen? A few months ago, Jessica went overseas with Kata and her team to search for your whereabouts. According to calculations, the itinerary should be back this month. Nazar Island is located within the territory of the Holy West Kingdom and is the largest known island in terms of area. However, the environment is harsh and there are no indigenous people living on the island. The entire island is filled with sand and lacks fresh water. So far, no one has seen the full view of Nazar Island. The farthest known recorded depth into Nazar Island is only 30 kilometers. Legend has it that there is a huge treasure buried in the center of Nazar Island, which has attracted countless treasure hunters to go there. However, for countless years, most of those treasure hunters have been buried deep in the desert, and very few have been able to come back alive, gradually becoming a forbidden zone for life. Jessica, if you go deep into it. We landed on Nazar Island here, but Lord Jessica started to venture deep into the desert from here. How many kilometers is the distance between the two positions in proportion? Is there any special place there? Before heading to Nazar Island, Lord Jessica visited several treasure hunters who had ventured deep into Nazar Island and planned the optimal route. And before departure, they agreed with us that if they haven't returned to the camp in a month, it means they have already died. Is the inventory list that Jessica prepared before departure still available? Stay. Prepare a copy for me as written above. I'll have someone prepare it later. We can have it ready by the day after tomorrow at the latest. During this time, we can rest well and recharge. A completely unfamiliar desert, even though I have multiple talents and strong abilities, humans have always been small in the face of nature, and as the lot of people who are already residents of the desert, they are undoubtedly the best help. The personnel on this trip were quickly selected. Although there were over a hundred members of the Lada tribe, only Nick and a few others could be called warriors before sea training. They had a lot more experience surviving and hunting in the desert than the other Lada tribes. Moreover, the focus is not on the number of soldiers, but on the precision. It will take at least a week from Dorenbach to Nazar Island, which means it has been a week since Jessica was confirmed missing. It will take another week for us to travel to Nazar Island. The longer we delay, the greater the variables. Fortunately, Kata's safety should not be a problem in the short term as we are accompanying you. You must wait for me to come. In order to raise materials in the shortest possible time, Yi Lin almost used all the channels and forces she currently controlled. Half the time required than expected, Yellen gathered all the necessary supplies for this trip at noon the day after receiving the news of Jessica's disappearance. After crossing that mountain range, we will be able to see the port. On the other side of the mountain is the sea. That bracelet was salvaged by fishermen from this port. We will definitely succeed in bringing Jessica back. Well, I believe the three of us will be able to reunite. It takes a week to travel from the port of Jonius to Nazar Island, during which Nick provided simple training to over 200 soldiers, preparing them mentally before entering the desert and mastering certain survival skills. One week from now, Nazar Island. Is this Nazar Island my imagination? I feel so warm here. This is the island known as a forbidden area. Is this Nazar Island, apart from sand or sand in sight? 
and even in winter, it's as hot as summer noon, completely devoid of coldness, and this is the temperature felt in the afternoon. If it were noon, it would be even hotter. This time period makes people feel hot. I wonder how terrifying the temperature on this island will become when the sun rises tomorrow. Nick, have you always lived in this kind of place before? Well, our hometown has sand with no visible boundaries just like here. There's still the same heat. Since I came to Nazar Island, I feel like I've returned to my hometown. In the desert, the temperature during the day and at night are completely two extremes. Before the sun sets, one feels extremely hot, but as night falls, they have to start a bonfire. This extreme climate is too torturous. At an ambient temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, the amount of heat lost from the head accounts for 30% of the total body heat. At an ambient temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, the amount of heat lost from the head is as high as 60% of the total body heat. Only by covering the whole body can we avoid overheating, and the heat generated during human movement is enough to feel warm. Yellen, are you sure you're not feeling any discomfort? When we first drifted to Treasure Island Number 2, we were also facing various crises. We survived on that deserted island with nothing left, and now that we have a large number of people and complete supplies, how could we be afraid of this small desert? Next, I'll leave it to you guys. Master Wu, don't worry. Wrap it around us. Except for the soldiers who were originally stationed in the camp, there were over 200 people on this trip. Each person carried a backpack containing the basic necessities for survival in the desert to prevent accidental separation. As for the food and water supply of the entire team, they were transported by sand sleds. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, the number of camels that could be found was extremely limited. Otherwise, we could have carried more supplies. After daybreak, the temperature in the desert was rapidly rising. We walked for a full hour before arriving at Jessica's original departure point, and there was still a long journey ahead. The glaring sunlight and scorching temperature are not places that normal people can stay in. Not long after departure, the team was already exhausted. It's so hot, I feel like my whole body is about to be roasted. I want to take a sip of water slowly. No, I have to take off this robe. Can't you take off your robe? Do you want to die? Why? The sun in the desert is very scorching, and skin exposed to this scorching light will be sunburned in less than half an hour. This thick robe can effectively block the sunlight for the skin and take it off without making you feel cool, but instead making it even hotter. This robe not only isolates the sunlight, but also isolates the heat in the desert. You should put on the goggles now. Soldiers are required to wear goggles upon hearing this, and without my command, no one is allowed to take off their robes without permission. This is a specially made material that is completely different from modern sunglasses. It is made of colored glass and cannot compare with modern sunglasses in terms of strong light protection. However, it can still provide a layer of protection for the eyes in such strong light. At noon in the desert, the temperature can reach a terrifying high of 50 degrees Celsius. In such a situation, if you bury an egg for a lifetime without making a sound, it will be suffocated. The desert during this period is too terrifying and must be stopped. The sunshade is very simple, with four sticks inserted into the ground supporting several overlapping canvases, but the cooling effect it brings is very significant, at least allowing people to catch a breath in this high temperature. There's another way. We'll dig a pit in the sand. Digging a hole in the sand. Yes, all you need to do is dig a deep pit about half a meter in the sand and then lie down to feel very cool. Lying here really feels much cooler. But as a living person lying in a pit with a piece of cloth covering my head, it looks like I'm about to be buried. After confirming the effectiveness of digging pits, a group of soldiers started digging sand pits one after another. Although this summer escape method may seem a bit strange, as long as it works in the desert, no one worries about whether they want a tomb pit or not. But even though there was a double cooling effect of sunshades and sand pits until noon, the scorching heat still made everyone extremely uncomfortable. 
In order to avoid generating heat from activities, they stopped talking and the entire team was quiet. If it weren't for the occasional sound of drinking water, they thought this was some kind of collective tune. The extremely difficult noon period was finally passed, and it wasn't until dusk that the temperature in the desert decreased. It was only after an afternoon of exposure that everyone felt powerless. For people who have never survived in the desert and have not experienced such terrifying high temperatures, it is really difficult to adapt to this environment in a short period of time. This period has been really unbearable. I feel like I can't survive without drinking some cold water. This afternoon feels like several days have passed, so long. The Witch Envoy, it's already 5 o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is about to set in an hour. We think everyone needs time to adapt to the weather in the desert. If we forcefully enter the desert team according to the plan, there is a high possibility that some people may lose consciousness and fall to the ground. You're right. We do need time to adapt well to the desert weather. At night, the sun sets and the temperature drops, but this drop is too outrageous. Even before we arrived at Nazar Island, we never imagined that there would be a place in the world where the temperature during the day and night could differ by tens of degrees. After experiencing the extreme temperature changes in the desert on this day, I feel that the descriptions and textbooks are still too conservative. This exaggerated temperature difference is far from being reflected by those cold numbers. I don't know how Sister Jessica and the others are doing now. We just entered the desert and had to endure this terrifying heat. It's hard to imagine what Jessica and the others are facing. Are the supplies they carry still surplus and can they hold on until our rescue? They will definitely be fine, whether it's Jessica, Kata, or anyone else with rich survival experience. Don't worry. The climate in the desert is so terrifying and abnormal that they probably won't go too deep into their activity area. They should be near this route. It will take at least 10 days to complete this route. Based on my understanding of Jessica, she will use this route as a benchmark to explore the surrounding area tentatively. What we need to do is to reach the middle of this route as soon as possible and then explore the surrounding area. There are actually lakes on the route. There really is a lake. Previously, I was too hasty and worried about Jessica, so much so that I didn't even carefully review this map. On the route ahead, there was a lake marked with scattered green spaces around it, which undoubtedly brought great convenience to the entire team. The entire team is fully capable of using this lake to replenish the water resources previously consumed, which can also extend our search time in the desert. We can't be too happy yet. The water in this lake may be salt water. Brine. It's just possible that not all lakes in the desert can be called oases, so we can't waste water resources until we determine if the water in these lakes is drinkable. Even though the lake is salt water, we can still obtain clean and drinkable fresh water through distillation, but the rate at which we consume fresh water is too fast. If we waste it recklessly, we may not even be able to reach the lake. In this hot climate, the human body consumes a huge amount of water. Is there a shrub at Ching Tian's place? It's a camel thorn. Camel spines, as their name suggests, are a type of plant that is extremely drought tolerant, forming a thicket of hard spines. Commonly found in desertified areas, although drought tolerant, it does not mean that the growth of camel spines does not require water. Its appearance undoubtedly indicates that the water content in the following areas will be greater than the places we have walked in the past two days. Everyone, prepare to rest. In order to minimize water evaporation as much as possible, the leaves on the canopy of Populus euphratica are very sparse, which makes it impossible for it to block all the sunlight. The shade is full of scattered light spots, but even so, the shade is still much cooler than under a sunshade. Everyone, be careful. Scorpions are commonly found in places like this. If a scorpion, a deadly animal, were stung in such a harsh environment in this desert, it would be equivalent to a death sentence. To ensure safety, we carefully inspected the surrounding area and found that there were actually over a dozen scorpion holes in an area of just over 10 square meters. 
These scorpion holes are mostly hidden under the shade of grass and are not very obvious under the cover of weeds. The holes are very flat and only about 2 centimeters high, which makes it easy for people to overlook them. Should we take a break somewhere else? Just kill the scorpion inside. One scorpion hole represents one scorpion. A dozen scorpion holes are equivalent to a dozen scorpions surrounded by so many scorpions. Who can rest peacefully or kill them first? Nick Ragnar, what are you guys doing? Let's see if we can catch a few scorpions. The scorpions inside this large hole must be very plump. Scorpions and cave openings are basically the same size as scorpions themselves, which is something that every Lada tribe knows. The larger the scorpion, the more delicious it is and the more fragrant it is when grilled. Fat, fat, and beautiful. Pinch off your head, wrap it in breadcrumbs, and deep fry it until golden brown. Its protein is several times that of beef. Are you the otherworldly version of Bay? By doing so, we can catch the scorpion. When the temperature drops, the scorpion will come out of the hole and directly fall into this pit. It should be noted that this pit must be close to the entrance so that the scorpion has no choice of path and it must be vertical. Only then can the scorpion not climb out of the hole. The temperature at noon is still hot, but fortunately, I have adapted to this kind of weather to some extent, and with the shade of trees, I have been enduring it until the temperature drops at 4 p.m. in the afternoon before feeling slightly refreshed. During this period, Ragnar's trap did not yield scorpions as expected. Generally speaking, scorpions usually appear in the afternoon or even evening when they leave the cave. Although I couldn't catch the scorpion, at least I don't have to worry about it crawling out and stinging people. Most populous Euphratica are clustered in communities, and their root systems are shared. As long as one tree's root system finds a water source, the other populous Euphratica don't have to worry about dying of thirst. There are scattered communities of three or four trees around here, scattered at intervals of tens of meters. This shows that the groundwater here is more abundant and abundant, which also means we are closer to the lake. Until the sun set and the sky darkened, scorpions who felt the temperature drop also began to go out to forage. However, they never expected that someone had already set a trap in front of their doorstep. Finally caught it. Scorpion, scorpion. Master witch, look at such a plump scorpion. Just stay away and enjoy it. I will never touch it. The witch envoy's harvest today is very rich. As long as you like it, that's good. Nick, be careful not to be stung by it. No, just pinch its hook and you don't have to worry about getting stung. In general, the thicker the tail of scorpions and the smaller the pincers, the greater the toxicity. They use venom to hunt, and now the danger is zero after the venom hook falls off. However, it is still better to keep a distance. The witch lord, the witch lord, has baked it. Just enjoy it. This smells pretty good. I'll give it a try. This taste is very fragrant, just like fried grasshoppers. Considering that we need to stay in the desert for a long time, most of the food we carry is dried meat and biscuits, which sacrifice their original taste in exchange for such a long shelf life. In comparison, this grilled scorpion can barely be considered a delicacy. The taste is really good. When we first arrived at Treasure Island number 2, we had no choice but to eat a lot of insects. This scorpion is not really a dark dish. The taste is really good, but unfortunately it didn't bring salt. Otherwise, the taste would have been even better. It's said that Nazar Island is a cannibalistic monster. I think those explorers are too weak. I heard that there are plants like cacti here that are covered in thorns all over their bodies. I have always wanted to see them with my own eyes. We've arrived. We've arrived. It's really a lake. I can't believe there's such a big lake in this dry place. I can't wait to dive into the water and take a shower. Many people have been exhausted along the way, so let them relax a bit. Lakes in the desert can be seen as the source of life. In this arid and scarce place, lakes nourish countless creatures living here. 
I've come back to life. I have never tasted such sweet water before. It's as delicious as that precious wine. As long as the campsite is set up, the overnight dinner is prepared, and the rest is your rest time, soldiers. I never thought that treading water could be such a happy thing. This is the oasis in the desert, a gift from nature. I have never seen such a large lake in the desert before. Our tribe has always been in the desert. Although we have seen many lakes, the lakes in the oasis are very small and can be seen in their entirety at a glance. This place is more like the sea. The sea is not that small. Look over there, it's a date palm tree. The date palm tree looks a lot like a coconut tree, but that's just from its appearance. You should know that this is a desert where plants like coconuts have a huge demand for water and cannot survive here. Is there anything special about this tree? The fruit of this tree, as its name suggests, can also be eaten as date palm. Zeo coconut palm family, C. jujube genus trees, are a type of plant that is resistant to high temperature, flooding, drought, salt alkali, frost, and sunlight. They are suitable for growing in deep and dry acidic soil layers and avoid waterlogging. The main method of propagation is seed propagation. Growing alone or forming a cluster of multiple rhizomes from a single root system, slow growing with granulation roots and spines on the petiole, feather-shaped male and female dioecious flowers with short stems, white female flowers nearly spherical. Is the green one ripe yet? This fruit can be eaten whether it's ripe or not. Next. So sweet. If it matures, it will be sweeter. Is it a bit luxurious to be able to eat fruits in the desert? The water level of the lake is not deep, but it is still sufficient for us to release heat. At this moment, I always feel like I'm on vacation. There are crocodiles in the water. Damn it, get ashore quickly. Be careful, it's swimming towards you. Crocodiles in the desert, how could there be crocodiles in the desert? Is it clocked from the seven martial seas? Stab it. Use your long sword to stab it. Stab its head. Be careful, there are also things here. Ah, uh, it bit my hand. Is a crocodile really a crocodile or a West African crocodile? The West African crocodile, also known as the desert crocodile, is relatively small in size and has a light body color. It can jump and stand upright, similar in appearance to the Nile crocodile. It belongs to the small crocodile family, with a maximum body length of no more than 25 meters, and feeds on fish, birds, and frogs. It lacks the ability to capture large prey. Fortunately, the crocodiles in this lake are not very aggressive and have a small body size. Otherwise, if they were to roll and roll, someone would probably die here today. Move aside, let me do it. This is the toughest hit of a crocodile, so powerful. How are you feeling now? Are you seriously injured? Thank you for your concern. L, have you found it? Hold on a bit. Fortunately, the combat power of the West African crocodile is too weak, and even if it bites, it does not harm the bones. In this case, as long as the wound is disinfected, bandaged carefully, and rested for a period of time, it will not become disabled at all. Did you ever encounter crocodiles in a lake while living in the desert, Nick Ragnar? No, it's not just lakes. We never saw crocodiles when we were in the desert. The attack by West African crocodiles in the evening was accompanied by additional personnel on duty tonight. Currently, there are more than 30 soldiers guarding the desert outside the camp. The temperature at night is extremely cold, which is also a quite difficult time for the duty guards. But for animals living here, it is the time of day when they go out to forage for food. For example, this desert rain frog is a unique species of frog found in the desert. In order to avoid the scorching heat in the desert, they hide themselves in shady areas deep in the sand during the day until it rains or at night before coming out to forage. Where there are trees and water, the air is fresh. If only the sand sculpture were here, it would be more convenient to find people. Even without the sand sculpture, we can definitely find Sister Jessica and the others. There are fish here. There are actually tilapia here, 
and they are not small in size. It seems that we can have a few good meals in the coming days. After all, with fresh food, who would be willing to eat that dry jerky? Will we encounter crocodiles again? If there is, then bring it together to stew soup. Crocodiles of the size of West African crocodiles are not considered dangerous to us at all. Then I'll have the soldiers prepare. If Jessica and the others were nearby, they would understand that there is someone in this direction when they see this smoke and move closer to this side. Unfortunately, no one's shadow remained until the wolf smoke dissipated. However, the cost of this attempt is very low, and we will raise the wolf smoke during the morning, afternoon, and evening periods to avoid Jessica and the others missing out. After a simple rest, the journey will continue. However, this time we have left 20 soldiers behind to guard the camp and provide supplies, as well as to take care of the injured soldiers. In addition, the soldiers who stay behind also have to take on the task of replenishing water sources, boiling and sterilizing them, and storing them in wooden barrels as reserve water. And we will leave the lake and search along a two-day journey. If there is no harvest, we will return to the lake and continue searching in a different direction. To be honest, I feel inexplicably abandoned, brothers. What do you think? Are you saying that Viscount left us here? Shut up, you coward. Don't talk nonsense. Lord Yi Lin is definitely that kind of person. She's different from any other city lord in history. If she leaves, will Lord Yi Lin leave behind so many supplies? Use your pig brain to think carefully. Okay, you're right. Do you really not need to take turns guarding? What are you afraid of? Are you worried that crocodiles in the lake will climb up and bite your butt? If you're afraid, you'll be on guard tonight. All right, we'll keep watch for you tomorrow. Who's afraid? Brown hyenas, also known as brown hyenas, have a dog-like body shape with a length of 110 and 125 centimeters, a tail length of 2,535 centimeters, a weight of 4,055 kilograms, a large head, wide ears, and a length of 4,055 kilograms. Unlike spotted hyenas, brown hyenas do not have striped body hair and are mainly brown in color. They have horizontal brown and white stripes on the outside of their limbs. Brown hyenas are not only animals that live in deserts, but also have their presence in arid tropical and subtropical savannas and desert areas. What is it? Wolves have wolves. What happened to the wolf? What happened to the wolf? Damn it, brothers, get up quickly. There's a situation outside. Get your guns. Damn it, these wolves are stealing our food. This is the food we need to survive in this desert. Our mission is to guard the camp, take care of these supplies, and kill them. Eat bullets, you bunch of beasts. It's over, it's over. I'm going to skin those animals. Calm down, our most important task now is to rescue these supplies. Are you all okay these days? Thank you for your concern, Lord Yellen. We are doing well, but... What happened? Lord Yellen, we neglected our duty and did not guard the campsite properly. Do you have any dissatisfaction with deducting three months' salary from this matter? Please believe that such incidents will never happen again from now on. What happened in this barren desert is truly terrible. The supplies stored in the tent before we left were enough to sustain the team's survival in the desert for a month. Now, with half of these supplies gone, they are only enough to survive in the desert for a week. It seems that we need to send someone back to the dawn to replenish supplies. It takes about 10 days to go back and forth. The current supplies may not be enough to support us until then. But the fish in the lake should be enough for us to support for a while. If possible, brown hyenas can also be a good source of food, but I don't know if they dare not attack yet. But even if you dare not come and ask for enough bait, you can still hang them out. 